Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 1 In the darkness, Tang Yu slowly opened his eyes, and bursts of soreness came from his body. He barely propped himself up, dust mixed with some fine rubble, rustling from his body. I'm still alive. In my memory, the demonized beast like a tide broke through the defense line of the shelter, and countless survivors died in the screams, and the world turned blood red. This is the end of the world. It came a month ago. At that time, he was about to graduate, and he had already found a job. He was waiting for the official job, but he did not expect that a disaster would happen suddenly. The red mist filled the sky, a huge crack appeared in the earth, and the creature named the demonized beast climbed out of the crack in the abyss and slaughtered human beings. This is the abyss crack, marking the arrival of the end times. Tang Yu happened to be in the school that day, and saw with his own eyes that the ground split open and swallowed the entire building. The surrounding teachers and students were completely frightened. They were bitten into pieces by the demonized beasts in the screams at that time, he was still far away from the abyss crack, and he avoided the first wave of slaughter by demonized beasts. He was very lucky. He met a large team of fleeing survivors. Place. The number of demonized beasts is inexhaustible, and the strength of the army is not an opponent. Human beings are retreating, and they can only barely take care of some important places. Sanctuary is the last line of defense for mankind. This small shelter was built on the basis of a holiday resort. There were thousands of survivors, and it was the safest place in a radius of more than 10 or 20 kilometers. Although it is not as safe as a large shelter guarded by the military, such a shelter has guns and ammunition, strong human beings, and is built in an area far away from the abyss. Was resolved quickly. He originally thought so, knowing that the surging tide of magic would drown the shelter, and he suddenly realized that the shelter, in such an apocalypse, is also so fragile. Tang Yu looked around. On both sides, the collapsed houses formed chamfers, and he was not buried, but instead escaped the disaster. When he reached out and touched it, he saw that the palm of his hand was blood red. This was not his own blood, but a hapless person who was pierced by an iron pipe in his chest and lungs, and the blood that stained the ground was flowing down. It's not the only one. Through the crack, Tang Yu could see the corpses on the ground outside. Compared with this unlucky guy who was pierced by an iron pipe, the death of those people outside was even more miserable. Tang Yu was heartbroken. He was lucky to survive, however, it was of no use. As an ordinary person, he had neither weapons nor an awakened person. Meeting even the weakest demonized beast was enough to kill him. It would be nice if it was an awakened. People with good aptitude will wake up naturally as soon as they wake up. If they are a little bit worse, they may also be able to wake up under the pressure of adversity and become an awakener who has the ability to protect themselves in the end times. There are also some people with average aptitude who cannot awaken by themselves, and that's fine. The shelter has a special auxiliary awakening device that can help survivors awaken. But Tang Yu was very embarrassed. His aptitude was the worst, and he didn't have the qualifications for awakening at all. There are not a few people like him. Once they are in danger, it is almost equivalent to being sentenced to death. So, can I just wait to die slowly? Tang Yu muttered to himself, unwilling in his heart, but it seemed that he could only accept his fate. Suddenly he shuddered. Ding dong. The final lord system has been activated, please establish the lord castle as soon as possible and establish the scope of the territory. What sound? He should have heard something just now. Could it be that he was discovered by a demonized beast, or maybe he had an auditory hallucination? Ding dong. Lord, please build the Lord's castle as soon as possible. The voice came from his mind, and this time, Tang Yu was sure that this mysterious voice really existed. The voice was very mechanical, it just looped in his mind over and over again. He quickly discovered that he could either block the voice or ask questions like this voice in his mind. Although the information he got was limited, at least he knew what it was. Stuff. System. Tang Yu remembered the name of the Last Lord, which was a game he played before the apocalypse to pass the time. He was excited. 
he was not unfamiliar with the system. He could even say that he was very familiar with it. He could draw hundreds of novels with the system in his mind. In an instant, he thought of the plots of these novels, philosophy, life, and finally this game. The Last Lord is a third-rate strategy game. It is also about the background of the Western fantasy apocalypse. It tells the story of the collapse of the world and the imminent destruction of mankind. The castle built by the player retains the last fire for mankind, and the player needs to. Tang Yu shook his head violently, at the juncture of life and death, he still had the mind to think about the background of the game. System, since it's a system, can it wake me up anyway? Cannot. Give me some bodyguards, or summon a group of subordinates. Tang Yu. Then at least give me a solution to the current crisis. Ding ding dong, when the Lord's Castle is established, two puppet guards are given as a gift, which can solve the current crisis of the Lord. Then don't have to, immediately, build it right away. Ding dong. To build a Lord's Castle, the Lord needs to select a site and pay for 100 units of source crystals. It is detected that there is no source crystal on the Lord, and the Lord's castle cannot be built. He has something I don't know when to say it or not. Other people's systems are to give novice gift packs first. This is a good system. It doesn't give anything. Even the main base has to be built by itself, or the kind without resources. I have never seen such a strategy game for so many years. Now it's better, where can I find a source crystal for 100 units? Origin crystal is an extremely precious strategic material. There is a small probability of condensation in the body of the demonized beast. It is said that there are also naturally born origin crystal or veins in the wild. These are not easy to obtain. Only elite combatants and even awakened people can have them. Tang Yu is only one. A bottom level survivor, let alone possessing a source crystal, even if I see it, I have never seen it. Normally he would never get it. But now. Tang Yu thought about it for a while, and there is indeed such a glimmer of hope the shelter has been breached, so there must be some source crystals left over from where the awakened people lived. He doesn't know if this guess is correct, nor does he know if there are 100 units of source crystals left behind, but for this glimmer of hope, we must fight. Taking a deep breath, I sorted out my mixed thoughts, the awakened and the higher-ups of the shelter live in the villa area on the mountainside, which belongs to the central area of the shelter. Before I ran away, I wanted to escape from the inside, but now I'm close to the shelter. The central area, not far from the villa area, this is an advantage, but a disadvantage. Tang Yu smiled bitterly, his body was already very weak, and he didn't have any weapons on his body. It was an extremely bad start. The only thing he could rely on was the system that didn't work now. Immediately, he patted his cheek and his eyes became firm. Fortunately, the place where the stone was buried was not pressed tightly. Tang Yu looked around and observed the outside environment. Finally, he found a relatively large gap and drilled out from it. There was an open space in front of it. Originally, a large number of simple houses and tents were built. Of course, it was messy at this time. Many corpses were fragmented, and only a few parts were left. The strong smell of blood permeated the tip of the nose. The corpses of demonized beasts were rarely seen. Tang Yu knew that the entire sanctuary had almost no resistance against the tide of demons, so it was breached. Holding his breath, he groped his way forward, almost every time he went forward, he had to probe several times. The scorching sun hung high, and the sweat slipped from the tip of the nose, dripped onto the ground, and quickly evaporated to dryness. Tang Yu gasped carefully. Fortunately, the number of demonized beasts was less than expected. Along the way, he only saw one or two demonized beasts, who were looking down and gnawing on something. Going around the ruins and hiding in the grass, Tang Yu tried his best to avoid the demonized beast. Fortunately, the entire ruins of the sanctuary had just been massacred. The most advantageous tracking weapon. Going forward step by step, gradually, the villa area is close at hand. Near the villa area, the surrounding environment is even more messy, and destroyed houses can be seen everywhere. The dark traces after the explosion, the craters left by the bullets, and the broken walls all show that there has been a fierce battle here. 
Tang Yu saw a lot of corpses, including human awakened ones and demonized beasts, mixed together, like an azure field. He stepped forward cautiously, squatting in front of the corpse and groping. The pungent smell was lingering on the tip of his nose, and his hands were already full of blood, but Tang Yu didn't care, he was half crazy and half calmly rummaging. A 5-4 pistol. There are also two magazines. In addition to the short knife he found on the way, it was a relatively intact weapon that he could find. He also knew that these weapons didn't really play a big role in the face of demonized beasts, but the cold touch of the gun's body made Tang Yu feel a lot more secure. He also saw some guns and weapons from a distance. They looked good, but they were all in relatively open places. It was dangerous to get them. He was cautious and took Yuan Jing as his first goal. Tang Yu didn't want to take too many risks. Chapter, 2 Is this the source crystal? In his hand, a small sparkling white spar seems to be the most beautiful treasure in the world. Before the end of the world, he must have such a spar, which is enough to get rid of the single. Tang Yu saw it for the first time, but he was very sure that this was the source crystal, not a diamond. When he held it tightly in his hand, he could feel a warm feeling, and there was amazing energy hidden in it. This source crystal has been systematically detected, and it contains about one unit of energy. It was not found from the awakened people. These awakened people are even poorer than Tang Yu imagined, or maybe they didn't bring anything with them. The bodies of several awakened people searched on the road did not find anything good. Yuan Jing was dug out from the demonized beast. He cut open the heads of several demonized beast corpses. Yuan Jing only dug out this one, and his anatomy skills were quite proficient. Tang Yu began to worry about whether it would be possible to collect 100 units of Yuan Jing. If these awakens were really too poor, or if some of them escaped and swept away Yuan Jing, then he would be pitted. Time passed by, and he also found some food, satiate his hunger a little, and continued to search. The situation in the villa area was relatively good. After Tang Yu searched most of the villas in this area, he had a dozen origin crystals in his arms. Unfortunately these source crystals are far from enough. I hope that we can find enough source crystals in this last villa. This is a single family villa with a larger area and more luxury. It is the last villa that Tang Yu can search for in the east area of the villa area. The entire villa is divided into two areas, east and west. Although the west area covers a larger area, there is a considerable distance between the two areas. If you can't gather enough source crystals in the east area, then going to the west area will be much more dangerous. Tang Yu carefully walked into the villa garden, suddenly. Didi detected the energy reaction of more than 100 units of source crystals within 100 meters ahead, please collect it as soon as possible Didi. Detected. The system's voice sounded in his mind, and Tang Yu was almost not frightened this broken system, which didn't even have a system spirit, actually responded. After hearing the content of the voice clearly, his face became happy. God never stops me. Although this villa is large, the damage is even more serious. Along the way, there are deep pits on the ground after the explosion. The grass and trees in the garden seem to have been burned by the fierce fire, leaving only ashes all over the ground. Tang Yu walked in from the broken side of the wall and saw that the house was devastated. The door of one of the bedrooms was left open, and vaguely, a broken safe could be seen, shining with light. Found it. He stepped forward quickly and came to the door of the bedroom. The footsteps he just took suddenly stopped. Pupils shrink sharply. In the bedroom, next to the broken safe, a brown-colored, wild boar-sized demonized beast with fur-like steel thorns expanding outwards, with its back facing Tang Yu, it was gnawing on something. Kacha kacha, the sound was particularly loud in such an environment, Tang Yu held his breath and did not dare to make a single sound. He has already recognized this strange creature in front of him, it is a demonized beast. Compared with humans, animals are affected by the red fog and may be demonized to form new types of demonized beasts. In front of them is a demonized beast that is demonized from an ordinary mouse, a demonized steel rat. This only belongs to the bottom ranks among demonized beasts, but to Tang Yu, it is still a deadly threat. Instinctively, he wanted to step back, 
but unexpectedly, the demonized steel rat had already found him, and with a squeak, his entire body was like a brown mass of flesh, rushing straight towards Tang Yu. The brown meatball was extremely fast, and the steel thorns on the fur flickered with cold light. After a little hesitation, Tang Yu understood that he couldn't escape. The only way to survive is to kill the enchanted steel rat and get the source crystal. Such thoughts flashed through his mind, and suddenly Tang Yu calmed down. He stared at the enchanted steel rat that was getting closer and closer, and in his pupils, only the moving brown figure remained. Thirty steps, twenty steps, ten steps. Tang Yu held the gun in both hands, and the black muzzle pointed at the getting closer and closer to the magic steel rat. Bang bang bang. Flames spewed out of the barrel of the May 4th pistol, and each bullet hit the enchanted steel rat with violent kinetic energy. Tang Yu had never practiced shooting, but maybe it was because he was so close, or because he was focused enough, that one bullet from a clip actually hit five shots. The fur of the magic steel rat was damaged in several places, and dark green blood continued to flow out of the wound. It had been severely injured and screamed in pain, but the magic creature had tenacious vitality, and in the eyes of the magic steel rat, it was still fierce. Flashing. It continued to pounce on Tang Yu regardless. Tang Yu's ruthlessness also came up. He threw down the pistol that had emptied the magazine, took out a short knife, his eyes widened, and he stabbed the opponent with all his might. One knife after another, blood splattered, and his arms and chest were dyed colorfully. Tang Yu didn't even feel it, he just kept trying. Until he recovered, Tang Yu didn't know how many knives he had cut, and the demonized steel rat had long since fallen in a pool of blood. Ho ho. Tang Yu was panting heavily, his arms were sore, his clothes were tattered, and the flesh, especially the arm holding the knife, was cut one by one by the steel thorns, and he grinned in pain when he moved a little. Before he could relax, suddenly, his expression changed again. The roar of the demonized beast came from outside the house. Tang Yu knew that it was the gunshots just now that attracted more demonized creatures. A humanoid, gray-black body, more than two meters tall, and a demonized beast with sharp claws on its hands appeared in Tang Yu's eyes. An incomparably huge fiery red scorpion also appeared. There was also a big black snake with green gas all over its body. Tang Yu's face became extremely solemn, these three demonized beasts, no matter which one, was far from being comparable to the demonized steel rat just now. He can't be an opponent. Tang Yu turned around and ran, ignoring the pain in his body, he flew near the source crystal, and reached out and pressed it. Didi, 125 units of origin crystal were detected, and there are 141 units of origin crystal on the Lord. Do you want to build the Lord's castle? Build, fast. The source crystals turned into light spots and disappeared, like the most splendid fireflies. Tang Yu felt a little heartache. This may be the most money he has gotten in his life. The light and shadow are splendid, and in an instant, as if a gust of wind swept through, a huge change has taken place in the place where you are. The original devastated environment in the villa is gone, replaced by a classical decoration. The floor is covered with red carpet, and the ceiling is hung with beautiful chandeliers. On the walls, there are either exquisite murals or inlaid huge crystals. The tables and chairs in the room are all exuding a faint woody fragrance, and I don't know what kind of wood they are made of. There are also large and soft leather sofas that can be used as beds. Several statues were carved to life. A basketball-sized crystal is suspended in the center. Tang Yu was almost stunned, should he be so extravagant, at the end of the day, how could he use such extravagant life to consume his firm will, this is simply so embarrassing. Although this hall is indeed luxurious, he still knows that the most important thing at present is still the threat of the three demonized beasts outside. Tang Yu turned his attention to his back, where the original gate of the villa had formed a gate that was three meters high and four meters wide. At this time, the door was open, and the two were wearing blue and white armor, with masks and holding long spears. Puppets like door gods appeared on both sides of the door. Tang Yu knew in his heart that this was what the system said, the guard puppets that came with the establishment of the core castle. 
Through the door, the outside world is still in its original messy appearance, in sharp contrast to the luxurious hall inside the door. Tang Yu was still a little nervous. The three demonized beasts didn't look easy to mess with, and he didn't know how powerful the two puppets were, and whether they could solve the three demonized beasts. The puppet guards said nothing, one of them stepped back and guarded the castle gate. Another puppet guard put on a fighting stance, and when the fastest fiery red giant scorpion approached, it suddenly moved. The puppet guard swayed and appeared in front of the giant scorpion in the next moment. The air burst, and the spear tip penetrated layers of obstacles. Before the fiery red giant scorpion could react, the carapace was completely penetrated. From bottom to top, one shot through the skull. The first demonized creature, die. But it's not over yet. After solving the giant scorpion, the puppet guard took the initiative to attack, wearing full body armor, but faster than any demonized beast Tang Yu had ever seen. In front of the beast. The gunshots are thundering. The fighting method of the puppet guards is simple and rude, with a split, a stab, and a simple attack, which is particularly terrifying in terms of unparalleled speed and strength. In the blink of an eye, the head of the humanoid demonized beast was smashed, and the big black snake was pierced by a gun. At this time, only a few seconds have passed, and the two demonized beasts still maintained the forward forward posture. After they died, they rolled with inertia, and the blood of various colors dragged a long trace on the ground. The whistling sound of the cloud piercing spear still echoed in his ears. Tang Yu was stunned for a while. Are these three demonized beasts too weak? But he knows that it's not that these demonized beasts are weak, but the puppet guards, who are really strong, and I don't know how much stronger they are than the awakened ones he has seen before. Such a puppet guard is simply amazing. Tang Yuju as 100 units of Yuanjing flowers are too valuable. Could you give me a few more? Three huge corpses of demonized beasts lay outside the gate of the castle, and a wave invisible to the naked eye escaped from these dead demonized beasts. The direction of Yu was floating over. Tang Yu's eyes widened, and his face couldn't help showing excitement. Chapter, 3 He could clearly feel that a force, like a clear spring, kept pouring into his body. This is the soul power that escapes after the death of the demonized beast. Absorb and refine the soul power to make oneself stronger. But only the awakened can absorb soul power. This is also the key for the awakened to continue to evolve and leave ordinary people far away. But Tang Yu knew his own situation, his aptitude was extremely poor, let alone absorbing soul power, even the devices that aided his awakening could not help him awaken. At this time, he clearly felt that a force poured into the body, and then gathered somewhere in the body. Isn't this what soul power is? Tang Yu decided to ask the system for something. Ding dong. The Lord's qualifications are indeed extremely low, belonging to the E class, but after the Lord is bound to the system, he has the ability to absorb and refine soul power without awakening. And the puppet belongs to the territorial unit, and cannot absorb soul power by itself. As long as the Lord is within the range of soul power escape, this part of the soul power will naturally be absorbed by the Lord. In addition, the higher the territory level, the faster the Lord will absorb and refine soul power. Tang Yu has also heard that the demonized beast killed by the awakened person is too far away to absorb the soul power. Someone once thought of using a powerful thermal weapon to kill demonized beasts, but the consumption is too high, and even soul power can hardly be absorbed. Over time, many awakens are reluctant to use these things unless it is necessary. Tang Yu sat down cross-legged, closed his eyes, and immersed himself in his mind. In a trance, he seemed to be in a dark and airtight environment. Only in the most central place, there was a light group, emitting a faint light. This is the essence of soul power. Tang Yu understood in an instant, this group of soul force is composed of countless tiny light particles, which gather together to form a light group, exuding a surging source power. This is the first time to intuitively feel the soul power, and the first time to prepare to refine it. Tang Yu was not confused, it was like an innate instinct, his consciousness controlled this group of soul force to rotate and squeeze. A few light particles separated from the light group, flew to the edge of this dark space, slowly melted, merged into the limbs and trunk, 
and merged into the internal organs. In an instant, his body seemed to become more powerful. Tang Yu seized this feeling and continued refining the soul force. As the process became more and more proficient, the refining process became faster and faster. The soul force light group gradually became smaller and turned into tiny particles of light. Absorbed into every cell of the body. After a long time, Tang Yu opened his eyes. At this moment, he is full of energy, his eyes are piercing and piercing, and his body has become strong and powerful. If you clench your fists a little bit, you can feel the surging power transmitted from the inside of the body to the palm of your body, and even the scars on the arms are slowing down at this time. Slow Healing Tang Yu was very surprised. No wonder he heard that the first time refining the soul force, the effect was the best. At this time, it seemed that it was too good. If he faced the demonized steel rat again, he was confident and could easily solve it. The crisis was lifted, and Tang Yu finally had time to take a good look at the newly built Lord Castle. From the outside, this Lord's Castle is not big, and it is a little bigger than the previous villa, and it can only be regarded as a miniature castle. The exterior walls are silver and white, and there are dark blue spire roofs. Everything seems to be a picture scroll in a dream. There are two floors in the castle. The first floor is a complete hall, and the second floor is the rest place belonging to the Lord. The bedroom, study, and bathroom are all available. The furniture he chooses is not famous, but he can feel it. Are all good things of high quality. Tang Yu was immersed in the pool water. This bathtub was bigger than his previous bedroom. The pool water was dense and fragrant. Soaking in it was so comfortable that he almost groaned. After the end of the world, he spent most of his time sleeping in the open air, and occasionally lived in simple wooden houses or old tents. These 100 source crystal flowers are really worth it. Besides, there are two dutiful puppets and a crystal ball suspended in mid-air, this hundred source crystals are even more worth it. Tang Yu called the crystal ball over, and the basketball-sized crystal ball floated to him at once. The crystal ball is similar to radar, which can monitor and alert the territory. The territory is in the most basic state at this time, and the scope is not large, but it also includes the east and west of the villa area, and most of the west area, but in this area, any changes will be displayed on the crystal ball. From the crystal ball, Tang Yu saw several red dots, which were demonized beasts still lurking in the eastern district. Thinking that he was not discovered by the demonized beast along the way, he was fortunate for a while. Just in case something went wrong, the ending would be torn to pieces by the demonized beast. Of course, it's not just the crystal ball. Tang Yu also found a territory map after opening the system panel. These red dots can also be seen on it, but in contrast, the crystal ball shows a more detailed picture, and even the territory the terrain in the range is included. Tang Yu immediately got up, picked up the equipment, and set off with the no. One puppet to clean up the surrounding demonized beasts, while the no. Two puppets stayed behind to guard the castle. It's the last one, and the number one is in the lineup. In front of him is a demonized rotten wolf, with green eyes and a rotten body. Not to mention his strength, this appearance is enough to make people terrified. But Tang Yu wouldn't. The demonized beasts he met on this day, no matter how strong or weak, could not stop a single shot. He also put aside his previous fear of demonized beasts. After refining a sufficient amount of soul power, in the face of demonized beasts, what Tang Yu has is just fighting spirit. The demonized rotten wolf jumped high, opened its mouth wide, and a stench came over him. Tang Yu was holding a short knife and was calm. Just as the demonized rotten wolf flew to the nearest moment, he slammed his right foot on the ground and passed sideways, the short knife penetrated the internal organs of the rotten wolf. Turn around and continue to swing the knife. Brush brush. After a few knives, the wounded demonized rotten wolf finally died. Another soul force was absorbed into the body. Hu hu. Tang Yu gasped for breath. The entire battle took less than a minute, and both energy and mental energy were exhausted. But he was very accomplished. When an ordinary awakened person awakens, his physical quality will have a qualitative improvement. He has not gone through this process, 
but by absorbing and refining the soul power, his physical quality is getting higher and higher. At this time, he will be demonized the rotten wolf slashed under the knife also means that he has the level of an ordinary awakened person. Maybe even higher. Tang Yu looked at the short knife with the rolled edge in his hand and frowned slightly. This knife is relatively small, and it is not convenient to use it against demonized beasts. Maybe when encountering stronger demonized beasts, the sharpness of this knife will make him afraid. It is impossible to cut the fur of the demonized beast. You also need a better weapon. The sky was already darkening slightly, and in the distant forest, the roars of demonized beasts came one after another. The outer periphery has already exceeded the detection range of the crystal ball. Tang Yu does not intend to continue cleaning. He was very tired all day today. If his physical fitness has improved, he is afraid that he is already tired and lying on the bed. Tang Yu returned to the main hall of the city master with the spoils, and no. Two still stood by the gate faithfully and dutifully. There are a lot of loot, especially this time he has no scruples, searching everywhere, many items hidden by the awakened are all found by him. Like a desert eagle. The sand eagle is a very famous pistol with great power, but it is not practical. First, the gun body is too heavy, and second, the recoil is too strong. This is probably the private collection of a big boss before the end of the world. It's different now, he is already an awakened physique, a sand eagle that was difficult for ordinary people to use before the end of the world. For him, the recoil is just like that, but the lethality of this sand eagle is used to deal with demonization. Beast, just right. I also found a lot of food, especially the rare tobacco and alcohol in the apocalypse, but more food had been destroyed in the battle. Tang Yu was really distressed when he saw it, and immediately grabbed a handful of snacks and stuffed it into his mouth. These small snacks that used to be inconspicuous in the last days are also things that bigwigs can afford. Tang Yu suddenly felt that he had to thank those demonized beasts. Without this magic tide, how could he get 100 units of Yuanjing? With such a thing as a lord's castle, the things in the shelter cannot be freely obtained by him. It's night, the starry sky is bright. Tang Yu always felt that the air in the post-apocalyptic world was much better than before, and even at night, he could see stars that were rarely seen before. He suddenly thought of his parents from afar, and wondered if the second old man was well at this time. At the beginning of the apocalypse, when the mobile phone was barely able to communicate, Tang Yu called his parents thousands of kilometers away, and learned that the second old man was in a relatively safe location. It is said that the military was planning to build a shelter there. Tang Yu wanted to come now, but he was also a little worried. He didn't know whether the shelter was successfully built or whether everything was fine. Originally, he was just an ordinary survivor who struggled to survive. He could not cross the dangerous field of thousands of kilometers in his life. At most, he could only pray for the safety of the second old man in his heart. It is different now. With the system, Tang Yu feels that there is hope. Maybe not yet, but as long as the territory is developed, as long as his own strength is also improved, he believes that one day in the future, he will be able to cross thousands of kilometers and go to that distant city. This day will not be too far away. Tang Yu was lying in bed. This night, he slept very peacefully, guarding no. One and no. He didn't have to worry that when he woke up, he would hear the screams of crying and screaming, and he didn't have to be nervous all the time. Always ready for a new escape. Seedlings of new books, please recommend and collect. Chapter, 4 The main feature of the game of The Last Lord is that there are many kinds of buildings, some of which are buildings that do not seem to work at all. When the end of the world broke out, he had not built all the buildings in the building list. Tang Yu opened the building list. Buildings include core buildings, resource buildings, military buildings, defense buildings, and special classified buildings. These buildings all require source crystals and corresponding resources, such as wood, stone, and so on. The Lord's Castle that was built at the beginning is still a bargain when I think about it now. At least I don't need to carry a bunch of materials. I really need to do that, and Tang Yu is afraid that it will be cold. At this time, there was only a solitary lord castle in the territorial building, and none of the other buildings had been built. 
Tang Yu first opened the list of core buildings. The core buildings are the most important buildings in the territory. There is no limit to the number of other types of buildings, but the core buildings are different. There is always only one building. There are four core buildings, tavern, market, workshop, and research institute. Taverns can recruit followers. Cost, 200 units of source crystal, 100 units of wood. The market can buy resources, blueprints, and even rare props. Cost, 300 units of source crystal, 100 units of wood. Workshop, can make equipment and props. Cost, 500 units of source crystal, 100 units of stone, and 100 units of iron. The research institute can improve or even develop blueprints. Cost, 100 units of source crystal, 100 units of wood, 100 units of stone, and 100 units of iron. Although the research institute is a core building, the prerequisite for construction must be a second-level territory, that is, the core castle of the territory needs to be upgraded to a level. Of course, Tang Yu has no desire to build when he sees this price. Although the others are slightly cheaper, at this time, he only has a hundred units of Yuan Jing in his hand, and he can't even build the cheapest building. This is not very friendly to him. Tang Yu has a sense of urgency. The shelter was attacked by a magic tide before, which proves that although this place is far away from the abyss, it is not safe. Another magic tide, this time without even a decent line of defense, even if no. One and no. Two are strong, facing the endless stream of demonized beasts, Tang Yu still feels dangerous. The development territory is imminent. At this time, the sky was still hazy, like a veil shrouded in silver light. Suddenly, a fish belly white began to appear in the eastern sky, reflecting half of the sky. The earth, looking around, is full of ruins. Too bad. After going out, Tang Yu didn't even dare to say that he was still a lord. Let's set a small goal first, at least develop the territory to the size of a small town. With enough sleep last night, Tang Yu's energy and physical strength have returned to their peak. He began to lead No. 1 to clean up the nearby demonized beasts. One night, there were several more demonized beasts in the territory, all of them wandering from the nearby area. When he woke up in the morning, Tang Yu also found the body of a demonized beast lying at the entrance of the castle. The demonized beasts in the territory are easy to deal with, no matter how big or small, even if some are good at hiding, there is nothing to hide under the system map, these demonized beasts are quickly solved by no. Tang Yu found a map of the scenic spot. This place was originally a resort. After it was converted into a shelter, the basic layout was still the same. Tang Yu's eyes fell on the edge of the central square in the scenic area. There is a hotel here. Before the end of the world, it was said that it was a very good hotel. Before the end of the world, this hotel had a cold storage. After the shelter was established, it became a food storage center for the shelter. Even if Tang Yu had never walked into this hotel, he knew very well. Many people have said that for the survivors who are also at the bottom, what they want most is to be able to walk in and see if the cold storage has accumulated food like the legend. Tang Yu didn't believe it was piled up like a mountain, but he was convinced that there was food in this hotel. Tang Yu made this hotel the focus of his next search. This was to store more food. Even if there were no survivors competing with him in this shelter, he would leave it alone, in case it was destroyed by demonized beasts. How to do? Tang Yu's heart ached when he remembered that many of the foods he had found before were ruined by demonized beasts. At this time, hotels, underground cold storage. Several survivors who survived the magic tide were full of fear. The person standing at the front, holding the gun in both hands, fired several shots in succession, but his face was bitter. There, a six-legged, crimson, two-meter-high demonized beast was holding a corpse in its mouth, slowly eating. The bullets hit the fur of this red demonized beast, and they all bounced off without hurting the demonized beast at all, and even the crimson demonized beast was gnawing at its mouth. Corpses, they don't care about them. Seeing this scene, Chen Haiping was almost desperate. The survivor behind him was even more trembling with hands and feet, and his face was pale. Just now, a survivor who couldn't bear the pressure and was mad like running away. 
At this time, half of his body was bitten to pieces, and he was held in his mouth by the demonized beast. People were too frightened to move. Chen Haiping is a little better. After all, he is an awakened person, and he has also fought with demonized beasts. He can still think calmly at this moment. However, no matter what he thinks, he can't find any vitality at the moment. The scarlet demonized beast is really terrifying. The lethality of the pistol bullet is not enough, but it was the first time he saw the bullet that was directly bounced like this. The demonized beast didn't move, and Chen Haiping didn't dare to take the lead. Whether it was the speed at which the red red demonized beast bit the survivor just now, or the violence that the demonized beast ripped open the door of the cold storage at first. It made him clear in his heart that the strength of this demonized beast was far greater than his own. I am afraid that even the most powerful awakened in sanctuary might not be the opponent of this demonized beast. He didn't move, just replaced the empty pistol with a military machete. The blade was sharp and air-conditioned. Even if he knew that he was not an opponent, Chen Haiping didn't want to sit still. Even if he died, he wanted to cut off a piece of flesh come. The scarlet red demonized beast spat out the meat in its mouth, and bloodthirsty rays of light appeared in its eyes. Chen Haiping gritted his teeth and raised the blade slightly. Suddenly, boom! There was a violent vibration above his head, and the dust fell. Chen Haiping was shocked, but the next moment he saw that the red red demonized beast turned around, turned into a red light and shadow, and ran towards the outside of the cold storage. Go go! They were puzzled, but they really felt the rest of their lives after the catastrophe. Some survivors fell to the ground with their legs weak. Chapter, 5 Going straight down the path halfway up the mountain, Tang Yu walked very carefully. This place was already out of the monitoring range of the territory. From time to time, magical beasts would suddenly fly out and then be smashed into meat sauce by no. There is an open space in front of the hotel. Before, many sheds were built here, occupying most of the entire square, but now, these sheds have collapsed. No. One killed the demonized beast that was attracted by the sound, and Tang Yu cut open the head of the dead demonized beast behind to check if there was a source crystal inside. In a short time, there were a few more sparkling source spar in his hand. I always feel that there are more Yuanjings who are killing monsters than searching for the residences of those awakened people. Tang Yu couldn't understand, those awakened people are really too poor, and the awakened people in the entire villa area contributed the source crystal of more than 100 units is also a bit miserable. After clearing the surrounding demonized beasts, Tang Yu commanded no. One, followed closely behind, and walked into the hotel. Suddenly, a black shadow on the ceiling hit, and before he could see it clearly, he heard a loud bang, accompanied by a strong vibration. When the raised dust gradually dissipated, what appeared in front of him was the corpse of a demonized beast that was already in the shape of meat sauce. Tang Yu swallowed his saliva. I can't tell if you were intimidated by the demonized beast, or you were frightened by the violence of no. One but, no. One, you are so violent, it doesn't matter if you demolished the whole building. Thinking like this, suddenly, no. One clenched the spear in both hands, and the tip of the spear pointed upwards, pointing faintly into the distance. Tang Yu also became vigilant. This is the appearance of no. One on alert. Entering this state means that no. One is ready to burst into full force. This is a sign of danger approaching. Rao was at the beginning, in the face of the three demonized beasts that were obviously not easy to mess with, no. One obviously had spare power. Looking in the vigilant direction of no. One, soon, a red figure quickly enlarged in the pupil. Inside the cold storage. Survivors were left gasping for breath for the rest of their lives. Have been saved. Great. Let's get out of this place quickly. But will the demonized beast still be outside? Boom. There was another loud bang, this time, the vibration was even stronger, as if the demolition brigade was working on the upstairs. Some survivors stumbled and fell to the ground. This loud noise is just the beginning, the cracking sound, the roaring sound, the resounding non-stop. The survivors were pale and felt the vibration of the earth, 
it seemed that the hotel would collapse directly in the next moment. What happened? What should they do? The survivors didn't understand. Chen Haiping's expression was solemn, and he had some guesses in his heart, but he himself felt unbelievable about this guess. The shaking didn't last long, and it subsided quickly. Several survivors stared with wide eyes. They just said they wanted to leave here, but now they can't say anything, and they are all afraid that the demonized beast will return. At this time, there was movement at the door of the door that had been torn open, and several survivors held their breaths and widened their eyes. In the battlefield. The light and shadow of blue and red are intertwined, and wherever they pass, the walls collapse and the ground cracks. Tang Yu stared nervously at the battlefield, and was about to order from a distance for no. Two to come over to help. Suddenly, he found that the blue light and shadow on the field had the upper hand. Although he could not see the movements of the two sides with his eyesight, however, the scattered light on the field had the upper hand. The blood let him know that the demonized beast was injured. As a high-level puppet who specializes in fighting, no. One has a very high fighting instinct. Seizing the opportunity, the tip of the spear spun violently, and the surrounding air seemed to freeze in an instant. The wind was rolled up, and the smoke filled the air, like a small tornado. The next moment, the wind stopped. No. One retracted the spear, the scarlet-red demonized beast was already lying on the ground, a hole appeared in the forehead, and bright red blood was gurgling out. It is finally over. Tang Yu was relieved when he looked at the hotel that was full of wreckage and had been punched through several holes. This scarlet demonized beast can be said to be the most powerful demonized beast he has ever encountered. Fortunately, the number one is powerful. Tang Yu could also see that the power and speed of this demonized beast was not much worse than that of No. Fortunately, No. One was a puppet, and its defense and endurance were all at the level of the sky. Obviously, these two points were comprehensive. It crushed this red red demonized beast. Going down the aisle, Tang Yu came to the underground cold storage, where the original shelter used to store food. At this time, the door of the cold storage has been destroyed, and a lot of debris piled up behind the door, like garbage, has been destroyed in tatters. In the darkness, Tang Yu heard heavy breathing. It's a living being, a survivor. Tang Yu was also stunned for a moment. It's a human, not a demonized beast. The survivors found out who was coming and could not help but breathe a sigh of relief. Chen Haiping observed more carefully. One of them was a very clean young man in casual clothes, and the other recognized that he was wrapped in armor and couldn't see his face clearly. He saw a lot of blood stains on the armor. He had a guess in his heart. There was such a big movement just now, and he was afraid that someone was fighting with the demonized beast. When he saw these two people, his first reaction was that someone had solved the terrifying demonized beast, despite this speculation it is very exaggerated. In his opinion, such a terrifying demonized beast can only be solved by heavy weapons, but at present, according to the situation, this is the most likely situation. However, seeing the two of them, Chen Haiping was shaken by his guess. Whether it was the young man in clean clothes or the soldier with blood stains on his armor, he could not feel any aura of the awakened from the two of them. Neither the awakened nor relying on heavy weapons, no matter what he thinks, it is impossible for these two to be the opponents of the terrifying demonized beast. Is it because the demonized beast just left and didn't hit it? He asked the doubts in his heart. Hearing this, Tang Yu frowned, the terrifying demonized beast. You mean the one outside? Of course it's dead. Died? The other ordinary survivors gasped, followed by uncontrollable joy. Chen Haiping ran out of the cold storage and came to the basement floor. He was cautious at first, but when he got to the lobby on the first floor, he saw the scarlet-red demonized beast, covered in wounds, and had lost signs of life. His eyes widened, not knowing what to say. Then think of the mysterious warrior in armor. The man is carrying a long spear on his back. The tip of the spear is stained with blood, doesn't it match the fatal wound on the forehead of this demonized beast? Did they really kill them? Looking at the mess, the floor of the hall was cracked every inch, and the walls collapsed. 
If the load-bearing columns in the hotel were not still there, he would really worry that the entire hotel would collapse in the next moment. No wonder the vibration was so violent just now. Just looking at the scene, Chen Haiping knew that the strength of the scarlet demonized beast was far beyond his expectations, but the two people who could kill the scarlet demonized beast, the strength, wouldn't it be more terrifying? He no longer thinks that Tang Yu and the two are just ordinary people, how can ordinary people have such strength? Chen Haiping is clear that the strength of the awakened person is also divided into three, six, and nine. To be more precise, the awakened person absorbs and refines the soul power, reaches a certain critical value, and after breaking through, there will be a large improvement in physical fitness. Like him, among the awakeners of the original sanctuary, he was already ranked in the middle, but he was still only an awakener of the first level of awakening. This means that although his strength is slightly stronger than that of ordinary awakened people, he still has not reached that critical point. But he knew that in the original shelter, the most powerful one had broken through the double critical value and reached the third level of awakening. There is only one awakened person who has reached the third level of awakening in the entire sanctuary. That person has long been killed in the magic tide, but Chen Haiping has seen that the destructive power caused by that person's shot is not so powerful. So, those two are actually more powerful awakeners. Chen Haiping was frightened by his own guesses, and only this possibility could explain it. Similarly, because the strength gap between him and the two was so great that he could not feel the aura of the awakened from the two masters at all. Mistake them for ordinary people. Even if it wasn't for the super strong, how could the young man's clothes be so clean, and only the super strong can come and go in the wilderness without getting dusty? It must be like this. Chapter, 6 When they came out, they were one person and one puppet. When they went back, they were followed by a few survivors. These people are carrying food in hemp bags. This is the food found in the cold storage and other places in the hotel. As a shelter with thousands of survivors, this amount of food can be said to be very small. Now, Tang Yu also knows that most of the food has been destroyed in the magic tide. Tang Yu naturally accepted these grains. Originally, he thought that the survivors would be jealous of this batch of grains. After all, they discovered the grains in the cold storage first, but in fact, he thought too much. There is no owner of these grains. It's like everyone going to the wild to pick fruit. Although there is indeed a saying that comes first and then arrives, not to mention that if Tang Yu didn't come, the bodies of these survivors would have been cold long ago, even if he really robbed them, I'm afraid no one dares to say anything. Now is not the time when the apocalypse just broke out. There are still people who think that they can restrain the strong with secular rules and morals. If they are so naive, they are afraid that they will not be able to live now. Those who can restrain the strong are either stronger people, or the bottom line of the strong. Even so. Tang Yu still gave these survivors some food as a reward for carrying the food, and immediately the survivors were even more motivated. He couldn't help but feel that this is the benefit of being called by someone. The strength of no. One is strong, but it does not play a big role in handling. After all, the food is not packed and placed in boxes, but scattered in pieces. No matter how strong the strength of no. One is, it cannot take much at one time. These survivors worked together and used some tools, and the efficiency went up all of a sudden. Talking while walking, Tang Yu quickly got to know these people. The identities of these people are actually similar to him. They are all survivors who survived after the sanctuary was destroyed by the magic tide. The leader among them is a middle-aged man named Chen Haiping. Swipe from the side to hear the news of the sanctuary's destruction. For him, he only knew that the sanctuary was destroyed by the magic tide, but Tang Yu knew nothing about the process, and Chen Haiping was an awakened person, and he must know more. For the future development of the territory, Tang Yu knew nothing about it. You felt that he still needed to find out. Chen Haiping didn't think so much. In his heart, Tang Yu and Tang Yu were great masters from other places, and he saved them, so naturally he knew everything. He just smiled bitterly, there used to be a sanctuary here, but it was breached by the magic tide two days ago. The survivors are almost extinct, and there are probably not many who survived except for the few of us. Magic Tide 
It's really scary, but a huge shelter, even if it can't resist the magic tide, is it always possible to retreat? Chen Haiping's face looked even more bitter, retreat? Do you know how long the entire shelter's defense line lasted in the face of the magic tide? Three minutes. He stretched out three fingers, it's only three minutes. Not to mention retreat, even some survivors have been killed by sudden demonized beasts without knowing what happened. Tang Yu was shocked. This is not pretending. I originally thought that the sanctuary was destroyed after a tragic battle, but now it seems that this is not the case at all. I originally served as a team leader in the shelter. When the magic tide happened, I was staying in the residence to rest. When I heard the warning, I immediately rushed to the defense line, but before I arrived there, it was already there. I saw demonized beasts pouring into the shelter. Chen Haiping recalled and continued, the defense strength of the shelter is actually not bad. Even though it was originally a small shelter, our most powerful awakener also has the third level of awakening, and that one was lucky enough to awaken special abilities. So that its strength can be regarded as a master in large shelters, and it is even more famous in our and even the surrounding small shelters. In addition to the machine guns, explosive packs and other weapons erected on the defense line, even if our defense line can't resist the magic tide, it will never be penetrated all at once. Chen Haiping sighed, his face rarely showing anger with a look, the reason for this is because the original director of the shelter, Wang Tai, has bad knowledge, so he left the shelter and ran away. Not only that, Wang Tai's escape has taken away his loyal subordinates on the defense line, and also sent a lot of guns and ammunition along the defense line. These guns and ammunition were originally used by the Lindong military to support us. It was a small shelter, but most of the weapons and equipment that were put in were taken away by the surnamed Wang at once. So when the demonized beasts attacked, the entire defense line was full of loopholes, and the demonized beasts broke through all of a sudden. Even the strongest awakened died under the sneak attack of the demonized beast. I was lucky and escaped the disaster, but in the entire shelter, except for Wang Tai and the others, I am afraid that there are only people left. The few of us survived by luck. Selfishness may be human nature, and it is even more prominent in the last days. During the time before he came to the shelter, Tang Yu was with a survivor team of hundreds of people, but when the entire team arrived at the shelter, there were hundreds of people when they set off, but there were fewer than 100 survivors. Succeeded alive to reach the shelter. Many of them died in the mouths of demonized beasts, but many more died directly or indirectly in the hands of humans themselves. He is also not qualified to say anything. In the face of these things, he often sits on the sidelines with a cold eye, and this is the reason why he can live until now. He is also not qualified to accuse Wang Tai. Perhaps facing a sanctuary that is about to collapse, Wang Tai's choice cannot be said to be wrong. However, for those who have been abandoned, resentment is inevitable. As a member of the castaway group, Tang Yu was a little angry, but not as angry as he imagined. Maybe it's because he survived successfully and activated the system, or maybe only the weak need anger, and he wants to control his own destiny. When Chen Haiping said it in one breath, he felt that the stuffiness in his chest was much smoother, and he no longer thought about the past. If he survived, he should think about it now. After moving the food for one trip, together with Tang Yu, they made several consecutive trips to quickly move all the food in the hotel to the villa area. However, after so many trips, Chen Haiping felt that something was wrong. Originally, he thought that Tang Yu and the two were strong men from a large shelter. They were just passing by here, and they might leave soon, but gradually from chatting, they found that the two of them had absolutely no intention of leaving here. This cleanly dressed young man, is planning to build a shelter here. Build a shelter. At first, he thought the other party was just joking. However, after the food was transported, the other party hired them to carry some discarded stones and wood. Although Chen Haiping didn't see what they were doing, he could feel that these two masters seemed to, are you serious? He just said that there was a sanctuary here that was destroyed by the magic tide, but his feelings are all in vain. Chapter 7 The night was silent. In a relatively intact villa, by the firelight, several survivors sat together. 
You said, those two really want to build a shelter here. Don't be kidding, the shelter is so easy to build, not to mention that there are only two of them, so what if they are strong? It is not enough to build a shelter. Don't worry about those two people, let's think about ourselves, what should we do, it's not safe here anymore, why don't we go to Lindong shelter? It's a large shelter, and the army is stationed, just go to the there, you will no longer have to worry about demonized beast attacks. Some have suggested it, but others have not liked it. Lindong shelter is indeed a good place, but how do we get there? It's 60 kilometers away from here, or a straight line distance. If I could easily reach Lindong shelter, I wouldn't choose to stay in this small shelter. That's it. As soon as these words came out, everyone else looked depressed. Originally hiding in the underground cold storage, I thought it was safe, but I was almost killed by a demonized beast, if it wasn't for those two masters passing by. Someone suddenly said, if those two masters also go to Lindong Sanctuary, then we can follow. Hmph, they're thinking about building shelters, so why don't they go to Lindong? Even if they go, they may not bring us with them. I think it's better to think of a way to go to those small shelters that are closer. Why can't we stay here? The two masters clearly said that as long as we stay in this villa area, our safety can be guaranteed. However, few people believed it. In their hearts, there were only two people on Tang Yu's side, and they were nowhere to be seen. Not to mention that they were in danger, whether those two masters would rescue them, and even if they did, there might not be enough time. Why they are not optimistic about the two people building a shelter is because there are too few people, no matter how powerful they are, it is impossible to take into account all aspects. In their hearts, they also understand that there is no reason to ask others to protect themselves because they are not relatives. But they understand intellectually and emotionally, everyone hopes that someone can get down on them when danger comes. It's just human instinct to survive. In the end, it was Chen Haiping who ended the topic, rather than thinking about this, it's better to practice more marksmanship and swordsmanship. Even if you can't wake up, you can give yourself more chances to survive. The candles on the table flickered gently. Chen Haiping wiped his weapon and was about to say something else when his expression suddenly changed. Be careful. Chen Haiping immediately held the hilt of the machete, his eyes dignified, and looked out of the floor-to-ceiling window of the villa. Two o'clock faint green light, incomparably infiltrating in the dark night. It's a demonized beast. Someone panicked. Didn't they say that the demonized beasts in this area have been cleaned up? Some people were puzzled. I knew that there were only a few of them. How could they be able to guard against demonized beasts? Demonized beasts wandered around. Without a solid city wall and a complete line of defense, there would be no safe place to rest. Chen Haiping didn't speak, he just waved his hand to let the others back. He knew that this thin floor-to-ceiling window could not stop the demonized beast. Suddenly boom! The whole villa shook violently, and the candles clacked and fell to the ground. Some people didn't know what to do, and some people screamed in horror. Only Chen Haiping, who had been staring at the demonized beast, could barely see that a figure descended from the sky and stepped on the demonized beast to the ground. Chen Haiping finally saw clearly that it was the mysterious expert in armor that afternoon, and he stepped on the demonized beast to death. The others also took a deep breath. They didn't see the process, but the result such an infiltrating demonized beast, like a bug, was trampled to death. A few people looked complicated. Just now, they didn't trust Tang Yu, and they spoke ill of others behind their backs, believing that the other party was just using them as labor and didn't care about their lives, but now, as soon as the demonized beast appeared, it was trampled to death by the armor master. They couldn't see the armor master's face, but the back was firmly reflected in their pupils and indelible. Puppet No. 2, who was responsible for guarding the territory, did not leave instead, he pulled out the spear behind his back and stabbed the grass not far away. Guns like thunder. Extraordinarily fast. Before the people in the villa could react, they saw the top of the spear, like a skewer of barbecued meat, strung with a small demonized beast. There are even magical beasts hidden in it. Many survivors have lingering fears. 
They don't know what kind of demonized beast this is, but they just feel that this world is too dangerous. But Chen Haiping glanced at it and couldn't move his eyes away. It's a stinger. Known as the assassin in the dark. The reason why Chen Haiping understood was because the awakened who was the strongest in the sanctuary at the time died under the sneak attack of the thorn bug. If it weren't for the fact that when the capable person was dying, the ability and the thorn worm also broke out, and the thorn worm alone would have made their defense line in pieces. But such a stinging worm has no resistance, like a skewer of kebab on a spear. Chen Haiping was short of breath and his eyes were rounded. The shock of this day was probably not more than a month later. No. Two dragged the stinger and disappeared into the night, leaving only the survivors, with their eyes wide open and speechless for a long time. After a few minutes, these people recovered from the shock. We survived. Yeah. Someone looked at the direction where no. Two disappeared with a guilty expression, maybe we shouldn't doubt them, remember what they said, as long as we stay here and work for them, we can guarantee our safety. Safe, and giving us plenty of food, I'm thinking, maybe we can stay here. Yeah, it's the same wherever you go in the end of the world. If you stay here, you can at least have enough to eat. In the territory map, the two red dots slowly dissipated. On the side, several yellow light dots representing neutrality flickered several times, and finally turned into green light dots representing one's own side. The green dot does not mean that those people have unreservedly trusted him, and the trust among the survivors of the apocalypse has not come so easily, but this change has already represented a certain degree of recognition. That's enough. Tang Yu came to the open space at the back of the castle. There were piles of waste wood piled at his feet. After the survivors finished carrying the food, they were transported to the villa area in the afternoon, and then they were transported through No. 1 and No. Finally it's time to build the first territorial building. The Lord Castle is not a real territorial building, but a territorial core linked to the territorial level. It was already the second day after getting the system, and there were enough resources to build the first building. Tang Yu felt that it was too slow. Thanks to meeting these survivors, otherwise, would sacrifice the time of No. 1 and No. 2 to hunt and kill demonized beasts to do the transportation work. God knows how long the progress will be delayed. Open the building panel and select the tavern. Establish. Ding dong. To build a tavern, consume 200 units of source crystal and 100 units of wood. In front of him, as if being pulled by an invisible force, the wood on the ground flew out of thin air, setting up a tavern skeleton. Afterwards, the source crystal in the pocket disappeared into a light spot and merged into the skeleton, just like the city lord hall had just been built. The skeleton of the tavern in front of him changed drastically, and an ancient tavern appeared in front of Tang Yu. Tang Yu couldn't wait to walk into the tavern. The tavern is not big, with only one floor and an area of only 50 or 60 square meters. There are several tables, chairs, and a counter in the tavern. Tang Yu even saw that the shelves behind the counter were full of drinks. Just like a real, ordinary tavern, it's not as gorgeous as the Lord's Castle, but this is just an appearance, the real function of the tavern is to recruit adventurers. This is what Tang Yu needs most right now. As long as he pays a certain price, he can sign a contract with the adventurer and gain allegiance. Whether it is to develop a territory or to complete other more ideas, there must be sufficient manpower before it can be launched. Among them, trustworthy people are especially important. Chapter, 8 After the tavern is built, there is a glowing exclamation mark on the icon of the built tavern, which shows the function introduction of the tavern. He has built a tavern in the game, but now it is a reality after all. Tang Yu was also worried that the rules would be different. He was worried about not knowing the difference, and just happened to find this function introduction. Without hesitation, Tang Yu clicked on the function introduction. In the tavern, the Lord has the power to summon adventurers for free once a day. After the free permission is used, if you want to summon adventurers again, you must spend 500 units of source crystals. The aptitude of summoned adventurers is divided into D, C, B, A, and above. The higher the aptitude, the higher the growth attribute of the adventurer, but on the contrary. 
The adventurer with higher aptitude can summon the the lower the probability, the higher the probability of summoning high-quality adventurers by upgrading the tavern. Adventurers have five basic occupations, namely warriors, mages, clerics, assassins, musketeers, and summoned adventurers. The strength is not fixed. A first-level tavern can summon up to five levels of awakening, and those who lay the foundation for the peak adventurer, upgrade the tavern to increase the upper limit of the strength of summoned adventurers. After summoning an adventurer, the lord can choose whether to recruit or not according to his needs. Choosing to recruit will sign a contract with the adventurer. The first level tavern has only three follower contract columns. Upgrade the tavern to increase the number of followers who sign the contract. For the first time the lord is summoned, he must summon an adventurer with rank B or higher. The rules were not much different from those in the game, so Tang Yu was relieved. Why did he choose the tavern for the first building, isn't it because the tavern is the most helpful to him at present? In particular, the benefits of the first recruiting will definitely summon adventurers with rank B or higher, which makes me excited to think about it. Tang Yu is familiar with the urination of card games. If he is above B rank, there will never be a rank and S rank, but a B rank qualified adventurer is already a great help to him. B level aptitude may sound ordinary, but considering that he had never seen an A-level aptitude adventurer in the game for nearly a month, one could see how rare this probability was. In particular, the game system has become a reality. Tang Yu guessed that this qualification classification may be the same as the qualification classification of modern humans. But the means of qualification detection in reality are still relatively backward, and can only barely measure a person's qualifications. Roughly speaking, it is impossible to give a clear qualification classification. He was originally an E-rank without awakening aptitude, and most of the awakened people were D-rank. Perhaps only the favored people who awakened in the early days of the end of the world could have B-rank or higher aptitude. Moreover, adventurers have occupations, and if they have occupations, they have skills, and they have a complete occupational system which completely crushes those awakened people who don't understand anything in reality and can only rely on flat cuts. Tang Yu shook off his complicated thoughts and focused on the next summoning ceremony. Bring it on! Tang Yu took a deep breath, turned on the system, and selected summon. In the center of the tavern, a huge circular magic circle appeared, with dense runes carved on it. The runes are like pointers, constantly rotating and combining, and the circle emits a brilliant light, which is like a circle of light, which is slowly shrinking. Coming. The adventurer profession and the strength of the adventurer to be summoned are unknown. Tang Yu held his breath. The aperture was narrowed to its minimum, and a purple light burst out. Purple. Purple light. Tang Yu's heart suddenly beat twice unsatisfactorily, and he couldn't help counting silently in his heart. The white light represents D level qualifications. The green light represents C-level qualifications. Blue light stands for Class B. That purple light. This is definitely O. The purple light turned into a human phantom. The adventurer was wearing a tattered cloak and could not see clearly. Tang Yu carefully observed it for a while before realizing that this should be a female adventurer. Ding dong. Adventurer Elaine, Qualification A, Occupation, Mage, is the Lord sure to sign a follower contract master, with him? It goes without saying. Sure. In a dilapidated wooden house, a man in a cloak was sitting on an equally dilapidated wooden bed, holding a torn book in his hands, reading intently. The family has four walls, this is Elaine's home. Such days have passed for several years. From the beginning, Elaine has become very accustomed to such days. For her, no matter how good the living environment is, it is not as important as the book in her hand. This is the basis of a spell. It was discovered by Elaine from under her bed. Apart from the relics of her parents, this was the only thing in the house. Woo! The sharp alarm sounded throughout the city, and Ilian was startled, her face showing sadness. It was the sound of the siren when the Kuroshio struck. She was all too familiar with it, as if it was branded in her soul. Three years ago, the same alarm sounded, the Kuroshio hit, and the parents, who were working outside the city, never returned. That year, she became an orphan, 
and her originally happy home became more and more dilapidated from that moment on. Under the grief, Elaine awakened, she realized the power of the elements, and was surprised to find that she could use the ice ability. This is the power that only mages have the mages are powerful and noble, and their status is much higher than that of ordinary warriors. But being able to use the ice ability proficiently is only a prerequisite for becoming a mage, but Elaine has no way to learn magic. In this city, all she knows is that only the city lord has books about spells. How precious are these books, Ilyen knows that she can't get them, unless she is loyal to the city lord. However, the city lord is a very extreme aristocrat, and he has always believed that only the noble bloodline of aristocrats can master the power of magic. Elaine shook her head, she could only survive in the slums alone. There is no stable source of income, she is alone, and she is still young. In a slum area where people eat people, Elaine lives very hard. Fortunately, she has awakened, and her physical perception and other abilities are higher than ordinary people. Places like slums gradually survived. Until one time, a broken magic book was found from the cracked bottom of the bed at home. The content of the magic book is intermittent, and Elaine does not have any foundation for spells, but with this, her understanding of spells is still advancing by leaps and bounds, and she has comprehended one spell after another. Who? Elaine exhaled and walked out of the cabin. She put on a hood, and a large cloak covered her entire body tightly. She lived in a slum for several years, and this has become a habit of Elaine. Here, there are many things, a girl who lives alone, the best way, just hide yourself. The slum area is located at the outermost periphery of the city. Looking around, it is a mess of private houses. In the distance is the towering city wall. Elaine can see many soldiers running nervously to the designated location. Outside the city walls is a grey sky, and the world has been a color of this since I can remember. Elaine hid the most important book on her body, so there was nothing of value at home. After thinking about it, she decided to check the situation first. At this time, because of the alarm, the surroundings were messy, and many people ran around aimlessly. Suddenly. Boom. A dazzling fire broke out in the distance, and bursts of smoke rose into the air. With the sound of rumbling, the towering city wall collapsed. Elaine's eyes were horrified. In her impression, this city wall has always been indestructible. Even in the tragic city defense battle three years ago, there was no such thing as the city wall collapsing. The wall collapsed. Chapter, 9. Don't want. Help. The characteristic of slums is that there are many people and narrow streets. As soon as the city wall was broken, everyone scurried around like headless flies, and dense monsters poured in from the gaps in the city wall, and the black pressure was like a tide. The outer city is no longer safe, and some smart people plan to flee to the inner city. At this time, only the inner city wall is still intact, and there are senior professionals guarding it. The inner city is indeed much safer. However, Elaine has no plans to go to the inner city. Normally, only nobles and big businessmen can enter the inner city. Now, in this emergency situation, it is even more impossible for the poor to enter. The best way is to find a place to stick to. Elaine was very familiar with the slum area, and quickly found a place suitable for holding on. It was backed by the city wall, the surrounding houses were relatively solid, and there was a distance from the breach. It was the best place to find in a short time. The group of monsters catches the eye. Elaine often heard about it from her parents when she was a child, but this was the first time she saw these monsters. They have different appearances, and the only characteristic is that they are ferocious, ugly, and exudes a panic-stricken atmosphere. It is said that this is a dark creature sent by the evil god to invade the world. A group of spiders flew over, they were baby-sized, purple-black all over, with corrosive liquid flowing from their mouths and hissing. This is the lowest level of magic spider, but it is still terrifying. Its venom is not strong and corrosive, and many warriors will be severely injured if they are not careful. Elaine flashed some information about common dark creatures in her mind, and then stretched out her hands to condense the surrounding ice elements, the first real shot since she woke up. The surrounding temperature dropped instantly, and ice ridges condensed in her palm. 
Boom. Bang. The ice pierced through the magic spider, then shattered, and the ice flakes flew, freezing the magic spiders to the ground. To deal with such weak but numerous dark creatures, a mage like her has an advantage. However, the number of magic spiders is too large, and there is an endless stream, and human screams can be heard from time to time. One minute. Two minutes. Five minutes. With its back against the city wall, this place is relatively safe and has not encountered those terrifying monsters in the Kuroshio. However, just dealing with these magic spiders, Elaine's face is already pale, her magic power is almost exhausted, but the situation has not improved in the slightest. She also saw the soldiers on the city wall, almost all dead. Tragic. Three years ago, she only knew that the Kuroshio was terrible, until now, she has deeply realized this feeling of powerlessness. In the distance, the inner city is in constant fire, while the outer city has long been silent. Elaine didn't know how many survivors there were in the outer city, but she knew that she could no longer release any spells, and she was already the same as the deceased dead. Are you unwilling? If she hadn't awakened three years ago, she might have died long ago, but... The magic spider rushed towards her, and the venom would corrode her cloak, dripping on every inch of her skin, and the severe pain hit her nerves. Elaine became calmer instead. Ding! There was a ripple in her calm eyes. Become a follower of the Lord? Yes no. A golden sheepskin scroll appeared in front of her, as if to dispel the boundless darkness. Time and space transformation. There was a flower in front of Elaine's eyes, the overwhelming black tide disappeared, and the sound of fighting and screams disappeared. What appeared in front of her was a tavern. She was surprised to find that she didn't feel any pain. Although her robe was still torn, her skin was intact, and all her injuries were healed. She even found that her body was full of magic power, and she recovered in an instant. Best condition. Am I dreaming? Elaine pinched herself lightly, so that she quickly understood that all this was real, that this was neither heaven nor hell, just as the contract said, this was another world. She is here, and as a follower, everything will start all over again. The orange light exudes a soft glow, and the surroundings are silent. Elaine raised her head, and her gaze finally settled not far away a young man with a warm smile on his face. She was startled, then stepped forward and knelt down on one knee. The illusory figures on the rune array turned into reality, the girl was dressed in tatters, the originally white cloak had turned into a flying strip of cloth, and her body was dyed with colorful blood. Tang Yu saw that the girl seemed to be still in a trance. He was about to step forward, but his raised foot suddenly stopped in midair. As a lord, facing the first follower, still a girl, at this time, what should I say? Tang Yu was a little distressed that he didn't prepare the script in advance, and he couldn't ask Dun Yang, or comrades, how hard are you working? This doesn't seem to work. Out of the corner of his eye, he suddenly saw the wine on the wine cabinet, Tang Yu's eyes lit up, he stepped forward and took a bottle and handed it over. Want a bottle? At this moment, Elaine stepped forward and knelt down on one knee. The atmosphere was very embarrassing. After a few minutes, Elaine followed behind the Lord, still feeling like a dream. She escaped from death first, and then was summoned to this world. She had the information instilled by the power of the contract in her mind, and she did not feel uncomfortable. The language, common sense, etc. of this world seemed to be instincts in her daily life. It was because of this that she was surprised, and now, under the leadership of the Lord, she came to the castle. As a child who grew up in a slum since she was a child, Elaine had never seen this before. This castle was splendid, but she was dirty all over. When she walked into it, she seemed to be sullying this beautiful picture. She did not dare to enter, but was pulled in by the Lord, leaving dark footprints on the floor along the way, until she came to a large and bright house. This is the bathroom the clothes are on the shelf over there, maybe they don't fit well, you should put them on first if there is food, I'll prepare some, and you'll be almost ready when you come out. The door closed with a click, but the words of Lord Lord echoed in Elaine's mind, and what she saw in her eyes was such a beautiful room. Her expression was still in a trance. Thinking back on her whole body, since her parents died, 
her life has been completely plunged into darkness. She was bullied, rejected, and surrounded by people with bad intentions, but today, she felt warmth again. Elaine blinked, tears welling up in her eyes. She took off her clothes and walked into the warm bath, with the water flowing over her knees, and the warm smile of the Lord appeared in her mind. Gradually, Elaine sat down, and the water soaked her shoulders to wash away the filth. She closed her eyes, and she had a new belief in her heart. Tang Yu hummed a little tune and was busy in the kitchen. He doesn't know how to cook. He can only cook some noodles at most. Fortunately, the various household appliances in the castle are very advanced. After a few fiddling around, Tang Yu still made something. Going back to the bathroom door on the second floor, looking at the closed bathroom door, and listening to the sound of water splashing from inside, Tang Yu felt a little worried for a while. Although Elaine's cloak was shattered, the whole person seemed to be stuck in the mud. The whole person was miserable. He didn't actually see what Elaine looked like, but just listened to her voice, which was clear and sweet. I thought that Elaine would need to spend a lot of time in the bathroom, but soon, along with the sound, the bathroom door opened, and the dense mist spread out. Tang Yu suddenly had expectations. A white foot appeared in the line of sight, as if it was the most exquisite ivory, following the angle of view. Tang Yu swallowed a mouthful of saliva unconsciously. At this time, Elaine is like an elf walking out of a picture scroll. She has long sky blue hair that almost hangs down to her waist. The ends of her hair are still stained with water droplets that have not been completely dried. Her little face is flushed. The skin is white and smooth, like bright ice crystals. A large men's coat was worn on Elaine, covering her weak body. However, a pair of white thighs, almost exposed to the air, seemed to be writhing uneasy. For a while, Tang Yu's blood surged, and he only felt that he had to supplement nutrition again. Chapter 10 The next day, the weather was fine. Tang Yu stretched his waist and walked out of the castle. There was one more resident here last night, and he always felt that the whole castle was a lot more angry. After breakfast, Tang Yu and Elaine came to the small garden in front of the castle. At this time, Elaine was wearing a long beige skirt, and the skirt fluttered slightly in the wind, with a bit of a girly youthful atmosphere. The clothes were searched by Tang Yu overnight. After all, he is not a big boss in women's clothing. Naturally, there are no regular girls' clothes in the castle. After taking a shower, Elaine could only find a coat on the shelf and put it on, so that last night's clothes that picture lingered in Tang Yu's mind. Although the result of the summoning was somewhat unexpected, Tang Yu did not forget why he summoned Elaine to come here. This is his first follower and will be his most beneficial helper. Mage with A-level qualifications. Did you rest well last night? Elaine hummed softly. Such a life, before her, was unimaginable, and now she has made all the preparations. Soon, Elaine showed her strength at the Lord's request. From that broken magic book, she has comprehended two spells in total. An ice edge, an ice storm. As she raised her hand, the ice ridges condensed and shot out, piercing the trunk of a tree in the distance, an icy blue frost spread from the breach, and soon the whole tree was frozen into ice crystal color. Tang Yu observed. Elaine's strength is about at the peak of the second level of awakening, which is already rare. From the contract, Tang Yu also learned the brief information of Elaine, and knew that this little girl had a difficult life. Although she woke up three years ago, Elaine had never received systematic spell teaching. Come on, in the world she lives in, there is no such thing as fighting monsters and upgrading. All her strength is obtained by meditation. Tang Yu didn't know the hardships involved, but he also knew that it was not easy. This strength is naturally not as good as the first and second, but the mage has the advantage of the mage, and the first and second are just puppets. No matter how high their intelligence is, they can only be used as weapons, but Elaine is a living person, with a grade qualification, the future potential is unlimited. Tang Yu also had some conjectures, perhaps because of Elaine's high qualifications and a high affinity for the ice element. Her skin did not become rough and dark yellow because of the difficult life in the past, but instead changed due to the continuous improvement of the elements. It becomes smoother and clearer like crystal. On the other side, early in the morning, 
Chen Haiping and others had already woken up, ready to start cooking porridge. In the apocalypse, getting up early is also a luxury for ordinary survivors. Ordinary survivors can't get enough to eat every day, and there is no so-called breakfast. Instead of getting up and starving, they don't sleep much. Anyway, they won't feel it in their sleep. Hungry. But today, they all got up early, and they were very greedy. It was true that Tang Yu gave a lot of food yesterday, and the variety was rich. They could eat porridge with some bacon and pickles. They were very happy. Even though they hid in the cold storage where food was stored before, what was stored in those places was just ordinary rice, not to mention that they hid in a hurry, without any tools, it was very rare not to starve to death. And today a bowl of rice porridge went into the stomach, and a survivor patted his belly with a satisfied face, it's just ordinary rice porridge, why is it so satisfying to eat? Because you are fat. The companion scorned, fat people are easily satisfied. Fart. Who nearly put his face into the bowl just now. A group of people were noisy, but they didn't look angry at all. With energy, they have the mind to joke, even as an awakened Chen Haiping, although he was able to eat enough in the past, but because he is not the confidant of director Wang Tai, his daily food is still not as good as it is now. With the comparison, they feel that the current life is precious. Chen Haiping took the survivors to the front of Villa No. 3, and further ahead was the restricted area. Tang Yu warned them yesterday that the innermost area of the villa area was prohibited from entering, so they naturally wouldn't be curious to explore. Curiosity kills people who belong to the truth in the last days. Why hasn't Mr. Tang come yet? What's your name, Mr. Tang, you want to be Director Tang, we will also work under Director Tang in the future, we have to behave better, with Mr. Tang's generosity. We will definitely not treat us badly, if Director Tang really will protect us given that we are established, then we are still the first group of elders. Tang Yu had already talked to them about work yesterday. It was nothing more than carrying all kinds of materials. Although it was physical work, there was no danger. There is no better job than this in the last days. The remuneration was probably mentioned yesterday. In addition to the food, it also provides some necessary daily necessities. Generally speaking, it is very generous. They were hesitant before, but now they have made up their minds to work hard under Tang Yu, and their senses will be different immediately. Although they still felt that there was little hope of building a shelter, no one said that Tang Yu was beyond his own power. They couldn't do without it anyway. On the contrary, if the shelter can really be built, with Tang Yu's generosity, their future will be greatly improved. The quality of life will definitely get better. No matter what, they expect to start work quickly. Director Tang is here. Someone suddenly shouted. They saw Tang Yu coming from a distance, dressed in sportswear, with a short knife on his waist, and the number one behind him was the same as yesterday. Suddenly they were stunned and saw Elaine who was following Tang Yu step by step. At this time, in addition to wearing a long beige dress, Elaine also put on a loose hooded coat. For Elaine, the heat does not exist. On the contrary, the year-round life in the slums has made her used to it. To hide herself, even if this coat does not actually cover her whole person. Several survivors were almost stunned, and then quickly lowered their heads. They may have regarded the soft and weak Elaine as a vase, but only Chen Haiping felt a mysterious breath from Elaine. These breaths are similar to the awakened ones, but they are a little different. Chen Haiping shook his head, stopped exploring, and immediately stepped forward to discuss today's arrangements with Tang Yu. Puff puff. Suddenly, Chen Haiping heard a strange sound, he looked startled, looked up at the direction from which the sound came. Under the blue sky, a cloud of dark clouds was constantly approaching. He focused on it and found that it was not a dark cloud, but a terrifying scene caused by the gathering of countless flying demonic beasts. It's a magic sparrow. Chen Haiping blurted out. This kind of creature is made of sparrows that are native to the earth and is demonized by the influence of the red mist. It belongs to the lowest end among demonized beasts, and its strength is even weaker than that of demonized steel rats. However, he became more and more nervous. This kind of demonized sparrow, except for the weak individual strength, often reported to the group to act, and the number was very large. 
Chen Haiping saw at a glance that there were at least dozens or hundreds of them in this dark area. More important it is this demonic beast that can fly. Chen Haiping was worried about this. Although the armor master was very strong, he couldn't fly, and he didn't have a large-scale killing method. In the face of this group of demonized sparrows, his strength couldn't show much. This is very dangerous. In the blink of an eye, the group of demonized sparrows flew over the villa area, and they had already found them, swooping down like a black cloud falling from the sky. At this time, unless you escape to a solid room, it is possible to escape the catastrophe, but the flying demonic beast is extremely fast, and it is too late to escape. Is there really no way? Chen Haiping killed two demonized sparrows with a pistol, but the cloud group could not see the wear and tear, and his heart sank more and more. Tang Yu discovered this situation, but his eyes lit up. The work content of the transport team has been arranged, and with Elian as the main member, the development speed of the territory will undoubtedly be much faster. However, the key to whether the second system building can be built today still lies in the source crystal. At this time, the enchanted sparrows delivered to the door are very cute. He will definitely remember the great contributions these enchanted sparrows have made to the territory. Behind her, Elaine has stretched out her white palm, and the white mist has condensed into frost. Chapter 11 in an instant, it seemed that the sky suddenly changed color. The moment before, it was still dark clouds, but at this time, it seemed to be dyed with a layer of blue ice crystals. No, not dye. Chen Haiping only felt a chilling air blowing towards his face, visible to the naked eye, a blue light erupted in the middle of the lacquer-like flock of birds, and then quickly spread out. In just an instant, there were nearly ten demonized sparrows. It was frozen into an ice sculpture, and the rest were also affected by the cold, and were crumbling. Not far away, Elian's pretty face was serious, her hands were raised high, and an ice blue, arm thick ice crystal arrow condensed inch by inch, and then flew out violently, creating layers of ripples in the air. The ice sparrows shot into the sparrows, burst open, the ice flakes splashed, and the cold air spurted out. It's a frozen ability. Chen Haiping did not expect that this girl who looked soft and weak was actually an extremely rare awakener with special abilities. One hundred awakened people may not be able to have one person with special abilities. This was destined by nature, Chen Haiping couldn't envy it, but Elian's strength still exceeded his expectations. In the original perception, Chen Haiping only thought that Elaine was a weak awakener, but now, seeing that Elian's face is not blushing or panting, but in the wave of her hand. She condenses one after another ice edge, and this batch of the demonized sparrows were wiped out, and there was an unspeakable shock in my heart. If it is just a newly awakened ability person, no matter what ability, once or twice, it is already the limit. He has also seen the first person in the original shelter, the one with the ability to burst flames, although the power is huge, but it cannot last. In contrast, Ilian's cloud is light and windy, whether it is condensing the cold air into ice ridges or controlling the directional explosion of the ice ridges, it all shows that this girl still has spare power. Chen Haiping probably had a hard time understanding in his life, what is the occupation system, what is the technique, and the advanced puppets. In fact, it's not his fault, even Tang Yu's own understanding of these things only stays in the literal meaning. Elaine sighed lightly, calming the magic power surging in her body. Compared to Chen Haiping's strong inner vibration, she would be very happy. Everyone's definition of happiness is different. Some people feel happy after eating delicious food, and some people feel happy when they have five kills. For Elaine, it is worthwhile to be able to realize her own value and help the Lord. Happy. After the group of demonized sparrows died, an invisible wave radiated out, like a sea of rivers, flowing into the body continuously. In an instant, Elaine's crystal-like eyes widened. This is. She woke up three years ago, but before she found the incomplete magic book, Elaine had no way to improve her strength. Even if she could sense the strange energy around her body, her control over the power of frost was very weak. After discovering the magic book, she learned from it the most basic ability of a mage, meditation. Meditation is the most essential way to improve strength. Other occupations have similar methods. 
These Elaine have heard of, but after killing the demonized sparrow, a pure energy will flow into the body. Arabian Nights. This power is too pure. As long as it is refined a little, it can be transformed into its own power, which is many times faster than the speed of meditation, and it has no side effects at all. In the past three years of meditation, her strength has reached the peak of the second level of awakening. If she follows the previous meditation rhythm, she may be able to successfully break through to the third level of awakening in half a year. But now Elaine feels that as long as there is more energy in her body that can be refined, she can directly break through to the third level of awakening. This speed is like a dream. Elaine remembered what Lord Lord said yesterday, killing demonized beasts will bring a kind of surprise, called soul power. It turns out that this is soul power. Tang Yu was also very happy to have solved this batch of demonized sparrows for express delivery. This kind of demonized beast is weak, and the probability of source crystals is indeed not high, but it can't hold a large number. Tang Yu is still very happy and ready to start the crystal mining operation. After thinking about it, he is no longer alone. He has just established the first transportation team. At this time, he is called to dig crystals, which can be regarded as the best use. On the other hand, Elaine looked timid. When she first arrived yesterday, she was still dazed and panicked. Facing the smooth floor of the castle, she had to put her toes on her toes before she dared to step on it now, facing these demonized sparrows, Elaine is still in awe. Instead, there was no panic. Thinking about Tang Yu, I also understand that although Elaine is young and has no fighting experience, after all, yesterday, she experienced a difficult city defense battle. In comparison, these demonized sparrows pale in comparison. After receiving a good start, Tang Yu still followed the original plan, while cleaning up the demonized beasts in the resort area by area, while searching for some items left in the original shelter that could be used. It was not until the evening, when the sky was dusk, that Tang Yu returned to the villa area. Counting the Yuan Jing in his pocket, Tang Yu showed a smile. Next, it was the most exciting construction moment. Commonly known as Krypton Crystal Moment. Just a few survivors came from a distance pushing carts. The middle section of the villa area is already full of debris, like a hill like a garbage heap. Most of these are the remains of damaged buildings, like cement boards with steel bars inserted, and there are also many damaged appliances. No matter before the end of the world or now, these are things that no one wants, but for Tang Yu, they are in desperate need. Move everything in front of Villa No. Tang Yu pointed to the inner side of the villa area, Villa No. 3, and further inside was Villa No. 2, and the castle. There was still some distance between the castle and the high cliff at the back. It was a deserted open space before, and it happened to be used by Tang Yu. It is also the safest to get up and put the core building here. Tang Yu had planned to treat this place as a forbidden area. As long as he blocked the gap in front of him, he could seal it tightly. Although these core buildings were not allowed by Tang Yu, others could not get in. However, in order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Tang Yu still separated these buildings out of the reach of the survivors. Not long after, several survivors pulled a large pile of scraps to the front of Villa No. Villa No. 3 was already very dilapidated, with bullets and claws everywhere and even traces of charred black after the explosion. This pile of waste was pulled to the front of the villa, and the image of the garbage dump seemed to be more vivid. This is not good Tang Yu shook his head slightly. After building the most important core buildings, this territory has to be taken care of. If you want to develop this place into a shelter, the external image can't be so bad, and he doesn't want to. Every day I come out of the castle, I see such a bad mood scene. Leaving the cart behind and sending the survivors away, Tang Yu called no. One and no. Two, and pulled these valuable scrap to the open space behind the castle. Chapter, 12. After this toss, the whole sky has completely dimmed. Didi. The test found 213 units of available wood. The test found 549 units of available stone. The test found 198 units of available iron materials. The detection found 535 units of the source crystal. Tang Yu smiled, 
such resources are enough to build any building in the workshop and market. The four core buildings quickly gathered half of them. Standing in the open space behind the castle, you can see the castle not far away with lights on, which is particularly eye-catching in the dark night. But no demonized beasts were attracted. After the cleaning of the surrounding demonized beasts in the past two days, there are not many demonized beasts left in the entire resort. Over the red dot. After thinking for a while, Tang Yu was going to set up a workshop first. Both the market and the workshop are very useful, but in contrast, after the workshop is built, it can play a role immediately. And the market Tang Yu estimated that with this source crystal in his hands, he didn't have the money to create a market. Open the building panel, core building area, select, build workshop. Ding dong. To build a workshop, it will consume 500 units of source crystal, 100 units of stone, and 100 units of iron. Do you want to confirm it? Confirm. In the hills surrounded by waste, countless materials flew into the air, hovering in the air, the source crystal in the pocket decomposed, emitting a faint light, like a long dragon composed of fireflies, interspersed with these materials. Soon, a five-meter-high building covering an area of more than 200 square meters appeared in front of Tang Yu. Rao is the second time I have seen this scene, Tang Yu is still amazed, this is an unparalleled power, and I don't know what the system is. Although this thing can make sounds in my mind, it can't really communicate. He can use it without too many obstacles now, and it mostly comes from the game experience before the end of the world. But the real system may not always be the same as in the game. In the previous tavern, Tang Yu found some places that were different from the game, and the previous experience could no longer be blindly borrowed, and even some buildings that he had never built in the game later. Sometimes I'm afraid I'm going to be blinded. Shaking his head, these things are still too far away. The real development of the territory is much more difficult than in the game, at least the speed of acquiring building resources and source crystals in the game is much faster than it is now. He was not dissatisfied. There is nothing special about the appearance of the workshop, just like the ordinary small workshop before the end of the world. The previous tavern is also ordinary, not bad, but it is far from the magnificent appearance of the castle, it seems that the force has been lowered all of a sudden. With curiosity, Tang Yu walked into the workshop. The workshop is completely closed, without any windows, open the door and walk in, only to find that the lights are lit inside. The floor and walls are all monotonous, the whole room is empty, only a huge black box is placed in the middle. The black box is square and upright, as if it was wrapped in a black casing. There are openings at both ends of the box. Tang Yu rummaged around and finally found something that looked like an operation panel. It should be said that the operation panel. Tang Yu checked the function introduction of the workshop. It was much simpler than the tavern. It was nothing more than putting the materials into the material inlet, then operating it on the operation panel, and finally collecting the equipment from the exit of the black box. The first level workshop is equipped with the most basic blueprints, including basic weapons, basic longswords, basic staffs, basic muskets, basic daggers, and basic holy hammers. Protective equipment includes the most common light armor, heavy armor, leather armor, and cloth robes. In addition to weapons and armor, the most important column is the rune column. A rune is a special symbol, depicted with source power, which can carry special power. Even the most common sharp rune, engraved on an ordinary sword, can make the sword sharpen like mud. Although the equipment blueprints equipped in the first level workshops are ordinary, they can also carry the power of a rune unit, which greatly improves the grade of the entire equipment. Similarly, the basic blueprints of the first level workshop also include the most basic rune blueprints. A primary sharp rune that can slightly increase the sharpness of a weapon. A primary mana rune that increases the wielder's mana by a small amount. A primary armor rune that slightly increases the armor's protection. There are not many drawings, but the functions are complete. As long as there are enough materials, it is possible to collect a complete set of equipment, even if it is just an ordinary novice outfit in the game. Tang Yu feels that as long as he gets the reality, it is enough to make alloy weapons, stab proof clothing, and other equipment. Tossed out a few streets. The materials for manufacturing equipment are similar to those for building buildings. 
they are nothing more than iron materials and source crystals. If you are making armor, you sometimes need to add some wool, such as the fur of demonized beasts. Coincidentally, there are still some building materials left, including the fur of demonized beasts. I have also collected a lot these days. I couldn't even find the place to use it, and they all piled up and stinks. Tang Yu put the material into the feed port, and then selected the equipment he wanted to make on the operation panel. Brainless operation, very simple. Manufacture the primary sharp rune, which consumes 5 units of source crystal. Manufacture primary magic runes, consuming 5 units of source crystals. To manufacture a basic long sword, it consumes 5 units of iron material, 5 units of source crystal, and 1 primary sharp rune. To manufacture a basic staff, it consumes 5 units of wood, 5 units of source crystal, and 1 primary magic rune. Create primary armor runes. Lindong Shelter. Compared with other small shelters, it is dark at night, and many places in Lindong Shelter are still lit. Wang Tai dressed as an ordinary survivor, watching the flow of people coming and going, and some awakened people wearing sophisticated equipment, and he felt unwilling. He used to be the director of a shelter, with dozens of awakened people and countless supplies, but now, even some mercenaries in the Lindong shelter, he can't compare. After escaping from the magic tide, more than half of the ten direct linemen he brought with him were killed or injured. When the bunk came to Lindong, the last two direct linemen were left by his side, and there were five or six in the elite mercenary squads of others. The awakened also has guns and other weapons. He wants no people, and he wants weapons without weapons. Even the source crystal, which is of high value in Lindong and can be used as a common currency, is too hasty when escaping, and it falls. In the original shelter, the sanctuary has been wiped out by the demonic tide. It is impossible for him, and he has no ability to build another sanctuary, but if he can get the source crystals he hid in the villa, he still has a chance to make a comeback. However, having just experienced the danger of the wilderness, Wang Tai understands that with only him and his only two subordinates, I am afraid that he will die on the way before he reaches the resort. What's more, when he came to Lin Dong, if he became nothing, it was hard to say whether the two direct descendants would leave him. Wang Tai's face was gloomy and uncertain. At this time, an ordinary-looking middle-aged man walked over from a distance, and a charming smile appeared on his face immediately. The middle-aged man was expressionless, and he just said lightly when he arrived, What you said, the boss has already agreed, and I will set off immediately tomorrow morning, and I will lead the team. I hope that what you said is true, otherwise, what will happen, presumably you should know that too. When Wang Tai heard it, he was not dissatisfied, but showed a happy expression, I am sure, how dare I deceive President Lin, but I will rely on Captain Han a lot tomorrow. Han Jingxian glanced, it's easy to say. Then he left. Wang Tai watched Han Jing go away, his fists clenched and loosened. With his own strength, he would definitely not be able to reach the resort, but if he hugged his thighs, it would be different. Fortunately, he made a major discovery on the way to escape this time. With this information, he and President Lin had some friendship. This person is a big boss and can be ranked in the top three in terms of power and power. This time, in order to verify the information he said, Mr. Lin even sent Han Jing, a master of the third level of awakening, who is almost on the verge of awakening to the fourth level, to lead the team. With such a team, it is almost certain to arrive at the resort. No matter how many demonized beasts that have not left after the demonic tide remain there, and no matter what special circumstances will be encountered along the way, they will be crushed by absolute strength. At that time, this information has been verified, he really climbed into the friendship of President Lin, and he had the opportunity to take advantage of the situation in Lin Dong. And he could use this time to return to the resort and quietly take out the hidden source crystal, as a future initial funding for Lin Dong development. He still has a chance to rise again. Chapter, 13 The next day, the sky was bright, and the faint golden light penetrated the clouds, and the golden light filled the sky. Tang Yu sat cross-legged on the bed and slowly opened his eyes. The first half of the night was spent sleeping. The inside and outside of the castle seemed to be two different worlds. 
The outside was full of clutter and the stench of various corpses kept emitting. Even if he was used to this kind of life, he didn't feel good about it. Inside the castle is different. The air is extraordinarily fresh. It is more permeable than the fresh air of the lush forests. The temperature is also very suitable. It is summer outside, and even at night, it looks sultry. There is also a comfortable big bed, all of which allow Tang Yu to have an excellent sleep quality. In addition, the awakened person has a stronger resilience. The tiredness of the day has been recovered after only four or five hours of sleep. The second half of the night was spent in cultivation. That is, refining soul power. The refining of soul power was originally fast, but after the whole day, Tang Yu absorbed a little more soul power, and he had an inexplicable illusion that he was full of soul power that had no texture, so that he spent a lot of money. In a short time, it was all refined and transformed into its own strength. Already have the strength of the first level of awakening. As long as you absorb enough soul power, you can use this to break through and enter the second level of awakening. This speed, even for those who are highly qualified awakeners, is not enough. This is of course, no matter how high the aptitude of others is, the improvement of strength must be achieved by real swords and real guns, and he is completely open, with an awakener equivalent to the fifth level of awakening rank. The kind that grabs soul power, can this increase speed be fast? After breakfast. Tang Yu put on the equipment recently released in the workshop, a shiny stainless steel long sword, and a black one-piece battle suit with red stripes. The battle suit is leather armor, but of course it is not the kind of leather armor that covers half of it and exposes half of it. Reality is not a game. It is not a game that wears the equipment on the body to gain the ability of defense. If you wear some of those in the game he could only cover key parts of the equipment and go with the demonized hands, and Tang Yu only had two words left. This battle suit is very comfortable to wear on the body. At first, he thought that wearing it like this on a hot day would make it a little hotter. Facts have proved that the black technology of the workshop is extraordinary. The battle suit is light and breathable on the body, even in when you move your body, you will feel a very smooth and natural feeling. In addition, the fur of the scarlet demonized beast is used as the material, so there is nothing to say about the defensive ability. Even the long sword of fine steel requires effort to cut a small hole in this battle suit this is the material after all, the basic long sword uses only ordinary iron materials. Tang Yu looked at the mirror in the castle and was very satisfied with this battle suit. I just feel a little irritated. The survivors all got up early, tasted the sweetness, and they were able to get rich food by working. These people were also very happy. There were two canned meat in the food that was exchanged yesterday. Many survivors cried with joy. They don't know how long they haven't tasted the taste of meat. It's Director Tang. Someone shouted, and suddenly rubbed his eyes. There were three familiar figures walking in the distance. Tang Yu was in front, followed by the armor master and the girl he had seen yesterday. However, except for the armor master, Director Tang and the girl who can emit ice ridges, they almost didn't recognize it. In the distance, Director Tang was wearing a black red pattern combat uniform with a long sword pinned to his waist, shining in the sun. Behind Director Tang, the armor master seemed to be a loyal and responsible guard, carrying a long spear and following him silently. On the other side, Elaine was wearing a mage robe with the same black and red stripes. The hood was put on to cover her face. The large robe covered her smaller body. The root is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, with spiral branches, that is a staff. Three people came slowly. Around, there are the corpses of demonized beasts that have not been cleaned up after death, dried blood, and broken houses. The scorching sun seemed to rise from behind the three of them. At this moment, it seems that the world has lost its color, except for three figures walking slowly in his eyes. Guru. Some people can't help but swallow their saliva. This kind of attire seems to be the attire of the Kos characters in the comic exhibition. It is obviously garish in this apocalypse, and it should be inconvenient to wear, but the three of them are dressed by Director Tang, but everyone feels extremely harmonious, as if everything is as it should be. As for the three of them, Director Tang, they were like soldiers who had returned with glory from a sea of corpses and blood. 
Even if they were surprised by such equipment, the survivors all had their own responsibilities. What should be asked and what should not be asked, they quickly took their jobs and left. Chen Haiping did not leave. The porter's job is very well paid, but Chen Haiping doesn't want to eat and wait to die. He became an awakener relatively late, but his strength increased steadily, step by step, and he was also ranked among the awakeners in the sanctuary. However, the magic tide attacked and the sanctuary was destroyed, all of which made him understand his own weakness. When faced with a real disaster, he was powerless. After seeing the powerful strength of such masters as Director Tang, Chen Haiping was even more eager to become stronger. To hunt down demonic beasts. I also hope to contribute to the establishment of the shelter. He hopes that the shelter can be established, but he understands that a shelter cannot rely on only a few masters. His strength may not be strong, but as a fighter, the contribution he can make is at least better than moving some stones. To come high. After Chen Haiping said these words, he quietly waited for Director Tang's reply. Tang Yu also fell into deep thought. At first, he didn't have so many ideas. A few days ago, he was even a bottom survivor, struggling to survive in this apocalypse. At first, the castle was only built to save life, but if a territory wants to develop, it needs to be planned in detail. Even if there is a plug-in system, it is not a matter of buying, buying, building, and building a complete territory. Come out. Chen Haiping's statement is justified. The territory map can give an early warning when the demonized beasts attack. However, it is impossible to rely on no. 1 and no. 2 and followers every time. The master should be the trump card of the territory, not the conventional force. Tang Yu hopes that the followers in the future will have time to improve their strength. What's more, if the territory wants to develop, it is necessary to join the survivors. When the number of survivors increases in the future, whether it is defense or management, some trustworthy people are needed. The territory should have a patrol as a regular force. After two days of observation, he also has a certain understanding of Chen Haiping. This man has been a soldier, with good marksmanship and good fighting skills. He has a bottom line and a conscience, but he is not rigid in his actions. The most important thing is that he is on the map of the territory. The small dot representing Chen Haiping is a green dot, which is enough. I agreed to your request. Now the shelter has not been built, and there are no specific job arrangements. I usually patrol a lot to guard against demonized beast attacks, and improve my strength by the way. After all, the strength of awakening the first layer can only deal with the most ordinary demonized beast. Chen Haiping smiled bitterly, he really couldn't refute this, and then heard Director Tang say, well, I'll find you a master, and you can learn some skills to deal with demonized beasts. Master? He wondered, is he a master of armor? If he can learn from the armor master, there is no doubt that his strength can be rapidly improved in a short period of time. The next moment, he saw an iron tower-like figure coming from a distance. Chapter, 14 Roger Sir, I am here. The voice was thick and powerful. As these words fell, a strong man like an iron tower came from a distance. The strong man's footsteps seemed to be slow, but in fact he was very fast. After a while, the coming person walked behind Director Tang. Bow slightly. The strong man is two meters tall, with brown hair, wearing heavy black armor, carrying a large sword of the same height, and holding the helmet in his hand. In Chen Haiping's mind. Chen Haiping's pupils shrank slightly. This kind of oppressive force is not breath. From Luo Zhe, he can still only feel a faint breath. However, this kind of oppressive force comes from aura, which is only possessed by people who have broken out from the sea of corpses and blood. Momentum. This suffocating aura of blood and evil hit his nerves, making his scalp tingle. He remembered the soldiers of some special units he had seen in those years as a soldier, those soldiers who had actually been on the battlefield and killed people. From those people, Chen Haiping felt such evil spirits. However, those evil spirits were all in front of him. This tower man is dwarfed by comparison. This is undoubtedly a supermaster. The tavern has a free summoning opportunity every day, 
which can be used in the morning or evening. Yesterday, Tang Yu only summoned an adventurer with ordinary D-level qualifications, and he did not sign a contract. Instead, Luo Zhe was summoned this morning. With A-level qualifications ahead, Luo Zhe with C-level qualifications is not good, but what Tang Yu values is Luo Zhe's strength. He still doesn't know how many awakening ranks are. He only knows that the awakening rank is roughly divided into three levels. The first level is the foundation stage, from the first level to the fifth level of awakening, which can be summoned by the tavern now. Follower strength, and the second level, is the body shaper. Luo Zhu used to be a master at the peak of the body shaping realm. It stands to reason that Tang Yu could not summon this kind of strength, but Luo Zhu was seriously injured in a battle against the Kuroshio. Not only did his strength drop to the fifth level of awakening, but he also after being disabled, he will miss the battlefield for life. Until he was summoned, under the power of the contract, Luo Zhu recovered from his injury. Although his strength was only at the peak of the foundation laying realm, it was very simple for him to break through to the body shaping realm. After years of injury recovery, Luo Zhe's aura suddenly burst out in an unconcealed manner. Tang Yu had a contractual connection, and he didn't feel uncomfortable, but Chen Haiping bore the brunt of it. I saw that his face was pale, but there was a look of excitement in his eyes, and from his face, there was a look of impatient waiting. This is to rush to learn the skills to deal with demonized beasts, right? At the entrance of the resort, a convoy arrived here. Two off-road vehicles and a minibus. The door opened and a figure got out of the car. These men were well armed, armed with firearms and wearing bulletproof vests. As soon as they got out of the car, these people dispersed immediately, alerting the surroundings. Wang Tai got out of the car, followed by two of his direct descendants. Looking at the resort that was almost in ruins, Wang Tai's heart began to bleed again. Before the apocalypse, he was a big boss. This shaded resort was his property. When the apocalypse broke out, he happened to be nearby. With the guns he kept and a group of loyal men, Wang Tai quickly pulled up a team and gradually developed the resort into a sanctuary. However, a magic tide turned his everything into nothing. Fortunately, he still has a chance to make a comeback. Wang Tai came to the middle aged man with a smile on his face. Captain Han. It's very close to the Yuanjing mine, but there are mountain roads behind, it's not easy to walk, you let's see if we need to fix it here first. Han Jing squinted and looked at the surrounding environment. It was exactly as Wang Tai said. The entire shelter was destroyed by the attack of the magic tide. However, these were not the focus of his attention. There was only one thing he wanted to know. That is whether the source crystal or really exists. This source crystal mine is the information provided by Wang Tai. After the end of the world, the earth has undergone drastic changes, and many new products have appeared. The source crystal ore is one of them. A or vein containing a large number of source crystals, even if only one of them is mined, it is better than hunting and killing thousands of demonized beasts. The temptation that Lin Wei could not refuse. Han Jing, as Lin Wei's confidant, has worked for Lin Wei for more than ten years, and he knows his boss's thoughts. Others, stand by. The rest of the people stood guard around the vehicle. Wang Tai looked into the distance, the light in his eyes was uncertain. Of course he knows the value of a source crystal mine. If the shelter is still there, how could he hand over the source crystal mine? Fortunately, some benefits were finally exchanged. Wang Tai turned his eyes and thought about how to get the things he hid in the villa without knowing it. At this time, the third team, which had just left, actually came back, and two of them were holding two survivors with panic expressions in their hands. What's going on? How come there are survivors here? Han Jing asked. Wang Tai shook his head, saying that he didn't know, and he was stunned too. Wang Zhou and another survivor shivered as they looked at the big men around them. They just came out to collect some supplies that could be used after the demonic tide. Why did so many big men with guns suddenly appear, all of them fierce and vicious, and the two of them didn't dare to resist at all, so they were caught here. Tell me, who are you? Why are you here? What are you doing? Tell me honestly, did you hear me? 
A member of the team pointed guns at the two and asked. Wang Zhou's face was pale, and the other survivor was even more sluggish, his pupils dilated, his hands and feet twisted involuntarily, and he seemed to have been frightened. He 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 he. Seeing that this big man was about to shoot, Wang Zhou didn't know where the courage came from, and suddenly stunned his companion, wait, wait, I said, he's a fool, I'm normal, I said. He calmed down and said quickly, we are the survivors of the green shelter. Survivor. Tell me the truth. Shade Sanctuary has long been wiped out by the tide. Wang Zhou was so frightened that his face twisted into a twist, and he was about to cry, but the bitterness in his heart couldn't say. We are really the survivors of the green shelter, wait wait for me to finish first, when the magic tide comes. We hid in the underground storage room and got away with it. Wang Tai frowned and stepped forward to ask, hiding in the underground storage room. How long have you been hiding? Didn't you meet a demonized beast when you came out? Hiding I hid for about two or three days, and then ran out when I was too hungry. As for the demonized beasts, I don't know. When we came out, it was like this outside. Wang Zhou stuttered. The big men with guns in front of them are not ordinary survivors at first glance. They are aggressive and have a bad face Wang Zhou knows that even if he tells the truth, it is not very likely that he will survive in the end. It is better to hide some key information. In order to hope that Director Tang can come to the rescue. Whether Director Tang will save the two of them, he actually has no idea. In the end times, ordinary survivors are the least valuable, but instead of believing that this group of militants will let them go in the end, it is better to believe Director Tang. At least these days, Director Tang treated them very well. Han Jing stood aside, listening to the constant interrogation of the team members, and turned to look at Wang Tai on the side. They are all survivors of your shelter, do you have an impression? Wang Tai shook his head, it's just a few ordinary survivors, and I don't have an impression. If it's an awakened person, I might have a little impression. Han Jing pondered. Judging from the results of the interrogation, the survivors who survived by chance, besides these two, there are other people. But they are not strong and do not pose any threat, but out of a sense of caution, he ordered, bring these two people with you. Since there are other survivors, let's catch these little mice first. The other side. Outside the castle, in the open space. I went out for a few laps in the morning, but didn't find any demonized beasts, so Tang Yu came back here alone. With the decrease in the number of demonized beasts, the efficiency of hunting demonized beasts has become lower and lower. At first, several demonized beasts could be encountered within a few minutes. Now, after searching for more than half an hour, they may not be able to see them. At one end, he stopped following the hunting team, but returned to the vicinity of the castle and found a place to exercise. Awakened people also need to exercise, especially after their own strength has increased significantly, in order to better control their strength, Tang Yu needs to spend a certain amount of time to exercise. At this time, his body was in an extremely awkward posture. This was the exercise suggestion given by Luo Zhe after he summoned Luo Zhe this morning. Preliminary actions of combat skills. At this time, a prompt appeared in my mind. Ding. Your subjects are in danger, please be careful. Ding. Tang Yu was stunned. Chapter, 15. Does the system still have this function? How could he not know? However, now is not the time to think about it. Tang Yu opened the system panel and found more detailed records from the log. He saw the names of the two survivors in danger, and after thinking for a while, he remembered that the two were sent to the eastern area of the resort to search for supplies in the morning. But now it is in danger. The system does not give a more detailed explanation. Tang Yu also tried to ask the system, but the answer was to repeat those few words over and over again. He also guessed that this must not have been an encounter with demonized beasts, not to mention that the demonized beasts in the resort have been emptied. If they encountered demonized beasts, the two would have already died, and there is no danger. Obviously, the two were either injured or under duress. Tang Yu hurriedly passed the message through the contract force like Elaine and Luo Zhe, and called the No. Two left behind, and set off immediately. Han Jing walked with a group of team members to the resort. 
Along the way, he could see some traces of human activities. He didn't fully believe what Wang Zhou said the boss assigned him this task, not because he was the strongest, but because he had worked for the boss for many years and was deeply trusted. Because of this, Han Jing has always been very cautious, and he wants to eliminate all factors that may interfere with the mission. Observing all the way, Han Jing sneered in his heart. There are quite a few corpses of demonized beasts in the resort, many of them were corpses left by human beings when the demon tide destroyed the shelter. However, Han Jing observed very carefully. He could see that some demonized beasts were killed recently. Dropped, not on the day of the magic tide. This shows that the survivors who survived are not all ordinary survivors, as Wang Zhou said. Perhaps, the other party is expecting that the awakened among them will be able to rescue the two of them? Han Jing found this idea interesting. In his team, besides him, there are two strong awakened third-level players, and five awakened second-level players. In addition, various guns and ammunition, and even heavy firepower weapons, it is no exaggeration to say that even in the face of a whole small sanctuary, his team, is not false at all. This is the gap between the big forces and the small forces. From the narrow perspective of ordinary survivors, there is no way to understand. But that's fine. If those people are sent to the door automatically, it will save him the effort of searching. This mission must not be missed. Anyone who may leak the news will only have one result. From the very beginning, Han Jing sentenced these survivors to death. Even though he knew that these survivors had nothing to do with the Yuanjing mine, it was a pity that their operation had to be kept secret, and it was too close to the Yuanjing mine. In order to prevent the source crystal mine from being discovered in the future, Han Jing needs to prevent all accidents. If you want to blame, it is the bad luck of these survivors, including. He glanced at Wang Tai who was leading the way in front of him, with a cold look flashing across his eyes. Captain Han, the villa area is in front. It's the center of the resort. We haven't met any other survivors along the way, so it's very likely that the rest are on the top. Wang Tai still didn't know what Han Jing was thinking. Just thinking about getting back the supplies after this trip, and having a relationship with the big guy, you can also get along well in Lindong. Han Jing responded lightly, walked to the front of the team, and suddenly looked up. There, two figures were standing halfway up the mountain with their backs to the sun, looking at them coldly. Han Jing smiled. He still thinks highly of these survivors. There is only one awakened. If the other party feels their breath, I wonder if they will be scared stupid? Captain, when you look at them dressed like that, you think you are a character. Behind him, a team member laughed, his voice sarcastic. Han Jing was also very disdainful in his heart. Halfway up the mountain, these two people, a man and a woman, one was wearing a battle uniform and the other was wearing a robe. They looked very bright and beautiful, but could it be that wearing a golden holy garment, they thought they were kidney fighters? Really good equipment, pay attention to practicality. This grey combat uniform on him, including combat vest, arm guards, combat boots, helmet, arm guards, etc. Looks very inconspicuous, but it is the masterpiece of Lindong Sanctuary technology. This is the real life-saving equipment, not just appearance. Han Jing waved his hand, Team 1, go up and capture those two people. Several awakened stepped on the steps and ran fast. This distance, for the awakened, is not far. Halfway up the mountain, on the lawn. Tang Yu shook his head lightly, motioning Elaine not to shoot. The awakened ones are getting closer. From their eyes, it can be seen that the two of them seem to be fish on the chopping board. Is that so? Tang Yu also laughed. He naturally noticed the group of people below, and it was very difficult to mess with. Both the breath and the number of people are exceptionally powerful. This is the strongest group of awakeners he has seen since the end of the world. Perhaps this group of people has extraordinary origins. Perhaps the group had ulterior motives. But it doesn't matter. What's important is that he has seen the two territorial people who are not in good condition. Han Jing focused on Tang Yu and the two, wanting to see their reactions. At this time, the members of the team had already crossed two-thirds of the distance, and the two of them were still standing there stupidly, neither attacking nor escaping. 
Are you scared? Still in despair. Boom. A building on the right exploded, rubble flew, and a figure stepped on the ground, like a cannonball, and rushed out. The figure was extremely fast. The closest player was still halfway up the mountain. He didn't react at all. It was as if he had been hit by a heavy truck. The trajectory of the flight is constantly scattered. Han Jing was stunned. He is the strongest and the fastest to react, but still slow. The figure was so fast that he could only vaguely see the figure wearing blue and white armor. Armor. Han Jing suspects that he is dazzled. The silhouettes collided in a straight line, knocked two more team members flying, and came to the two bound survivors. This time, he saw clearly that it was indeed a man in blue and white armor. The man danced with a spear and swiped, and the rope binding the survivors suddenly broke, but the two survivors were unharmed. This is a master. Han Jing made a judgment in an instant. No wonder those survivors have the confidence. He has no idea of going forward to fight this person. As a human being, no matter how strong they are, they cannot avoid the threat of hot weapons. Maybe experts can avoid a small amount of bullets. As the curtain rises, the threat will skyrocket, not to mention those two ordinary people. He likes to see this kind of appearance, when others have worked hard and succeeded, and they have fallen into the abyss. Shooting. Chapter, 16. With his orders. The players were about to raise their guns. Boom. A figure rushed into the crowd behind him. Because of the dense positions, the spear swept across, and several players flew out in an instant. The scene was a mess. Han Jing's eyes were splitting. The little accident just now was still within his acceptance. But now, with just a glance, he saw that many of his team members were dead and wounded. Why do these wild survivors have such strength? And why, their actions can be so hidden, he didn't even feel the slightest awakening breath. Tang Yu would not give him an answer. No. One and no. Two are not awakened ones. He was standing here and was discovered on purpose, not to pose a pos, secretly, he had already commanded no. One and no. Two to sneak past. Looking down, it was a mess. The two survivors survived the catastrophe and fled quickly, no one cares about them anymore. Go ahead. Several awakeners who rushed up also noticed that something was wrong below. Instead of stopping, they picked up speed. Elaine held the staff and stretched out her hand. At the top, three ice edges condensed and arranged in an inverted triangle. The ice edge flew out, with a little ice flower on the tail. This ice edge, reflected in the pupils of the awakened person on the opposite side, was a little bit stunned and a little scared. These people are not slow to respond, either rolling or flying, trying to avoid them by all means, but Elaine has a strong control over the ice ridges. Not only can control the directional explosion of the ice ridges, but also control within a certain range. The direction of the ice edge. Clap clap clap. The ice ridges burst, these awakened people dodged in time, and they were not killed by a single blow, but many were already frozen by the cold air, and their hands and feet were covered with a layer of hoarfrost. Before they could breathe a sigh of relief, several ice ridges flew towards them. Their faces became more and more panic, and their bodies became more and more rigid. After a few seconds, they fell to the ground one by one, like frozen statues. Below. After all, Han Jing's group was a very elite team, and they quickly stabilized the situation. Second team, third team, outflank shooting. Da da da. Han Jing finally breathed a sigh of relief. He knew that with the performance of these two people, even if he stepped forward, he would not be able to please him. However, on their side, the biggest advantage is firepower. Perhaps the awakened has unlimited potential, but at present, the hot weapon of human beings still has a great advantage, especially in dealing with human beings who are not thick-skinned. Han Jing's face suddenly stiffened. In the face of the incoming bullets, the two guys in armor did not dodge, but the next moment, the bullets hit the armor and they all bounced off. Bouncing bouncing off. Han Jing couldn't believe it. Could it be that these two were still wearing real armor? 
No, even the real armor can't stop the bullets, what's more, these bullets didn't leave any traces on the armor. What kind of armor is this? Han Jing has worked for his boss for many years, and he has seen many strange things. Especially after the end of the world, the boss is very powerful in Lindong. Even if it is a good thing from the Academy of Sciences, they have a chance to get it. But even in the Academy of Sciences, this is not the case. The bullets hit the armor without even leaving a white mark, right? Between the thoughts, a person on the opposite side has already leaned up. With a flick of the spear, the air burst. Han Jing's scalp felt numb for a while, and he had already deeply felt the threat of death. With his rich combat experience, Han Jing made a mistake, twisted his body, and narrowly avoided an attack. The spear hit the ground, and the ground cracked inch by inch. Han Jing didn't know who he was facing. The strength of this person was completely beyond his expectations. He was already terrified. The task arranged by the boss is important, but if everyone is dead, what task is there to talk about? The task of proving the source crystal mine actually has nothing to do with these people. For the first time, Han Jing had the idea of regret. He threw down the smoke bomb, swam nimbly, used the team members around him as bait, threw off no. One, and immediately ran away. Han Jing is still like this, and the other team members are even more embarrassed. The captains have all fled, what are they fighting? Especially when someone saw that the vice captain with the awakened triple strength was strung into a skewer by a long spear. The devil. Some people run away like crazy. There are also people who know that they can't escape, and their faces are crazy. One of the team members picked up the bazooka and shouted, Die! The rocket dragged the tail flame and flew out in a swish. Han Jing, who was running, showed a happy expression. The armor can block the bullets, but it can't even block the rockets. He couldn't help cheering for his teammates, but he didn't stop. The timing of this rocket was very good, and the no. Two puppet was too late to avoid it. The next moment, the puppet stood firm. Boom! Smoke and dust filled the air. Gradually dissipated. A figure appeared in the eyes of everyone, still standing, only the front half of the spear had some grey and black traces. Han Jing has given up hope. This can't be a wild awakener. Wild awakeners do not have this kind of strength, nor can they have this kind of equipment. He already had a guess in his heart. Those people were probably sent by other bosses, and their purpose was definitely the source crystal mine. They miscalculated. Fortunately. After being hit by a rocket, it caused some trouble for this man. Another devil went after the others, and he still had a chance to escape. As long as you escape to the parked place, get in the car, and leave far away, even the two devils won't be able to catch up. Even if the mission fails, the situation here has to be brought out to let the boss know. Han Jing looked around, and besides himself, there was another clever team member, and Wang Tai, who had escaped here. In a team of twenty or so, only three of them were left to escape, how desolate it was. For a while, he hated Wang Tai too. If he hadn't known that Wang Tai was still useful, he would have wanted to solve it first. Ahead, three cars parked at the gate of the resort can already be seen. Han Jing breathed a sigh of relief. Another player and Wang Tai who were behind a distance also ran quickly, and they also saw the dawn of hope. Sir said, stop ahead. After the vehicle, get out of the two people. One was just an ordinary survivor, and the other was wearing heavy black armor. Heavy and oppressive. Wang Tai recognized one of them, who used to be the awakener of his shelter, but the other one shocked him. Not only wearing armor, but also the bloody aura, and the aura-like abyss, Wang Tai only felt that he was like a boat in the waves, and his face was pale. Luo Zhe's awakening fifth-level breath has been fully released. The long-slaying blood evil spirit, and the deeper awakened aura, erupted together. It seems that even the wind has been stopped at this moment. Han Jing's face was also pale. This kind of strength, even in Lindong, can only be matched by the very few powerhouses at the top. Who the hell sent these people out? Han Jing didn't know, but he was unwilling to sit still, holding a dagger in both hands, fighting to the death. Chapter, 17 
the battle lasted for a short period of time. The gunshots rang non-stop for the first minute, but the quietness of the past was restored the next second. Wang Zhou and another survivor were breathing heavily for the rest of their lives. The rest of the survivors, luckily did not go far, and immediately hid back to the villa area after being notified. At this time, he was listening to Wang Zhou and the two of them, telling his thrilling experience. It was basically Wang Zhou who was saying that although the other companion had recovered, his face was still very pale. Instead, it was Wang Zhou, who looked like he was about to cry, but now looked excited, and the others looked at him. He looked weird. You don't know, those people's faces are hideous, and the muzzle is pointed at my head. I am not afraid, and have a calm look. At that time, the master brother appeared beside us like a gust of wind, cut off our ropes. And all the enemies who blocked the way were defeated at once Wang Zhou was suddenly stunned when he said this, it seems that there are the two master brothers, are they twins? It's not right. I can't see clearly with the helmets on, but the master brothers are really powerful. The group of people looks powerful. In front of the master brothers, they are paper tigers, vulnerable to a single blow. The more Wang Zhou spoke, the more hilarious he became, and the others were also fascinated. They didn't see the specific situation, but they could imagine how powerful the master brother was. This group of people has so many firearms and weapons, and they are all pale just listening to the sound of gunfire. And the master brother, can come and go in such a scene of bullets. Sanctuary has such a master, it is really, too lucky. Tang Yu held his face in a contemplative manner. This battle can be said to be very sudden. Although the enemy has been defeated, he still reflects on the shortcomings of this battle. Vigilance is still a little off. If it wasn't for the other party's usefulness to keep people, these two subjects would have been smashed. He also didn't expect that he would suddenly meet such a group of foreign awakeners. In the end of the world, in the wild, different groups of survivors are often vigilant, but they are not hostile, and not everyone is vicious. Once shot, losses are inevitable. It's not like these people, who will act when they disagree, oh, they probably haven't disagreed yet, so these people are cold. This story told him that in doing things, he should be careful and low-key and not be too arrogant. Tang Yu thinks it makes sense, he has always kept a low profile. The construction of the territory will be accelerated, especially in terms of defense. This time, people have been touched on the edge of the territory, so I feel very insecure. He thought about it, this group of people has a lot of background. They are all missing here. Maybe there will be some trouble. Fortunately, it is not all trouble, and there is a lot of gain. Han Jing's group died in the battle and were injured. Most of them were killed by No. One and No. These two puppets were extremely violent. With their strength, they were determined to have no way to survive if they were hit head on. Tang Yu also shot this time and shot an awakened who rushed over in a frenzy. This is his first murder. But didn't feel any discomfort. I always heard that killing people will cause nausea, vomiting and weak feet. He didn't think it would actually happen. After a month in the end of the world, all kinds of bloody scenes were not uncommon, and the final practical activities were just short of it, which will be completed now. For the remaining people who were still alive, Luo Zhe pried out the information from their mouths. Original crystal mine, no wonder. Tang Yu was very envious of this source crystal mine. He knows the importance of the source crystal better than anyone else. As long as the source crystal or is mined, the territory will undoubtedly enter a state of rapid development. The idea is beautiful, the reality is cruel. There are only three or two big cats and kittens in the territory, and even porters are not enough, miners. Non-existent. What's more, although this source crystal mine is close, only three or four kilometers away, it is still in the wild or in the forest, and the environment is very dangerous. So, this source crystal mine can only be viewed, not mined. Tang Yu was depressed. And many more. He suddenly remembered Wang Tai, the former head of the shelter, who was finally recognized by Chen Haiping. Wang Tai seemed decisive. He probably knew that no matter what, he had no chance of life. He committed suicide before he had time to interrogate him. 
However, Wang Tai's two direct descendants were not so decisive. Luo Zhe immediately let people watch over them and did not give these people a chance to commit suicide. Then, under the skillful torture techniques, what color did these two direct descendants wear? The panties were revealed. I also learned that Wang Tai came here, in addition to leading the way for Han Jing to find the source crystal mine, he also had his own purpose. It seems to be trying to get back a batch of important supplies. The two of them only knew so much, and most of them were guessed through Wang Taiping's daily behavior and habits. Wang Tai has always had the habit of hiding supplies. Tang Yu felt that this possibility was very high. Wang Tai, who fled in a panic, had no time to take away the supplies. The two subordinates also confirmed this. After the value of these people was drained, Tang Yu handed them over to Luo Zhe to solve. It is impossible to let go. This group of people is still too dangerous for him. As for the Lindong boss behind these people, Tang Yu is not very worried. What he is thinking about now is Wang Tai's supplies. Where will it be hiding? Villa area, west area. Opposite to the east area of the villa area, this is also the core area of the entire resort. Wang Tai lived in Villa No. One in the west area before. He had searched this villa before, but he didn't find much valuables. He didn't think about it at the time, but now he thinks it's very abnormal how could Wang Tai's residence have no valuables. It was too late to clean up when he escaped. Thinking from another perspective, Tang Yu is also used to keeping things in the place where he lives. For example, in the castle, there is a small warehouse where the source crystals he collected are stacked. Wang Tai's things are also likely to be in the villa where he lives, but it is definitely not in a prominent place. This villa covers a large area, and after walking around the villa, Tang Yu felt that there were two most likely places, either, in the small garden in front of the villa, or in the basement. At this time, the basement was empty, and some food had been stored here before, which had been taken away by him. Number 1. The puppet guard appeared beside Tang Yu, and he pointed at the walls of the basement, smash all the walls here, pay attention, don't collapse this place. Boom, no. One turned into a humanoid bulldozer. In the blink of an eye, this fairly tidy basement turned into ruins, which looked even worse than the outside surface that had been devastated by demonized beasts. Among the piles of ruins, a void is particularly conspicuous. Sure enough, there is a deeper basement. This basement is smaller, but as far as the eye can see, it is full of supplies, not only the most basic food, but also luxury goods such as tobacco and alcohol, and even a large number of items such as firearms. It's going to be posted. There was a lot of grain in the basement, and Tang Yu also saw a refrigerator, which was connected to a diesel generator, which was still running. In the refrigerator, Tang Yu found a lot of vegetables and various meats. At this time, it doesn't matter how long the meat has been frozen, and it's not fresh anymore. Just in terms of the abundance of the ingredients, it's no worse than before the end of the world. Wang Tai, this fellow, will enjoy it very much. Fortunately, it was cheap for him, and Tang Yu felt that he would like to thank Mr. Wang Tai for his selfless dedication. Food occupies a large part of the basement, a small part is some daily necessities, and the rest are mostly firearms. Tang Yu didn't feel anything about ordinary pistols and rifles, but he still found surprises in this batch of arms. Two light machine guns, which greatly enriched the layout of the shelter's defense line. Although, the current territory does not even have a decent line of defense. However just these things, it won't make Wang Tai work hard and get this batch of supplies, and these things take up a lot of space. If Wang Tai doesn't want to attract the attention of Han Jing and the others, he will bring them with him. Don't take so many things. Then the most valuable things should be in. Tang Yu looked into the corner, where there was a safe. The secret room was still kept in a safe, even if Tang Yu didn't use his brain, he knew that there must be precious items in it. This is a very high-end safe with extremely strong protection, but that was before the end of the world, and now, it can be easily beaten smashed open. Into the eye, is a lot of sparkling energy crystals. Tang Yu held his breath, this was the first time he had seen so many energy crystals. How many are there, 1000 units, 2000 units, or more? 
5,255 units of energy crystals were detected. The system's cold voice sounded in his mind, but Tang Yu felt extremely pleasant at this moment. From now on, he will also be rich a person with active crystals. Thanks Wang Tai. In the safe, in addition to energy crystals, there are some quite advanced demonized beast materials, such as sharp claws, thick fur and so on. Among them, there are many things that seem to be special products of the post-apocalypse, and he will not recognize them for a while. For example, a basketball-sized, white and transparent crystal. For example, the size of bricks, metals that seem to be no different from ordinary slabs. Can you took out each piece of material, scrutinized it, and put it back into the safe. Let's just take the entire safe away. Chapter, 18 Inside the City Hall Tang Yu was half lying on the soft sofa, stretched out, and his whole figure seemed to sink in. What a depraved life! The looming source crystal gap was resolved, and Tang Yu felt a lot easier all of a sudden. The method of killing monsters and making money is becoming more and more useless now. Every time you hunt and kill demonized beasts, you spend a lot of time searching for them. It's embarrassing. Others are eager to stay away from demonized beasts, but Tang Yu is intent on running into them. He now somewhat understands why this place is called Far From the Chasm of the Abyss. Except for the accident of the magic tide, there are not many demonized beasts here. The focus of work has now shifted to the search for materials in the wild, and there is no hope for the demonized beast Tang Yu. In his mind, Luo Zhe sent a message through contractual contact. Chen Haiping is looking for him. He was stunned for a moment, and then he remembered that he had just asked Chen Haiping to count the guns and ammunition left by Han Jing and those people. Then Tang Yu considered for two seconds, bring him to the castle. Go to Villa No. Chen Haiping was a little surprised. Villa No. One has always been a forbidden area. Only Director Tang and his teammates are qualified to enter. He knows that he is far inferior to those experts, but it is impossible to say that he is not envious. Now, he is also eligible. Once in the shelter, he was excluded because he was not a direct descendant of Wang Tai, but now, in just a few days, he has been trusted by Director Tang. Chen Haiping was a little moved. At the same time, I am also curious, what exactly is there in Villa no? 1. So that it is blocked as a restricted area. Step by step and follow behind Luo Zhe, Chen Haiping walked past Villa no. 3. Villa no. There is no difference in the surrounding environment. If you have to say it, just clean it up Chen Haiping thought about it, and suddenly, the thoughts in his mind got stuck and stopped. Could it be that I'm blinded? Not far from the place that used to be Villa no. 1. There was a castle. This castle is not big. Compared with the original single-family villa, it occupies a little more land. However, the villas in this place are all of the same style. It was suddenly replaced by a castle. Chen Haiping did not think he would be wrong. This is definitely not there before. Getting closer, the castle can be seen more clearly. The silver-white exterior walls and the dark blue spire-style roofs all seem so unreal. Chen Haiping hesitated for a while, and finally reached out and knocked on the outer wall. Hard, solid. The castle gate is open. He followed Luo Zhe and walked in. As soon as you step through the door, you feel like you have stepped into another world. The outside world is in the hot summer, and the breeze blowing carries an irritating heat, which makes people want to vent their desire for destruction. As soon as you step into the castle and cross this line that seems to represent the dividing line between the two worlds, the whole person feels different. All the dryness and heat dissipated, replaced by an extremely suitable temperature, like soaking in a stream with the cool wind blowing across his cheeks. Even the air was filled with an intoxicating fragrance. Chen Haiping only felt that the pores on his body were transparent, and the fatigue of the days had dissipated a lot. Of course he knew that this was an illusion, but the environment here was just too comfortable. Is there an air conditioner here, but the cooling of the air conditioner doesn't feel so comfortable. He thought about it secretly, and then felt that there was something wrong with his feet on the ground. The red carpet covering the entire floor, the furniture exuding wood and sandalwood, 
and the wall lamp that seems to be inlaid on the wall like crystal. Chen Haiping looked a little suspicious of life. Director, the statistical results of the confiscated guns and ammunition have come out. There are 23 pistols, 15 automatic rifles, one portable rocket launcher, five remaining rockets, and several grenades. And thousands of bullets. Speaking of these weapons, Chen Haiping smiled, with so many guns, it will be much easier for the shelter to rebuild the defense line in the future. That's right, and it's more than that. I still have two light machine guns, some automatic rifles, etc. And I found a good thing. Nice thing. Chen Haiping was puzzled, and saw Tang Yu took out a long object from under the table, this is a sniper rifle. M99 semi-automatic sniper rifle. I can still find this kind of thing, with this the weapon can even remotely snipe some dangerous demonized beasts. This kind of firearm is deadly in the face of human lethality, and in the face of demonized beasts, it can also cause high damage. Not bad. Tang Yu nodded, so this sniper rifle will be yours from now on. Me, mine. This is too precious. Chen Haiping couldn't believe it. Tang Yu pushed the sniper rifle over. Your marksmanship is good, and this sniper rifle can only be of maximum value if you have it in your hands. If you can't bear it, then let me lend it to you, and use this sniper rifle to kill demonized beasts. It won't bury its value. This sniper rifle, placed beside him, is a decoration, Luo Zhe and Elaine, not to mention that they can't use it, they don't need to use this kind of weapon. A weapon, if it can't play its value, is just a decoration. It happened that among these people, Chen Haiping was proficient in firearms, and Tang Yu had seen Chen Haiping kill the demonized beast with a pistol. Okay. Chen Haiping took a deep breath, I will definitely not disappoint the director, and I will definitely not bury this sniper rifle. He put away the sniper rifle solemnly, and suddenly thought of something, director, those people in the past were sent by a big boss in Lindong, and now that these people are here, the boss will probably not let it go. He was a little worried and asked Tang Yu's countermeasures. Countermeasure. Don't worry, that big guy is not the military chief, he has no army under his command, and no matter how strong his strength is, as long as it is not a modern army, there will be no problem. Besides, those people are all here, Lin Dong the one who wants to know the situation clearly, I am afraid it will take a lot of time to go back and forth, in short, don't worry about it. Chen Haiping was a little anxious, but looked at Tang Yu and Luo Zhe, and found that neither of them showed concern. On the contrary, Luo Zhe looked murderous. Originally, he wanted to persuade him to build a shelter in another place, but now he can't speak. The big guy in Lindong has strong soldiers and horses, far from being comparable to the group of them now, but Director Tang doesn't seem to have done anything unsure. From the very beginning, he felt that the idea of building a shelter was too bold, and step by step, he has believed that Tang Yu has this ability. Perhaps. Director Tang still has a whole card, can he deal with the big guy in Lindong? Chen Haiping couldn't think of it, but he was willing to believe it. He didn't even think about leaving. If you leave here, you don't have to worry about the big boss in Lindong, but Chen Haiping doesn't want to continue to live in this world. Some things have to be done by someone. Helping Director Tang build a shelter, whether it's for fame, profit, or belief in his heart, he wants to try. Failure is not scary, what is scary is losing human self-knowledge and living like a walking dead. Can't persuade Director Tang to move the location, Chen Haiping can only try his best to do his own thing. Improve your shelter's defenses by training survivors to shoot skills. The rest depends on Director Tang's trump card and destiny. However, Director, our manpower is still too small, and these guns cannot even be fully utilized. Chapter, 19 The number of people is too small, which has always been a problem that plagued Tang Yu. Not only is it impossible to use these guns effectively, but more importantly, the number of porters is too small, which limits the speed at which materials can be obtained. Tang Yu tapped his fingers on the table, we have to find a way to attract survivors, we can't wait passively all the time. In the original shelter, survivors came from time to time, like the survivor team he stayed in, only after learning that there was a shelter here, came here. However, 
this kind of thing is uncertain, and the resort has become like this, and whether there are survivors coming, it is hard to say. Chen Haiping thought for a while, maybe we can use broadcasting. Broadcasting? Wasn't the communication cut off later? Chen Haiping sorted out his thoughts and said, in fact, communication is not cut off in a real sense, but there are some special components in the air after the end of the world. These components make the electromagnetic waves propagate in the air attenuated very much, which makes the current signal it becomes very difficult to deliver. In the early days of the end of the world, the signal transmission was actually weakened, but at that time, the signal was barely able to be received. Later, the weakening ability became stronger and stronger, until more than 10 days ago, the signal weakening ability suddenly increased again. A large section, causing the communication to be almost cut off now. It's almost because the current signal is difficult to transmit to other shelters, but if you just focus on the shelter and transmit the signal a certain distance, you can still do it, and in the resort, I remember there are a cell tower. Tang Yu nodded, expressing his understanding, the news that there was a shelter here in the past was spread through this launch tower, right? Unexpectedly, Chen Haiping shook his head. The information was officially spread. In the early days, officials called on all parties to build shelters, and airdrop supplies for many shelters, including food, guns and ammunition, which made some small shelters have the ability to resist demonic beasts. Accepting survivors is also an official request. It was because of official pressure that Wang Tai accepted thousands of survivors. However, with the subsequent cutoff of communications, the official influence gradually decreased, and Wang Tai's relief food for survivors was also descending and descending. This kind of news was something Tang Yu didn't know about before. He didn't expect that there were so many reasons for the establishment of the shelter. This plan was settled, but he felt that it was not enough. The radio waves don't have a wide enough range, and there are corresponding receivers, such as radios, that many survivors do not have. Channels need to be widened. I suddenly had a novel idea. Do you remember, Lao Chen? Before the end of the world, when you were walking on the street, you could see billboards everywhere. I was thinking, we can actually advertise. Advertise? Chen Haiping was stunned. Luo Zhe is full of black question marks. At the rear of Villa 1, there is a lot of space. Previously, taverns and workshops were established here. This time, Tang Yu planned to build a market next to the tavern. The market can not only buy resources, but also occasionally generate rare materials, forging blueprints, skill runes, etc. It is one of the most important three-piece sets in the early stage of territory construction. To establish a market, consume 300 units of source crystals and 100 units of wood. From the outside, the market looks like a commissary. The internal environment is similar, there is only one counter, and the counter is divided into 10 areas. Every day, these 10 areas will be refreshed with different products. Timber resource pack 100 units, price, 10 origin crystals. Quantity remaining, 10. Stone resource pack 100 units, price, 20 source crystals. Iron resource pack 100 units, price, 50 source crystals. Fur of the Fire Wolf King, price, 250 origin crystals. Remaining quantity, 1. Basic Warrior Puppet Production Blueprint, price, 600 origin crystals. Found it. Tang Yu was overjoyed, the probability that the basic puppet blueprint would be created in the initial stage was not low, but he still didn't expect it to appear for the first time. As expected of my great European Emperor bloodline. With this one blueprint, the workshop can make warrior-type base golems the puppets produced have strengths comparable to those of the first level of awakening rank. They not only possess certain combat intelligence, but also, as long as the core is not destroyed, the puppets will not die. Such a puppet, when it really fights, is stronger than ordinary awakened ones. But he valued this blueprint, not because of the puppet's combat power. But as labor. Such a puppet is powerful, hardworking and tireless. If his intelligence was not advanced enough and his movements were limited, he wouldn't have to form a transport team. The three core buildings that can be built in the first level territory have been completed. With thousands of source crystals in hand, Tang Yu feels that he needs to plan carefully. 
There are not many materials left, and it cannot be built. Using this period of time, you can make a plan for the development of the territory. Among the many territory buildings, choose the one that is most helpful to the present, and then build it. A small town dozens of kilometers away from the resort. There are only two entrances and exits in the town. In other places, walls made of reinforced concrete have been built. From a distance, it looks like a black giant beast entrenched here. There are people coming and going at the entrance of the town, there are ragged survivors who have traveled here, and some fighters who have gone out to find supplies or hunt demonized beasts with guns or swords on their backs. This is the Lindong Shelter, the largest shelter in the Lynching area. Lindong Shelter, Lanshi Garden. This is a high-end residential area that originally existed in Lindong County, and now it has become the residence of Lindong officials. The stream was trickling, and in a villa by the stream, a middle-aged man looked out the window, frowning slightly. On the horizon, the setting sun rolled in the red glow, and half of it sank into the dim horizon. In the distance, the survivors who went out are returning one after another. The wild at night is the most dangerous. Any team that can return to the shelter in time will not choose to spend the night in the wild. Including the team he sent out. The route from Lindong to the Yuanjing mine is a relatively safe route. For Han Jing's team, there is no threat. According to his estimation, no matter if the Yuanjing mine is found, it should be long overdue. Back to the shelter. And now. Any news? Lin Wei seemed to be talking to himself, but a figure suddenly appeared behind him. The man couldn't see his face clearly, his voice was hoarse, and he said slowly, there is still no news. Do you think they'll interfere? When Lin Wei was talking about them, he was referring to several bosses in Lin Dong who had a similar status to him, and only these people could arouse his attention. The shadow behind him hesitated for a moment, it shouldn't be like, this time all the people sent are trustworthy, there is no leakage problem. And the field is so big, there are more than one route, even if the other few want to set up an ambush, it's not easy either. But Wang Tai's side is not sure. I don't know if the news will leak from him. Lin Wei sneered, that guy didn't dare, and he didn't have the chance to leak it, but he was very courageous to even ask me for conditions. Send a search team to investigate all the way for me, I want to know the most detailed information. An aura emanated from Lin Wei. He doesn't care about the life and death of Han Jing and others, but as long as there is a possibility of that source crystal mine, he will control it. With the source crystal mine, Lu Lao Gui, I don't need to look at your face. Chapter 20 Look up. The sun hangs high. In a small village not far from the territory, several young people gasped and looked terrified. Just now it's too dangerous, I even smelled the rancid smell of that demonized wolf, and I feel like I'm going to tell it there in the next second. A young man with eyes still had lingering fears. A young girl next to her was already slumped on the ground, you're okay, I was almost thrown to the ground by that stinky wolf. This girl has spots on her face, and her appearance is only medium, with a disheveled face, but when she gasps for breath and something rises and falls on her chest, it is still quite flavorful. Thanks to senior brother Xiaopeng, he deserves to be an awakened. That's it. Lu Xiaopeng stroked his messy hair and put on a punching stance, however, I am also a natural awakener, which is rarer and more powerful than those awakened by auxiliary devices. Ordinary demons how can the beast be my opponent? But senior brother Xiaopeng has never fought that demonized wolf the girl with spots suddenly said weakly. Lu Xiaopeng's face suddenly collapsed. When he first woke up, he was still in high spirits, fantasizing about punching the demonic wolf, kicking the demonic tiger, step by step to the peak of the awakened person, but the reality still gave him a head-on blow. Thinking of the demonized wolf he encountered on the road just now, he didn't think it was too strong, but he just couldn't beat it. Obviously, his eyes kept up with the speed of the demonized wolf, but he just couldn't avoid it. Even with the powerful physique of the awakened, he was still in a lot of glory. If it weren't for this, the few of them would not flee in embarrassment. Fortunately, after escaping for a while, I finally got rid of the demonized wolf, and I haven't encountered other demonized beasts for a while. After a short rest, they began to look at their surroundings. 
This is a village, very quiet, it doesn't look like there are demonized beasts moving around here, and several people can't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Where shall we go next? When they heard this, everyone looked blank, and some sighed, yeah, we used to follow the main force, but now, after we separated from the main force, not only did we lose our direction, but also our safety was not guaranteed. If this it's not that senior brother Xiaopeng has awakened, we should hide in that dark place now. They are running out of food, and continue to hide, that is just delaying the time of death. But when you go to the shelter, you can only understand the dangers outside when you really step out of the hiding place. Not to mention that they don't know how to get to Lindong. The distance of only a few dozen kilometers is enough to make them feel desperate. Wait, look over there. The classmates wearing glasses suddenly pointed to the distance, and several people looked up. It was an ordinary one-story house, no different from other houses here, and they all looked dilapidated. It's nothing Lu Xiaoping's indifferent eyes suddenly stopped, his eyes widened, and he looked at the large characters painted with black paint on the wall of the bungalow. The Shade Shelter, located 3-5 kilometers to the northwest, has abundant food and a safe living environment, and welcomes survivors. Green Shade, the original name of the resort. Most shelters in the post-apocalyptic era continue to use their original site names, such as Lindong Shelter, which was established on the basis of Lindong County. Tang Yu named the muscle weakness, so naturally he used the original name of the shelter first. The name is not important, the important thing is whether it can attract survivors to come, compared to many such as the Hot Pot City Shelter. The third subway entrance shelter, the Defafa Supermarket, Shelter, the word Green Shade, um, so far so good. Lu Xiaopeng read these words out, and several people looked at each other. Green shelter? Is this a nearby shelter? How can the street sign of the shelter be written in such a place? I always feel a strong sense of unreliability. The word is a bit ugly, but it should be true, Luin I seem to have heard it somewhere, by the way. There is a lush resort nearby, which should be the shelter mentioned on the street sign. After the discussion, several people decided to go to the so-called shade shelter to have a look. In the case of no food and no strength, they will not be able to go to Lindong's sanctuary in this life, and they can only go to this shaded sanctuary to have a look. The village is not far from the sanctuary, and demonized beasts are rarely encountered along the way. Lu Xiaopeng and a few classmates, relying on their rich experience in avoiding demonized beasts, had no danger all the way, and finally came to the door of a holiday villa. Here are also a few large characters with paint, and you are welcome to the shade shelter. However, they looked at the resort. Half of the gate collapsed, and the surrounding walls seemed to have been trampled by fierce beasts, and it was almost impossible to see the original appearance. What kind of shelter does this have? Lu Xiaopeng shouted, feeling that he had been deceived. No. Wearing glasses found something else. Look over there, there are barbed wire and broken firearms maybe there really was a shelter here. Others also heard the overtones of their classmates. Once there was, it means that there is no more now. Combined with the current tragic situation, everyone seems to have a picture in front of them, when the shelter was breached by demonized beasts. That tragic picture. Then we can't go. The long-spotted girl was a little scared. She felt that there might be terrifying demonized beasts lurking in the depths of this resort. In the end, Lu Xiaopeng made up his mind, go in and have a look, I don't think it's very likely that there are terrifying demonized beasts here, don't you think that we have seen less and less demonized beasts along the way? These classmates are just ordinary people, and naturally they are not too courageous. Every time they see demonized beasts from a distance, their heartbeat will slow down for half a beat, and they don't pay attention to how many demonized beasts they meet along the way. Lu Xiaopeng is different, he is somewhat of an awakener, even if the real situation is an awakener who can't even beat a demonized wolf. After all, he has the strength and is naturally calmer, although he did not count how many demonizations he met along the way. Beasts, but I can detect that the frequency of encountering demonized beasts is indeed less and less. The classmate who was still wearing glasses thought for a while and said, I also agree to go in and have a look. Even if the shelter here doesn't exist, we still have a chance to find some food. Several people entered the resort. 
The surrounding resorts have only cleaned up the demonized beasts, and most of the places still maintain their original appearance collapsed houses, coagulated blood, and some stumps and broken arms that haven't been cleaned up in time. Lu Xiaopeng and a few classmates turned pale, but fortunately, it was not the first time they had seen these tragic situations, and they felt okay. Someone found something unusual. Look, there are ruts here, and over there, is the corpse of a demonized beast, some parts have been taken away, there are survivors here. And there, there are traces of cleaning. It seems that the shelter has survived after the crisis. However, looking at the surrounding environment, the shelter has obviously lost a lot, and I'm afraid it is not very safe. They want to go to a shelter, and most importantly, find a place that is safe enough. And here, almost destroyed, even if there are still survivors, can it still be called a shelter? It was obvious that there was a magic tide here before. Does that mean that there is a possibility that there will be a magic tide that cannot be resisted again in the future? For a moment they all had such thoughts. But they have come, and there are survivors here. Whether they stay or not, they still decide to see the situation first. The few people continued to move forward. The deeper they went into the resort, the more traces of human activities they could see. When they got here, the surroundings had obviously been cleaned up, and the bodies of demonized beasts and humans could not be seen. But they still found it strange that they didn't even see a single figure. Listen, there is a voice. Lu Xiaopeng whispered, and pointed to a corner not far away. Sure enough, strange sounds came intermittently from places that could not be seen in front of him. Is it a survivor, or a demonized beast? They moved forward cautiously, and finally, at the corner, stuck their heads out and saw a scene not far away. Those were two unknown species, their bodies were covered with black iron, their torso was round and round, like a ball. And their arms were a few circles larger than those of a normal person, and they seemed to be full of powerful explosive power. The tin monster was holding a long sword and swung it hard. A huge stone was split into two and smashed to the ground with a bang, but the tin monster did not stop. The stones are cut into small stones of moderate size. The whole process is simple and neat. The ordinary looking long sword was like a weapon of magic. It seemed to have no resistance when slashing the stone. Lu Xiaopeng could even clearly see that the cut part of the stone was as smooth as like a mirror. Chapter 21 Lu Xiaopeng and a few classmates were dumbfounded. What is this? Is it some kind of strange looking demonized beast? Maybe it is a creation of black technology? The era of robots is coming. Can black technology create such an advanced robot? Look at those two tin monsters, their movements are very smooth, there is no fixed trajectory, and their arm joints are also very flexible. This is much more advanced than those robots under development before the end of the world. Now that many new materials have been discovered, and some technologies have developed rapidly, it is still impossible to make such a robot so there is only one truth, and this should be the ability of a certain person. Those who can. Someone whispered. Ability people, the number is extremely rare, it is the existence of legend, and even some survivors, even ability people have never heard of it. The special abilities possessed by those who are capable are either powerful or strange, and they are all-encompassing. The existence of these abilities seems to be born to break the coffin board of scientists, and no matter what ability, it seems that it is possible to appear. If it is the masterpiece of the able, they feel that it is not difficult to accept. Twilight is like water. The resort looked like everything was thriving. Walking on the road, Lu Xiaopeng could see some busy survivors from time to time, and most of them were magical puppets. After being discovered by the survivors here and revealing their identities, Lu Xiaopeng and a few classmates decided to live here first. The reason is very simple. Here, work can be exchanged for food. In the last days when there is an extreme shortage of food, it is already very good that the efforts can be rewarded. And when they learn that the reward is not only sufficient food, but even good performance, and there is a possibility of sharing meat, several of them widened their eyes and licked their mouths unconsciously. Life was hard and food was limited, and it was impossible to get enough to eat. Lu Xiaopeng felt that it must be because of this reason that he never beat the demonized wolf. 
For the upcoming dinner time, he is extremely looking forward to it, especially for the food. He has worked hard, and he has already pulled a dozen or dozens of carts of gravel, which will all be familiar. On the small square in front of the villa area. In the center stands a bust of an ancient Greek woman of equal height, with a unique style curve of ancient Greece. Lu Xiaopeng's attention was not on the bust, but in front of it, many stones were piled up to form hills. The originally empty plaza looked a bit crowded and cluttered. Lu Xiaopeng saw other survivors, the old people of the shelter. He came up to say hello and asked, Do you know what we do with these rocks? The survivor was also pushing a truckload of rubble, and he shook his head, It's not clear, anyway, why bother with so much, it's good to eat and drink every day. He recognized Lu Xiaopeng as the new awakened who arrived today, and thought for a while, maybe Director Tang is planning to build something, who knows, but Director Tang must have his own plans. Could it be that you want to build an earth wall, that's not bad, at least it feels more secure, but the earth wall can't stop many demonized beasts, unless it is a real city wall. It is said that large shelters are built. It's very safe after the city wall. Yeah. The survivors also agreed, it's just that the construction of the city wall for a large-scale shelter costs a lot of manpower and material resources. And there are all kinds of large-scale equipment, so we don't need to think about the small shelter, we can only use this material. At most build a simple line of defense. Don't worry, with Director Tang and several masters around, ordinary demonized beasts can't threaten the sanctuary. Instead, he comforted the awakened Lu Xiaopeng. Master. Lu Xiaopeng was also curious. He did not see Director Tang, but he saw a strong man like an iron tower. This person gave him a very strong sense of oppression. It is said that this person is Director Tang's left arm and right arm, and he does not know how strong he is. Powerful. But Lu Xiaopeng was still worried about the safety of the shelter. There has been a magic tide attack here, so, will it encounter a magic tide again? Is it dangerous to rest at night? Director Tang and several people are powerful, but the shelter itself is not fortified, nor has the ability to guard. He expressed his worries, but the survivor smiled, One night, we were attacked by demonized beasts, and guess what? The master brother fell from the sky, trampled the demonized beast to death with one foot, and even hid on the side. The assassin-type demonized beast was also instantly killed by the master brother. Director Tang once said that as long as you stay in the villa area, you can ensure safety. I didn't believe it before, but now I believe it. Of course, I also hope that the shelter can build a line of defense against demonized beasts. So with our little manpower, we can only do it slowly. Lu Xiaopeng nodded, this is indeed the dilemma of the shelter, and now he can only hope to build a stable earth wall with these stones. At this time, a shout came from the door of the villa area. Chen Haiping came from inside, holding a loudspeaker, everyone pay attention, now everyone retreats outside the yellow line, and repeat, everyone retreats outside the yellow line. Lu Xiaopeng was stunned for a moment and looked at the ground. There was indeed a yellow line, extending from the edge of the small square at the exit of the villa area to both sides, as if to surround the entire villa area. What is this for? Castle, top balcony. Tang Yu leaned on the carved fence, and his majesty came slowly. Standing here, with the faint light of twilight, you can overlook the entire villa area. The castle is not the original two-story pocket model. It has been upgraded to a second-class castle, which not only covers a larger area, but also has five floors, which look spectacular. What Tang Yu values most is not the change of the castle, but the territory. The second-level territory is centered on the castle, covering most of the resort villas down, and spreading directly up to the northern mountains. Through the territory map, Tang Yu can still see the other side blocked by the cliffs, with many representing the enemy's red. Point, that should be the demonized beast in the mountains. There are more dangers in the mountains and forests, not only demonized beasts, but more pre-apocalyptic animals. Not only animals that are affected by the red mist and then demonized, and a few who are not demonized, but survive in cruel competition. Come down, the alien beast that has mutated. In addition, after the end of the world, the vegetation grows wildly, and unknown things appear one after another. 
Even if there are some strange and dangerous places, Tang Yu does not find it strange, but relatively, the more complex and unpredictable places, the more likely some good things will appear. The thing, the source crystal mine that Wang Tai accidentally discovered before, is located in the mountains. He also sent Luo Zhe and Lilian into the mountain forest to explore, and he came to the conclusion that there are far more demonized beasts in the mountain forest than the outside world. And the terrain is complicated, and there is still a long way to go to mine the source crystal mine. Let's focus on territorial development for now. The current territory, even if it has high-end combat power, can only guarantee the security in normal times. To know that he was attacked by the magic tide a few days ago, Tang Yu was also worried that he would be attacked by the magic tide again. At this time, the buildings in the territory were sparse, and there were many ruins in the area. It was not as good as the worst small shelter, let alone developed into what a territory should look like. Tang Yu opened the attribute panel, and his eyes fell on the construction of the defensive building, the city wall. It's time to show the tip of the territorial iceberg. Chapter, 22 At the entrance of the villa area, a group of survivors are head to head. The notice came too suddenly, and there was no explanation, so they could not guess what was going on. Lu Xiaopeng couldn't figure it out either, there was a crazy guess in his heart, and then he sighed. Chen Haiping also stood outside the yellow line, recalling what Tang Yu had just said. It feels unbelievable. Suddenly, the ground shook. The stones piled up into hills rolled down one by one, but they all landed around the yellow line very regularly, as if being pulled by an inexplicable mighty force. Soon, these stones dissolved piece by piece and sank into the ground. The next moment, rumbling. The tremor became stronger and stronger, and along with the scattered gravel, the black wall gradually appeared and rose slowly. One meter. Two meters. Five meters. 10 meters. In just a few breaths, a majestic city wall stood in front of you. The black city wall seems to be connected as a whole, and there are no traces of masonry. The city wall is 10 meters high, 4 meters wide, thick and deep, like a black giant beast entrenched here. Standing in front of the city wall, everyone deeply felt their own insignificance. Chen Haiping stopped by the city gate and was speechless for a long time. He knew Tang Yu's plan. After seeing the castle, Chen Haiping believed that the leader had a special ability to build buildings in a short period of time. Perhaps it was some kind of change in the ability of the earth system, or it might be something more bizarre. Build Capacity After being informed by Director Tang that the city wall was about to be built, he was surprised. However, even so, it is not easy to build a small earth wall to surround it in such a large area of the east and west villas. But now, this black, thick, and majestic wall is far beyond the description of an earthen wall. This is a real city wall, a city wall that is strong enough to resist the attacks of demonized beasts. Even in the former shelter, there was only one wire fence that was more alert than defense. Chen Haiping is still like this. The other survivors looked at the towering city wall, and the expressions on their faces were exaggerated enough to make memes. They don't know what words to use to describe the mood at this time. Is this the legendary capable person? But the capable people they have heard of are far from being so powerful. They shape the city wall by themselves and surround the entire villa area. This feat is nothing short of a miracle. No, it's a miracle. The survivors are crazy, they are the witnesses of the miracle. What makes them even more happy is that with such a city wall, are they still worried that the shelter is not safe enough? Suddenly, a huge roar came from a distance, one after another. This is the demonized beast wandering in the distance. Attracted by the movement of the city wall, they rushed over here. Among them, a blue-red figure was extremely fast and took the lead. It dashed up the hillside and approached the entrance of the villa area in the blink of an eye. The survivor's face changed. The horror of demonized beasts is the nightmare of these ordinary people, and their faces suddenly turned pale. Lu Xiaopeng looked around and found that among all the people, he was the only one who was awakened. If he doesn't stand up at this time, who else can stand up? Isn't that a demonized wolf? Last time he also faced one, although that time, 
The result was not mentioned, but now he must ask this demonized wolf to see, what is a natural awakener. Lu Xiaopeng raised his arms and strode out. The demonized wolf is getting closer. He could see the cyan hair clearly, and there were red flames burning on it. This demonized beast is larger, far larger than the size of an ordinary demonized wolf, like a small truck. Lu Xiaopeng was stunned, this is a demonized beast, it feels like not the same as the last time I met. He glanced at himself again. With small arms and calves, he doesn't even have a real weapon. Is it hard to argue with fists? The blue-red giant wolf was gradually approaching, and a terrifying power surged like a tide. At this moment, he had the urge to cry. Brother wolf, let's not be so impulsive, okay? Lu Xiaopeng wanted to run away, but looking at the survivors behind him, there were also classmates he was familiar with. As soon as he gritted his teeth, he held on, but he couldn't resist this blue-red giant wolf. Can't he just deal with it? As long as he deals with this cyan-red giant wolf for a period of time and waits for the support of the experts in the shelter. Then he will also be a man who has dealt with terrifying demonized beasts, and he is worthy of his status as a natural awakener. Thinking so, Lu Xiaopeng took one step forward. Just look at my way around. It's Captain Roger. Survivors suddenly shouted in surprise from behind. Looking around, Lu Xiaopeng saw a strong man wearing armor and holding a heavy sword, walking from not far away. This strong man, Lu Xiaopeng was very impressed. He had seen him when he first came to the shelter. It was said that he was the captain of the patrol team of the shelter, and he was very strong. At this point, Lu Xiaopeng could feel the aura of Lu Oja's body. He was indeed a master he couldn't compare with, but he looked at the blue-red giant wolf as big as a small truck. And always felt that even if it was a, a towering man like Captain Luo also looks insignificant in front of the blue-red giant wolf. Can you handle it? Luo Zhe stepped forward and looked at the tall demonized beast that was getting closer and closer, his expression unchanged. He stepped out abruptly, and the slate laid on the small square was immediately trampled into spider web-like cracks. The next moment, Luo Zhe flew out like a cannonball, and the heavy armor ignored him. 50 meters. 20 meters. 10 meters. The survivor behind him held his breath, staring at the battlefield with a cowardly look, and the cowardly had already closed his eyes. The giant wolf approached, and a pair of sharp claws were larger than the entire body, with flames burning on them, and the place where they swept was scorched black. Luoja's eyes narrowed and he held the sword in both hands. Die. On the giant sword, there is a layer of red light, as if it is too strong to be dissolved. Combat skills blood slash. The red light brushed the sharp claws of the blue-red giant wolf and swept across its waist and abdomen. Luoja's figure had already appeared on the other side of the blue-red giant wolf. With a whimper, the giant wolf fell heavily to the ground, struggled for a while, and finally lost his life. After dealing with the blue-red giant wolf, Luoja remained expressionless and stepped forward. The rest of these demonized beasts, attracted by the big movement, are not as powerful as the blue and red giant wolves. Even if several of them gather together, they will not pose any danger to Luo Zhe. They are quickly killed one by one, leaving only the ground. The corpse of the demonized beast tells that it has experienced a quite fierce battle. Lu Xiaopeng. Is this the end? An incomparably powerful, even the most powerful demonized beast he has ever encountered, killed in one blow. The gap between the awakened and the awakened, should it be so big? How can I say that he is also a natural awakened? Looking at Luo Zhe's chilling back, Lu Xiaopeng's heart was hot. At this time, he thought of the mysterious Director Tang of the shelter. Originally, he heard that Director Tang was going to rebuild a shelter on this ruin, but he just thought it was a fantasy. But now, with this city wall, it is not impossible to have such a fierce person as Captain Luo. The Shade Shelter is much stronger than he imagined. Chapter, 23 Rubbing his swollen head, Tang Yu let out a sigh of relief. Building the city wall was a lot more troublesome than he thought. In the past, the constructions were all designated locations, and the system buildings were automatically built by consuming materials. The city wall is different. 
a whole city wall is composed of countless unit city walls. The consumption of building a city wall is also determined by the number of unit city walls. He has stock of Yuan Jing, that is, the consumption of stone is very high. If it is not for the basic puppet responsible for the demolition work, and only relying on the survivors, if there are not enough tools, it may not be able to build in a week, so of a city wall. However, the trouble is not the consumption, but the designated location. Normally, when building buildings, Tang Yu stood next to the construction site and didn't feel anything, but when building the city wall, the city wall was so wide, no matter where he stood, there was always a place that couldn't be seen. Tang Yu simply stood on the top floor of the castle. The balcony, in a remote control way, controls the construction of the city wall. This kind of feeling is wonderful, as if standing from a higher perspective, overlooking and feeling this territory. As a result Tang Yu felt a little dizzy in his head. Is it mentally weak? Looks like I'll have to take it easy. Tang Yu was building the city wall, and Luo Zhe killed the demonized beast. Elaine also looked solemn at this time. She held a kitchen knife in her hand, her eyes fixed on the ingredients in front of her. These ingredients are not the batch that Wang Tai kept privately, but Tang Yu opened from the ingredient resource pack. The top ingredients are rich in variety, such as those that fly in the sky, swim in the water, run on the ground, and vegetables and fruits. Everything you need. Elaine was stunned when she came into contact with these ingredients for the first time. Don't say she has seen such ingredients, many of which she has never heard of. She once heard that the nobles in the inner city had abundant food when they held a banquet, but even a banquet did not have so many rich ingredients. She was a little nervous, the Lord handed such precious ingredients into her hands. This is her task, and Elaine takes this matter even more seriously than when dealing with demonized beasts. She flipped through the cookbooks on the side, and the few books about cooking given by the Lord, she had read it back and forth several times in the past two days, and only felt that it was broad and profound. Although she was self-reliant in the past, how could she have the ingredients to cook for her she learned very seriously. In the kitchen, Elaine followed the cooking steps in the book. Although it was the first time, she was not slow. Soon, plates of dishes were brought to the table by her. When Tang Yu went downstairs, he saw Elaine, wearing a plain white t-shirt and shorts, and a blue apron around her chest, standing pretty at the dining table, like a girl next door. Compared to the time we first met, Elaine was more lively and cheerful at this time, with a smile on her face from time to time. But she was still a little reserved, and she had to wait for him to sit down first before she was willing to sit at the table. The dishes on this table are very rich. Although it is just an ordinary home-cooked dish, it is full of color and fragrance. Before approaching, a fragrance lingers on the tip of the nose. This was the best dish Tang Yu had seen since the end of the world. He couldn't believe it. After only two days of study, Elaine, who was cooking for the first time, could make such a good taste. This talent can go to the battlefield, go to the kitchen, and occasionally make a cameo in the air conditioner to cool down. In contrast, Tang Yu can only cook instant noodles. Tang Yu expressed immense shame. Well, this braised pork is good. Tang Yu ate a piece, looked at Elaine's thin body, and took a few more pieces. In fact, he wanted to call Luo Zhe, but Luo Zhe was probably the busiest person in the shelter. After he recovered, he devoted his energy to the territory. He went out early and returned late every day to fight with demonized beasts. Although Tang Yu also sent food to Luo Zhe for him, what he ate was what, I'm afraid it doesn't matter. Before the end of the world, Duo Duo was a workaholic who never sleeps and eats. Both of them are awakened. Awakened people have a higher appetite than ordinary people. Usually they don't consume much. Once they fight fiercely, awakened people need to take in more energy to supplement their consumption. A table of meals was quickly wiped out. Elaine's expression is very happy, even if she cooks it herself, she can't describe it until she really tastes it. This kind of feeling that touches the taste buds has never been imagined that one day, you will be able to eat such delicious food. She considers herself lucky to be here. Tang Yu felt very happy. In the last days, being able to live in a safe castle and eat delicious food is the strength of many small shelters, and it is not enjoyed. 
After dinner, both of them have their own tasks. There is no need to go out to explore at night, and Elaine also makes full use of the time to improve her strength. In addition to refining her soul power, what she does every day is to read the broken spell book. Tang Yu has also read this book, but to him, this book is tantamount to a book from heaven. Word. This kind of writing is very unique and difficult to copy, which also leads to the scarcity of spell books. Similarly, to read books of this kind of language does not require knowledge of the language, the key is whether you can understand it or not. Obviously, Tang Yu didn't have that talent. He has never counted on his own talent. Anyway, the talent is not enough to make up for it. With a plug-in, can you eat talent? Tang Yu has stopped hunting demonized beasts recently. Anyway, his combat effectiveness is average in the team. If you think about it, forget it. Going out to hunt is too wasteful of time. In contrast, the territory is in vain, and there are more things to do. For example, to enhance the heritage of a shelter. Now there is a city wall in the territory, and the height of 10 meters is enough to block most demonized beasts. In addition, the system is produced, the city wall is hard enough, and the resistance to demonized beasts and even the tide of magic has been greatly improved. A basic line of defense has been formed. Now what Tang Yu has to prepare is an awakening device. This thing can be said to be the standard configuration of the shelter. On the one hand, the awakening device improves the survival probability of the survivors, so that the shelter has more awakened people. On the other hand, the production of the awakening device may not be good for the shelter. It is difficult, but it is very difficult to make it for the ordinary survivor team. Tang Yu also understands the production method, so it's not a secret. In the early days of the apocalypse, before the communication was cut off, some scientists developed a method to promote the awakening of ordinary people, and this method was soon officially announced. It is precisely because of the existence of the awakening device that many small shelters with weak defenses have survived the repeated attacks of demonized beasts. This simple awakening device is a headband. Tang Yu took out 10 source crystals with similar energy values. This is the first material for the awakening headband. Only these 10 source crystals can stun many survivor teams. In order to improve the quality of the headband, he used a source crystal with an energy value of 2, which has a chance of condensing in the awakened demonized beast. There are also demonized beast blood, bones and other materials, which he also took from high-level demonized beasts. Tang Yu soaked the source crystal in the blood for at least three hours, then selected suitable bones, carved them into the shape of a head ring, and dug out ten holes for the source crystal to be embedded in. He couldn't sculpt, and he didn't need to be beautiful anyway. Tang Yu was busy for a long time. Looking at this bone in his hand that could barely see the ring, he felt a sense of accomplishment. It's just that the process is a little bit like a cult ritual Tang Yu also understands that human scientists' research on demonized beasts and Yuan Jing is still very shallow, and if they can be used properly, it is already great. That is impossible. Such a simple awakening device is also flawed. People who are not qualified for awakening will definitely be able to awaken with the help of the awakening headband. It is only a probabilistic problem, but it is relatively high. According to Tang Yu's own understanding, only people with high enough talent can awaken naturally without external force. Perhaps as time goes by, more and more survivors will awaken, but obviously many people can't wait for that time. The awakening headband is to achieve the purpose of awakening through a certain stimulation mechanism. This headband can be handed over to Lao Chen and let him handle it. The rules should follow the rules of most shelters. After all, it will consume the energy of the source crystal, and it is impossible for the survivors to use it for free. Survivors use the awakening headband to either pay the source crystal or sign a contract with the shelter. If they don't wake up, that's all. It's still the bottom survivor, but once they are awakened, they must serve the shelter unconditionally. Even so, the survivors are still rushing, and compared with the temptation to become an awakened, the others are nothing. In order to become stronger, since Krypton Gold Krypton can't afford it, then sell yourself. After finishing the awakening headband, Tang Yu was about to draw a blueprint covering the entire territory plan based on the territory map, when he suddenly realized that something was wrong. 
After a closer look, several red dots appeared in the territory. These red dots are moving slowly. It came from the entrance of the resort. It's already in the green spot. Chapter 24 As the population of the sanctuary increased, the place gradually became lively, especially the survivors who witnessed the rise of the city wall. In addition to being shocked, as a member of the sanctuary, there was also a sense of honor. In the future, new shelters will be built here, and there will be more and more survivors, and they are the first batch of builders. That's it, it looks like there's a shelter. Outside the resort, there were several figures. Their clothes were tattered and tattered, like survivors who had escaped. It was only in their words that they were very different. The leader carried an M4 assault rifle in his hand and a May 4th pistol on his waist. He looked up at the resort and said, let's look for a missing team. According to the investigation, that team the route of travel will pass through this shelter, and according to the news we know, the green shelter has been destroyed, but at present it seems. He squatted down and checked the surrounding clues, there are obviously traces of survivors' activities here, so, in this shelter, we may be able to find the clues we want. The boss is right, but how are we going to investigate and directly capture important people among the survivors for questioning? Someone suggested it, but he quickly denied it. The four of them are not masters. There are only two awakened people. In order to get here from Lindong, two teammates were damaged on the way. In contrast, the missing team is powerful, and there are many awakening triples. S. Master. Even such a team has disappeared inexplicably and they feel they can't be too careful. Although they don't think that the disappearance of that team is related to the survivors who survived in the shade. Everyone looked at the third child. The third child was more flexible and had always been the think tank in the team. There should be a way. Sure enough, the third child, the man with glasses chuckled, our goal is to find clues to the missing team. In fact, it doesn't conflict with the survivors of the green shelter. In other words, we are the survivors ourselves. Seeing that there were still people who didn't understand, the third one shook his head, dropped the rifle in his hand, and pointed to the tattered clothes, look at me like this, isn't it a survivor who escaped? Survivors who have fled will naturally follow the shelter when they see the shelter. If they want to enter it, as long as they enter the shelter, whether it is to contact important people in the shelter or find clues from other survivors, it is not difficult. Look for clues this way without risk. Several people smiled and seemed to have seen the dawn of completing the task. When they entered the shelter, they saw a lot of ruins. It was attacked by the magic tide, which proved that the news they had learned was correct. In this way, they had a little more confidence in finding clues. Everything that followed seemed to be expected by the third child. They disguised themselves as survivors who stumbled upon the shelter, and after discovering the similar, they showed just the right amount of joy and a hint of vigilance, and were soon led inside by a survivor of the shelter. The person responsible for leading the foreign survivors is Wang Zhou. He has seen events such as the annihilation of the militants, the miraculous city wall, and so on. He can be regarded as a senior person with senior qualifications in sanctuary. These people have a sense of belonging to the sanctuary. Relatively high. Considering that more and more survivors will come to the shelter, Tang Yu estimated that someone needs to play the role of a guide. Introduce the rules of the shelter to the outside survivors, show the power of the shelter by the way, and survive the aliens. Register of persons, etc. Of course, it's not so complicated now, it's just a simple guide and introduction to the alien survivors. In the future, as the scale of the shelter increases, a series of rules and regulations need to be improved, such as personnel registration, good direction, work arrangement, etc. Existing all of these have already made Tang Yu's scalp tingling. If he wants to make a specific framework, he still needs professionals. He can only hope that among the survivors who will come in the future, there will be a few with real talents. Real talent. Among the first survivors who were rescued together with Chen Haiping, Wang Zhou was more clever, more daring, more able to blow. He was assigned to the current position of guide. He led a few alien survivors with a smile on his face. The rich meals in the past few days have made his body gradually blessed. In his words, he has a bit of style of the year. Wang Zhou pointed to the surrounding buildings and said, 
you see that many buildings here are damaged, what does this mean? This means that our shelter has experienced fierce wars, and it means merit. Just like the scars on soldiers represent glory. These traces of our shelter represent our strength. You must know that it was a magic tide. The demonized beasts were overwhelming, and they were blocked by our shelter. You may not believe it. At that time, several masters of our shelter killed seven in and seven out in the magical tide. That kind of scene, TSK TSK, really makes one's blood boil, if I were an awakener, I would definitely be unable to resist and rush up. Wang Zhou spoke nonsense very fluently. The few people behind them looked at each other, only to feel a little confused. This amount of information is a bit large, and it is too different from the information given above. Isn't it that the shelter here was destroyed by the magic tide, and the leader Wang Tai escaped with his subordinates? But now, how many masters have killed seven in and seven out in the magic tide? Don't tease them with little knowledge. They don't know how many strong people they have seen in Lindong, but can they rush to kill in the demonized beast group? Non-existent. It's just that they don't know that although these remarks are basically Wang Zhou's nonsense, Wang Zhou really thought about it. If there is another wave of magic, there will be Director Tang and others, and the towering city wall will destroy the wave it's not impossible to stop it. The entire resort is not too big, stop and go along the way, Wang Zhou seems to be introducing tourist attractions, and soon. They are walking on the steps leading to the villa area, from here, they can already see the majestic and magnificent city walls, like a giant beast crawling on the ground. Did you see it? Did you see it? Wang Zhou pointed at the city wall, as if you had too little knowledge to believe it. This is the strongest line of defense of our shelter, the 10 meter high city wall. The entire city wall completely surrounds the villa area. No matter which direction the demonized beasts attack from, they will be blocked by the city wall without exception, even if it is a demon. The tide, it is no exaggeration to say that the most feared thing in our shelter is the magic tide. Wang Zhou was so arrogant at this moment. The most terrifying part of the magic tide is the number of demonized beasts, and the black pressure is coming. Even if the guns can deal with it, they cannot stop the momentum of the magic tide. The general defense line will not last long, and it will be destroyed by the magic tide. Submerged. The walls are different. 10 meters, which is higher than a three-story building. Most of the demonized beasts can't cross this height if they can't take advantage of it. Even if there are a few terrifying demonized beasts who can jump over the city wall, the threat is far less than that. As long as the magic tide is blocked by the city wall, the rest of the survivors can stand on the city wall and shoot from a height, which makes it much easier to face the magic tide. The four team members who were disguised as survivors had a sense of superiority from a large shelter at first, but when they saw the city wall, they were immediately startled, standing in a daze, looking at the towering city wall with their eyes moving. The mind is chaotic. As a shelter with hundreds of thousands of people, Lindong Shelter is naturally building a city wall, but how much manpower and material resources are spent. And here, even though the scale of the city wall is small, they can build a city wall of this height. They can't imagine what method was used to build it. The four looked at each other, even more puzzled. With such a city wall, coupled with a strong defensive force, it is not impossible to resist the magic tide. And looking at the appearance of the city wall, it was not possible to build it in a short time, so the information that the green shade shelter was destroyed by demonized beasts a few days ago seems very suspicious. Chapter 25 Filled with doubts, the four followed Wang Zhou to the villa area and walked all the way to a relatively remote villa. The corpses and messy devices in this villa have been cleaned up, it looks empty, and the walls are still damaged in several places, giving people a feeling of dilapidation and depression. The four people in this environment team felt that something was wrong, but they had no time to think. As soon as they came in, there was a strong sense of oppression, which weighed heavily on their hearts and made them breathless. In the villa, in addition to Wang Zhou who led them over, there were two others. A young man in casual clothes. The other is a strong man like an iron tower. The loose top is worn on the strong man, just like a tights. The strong man stood behind the young man, full of blood and terror, 
and they could feel that this strong sense of oppression came from this strong man like an iron tower. What happened? They don't understand, they are survivors who came here to seek refuge. Ordinary shelters, even if they don't welcome survivors, they won't just come to see them, right? Besides, there are two awakened ones among them, no matter which sanctuary, the door will be open to welcome. This is very wrong. The young man in casual clothes in front, with his hands in the back, swept his eyes over them, tell me, what's your purpose in sneaking here? The pupils of the four team members shrank slightly. They didn't know where the flaws were revealed, or... The eldest of the four looked flattering, this eldest brother, we were originally the survivors of Nanling Town, and we have been hiding in Tibet. After we found the road sign of your shelter, we wanted to seek shelter. We, we there's no purpose. He was a little uneasy in his heart, but he was certain that the missing team had an inevitable connection with this shelter. This makes the shelter more vigilant for foreign survivors. Just like this time, the boss felt that they didn't show any flaws. They were also survivors who had survived in the wild, and disguised like this, they also acted in their true colors. He felt that the shelter might not be suspicious of them, it was just vigilance and routine inspections. Through the oppression of the master's suffocation, their minds were shaken, and then they asked, and they were likely to accidentally tell the truth. Fortunately. The leader of the team is very fortunate. The four of them have all undergone certain training, and they are also determined and have not revealed any flaws. That way, they should be safe. Thinking like this, the boss still maintained a flattering appearance, but found that the person opposite was still expressionless. Like, don't care what they answer. He listened to Tang Yu continuing to say, of course, it doesn't really matter if you say it or not. I know exactly who you are, but what I want to know now is, why did Lin Wei send you here? Well, you have the right to remain silent, and you can keep it up all the time, anyway Tang Yu spread his hands, I've killed so many, and I don't care how many of you are. The eldest is tall and tall, and it was very difficult to pretend to be flattering, but now his flattering smile is a little stiff. Of course they know who Lin Wei is. This is their boss's boss and the biggest boss behind the scenes. It's just that he still has a little bit of luck in his heart. There is no evidence. It's just speculation. It's unlikely that these two will do it directly right. The boss is not sure, but he still insists. As for making a move or escaping, he never thought that the pressure of the strong man on the opposite side of the tower would force them to move stiffly. This is a master, far from what they can match. At this time, a young man wearing glasses came out and smiled bitterly, let me tell you. The third, you the boss looked in disbelief. The young man with glasses looked helpless and glanced at a few people, the boss, the second, and the fifth, is there any point in insisting now? The relationship between the boss and us is just an employment relationship, and they sent us to investigate. In this matter, we did our best, and sacrificed two people for this, we have nothing to owe, and there is no need to sacrifice our lives for this. He breathed a sigh of relief, you don't think that you can leave here safely without saying anything, don't forget, this is the end of the world, and human life is the most valuable thing. Besides, if we die, you think we can keep it. Secret. No, even if we die, other teams will still be dispatched from above, and today's results will still be repeated. The third child with glasses sees very clearly. After he finished speaking, he confessed like the people in the shelter that their purpose was not concealed at all. Several others were also silent. To say they are loyal, they are not. The initial insistence was just a fluke, thinking that it was not discovered. Even if Tang Yu said Lin Wei's name later, they thought that maybe he just wanted to blow them up. Answering is equivalent to admitting that if you are caught in public after sneaking into the shelter, even if you don't die, you are afraid that you will lose a layer of skin. Not to mention, insisting that he is a survivor who escaped, but it is possible to successfully sneak in. They thought so. The young man with glasses thought so at first, but he understood it better. What the other party said was not just to scare them, even if there was no evidence, even if it was just suspicion, in an era when killing people was like killing chickens, if you wanted to kill them, you didn't need to hesitate at all. Only frank confession can be exchanged for a chance of life. 
It's just that the young man with glasses still has doubts in his heart. In the end, where is the flaw? The team that planned to sneak into the shelter didn't know much information. The understanding of Lin Wei and the forces was not as good as the information he had obtained from Han Jing and others last time. Tang Yu also understood that Han Jing was Lin Wei's confidant, and the team just now was probably just a very inconspicuous team under Lin Wei's command. Naturally, this team did not know the confidential information of the Yuan Jing mine, and the task they got was to search for the Han Jing team that had disappeared before. But this time, the team that was dispatched to perform the mission was not the only one. According to the information obtained from the Glasses youth, at least seven or eight such teams were dispatched to different places for investigation. Their team was responsible for investigating this area. In this way, the disappearance of their team will inevitably attract Lin Wei's attention, and the shelter will sooner or later enter the other site. This kind of situation, in fact, was long in his expectations. The people in Han Jing's team have already died in various ways, but as long as Lin Wei pays enough attention to Yuan Jing mine, he will definitely send people to investigate, and it is only a matter of time before the truth is discovered. But for Tang Yu, time is the most critical. As a high-level executive of Lin Dong's sanctuary, although Lin Wei cannot control the army, there are countless awakened people under his hands. From the current point of view, Lin Wei's power must exceed the territory. However, the difficulty in transmitting information in the end times is not a prestige. Information can be delivered. The team was caught by Tang Yu, and when the news of the disappearance came back to Lin Wei, the task was assigned to the investigators, who were investigating. Over and over again, the time spent is gone. Taking advantage of this time, Tang Yu is confident that he can take the territory construction to a higher level. The people in that team, don't waste it, they can be sent to work as miners. The work efficiency of the awakened coolies is much higher than that of ordinary people. Tang Yu's heart aches when he thinks of Han Jing and those people. Isn't it great to awaken the coolies of the third level? It's just that he also understands that it is too dangerous to let Han Jing's group become miners. Chapter 26 What? You are going to Lindong Sanctuary, it is too dangerous. Since Tang Yu decided to go to Lindong Shelter, Chen Haiping's expression has been very excited. It's no wonder that the big guy who just messed with the Lindong Sanctuary will be sent to the door, no matter how you look at it, he is rushing to die. Tang Yu waved his hand, don't get excited, don't get excited, Lin Wei doesn't know me, even if you find out that Han Jing is missing here in the future. At best he will target our shelter and go to the Lindong Shelter, I'm just one of the survivors in the vast, inconspicuous. Besides, Lindong Shelter is the only large-scale shelter in the lynching area. With more information and more resources, only by going there will we have a chance to know how much power Lin Wei has, and we can't just allow the other party to investigate. And we can only sit and wait, right? I'll go. Luo Zhe's words have never been much. Tang Yu shook his head. Luo Zhe's work is indeed reliable, but neither Luo Zhe nor Elaine are from this world. Even if the contract has instilled a lot of common sense, they can't compare with the life experience of a normal person for more than 20 years. It will be half the effort. If you just go to Lindong to investigate information, then let Luo Zhe go there, it's fine. But Tang Yu went to Lindong not only to understand the power that Lin Wei mastered, it was just incidental, he wanted to understand the changes in the outside world through Lindong. At the beginning of the end of the world, when there was communication, Tang Yu could still learn some information from all over the country, but since the communication was cut off. The information was blocked, not to mention that at that time, the threat of demonized beasts was getting bigger and bigger, and survival became a problem. As a human being, he will not even care about other news. It's different now. He has the power to protect himself, and if he wants to develop, even if he has a system, he cannot do it behind closed doors. The system is his advantage, and Tang Yu will naturally make good use of it. There is no brain-damaged idea that he needs to be independent and self-improvement. Why can't he use his own plug-in? But you can't rely on the system for everything. From Han Jing and other people, Tang Yu had already learned that the scientists in Lindong had made many important inventions and discoveries by studying some new things after the end of the world. 
This is the difference between a large shelter and a small shelter. It is also human wisdom. Taking the system as the foundation and combining the thinking logic of human science is the direction of the future development of the territory. Not to mention. Tang Yu's thoughts drifted into the distance. Lin Dong is a large shelter, and it may collect information from all over the country. In Lin Dong, you should be able to find information about the shelter where your parents are. These can't be faked by others, only he can find the key to what he wants by ripping out the cocoons from a lot of messy information. As for safety. Chen Haiping's worries are not unreasonable, but, after all, Chen Haiping is just an outsider, and he only understands the tip of the iceberg for the territory and the cards he has. That's what worries you. Going to Lin Dong, Tang Yu naturally couldn't be alone, he definitely needed to bring bodyguards, not only that, he also needed a few days to prepare all kinds of equipment and props. Even in the worst case scenario, he can be guaranteed to escape. Time flies. In a blink of an eye, a few days passed. In the past few days, the territory has been developing steadily and orderly according to the plan. The team led by Luo Zhe and Elaine has rummaged through the surrounding towns and towns, and not only found some useful things, but also found some survivors from some towns who were struggling to hide and survive. These survivors were undoubtedly brought to the territory. Add some survivors who are barely able to move in the wild, or pass by, or learn about the survivors of the shelter from other sources. One after another, the entire shelter now has nearly a hundred survivors. In the past few days, Tang Yu has also strengthened the monitoring of the territory. After catching the four-person team, two days later, a team that was planning to sneak in was caught again. The efficiency of these teams is obviously not very good, Tang Yu is also relieved a lot. After these two teams, no team was found. He estimated that the area near the shelter was probably turned into a dangerous area by those detectives, and there may have been some clues. When Elaine and Luo Zhe went out, they could accidentally find the trajectory of some survivors. Most likely it was left by an exploration team. It's a pity, I want to go to Lin Dong, but I still lack the most crucial items. Tang Yu can guarantee that no matter what kind of dangerous situation he is in, he will retreat completely because of a prop. City Return Scroll It is very common in the early stage of the game, the primary market may be available, and the price is not expensive this thing may only save some travel time in the game, but in reality, it is a proper life-saving artifact. He has been waiting for the opportunity to refresh the market every day. However, it doesn't always show up when you need it most. Tang Yu refreshed today's market. The next one's eyes widened and his face beamed with joy. It's not that I saw the city return scroll, but this thing, when put into reality, is also an artifact. Backpack 10 slots. The backpack in the game is nothing more than expanding the backpack slot, and the amount of expansion is not much. The reality is different. This backpack looks like an ordinary backpack, which is a smaller model, but there is something else inside. There are 10 spaces in the 10-pack backpack, and each space has 1 cubic meter. Together, it is a full 10 cubic meters of space. Tang Yu did not hesitate to buy the only 3 space backpacks in the batch of goods in the market, and the result was that Yuan Jing was about to bottom out. In the past few days, I have built a market, upgraded the Lord Castle, built a city wall, and bought blueprints and backpacks in the market. The daily income is only 1 or 200 units of source crystals. This amount is actually quite a lot, but it is far from being consumed. Tang Yu looked at the source crystal inventory, and it was almost exhausted. More importantly, there are not many system buildings, only a few. The great landlord Tang was very sad. Looking at the space backpack in his hand, his eyes suddenly lit up and he thought of a new source of income. The sky is clear, the weather is like a steam oven, the scorching sun is baking the broken earth, and the air seems to be filled with a odor of sweat. Avoiding the sweaty laborers at work, Tang Yu sneaked out of the shelter with two puppet guards. The target points directly to the source crystal mine a few kilometers away. He was always envious of this source crystal mine, but he was unable to mine it there were many demonized beasts in the mountains and forests. And he had also entered it, but he was harassed by demonized beasts before he found the source crystal mine. 
In this case, mining source crystal ore is too whimsical. Well, normal arrangements for survivors to mine, naturally not. But if it's just violent rubble, taking the ore containing the source crystal and putting it into the space backpack, Tang Yu thinks it's feasible. From the side of the resort, there is a mountain road that goes around the mountain behind the resort. Tang Yu meandered along the mountain road. On one side is a steep mountain wall, and on the other side is a cliff facing a small stream. Most of the water for the shelter after the end of the world is drawn from this stream. Fortunately, this stream was not particularly polluted before the end of the world at least the stream did not turn into strange colors such as red and yellow. No. One and no. Two followed like a door god, and Tang Yu leisurely observed the surroundings. This mountain road is not wide, just two-way two-lane. At a glance, nearly half of the road is covered with weeds. These weeds grow from the soil next to the cement road, and they grow wildly. Some of them have grown to a height of one or two meters, and some of them grow from the gaps in the cement road. The tenacious vitality makes the whole road crack. If there are people who are hiding and never going out after the end of the world, maybe they will find out. The world has become too foreign. Chapter 27 According to the information obtained before, the Yuanjing mine is only a few kilometers away from the resort, and it is in a certain area in the forest behind the castle. This mountain forest is very large, and there are countless magical beasts. A few days ago, he walked down this road around the mountain, and there was a relatively gentle gap in the middle section, which could enter the mountain forest. However, this detour is too far and it is a waste of time, and as guardian puppets, no. One and no. Two have a limited range of activities, and it is too far away from the territory. It is better to click directly. On the side of the road close to the mountains and forests, there is a towering mountain wall with densely intertwined grass and trees. In mind. Tang Yu gave the order directly to No. In an instant, a spider web like crack appeared at the foot of No. 1, and the whole body rose into the sky, forcibly hitting a road from the dense bushes. For a time, the broken branches and leaves fell like rain and fell on the mountain road, leaving the ground in a mess. Tang Yu's mouth twitched slightly, looking at the mountain wall where a road had been cleared, and then at the cable hanging down from the top of the mountain wall, sure enough, violence is the best way to solve difficulties. The sun outside the forest was scorching hot, making people panic. In the forest, it is very different. The trees are growing fast, the trunks and roots are intertwined, the branches and leaves are lush, as if approaching the virgin forest. And even the sunlight is blocked, not only the light suddenly becomes much dim, but even the temperature will drop several degrees. There is no doubt that this is also a change that will only take place after the end of the world. Every tree seems to have eaten hormones. In some densely populated areas, Tang Yu also saw branches cross together. How decent is this hug? Maybe it won't be long before Tang Yu will not be surprised even if the grass and trees become fine. It was quiet in the forest, save for the occasional rustling of the wind blowing through the treetops. The insects and birds have not been heard. Tang Yu is actually curious. It seems that such creatures as insects have never been seen after the end of the world birds, at least they have seen demonized birds polluted by red mist, but insects are indeed not seen. This is the most common type of creature, but I have never heard of insect mutation. Is it because the insect is too weak and extinct? Tang Yu felt that it was impossible. The reproductive ability and adaptability of insects were all top notch. Instead, he was worried that insects were transformed into demonized beasts. Once a mutation appeared, it might be much more difficult to deal with than ordinary demonized beasts. At this time, puppet guard no. Two walking on the right suddenly stepped forward, reached out and grabbed a green rattan, pinching it hard. With a snap. The rattan burst open, and the yellow-green liquid spilled on the ground, making a crackling sound. Tang Yu was stunned. This is a snake. He was also startled, if he was alone, he would not dare to enter such a forest. Outside, except for a few assassination type demonized beasts, most demonized beasts are not difficult to find. But in the mountains and forests, like this one, after being demonized, it still maintains the hunting habits of the original animals. 
in such a complex environment as mountains and forests, even more dangerous. This is just a weak demonized snake. Unfortunately, the flesh of demonized beasts is mostly inedible. If it is an alienated snake, it will be different. It seems to be the beginning. As he went deeper into the forest, more and more demonized beasts appeared in front of Tanyu. Some of the native demonized beasts maintained their original appearance, while others mutated and became grotesque. A demonized rabbit larger than a tiger and a leopard, a demonized squirrel with three tails, and more otherworldly goods crawling out of the abyss. He felt that if there was a chance in the future, he could make a number for these demonized beasts and give them a name. The environment in the mountains and forests is complex, and the location of the source crystal mine is uncertain. Tang Yu has been shopping for a long time, but he has not found the source crystal mine. Could it be that this news is fake? But how dare Wang Tai make a deal with Lin Dong boss with a fake news? Tang Yu thought to pay. Not to mention whether the news is true or false, given the level of danger in this forest, it is estimated that if Han Jing's team came in, it would not last long, let alone find the source crystal mine. Even Wang Tai's people are said to have only seen them from a distance when they were running away. He suddenly froze. See? This mountain forest, with lush trees, has already blocked the line of sight, so how do you see it? He thought he was getting fake news. Suddenly. A large light appeared in front of him, Tang Yu rubbed his eyes, convinced that it was his eyes. How can there be sunshine in this forest? Could it be that we have already left the forest? That's impossible. I can't walk fast in this forest. According to the location, this person is only on the edge of the forest, far from crossing the forest to reach the other side. So. He stepped forward quickly, and there was a thumping sound from both sides. It was no. One and no. Two who were taking care of some harassing demonized beasts. The front suddenly became brighter. A pothole appeared in the line of sight, the sun was shining, and the starting point was crystal clear. This is a huge pit, and the bottom of the pit is covered with lustrous white stones, which are minerals containing source crystals, crystal or rough stones. Unsurprisingly, this is a bear mine. The Yuanjing mine was already shocking from a distance, especially in the sunlight, the rough stones reflected a gleaming white light, but Tang Yu's eyes were fixed on the center of the giant pit. There is a giant tree there. Well deserved. The trees in the forest are already tall, but they are far less than this one. This giant tree is rooted in the center of the source crystal mine, and its underground roots are entwined, like horned dragons. This giant branch has many leaves, but it is not as emerald green as ordinary leaves, but like transparent white. Tang Yu stared at it, and it seemed that he could still see small meridians in these transparent leaves. This giant tree looks like a dream. In comparison, the source crystal mine below has lost a lot of color. Shaking his head, Tang Yu stopped exploring the problem of the giant tree. The giant tree does not seem to be in danger. As for how it mutated, it is still to be explored later. Anyway, the giant tree can't escape, so it is better to remove the rough crystal or first. He also didn't want to get too close to the giant tree, so he just came to the edge of the giant pit and found an area rich in original stones. No. One and no. Two were guarding him, Tang Yu grabbed a bunch of balls from his pocket and threw them violently. Basic warrior puppet, it's up to you. In midair, along with a slight noise, the ping-pong-sized balls continued to deform and expand, and eventually turned into puppets with round torsos and thick arms. As soon as the puppet landed, Tang Yu immediately controlled the puppet to mine, the basic warrior puppet did not have this action program but it was also simple. Just like quarrying in the mountain resort, you don't have to worry about damaging anything. The rough crystal ore was thrown out with some ordinary stones. The rough crystal ore is not small, but it only contains a small amount of source crystals. If it is an ordinary backpack, it can't carry much, but it can't hold Tang Yu's backpack with space. Pieces of rough stone were packed into the backpack. The work of the puppets was a bit loud, like poking a hornet's nest. I saw under the giant tree, where the stalk was entangled, there were countless demonized beasts. The darkness was overwhelming, like a tide, ferociously attacking. 
Tang Yu frowned, the number is a bit large, fortunately, there is no need to repel these demonized beasts, as long as you persist for a while. Leaving the no. Two guard around, no. One was as fast as lightning, and at this time it had already rushed into the demonized beast group. The silver spear in its hand danced like a dragon and snake. No. One did not need to stab at all, but smashed and swept. Wherever it passed, the demonized beast was either seriously injured and bloody, or its entire body exploded into a blood mist. There is no one enemy. This is the upgraded puppet guard. Every time the territory is upgraded, the two puppets serving as territory guards will also get a huge upgrade. In terms of strength, Luo Zhe, who has broken through the shape of the body, is not as good as these two puppets. If it weren't for these two puppets, the range of activities would have been somewhat restricted. Taking them to the Lindong shelter, Tang Yu would have dared to confront the boss head on. That's kind of a pity. The demonized beast died, and a steady stream of soul power poured into Tang Yu's body. If it is said that the soul power gushing out from a single demonized beast is just a babbling stream, now it is like a turbulent river. For a while, he had a feeling of fullness even before refining. There are too many demonic beasts. If he hunts by himself, even if he already has the strength to awaken the second level at this time, he still needs to be careful in the face of the first level demonized beast. Danger encountered. He has some understanding, no wonder some people wake up for a period of time, their strength is still in place, it's not that they don't work hard, it's really they can't beat the demonized beast. Tang Yu smiled. Upgrade, how can you do it if you don't open it? Sure enough, this is the real use of guardian puppets. Chapter, 28 Back to the territory, the sun is still hanging high. It's not too long to go out, it's still time to eat a hot lunch. At this time, Tang Yu looked embarrassed. A combat uniform made of high-grade demonized beast fur has a deep scratch on the waist. This is the mark left by a claw when he was accidentally approached by a demonized beast. The scratches were so deep that they almost pierced through the combat uniform, and even no. Two almost couldn't save him. At that time, there were too many demonized beasts, and no. One was only involved in part, and the rest were still rushing towards him. In that scene, all eyes were full of hideous demonized beasts, and Tang Yu felt that it was no less than a wave of demons. He hurriedly put the raw crystal ore into his backpack, and when he finally retreated, the basic soldier puppet that acted as a miner had long been dismantled into parts. Too dangerous. Tang Yu frowned, the number of demonized beasts was indeed unexpected, and he guessed in his heart that the reason might be the giant tree with transparent branches and leaves. When they finally left, the demonized beasts did not bite, but returned to the bottom of the giant tree. It's just this crystal mine has to be put on hold for the time being. I'm afraid there are more demonized beasts under the giant tree. If they all rush up, I'm afraid that even no. One and no. Two will not be able to support it. He is also satisfied. Looking at the three space backpacks in his hand, Tang Yu's eyes were burning. These crystal or rough stones contained more or less source crystals, and he did not need to take out the source crystals from the rough stones, and went directly to a storage room in the castle. Crash. All the rough stones were dumped out, and this small storage room was filled to the brim at once. The value of the source crystal detected in the panel is constantly rising. Tang Yu took a deep breath, and that's it. How many source crystals does Wang Tai accumulate for a month? But it was only over 500, which was really poor. Maybe this is the reason why the sanctuary under his rule was destroyed, and even the demonized beast can't stand it anymore. Even if Wang Tai has active crystals, it is useless, he did not use the means of source crystals. Everyone knows the preciousness of the source crystal, and the official has long made the news that the source crystal may exist in the demonized beast. However, ordinary people can only use this thing as a diamond ring. Tang Yu estimated that small and medium-sized shelters could not use source crystals. Perhaps only large-scale shelters could develop some means of using source crystals through research. It may be relatively rough, an official collection of source crystals will cost more. In research. He is different. 
He can summon followers with Krypton crystals, refresh the market with kryptonite, and build buildings with kryptonite. Not only did he harvest a large amount of source crystals, but at this time, he was filled with a lot of soul power, and it seemed that he was about to be overloaded. In the later stage of mining, Tang Yu's body even had a feeling of repulsion against soul power, which was probably because he couldn't swallow when he was full. For the first time, he discovered that there is also a limit to the absorption of soul power. After this wave of soul power has been refined, Tang Yu believes that at least one level can be raised. When Tang Yu was sleepwalking during the day, the castle's induction system rang. This thing is equivalent to a doorbell, but it is much more advanced. It has the ability to identify and transmit information, and it does not require any operation. It is very convenient, so that he still does not know where the identification system is placed. Soon, Tang Yu saw Chen Haiping with a sad face. Director, at this rate of population growth, we may not have enough food. Although Chen Haiping was assigned to the post of the patrol team, he was working as a clerk these days. There was really no corresponding talent in the territory, so he could only make do with it. There are not many people in the territory. Although Chen Haiping is very busy, he still organizes the statistics of the survivors properly. This morning, he compared the remaining food with the daily consumption and growth rate, and he couldn't sit still. As long as the population continues to grow, the food surplus in the shelter may not last long. Not much food. How long can it last? Tang Yu asked. Chen Haiping replied with a wry smile, according to the current population, it can last for half a month, but every day, the number of people in our shelter is increasing, so I'm afraid it can last for ten days at most. Furthermore, I have already searched for all the supplies that can be found in the resort. As for the outside world, the only team that explores every day is Captain Luo's team. Consumption Chen Haiping didn't say anything. The meals prepared by Director Tang for the survivors were really plentiful. Not only was he enough, but he also had meat and vegetables. Even if it was far from the life before the end of the world, compared to the life in other shelters' conditions, but also enough to make people envious. He didn't think it was bad, but he had to have enough food. Once the food was exhausted, Chen Haiping couldn't believe that the entire shelter would collapse at once. What was the source of the food in the previous shelter? Chen Haiping thought for a while, in the past, the sources of food were mostly found from outside, but at that time the end of the world just broke out. And every time you go out, you can get a good harvest, and now, many of these surrounding areas have been patronized. So that Captain Luo doesn't get much harvest every time he searches. Captain Luo also hunted down a lot of demonized beasts and brought them back, but demonized beasts are not like beasts, most of their flesh is inedible. But which parts of the demonized beasts are edible and which are poisonous, but it is difficult to distinguish, so that the way of hunting demonized beasts will not work. He breathed a sigh of relief and continued, Originally, Wang Tai prepared enough food and ordered people to plant some crops with a short growth cycle and easy survival in the valley. I remember sweet potatoes, potatoes, corn, and the like. But those the crops have been destroyed by demonized beasts, and not only that, Many of the grains originally stored in the resort have also been destroyed by demonized beasts, so we don't have much food left. At this time, we have to plant crops again. I'm afraid it's too late. Even if we drastically reduce food expenditures, it's still. He looked rather annoyed. If he could have realized the food problem earlier, there might be a solution. Now, he racked his brains, but couldn't think of any solution. After Tang Yu heard this, he was not worried. The two major problems that plague shelters in the last days are nothing more than security issues and food issues. He hadn't paid attention to the food in the shelter, because he didn't worry, no matter what, it was impossible to cut off the food. The difference lies in how the food is obtained. Let Luoja bring a space backpack and go out to find food. It seems to be troublesome too. Buy food resource packs at the market. Too expensive. He had to break a single source crystal into two flowers, how could it be used in such a place, it's okay to enjoy it for himself, and to provide survivors is just overthinking. He thought about it for a while, and suddenly his eyes lit up, who said it's too late to plant crops. It's definitely too late, 
and there is still a lot of money. Chapter 29 Harvest Chen Haiping was stunned. Could it be that Director Tang didn't know how to plant, so he thought it was easy to grow crops? Even if you don't think about whether you can live or not, when the crops are mature, the shelter will be cold. However, looking at Tang Yu's self-confident appearance, Chen Haiping felt different. These days, whenever the director shows this appearance, which time is he not confident? For a while he felt a little dizzy. No hurry, no hurry, let's go to the place where the crops were grown before. There is a gap between the two villas in the east and the west. From the path between the two villas, going inside is a valley. This is where the crops were originally grown. Except for the entrance of the valley, the rest of the valley is surrounded by steep mountain peaks. After crossing this layer of mountains and peaks, it is the forest behind, but the mountains are steep, and it is no easier for demonized beasts to cross this mountain peak than to cross a city wall. Therefore, as long as Taniguchi is guarded, this place is very safe. No wonder Wang Tai will plant crops here. Entering the eye, you can see a piece of farmland that has been reclaimed, and occasionally you can see some growing crops. It's just that most of the places here have been trampled by demonized beasts, and the ground is full of messy traces. Even if Chen Haiping has been cleaned up by people before, it still looks like a mess. Originally, there was a lack of light here, the soil was not very nutritious, and there was a lack of fertilizers, so the growth of crops was not very good. It's true that these crops can't be salvaged, but he thinks this place is really good, the soil is not fertile enough, and the light is lacking. Crop growth cycle is too long. These are not problems, as long as there is a safe enough place, this is not only to guard against demonized beasts, but also to guard against survivors. One day in the future, when the crops are mature, if they are planted in an open and unmanageable place, Tang Yu will not be sure, and some survivors will have crooked thoughts. He never underestimated the inferiority of human beings. So. Next. Tang Yu selected an area, opened the system panel, and swiped to the resource building list. Chen Haiping has been following, and his face is a little anxious. He couldn't figure out what method director Tang would come up with. It's just that the food issue can no longer be dragged on. Suddenly, he saw that Tang Yu's expression became serious, his eyes were fixed on the messy land in front of him, his palms stretched out. This is at. Chen Haiping froze in his heart, and his eyes were fixed on the land. The next moment, I saw a lot of wood flying in the open space, this is the branches and trees that were destroyed by demonized beasts and scattered all over the place. Countless sand and stones also gathered together, and soon a three-story building similar to a mill appeared in the open space. This. Even though it wasn't the first time I saw this scene, it was different from when the city walls were being built. The scene of the rise of the city wall grew stronger, but after all, there was no complicated shape, and the windmill on the mill in front of him still had complicated patterns that he could not understand. Chen Haiping looked at Tang Yu's outstretched hands. As if. These hands. It turned into a pair of invisible hands and carved out the entire building. The speed is still very fast. This ability is beyond his imagination. At this level, he couldn't figure it out. After the mill was formed, the changes didn't stop. This pair of invisible hands stroked the ground and spread out around the mill. The ground was surging, the surface of the potholes was smoothed out, and ridges and ditches appeared. Soon the land changed from a mess to what it is now. Cultivated fields. Eight acres of fields, plus a mill in the center, is the whole picture of the whole farm. This change is just a click away. The construction of the farm is completed, consuming 500 units of source crystal, 150 units of wood, and 50 units of stone. Wood, stone are available. Consuming a mere 500 source crystals can feed hundreds of survivors in the shelter, and it is even more than enough. This is long-term development. The big landowner of Tang said that it was too cheap. He was a man with more than 10 zero zero source crystals. If it weren't for the waste of extra construction, and two more farms would fill the entire valley, it must wait until the crops are mature. That kind of harvest is quite spectacular. The power of habit is powerful. 
After experiencing a lot of shocking things, Chen Haiping's shock resistance also increased. Isn't it just building a house? The apocalypse is the end of the world, and building a house to hang up, can it be called strange? As the chief steward of the shelter, he is more concerned about practical issues now, director, is there anything special about these farmlands? These farmlands contain special energy in the soil, which is used to grow crops, which is not only easy to grow, but also promotes growth. The speed Tang Yu pondered for a while, it's probably between a dozen to dozens of times, depending on what crops are grown. In fact, he didn't understand either, and it was entirely up to him to make up his words. The function of the farm is to accelerate the growth of crops. As for the principle, soil changes, etc. anyway, he knows that the soil is no longer ordinary soil, and the crops can mature quickly, which is enough. Anything else, is it important? Tang Yu continued, in short, arrange for the survivors to plant food first. The fields here are full of nutrients. It is an easy job and can be arranged for the survivors who have performed well. Chen Haiping nodded in response. Rao was almost unable to bear it because of his shock resistance. It can accelerate the growth of crops by dozens of times and dozens of times. Before the end of the world, it is a fantasy. Even now, it still feels incredible. This changed other people, I'm afraid I can't believe it. After all, Chen Haiping has been here for a while, and he knows that Tang Yu will not joke about such an important matter. He is now estimating how much food these acres of land can bring to the shelter. Soon he can't count anymore. Even if it is only a dozen times the growth rate, it is more than enough to supply the nearly 100 survivors in the current shelter, and even if the number is 10 times larger, there will be no problem. Even if the shelter grows in the future and there are more and more survivors, with such farmland, there will never be a shortage of food here. One farm is not enough, just two, three, or more. It is no wonder that Director Tang has always been confident in establishing a shelter. If before today, Chen Haiping felt that there was hope to build a small shelter here, then when he saw Director Tang talking, laughing, and waving, the city wall was erected. And the farmland was changed, he knew that even if it developed into a scale of tens of thousands of people medium-sized shelters are not without hope. There are masters, city walls, and food here. From some aspects, it is already a complete explosion of medium-sized shelters. The food problem in his heart was resolved, and Chen Haiping called two trustworthy survivors to sow seeds after a meeting. He suddenly remembered something and frowned, Director, there are more and more survivors in the shelter now. And there are some difficulties in management, especially those who have awakened from outside, who are unruly and difficult to restrain. There will be problems. Chapter 30 Oh. Has someone made trouble? Not at all. Chen Haiping shook his head, it's just that I think some people are lazy at work, mainly because there are too many survivors and we lack managers, so we can't understand the specific situation clearly. Although there are no major problems at present, but in the long run, it is very detrimental to the development of shelters. Not only that, I also suspect that someone hides food at every meal, resulting in more food consumption than expected every day. This is also what I discovered when I counted the food this morning, but it is definitely not a matter of one or two days. The system of the shelter is very simple, and it can even be said that there is no system at all. Arranging survivors every day is actually just giving survivors a general direction, the specific workload, work audit, etc. None of which. The same is true when every meal is opened. Due to the large number of survivors, what is now implemented is a large pot of rice, which is much better than the food in the general shelter, but obviously. For some people who are greedy, no matter what others no matter how much you have given, such people will not be grateful and will not be content. For this, Chen Haiping has no choice. After all, he was only a soldier before, even if he had reached the non-commissioned level, but let him deal with these problems, he was very desperate. Tang Yu understood. The shelter is in the construction stage, and there are a lot of problems, and Chen Haiping obviously has to deal with those problems first. This is still too few people to be trusted. He, Elaine, and Luozhe belong to the core leadership of the territory. Chen Haiping belongs to the next level of leadership. 
then there are a few reliable survivors. Most of these people are in important positions or management, but they are obviously not enough. As the number of survivors in the territory increases, there will be less and less reliable personnel. This is because the foundation of the shelters is too poor. Other shelters, even if they are not official shelters, can build shelters, which one does not have a large number of supporters. These shelters themselves have population, resources, and are relatively complete. The operating system, the energy source continuously absorbs the alien survivors. As for the territory, it is obviously not a real sanctuary, nor can it be as deterrent to outsiders as a general sanctuary. In particular, many of these outsiders are unruly awakened ones. Tang Yu looked at the small dots on the territory map that represented the survivors. Except for the first two groups of survivors who came to the shelter, the rest are mostly yellow dots, some green dots, and a few red dots. Very dazzling. These red dots are not the personnel sent by Lin Wei to investigate, but some thorns among the survivors. Perhaps these people have not done anything to harm the shelter, but the red dots represent that these people are hostile to the territory. These people are more troublesome to deal with well, he won't admit it, because he is too troublesome and has not dealt with them, it must be because he is busy with the construction of the territory and has no time. Just now that there is a source crystal, the problem of the city return scroll should be solved quickly. Before going to Lindong, let's solve these trivial matters together. Let's do it, old Chen, you can make an announcement and paste it first, you can just write it as you like, and then find a time to do statistics for the survivors, don't worry, give some people some time to prepare. At that time we'll be able to recover the principal and interest, well, that's about it. Chen Haiping covered his face. He felt that the burden on his body was heavy again. Outside the resort, in a small forest. Ding Chang took a rocking chair, placed it in the shade, and was lying there comfortably, with a sausage in his hand, tasting it bit by bit. This taste cool, why didn't I find sausages so delicious before? In the distance, there was a rumbling sound, which was the sound of the puppet breaking the rock. Now is the time to move materials every day. Ding Chang was still sitting here leisurely, as if these jobs had nothing to do with him. Of course, he was very resistant to the arrangement of the sanctuary. The dignified awakened person, who was not a guest, actually arranged for such a lowly job. In his opinion, this place could not even be called a real sanctuary. There are two or three big cats and kittens, so the city wall is a bit unbelievable. If the food here is much more abundant than other places, he would not like this place at all maybe there was a shelter before, but later destroyed by demonized beasts, this can explain that there will be so much food here. Ding Chang was still a bit apprehensive about this place, at least the rock mining puppet didn't look very simple, it should be the product of a certain ability, if not, he would not follow the shelter's arrangement on the surface. Suddenly, a young man with yellow hair came running, old boss, it's not good. What are you panicking about? The big deal is that we found out that we robbed other survivors of food in private. It's no big deal. Your boss, I'm an awakened person, and it's not a so-called shelter. Ding Chang glared at the yellow hair, a arrogant face. Huang Mao breathed a sigh of admiration. As expected of the leader of the awakened, his words are domineering. In contrast, I was in a panic when I had bad news, and I was really ashamed. The boss said that it was not a false shelter. In this case, the bad news just now must be no big deal for the boss. Boss, it's not that, it's the shelter. The shelter posted a notice saying that the system needs to be reformed, and the survivors of the shelter should be divided into resident personnel and mobile personnel. Resident personnel must obey work assignments. Food rationing is also based on work performance, and benefits are higher, but once it is found that there are violations of work requirements, there will be various penalties including cancellation of pay. As for the mobile personnel, the shelter does not impose restrictions on this type of personnel, as long as it does not violate the shelter system. It seems that the shelter will regularly issue tasks, and mobile personnel can exchange resources by completing tasks. It is said that the tasks will include explore the surrounding area and collect certain items. Huang Mao didn't notice, the more he said, the more ugly Ding Chang's face was on the side, until the end, it was pitch black. 
the small square in front of the villa area has always been the busiest place in the entire shelter. Every day, most of the wood and stone materials are transported here by the survivors. After work, many survivors will also gather to chat. One of the few leisure options in the post-apocalyptic world. Proper rest and shelter are allowed, and it is impossible for ordinary people to work uninterrupted all day long. As long as he is not deliberately lazy, Tang Yu doesn't care. In fact, in terms of work intensity, the vast majority of survivors can afford it, and the pay for work is far more than in other places. At this moment, there are survivors pushing carts, and they see a notice board on the side of the city gate. A notice has been posted. It seems to have something important written. Fortunately, many survivors have been surrounded by the notice. Zhao Xinping quickly pushed a whole car of materials to the designated location, and quickly returned to the square, wanting to see what the notice said. He came to the sanctuary two days ago. Unlike many outsiders who came here by their own strength, he was just an ordinary person, and he had no luck to join a team of awakened people. But Zhao Xinping felt that he was lucky. He still remembered that day, when he hid in a dark corner, endured the torment of hunger, and a demonized beast lingered not far from his residence. At that time, his heart was terrified, until Captain Luo appeared and cut the demonized beast into two pieces with one sword. Then, he was taken to the shelter and became an ordinary survivor here. Being able to eat three meals a day, even vegetables, meat and other food, all this seems like a dream. He didn't know how to repay shelter's kindness, so he could only try his best to do his part. Chapter 31 Squeezing into the crowd, Zhao Xingping finally saw the content of the notice. Notice on the latest arrangement of the shelter for survivors. In view of the increasing number of survivors in the shelter, the latest arrangements are being made. The shelter divides survivors into resident personnel and mobile personnel. Resident personnel include but are not limited to municipal staff, patrols, ordinary jobs resident personnel need to obey the work arrangements of the shelter and also enjoy higher benefits. Such as arranging housing, enjoying drug coverage, etc. Among them, the awakened, those with fighting ability or experience in using firearms, can apply to join the patrol team, and the benefits of the patrol team are higher but they must also fulfill their obligations. People with management experience, who pass the interview after application, can become municipal staff, and the treatment is. The shelter does not impose restrictions on mobile personnel, but in the same way, mobile personnel do not enjoy any benefits. If mobile personnel want to obtain supplies, they can spend source crystals to buy from the shelter, or they can complete the tasks regularly issued by the shelter to exchange corresponding supplies. After reading the notice, Zhao Xingping slowly walked out of the crowd thoughtfully. There are many people around talking about it. Some survivors looked worried, the shelter is no longer full of food, will we not be able to eat enough in the future? Probably not. The companion who answered hesitantly said, it doesn't say that after becoming the resident staff of the shelter, the benefits will be higher, we must become resident staff. That being said, but how much is this benefit? After cancelling the big pot of rice, no matter how full I am, I always feel that I have no idea. Zhao Xingping stepped forward to greet the two of them. They are all people who work in the shelter, and even if they are not familiar with each other, they all know each other. Zhao Xingping did not agree with the views of the two. Asylum said that food is provided according to performance. In fact, simply calculate according to the previous workload, and you will find that we will get more food than before. Not only that, I see what I said above, as long as we work hard in the future, we will not only be able to eat enough, but also eat better. There will be more types of food, and even tobacco and alcohol will be provided to us, which was not available before. I'm very excited to think about it. The other two also nodded after thinking about it. From this point of view, the reform of the shelter is still beneficial to them. However, as mentioned above, if we want to obey the work arrangement, the shelter will not let us act as cannon fodder, such as acting as bait to attract demonized beasts. Speaking of this, the survivor seemed to remember something unbearable from the past, and couldn't help shivering. Zhao Xingping laughed, look at it, this life is like a, if the shelter wants to force us to be cannon fodder, we can do it a long time ago, we can't resist anyway. 
Do we need such cumbersome steps, in my opinion, this is the reform of the system is only because there are more people in the shelter, and it can no longer be as casual as before. They didn't come to the shelter for a long time, but how the shelter treats the survivors is obvious to all. Zhao Xingping continued, also, as you can see on the notice, after becoming a permanent resident, we also enjoy drug protection, drugs. Once we survivors get sick, the shelter is willing to provide us with drug treatment. His words had a slight vibrato. In the apocalypse, many survivors were not killed by demonized beasts, nor were they killed by starvation, but in harsh environments. Where illnesses could not receive timely and effective treatment, and minor illnesses slowly developed into serious illnesses. Dead. Everyone can understand the preciousness of drugs. Much more precious than food. For a small bottle of potion, it is not uncommon for people to fight and even cause death in the wilderness. Zhao Xingping has never heard of such a shelter that can provide medical treatment for sick survivors. He felt incredible and lucky. The villa area, in front of the small garden of the castle. Director, the rest is easy to say, but will anyone really join this patrol team? Patrols have the highest benefits, but are also the most demanding. Generally, shelters have defense forces similar to this, but they are not so strict. Most of them patrol and supervise the inside, and help defend against the external demonized beasts. However, the notice is on. Such as Director Tang's request to add, regularly participate in the hunting and killing of demonized beasts, complete a certain amount of training every week. And have to conduct assessments for a period of time, and those who do not meet the standards will be dismissed. Chen Haiping thought that this was a joke. Fighting with demonized beasts? It is extremely dangerous. If it is in a desperate situation, some survivors will choose to join, but now in the shelter, as long as they are not lazy, they can eat and wear warmly. In this case, how many people will choose to join the patrol team? Chen Haiping is skeptical. The current patrol team is full of only four people. Captain Luo Zhe, himself, and two ordinary people with barely qualified marksmanship, this is what the patrol team is all about. Most of the people who go out to search for supplies and hunt demonized beasts are only Captain Luo Zhe. Occasionally he will follow him out. Hunt monsters. Chen Haiping felt that the most suitable people to join the patrol team were the awakened. Such people only have the ability to resist when they encounter demonized beasts when they go out. It is a pity that these awakened people once mastered the power, which can be very inflated, and they are also very close to shelter. You are not relatives, so why should you sacrifice your life for you? In the sanctuary of Wang Tai's time, the peak power claimed to have 70 or 80 awakened people, but less than half of them really obeyed Wang Tai. Chen Haiping has also observed these days, except for a few people who have good personalities or who have successfully awakened with the help of the shelter. The rest of the awakened people in the shelter are likely to be the moths that hinder the development of the shelter. In this case, Director Tang also required to complete a certain amount of training, conduct regular assessments, and those who fail to pass will be dismissed. Chen Haiping felt that he must be crazy. Old Chen, don't believe it, let's not say too much, there are still some slaps, this is a team, and there will naturally be a second, a third, and many more, so the size of the patrol team will be reduced. Woke up. But, even the awakened, they can choose to carry out the work. With the physical strength of the awakened, they can easily reap enough rewards. For most of the people who are unprofitable, how can they join the patrol team? Luo Zhe next to him was furious, these people, like cowards, what's the use of keeping them? Does it work? Tang Yu would say, of course it's useful. These people have been raised for so long, aren't they just to serve as role models? The pig is fat and ready to be slaughtered. Without contrast, how can it reflect the power of the shelter? Tang Yu stopped Luo Zhe and looked at Chen Haiping again, the patrol team is always bad, and it is easy to join because there are only a few people now. But it will be difficult in the future sufficient amount of training, these are the benefits of patrol team. Welfare. Chen Haiping suddenly became dumbfounded. Chapter, 32. It was night, silent. The entire shelter suddenly had an unspeakable atmosphere. Like a storm is coming. 
Suddenly, a gust of wind blew through the treetops, and the leaves were rolled up high and fell suddenly. In a villa that looked relatively intact, the lights were dim, reflecting a few darker faces. Ding Chang took a deep breath and spoke first, I believe everyone has seen the notice in the shelter. I wonder what you think. What else can you think, a shelter with only a few awakened people wants to instruct us, is it possible? I believe everyone here has the same idea as me. Yes. How could it be used for the sanctuary, what a bastard patrol team, asking us to go out to search for supplies, and asking us to obey orders, which made us die. It's best to come to this area where demonized beasts are rare. Don't see demonized beasts again in this life, so it's good to have food and drink every day, if you want me to fight with demonized beasts, there is no door. Don't talk about the patrol team, the ordinary transport team, and don't want me to join. We are awakened people. We are guests wherever we go. It's very rare that we want to stay here, and want us to do things, hee <laughs> hee. But according to the notice, if we don't become the resident staff of the shelter, we won't have so much food in the future, and even the housing will be given priority to those who join, hum, do we have to be removed from the shelter? Get out of this villa. Under the flickering firelight. Several people looked gloomy. They take it for granted that all this belongs to them. Whoever wants to take their things is to be their enemy. Ding Chang couldn't help but smile when he saw everyone in front of him sharing the same hatred. These people are all awakened people, and they have always been on the same front as him. In the past, he was worried that some of them were not firm enough, but now it seems that these people are very dissatisfied with the shelter. The confidence in his heart has risen from 50% to 7 layers. So everyone, if we don't want to lose what we have now, then we need to negotiate terms with the shelter. Negotiate conditions. How to talk. It's a shelter anyway. Sanctuary. No, it's just a small organization with a few awakens. If it is a real shelter, even if it is a small shelter, it is not something they can provoke. At first, they were also frightened by the name of the shelter. Someone soon thought about it, and Ding Chang was right. This so-called shelter is not worthy of its name. There are only a few people in the management. Even if they are all awakened, so what? Aren't they also awakened? They are not necessarily less than each other. Old Ding is right, there are only a few awakened people, we are also awakened people, no matter which organization team we join, it is not all delicious and entertaining. This broken organization just let us carry things. Even if we have to take away the food that belongs to us, then we must first ask the knife in Lao Tzu's hand if he will answer, this is the one who killed demonized beasts. After saying this, he immediately attracted the envy of others. Not all awakened ones have killed demonized beasts. Most of the awakened ones were just ordinary people before the end of the world. Many people have never killed chickens before, fighting with demonized beasts. Just kidding. It is no secret that killing demonized beasts can absorb soul power and become stronger. However, reality is not a game. Everyone has only one chance in life. Lives are at stake. The bet is won, and the sky has risen since then. I lost the bet and turned into a pile of dead bones. More awakened people choose to escape. Demonized beasts are too scary. Anyway, with their physique, they can run much faster than ordinary people and can survive more easily. In this case, why risk their lives to be demonized together? Beast fight? Just to get stronger? That's so fake. In the past, they knew that they could study hard and make progress every day after work, but there are a few people who can do it. There were a few awakens who didn't have the courage to do so. Suddenly, it was amazing to see that some of the companions had killed demonized beasts. With such teammates, I was afraid what would happen to the awakened in the sanctuary. This is a fierce man who has killed demonized beasts. Yes, we are qualified to negotiate with the shelter. If the shelter gives us enough status and materials, that's fine. If the shelter doesn't give us, don't blame us for being rude. Well said, this shelter is annoying, and what kind of bullshit system is it? Even those ordinary survivors are not allowed to touch it. I have been holding back for a few days, so don't blame me for being rude, anyway, I must be happy today. 
excited. But there are still relatively calm awakened people who said, but don't be careless. It is the people who dare to build a shelter here. I am afraid that those awakened people have also killed demonized beasts, so be careful. Ding Chang saw that the timing was about right, and said again, yes, we can't take it lightly, but there is no need to think highly of each other. Regarding the combat power of the shelter, I have already investigated it, everyone please take a look. He threw out three cards with three names written on them. Chen Haiping. Captain Luo. Director Tang. These three people are what we need to pay attention to. Ding Chang picked up the card with Chen Haiping written on it, I believe you have seen this person many times. You are all awakened people. You can sense the breath, so you naturally know the strength of this person's breath. Indeed. Someone said solemnly, this Chen Haiping's aura is very strong. To be honest, I am afraid that no one can compare to him. This person is probably the number one expert in the shelter. Chen Haiping's breath is indeed the strongest among the awakened ones in the shelter, but the other two should not be underestimated. He picked up the card with Captain Luo written on it, Captain Luo, his real name is unknown, although this person's aura is not as high as Chen Haiping's. But his aura is terrifying, you know his aura, the aura of someone who has killed someone and someone who hasn't killed someone is very different. This Captain Luo is probably a ruthless person, and the other party dares to go out to search for supplies, this strength should not be underestimated. Finally, it's the mysterious director Tang. I have only seen this person from a distance. He looks quite ordinary, and he doesn't have the aura of a strong man, but he can't be careless. I guess that the puppets in the shelter are the ones made by director Tang. From. A capable one. Someone whispered. Many people have this speculation in their hearts. The scene suddenly quieted down. Maybe some people don't understand what the ability person represents, but the few people present all think they know something. When the two sides are fighting, one can only go straight, the other has mysterious and powerful abilities, and the result of the battle is self-evident. In the apocalypse, if the awakened person is a master in the eyes of ordinary people, then the capable person is the master in the eyes of the awakened person. A master blessed by God. If Director Tang is a capable person, what should we do? Those puppets seem to be difficult to deal with. If there are too many, it will be difficult to handle. Ding Chang chuckled lightly, this smile contains the ease of controlling everything. It's really hard to deal with people with ability, but we're not incompetent. Several people look at me and I look at you, and they are all puzzled. If there are capable people among them, do they still need to sit here and discuss some shady things? There are really incompetents among us, but today a person named Peng Bo came to the shelter. That person is a capable person. As for whether the other party will help us, I believe you will understand as long as you have seen Peng Bo. Ding Chang said firmly, he is the same type of person as us. Time goes back to the afternoon. Peng Bo shook his head and walked on the road, and all the survivors he met avoided him from a distance. He was quite helpless, didn't he just have a scar on his head and looked a little more fierce, as for this. Is there any trust between people? For survivors living in the last days, there must be no trust between people, let alone a person like Peng Bo who looks fierce. It is said that some people deliberately got tattoos and scars in order to make themselves look fiercer. I am afraid that the slightly fat person in front of him is this kind of person, and he is still an awakened person. The survivors have heard about it for a long time, and quickly put their heads on their heads and walked away quickly. Chapter, 33 Peng Bo patted his head and didn't care. He has become accustomed to this kind of thing, and it is no big deal. He is about to rush to the construction site. According to the person in charge of the shelter, as long as he works hard, he will be full, and he will have meat to eat. Even though he was an awakener, he also awakened the ability to control the sand and gravel to cover his body to form armor. However, only he knows how miserable these days have been. He is strong, can fight with demonized beasts, and found a lot of food, but he can't stand it and consume a lot. He is a foodie himself. After awakening, he eats even more. He hasn't eaten enough these days. As soon as he heard that he was full, he still had meat to eat. 
At this time, a survivor found him. What, if you have something to talk about, just talk about it, why go to the small woods on the edge? Peng Bo didn't do it originally, you can't just go to the woods if you say go to the woods. After the visitor whispered to him for a while, he still followed the person to the grove to the side to discuss some important matters that would allow him to get more food. Help you. Then you can get more food from the shelter. But the shelter has promised that the food is full. What, you said that the dignified and capable person has an honorable status, and he can do whatever he says if he can't protect it it makes sense to say it better. After negotiation. When Peng Bo walked out of the woods alone, his head was still dizzy, and he was swaying when he walked. The man had a point, especially the temptation of food, so he couldn't think of a reason to refuse, but he still felt that something was wrong. Dry. Don't do it. Peng Bo was tangled in his heart. Unconsciously, he went further and further. Suddenly, a loud roar sounded, and suddenly he was shocked. Is it a demonic beast? His eyes swept around, and his body assumed a vigilant posture. The surrounding sand and stones had begun to flow, and they could be covered in the direction of his intentions at any time. The roar sounded again. This time Peng Bo heard it clearly. The source of the sound was still some distance away from him. He thought about it, stepped forward cautiously, hid behind a building, and looked at the person who came from the roar. Direction. That is. A demonized beast with sharp horns on its head, thick hooves and raised ribs appeared in front of him. This demonized beast is at least the size of an armored vehicle, and even if it is separated by a certain distance, there is still a strong sense of oppression, blowing towards him, making Peng Bo almost unable to take his breath away. Such a terrifying demonized beast, even if I have sand and stone armor, I can't help but take a shot. He can't afford to offend this demonized beast. Although it is not far from the shelter, the demonized beast may injure other survivors, but anyway he has a name for himself. It's better to tell the management of the shelter quickly, whether it can be solved or not, that's their business. Peng Bo had already started to retreat, but suddenly his eyes narrowed. He saw that terrifying demonized beast, as if it was retreating. How can that be? At this time, he noticed that in front of the demonized beast, there was a warrior wearing armor and holding a long sword. This man was originally very burly, but he just stood in front of the demonized beast and looked extremely small. It was such a small human being that he forced the demonized beast to retreat again and again. It was the first time he knew that demonized beasts would also retreat. Next moment. The demonized beast seems to be angry. The gust of wind blew up and slapped the surrounding buildings, leaving mottled scratches. Some of the relatively fragile buildings, swept by this gust of wind, actually shattered like tofu cubes. Peng Bo widened his eyes and took a step back involuntarily. He had heard a rumor that some of the demonized beasts could use special abilities, just like the capable ones among the awakened ones. This type of demonized beast is even more powerful. Even weirder. More terrifying. The one in front of him, without a doubt, is a demonized beast that can use the wind blade. Peng Bo's eyes were fixed on the front, his clenched palms were already full of sweat. Then, something that shocked him happened. The awakened in the armor stood tall in the gust of wind like a knife, and the wind blade was cut on the dark armor, and even scratches were not seen. The awakened didn't seem to want to wait any longer, and rushed forward with a stride, the huge sword raised and slashed down. The sound of the giant sword tearing apart is even more ferocious than the gust of wind created by demonized beast's abilities. The sound of the wind alone made his eardrums go numb. Peng Bo covered his ears and stared at the messy battlefield without moving, when he saw it. A blood line was thrown from the demonized beast, and it fell to the ground, and even hit small pits. This is this. The fighting process was very fierce, and it even penetrated a building next to it, but it came quickly and ended quickly. Peng Bo was on his way back, and his mind was even more confused. In that scene, the image of the warrior in armor standing beside the demonized beast with his sword was deeply imprinted in his eyes, as if he was invincible. After recovering, he remembered the business he had just hesitated to negotiate with the shelter. Demanding a more prestigious status. In the shelter, 
the dignified and capable person should be in existence on an equal footing with the director. Go to his daughter-in-law. With such a fierce person, you still want to negotiate conditions with the shelter? Although he is stupid no, he is just a little straight, but neither stupid nor stunned, how could he help those people do this business? Talk about conditions. Or wash up and sleep. He doesn't care what plans those people have if you have time to toss, it's better to do more work and eat more at night. That's great. The next day, early in the morning. The shelter did not arrange work for the survivors, and many survivors gathered together in twos and threes and came to the small square to wait. Many people are already familiar with the content of the notice board and can recite it by heart. For most survivors, every bit of content on it may be related to their future survival and future interests. Survivors have long given each item to them. Analyze them one by one. Most people have already made up their minds. For them, it is not difficult to make such a decision, it is a process, but the benefits are better, and most people are happy. But in the field, there were still a small number of survivors, their faces were uncertain, they seemed to be overwhelmed, and they suddenly showed excitement, as if they were surging for some purpose that was about to be achieved. Ding Chang hid in the crowd, and out of the corner of his eyes, he saw several awakened people who were conspiring last night, and they were all ready. Several people gestured secretly, revealing tacit smiles. Ding Chang's eyes searched everywhere, and finally found Peng Bo in a corner. Sure enough, there was still no one around, and the survivors were far away from him. Ding Chang looked at the hideous smile on Peng Bo's face and was satisfied. Sure enough, Peng Bo was also very dissatisfied, otherwise why would he be smiling so hideously? With Peng Bo, a capable person, and the head of the shelter restraining each other, the confidence in his heart has risen from 70% to 90%. It's done. Soon. The two survivors in the villa came over with a writing desk, and with a bang they placed the writing desk on the side of the city gate near the notice board. Chen Haiping stood at the table with paper and pen in hand, looking at the nearly 100 survivors present. In a few days, the shelter grew out of nothing. From the beginning, there were only a few people, and now there are hundreds of survivors. From the beginning, the ground was in a mess, and now the entire resort has been cleaned up. Even if he only played a negligible role in this, Chen Haiping was proud in his heart. This shelter, which he watched with his own eyes, was built bit by bit, and it will develop even better in the future. Turn into a real shelter, even a medium shelter, a large shelter. This seems to be whimsical, but Chen Haiping feels that it is not impossible. His confidence did not come from himself, but from Director Tang. Cleaned up the surrounding monsters. The food supply for the shelter is guaranteed. It can even build a majestic city wall in a few breaths. Such a sanctuary, in today's despairing land, is full of hope. Chen Haiping was fortunate that he was a member of this shelter, and one of the elders, who was able to witness and witness the construction of the shelter. But he also knows that the development of a sanctuary faces far more problems than these. In addition to the two thorny problems of demonized beasts and food, other problems that are not serious, even at the level of the sanctuary, cannot be taken lightly. Now, he needs to deal with the immediate problem first, hoping that after the shelter is restructured today, some worms can be cleaned up. Chapter 34 Chen Haiping stepped forward and said, In the end times, every minute and every second is precious, so I will make a long story short. No matter what the survivors choose, the shelter will always be a barrier to protect humans from being invaded by demonized beasts. In the next time, I hope that everyone will line up in an orderly manner, whether it is a resident staff or a mobile staff, please register some basic personal information here first. When registering information, if you want to become a resident of the shelter, you can apply for various positions according to your personal wishes and professional ability. The shelter will conduct a simple assessment of the applicants. After Chen Haiping finished speaking, the scene was quiet for a while, and some survivors were ready to step up and line up. Suddenly, there was a voice full of resentment from the crowd, as if it had been greatly wronged. The notice says that after becoming a resident, you must obey the work assignments of the shelter, so how do we know if your shelter will arrange for us to die? The survivors who were about to step up and line up suddenly stopped. 
Not everyone trusts the shelter, and even some survivors who survived because of the shelter's rescue may not be very grateful. This is human nature. And this sentence just expresses their inner worries. Chen Haiping's face turned black, his eyes swept across the crowd, but there was no trace of the speaker. Obviously. This is coming prepared, and has long been hidden in the crowd, waiting for an opportunity. Chen Haiping thought that this matter would not go well today, but he did not expect that some people would be so anxious that they would come out to make trouble before the registration started. What do these people want? His face became serious, the shelter will not arrange for anyone to die or work that is impossible to complete. If you have doubts, don't believe, or can't stand the shackles of the system, it's just a mobile person's identity, and you can also keep it. In a shelter. Huh, to put it nicely, if you don't become a resident, if you don't obey your orders, we will cut our food and drive us out of the shelter. Does this give us the right to choose? The sharp voice sounded again. It caused a commotion in the crowd, some survivors whispered, and the scene gradually developed into an uncontrollable situation. Chen Haiping's eyes were awe-inspiring. This time, he found the owner of the voice. An awakened person is one of the few people he pays attention to. He was about to say something. A faint voice floated. This is a shelter. Here, you have to follow the rules. If you can't do it, then please leave Mellow. It's registration time. The notice clearly states that you have the right to choose, but here, I have to say one more thing. You, you have no right to question. Like a gust of wind, blowing across his cheeks. But there is a chill. The survivors gasped for breath. Looking at the reputation, I saw three figures walking out of the villa area. The leader was a young man in sportswear, followed by a burly man and a girl in a cape. It's Captain Tai Mian Luo. And the ice goddess. Luo Zhe is the one that survivors see most often, and gradually got this title because of his often stern face. Elaine the survivors haven't seen Elaine take action, but Elaine's aura is cold, and from the hood, a pretty face can be seen faintly, which makes the survivors feel that it is impossible and impossible. This is the name when discussing in private, and naturally I dare not call it in front of you. As the number of demonized beasts around the sanctuary became more and more rare, most of the latecomers had no chance to see the two of them take action. Only those who first came to the sanctuary had seen the terrifying power, and they sincerely admired both Elaine and Luo Zhe. Tang Yu, who was walking in front of the two, had never seen many survivors, so he could guess that this was the director of the shelter. Ding Chang's eyes were slightly solemn. This is the first time he has observed the mysterious head of the sanctuary up close. He has never underestimated the shelter, and he has made several plans in order to make it happen today. Suddenly, he was stunned. Why don't you have the aura of an awakened person? Director Tang is just an ordinary person. He couldn't believe how ordinary people could become the head of a shelter. Then Ding Chang smiled. If Director Tang, one of the top three of the shelter, was just an ordinary person, then the probability of their success would increase from 90% to 100%. Stable. On the other side, several people were watching. Third, when Ding Chang came to us yesterday, why did you refuse it directly? The young man with glasses who was called the third child lifted the frame, how about you? Follow those idiots to negotiate conditions with the shelter. The big Chinese beside him felt a little regretful, then don't refuse so decisively, if they become, then we will lose. The young man with glasses shook his head, if you are swaying, and are dealt with by the shelter as Ding Chang and the others, then. He doesn't speak anymore. Being forced to be prisoners, several people must be unwilling. However, the youth with glasses are more rational, and the power of the shelter is definitely not as simple as it appears on the surface. Just the towering city wall and those puppets show that the background of the shelter. Even if this is the masterpiece of a capable person, it can only show that this capable person is terribly strong. At this time, the order stabilized again. The survivors began to go forward to register, and a long line quickly formed in front of the writing desk. In the dark, Ding Chang frowned. Originally, he thought that with the secret incident just now, it should be able to arouse some emotions among the survivors, 
but he never thought that so many survivors would choose to believe in the shelter. As an awakened person, he does not understand the difficulties of ordinary survivor survival. He is fortunate to come to the shelter, and it is a well-treated shelter. No matter whether he has doubts in his heart, these people will not hesitate. Not for anything else, but for the food that fills the stomach. Although somewhat unexpected, he was not frustrated. It's just a front-end plan to make survivors lose trust in the shelter. If he can succeed, he can naturally save a lot of trouble. Even if he can't, he believes that he can plant the seeds of doubt in the hearts of many survivors. Next, he has three plans for ABC. This is his experience in planning for many years, and a few more preparations are foolproof. Ding Chang revealed a faint smile. He walked out slowly, followed by several other awakened ones. He said loudly, wait, I have an objection. I don't care what system your shelter has, but it would be too insincere to ask us awakened ones to work for you with a few simple words. Our requirements are not high. Referring to other shelters, as awakened people, we must at least have a position similar to that of guest ministers, and we must be given due courtesy we should not restrict our activities on weekdays, but provide us with more enrichment. Of course, we will also contribute, such as managing the survivors, or resisting when the demonic beasts attack. Manage survivors? For them, it's not about contributing at all, but giving them the opportunity to squeeze oil and water out of the survivors. As for defending against demonic beasts, Ding Chang also had a plan for a long time. Anyway, it's all right. If the shelter can't hold up, he will definitely not hesitate and slip away first. He was already familiar with this kind of thing. In a small shelter he once stayed in, when the demonized beast slaughtered the survivors, he had already taken the food from the shelter and escaped. After Ding Chang finished speaking, several other awakeners who had been prepared for a long time agreed. Yes. Welfare should be high. Like the food you usually provide, if you increase it two or three times, it will be almost the same. There is also a residence. We awaken people, one villa per person. This is not too much. Without the guardianship of us awakened people, where can the shelter be safe? Ding Chang had a winning look on his face as he waited for the people in the shelter to answer. The survivors who were lining up also attracted their attention. Many people noticed that this Ding Chang must have something to do with the rebuttal voice at the beginning. They can also see that it is not an exaggeration to say that it is a threat to take this opportunity to make conditions on the shelter. However, most of the survivors still hope that Director Tang will agree. Although Ding Chang's request was a bit excessive, what he said was not unreasonable. If Director Tang does not agree and there are not enough awakeners, what will the shelter use to defend against demonized beasts? For a shelter, the most important thing is to have a safe environment, and the source of safety comes from the awakened ones. Chapter 35 In the eyes of many survivors, Ding Chang's words were like a sharp blade, slashing three inches from the shelter. There are also survivors who are firmly on the side of the shelter, arguing that there should be no compromise. More people are swaying, secretly, and the younger brothers of Ding Chang are inciting emotions. As if the general trend oppressed the hearts of the people. Chen Haiping's face was ugly. He didn't expect that these people were so well prepared. They wanted to say something, but didn't know how to say it. At this time, beside the city gate, Tang Yu's eyes swept across these awakened ones one by one. Don't speak, just step by step, step forward. The heel of the shoe stepped on the slate, the sound was not loud, but it was unexpectedly clear, and it rang in everyone's ears. The field became quiet for a moment. Only the sound of Tang Yu's footsteps and the slight breathing of the survivors. Finally, Tang Yu stopped, only a few meters away from the awakened ones. These people, a total of seven awakened people, have accounted for half of the number of awakened people outside the shelter. Those who can barely move in the wilderness and are eligible to come to the sanctuary by their own strength are mostly one or two awakened people, which makes the proportion of sanctuary awakened people higher. Even so, the seven awakeners, no matter which small shelter they put in, are a force to be reckoned with. This is the case for normal shelters. Pity. Tang Yu's eyes were indifferent, who gave you confidence? 
who gave you the confidence to make you feel that without you in the shelter, you can't resist demonized beasts? Who gave you the courage to stand here and negotiate terms with me? Ding Chong was stunned. In his expectation, this was not the case. In particular, the voice was faint, but a free momentum rushed towards his face, as if strangling his throat. Immediately annoyed. An ordinary person who is not even an awakened. The corner of Ding Chang's eyes swept over the awakened beside him and Peng Bo not far away, feeling confident. Since the conditions cannot be negotiated, then just let the people in the shelter see that we are not only qualified to negotiate the conditions, but also equal, no, even more than the strength of your shelter. It just so happened that Peng Bo was coming towards this side, and he smiled, Director Tang, don't you just want to ask, where did I get the confidence, then I'll tell. The voice did not fall. Peng Bo walked to Ding Chang's side, and then stepped out, walked past him, and came to Tang Yu. Are you going to face it? Glancing at Peng Bo's hideous face, Ding Chang thought in his heart, wishing Peng Bo to hurry up. However, the next moment, Peng Bo opened his mouth, that voice, compared to his face, seemed a bit simple and honest. Ding Chang didn't know if this was an illusion, so he heard Peng Bo say, Director, I want to sign up to join the patrol team, I heard that the patrol team has the best food. Is this true, and I heard that there are additional rewards for the task, it doesn't matter, I'm the first to sign up anyway. By the way, if you are the first to sign up, are there any rewards? Peng Bo rubbed his hands together, and it looked a bit the contrast was cute. Ding Chang was stunned, his mind went blank. The script is wrong. Peng Bo, a capable person, is obviously his trump card, but what did he just hear? Peng Bo wants to join the shelter. The strongest combat power on his own side, in a blink of an eye, became the opponent's person. This feeling made Ding Chang feel so aggrieved that he wanted to vomit blood. He glared at Peng Bo. Originally, in his plan, if the strength of one's own side and the shelter were more or less equal, then negotiate the conditions with the shelter. It is best to find out where the food is stored in the shelter, and then plan slowly, and if you find that the shelter is not strong enough if so, then go ahead and take the shelter as your own. This is plan A and plan B. He thought it was foolproof, but he didn't expect Peng Bo to defect. He couldn't figure it out. Under such a good situation, how could Peng Bo choose to stand by the shelter? Isn't Peng Bo very dissatisfied with the shelter? However, Ding Chang knew that right now, they were already at a disadvantage. Never mind, there's a final C plan. He took a deep breath and looked at Tang Yu, Director Tang, I admit that you are still better than you, and you have secretly attracted Ping Bo. And the treatment can be slightly reduced, but still, we awakened people have the dignity of awakened people. If you only want us to die, then my awakened brothers and I, as well as many people who cannot identify with the sanctuary, have no choice but to leave here and find another place. This is his final plan, to retreat. Ding Chang believes that the weakness of the shelter is that there are too few awakened people, so what if Peng Bo joins? No matter how powerful a person is, he is only one person, unable to take care of all aspects, not to mention, there are seven awakened people on their side. Without the awakened, what does the sanctuary do to defend against demonized beasts? Without survivors, what does the shelter use to move materials every day? He now believes that he is at a disadvantage, and the conditions have also been lowered. The shelter side should agree. No matter what they say, they are all awakened ones. Once a conflict arises, even if your shelter has the upper hand, there is no guarantee that there will be no losses. Seeing Tang Yu lightly shaking his head, he seemed to sigh. It's weakness, which limits your imagination. So, if you can take Luoja's sword, I will agree to all the conditions you want, but if you can't take it. Ding Chang was angry. Weak. He looked at Luo Zhe, who was standing beside Tang Yu and said nothing. The aura is not strong, just a newly awakened awakener, Luo Tai Mian, no matter how superb his fighting skills and his aura are, he can't even take a sword, so he underestimates me. No, let alone take the next sword, even if it is a real confrontation, he may not lose. You know, he was the one who killed three demonized beasts. The awakened, he doesn't care at all. 
this is his real confidence, stemming from his own strength. Ding Chang took out his weapon, a sharp machete, I'll take it, don't regret it. The other side. Luo Zhe also took out his weapon, a huge ape. Such a heavy sword is inconceivable to many people. Even an awakened person may not be able to lift it. Even if it can be lifted, can this kind of weight really be used in battle? Peng Bo took a few steps back, widened his eyes, and observed the legendary fighting man up close. Whoosh! Luo Zhe moved, he just stepped out gently, and the Pei fell straight down with wind pressure. Ding Chang opened his eyes wide, only to feel a gust of wind blowing, as if nothing happened. Suddenly, he felt that his body was a little stiff, and his thoughts gradually became cold. When he lowered his head slightly, he saw a bloodline, which stretched from the lower right waist to the upper left shoulder. This. His thoughts have gradually sank into the darkness, and only the awakened standing around him can see that the bloodline spreads like a painting, and then it bursts violently, and blood sprays out. In an instant, Ding Chang died in front of him. Several other awakens were instantly frightened. Is this just waking up? The fiercest awakened they have ever seen is not so fierce. Lao Ding has killed demonized beasts, but he can't even take a move, so they don't have the same result. The blood from Ding Chang's waist was still bubbling out. They didn't look at them any longer. They had a tacit understanding. Several people fled in different directions. This small square is going down the mountain. There are several routes to go. Several people know that they are not Luoja's opponents, and they may be caught up soon. But there are so many of them, no matter how fierce Luo Taimian is, he can't be able to do the clone technique, and when he sees who is unlucky, he will be selected by Luo Taimian. The few people who were conspiring together, who were called brothers yesterday, only felt that the victory was in their hands, and in the blink of an eye, they ran away. No one would care about the life and death of others, and even wished that his companions could run slower, attracting Luo Taimian to catch up, so that he could escape and ascend to heaven. An awakened with a beard, watching the movement behind him, didn't seem to see anyone chasing after him. He was overjoyed. Suddenly, a round figure stopped in front of him. It's a mining puppet. Beard snorted coldly, a mere puppet, or it was used for mining, and he actually wanted to stop him. Luo Taimian believes that he is not an opponent, but he has been a puppet like this, he is not false. Beard made every effort to get rid of this puppet quickly, and then fled far away, never to see the terrifying Luo Taimian again. He held an axe and swung it down with all his strength, causing bursts of breaking wind. Fast and powerful. The round puppet couldn't react at all, this axe slashed in the center of the puppet. Beard smiled and was about to take a side step. He walked around the broken puppet. Suddenly, a huge shock force came from the axe, making him almost unable to hold the handle of the axe. Only then did he realize that the blow he thought would kill was only a small crack on the mining puppet. This crack, for a puppet, is not even a damage. Chapter, 36 It happened so suddenly that many survivors felt that the shelter had no choice but to compromise. The next moment, they saw that one of the awakened people who wanted to negotiate with the shelter had died, and the rest had also fled. Died? They were shocked and didn't even see what was happening on the field. Just when they thought that the sanctuary would pursue the victory and get rid of the group of people who threatened the sanctuary, Luo Taimian put away his heavy sword and stood behind Director Tang again. They were a little puzzled. It is true that they are just ordinary survivors, and they are low-level people wherever they go, but they are not stupid. Since the shelter has already taken action and has hatred, there is no reason to let the rest of them go. The idea just appeared. Many survivors saw that the few awakened who escaped have been driven back in embarrassment. These awakened people were already in ragged clothes, and some were even seriously injured, and they vomited blood while supporting their bodies. Behind each awakened person, there is a round puppet, closely following. The sharp-eyed survivor also noticed that blood was dripping from the long sword in the puppet's hand. These puppets are too familiar to them. Aren't these puppets the ones who cut the rocks into pieces and let them carry them? Although I always felt that the weapons in the hands of these puppets were very sharp, no one had ever thought that these puppets were so strong. Depending on the situation, 
the few awakened who escaped were not the opponents of the puppet at all. How long has it been, each awakened is only faced with a puppet, but in a short period of time, the awakened was defeated, but there are many more shelters like this kind of puppet. No wonder the shelter didn't care about these men's threats. Among the masters is Captain Luo Taimian. If there are too many demonized beasts, when Captain Luo is incapable of doing anything, there are still these puppets. Sure enough, they are still too young to build a shelter, and which one is simple. Survivors watched this farce and couldn't help swallowing. They are afraid, but no one thinks that the shelter is cruel, and some people think that these awakened people are to blame, and they are wasting food while alive. The several awakened who were escorted back stared at Tang Yu with hateful eyes. The bearded awakened roared, Come on. Kill me. A broken shelter, few awakened, can't escape the fate of being destroyed by demonized beasts. I have seen many such broken shelters. Ha, huh, I'm waiting for you below. He laughed frantically, as if he had finally found a way to vent. There are also awakened people crying bitterly, begging for mercy to let the shelter go. Tang Yu was expressionless and waved to Qin Haiping, continue to register, um, if you want to join the patrol team, please apply to Luo Zhe. Beard is still roaring, patrol. Hee hee, do you think other awakens will work for you? He was certain. The other awakens, although they did not stand with them, could join the patrol, obey the orders of the shelter, and work for the shelter in this matter, who else would join except Peng Bo, who was secretly wooed? Impossible. Suddenly, a voice came from the side, no awakeners joined. It's ridiculous, can you represent all awakeners? Not to mention, I am a noble natural awakener. The bearded eyes looked at it and saw that it was a young man. He had a little impression of this person. He was indeed one of the awakened people of the sanctuary, but after a little contact, he found that this person was not the same as them, and he didn't know much about them. Unexpectedly, he actually stood up. The notice clearly states that when you join the patrol team, you must go out to face demonized beasts and obey the command. The commander is the terrifying Luo Tiemian. Transforming beasts are likely to be on the front line and face danger to their lives. Just like that, join the patrol. In the end is not stupid. Not only Lu Xiaopeng, but under the unbelievable gaze of Beard, several survivors stepped forward and applied to join the patrol. Not only the awakened ones, but also ordinary survivors. Beard can't understand. Lu Xiaopeng scolded, a person like you can't understand the power of Director Tang and Captain Luo, demonized beasts. That's what. Only a scumbag awakened like you would be afraid, alas, forget it, you are so scumbag, you probably don't understand what you say, so don't waste your saliva. Beard. He has become a charcoal face. Did you not offend this person? But the other party actually spit out foam and sprayed it all on his face. He couldn't hide, he didn't dare to resist, and there were mining puppets staring at him behind him. His face was already black and white. After twists and turns, the emotions of these ordinary survivors also fluctuated. When things subsided, the confidence of these people in the shelter rose by a few percentage points. As for the survivors who originally belonged to these awakened people, they were trembling with fear at this time, and their boss was cold in the blink of an eye. This is Tang Yu's purpose, to eliminate some people with ulterior motives, and squeeze the last remaining value of those people by the way. Just perfect. Of course, he knew that if he wanted to turn the territory into a real sanctuary, and if he wanted the survivors to have a real sense of belonging to the sanctuary, it was still a long way off, but he was not in a hurry. Without the troublesome awakeners, the registration went smoothly. Most of the survivors obviously chose to become the resident staff of the shelter, and a few did not join, or they didn't trust the shelter enough. Or they couldn't stand the shackles themselves, but at least these people have honestly signed the basic information such as name and age on the registration form. They were really frightened. Registration is complete and work will be reassigned. In addition to the previous handling brigade, there are now more construction brigade and planting brigade with the smallest number of people. Benefits go up regardless of the workforce, but again, food is distributed based on job performance. The current management personnel are still slightly insufficient. Tang Yu intends to group these survivors into groups of three to four people. 
when the performance statistics are calculated, they will be counted according to the entire lease. It is not random grouping, but based on the performance of these survivors in the past, the hardworking people are grouped together, and the lazy people are grouped together. Just like the ordinary survivors who followed Ding Chang and others before. Ding Chang and these people are used to kill chickens and monkeys. There is no need to waste these ordinary survivors. They are divided into two or three groups. As punishment, Tang Yu has lowered the welfare of these people a lot. Unless they work hard, don't even think about it. As for whether these people will be lazy, as long as they don't want to be hungry, they can only supervise each other, and the dog will eat the dog. There. Chen Haiping is calling on a few trustworthy survivors to assign jobs to others. Suddenly, the ground began to tremble slightly. Chen Haiping's expression changed. This familiar feeling had only been felt a few days ago. Tang Yu said, let the survivors go back to the city walls. Many survivors didn't react, and they didn't know why it was good to let them return to the city wall. The tremor became stronger and stronger, the gravel on the ground began to shake, and a rumbling sound came from a distance. The sound is like thunder, incessantly. The faces of many survivors turned pale, and they had already seen countless figures appearing at the end of their field of vision in the distance. These figures look weird, vary in size, and some even fly in the air. But without exception, these monsters all rushed in the direction of the shelter. It's the magic tide. The magic tide is definitely synonymous with the most terrifying end of the world. I don't know how many shelters have been destroyed by the magic tide. Many survivors have only heard about the magic tide, but have not seen it with their own eyes. At this time, facing the surging demonized beasts, they completely understand how human beings are under such terrifying disasters. Small. The bearded awakener, who was already desperate and with a gray face, looked at the approaching magic tide with a burst of happiness on his face, ha, ha, your shelter, you never thought it would be destroyed so soon. He knew he couldn't live, but it didn't matter. Seeing other people's faces turn pale for a while, he felt a burst of joy in his heart. Not even afraid of death. Beard realized for the first time how brave he was, he raised his head and wanted to see Tang Yu's face at this time. I saw Tang Yu's face was calm at this time, and there was a faint joy in the calm, and he tilted his head to look over, with an unspeakable smile on the corner of his mouth. Oh, you know nothing about power. Chapter, 37 at this time, whether ordinary people or awakened ones, they are all the same, panicking. Faced with the tide of demonized beasts that can't be seen at a glance, the awakened is not much better in such a scene. These people have the name of self-knowledge, and with their strength, they are far from breaking through the tide of magic. Out. The scene became chaotic for a time. Fortunately, the city gate was wide enough and there were not many survivors. Soon these people entered the city wall. Someone leaned against the icy city wall, gasping for breath, his eyes dazed for a while. Even with this tall city wall, whether they can reach the attack of the magic tide, they really have no idea. There are also flying demonized beasts, the city wall can't stop it. Even if the city wall can stop it for a while, but the tide of magic is overwhelming. With so many awakened people here, even if the demonized beasts stand and kill people, they can't kill them. How can humans compete against this? It's over, it's over, I thought I could live a stable life in the shelter, but who would have thought that it would be better not to come if I knew it earlier? An atmosphere of despair shrouded everyone's heart, and suddenly someone discovered that they did not see Director Tang and other high-level shelters. Did they escape? Some people can't help but suspect that they are indeed incapable of breaking out of the siege, but the high-level strength of the shelter is strong. Especially with a fierce person like Captain Luo, it is not impossible to break out of the siege, right? Thinking of this, these people's hearts became even darker, and even began to breathe a sense of resentment. Then someone shouted, they're still outside. Some people looked through the city gate, others came to the crenel of the city wall, and saw that the magic tide outside was approaching the sanctuary, and the swarming demonized beasts pushed all the way. The old historical building finally collapsed completely under this magic tide. However, in this case, Director Tang and others were still not panicking, just standing in the small square, 
as if they were going to meet the tide of demonization thousands of times with their tiny flesh and blood. What a stalwart! The survivors who saw this scene couldn't help but feel guilty. It was they who blamed Director Tang and others. They didn't want to escape, but to stand on the front line and fight against the tide of demonization. But some people still can't figure it out, why didn't Director Tang and others return to the city wall? Or does it mean that you are invincible and want to die vigorously? The survivors looked at Tang Yu with admiration. Escorted by the puppet, the bearded man who stayed outside the city looked at Tang Yu as if he were looking at a dead man. Tang Yu stared at the magic tide. It was dark, like a wave. The roar, the galloping sound this scene alone made most of the survivors almost collapse. Even an awakened person, facing this kind of scene, is likely to be unable to hold his weapon, let alone fight with demonized beasts to resist the tide of magic. This is the catastrophe of the last days. Wherever it passes, the shelter turns into ruins. That's what it used to be when it was a shaded sanctuary. At present, no one is not afraid of the magic tide. But. After all, he also experienced a magic tide, and survived, and achieved the achievement, the magic tide survivor. Facing the magic tide this time, it is indeed spectacular, and the heartbeat has accelerated a little, but this is not fear, it is excitement, it is joy. If you have to ask other survivors, what does the magic tide represent? 99 out of 100 people would think it represented destruction, and the last one was scared to death and could not speak. Tang Yu didn't think so. How could the magic tide represent destruction? Obviously it means small money. Even if he is a boss-level figure with over 10, 0, 0 Yuanjings now, Yuanjing is more precious than the red banknotes before the end of the world. No one will think that there are too many Yuanjings, especially a good lord like him. Looking at the surging demonized beasts, Tang Yu's saliva almost came out. If you calculate it by one-tenth of the crystal rate. Tang Yu snapped his fingers and found that the math knowledge he had given back to the physical education teacher could not be calculated. Old Chen, you all go first, Elaine, you also go back. Chen Haiping and a group of survivors who joined the patrol were still outside at this time. Maybe it's because the high-level people in the shelter haven't stepped back. It's very rare to be so. Tang Yu saw that many of the patrol team members were trembling with their legs and feet, and they were clenching their teeth. Within the city. Sure enough, the first batch of patrol team members can be focused on training. At the gate of the city, the alloy gate fell, blocking people's sight. Some of the survivors were squatting under the corner of the wall and shivering. Chen Haiping distributed the guns and weapons to the members of the patrol team. These people held the muzzles of their guns and pointed them into the distance. But even though they were holding the crystallization of human wisdom like hot weapons in their hands and standing on the tall city wall, they still did not have much confidence in their hearts. Elaine's clothes were fluttering, her staff was standing in front of her chest, her face was just like the impressions of the survivors. She was expressionless, but if anyone with sharp eyes could find that Elaine's eyes had been falling on Tang Yu, never moved. Tang Yu took a deep breath and looked around, a calm but calm but confident voice spread throughout the audience. Our shelter may not have many people or a small scale, but we have the confidence and the ability to protect every survivor who abides by the shelter system from being harmed by demonized beasts. After speaking, a list of familiar buildings appeared in front of Tang Yu's eyes. His mind controlled the movement of the list and came to the last defensive building page. To build an arrow tower for, a total of 800 source crystals, 1,200 wood, 800 stone, and 400 iron materials are consumed. To build a cannon, it will cost 100 source crystals, 200 wood, 200 stone, and 500 iron. Tang Yu stretched out his hands, palms up, as if he was holding something. Rise. Boom. The discarded materials on the small square were pulled over. Wood, stone, and iron were mixed together by a mighty force, which changed inexplicably. From the foundation, from the tower body, to the top of the tower. For high towers, located on both sides of Tang Yu, one left and one right, seemed to be printed out of thin air. Black like the outer wall of the tower made of basalt, it is extremely thick, and a dark hole protrudes from the top of the tower, 
from which the sharp arrows of Sen Han are exposed. This is the Arrow Tower, the most basic defensive building among the lords of Black Castle. Although the cost is cheap, the appearance is only a little more powerful than the ancient Arrow Tower, and its power cannot be underestimated. Every arrow shot by the Arrow Tower is made of energy, and after curing and rune processing, it is a super rune arrow with unparalleled destructive power and penetrating power. At the same time as the arrow tower was being built, there was a louder noise behind him. An artillery with a dark body and metallic luster, with a muzzle large enough to fit a basketball, was also built in an instant. The survivors on the city wall were speechless. With a wave of his hand, a building that looks like an arrow tower and artillery was created. Whether it is the speed of construction or the scale of construction, it makes them feel like they are in a dream. Like a miracle. The few survivors who have seen the construction of the city wall, with a face that is not surprised, caught the surrounding survivors, and their faces flew with foam, telling how spectacular the construction of the city wall was in those days. See the Witch. Chapter, 38. After the artillery was completed, visible to the naked eye, red light from the muzzle began to converge. Awakened people present can feel that a huge incomparable energy is gathering at the muzzle of the artillery. They were secretly frightened. Once such an energy exploded and got close, there must be no bones left. The red light was extremely splendid, spewing out from the muzzle, and streaked high across the sky, like a meteor, smashing into the magic tide. At this time, the magic tide has come to the middle of the mountain, and it is only one or two kilometers away from the shelter. The red light slammed down, accompanied by violent vibrations, the roar of the explosion resounded in everyone's ears, and the orange-red flames bloomed in the magic tide, like stamens dancing in magma. Beautiful and deadly. The demonized beast in the center turned into black ashes in an instant, with no bones left Tang Yu still felt a little distressed, how could the material of the demonized beast be worth a little money? The high temperature of the distance, the shock wave, the burning damage of the flame, and the powerful energy that burst out at that moment, suddenly made a big hole in the black magic tide. The speed of the artillery fire is not fast, but after a few shots, the entire magic tide looks like a rag. Terrible. Of course, the survivors knew that this was just a temporary illusion, or that Director Tang's ability was too terrifying, and a cannon that was condensed at random could actually cause such casualties to the magic tide. In. People like Chen Haiping who have experienced the magic tide and survived by chance are even more aware of it. Many sanctuaries destroyed by the devil tide, until the entire sanctuary is destroyed, the killing of demonized beasts is probably not as much as this. The crisis did not end there, the demonized beasts had already jumped onto the small square, only a few hundred meters away from Tang Yu, and the number was still staggering. A humanoid demonic beast with blood-red flesh wings and horns on its head stood out from the tide of demons. Ordinary survivors don't understand, but the awakened ones on the city wall have solemn expressions. They can feel an extremely tyrannical aura from this demonized beast with fleshy wings. This is a team-level demonized beast. Often a whole team composed entirely of awakens will be wiped out when they encounter this level of demonized beasts in the wild, and no one can escape. All the awakened people, including those who joined the patrol team and those who did not join the patrol team, knew in their hearts that if all of them were added together, they might not be the opponents of this demonized beast. Although the power of the artillery is huge, the speed is slow after all. With the speed of this team-killing demonized beast, it is almost impossible for the artillery to hit. Call out. The harsh sound almost pierced the eardrums, and the awakened people were stunned, only to see a fog of blood appearing in the field. Blood fog? What about the extermination-level demonized beast? What the hell happened to Wardvar? In the blink of an eye, this team-killing demonized beast disappeared, leaving only a cloud of blood that was gradually dissipating. Their heads were a little stuck, and at this time there was another sound. The sharp-eyed awakened saw that a dark shadow flashed across the air. The black shadow pierced through many obstacles, leaving a white mark in the air that was hard to see with the naked eye. At the end of the black shadow, a relatively powerful demonized beast running at the forefront of the magic tide burst with blood mist. The speed is too fast to be seen clearly by the naked eye of the awakened. 
Someone was staring at the frontmost demonized beasts, and finally captured a little bit of the picture. The arrow penetrated from the head of the demonized beast. Under the action of strong penetrating force and squeezing force, the entire demonized beast was deformed first, and then it was squeezed so that it burst apart and turned into a mass of blood. Fog. This feeling is as if the demonized beast is just a balloon. Break it with a poke. Ordinary survivors were even more speechless, their mouths were wide open, and the air was pouring into their mouths, making it uncomfortable, but they still stared at them. How could these people have thought that demonized beasts could be obtained so easily, and they were solved? Lose. In front of the city wall. Ten you felt distressed again, can you save some effort? Can you leave us some good loot? The most terrifying part of the magic tide is the number. Although the lethality of the arrow towers and artillery is terrifying, the magic tide is still approaching the city wall a little bit. Tang Yu retreated to the city wall, chose a location, and built an arrow tower under his feet. With the rise of the arrow tower, Tang Yu was lifted up, and then he jumped lightly and jumped onto the city wall. Luo Zhe also used his strength to jump up to the city wall, and there were only a few basic puppets left except for the awakened ones. The faces of those people turned pale in an instant. Boom! The demonized beast rushed to the small square halfway up the mountain, roaring, and soon hit the city wall. The survivors were frightened, for fear that the city wall would not be able to withstand it. Someone half covered their eyes and glanced down secretly, it's okay, this city wall is thick. That's not right. The sharp-eyed man called out, startling his companions. Seeing this man pointing downward, not only is the city wall fine, but the demonized beasts' claws were broken. With so many demonized beasts, they were worried about whether the city wall could hold up. They had to know that demonized beasts had sharp claws and strong bodies, so powerful that they could even trample a building. This tall city wall is not necessarily very safe. But who would have thought that the demonized beasts followed one after another and slammed into the city wall with a slap? The city wall was unscathed, but it was demonized beasts. Some were injured, and some were dizzy. The situation of stepping on the beast. This is probably a stampede accident. Tang Yu had a lingering fear in his heart, but fortunately, he came up and just stayed in the front, didn't he just want to absorb more soul power? As a lord, he can also absorb the soul power of demonized beasts killed by defensive buildings, but the amount absorbed is still much less, probably only a small 1 or 2 percent, which is not bad. On the city wall, Chen Haiping also began to organize the members of the patrol team to fight back. The guns have been handed out and these guys are bad marksmen, but in this case there is no need to aim at all. Da da da. The muzzle of the gun spewed out tongues of flame, and the bullets hit the demonized beast, splashing blood. Lu Xiaopeng was surprised, the fur of these demonized beasts is really thick. He just saw the arrow tower and easily blasted the demonized beasts into blood mist. He thought that these demonized beasts were relatively weak, but now it seems that this is not the case at all. To deal with the first level awakened demonized beast, unless it can hit the key point, otherwise, with the life force of the demonized beast, it may not be possible to kill the demonized beast by emptying a clip. If it is the awakening of the second level and triple level demonized beasts, it is even more terrifying, and only the bullets of the sniper rifle can kill them more easily. Lu Xiaoping looked at the side, Chen Haiping was holding a sniper rifle, a bullet was fired, a demonized beast with strong breath. A blood hole with a thick mouth of the bowl was broken, but because he missed the key point, the demonized beast struggled, but still did not die. He looked at the other side again, the arrow tower was still firing continuously, and each arrow took away a demonized beast. Occasionally, some of them are more resistant. If one arrow does not die, it is nothing more than a problem of another arrow. This arrow tower is not only extremely powerful, but can also target vital attacks. This is simply Lu Xiaoping doesn't know how to describe it, the ability is so perverted, doesn't it give people a way to survive? In the magic tide, there are also powerful ones. Those who leaped up the city wall almost caused casualties. Fortunately, on the city wall, Luo Zhe and the two puppet guards each defended a section of the city wall. Was quickly targeted, 
quickly killed. Relying on the defense of the city wall and the output of the arrow tower artillery, this magic tide that was enough to destroy the sanctuary was gradually wiped out. The survivors slumped to the ground one by one for the rest of their lives. The members of the patrol team were also weak in their hands and feet, leaning on the edge of the battlements, looking at the corpses of demonized beasts on the ground below, still a little unbelievable. Magic Tide, that's it. Chapter, 39 The magic tide comes and goes in a hurry, like a conscientious courier, leaving the love and warmth here. Fortunately, Yuan Jing, as a common currency in the new century, is stronger than Tang Yu's expectations. In the endless destruction of artillery and arrow towers, these source crystals are still intact, even because of these demonization. The corpse of the beast is destroyed, broken, and the source crystal is quite convenient to clean up. It's not bad to be like this again in the future an egg. He still loves those materials. Not only can this thing be used to make equipment, but more importantly, it will soon be going to Lindong. There is always a market for a shelter as big as Lindong, right? Tang Yu is also looking forward to making a fortune. In addition, there are some powerful demonized beasts whose body materials are relatively well preserved. Tang Yu ordered people to collect these materials, and he counted the profit of this battle. The demonized beast brought so many source crystals, this money must be earned, but this wave is not without losses. Just to build these defensive buildings, regardless of the materials, the source crystal cost 200. Not only that, but it also consumes energy when defending against building attacks. Where does this energy come from? Of course, it came from Yuanjing. Tang Yu stored some Yuanjing in the small warehouse that came with the castle. This was the consumption of defensive buildings. Otherwise, he wouldn't have waited until now to build defensive buildings. Tang Yu remembered that there was a building in the third level territory called an energy patio, which could absorb the free energy in the air to replenish energy for the defensive buildings. Probably before this building was built, these defensive buildings were all big players. After all, he made money. Tang Yu was in a very happy mood. In addition to the previous plunder at the Yuanjing mine, there were already a lot of source crystals. Before going to Lindong, these source crystals must be spent on the most appropriate ones. Place. The other survivors were also happy. This is the afterlife. The city gate has been reopened, and the brave survivors stepped forward to observe the corpses of the demonized beasts up close. God, it's so big. Such a big demonized beast is dead. Ordinary survivors have had close contact with demonized beasts. Immediately, survivors poked and found that they were really hard. So many terrifying demonized beasts attacked, but they were successfully resolved by the shelter. A shelter for less than a hundred people. Such a record, who would dare to believe it? Although most of this is due to Director Tang, it does not hinder it, this can become the capital of their boasting. In the past, many ordinary survivors could only eat and wait to die every day, but now it is different. As long as you work hard to eat well every day, and now you know the ability of the shelter, even the magic tide can't help it. Is there a safer place than a large shelter? Before they knew it, the survivors felt a sense of belonging to the shelter and were genuinely lucky to be here. After the magic tide was over, Tang Yu was not idle, leaving things outside to Chen Haiping and Luo Xie, and he came to the back of the castle alone, the area used to build system buildings. In the core four-piece set, the tavern, workshop, and market have all been built, leaving the last research institute. Tang Yu asked no. One and no. Two to transport materials back and forth, and finally saw that the construction conditions on the panels were satisfied. Constructing the research institute will consume 100 units of source crystals, 100 units of wood, 300 units of stone, and 300 units of iron. Just like the previous few times, a three-story building quickly appeared in front of Tang Yu's eyes. Walk into it. There are all kinds of research equipment in the institute. Tang Yu looked at it and knew very few of them. It was just a beaker, the kind used in high school experiments. It's all a cup. None of this matters, what matters is the function of the institute. As an important functional building, the research has its indispensable status. 
researching and developing blueprints, strengthening blueprints, transforming blueprints, etc. are all functions of the research institute. In theory, only with sufficient knowledge and source crystals, the research institute can completely develop the blueprints it wants. That's a long way off. At present, the level of the research institute is low, and Tang Yu is not going to invest too much source crystals, mainly using its function of transforming blueprints. Such as the basic long sword, this kind of blueprint comes with the workshop, which is very inhumane. What if someone else wants to use a knife, or other weapons? Transforming the blueprint is to change the blueprint of the long sword into the blueprint of the battle knife. Of course, the level remains unchanged, and it is still the basic equipment of a rune, but it has more applicability. Not only that, for example, the basic material used in the long sword blueprint is iron. After the blueprint is transformed, you can add magical beast materials, such as magical beast claws, bones, etc. Although the level of the blueprint has not changed, the materials are better and the production the weapons that come out are naturally more useful. Tang Yu first transformed the blueprint of the battle knife, and then designed a whiteboard shield blueprint and gun bullet blueprint without runes. With the blueprints, they can be manufactured in batches in the workshop. After finishing the research institute, he didn't need to build any more, and instead came to the market. He didn't choose to build a system building anymore, it wasn't that he didn't need it, but it was virtual. In order to go to Lindong Sanctuary, you must first brush out the city return scroll. This thing obviously has a high chance of being refreshed in the early stage, but he has never been able to brush it out. For this reason, the market was upgraded to level 2 yesterday, and the counters increased from 10 to 10. The refresh vacancy has risen to 20, however, after several times of brushing, the city return scroll still does not appear. A refresh is 500 units of source crystals. Even if he is a big man who has held 10,000 source crystals, he does not dare to continue after a few times. This is no longer a Krypton crystal, but a life of Krypton. Tang Yu felt that yesterday's fate was wrong, and it happened that today he solved the moth in the shelter and attacked another wave of demonized beasts. He should be lucky. As long as he draws the return scroll and makes some preparations, he can set off. To the east. First of all, I took a look at the goods sold today. The value is quite high, but it is too high. Look at those things, otherwise your heart will hurt and your eyes will hurt. Can't afford to hurt. Brush. Starting from the first grid, the items are refreshed one by one. Intermediate would resource pack 500 units, price, 49 origin crystals. Quantity remaining, 5. Filian weapon, making blueprint price, 300 source crystals. Quantity remaining, 1. The price of fruit from another world, 100 origin crystals. Notes, very tasty fruit. Quantity remaining, 50. Skill runestone burning the sky and cooking the sea, price, 1 million high purity source crystals. The first refresh, unsurprisingly, I didn't even see the shadow of the city return scroll, but there are some good things, such as Falian's weapon manufacturing blueprint this blueprint. If the source crystal is abundant, how many tang you must have if you buy too much, you won't suffer any loss if you buy it. If you buy it, you can still keep the value. No matter how bad the research institute is, it can be used to research and synthesize new blueprints. It is a pity that his source crystal is very insufficient. For other things, like fruits from another world, Tang Yu can only say that more and more exotic products have appeared after the market has risen. But the probability of spawning high-level items is also much higher, such as skill runes this is still for the first time in the market, skill runestones were generated, but Tang Yu was very calm and ignored it. 1 million. Also high purity source crystal. He can't come up with a million, let alone a high purity source crystal, I haven't even heard of it. The first time I lost everything, Tang Yu took a deep breath, don't panic, don't panic, even brushing out a million worth of things. It means that I'm still the emperor of Europe in essence, just a few scrolls back to the city, that's not a problem. A few minutes later, Tang Yu's face was pale, he was gasping for breath, and sweat dripped from his face. He doesn't remember how many times he refreshed himself, but so few return scrolls did not appear. 
Could it be that the value of the return scrolls is too low, so it belongs to the category of non-emirates, and the European emperor can't get them out? What's even more irritating is that after brushing so many times, I was lucky enough to get some good things. The price of these things is moderate, and they are very helpful to him at this stage. In short, the temptation is huge, and he can't hold back for a while. I don't know how many times I swiped, and I bought a lot of things in the middle. In just a few minutes, the source crystal in his hand has shrunk by more than half. This is simply more pit than a treasure. Anyway, some treasure is still the most wanted thing, but what about this broken market? Always get some coquettish cheap goods to tempt him, and if this goes on, he will not buy the city return scroll, and he is afraid that he will have to go back to the poor days before. That does not work. Tang Yu returned to the castle, took a bath, changed clothes, and burned the paper. The incense was not found, so he had to roll the paper into an incense shape instead. Back to the market. San Qing, Lord Buddha, Goddess of Luck, Lord of European Emperor, Senior White whoever it is, please give me the power to draw the city return scroll. Tang Yu closed his eyes and opened them. Put your fingers together to form a sword. Starting from the first commodity column, the white brilliance swept across, and the commodity has changed to a new look. The bones of high-level demonized beasts. Spring water with powerful vitality. Describe the basics of the use of source capabilities. Energy level beam gun making blueprint. A scroll that increases the probability of summoning. All are superb. Tang Yu found sadly that it seemed that it was time for hemorrhage again. Chapter, 40. I don't know if it's lucky or unfortunate. The last time he refreshed the goods, maybe his prayers worked, and the city return scroll was refreshed, and along with it, countless items that made him covet. It can be said that at least half of the twenty product columns are the best. Simply. Tang Yu had the urge to buy, 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 and couldn't stop. In the end, he restrained himself with strong willpower. The main thing was that even if he spent all the source crystals, he couldn't buy all the things he wanted to buy. But there are two of them, he still bought it. Yuanli Basic Knowledge Price, 500 Yuanjing. Remarks, describe the basic knowledge of source power and the use of source power. Quantity remaining, 1. High probability of summoning scroll price, 2500 source crystals. Remarks, use in taverns to increase the chance of summoning high qualified adventurers note, it is still possible to summon D-level qualified adventurers. The basic knowledge of Yuan Li is a book. From the outside, it is no different from an ordinary nine-year compulsory education textbook. This book is very cheap, only 500 source crystals. As mentioned in the introduction, this is a book about Yuan Li. In Tang Yu's view, its importance is not comparable to those that cost thousands of Yuan Jing. The cracks in the abyss appeared and opened the end of the world. However, the earth-shaking changes in the world were closely related to another thing. Origin Qi Tang Yu has heard a saying that it is said that Genesis Qi had begun to germinate before the end of the world. At that time, scientists had already discovered it and called it the discovery of Genesis. However, for various reasons, the discovery of Genesis Qi was not announced to ordinary people. Until the end of the world, people gradually know. There is also another saying that the origin Qi was brought over by the abyss cracks. To be precise, it was because the abyss cracks connected the different worlds that the origin Qi spread to the earth. Tang Yu didn't know which statement was correct, or maybe they were all wrong. But there is no doubt that Yuan Li has the properties of energy, but it is not only that, its properties can change and extend infinitely. Whether it is the awakening of human beings, or the changes that occurred after the end of the world, such as source crystal mines, mutant plants, etc. They are inseparable from the source chi. Unfortunately, this is a force completely different from the previous scientific system. The value of Yuan Li is self-evident, but people's understanding of Yuan Li is very small. This is a treasure, but it lacks the key to open it, and even, it is impossible to know what the treasure itself has. Scientists once suspected the existence of origin chi. This thing cannot be detected by the instrument, nor can it be effectively proved. Even the awakened person cannot perceive the source force. 
Only the able person can feel a certain element free in the air, which is consistent with the special energy in his body. This proves origin chi and origin power. So the ability person B is high. Similarly, Yuanjing also contains abundant source energy, so Yuanjing has become the most valuable hard currency. Even if Tang Yu was just an ordinary survivor, he knew about Yuanli, but that was all. Research using source power Non-existent Small and medium-sized shelters do not have this condition. Even those who are capable, the use of their own source ability is only in the instinct stage. Tang Yu once asked Elaine and Luo Zhe, they knew a little bit about Yuanli, but not much. Like Elaine, the two spells, Ice Edge and Ice Storm, learned from the broken spell book belong to the development and application of the source ability. Although it is only a preliminary application, it is much better than relying on instinct. The ability to use the source of instinct may be powerful, but in fact, it is not condensed enough, the power is not strong, and the consumption is even greater. If Ilyen releases the power of ice, and the surrounding environment is frostbitten and frosted, it is estimated that this is only possible. Can last a few seconds. That spell book involves the development and application of the source ability. Tang Yu had read it too, but it was like reading a book from heaven. Obviously, Ilyen was holding the book every day and reading it with great interest. Why couldn't he do it? Advanced mathematics is not so fierce. The same is true for Luo Zhe. Although Luo Zhe has more knowledge than Elaine, Luo Zhe is not a mage, and his warrior profession is equivalent to an ordinary awakened person. Tang Yu also learned combat skills from Luo Zhe. Although he did not learn it, Luo Zhe knowing the combat skills does not need to use the source power, just rely on the power of blood, it can be triggered. Luo Zhe's understanding of the source force is also very little. Holding the book Yuanli Basics in his hand, Tang Yu slowly opened it. Suddenly stunned. There were not many words on each page of the book, and there were graphics, but he widened his eyes and found that the words were all distorted, and the graphics were also in a strange style, obviously not something he could understand. This thing won't be the same as the spell book, he can't understand it at all. It's all about the basics. Tang Yu concentrated on these words, and suddenly he had a clear understanding in his heart. The source, the beginning of all things, is the root, the most essential power. As long as he focuses his attention on each word, the corresponding information involuntarily emerges in his mind. This is not a word, but is directly converted into the meaning that he can understand best. Tang Yu was completely absorbed, completely immersed in the ocean of books. Learning makes me happy. You are the soldiers of the first batch of patrols. Director Tang has already said what you should say. There are only two things I want to say, obey orders, and become stronger. In the back mountain valley, the clearing out is now the training ground for the patrol team. Luo Zhe's face was grim as always, looking at the young recruits in front of him. The first batch of nine people joined the patrol, including four awakened people and five ordinary people with combat literacy. This number was beyond Tang Yu's expectations. Among the awakened people, except for Peng Bo and Lu Xiaopeng, the remaining two were among the survivors rescued by Luo Zhe before. Fortunately, after using the awakening headband, awakened successfully. According to international practice, they are automatically included in the patrol team, but there is no reluctance on the face, otherwise there will be no insistence at the gate of the city. The nine people looked surprised when they heard Luo Zhe's words. It's not because of the training. The patrols of other shelters are also in charge of the security of the shelters, and when the demonized beasts attack, training is impossible. As far as the food in the shelters is stored, the awakened ones usually don't. Must be able to eat enough, but also training. Who is responsible for the increased food consumption? It's different here. The members of the patrol team knew that the shelter they were staying in could not be viewed with the eyes of a normal shelter, but they were surprised Luo Taimian said so many words at once. Asylum came, never seen. Suddenly feel flattered. The fundamental point of training is to give full play to everyone's combat effectiveness. Look at how loose you are standing, let alone guard the shelter. Even in a one-on-one -on -one situation, who can defeat the demonized beast? Peng Bo raised his hand weakly. 2. 
3. Or the demonized beast that awakened a second level. Peng Bo weakly put down his hand again. But as long as you are trained, that kind of demonized beast without wisdom, ordinary awakened people, one against three is not a problem. Even ordinary people can cut off the heads of demonized beasts in the fight. Patrol members were breathing heavily. They joined the patrol team, some for repayment, some for welfare, but there is no doubt that they are full of expectations for the development of the shelter after experiencing Director Tang's wave and crushing the tide of magic. In the same way, they will choose to join the patrol team and accompany them in life and death. They are not people who are content with the status quo. Even the few ordinary people who couldn't wake up were not willing to eat and wait to die like ordinary survivors. Lu Xiaopeng felt the deepest feeling, even a naturally awakened person like him is not an opponent of an ordinary demonized beast, but if he can fight three with one, he will not be able to punch the demonic wolf and kick the demon. A Tiger's Dream? Simply Awesome. Chapter, 41. In the open space, the members of the patrol team echoed Luozhe's demonstration in their minds, with burning eyes. Just now, Luozhe, with the strength of the first level ordinary awakened person, held an iron rod and smashed a boulder into pieces all at once. When did Awakening Yi have such terrifying destructive power? They didn't doubt Luozhe's words. It was true that Tai Mian Luo also showed a full strength shot just now. That power compared to smashing a boulder or something, it really doesn't know how much power is limited. A person can give full play to his combat power through training, and mastering more advanced transport skills can exert his strength far beyond his own. We call these capacity skills combat skills. The eyes of the patrol team members were burning. They have never even heard of these things, such as transportation skills, combat skills, and they seem to have opened the door to a new world in an instant, and even their breathing has become heavy. What I used just now was a combat technique, heavy slash. Luozhe held a steel rod and slowed down his movements just now, learning combat skills is not easy, the first thing you need to do is to use these moves proficiently. It will also be of great help to your combat effectiveness. These movements are awkward to look at separately, but if these movements can be completed in a short period of time and connected together, there is an indescribable beauty. Smooth, natural, and powerful. They began to try to imitate these movements, and although it was difficult, they persisted one by one. They did not expect that they were exposed to combat skills and had the opportunity to learn. The benefits of joining the patrol team were beyond their expectations. These people feel very fortunate. If they didn't join the patrol team, wouldn't they miss out on combat skills? They thought that if those awakened people who didn't join the patrol team learned about this, they didn't know if their intestines would be ruined. Green. Of course, they wouldn't say that this is a secret belonging to the patrol team, but just thinking about it occasionally makes them excited. Aside. Luo Zhe watched, corrected them, and nodded. Heavy slashing is the most basic combat skill in itself, but as a general combat skill for the warrior profession, it has a wide range of adaptability. Including several actions in front of the combat skill, in the city where he has stayed before, that is all it is compulsory for every soldier. Although these people are not very basic, a few even know that they have never experienced combat, but they know how to work hard, and they can still be made. In this case, Luo Zhe thought for a while, released his aura and oppressed several people. The faces of the patrol members who were trying their best to move turned pale and almost didn't fall, but under such strong pressure, the movements that were not correct no matter how hard they tried, suddenly became much more standard. After lunch, Peng Bo rubbed his bloated belly and burped in satisfaction. The intensity of training in the morning is very high, especially as the only capable person, Captain Luo's external terrain falls on him more, and the consumption is also greater. In just one noon, his appetite has been improved by a breakthrough. Peng Bo is very happy. Hard. What is that? His only hobby is eating, and his greatest hobby is eating more. After high-intensity consumption in the morning, his appetite suddenly exceeded his limit. In the past, he was either not full, or although he was full, he actually had nothing to consume, and his appetite was similar to that of an ordinary foodie. Only at noon today did he show his ability. Ichi Juechen, 
far away from the other members of the patrol team, even a few awakened people are not his opponents. As soon as I heard that there was a special event in the afternoon, Ping Bo arrived early. He was obviously not the only one who had this idea. Although Captain Luo gave them a certain rest time, all the members of the patrol team came to this open space one after another and began to practice that weird posture. Captain Luo is here. I don't know who called, Peng Bo turned back from the awkward posture, and saw Captain Luo coming carrying a huge box. This box is very large, and it is extremely heavy. When it is placed on the ground, countless dust is splashed with a bang. This is. The box is opened. Peng Bo's eyes widened, and there were sets of brand new equipment, including swords, firearms and other weapons, as well as a full set of black-striped combat clothing. Luo Zhe pointed to the equipment, this is one of the benefits of the patrol, a full set of equipment for you. Peng Bo's eyes lit up, he immediately picked up a bright silver sword and swiped it casually. Whoosh! The screeching sound of the breaking wind came, and Peng Bo could hardly feel the resistance from the sword. He stumbled and swiped, and the long sword slashed into the large stone on the side, and half of the sword was already submerged in the stone. Hiss. Not only Ping Bo, but the other patrol members all took a deep breath. They could see clearly that Ping Bo didn't exert much force at all, and in the end, he didn't stand firm, and the force was the same as when a person was shaking. It's not big, but with such a small amount of power, the blade has been inserted into the stone more than halfway. Someone tried to touch the hilt of the sword and pushed it a little harder. Patrol members. This weapon is too ferocious, they have never seen such a sharp weapon. Why are most of the awakened not the opponents of demonized beasts of the same level? In addition to his own lack of combat skills, the biggest factor is the weapon. The cold weapons used by the awakened people slashed at the demonized beast, and sometimes they couldn't cut much in it. How could they be the opponent of the demonized beast in this case? Even the real high-quality cold weapons forged by modern technology are not so sharp. It's okay to deal with ordinary demonized beasts. If it is a double or triple level, I am afraid that it will take a lot of effort to break through the defense of the demonized beast. They knew that after joining the patrol, the shelter would distribute weapons, but no one thought that this weapon would be so sharp that it could be used as a weapon of magic. The patrol team members were all caught up in fantasy. Holding such weapons, they can easily break through the scales or fur of demonized beasts and kill demonized beasts. It is really much easier. Everyone looked excited. No wonder I have seen Director Tang wearing a black battle suit, no wonder Captain Luo always wears heavy armor, some people couldn't understand it at first. But now I understand that this is the equipment that is really suitable for the end of the world, and it is really strong. They are happy. The duty of the patrol team is to deal with demonized beasts. Originally, they were quite nervous and a little worried, but now, with such equipment, they are no longer prey when facing demonized beasts. Rather, hunter. Everyone happily changed into the equipment, and after wearing the combat uniform, the feeling of comfort and ease of transportation made them very happy. And they don't know yet, this is just the most basic model of equipment. After the queue was assembled, Luo Zhe nodded, give you ten minutes to familiarize yourself with the equipment, and then go out with me and fight with demonized beasts. This is the training subject in the afternoon. Outside the shelter, the gate of the original resort. All the members of the patrol team wore black striped combat uniforms, swords on their waists, and rifles hanging on their backs. This uniform equipment has raised the spirit of the patrol team members several grades. Originally, it seemed to be the level of ordinary shelter fighters, but now it has sublimated to the level of elite soldiers in large shelters. Luoja's goal this time is the county seat more than 10 kilometers away. The area of the county seat is not small, and it has a lot of supplies. He has been there several times before, but he has too few people and can't bring back many things. This patrol team's actual combat training was also the patrol team's first outing mission. Luo Zhe deliberately asked for a minivan just to be able to load more things. The team marched slowly, with vigilance and excitement on everyone's faces. Every member of the patrol team has had the experience of surviving in the apocalypse in the wild, but this time, it was different from before. 
In the past, they tried every means to avoid demonized beasts, but this time, they had to take the initiative to look for demonized beasts. Both nervous and excited. Chapter, 42 in the distance, several awakeners in tattered clothes and disheveled hair looked at the well-equipped patrol members with complicated expressions. Several of them belonged to the awakened who had neither stumped the shelter with Ding Chang's group nor refused to be restrained, and did not become the permanent staff of the shelter. As a mobile worker, you can freely access the hiring tasks issued by the shelter every day in exchange for rewards. I can live a good life even if I am full, and I have a pretty good life. That's how they consoled themselves before seeing the patrol team members. Seeing the equipment of the patrol team members, they felt that they really lived on a dog. The treatment of the patrol team is also very good. Generally, they only have a cold weapon. If they have a pistol, they are all leaders of the squad. But look at them, they even have a rifle and they still dress in the same clothes. Do you want to exaggerate? That's it. Another awakened was quite appetizing, these costumes are just flashy, it's the end of the world, who cares about this uniform costume, they think they are the army of their large shelter. Other people's army they are all wearing body armor or stab-proof clothing, what use are they, look, when they come back from a walk in the wild, these clothes will be tattered. That's right, and no matter how well equipped they are, what's the use? Survival is the key. We don't join the patrol team because it's too dangerous to go out to search for supplies or even hunt down demonized beasts. If the demonized beasts are so easy to kill, will we still stay in the first level of awakening like we are now? Everyone else was silent. After becoming an awakened person and knowing that killing demonized beasts can improve their strength, many people are excited. Isn't this the standard mode of fighting monsters and leveling up, and then going to the peak of life? Even some young people who are influenced by online novels are well aware of the principle of being one step ahead, one step at a time. And then these people got cold. Without superb combat skills and suitable weapons, how can an ordinary awakened be an opponent of demonized beasts? They are aware of this, and they have seen too many awakened people who are confident, but die under the claws of demonized beasts. Now, they have long lost the courage to take action against the demonized beasts, but they have already mastered their escape skills. Follow up and see, I don't believe they can kill demonized beasts. Luo Taimian is very powerful, but there is only one person. It is possible that he can take into account all aspects. I also know that there are many ordinary people in the team. I would like to see how many of them can come back in the end. Lu Xiaopeng held a long sword and glanced at the surrounding low buildings. The team has almost stepped into the county, and sparse buildings have begun to appear around. This environment is even more dangerous. Demonized beasts may come from a corner at any time. If the response is not timely, even the awakened ones will easily die. Bang! A light sound came from a shop not far away, and then several black shadows rushed out, very fast, and they crossed more than half of the distance in a short while. Lu Xiaopeng was a little flustered. It was the first time for him to face several demonized beasts at a time. Even though there were many teammates around him, this kind of emotion was like instinct, which made his brain confused. I don't know. What choice to make? Raise the gun and shoot. When Captain Luo's calm voice came, Lu Xiaopeng immediately came back to his senses, raised his gun, pointed the muzzle forward, and spit out tongues of flame. After the initial panic, the others also responded slowly, raising their guns and shooting. Their marksmanship is not accurate. Awakened people like Lu Xiaopeng have never touched firearms at all except for military training in college, and their marksmanship is even worse. However, at this time, the demonized beast is already very close. No need to aim, the bullets shot into the fur of the demonized beast. These demonized beasts looked like magnified mice, two circles larger than the demonized steel rat, but they were just ordinary demonized beasts. The beast soon fell to the ground and struggled. The members of the patrol team did not panic now, holding their guns, steadily aiming at the vital point of the demonized beast, giving the demonized beast the final fatal blow. Soon the demonized beast completely lost its vitality. Far away. Several awakens who were attached to the back were also startled. 
some people envy, as expected of a hot weapon or a rifle, the lethality is different. They seem to be able to absorb soul power at this distance. Soul power. That said, after this trip, the awakened ones in the patrol team will probably become much stronger. I'm envious. I knew I would join the patrol team. I still don't know what it is like to absorb soul power. Taste. Oh. Don't look at how many bullets they use to kill these demonized beasts. You think they can always use this method. Some awakened were disdainful, and he stated the weakness of the patrol team. Indeed, the members of the patrol team have limited marksmanship, and they can kill these demonized beasts by relying on the coverage of a large area of bullet rain. I don't know how many bullets were wasted. Bullets are already scarce, and some of the firearms in the shelters have become completely decorative. They want to see how long they can last for such a waste of bullets. Then. The patrol team continued to move forward, with the experienced Luoja present, and the patrol team was very organized. Whenever a demonized beast rushed out, the patrol team members had sufficient reaction time. The players have experience, and their hands holding the rifle are more stable. Shoot, reload, shoot. One after another, the demonized beasts died one after another. The awakened behind him. Why do they always find demonized beasts in advance? Why haven't the bullets run out? Why are they so excited, is it so cool to absorb soul power? Lu Xiaopeng and other members of the patrol team did not know that several awakened people in the distance already had so many thoughts in their hearts. After really killing the demonized beasts and absorbing their soul power, their courage has also improved a lot although these demonized beasts are terrifying, they are only experienced babies. Since this is the case, there is nothing scary. At another corner, a four-hoofed demonic beast with antlers spotted the patrol and rushed over with a roar. Lu Xiaopeng looked at Luo Zhe, this time, they were not asked to shoot, but heard, this demonized beast has almost awakened to the first level of strength. It is very suitable for your training. Who wants to come? Train. Fight one-on-one -on -one with demonized beasts. It turns out that this is the special training that Captain Luo said. I come. When Lu Xiaopeng stepped forward, he saw that several other awakened people were also opening their mouths, but they could only swallow what they wanted to say. Obviously they had the same idea, but they were one step slower than him. The awakened who were dotted in the distance couldn't see it. What are they going to do? Looks like it's going to be a duel with demonized beasts. The person who speaks doesn't even believe in himself, so he heads up against demonized beasts. Isn't this a joke? At the same level, unless there are firearms, if several awakens work together to deal with a demonized beast, there is a danger of being killed by the demonized beast. But now, they have given up hot weapons and chose cold weapons instead. Want to duel with demonized beasts? Is this stupid? They stared intently. In the distance, the other members of the patrol team, including Tai Mian Luo, were standing in the rear, and only one person stepped forward with a long sword. It seemed that he wanted to face this demonic beast alone. Are all the people in the patrol team so arrogant? I know that person, his name is Lu Xiaopeng. He brags about how strong he is all day long. In fact, he is no match for the most ordinary demonized beast. Demonized beast. I bet for ten seconds, that Lu will be beaten by demonized beasts and run around. Hey, ten seconds, you look down on him too much. If you don't deal with it well, you will die in less than three seconds. Even if Luo Taimian wants to rescue, it may not come. However, the man suddenly got stuck in the middle of his words. It wasn't that he suddenly choked on his saliva, but that the scene in the distance was really incomprehensible to him. At first, Lu Xiaopeng's tentative attack, they understood, this move successfully aroused the fierceness of the demonized beast. The demonized beast rushed towards him fiercely, and Lu Xiaopeng fled in a panic. In just a few seconds, it seemed that there were dangers and dangers. In the end, Lu Xiaopeng was unavoidable and was slaughtered by the demonized beast, and then the demonized beast died. They seemed to see that there was a touch of silver light that cut through the demonized beast's head, almost splitting the demonized beast into two halves. In the end what happened? 
What's wrong they can't understand. Chapter, 43 The time has come to afternoon. Tang Yu put down the book and moved his tough body. He had never thought that the self who had always been Shua Mo could be so fascinated by learning that he was completely immersed in the book source power foundation without noticing the passage of time. But the harvest is also huge, he has now clearly understood, what is the source of power. This is an indescribable power, but it involves all aspects, including the construction of runes, and is also closely related to the understanding of source power. It's worth it, it's worth it. Tang Yu sank into his body, kept exploring, and finally found a little light in an infinitely deep place. That's the source of power. The source power exists in every awakened person, but only the able person can feel his own source power, the awakened person cannot feel it. At first, Tang Yu guessed that after awakening his special ability, he had the source ability in his body, but after reading this basic book, he understood that this was not the case at all. As long as it is an awakened one, there must be a source of energy in the body. However, the reason why ordinary awakened people can't feel the existence of the source energy in the body is entirely because the source energy value is too small, so that there is no sense of existence at all. He also finished reading this book, and had a little understanding of the nature of the source force. After several groping, he found the source force deep in his body. It can even be mobilized of course, this is of no use. The amount of source power of ordinary awakened people is much less than that of capable ones, and they can't pry the source power in the air. This source of power in the body is an introduction. If you want to be effective, you still have to practice well. He learned that even some warrior type skills require source power to use. In the case of non ability people, only when the third realm of the awakening stage, the condensed source realm, can there be more source power in the body to display. Foundation laying state, body shaping state, and condensing source state, these are the three small realms in the awakening stage. This also belongs to the basic common sense of cultivation. Tang Yu learned from the book that laying the foundation for the awakening of the first to fifth levels is the most important part of laying the foundation. Body shaper realm, in order to awaken the sixth to ninth layers, this realm mainly polishes the body. The condensing origin realm is the tenth to the twelfth level of awakening. And the last stage of the awakening stage, the thirteenth major consummation of the awakening. This is a whole awakened person. It seems to be a long time, but in fact, it is a stage of polishing the foundation. Tang Yu originally thought that after having hung up a few times, he who had awakened to the third level strength was more or less a little master, but after understanding more, he didn't dare to think so at all. In the awakening stage, the improvement of every realm is a bottleneck, and it cannot be broken through simply by absorbing soul power. It seems that each realm is divided into fewer levels, from the fifth, to the fourth, and then to the third, but in fact, the higher the level, the higher the difficulty, the greater the consumption of resources. According to the book, it is not surprising that the qualifications are not enough, and the luck is not good. And the reason why the three realms are combined into the awakening level is of course not because of the number of words. The most important thing is that each time the awakening level is increased by one level of awakening, there is a chance to awaken special abilities. This is the origin of the awakening level. The entire awakening stage is just the basics. Tang Yu felt a little melancholy. No wonder, in the early days of the apocalypse, I heard about the modern armored core. Faced with the news of the heavy losses of demonized beasts, I felt unbelievable at the time. Now I think about it, the awakening of the fourth and fifth level demonized beasts is already a great threat. If it is higher. Every awakening is an improvement in the level of life. When you reach the body shaping realm, the demonized beasts in the condensing source realm will undoubtedly become very terrifying, not to mention the demonized beasts that have surpassed the awakening level. Tang Yu had never heard of this level, but he believed that it absolutely exists in this world. Otherwise, the army would not be able to suffer heavy losses, and an army group would be crippled. How terrifying would it be? If demonized beasts of this level hit the shelter, even a large shelter might not be safe. He has a sense of urgency in his heart, wondering if his parents in another province are safe. Now that you have the city return scroll, you can go to Lindong Sanctuary. I hope to find some relevant information in Lindong Sanctuary, 
but you still need to prepare a little more. Yesterday, he refined his soul power, and now he has the strength to awaken the late third stage. Originally, he felt that this strength, but facing the East Sanctuary, must be more than enough. In fact, it was very easy for Han Jing's group to get here from Lindong. After Tang Yu had their roadmap, the journey to Lindong should not be too dangerous. Just in case. Now he knows that the third level of awakening is only a small shrimp. In case of encountering the body shaping realm, the condensing source realm, or even a stronger demonized beast, even if there is a city return scroll, can it be used in time? Tang Yu didn't know. He needs to improve his strength, not hard power, but to improve his ability to respond to danger. After hesitating for a while, Tang Yu took a fancy to a building in the system panel. Training Camp In the system building, he was greedy, such as the energy patio that provided energy to the territory. If there was an energy patio, let alone two arrow towers and a cannon, it would be ten times more, and the energy supply would also be reduced. More than enough. In addition, there are warehouses, magic factories, detection towers, altars and other buildings with special functions. He is very envious of them, but they are also expensive. After thinking for a long time, Tang Yu decided to first build a training camp. Someone as careful as he is, he will definitely be rated as one of the top 10 men before the end of the world. The training camp is different from the core building, this is a building that can be open to the general public. Tang Yu decided not to put the training camp at the back of the castle. Anyway the miraculous things like building a city wall and building artillery have happened, and it is quite normal to build another training camp. Finally, the ground was chosen in the open space in the middle of the villa area. Originally, many trees were planted here, and after the apocalypse, they became even more sturdy, but now. They have been cut down and become a barren wasteland Tang Yu had to admire his foresight and did not let the survivors cut down the trees. Where can I find such a large piece of open space to place buildings? It took a lot of time for the survivors to transport the building materials, and it was not until it was getting dark that the materials were gathered. After choosing the orientation, after a while, a huge building appeared with the sound of bursts of noise. This building covers a huge area, even larger than the already second-class castle. It looks like a pyramid, which is spectacular. This building consumes a lot of materials, and the building materials have almost been exhausted now the entire resort, except for the villa area, has basically been demolished. Now the materials need to be transported from nearby villages and towns. The efficiency is greatly reduced, and patrols are also required. It suddenly changed from a source crystal crisis to a material crisis. Fortunately, there are not many source crystals left in my hand, and I can't build it even if I want to build it there seems to be something wrong with thinking this way. Tang Yu was lost in thought. Around, the onlookers who had finished carrying the materials exclaimed in amazement to express their admiration. No one made a fuss this time. After experiencing a big scene, the survivors of the shelter are used to Tang Yu making some big noises from time to time. Looking at it now, it is indeed spectacular and magical, but this is not very normal. One by one they continued to go to work. Onlookers? It doesn't exist, it's better to do more work with this time. Now their food is linked to the workload. When they are full, they still want to eat better. Even if they eat well, they can still improve their clothes. It is said that the shelter is planning to build a bathhouse recently, and soon they will be able to get rid of the current dirty and smelly appearance, of course, this also requires work points. Under the temptation of a better life, the survivors are full of energy one by one. Chapter, 44 the training camp is divided into five floors with a variety of training settings inside. Tang Yu knew very well that an awakened with rich combat skills and experience possessed far greater strength than those who only used brute force. Unfortunately, even though he has been training for several days under the guidance of Luo Zhe, he is at most a scumbag. Even the most basic combat skills, heavy slashing, have not been learned. Even though his equipment is top-notch in the novice outfit, the sharper basic long sword after the revision can easily break through the defenses of the demonized beasts. However, his combat skills are flawed. The demonized beasts of the same level are one on two, one on three. 
is already exhausting. With Luo Zhe, a demonized beast of the same level, it is not a problem to pick 10. But Luo Zhe's years of combat experience, 10 you can't learn, how many years of fighting. It doesn't take a few days, and a cool song can be given to him. Tang Yu knew himself well. Under normal circumstances, the improvement of combat experience can only be achieved by accumulation, so he built a training camp and walked around abnormally. He found that if he didn't hang up now, he couldn't live anymore. I will cry if I continue. Tang Yu walked into the training camp. The first and second floors were the most expansive, and they provided basic training facilities, such as some training equipment that could be seen before the end of the world. Of course, the ones here are more complicated and have more functions. The training effect is better. For example, the most basic pulling equipment, boxing strength tester, etc. Of course, there are these before the end of the world, but can the equipment before the end of the world withstand the strength of the awakened? Obviously not. Awakened people also need to exercise, especially in order to better control their own strength. If there are training equipment, the effect is undoubtedly much better. Not to mention, exercising can also improve your physical fitness. This is like getting extra attribute points in addition to the upgraded attribute points. Over time, the gap between awakened people of the same level will become larger and larger. Tang Yu was naturally not interested in these two floors. After a little understanding, he went straight up. Three or four floors, with special training equipment. For example, the fast track looks like a track that is only 10 meters long. If you actually step on it, you will find that it is not the case at all. The entire track is almost infinitely long, and there will be unbearable pressure behind you when you run, such as a sense of fear and death, in order to force the user to run quickly and stimulate the user's own potential. This is a multiple choice question, whether to choose to die from exhaustion or to be scared to death. In addition, there are training devices such as reaction space, gravity room, dream shooting range, etc. Tang Yu is dazzled. He didn't plan to try any of these. His goal was the spiritual space on the top fifth floor of the training camp. As for the first to fourth floors, he plans to open it to the outside world. He has already thought about the specific rules. The first and second floors are open to the patrol team free of charge. On the third and fourth floors, if the patrol team members want to use them, they need to spend the patrol team's contribution points this belongs to the patrol team's salary. And then let these people in exchange for materials according to the contribution, this avoids the expenditure of the source crystal. Not only that. When the number of survivors in the shelter increases in the future, the training camp can be opened in the form of payment, such as mobile personnel in the shelter, awakened people who are not part of the patrol team, want to train want to get stronger. Then kryptonite. Hunting source crystals from demonized beasts is not always a long-term way. Even the source crystal mines will be fully mined, but if the name of the shelter is spread, the source of energy will continue to attract foreign awakened people, and then harvested through foreign awakened people. Source crystal. Outsiders consume in the territory, lack source crystals, go out to hunt demonized beasts, feel that their strength is insufficient, and then go to the training camp to consume this is a very good cycle mode. The energy source continues to generate income for the territory, just like cutting leaks, Tang Yu seemed to see his warehouse full of source crystals. Relying on others to do something, can you be well dressed? Throwing away some unrealistic thoughts in his mind, Tang Yu finally came to the fifth floor. Compared with the dazzling training facilities on the other floors, the fifth floor is very simple. There are only three rooms, and each room is empty. Only some incomprehensible runes are painted on the walls. This is the spiritual access room, and each room is limited to one person. Tang Yu walked into one of the rooms and sat down with his knees crossed. The runes on the walls were slightly shining. In an instant, the whole room seemed to be shaken. His thoughts were stretched infinitely. This is the spiritual space, a space between the unreal and the real. There are various modes for training here, the most basic training mode, you can set your own enemies, such as fighting with demonized beasts. You don't need to be afraid of death, you can fight as much as you want, only here, you can improve his combat experience in the shortest time. In addition, there are endless modes, battle spaces, 
towers of trials, virtual secret realms, etc. However, many of these modes are gray, and they are obviously at the current training camp level, and these modes have not yet been opened. Tang Yu chose personal training and was going to set up a few demonized beasts to practice his hands. He had not tried it yet. With all his strength, how many demonized beasts could he deal with? Suddenly. Ding dong. The identity of the Lord is detected, do you want to open the exclusive mode of the Lord? What mode? Tang Yu was stunned. He had never heard of such a model in the mental space, nor was it written in the manual, and he heard it right. This voice appeared directly in his mind, and it wasn't from the training camp. The sound should belong to the system. He tried to ask. The exclusive mode of the Lord is a mode that only the Lord can use. It is a special training environment for the Lord. In the exclusive mode of the Lord, you can get rewards by completing the task. Tang Yu ignored this sentence. His attention was completely focused on two words. Mission rewards. Immediately I felt tears in my eyes. What is the standard configuration of the system? Of course quests and rewards. But this broken system, there is not a dime, there is no spree at the beginning, no benefits for the novice, and even the cost of building the city is paid by himself. Ten feet high. At one time, he felt that the quest rewards and so on were missed by him, but he didn't expect it to appear again. Even if it was limited to the training camp, he didn't care, as long as there were rewards, it was enough. Ding dong. Do you want to open the exclusive mode of the Lord? Yes. Ding dong. Turn on the exclusive mode of the Lord, about to enter the first scene, generate a task. Mission 1, survive for half an hour, reward, skill breakthrough. Mission 2, kill 10 demonized beasts that are 2 levels higher than oneself, reward, skill instant. Hint, before entering the scene, you can freely choose equipment, and the selected equipment must be basic equipment. There are a total of two tasks in the scene, killing demonized beasts that are two levels higher than himself. He himself is the third level of awakening, that is, he wants to kill the fifth level of awakening. Tang Yu thinks that it is impossible to complete. But another task, surviving for half an hour, seems not difficult, right? Tang Yu was moved. The rewarded skills could be learned directly, and these two skills, at first glance, were more advanced than basic skills like slashing. The idea just came up. Next moment. Tang Yu found himself in a big forest. Before he could observe the surrounding environment, a sharp pain filled his nerves, and then he lost consciousness. The next moment, he appeared in that gray area. In space. Dead, dead. Tang Yu gasped for breath, sweat kept dripping from his forehead, his heart was beating non-stop, his pupils were dilated, and he still hasn't come to his senses. This is the spiritual space, except that there is no real death, all other senses are real. In the scene of his death just now, he didn't understand what happened, but the feeling of dying was very real, including the heart-piercing pain, which seemed to still exist on his body, making his muscles still tremble. After all, Tang Yu is just an ordinary person. Although his life in the post-apocalyptic world is difficult, he has not suffered too much damage, and he is not the kind of ruthless person who takes injuries as commonplace. Even if he is ready to die in the spiritual space. Preparations, but this time, it came too suddenly, that kind of fear, that kind of despair, deeply lingered in my heart. After spending more than half an hour in the gray space, Tang Yu wanted to enter the first level several times, but he hesitated and did not have the courage to enter again. Time passed quietly, but in this gray space everything seemed to be eternal. Tang Yu opened his eyes, closed his eyes, and gritted his teeth. Fight! Entering the first level to survive again, Tang Yu didn't even bother to look at the surrounding environment. First he rolled away from the place, then looked up and saw a huge black shadow wandering among the giant trees. It was a big black spider, at least the size of a small car, its mouthparts were pouting with cold light, and several pairs of eyes were staring at him coldly. All of a sudden, Tang Yu's whole body is not well. Such a big spider, even if he is fully armed now, even if the long sword in his hand is sharp enough to break through the opponent's defense, but the question is, can he reach it? 
No wonder mission one is to survive. Tang Yu wanted to ask now, Brother Spider, can we talk peacefully? Chapter, 45 In the evening, the afterglow of the setting sun fell, and gradually disappeared on the other side of the mountain range. This is the end time for the daily work of the survivors. At night, the danger will increase greatly. Tang Yu is not the kind of ruthless person who has not completely squeezed every value of the survivors. If these people die, the loss is actually himself. However, there were survivors who were idle and bored at night and asked to continue working, which made Tang Yu laugh and cry. Of course, he rejected this request. Survivors who had finished their work gathered in twos and threes in the small square, brag and fart as they waited to receive their food. Suddenly someone shouted, the patrol is back. Every survivor of the shelter knows that the patrol team went out for the first time. This patrol team is not like the patrol team in some places, fish and meat survivors. Without Ding Chang and the others, the overall atmosphere of the shelter is good, and most of the survivors sincerely hope that the patrol team will return safely. I'm coming. Zhao Xinping stood in the crowd and watched along with a few survivors who could talk to each other. Several people in the patrol were familiar to him. When he saw the patrol team getting closer, he was nervous many shelters will send teams searching outside, but often when they return, the team is incomplete. Zhao Xinping is a little afraid that the patrol team will be the same. One, two, three all come back. As the team approached, someone counted the members of the patrol team and found that there were not many members, and the atmosphere at the scene suddenly became a lot cheerful. Zhao Xingping also found that although the members of the patrol team looked a little embarrassed, they were not injured much. The most serious one was a slight injury to the arm, and the physique of the awakened person recovered in less than two days. He even felt that when he came back from this trip, what was different about the people on the patrol team? Although the survivors were watching, they knew that the patrol team members should not be disturbed at this time. So they separated a path to let the patrol team pass and continued to chat, waiting for the audit work and the distribution of food. Hey, it seems that someone has come back. When Zhao Xinping heard someone around him say this, he looked into the distance and saw several figures supporting each other and staggering towards the shelter. This situation didn't look very good. Isn't this the awakened ones, how could it be like this? Zhao Xinping was puzzled. Although these people are not in danger of life, they look much more miserable than the members of the patrol team. What are they doing? Could it be that these awakened ones took on dangerous missions? For a time, Zhao Xingping felt that these awakened ones were also worthy of admiration. Although they did not join the patrol team, they also contributed to the shelter. He still blamed them a little wrong. Watching these people walk into the city wall. However, Zhao Xingping didn't know that these awakened people were scolding their mothers in their hearts. They were clearly adorned from a distance, and they were all the places where the patrol team had walked, but why were they still provoking demonized beasts and being chased all the way? Well, I almost won't be able to come back. A few people are in a dark mood, they just feel that the world is very unfriendly. Lu Xiaopeng was very excited. Today, his record was three demonized beasts. Unfortunately, he was almost worse than the fat man surnamed Peng next to him a few heads, but he was very confident and decided to refine his soul power tonight. Next time going out, you must surpass that fat foodie. Of course, before that, he decided to eat a full meal first, then take a bath, and better get out of bed, because he was so tired that he didn't want to move his toes. Suddenly, the team in front stopped. Lu Xiaopeng didn't pay attention and bumped into Fatty Peng in front of him. Fatty Peng ignored him this time. He looked up and found that everyone was standing in a building with a huge area. In front of the building. Isn't this a wasteland? Is it the wrong way? Lu Xiaopeng thought hard for a while, and it seemed that he did not go the wrong way. It also seemed that this place was really a wasteland before, but now it has changed a lot, so there is only one truth, which is the handwriting of Director Tang. Thinking of Director Tang, Lu Xiaopeng's admiration, this is definitely a role model for the awakened people of our generation. His biggest dream before was to become a master of the awakened people, punching demons into wolf feet and kicking demons into tigers. Long, this will have extinguished a magic tide. 
can't compare, can't compare as long as you surpass the fat man around you. This building is a training camp specially made by adults. There are all kinds of training equipment in it. These facilities are more conducive to your training. The patrol members such as Lu Xiaopeng were all looking forward to it. If there was a building dedicated to training, wouldn't it mean that their strength would increase and become faster? So, I'll give you an hour to eat and rest, and an hour later, gather in front of the training camp. Lu Xiaopeng was taken aback, what did Captain Luo say? Like, resume training after an hour? This is life-threatening. Today, I spent half of the day practicing those difficult movements. The rest of the day I went out and my whole nerves were tense. I thought I could finally lie on the bed like a salted fish. However, he is so naive. It's just hard work. It's impossible for them to refuse. It's hard to get close to the thigh of the shelter, with combat skills, equipment, and now there is a training camp. Everyone is holding a breath and thinking. To keep getting stronger. Be lazy. We have come this far, and we have endured so many hardships and hardships, how could we stop before this small training? With both painful and fast emotions, several people hurried back to their residences. If nothing else, they still need to take a good rest this hour. An hour later, the members of the patrol team quickly gathered at the entrance of the training camp. Under the leadership of Luo Zhe, a group of people filed in. What catches the eye are the various training equipment on the first floor. The cold texture and the appearance full of iron and blood quickly attracted the attention of the patrol members. In Tang Yu's eyes, these equipments are ordinary, but they are compared with higher level facilities. If the comparison is with the training facilities before the end of the world, then I don't know how much higher. The team members quickly stepped forward and tried to use these training equipment, showing surprise. Especially a few awakened ones. Since they awakened and their strength became stronger, training equipment and so on have been missed for them. The equipment before the end of the world was prepared for ordinary people. They can only use methods like doing gymnastics, using training equipment. It's useless if you pinch it. But now, Peng Bo is standing in front of a tensile tester. His strength is the strongest among the awakened ones. However, after using the strength of eight meals, he can still only pull a little bit, making him they started to doubt themselves. This will be your training ground in the future. The first and second floors are open to the patrol team free of charge. The team members heard the meaning of the words. They did not belong to the patrol team. If they wanted to use the equipment here, there were conditions. Obviously, this was another patrol team benefit. Some people have also noticed that the first and second floors are free to use, which means that there are higher floors. From the outside, this building obviously does not only have two floors. So, what is the difference between the equipment on the higher floors and here? On the third and fourth floors, the training facilities are more advanced. They were created by the director using special means, but these facilities are limited and consume a lot of money. Whether the facilities on the third and fourth floors can be used depends on each person's contribution. These words are not actually Luo Zhe's original words. They were told to Luo Zhe through a contract message after Tang Yu built the training camp before. The first and second floors are free for the patrol team to highlight the benefits of the patrol team and enhance the sense of belonging and loyalty of the patrol team. However, things that are too easy to get are often not worth cherishing. There is enough power. Tang Yu praised his wit. Everyone in the patrol team thought they were training on the first and second floors tonight. At this time, Captain Luo said, as the first batch of members to join the patrol team, you have special benefits. Everyone can train on the third and fourth floors tonight. Just to let you know about the training facilities on the third and fourth floors, so that you can make more planned improvements in the future. Chapter, 46 as for what training facilities are on the third and fourth floors, everyone in the patrol team has some expectations and some doubts. Director Tang's ability is very powerful, not only can he build buildings full of huge power like the arrow tower and artillery, but also the fine equipment on the first and second floors. Before, some people thought that Director Tang's ability had something to do with the soil system, so he could make out of thin air. A building rose from the ground, 
but now they feel that Director Tang's ability covers far more than that. If they have to say it, it is more appropriate to use creation. Create buildings, create equipment, create items. The abilities of those who are capable are all kinds of strange. In theory, it is not surprising that any abilities appear, even if time, space, and fate create these but before witnessing it with their own eyes, most people regard these abilities as legends. Only they think that if there is really to create this ability, that is what Director Tang is like. These abilities are against the sky, but they are not without limits. Many people can see that Director Tang needs to collect materials before building a building. Secondly, even if it is to create, it should follow certain rules. Defense buildings such as arrow towers and artillery exist by themselves. They believe that Director Tang first conceived these buildings with reference objects, and then strengthened them through ability. As a result, the powerful and terrifying arrow tower artillery was born. This is all traceable, including the training equipment on the first and second floors, and you can also see the shadows before the end of the world. It is because of the limitations that they feel normal. Therefore, Captain Luo said that the training facilities on the third and fourth floors can help them improve their strength quickly, and they don't quite believe it in their hearts. At this stage, if you want to improve your strength, in addition to absorbing soul power, you can either improve your combat experience and skills. Or squeeze your own potential, but no matter which point, it is not something that can be achieved simply by training equipment. Unless it is fighting with demonized beasts. For example, today, everyone on the patrol felt that they had improved a lot after experiencing the real fight, but apart from that, what other training facilities could achieve this? The facilities on the third floor are not as numerous as those on the first and second floors. After reading it, everyone in the patrol team became even more puzzled. They all became circles. What is this? How to use? What is the use? It's not like the first and second floors, none of them can understand it. Luo Zhe had not actually used it, but as a follower, his authority in the territory was limited to Tang Yu, and he knew a thing or two about the equipment in the training camp. He came to the fast track, briefly explained the function of the facility, and then asked, who wants to try it first? Peng Bo looked at the runway, which was only 10 meters long, with a confused look on his face. When he looked at other people, they all had the same expressions, and Peng Bo was relieved. Although he has no culture and can't understand the mystery here, but as long as other people also don't understand it, it's fine, but, what is the use of a runway of this length? He wanted to try it out, and saw Lu Xiaopeng stand up first, and then walked straight into the range of the fast track. He stared intently, wanting to see what had changed. The runway started, and the weird patterns painted on the ground lit up, but nothing else seemed to change, so Lu Xiaopeng's figure seemed a little blurry oh no, Peng Bo found a major change, Lu Xiaopeng his face was getting paler. At first, there was an inexplicable change, as if he had been frightened by something. Sweat fell from his forehead, and his expression became more and more frightened. The next moment, Peng Bo saw his body leaning forward, swinging his arms, and rushing forward like crazy. This run, run, what's the matter with such a hellish look? He didn't understand it, and neither did anyone else. As time passed, Lu Xiaopeng's face became paler and paler, but his speed became faster and faster. Finally, a beep sounded, and the running of the runway stopped. The next moment Peng Bo saw that Lu Xiaopeng's whole body softened and he fell down. On the ground. How long has it been? It's too empty. He came to Lu Xiaopeng, stretched out his hand and poked it, and Lu Xiaopeng glared at him for a while. Peng Bo shook his head and walked into the runway. A few minutes later, he came out also pale, lying on the ground, the fat on his waist up and down, looking even worse than Lu Xiaopeng. The other patrol team members who had not experienced it even more did not understand it. They felt that they were very ignorant today. Whether it was combat skills, equipment, or this training camp, they did not understand a lot. Luo Zhe stepped forward and operated a few times on a blank panel next to the runway. Others saw a human-shaped light and shadow appearing on the panel. The figure was on the fast runway, and some data kept appearing around. This is. Except for Peng Bo Lu Xiaopeng, who was already tired like a salted fish, everyone else gathered around and looked at the panel carefully. 
This is the process of the two of them running just now, and these data, it seems that the speed, how can it be improved so much? Could it be that they didn't run at full speed in the first place? Fart. Lu Xiaopeng struggled, you guys look at me don't you seem to be running at full speed? The others looked at each other. Indeed, from the very beginning, the two of them ran like crazy. This can be seen from their demeanor and actions, but it is reasonable to say that after running at full speed, the speed should be faster. It's just getting slower and slower, how can it be improved instead? Moreover, the most incomprehensible thing for them was why Lu Xiaoping both looked overly frightened at first. But it doesn't matter if they don't understand, they have already seen the potential that the fast track can stimulate people, so that people can run faster and faster in it. I come. I come. One by one, they were scrambling for each other, completely ignoring the sympathetic eyes of Lu Xiaopeng and Peng Bo on the side. A few minutes later, the first one came out, and Xing Wulian was lying on the ground. It seems that staying here does not depend on personal strength, so those players who have experienced pale faces will watch the time of the players behind them with lingering fears. Three minutes. Three and a half. For minutes, this is powerful. It's only two minutes, old iron, you can't do it. When Tang Yu walked down, he found such a strange scene. He didn't disturb the patrol team and went straight out of the training camp. Only. In broad daylight, a group of people were sweating profusely, their eyes glowing, and their mouths kept counting the time. Isn't this not good? After leaving the training camp, Tang Yu did not return to the castle, but went out. Although he was very tired, he didn't feel sleepy at all. In just half a day, it seemed like a lifetime to him. After dying again and again, some were corroded by venom, some were pierced through the chest by sharp arthropods, and some were cut off by the waist Tang Yu felt that his experience could make up a complete book of fancy deaths. He didn't know how many times he died in the spiritual space. From the beginning, he was afraid and dared not enter. Later, when his senses remained at the moment of death in the last second, his mind had already chosen to enter again. This is not to awaken some attributes, but, although the pain of injury and death is still severe, the feeling of clearly feeling one's own progress is addicting. It's like refining soul power. Is a treat. Pain and joy. Chapter, 47 Many times, Tang Yu thought about giving up. He has a system, powerful followers, and puppet guardians. Even if his strength is inferior, he can still gain a firm foothold in this apocalypse. Still, he gritted his teeth and persevered. In the early days of the apocalypse, when faced with demonized beasts, fear poured out of my heart. Later, when facing the magic tide in the shelter, the feeling of powerlessness and despair. He doesn't want to have this feeling anymore. Indeed, now, he has a lot of advantages, but these advantages cannot be the reason for his laziness since he has a system, don't let this chance go. For the upcoming trip to the east, Tang Yu also doesn't want him to be a laggard. Even if he has completed the superintensive training, he may or may not be a supporter. Standing on the potholes, Tang Yu felt his strength carefully. In terms of combat experience, he may not be able to compare with Luo Zhe, but he doesn't know how much he has improved. If nothing else, now that he is facing demonized beasts, there is no more turbulence in his heart. Even the heavy slash, which had been stuck in the last step and could not be completed, was successfully used under the pressure of enormous pressure. Suddenly, Tang Yu stopped and raised his brows. Having experienced countless lives and deaths, he already has a different sensitivity to crises. His eyes fell on the mound not far away, his eyes were red, and his body was grey-brown, a bit like a magnified version of a lizard's demonized beast, which drilled out from behind the mound. This is a type of demonized beast that is partial to hunting although the demonized beast has no intelligence, it has a high fighting instinct. If the survivor is unaware, the demonized beast will be at the moment when the survivor approaches the mound. Jump out and crush the survivors. Obviously, the two demonized beasts would not understand why Tang Yu discovered them, but the fighting instinct engraved in their bones drove them to make changes, and the two demonized beasts rushed over from left to right. Tang Yu touched the hilt of the sword with one hand, suddenly smiled, and put it down. 
The strength of these two demonized beasts is at the second level of awakening, and the ordinary awakened third level awakened will face these two demonized beasts, even if they can win, it will not be easy, but. The demonized beast on the left raised its front paws, and its hind limbs used force to pounce first. The fishy wind rushed towards him, and his pupils reflected increasingly large taupe claws. Tang Yu's expression remained the same, but he only took a half step back, and there was no other movement. The sharp claws slid across Tang Yu's chest, and the strong wind blew his collar, but Tang Yu remained motionless such a distance, such a speed, he was so familiar with it that he could easily judge it. The Location of the Monster's Attack These experiences were all acquired by him with his life. Even later, he no longer escaped, but took the initiative to fight with the demonized beasts let alone two demonized beasts. It was a group of demonic waves, Tang Yu was still a wave of various waves, anyway, in the spiritual space, as long as you get used to it. Pain doesn't matter. Right now, there are only two demonized beasts that can be used to test his training results. Another grey monitor lizard detoured behind Tang Yu, and its entire body flew up. The next moment, just as the monitor lizard was about to pounce, Tang Yu quickly squatted down. The monitor lizard lost Tang Yu's figure in its eyes, and slammed into the other monitor lizard, holding it against the belly of the monitor lizard. In an instant, the two monitor lizards hugged and rolled out all the way. Monitor lizard? On the city wall, two survivors on duty swept through every place outside the city wall. Although it was very dark, although they could hardly see anything, the two of them still dutifully guarded it. For the survivors like Liang Hao, who came to the shelter in the early days and witnessed the development of the shelter, this is a very honorable job. Although, they don't know, this kind of duty is actually useless. Today is the last time we are on duty. We will change shifts with the patrol team tomorrow. Hey, if I hadn't awakened and my physique was poor, I would definitely apply to join the patrol team. Isn't it, there are still some awakened people who are unwilling to join the patrol team. They don't know how powerful the shelter is. Look at today's patrol team's mission, they are all wearing sophisticated equipment, and they are still unified. It is estimated that those who did not join. The awakened, you are now regretting it with envy. While the two were talking, they were patrolling. Suddenly, Liang Hao was on the edge of the runway and looked into the distance, look if there is any movement there. It was dark outside the city, and only the moonlight could barely see some scenes in the distance. Another person took out a monocular and looked at the pointing, let me see it's a demonized beast. There are people. Someone. Liang Hao was startled and wanted to sound the alarm, but he heard his companion exclaim, it's Director Tang. Director Tang is working with the devil. Director Tang. The survivors of the shelter have never doubted the strength of Director Tang. However, there is no one who has really seen Director Tang's actions, such as building buildings, even erecting arrow towers and forts to destroy the demonized beasts, and survived. Players are more inclined to be a big move that needs to be deployed in advance, and then relies on the ability to explode instantly. Didn't you see that Director Tang needs to arrange building materials every time he builds a building? As a survivor of the shelter, it is still early. Survivors who have seen Director Tang many times have naturally guessed with others that Director Tang's strength may be violently crushed like Captain Luo, or he use your abilities like an ice goddess to skillfully kill demonized beasts, or... He stopped when he was about to sound the alarm, when he heard the exclamations of his companions. Director Tang didn't draw his sword, did he not bring a weapon? Ah, bad, those two demonized beasts rushed up, and Director Tang met the enemy with his bare hands. Unarmed. Liang Hao was shocked. The awakened wears sophisticated equipment to be able to compete with the demonized, but if there is no weapon, no matter how powerful the awakened fist is, it is impossible to kill the demonized beast. On the contrary, the demonized beast has sharp claws. Sharp teeth, this is the weapon of the demonized beast, which can cause fatal damage to the awakened. He hesitated, wondering if it was time to sound the alarm. At this time, he heard his companion shout again, Director Tang avoided the attack. Director Tang made a 42 punch. Oh, Director Tang punched, and the demonized beast was smashed and flew out, nice. 
With a black line on his face, Liang Hao snatched the telescope from his companion's hand. In the field of vision, the figure swayed slightly, avoiding the attack of the demonized beast. Liang Hao could not see the movement of the demonized beast. However, he could see the movements of Director Tang very clearly. In fact, facing the two demons transforming a beast, Director Tang didn't make any big moves at all. The upper body swaying, the small sliding step, the tilting of the head, these movements are not fast, and even for ordinary people, they are a bit slow. However, it is such a slow movement, but it is easy to avoid the attack of the demonized beast. In Liang Hao's eyes, Director Tang like this is like a beast trainer who teases wild beasts. He was also fascinated by the sight, and while holding down his companion's attempt to grab the telescope, he said, as expected of Director Tang. One move and two combos perfectly hit the key point of the monitor lizard, causing a critical blow to the monitor lizard. The monitor lizard was angry, but Director Tang had already seen everything, turned around, and completely failed the monitor lizard's attack. The strong wind blew the corner of Director Tang's clothes, and the back seemed to be telling the invincible loneliness. Chapter 48 The next day, the weather was fine. Tang Yu put a black backpack on the passenger seat and drove an off-road vehicle slowly. Everything is ready, let's go to Lindong. Tang Yu was looking forward to what the rumored Lindong sanctuary with hundreds of thousands of survivors would look like. Regarding Lindong, he also heard a lot of news. This is a shelter that was built in the early days of the end of the world. When the first communication was still available, there were broadcasts calling for survivors to go to Lindong on their own. The army naturally dispatched many rescue teams to bring the survivors to Lindong in batches, which made the Lindong shelter have hundreds of thousands of people. It's just that the strength of the army is also limited, so naturally they can only selectively send rescue teams the survivor team that Tang Yu was in was too far away from the rescue team and finally failed to catch up. So they took the next step and went to the shade shelter. These small shelters are also called upon by the military to establish themselves. The purpose is to allow those survivors who cannot catch up with the rescue of the military to have a shelter in the last days. For this reason, the military has also put a lot of money into these shelters. Supplies Only The environment of the apocalypse is getting worse day by day, and the army didn't send out a rescue team anymore I couldn't come out all at once. But I saved a few survivors, but lost a lot of ammunition materials, even if the army had stocks, they couldn't afford it. Even the delivery of supplies has become less and less. At least Tang Yu has never seen a plane delivering supplies by the military after he established his territory. He can also understand that there are more and more demonized beasts, and many of them are flying demonized beasts. The situation in the sky has long been no longer dominated by humans. The wilderness outside the sanctuary, perhaps in a few months or a few years, will gradually lose the traces of the prosperous civilization of the past. Small and medium-sized shelters are also in trouble. Only a large-scale shelter like Lindong retains more human civilization and technology, many of which are also Tang Yu's goal. And Lin Wei, the potential boss. Recently, no detectives have been caught in the territory, and it seems that no signs of their activities have been found in the wild. Tang Yu almost forgot them. With the current strength of the territory and the defensive buildings, Tang Yu was not false, but the feeling of being missed by others was not good. He felt aggrieved and decided to bring these bad feelings to the other party. The vehicle slowly drove out of the territory. On the way, all changes come into view. The road in the villa area has been cleaned up, and there are only a few dried bloodstains and cracked ground, telling everything that has happened here. Around, many survivors are busy, not only carrying materials, some survivors are repairing buildings. Repairing some villas that are not badly damaged, and others that are seriously damaged, the whole house is torn down, and there are vacant places. He built some simple houses, and kept the rest for him to build system buildings in the future. After leaving the resort, the road conditions gradually became bad, and the driving was very bumpy, and gradually some traces of demonized beasts could be seen around. Fortunately, this is an off-road vehicle, or it has been modified. The car is welded with a layer of steel plate. The appearance is not very good looking, and the defense ability is still okay. 
at least the attack of ordinary demonized beasts, this car can withstand a period of time. As expected, Wang Tai is one of the top ten couriers. He sends money and equipment to people. Even the off-road vehicles that are traveling now are directly modified by Wang Tai. The movement of the vehicle was not small, and a demonic beast found it and leaned over, and was about to lift its foot. The next moment, a black muzzle protruded from the rear window. Boom! The flame soared, and the entire head of the demonized beast burst open like a watermelon. Tang Yu did not stop and continued to drive the vehicle. In the back row, an ordinary-looking young man with a musket in his hand was smoking slightly. This is the follower summoned this morning with a high probability of summoning scrolls, A-level qualifications, assassin profession. Named, Ash Blade. He has no real name. Since joining the Killer Guild a few years ago, he has given up his own name and adopted a code name, Ash Blade. Just like his people, the code name is also uncharacteristic. From the feeling, the breath of the Grey Blade is lower. If you don't pay attention, you will even ignore his existence. This is the unique method of restraining the breath of the assassin profession. Grey Blade strength is at the fifth level of awakening. This strength is not strong in the Killer Guild. However, his mission completion rate is extremely high, and his reputation is first class assassin profession, the weapon is mainly dagger. Grey Blade can rely on not considerable strength completely many difficult tasks, relying on, naturally, many means. Poisoning, explosives, firearms, many of which he is proficient in, even if he does not have the power bonus of firearms by the musketeer profession. With the rune musket in his hand, he also exploded the head of the demonized beast with one shot. Next to the passenger seat is Elaine. Originally this trip, he planned to bring Elaine. There must be a follower in the territory, and if something happens, he can be notified through a contract. Tang Yu was able to have no worries. These people, Elaine often went out to hunt demonized beasts, and their strength just broke through to the fifth level of awakening. The speed can be said to be extremely fast, which is the advantage of A-level qualifications. Although Tang Yu didn't level up often, he also opened up many times and absorbed a lot of soul power his aptitude is linked to the territorial level. If he can have the A-level qualification to absorb the speed and efficiency of refining soul power, this will, it might also be possible to have the fifth level of awakening. Elaine's strength is undoubtedly a master in the end of the world, but this trip is going to Lin Dong, and there are potential enemies. Tang Yu never underestimated Lin Wei. He did not hold military power in his hands, but he was able to become a big boss in Lin Dong. He must have a strong power. The awakened person in his hand was definitely not weak. Relying on Elaine alone, even if he has prepared many means, he still feels that it is not enough. It just so happened that the newly summoned follower, Ash Blade, was equally powerful. He is also proficient in assassination, intelligence and other means, and can play a lot of roles in Lin Dong. Although. What Tang Yu was most looking forward to summoning was Nizi No, it was the job of a nurse. Although the straight line distance between the territory and Lindong is only 60 kilometers, but in Rayal driving, it is obviously more than 100 kilometers. It is not always possible to drive at high speed along the way, but stop and go. Sometimes, when encountering some completely blocked roads, you need to get off the car to clear a road that allows vehicles to pass through. The road was blocked, and Tang Yu had no choice but to go around. After driving for a few hours, it was close to the boundary of Maple Leaf Town. After passing Maple Leaf Town, it was very close to Lindong Shelter. There were no major dangers on the road. Obviously, the quality of the roadmap extracted from Wang Tai's people is quite guaranteed. Thinking about it, Lin Wei's team of awakens mixed with ordinary people can all come to the territory from Lindong. There are three masters in his car, so the worst can never really happen, encountering an irresistible monster. Be a beast. Near Maple Leaf Town, the buildings on both sides of the road have gradually increased, and the environment has begun to become complicated. From time to time, there are demonized beasts approaching, and Elaine and Huiren are responsible for each side. The gunshots were intermittent, and the ice ridges were blooming. Tang Yu frowned, there seemed to be more and more demonized beasts. Along the way, 
I have also encountered several demonized beasts appearing at the same time, but this will be different. These demonized beasts seem to be attracted by the movement here, and they come one after another from a distance. There is something wrong with this. It stands to reason that this place is close to Lindong Sanctuary. Every day, there are battle teams that go out to fight with demonized beasts. Not right. He had some guesses in his mind. At this time, the strength of the demonized beasts that appeared gradually became stronger, and the pressure suddenly increased a lot. Tang Yu pondered, when he saw a tall building not far away, his eyes suddenly lit up. Hui Rin got out of the car, made some noise, and threw away the chasing demonized beast. Killing is endless. If it was normal, Tang Yu would still be interested in hunting demonized beasts to fill his dry small treasury, but right now, the situation is really not right, he doesn't want to be in crisis because of a little money. Killing is endless. Tang Yu grabbed the handrail and took a leap, like a monkey, flying around the stairwell, and soon came to the top floor of the building. The three spread out, looking around in three directions on the top floor to ensure that no valuable information was missed. There, someone. Tang Yu followed Elaine's direction and found that there was an explosion of fire in the distance. The distance is very far, but the eyesight of the awakened person is not limited. Soon Tang Yu was around the explosion point and saw many figures fleeing in embarrassment. These people are very fast, and it can be seen that all of them are awakened. This is obviously a very elite battle team Tang Yu has also learned some information about Lin Dong. In general, there are only one or two battle teams at most. Awakened, almost even ordinary survivors, and only elite squads, all of which are awakened, can move far away from the shelter. However, the situation of this team was very bad. For a short while, several members of the team who were running slower had already died tragically in the containment of demonized beasts. The demonized beasts that are chasing are very powerful, and just in terms of speed, there are many double and triple. These people are hanging. Tang Yu made this judgment. The next moment, at the end of his line of sight, a vague shadow flashed. Those awakened who were still running fell to the ground in pain one by one, and some of them had been scratched half of their bodies. Chapter, 49 The elite team had obviously been wiped out, in just a few seconds. Tang Yu was shocked. On the map, Maple Leaf Town is marked as a two-star low-risk zone, which is far from dangerous, and there are high-level demonized beasts. Such demonized beasts are a certain threat to their team. Moreover, demonized beasts of this strength have appeared, and it is not guaranteed that more powerful demonized beasts will appear. Did you see clearly? Elaine hesitated. Although she could see it clearly, it was difficult to describe what kind of monster it was. Grey Blade's face showed a bit of solemnity, I am afraid that this demonized beast must have the awakening five-layer strength. It is good at speed, and its appearance and attack method are a bit like a hunter, but its strength is much stronger. Tang Yu nodded. As expected of a person with rich experience in killers, his observation skills are indeed first class. According to Grey Blade's description, Tang Yu's mind immediately came up with the attacking method of this demonized beast. Even if his strength was not as good, he could still find some ways to deal with it with the help of props. And many more. How did you know the hunter? This is a bit wrong, isn't it? Although the contract instills the common sense of the world into the followers, it is not enough to show the followers a movie, right? Grey Blade nodded as a matter of course, of course it's a movie, Lord Lord, your world's movie is really amazing, there are many plots in it, I can't stop watching it. Especially some killing methods, I have never heard of it, it greatly broadens my thinking, huh, if I could see these movies back then, maybe I'd already be a gold medal killer. As if the chatterbox was opened, Ash Blade instantly turned into a chatterbox. Tang Yu held his forehead. There is a feeling that the character design collapses in an instant. He is obviously a cold-faced killer, but suddenly he has become a movie enthusiast. He really admired Grey Blade. He only summoned him in the morning, but he suddenly learned how to operate a mobile computer. If he remembered correctly, many mobile computers now still have passwords. But that's fine. 
It can be seen that Huiren is professional, even in movie reviews, so that his professionalism will not be unplayable because of a different world. This observation. Obviously, Maple Leaf Town has become very dangerous for some reason. However, when going to Lindong, Maple Leaf Town is just on the road that must be passed. It is not that it is impossible to take a detour, but that there are dangers everywhere in the apocalypse. It takes half a day and a day to make a detour, and it is not necessarily safe. Instead, it is better to find out the source of danger in Maple Leaf Town, and then pass through the place with a slightly lower risk. The three jumped vertically on the top of the building, and the strong wind blew in their faces, and the figure of the demonized beast could be seen from time to time on the street under their feet. Tang Yu sighed with emotion, this is definitely a feather in the wall, and I don't know if the ancients imagined these scenarios. Did they ever think that one day, human beings can do this too, but not by the advancement of science and technology, but by the world's change? Suddenly, an idea popped up in his mind. Could it be that the scene of knights coming and going, existed in ancient times? Finally found a tall building, and Tang Yu couldn't see any taller buildings around it. Standing on the edge of the roof of this building, you can overlook most of the town. His eyes swept across from afar, and soon landed on a distant place, a faintly visible pale red mist between the buildings. Really? Although the fog was light, Tang Yu was very sure that this was exactly the same as the red fog he had seen in the last days. This is an abyss crack. The newly appeared, not marked on the map, caused the number of demonized beasts to increase sharply in this area that originally only had a two-star danger. He also wanted to understand now, why he didn't catch the investigation team sent by Lin Wei in recent days, and he didn't see the other party calling the door. It's not that his investigation strength was not enough, but the other party was stuck. He had thought before that Lin Wei was a big boss in Lin Dong anyway, so his work efficiency wouldn't be so low. So many days have passed, the other party should have established a goal, and at the worst, there is also a direction for investigation. However, when he dispatched a competent subordinate, he was told that the road was blocked. What kind of depression is this? Tang Yu's mood suddenly improved a lot. Soon, he thought about his situation. Exploring abyss cracks. Of course this is impossible. The team that died tragically before, the encounter is still vivid in my mind. Even if they are stronger, the ghost knows whether there will be more terrifying demonized beasts in the red fog no, he thinks there must be, and the army will be destroyed in the early days of the apocalypse the news in the red fog. Besides, there is no benefit. After thinking about it, it is better to avoid the abyss and go to Lindong Sanctuary. Let's talk about it. Now that he knows the location of the abyss crack, Tang Yu can also choose the route to follow, as long as he takes a slight detour and passes through the other side of Maple Leaf Town. There are still many demonized beasts, but they mainly avoid the core area. With the strength of the three of them, it is not dangerous to force their way through. Before. He was also afraid that he would not dare to cross Maple Leaf Town directly if he got into the core area of Red Mist. Avoid dying to live longer. Suddenly, several loud noises came from a distance. A red fog shrouded the area, and smoke billowed. In the most central area, those buildings seemed to have been placed with explosives, and in an instant, they all collapsed. A red tentacle emerged from the smoke. This tentacle is very huge, and its length is even higher than the height of a tall building. I saw this tentacle hanging high and suddenly falling. The rumbling ground cracked open, and wherever the tentacles passed, the building collapsed in an instant with this efficiency, the Lanxiang demolition team was even weaker. This unknown superlarge demonized beast looks very cruel, or the surrounding is too crowded, and the two red tentacles are flying, and the surrounding area has been completely turned into ruins. The falling rocks fell like raindrops, and some demonized beasts that could not escape were killed and injured. But he also wanted this superlarge demonized beast to destroy it, and the surrounding high-rise buildings collapsed. Tang Yu and the three could already see the appearance of the place. Under the rolling light red mist, an item measured over 100 meters in length and a huge width of more than 10 meters. Cracks, like huge cracked mouths, are breathtaking. This is the abyss crack. In fact, it is the first time Tang Yu has seen it. 
When he was in school at the beginning of the end of the world, he only saw the red mist from a distance, and when he heard the screams of people, he quickly slipped away, otherwise he would not live. Now. He also learned later that where there is red fog, there must be an abyss crack. The smoke and dust in the distance gradually dissipated. Looking at it, you could vaguely see a vague body in the smoke and dust like a huge insect, and the two red tentacles were connected to the head of the demonized beast, as if two pierced through it. Skyrim's Red Whip Even though they were separated by more than half of the town, the terrifying oppression was still like a surging wave, rushing towards them. If he hadn't experienced the training in the spiritual space to awaken the strength of the triple layer, he would not know if he would be able to gain a firm footing before such a sense of oppression. Aside. Even Elaine and Huiren were pale. In their world, there are also some terrifying dark creatures that can destroy the city, but they have never seen it before. Today, the supergiant demonized beast I saw, I am afraid that those demonized beasts that destroy the city, that's it. This demonized beast just climbed out of the abyss crack, and the moment it landed, the entire ground shook. No wonder. The human army, with advanced technology and weapons, is still losing ground in the face of demonized beasts. In addition to the fact that the abyss crack cannot be destroyed, I am afraid it is also because some powerful demonized beasts are too terrifying. Such strength, I am afraid, has already surpassed the awakening stage. Chapter, 50 Leave Maple Leaf Township Tang Yu still had lingering fears. Fortunately, the demonized beast had no interest in these little shrimps, and the three left from the other side of Maple Leaf Town without any danger. The off-road vehicle has landed in Maple Leaf Town. After all, the driving is loud, and the vehicle is too bloated. If you want to leave, you are destined to give up the vehicle. If all the things you bring this trip are put in the space backpack, it will be a blood loss. Even so, Tang Yu felt that he was a little sorry for Wang Tai's spirit in the sky. Losing the off-road vehicle to protect them from the wind and rain, and beheading a number of demonized beasts blocking the road, Tang Yu and the three gradually became more and more busy, and they looked a bit like an ordinary fighting team. Suddenly, Tang Yu frowned, and there were intermittent sounds of help from a distance. Someone calling for help. Ahead, through some abandoned vehicles blocking the street, you can see a young woman running and shouting. Behind her, a scrawny man is chasing after him with an angry expression. The young woman ran so hard that she stumbled to the ground, her long hair scattered. The man with ribs behind him was getting closer, and the situation looked dangerous. The woman looks pitiful. In this situation, a person with a little pity, especially a male creature, can't help but come to the rescue. Tang Yu glanced at it, then stopped. The three of them stood on the side of the street, like indifferent onlookers. Not far away. The woman's long hair fell down and she looked anxious. Why? Why didn't they come? Why aren't they fooled? Why? She was unwilling. Continuously shouting, however, the three people in the distance are still indifferent. It's a trap, a trap set to lure survivors. Around, there are members of this gang in ambush. The young woman was also caught by the gang, and day and night, she had to satisfy the desires of the gang. Originally, she was already heartbroken, but a few days ago, this group of people planned to set up a set here and needed an actor, so she volunteered. She was also promised that as long as she could seduce a sufficient number of survivors, she would not have to be tortured by those strong men every day, and even the girls who were captured could be managed by her. The young woman's heart was moved. She vaguely knew that there were backers behind this group of people. Some good-looking girls could be rewarded if they presented them. She saw the three people not far away, one of them was a tender and tender girl. Just get them hooked. The young woman continued to act. No matter how slow the man behind him was, he had already caught up and slapped her on the body. It was a real slap that made the young woman cry out in pain. The sound became more and more realistic. Acting to this point is also very dedicated. Pity. Tang Yu glanced at the buildings on both sides of the street, and knew that there was an ambush there, and he was not stupid, how could he pass? In a building, two people are leaning against the window. From this angle, they can see every move of the street below, 
but they are not easy to be found. Why haven't we taken the bait? We haven't even made a single order in the past two days. If we go on like this, we're going to drink the northwest wind. One of the red-haired killers pressed the cigarette but on the table, watching the ashes rise, and suddenly felt a little distressed. The other person beside him is a bald man, obviously much calmer than the man who killed Matt, don't worry, after all. It is a team that can survive in the wild, so there must be some vigilance, let the people in the performance team do their best. Street Below The ribs man punched and kicked, cursing with hatred. While crying, the young woman asked for help from the three people in the distance. Time passed by dozens of seconds. At this time, there was not much time, but in this case, it seemed a little strange. The bald man began to frown, are those three such ruthless and selfish survivors? Shouldn't be. The man who killed Matt also muttered, those three people look very young, they should be the kind of students who have not experienced the world. Even in the end times, the change of heart should not be so fast, as long as they are not betrayed. Or framed, such people are generally easier to develop sympathy. In the end times, not everyone is as hard-hearted as iron. It is true that the end times are cruel, and many survivors in the wild are often vigilant when they encounter each other. But the conscience of human beings will not be wiped out in a short period of time. Most people may not risk their lives to save others, and there are still many people willing to do so. In the scene they designed, the pursuer is just a thin man, whether it is an awakened person or not, three people beat one person, no matter how you look at it, it is not difficult, or say. Kill Matt showed annoyance, we should have been discovered, but we don't know where the flaws are exposed. In the trap they designed, many people were ambushed in the shops on both sides, and the commanding heights on both sides of the street were also equipped with gunmen. Even the awakened with good strength, as long as they fell into their encirclement, they would not be able to struggle. Let's take the initiative, those three people don't look strong, we can't miss this deal, but if they run away, it won't be easy to catch up, so let's go ahead and catch the woman and the two men first. It depends on the situation, you can kill if you can, and it doesn't matter if you run away. The bald head made up his mind, with a grim expression on his face, if they find something wrong, they will flee immediately. We are not good at chasing, but since we are still watching from a distance, then. Suddenly, the bald and slaughtered man jumped down from the second floor, and in several shops along the street, there were also many figures with knives, all of them grinning and running. Their group of more than a dozen people, including three awakened people, and firearms, this is the confidence of the bald head. This kind of power, even in a head-to-head -head confrontation, is enough to crush an ordinary battle team. Not to mention. The bald head sneered in his heart. As the distance approached, he had already sensed that among the three, only the girl was an awakened, and her breath was still weak. With such strength, they dared to wait for them to come, it should be said that the ignorant are fearless. It's okay, the girl is an awakener, and if she dedicates it to the boss, the reward may be higher. He grinned, already winning, give it all to me. Before the words could be said, a sharp cry came from the air. The bald head couldn't help but look up, and saw a black strange bird, already shrouded in the sky above them. Wei Nian has a humanoid torso, a pointed mouth like a bird's beak, and a pair of wide black wings spread out behind him, as if covering half of the sky. This is actually a terrifying demonized beast. The bald head has already noticed it at the first sight. He was afraid in his heart, and he could no longer care about the prey that was close at hand, so he wanted to turn around and run away, but the strange bird had already discovered the human breath that gathered together and swooped down. Chapter 51 In an instant, the strong wind blew through, like a knife slicing on the body. Just a single dive of the strange bird smashed their group into pieces. The bald man also fell to the ground, his body seemed to have been cut by a random knife, his clothes were tattered, and there were countless wounds on his body. This is actually a person who can use the power of the wind, which is a hundred times more terrifying than he imagined. By his side, those ordinary people have almost all died. Only the three awakened ones, including him, are still alive. However, they have been seriously injured, and facing this terrifying demonized beast, they can no longer escape. 
the bald head couldn't understand why there were demonized beasts of this level in this safe area not far from the shelter. He was unwilling. Obviously, you will soon be able to catch a top quality girl. As long as you give it to the boss, maybe he will be able to enter the main team, and then. His eyes widened. The three people in the distance actually stood there intact. Why? The attack of the strange bird covered a large area, and he saw mottled marks on the ground around the three people. The bald man couldn't understand. At this time, the strange bird also found the three people who were still standing in the field, and swooped down again. This time, the attack was more concentrated, and the wind blade almost condensed into a solid body. The bald man couldn't help but feel a sense of happiness in his heart, but the next moment, his mouth opened slightly. I saw the three people avoid them in the distance, and they were extremely fast. They were not the combination of ordinary people and weak awakened people he thought. Two of them took out their pistols and fired at the strange bird again and again. How can a mere pistol hurt such a terrifying demonization? Blood dripped from the demonized beast. He widened his eyes again, and his eyes were bloodshot. Could this demonic beast be the type of defense type? If I knew it earlier, I didn't run away just now, and fought back directly. Boom! On the other side of the rooftop, the gunman they had set up in ambush also fired in the panic. Several bullets hit the demonized beast. However, this strange bird was unharmed this time, instead a gust of wind. Blade, take the gunman away. At this time, Ilyen raised her staff, and the ice ridges flew out. The strange bird was very fast and avoided a little, but frost also condensed on its wings. Slowed down. The bald man was too shocked to speak. I saw the ordinary looking man, withdrew the pistol, took out the dagger, and clenched his hands tightly. What is this for? Grey Blade stared at the strange bird, and when the strange bird swooped down again, the whole person flew up. First, he stepped on the edge of the second story window, and then quickly trotted, running against the wall as if against gravity. Combat skill ghost step. His body appeared and disappeared from time to time, and when he stepped out, he often appeared a few meters away. Whoosh! The gray blade rose into the air and instantly appeared behind the strange bird, and a faint light on the dagger flickered. Combat skill backstab. Roar. The strange bird roared, but couldn't shake the gray blade, and the wind blade condensed and attacked the gray blade. Even so, the gray blade seems to have eyes behind it. Whenever a wind blade strikes, a dagger is slashed out from the backhand, and the wind blade can always be broken. After several attacks, the blood of the strange bird splattered, and finally, with a bang, it fell to the ground. At this time, the figure of the grey blade appeared not far from the strange bird, but it had already returned to the ground. The bald man was desperate. Obviously just set up an ambush, why did you meet such a terrifying strange bird, and why did you meet these people who are more terrifying than the strange bird? After collecting the materials and the trophies of the source crystal, and looking at it again, this group of people was lying on the ground. Except for the three bald people, everyone else was in a miserable state of death. TSK. Tang Yu walked over. These days, life is really difficult. No matter what business you do, there are dangers, and so is ambush. These people are a lesson from the past, because there is not enough investigation of the surrounding environment and the degree of danger of the terrain, there is no risk assessment, and there is no crisis warning, so, they get cold. Oh no, it wasn't completely cold yet, Tang Yu decided to help them finish the last ride. The bald man looked at Tang Yu who walked in, his face changed with fear, anger, despair, and suddenly shouted, Come on, kill me, our boss won't let you go. You still have a boss. The bald man heard the words and gained confidence, the strength of our boss is something you can imagine. You must know that our organization is a famous orangutan. Before he could say the last word, he felt a fishy liquid rushing up his throat. Consciousness gradually became blurred, and the bald man seemed to hear the words of the young man in front of him. Forget it, you are very poor at first glance, and you are not interested in knowing. At dusk, the sun sets in the west, and the horizon is gradually covered with the colorful clothes of the sunset. After bumping and bumping all the way, 
and finally arriving at Lindong, Tang Yu was also relieved. It is only the furthest distance from Lindong. When I get here, I can gradually see the traces of the survivors' activities, and occasionally I can meet some survivors who have returned from going out. At this time, the road was very calm, and no one would choose to rob in such a place. Suddenly, the vision in front was wide, and a towering city wall stretched at the end of the field of vision, like a black giant python. Anyone who saw this scene for the first time would be shocked. Tang Yu is also a bit of a whale eater. Not to mention the quality, this city wall is much more spectacular than the small city wall in the territory. The city wall of the territory, at best, only surrounds the villa area, and the length is the same. However, the city wall in front of me stretches for nowhere, and I am afraid that it will surround the entire Lindong County. Such a project is amazing. Above the city wall, well-equipped soldiers standing upright are firmly sticking to their posts, and their eyes are patrolling the distance. In front of these soldiers, a number of large-caliber heavy machine guns are erected on the stacks, and the black barrels are aimed at the outside. As long as the situation is encountered, the barrage composed of these machine gun bullets can instantly tear the enemy to pieces. In addition to the heavy machine guns, behind the soldiers, at intervals, there are heavy weapons such as mortars, howitzers, and cannons. The thick muzzle points to the distance. Not only the city walls, but also forts were built in the open wilderness outside the city walls. Tang Yu could see the black barrels sticking out of these forts. Occasionally, some demonized beasts that approached would spit out tongues of flame from the barrel, quickly killing the demonized beasts. This kind of defense is not weak. Ordinary magic tide is a disaster for the small shelter, but for Lindong's sanctuary, the demonized beasts they destroy every day are more than an order of magnitude of the magic tide. At this time, it happened to be the moment when the survivors who went out came back. There are well-equipped combatants, awakens exuding a sturdy aura, survivors who just went out to scavenge waste and ragged clothes, and some foreigners who finally arrived in Lindong after crossing the wilderness and weeping with joy. The flow of people gradually gathered, and there was a lively atmosphere in the last days. As expected of a large shelter, Tang Yu felt it. There was a rumbling sound in the distance. The sound was from far to near. Tang Yuxuan looked at the sound and saw a row of convoys approaching at high speed. The head of the car was a modified Hummer. Steel plate, two machine guns are also installed on the top of the vehicle, one looks like it is armed to the teeth. Behind the Hummer body, there are all kinds of vehicles, all of which have been modified, driving from a distance like a torrent of steel. Many survivors had envious looks in their eyes. Team, this is undoubtedly a powerful symbol in the last days. Expensive gasoline, coupled with the vehicles moving too much, only enough financial resources and strength, in order to form a whole team. Some teams are well equipped, with alloy weapons, shields, and firearms this is undoubtedly an elite team, but these people can't help but smile bitterly when they look at this team. Before the convoy appeared, they were the envy of the other survivors, but after the convoy appeared, compared to them, they also looked shabby. Beep. The convoy raised smoke and horns kept honking. Some survivors also wanted to take a close look at this shocking convoy, but they did not expect that this convoy was quite arrogant. It was clearly near the shelter where the survivors gathered, but this convoy did not mean to slow down at all. The raised smoke and sand are flying all over the sky. Some people showed disgust, but they didn't dare to say anything, so they could only quickly avoid it. What kind of person, how can he be so domineering, he is amazing if he has strength. A young man couldn't see it and spoke angrily. The older companion beside him was nervous, he quickly pulled him back, and whispered, you don't want to die. What are you afraid of? This is the Lindong shelter. Could it be that they dare to kill people in front of the army? In the shelter, in front of the army, they really don't dare to be too arrogant, but the older companion shook his head, to people like us, unless you don't want to make a living, can you stay in the shelter all the time? What's more, even in the shelter, not every place is under the inspection of the military. Hearing this, the young man turned pale with fright, and quickly closed his mouth. More importantly, the name of this team, do you know which mercenary group this team belongs to? The young man shook his head. 
The older survivor flashed deep fear in his eyes, and said with a trembling voice, this convoy belongs to the large-scale mercenary group of the Scarlet Hand. And among all the large-scale mercenary groups, it is the most ruthless and the most vicious one. The young man's face turned even paler. In a new week, it's time to sell cute collections, ask for recommendations, and click on the balls U0026GTU0026LT. Chapter, 52. Watching the convoy drive past the city gate of the shelter, Tang Yu clicked his tongue. As a person, being so arrogant is easy to suffer retribution. In contrast, his strength is so low-key, it is rare. Of course Tang Yu didn't have the mind to meddle in his own business. Although. When he came to the east, he probably had to do something. Survivors around here are mostly local survivors of Lindong Sanctuary. These people went out early every day, and when they returned at sunset, they appeared to show some kind of certificate at the city gate and were released. Other survivors like them who came to Lindong Sanctuary for the first time lined up beside the city gate. A simple shed was erected, with a banner on it in large characters, Identity Registration Office. There are also some guide signs next to it, as well as related instructions. Newly arrived survivors need to register here before they can be released into the shelter. The identity of the registration is not complicated. Only basic information such as name, age and gender, plus specialties, is said to facilitate the work assignment of the shelter. There are a total of three queues in the registry, two of which are normal queues and one is a special queue. The special queue is only for the awakened, as well as the professional talents. Professional talents include medical personnel, researchers, technical workers, and talents with combat or command literacy, etc. These are the talents that are currently scarce in shelters. Lindong officially gave them quite a treat. There is only one special queue, but there are far fewer people in the queue than the other two queues. This queue is equivalent to a VIP channel, which is a preferential treatment and a disguised solicitation. Certainly. In Tang Yu's view, in addition to recruiting, many awakened people have violent tempers themselves. If they are allowed to line up with the survivors who are like refugees on the other side, there will be some kind of conflict. Tang Yu didn't have a violent temper, and lined up behind the VIP channel. Elaine lived in a poor environment since she was a child, and naturally she did not feel uncomfortable. As always, Ash Blade has no sense of existence well, this means that there is no mention of the movie. The three of them, even in the VIP channel, seemed a little bit noticeable. In this special passage, there are many professionals who are scarce in the shelter, but now those people are like the survivors of the other two queues, ragged. Like refugees, and only a few awakened people seem to be more spiritual, but if compared with Tang Yu and the other three, it would seem very down to earth. Especially Elaine, although she was wearing a hood, covering her long sky blue hair like a two dimensional character but just the face she saw was enough to attract the attention of others. Tang Yu originally thought that someone would approach or even provoke him, but he didn't think about it, most of those ordinary survivors didn't even have the courage to look at them, even the confident awakened ones wouldn't dare to. Caused an incident under the nose of the military. He shrugged. Pretending to slap the face or something is obviously difficult to trigger. The VIP queue was not long, and it has been more than a month since the end of the world, and fewer and fewer survivors have arrived at the shelter. In a short while, it was Tang Yu's turn in the queue. Sitting at the other end of the desk was a man who looked like an officer. The other party observed it and said, two awakened people, one ordinary person. The man who looked like an officer pointed to Ilian and Huiren, and then to Tang Yu. A young clerk next to him took out three forms, two for the awakened person, and one for the ordinary person. Tang Yu touched the tip of his nose. He originally wanted to say that he was an awakened, but he didn't expect that the man who looked like an officer was actually used as a detector. Also, the awakened can sense the breath of each other. Obviously, Lindong Sanctuary will not let ordinary people mix into the special queue casually, so an awakened officer is arranged to sense it here. Although Elaine and Huiren have restrained their breath, they can still sense it to some extent, and he is embarrassed. What is breath, can you eat it? He decided to remain silent, it would be too troublesome to prove the identity of the awakened. 
Before the end of the world, the most annoying thing was to go through all kinds of work procedures, so let's hurry up and leave. Fill in the information casually, and finally exchange it to the clerk. As expected, the officer man looked at Elaine and Huiren and said, Do you have the will to join the military? The military's treatment is the best in the entire shelter, whether it is various benefits, or follow-up to their own strength. The improvement is the most beneficial. Of course, joining the military requires a series of assessments. If you are willing, you can fill out an application form first. This voice is very mechanical. Obviously, this same word has been said hundreds of times. Elaine and Huiren didn't even think about it and shook their heads. The officer man stopped asking questions. In his heart, Elaine and Huiren are just awakened awakeners, and they have not reached the point of solicitation, and he is only making routine inquiries. As for Tang Yu, the officer man shook his head lightly in his heart. He could see at a glance that Tang Yu was not the kind of person who often fights, but at least he came to register with two awakened people, so he didn't care what the other party wrote on the professional talent. Fighters Stepping into the sanctuary, one after another seems to have stepped into another world. The street facing the south gate is very spacious. Even if only military vehicles can pass through on weekdays, it is still very lively here. Survivors in different clothes come and go, and many people shout and sell, like a vegetable market. Especially at this time when many survivors who went out came back, some people directly found a seat and sold today's harvest. Tang Yu was a little dazed. The buildings on both sides of the street have not been damaged, and they still retain their pre-apocalyptic appearance. If it weren't for the sallow complexions of many survivors around, and the clothes had not been washed for many days, he really had a feeling of returning to the pre-apocalypse. There were also some survivors at the city gate. They didn't hold anything in their hands, but just kept staring at the city gate. Sometimes survivors walked in, and these people rushed to surround them, and sometimes they were indifferent. Several survivors saw Tang Yu and the three, their eyes lit up, and they immediately surrounded. A thin young man in tattered clothes spoke first, Boss, do you need a guide? I was originally from Lindong Town, and I watched the shelter build up little by little with my own eyes. I am very familiar with it, as long as two caddies of food, I can take you around the entire shelter in one day. This young man was dressed in sloppy clothes, but compared to the other survivors, he was still in good spirits. Tang Yu thought about it for a while, took out a palm-sized can of meat, and threw it over, this is enough. The thin young man hurriedly caught the canned meat, and his face was still in shock, enough, enough, no no, it's too much, I'm just talking about two caddies of the most common grain. He seemed a little helpless, but the other survivors on the side looked both envious and annoyed. Tang Yu asked the young man to take the canned meat and asked as he walked, tell me about the Lindong shelter. Chapter, 53 The thin young man took out a piece of clean cloth to wrap the canned meat, organized the language again, and began to speak. The construction of Lindong shelter started on the third day of the end of the world, and it has been more than a month now. The entire shelter is also the largest shelter for hundreds of miles around Lincheng, with hundreds of thousands of survivors. It's just that the Lindong shelter is not like the outside world, you can live a good life here. The thin young man smiled wryly, after all, there are too many survivors and food is limited. There is very little food, and that little food will at most make people starve to death. If you really want to be full, you still have to find your own way out. He pointed to a building not far away, the door was locked at this time. That's the labor market, and some jobs are put up every morning. These are short-term jobs, such as building city walls, but there are not many jobs. Every morning, the door of the labor market is crowded with survivors, but most people still can't get it. A job. Of course, the awakened people or professionals don't have to worry about this, other ordinary people, if they can't get a job, some are like me, who are here as guides, if you are lucky enough to meet a generous person like you. Then you can after many days of changing food, there are also some people who go out to try their luck, we call them scavengers, and sometimes they are lucky enough to pick up some valuable goods, but sometimes. Scavengers. Tang Yu knew who these people were. On the way to the shelter, he saw many survivors with yellow faces and thin skin. 
It was obviously impossible for these people to hunt and kill demonized beasts. After the first battle teams have searched, they will pick up the rest. How much are these things worth? Besides, in the wild, no matter how close you are to the shelter, no matter how you go to the places that the combat team has explored, it is impossible to be safe. It's true that life is no better than anywhere else in Lindong Sanctuary. Tang Yu was very heartbroken. So many survivors but doing nothing, it's a waste of labor. In his territory, only the transportation brigade, as the waste materials in the original resort villa are gradually consumed, and if you want to obtain materials, you need to go to a farther place, and this manpower needs to be increased. There are also logging and quarries in the territory building, but it is not possible to generate wood and stone out of thin air like in the game, which is obviously unrealistic. Even if these resource buildings are built, they also need survivors to assist in operation. I can't force it, I can't force it, what's more, what I lack is not just survivors, but also lack of source crystals, lack of blueprints, lack of high-grade metal materials. Thinking about it this way, he found that he lacked everything, so he simply changed his name to Tang K. Lindong County says that it is not too small, but it is not too big. Hundreds of thousands of survivors poured into the Lindong shelter, occupying most of the county at once. Many places have basically been built into tubular buildings for survivors to live in. Some buildings with low land utilization rates are either flattened or be transformed. The entire Lindong shelter, except for a few main streets, is very crowded, and it feels like it's hard to breathe. Under the leadership of the thin young man, he was walking on the main street of course. As he walked, he introduced some main buildings and facilities of the Lindong shelter. The building that used to look like a bank over there has now been converted into a mercenary task management center. Every day, many combat teams who plan to go out will come here to see if there are suitable tasks. Complete the task center released after the mission, many rewards can be exchanged according to the mission points, almost everything, so the mission center has become the place where many awakened people communicate with the most. Tang Yu held his chin. After all, it is the official organization of Lin Dong. There are many good things on the reward list of the task center. From the most basic food, to guns, even bazookas and armored vehicles, these are all weapons and equipment that make combatants jealous. There are even a few things among them, and Tang Yu is a little moved when he sees them. Awakening Potion the research on human awakening in Lindong's sanctuary has obviously been at the forefront. Compared with the simple awakening headband, this awakening medicine has more auxiliary effects and fewer side effects. Although it is useless to him, it is still very effective to increase the external attractiveness of the shelter, that is, to force it. Tang Yu had deeper considerations. Awakening potion, he doesn't need much. With all the research, it is possible to deduce the formula of this awakening potion with just a few samples. In addition, Tang Yu was a little surprised to see another kind of soul power container. This kind of container can actually absorb soul power. It should be known that after the death of the demonized beast, the soul power will be quickly dissipated except the absorbed ones. However, scientists in Lindong discovered a special crystal. This crystal has a great compatibility with soul power. Finally, after research this kind of crystal vessel that contains soul power is made. Tang Yu's eyes lit up, sure enough, this trip to Lindong was worth it. Can the awakening potion and soul power container be bought with source crystals? Awakening potions can be bought, but the soul power container can only be exchanged through the mission center. And the awakening potions are also divided into 3, 6, 9, and some high-grade awakening potions are actually difficult to buy. Can't you change it unless you do a quest? He was a little depressed. It is impossible to do a task. He came here to do things, not to do a task. Besides, with the high exchange price of the soul force, how many tasks do you know before you can exchange them? There's really no other way. Tang Yu still had a glimmer of hope. The thin young man pondered for a while, it is said that there are all kinds of precious goods for sale on the black market. As long as active crystals can be bought, but about the black market, I have only heard about it, and I have no specific information about the black market. Clear. He was a little distressed, but there was nothing he could do. 
Tang Yu didn't care, after all, this guide was just an ordinary survivor. Anyway, as long as the black market exists, there is always a way to find out, but I don't know if there is anything he wants in the black market. Take a look at one. The guide left, and Huiren took to the streets to investigate the information. Elaine looked at the small vendors on the side of the street, and her expression was a little pleasant, so Tang Yu let her go shopping by herself. In the blink of an eye, Tang Yu was the only one left. Suddenly, a familiar voice came from behind. Tang Yu. He turned around and saw a young man with glasses and a small flat head. You are Li Xiuming. Xiao Ming. Chapter, 54. Li Xiuming, a college classmate. The relationship between the two is good. After all, they passed the night together, passed the exam, and ate chicken. They can be called the three irons of friendship. However, Tang Yu almost didn't recognize it. In my memory, Xiao Ming was a very polite person, and his hair was much longer than now, but now, the whole person gave him a clean and neat feeling. It was as if the two hadn't seen each other in years. But in fact, not long before the apocalypse broke out, the two still met at school, but they had just experienced the life and death of the apocalypse. Seeing the familiar faces again, Tang Yu couldn't help recalling the campus full of youth and books before the apocalypse. Let's go, let's see what you look like, you just came to Lindong, and I'll catch the wind and wash the dust for you. When Li Xiuming saw Tang Yu holding a guide given by the guide in his hand, he couldn't help but drag Tang Yu into a restaurant on the street. On both sides of this main road, there are a few shops, not too many, and the types are quite complete. Restaurants, clothing stores, daily necessities stores, bars, etc. There were some before the end of the world, and there are also now, which shows the prosperity of Lindong. There are also some shops that are more apocalyptic, such as shops selling homemade guns, shops selling materials for demonized beasts, and there are also pre-apocalyptic martial arts masters who opened martial arts halls in the shelter. It is said that the business is very hot. The two chose a seat by the window, and Li Xiuming handed the menu to Tang Yu, come, Lao Tang, take a look at this menu, this is something you can't eat outside, so don't be polite to me. Tang Yu looked at the menu and saw that they were all very common home-cooked dishes before the end of the world, such as braised eggplant, spicy shredded potatoes, home-style tofu, etc. These are indeed quite luxurious in the end of the world, and many small shelters simply eat them without such dishes, only Lindong County has a complete range of ingredients to afford so many home-cooked dishes. Of course, the price is not cheap. Tang Yu pointed out a few items at will, and the waiter on the side calculated a little and said, a total of 20 yuan, thank you. Seemingly seeing the doubts in his eyes, Li Xiuming explained with a smile, 20 yuan is the price of 20 caddies of grain. And now the general currency of the shelter is food stamps, which have a face value of 1 caddy, 2 caddies, 5 caddies, and 10 caddies. The jeans are not the same as the food stamps decades ago. Instead, they are more like the pre-apocalyptic currency. The difference is that the food stamps can be directly exchanged for food. Of course, the face value of a jeans of food stamps can only be exchanged. A pound of the most common grain. Also, these restaurants now pay first and then serve the food. In the past, some people ate the bawang meal, and it was useless to catch them. They had no money to pay at all. It's all paid up front. Li Xiuming found two crumpled food stamps with a face value of 10 pounds from his pocket, and was about to hand them to the waiter. Seeing this, Tang Yu shook his head. Although Xiao Ming was very forthright, he could still see the slightest pain in the eyes of the other party. He understood that Li Xiuming was just an ordinary person after all. In this environment, he may be better than the average survivor, but not much better. These two food stamps with a face value of 10 kilograms are likely to be saved by Li Xiuming after accumulating a lot. They are enough for ordinary survivors to survive for a month. Tang Yu has no reason to let Li Xiuming spend so much money. I'll pay. He took out a source crystal and handed it to the waiter. Li Xiuming wanted to speak, but when he saw the source crystal, his face was complicated, okay, you can actually take out the source crystal. You are an awakened person, hey, it's a pity that I am the first awakening headband, or the later awakening. 
Medicine, no matter how hard you try, you can't wake up. Tang Yu didn't know how to speak. In the last days, everyone wants to be an awakened person. Even if they don't go out into the wild, they will have an advantage over ordinary people in terms of work after becoming an awakened person. Who doesn't want to be an awakened person? From his point of view, he is not qualified to persuade. On the contrary, Li Xiuming smiled for a moment, forget it, I don't care anymore, anyway, I at least have a regular job, and my life is much better than that of ordinary survivors. Compared with those people, I am at least lucky. It's you, you can't waste the talent of the awakened. If you have savings, it's best to go to the official store to buy some equipment, such as firearms, such as the military's special alloy sword. I heard from the awakened that it is very easy to use. Tang Yu nodded. Li Xiuming is very reasonable, and he can see that he is sincerely giving advice to himself. However, these are only applicable to ordinary awakened people, but he has already exceeded this level. What's more, no matter how good the military's alloy swords are, they can is it better than the one produced by his workshop. Of course Tang Yu didn't say these words. After thinking about it, he asked, then do you know about the black market? It is said that there are many good things in the black market. Black market? Li Xiuming thought for a while, I don't know much about the black market. It is said that the black market was originally just a place for a few awakened people to trade some invisible items, but gradually, the black market grew and became a small market. It's like the commodity trading market in the eastern area of the shelter, except that most of the items traded on the black market can be used by the awakened including items and equipment, some wild trophies, and it is said that sometimes some items banned by the military flow out. Tang Yu's eyes lit up. The military banned the sale of items, which means that it is entirely possible for the sole power container to be bought on the black market. Do you know where the black market is? Li Xiuming frowned, the black market, I have only heard of a hidden place in the shelter, but I don't know the exact location. However, I heard someone say it before in this way, I will ask you at work tomorrow. Tang Yu ordered two bottles of beer, and during the chat, the two of them each talked about some post-apocalyptic experiences. Li Xiuming did not encounter any danger after the end of the world. When the end of the world broke out, he happened to be working in Lindong County, which happened to be selected by the military as a shelter. Work was bad before the apocalypse, but now it is the envy of most survivors. Fixed positions, which are very few in shelters, fixed wages, enough to eat every day, and maybe some savings, not only that. Compared to the official relief houses allocated to ordinary survivors, fixed position employees the shelter is much better than these relief houses. Don't you know that when the shelter was first established, gunshots could be heard every day? At that time, it was really scary. It was you who were so powerful that you could survive in such an environment, and still live so nourishing. He sighed, the other students don't know how, I have met the school committee, 503 and two other people who work in Lindong like me, the others just happened to meet you, Lao Tang today, and I don't think so. Know how many people made it to the shelter alive. Living is a very heavy topic. Survivors come to the shelter every day, but many more people actually die on the road. Of course, most of his college classmates were in the lynching area when the apocalypse happened. The people who came to the Lindong shelter alive were not necessarily the few Li Xiuming had seen, but there were hundreds of thousands of survivors in the shelter. At a time when life is so difficult and there is a lack of contact information, it is clear that no one is spared the effort to find other people. After all, except for a few old friends with deep friendship, even if there is no end of the world, if we meet again in a few years, it is not a stranger. Forget about these frustrating words, Lao Tang, you just came to the shelter today, and you haven't found a place yet. If you don't want to live in those relief houses, then you have to go to the housing management center to choose a room. Chapter, 55 Housing Management Center People come and go here, and there are a lot of houses for rent every day. The relief house was not the simple tent that Tang Yu imagined. In fact, there was so much space for tents in the shelter. Generally, the relief house where the survivors lived were all the slack buildings built by the shelter. In the bed, a dozen people crowded together on the floor. Survivors with a little extra money all wish they could live in a better place. 
Houses in the shelter are graded into five grades, ranging from one to five stars. As he walked, Li Xiuming introduced to Tang Yu, one-star housing is a relief room. Needless to say, two-star housing is similar to our university's dormitory room, there are four people one room, and ten people one room. Our remodeled rooms the place I live in is not bad. It is a four-person dormitory, but the two-star housing does not have a toilet. To use the toilet, you need to go to the public toilet on each floor, and you need to queue up to take a shower. Samsung housing has started to be different. The biggest sign is that Samsung housing has a separate toilet and bathroom. It can be said that it is the residence that most people yearn for. Even many awakened people may not be able to live in Samsung housing. Four star is a suite, and there is electricity supply at fixed hours every night, while five star is a 24 hour power supply, and the house can still be connected to the internet. Tang Yu sighed with emotion that this Lin Dong official can also play, and even divided the housing into so many levels. And it's only for rent, which ensures that the water will flow, the leaks will not be cut, and the spring breeze will blow. This is a place to learn from. He can't wait to take out a small notebook and record it immediately, real estate is hugely profitable, not to mention Lin Dong officials. Relying on leases, energy keeps coming in money, which is comparable to picking up source crystals from monsters much faster. His territory will grow in size one day, can he also earn source crystals through real estate and other industries at that time? He will divide the housing into ten grades, such as six-star housing with air conditioning and heating, and seven-star housing with refrigerators and ovens. There are all kinds of household appliances, eight-star housing. At this moment, Tang Yu felt that his vision became more long-term. As long as the territory was developed into a large-scale shelter, there would not be enough source crystals. There are a lot of people applying for renting a house, and there is a long queue. Most of them were awakened people. Tang Yu looked at the appearance of those people, and many of them knew each other. The two of them stood at the end of the line, waiting patiently. Ahead, suddenly there was a commotion. I actually chose a four-star housing, Lao Zhou, you have made a fortune. Brother Zhou, I heard that you were planning something last time. It seems to be a success. Congratulations. Team Zhou, have you hunted and killed powerful demonized beasts, do you not know the materials on the demonized beasts, do you have any to sell? At the front of the team, there was a strong man wearing clothes made of demonized beast fur and carrying an axe on his back. Tang Yu actually felt a little threat from the opponent. The strong man smiled modestly, luck is luck. Although Zhou Jianhong kept saying this, the other awakened people looked at him with a lot of respect. Being able to live in a four-star room means that Zhou Jianhong's team is already ranked in a shelter, especially someone who is well-informed soon. Explaining the previous mission of Zhou Jianhong and his team, hunting a terrifying awakened quadruple demonized beast. Awaken the quadruple. Even though most of the people here are awakened, most of them are actually awakening level 1. Even if many of them hunted and killed some demonized beasts, they are still the first level of awakening. The number of awakening doubles is less, and this is already an elite figure. Awakening the third layer, I am afraid that Zhou Jianhong is the only one present, and it is no wonder that their team can hunt such terrifying demonized beasts. Even if everyone joins forces and uses various weapons and equipment, their success still represents absolute strength. Awakened people are still like this, the staff of the housing management center, especially the young female employees, can't wait to recommend their own pillow seats. The staff at the counter worked very efficiently, but many people who had renewed their leases did not leave, but gathered around Zhou Jianhong. Some people wanted to buy the materials of the demonized beast, and some people asked about the hunting process. I want to follow the example of one or two, and more, I want to set a close match. Soon it was Tang Yu's turn. The staff at the counter was a young woman. She looked at Tang Yu, renewing the lease or this is the first time. The first time. The young woman handed Tang Yu a booklet, which introduced some housing stars and related prices, and then looked at Zhou Jianhong not far away. A crazy face. Tang Yu opened the booklet and read it for a while, then pointed to one of the pages, that's all. Oh, good. The young woman answered absent-mindedly, took a look at the booklet, her face became strange, you turned the wrong page, right? 
That's right, that's it. The young woman looked embarrassed, this is a five-star housing. She didn't think that this young man could afford to live in a five-star housing. The first time she came to the housing management center, she had either left the relief housing group or came to a shelter for the first time. However, in either case, it was impossible to live in a shelter. Affordable five-star housing. Of course I know that 30 source crystals a month, and the shortest lease is one month. The young woman still didn't believe it. Although she didn't lose her temper, she felt disgusted with the young man in front of her. Suddenly, she saw the man put his hand into his pocket. What is this for? She was puzzled. However, the next moment, the young woman's eyes widened, and she saw that the other party took out a small bag of source crystals from her pocket. This do you really want to rent a five-star room? Su Shi was so surprised that the young woman couldn't help but lose her voice. Five-star housing, I heard right. Let me see which team lives in the five-star room. Many people looked over and saw Tang Yu and Li Xiuming at the counter. The first thought in their hearts was disbelief. Everyone is awakened. They can feel that there is no awakened aura on the two of them. Two ordinary people, want to rent a five-star room, is it possible? I'm afraid it's not grandstanding. However, when they saw the source crystals that Tang Yu was holding in the most common plastic bags, these awakened ones began to doubt life. When was the source crystal so worthless, would an ordinary person dare to carry so many source crystals with him? And there are no knots at the mouth of the plastic bag, so he is not afraid that the source crystal will fall out if he accidentally shakes his hand. This is simply when they were still desperately trying to live in a four-star room, they had already dropped Yuan Jing to live in a five-star room. In fact, 30 units of source crystals are also affordable for many awakened teams. It's just that this house is equivalent to luxury, and it's almost the same with three or four stars, not anal. Many awakened people looked at Tang Yu with complicated expressions. Such a generous shot, either a local tyrant or a fool the problem is, even a fool who can take out 30 origin crystals is a rich fool. They are envious. Following behind Tang Yu, Li Xiuming was also dumbfounded. When Tang Yu took out a source crystal in the restaurant, he was already surprised. He once thought that Tang Yu was the kind of awakened who was better at mixing in the wild. He might have a few source crystals in his hand, but now he looks at it. The bright source crystal in the plastic bag felt that the world was a little unreal. Old Tang, you don't really want to rent a five-star house for a month, right? It's unnecessary, you can't spend it like this if you have money. Yu Yuan Jing can buy some good equipment when you go to the wild. Safety can only be guaranteed. When you have more money in the future, you can rent a five-star house. You should rent a three-star house first, or a four-star house. Although Yuan Jing is not his, Li Xiuming still feels heartache. The most important thing is that there is no need to spend money here. However, Tang Yu is also very innocent. This price, he also thinks it is expensive, but, isn't this very economical? They rented only five-star suites, not five-star villas, mainly because the time spent in Lindong was destined to be short, and Tang Yu didn't want so much Yuan Jing to be earned by Lindong shelter in vain. This is already very economical. It's really necessary to rent a five-star house, and it's not just me. Moreover, the five-star house has an internet connection, and water and electricity are available 24 hours a day. You can go to internet cafes to access the internet, and the area of four-star housing is not much smaller than that of five-star. Li Xiuming sighed. He really doesn't understand the world of rich people. Chapter, 56 Outside the wilderness, somewhere. Several awakens moved forward cautiously. Brother Tao, there is no danger, the demonized beast in front has left. An awakened person with a telescope observed for a while and quickly determined. Several other people smiled, this trip is really good, it's not far from our shade shelter. Yeah, in the past few times, which time did not spend a lot of time dodging demonized beasts, and sometimes fought with demonized beasts, bad luck was injured. And it also affected the speed of the road, this trip is good luck, cost there is a lot less time, maybe we can exchange the supplies and go back today instead of waiting until tomorrow. Captain Li Tao also showed a relaxed expression when he heard the words. 
They are the awakened squad from another small shelter, Creekwood Shelter. The Shimu Shelter and the Green Shelter, the two shelters are not far apart, and they communicate with each other. On this trip, they brought some specialties of the Shimu Shelter, as well as some surplus materials, and wanted to exchange with the Green Shelter, and at the same time exchange some information. Li Tao has the strength in the late stage of awakening, and is the top three masters in Shimu Shelter. In order to ensure the smooth exchange of operations, he leads the team every time, and he also wants to hurry up and go back. After all, every minute in the wild is dangerous. Okay, don't ink, let's go quickly, we can rest for a while when we get to the shade shelter. Even if they were vigilant at all times, the speed of several people was not slow, and it didn't take long for them to reach the periphery of the shade shelter. However, Li Tao was a little confused at this time. He has been to the shade shelter, but is there something wrong with the shade shelter in front of him? As far as the eye can see, there are ruins everywhere. Li Tao looked at the broken fence and the faintly visible footprints of demonized beasts, and suddenly his face changed, be careful. There may be a change in the shade shelter. Misfortune. Misfortune. The other people were not slow to respond, and quickly ducked to hide. They hid behind a broken wall, cautiously vigilant around, but one minute passed, two minutes passed, ten minutes passed. Brother Tao, the situation doesn't seem to be right. A team member whispered, if something really happened to the green shelter, it shouldn't be so quiet, or is it something that has passed? There was a little hesitation on Li Tao's face, and he pondered for a while, let's go, let's be careful, go in and have a look. The environment inside the green shade resort was no different from what they saw from the outside. Li Tao could even call out the original name of a dilapidated building. There was no doubt that the green shelter had suffered a disaster. According to various circumstances, it is very likely that it has encountered a magic tide. Li Tao's expression changed. The magic tide has always been synonymous with terror. If the shade sanctuary is destroyed by the magic tide, what about their shelter? It's just, why is it so quiet here, wait Li Tao frowned, there are no corpses of demonized beasts and humans here. If the demonic tide destroys the shelter, even if the demonized beast leaves afterwards, there must be a corpse left, whether it is a human or a demonized beast. It was only at this time that he remembered that from the outside, the entire defense line of the sanctuary was in tatters, as if it had been trampled by a demonic tide, and he also saw some traces of dried blood. However, there was no human corpse. This is very unscientific. It's not too apocalyptic. Brother Tao, look over there, what is that? In the distance, an unknown creature with a round torso and thick and powerful arms was walking back and forth. Is it a demonized beast? It doesn't feel right. Li Tao swallowed and found that the chubby guy was looking at them, and immediately became alert. He didn't sense any aura from Yuan Gun Gun's body, obviously it shouldn't be a demonized beast, but the situation was so strange that Li Tao didn't dare to take it lightly. Brother Tao, you said, could that be the legendary mechanic beast, puppet or something? Some team members said so, and Li Tao felt the same. Thinking of this, he also discovered some issues that had just been ignored, the green shade shelter should have survived from the magic tide. But the current situation shows that the green shade shelter has suffered heavy losses from the magical tide, I am afraid it is not many survivors survived. Yeah. Some of the team members felt it, which inevitably made them feel sad, there are two or three thousand people in the shade shelter, but now, we have not seen a single figure along the way, I am afraid there are not many left. There are survivors, Brother Tao, can we still get in? They came here to exchange supplies with the green shade shelter. Since the green shade shelter is already cold, I am afraid that there is nothing to exchange. Go, why not go, at least we can find out what happened from the survivors who survived. Not to mention. Li Tao pointed to the chubby puppet in the distance, there should be some masters alive in the shade shelter. Since this place is no longer safe, we can recruit the awakened people here to our shelter. Hi. As expected of Brother Tao. This is a win-win situation. Those awakened people must also want to change to a safe place, and our Shimu shelter has more awakened people, and the living environment can be safer. 
A figure in the distance approached quickly, and Li Tao smiled, it seems that we guessed right, and the people in the shade have also discovered us. After all, they were outsiders, they didn't move, they just stood there and waited, and at the same time, they kept their due vigilance, if the survivors met in the wild, they all had to worry about black and black. Although Shimu and Luin have always communicated, there is no guarantee that they will be safe. Of course, Li Tao does not think that the heavy loss of Luin shelter can pose many threats. We are from Shimu's sanctuary and want to make friends with you. Li Tao said, suddenly some stuck. He felt something was wrong. In the imagination, the few survivors of the shady shelter managed to survive the tide of magic. At this time, they should be wearing tattered clothes, and maybe they still have injuries on their bodies. But the person who came was wearing a black combat uniform, carrying a long sword on his back, and a pistol hanging from his waist. Wearing such a set of equipment on the body, at a glance, it gives people an elite and powerful feeling. Look at themselves again, wearing ordinary clothes, because they have traveled through the twenty kilometers of wilderness, and they are in the dust. Compared with the two, it seems that they are the ones who struggled after the sanctuary was destroyed. It shouldn't be like this. How did the people of the Green Shelter suddenly become so well equipped? In other words, this person is the current ruler of sanctuary, so he is wearing the best equipment. The person on the other side looked puzzled, Shimu Shelter. I haven't heard of it. Forget it. I'll take you to see the person in charge. I'm just a soldier, don't care. Li Tao. Chapter, 57 Following this person named Lu Xiaopeng, Li Tao was still in a trance. This person's strength is probably in the late stage of awakening level 1. Although he is not as good as him, it can be considered good in any small shelter. At least the three team members behind him have a weaker aura than this person. Such a person is just a soldier, and Li Tao does not accept it in his heart maybe, this is just the other party's bluff. The direction of progress is the villa area. Li Tao is no stranger. Along the way, he also met other survivors. Some were carrying waste, some were cleaning the road, and some were doing some construction work. These did not surprise him, the shade shelter was badly damaged, and the survivors who survived were also excellent. It's almost there, said the man in front. Li Tao responded absent-mindedly. He also knew that after passing this lane and climbing a short flight of steps, he could see the villa area. After all, he has been here several times. He suddenly saw that the teammates around him had their mouths slightly open and their eyes stared blankly ahead. Ahead? Li Tao was puzzled and looked forward. City, city wall. How can there be a city wall here? It was obviously not there before. How did the people of the Green Shelter build this city wall in a short period of time? He saw that the awakened who led the way stopped and waited for them at the right time, took out a cigarette from his pocket, and set it on fire, is the visit finished? If we are done, we will continue to walk, not just a city wall, as for this oh, be calm. Lu Xiaopeng waved his hand, and smoked a ring of smoke from his mouth. Li Tao followed the people who led the way through the city gate, and when he observed the city wall from a close distance, he could feel a kind of shock. He couldn't help feeling envy in his heart. The number of survivors in the villa area is slightly larger, and they are all very busy. Li Tao also saw some patrol personnel, all of them armed with firearms and wearing black combat uniforms. He would believe that this kind of equipment is indeed standard for small soldiers. Soon, the person leading the way pointed to a villa, it's here. This villa has been repaired and has not seen much signs of damage, and now it has been used as a daily office. After Lu Xiaoping came in, he saw that Chen Haiping was doing statistics on the daily workload of the survivors. After saying hello, he called Li Tao and a few others, Steward Chen, this group said they were from Shimu Shelter. Li Tao had some impressions of Chen Haiping. He had seen it when he came to the Green Shade Shelter before. Finally, he was relieved to see someone he knew. It was really that the Green Shade Shelter had become too unfamiliar. However, he was stunned again. In my impression, Chen Haiping's strength can only be ranked in the middle and upper reaches of the shelter. The strength of Luin and Shimu shelters is similar. 
At the level of the middle and upper reaches, his strength is probably at the peak of the first level of awakening, and if he is lucky, he may break through to the second level of awakening. But at the moment, Chen Haiping's aura is even stronger than him, reaching the level of the second level awakening. Is it so strong? Li Tao is now in a state of deep self-doubt of who am I, where am I, and I am so weak. After a pause, he took a deep breath and decided to put aside all the unscientific things he had seen in the shade shelter, and finish the task first. He stated the purpose of the trip. Exchange. That's fine. Chen Haiping nodded. He has completely entered the state of being in charge of the shelter. Once upon a time, he still longed to become a warrior who charged into battle, but now, as a civilian worker, the speed of strength improvement has accelerated, which is probably a consolation. Li Tao took the backpack in front of him and took out a cyan fruit that looked a bit like an apple, this is a green fruit, a new variety of fruit that appeared after the end of the world. It can satisfy hunger, and the green fruit tree has a high fruit setting rate. Mastering the method of finding this fruit tree can relieve the food pressure of the shelter to a great extent, how about, as long as you bid enough, we can sell this method to you. After he finished speaking, he waited for Chen Haiping's answer. Since their shelter found that this green fruit is non-toxic and can satisfy hunger, the food pressure in the shelter has been relieved a lot. He does not believe that people who do not believe in the green shade will not be moved. Right now, what he is worried about is that the green shade has been hit by the magic tide. After that, can you come up with enough chips? However, in the next moment, Chen Haiping was expressionless, and just said a faint oh, what else? Just pretend to be calm. Li Tao thought to himself, and took out a lot of materials. These materials are all-encompassing, including materials for demonized beasts, some daily necessities. And some medicines with so many rare items in the end of the world, it is also Shimu and Luin who are communicating gradually, they reached a tacit understanding. Generally, they will take out their excess materials and exchange for some lacking materials. For example, medicines. A certain type of medicine is in short supply in the last days. It happens that there is no shortage of Shimu, but other medicines are lacking. They will take them out and see what is worth exchanging in the green shelter. The same is true for the green shelter. When the time comes, a team will be sent to Shimu. However, these things. Chen Haiping pondered for a while, to be honest, our shelter is not short of these things. We can buy some medicines, but the others are unnecessary. Medicines, daily necessities, etc. The territory itself cannot be produced. In the past, it was a bit lacking. Sometimes I could not take it with me when I saw it. But since I have a space backpack, it is much more convenient. When Luo Zhe went out to search, he waved his hand. Take away directly. Easy and safe. Li Tao didn't understand, he couldn't accept it. Chen Haiping said, although we don't need your supplies, you can also look at ours. He got up and walked into another room. Li Tao followed closely. I was also curious about what the green shelter could produce. When he came here, he realized that there were already many people in this room, and the awakened who had just led them was among them. The third and fourth floors of the training camp have access to one point every two hours. Fatty Peng, I plan to go to the training camp tonight to have a good time. Would you like to go? Go, why don't you go, this time I will be able to hold on for five minutes and leave you far away. I just don't know what's on the fifth floor. Sixty contribution points are charged for half a day, and the minimum charge is half a day. This is simply. Lu Xiaopeng was curious, every time Captain Luo did not train on the third or fourth floor, he went to the fifth floor instead, thinking with his toes, he knew that it was an unusual training facility. Chapter, 58 Li Tao stood aside. He clearly understood every word, but when put together, he couldn't understand the whole sentence. He looked at the most conspicuous position in the room, which was a large exchange list, which listed many items that could be exchanged. Most is food. Canned beef, canned pork, canned fruit, canned vegetables. Chocolate, spicy bars, cookies. Even fresh fruits and vegetables, chicken, duck, goose, fish, pig, beef and mutton are available. 
Li Tao also looked at the price listed above. He didn't know the standard of contribution, but there was also an exchange price for Yuan Jing. He looked at it and felt that it was not expensive. Can these things be replaced? The variety of food is so rich, you can open a supermarket. That's not nonsense, otherwise why are you putting it on here? Peng Bo felt that this person had too little knowledge and was always making a fuss. He looked at the clerk at the exchange office and thought for a while, I want to change a box of Snickers. Two bottles of Red Bull, a pack of cha-cha seeds, and a Lay's potato chips it seems like there's a lot to choose from. Peng Bo grimaced, Xiao Chen, can you count me cheaper? The clerk surnamed Chen saw Peng Bo's vicious face and smiled bitterly, Brother Peng, don't be kidding, everything here needs to be registered, and if something is wrong, I will be held accountable. Peng Bo also knew this truth, he was just greedy, and finally reluctantly removed some choices. A sideways Xiaoping showed a look of contempt, just like you, you still want to exchange the use time of the training camp, there is no such thing. The clerk took out a special notebook to record the changes in the contribution degree. This is purely manual recording, which is more troublesome. Fortunately, there are not many people in the shelter now, and the basic contribution is the patrol team members and a few other grassroots managers, and they can handle it. Tang Yu also knew that this method was not good, it was too primitive, not only troublesome, but also prone to problems however, there is no network and no programmers in the territory. It is really difficult to find a high-tech exchange method. Xiao Chen recorded the change in Peng Bo's contribution, and then opened the drawer. In front of him is a work desk, with cabinets on both sides and many drawers. According to the classification of the items in the drawers, he opened them one by one, took out the things Peng Bo exchanged, and handed them over. Li Tao stood aside and could see clearly. These drawers are clearly filled with food. He also saw a freezer not far away, still electrified, wouldn't it contain those fresh meat? Lu Xiaopeng patted him on the shoulder, everyone said to stay calm, don't look like your eyes are going to pop out. Li Tao looked at each other, not knowing what to say. Lu Xiaopeng pointed to the exchange list, well, you are from Nashi, what kind of shelter are you? Shimu. Yes, Shimu shelter, so, let me give you some advice, don't be like Fatty Peng, change some useless snacks, if you want to change, change some equipment, that is the most valuable thing. Li Tao looked at the equipment list. There is not much on the equipment list compared to the wide variety of food. Standard long sword normal, 15 contribution degree 30 source crystal. Standard long sword enhanced type 1, 30 contribution degree. Standard long sword enhanced type 2, 50 contribution degree. Standard battle suit common, 15 contribution 30 source crystal. Li Tao stared blankly at the equipment and the price tag behind it. If the food just now made him feel cheap, then these equipments are really outrageous. These weapons and equipment may be the ones worn by the Green Shadow Awakened. He admits that they look good, but it is impossible to reach the price of dozens of source crystals. Lu Xiaopeng saw his suspicion and pulled Li Tao outside. He saw a survivor pushing a cart of scraps. He called over and picked up a piece of discarded steel rebar. Look. It took two cuts and fell to the ground with a bang. It doesn't seem like enough. Lu Xiaopeng put the two pieces of steel bars side by side and brushed them again, and the steel bars broke into four sections. Come again. He continued to put them together again, this time on the ground. Brush. Swipe. He's already addicted to brushing. Li Tao's eyes were straight. He is an awakener and has fought with demonized beasts, so he naturally knows what the biggest difficulty is. Those cold weapons before the end of the world, used to deal with demonized beasts, are not easy to use. A blade that seems to be good, it will be rolled in after a few battles. This is only a small problem. The most critical problem is that when fighting with demonized beasts, it takes a lot of effort to leave deep wounds on demonized beasts. If it is a sharp weapon. Li Tao can imagine. The fur, which originally took a lot of effort to break open, can be easily cut with a sharp tool, and it doesn't take too much effort to kill the demonized beast. With some spare power left, the fighting process can be much safer. In an instant, he thought of the benefits of having such a weapon. 
Go back to the exchange room again. Li Tao took a closer look at this exchange list, why are some equipment exchange prices only contribution degrees, but not source crystals? That, probably because forgot. Lu Xiaoping thought hard. Chen Haiping was busy with the work at hand, walked in and said, only the contribution points are marked, because those things are not sold to the outside world, only the internal staff can exchange them with the contribution points. Similarly, using the contribution points to exchange materials, the price is cheaper, our internal staff if you turn in a unit of source crystal, you can get a contribution reward. How about it, are you interested in joining the patrol team of our shelter? Just dig a corner. Li Tao felt bitter. When I first saw the situation of the Green Shade Sanctuary, I thought of digging some awakened people from here, but now how did I become the one who was dug? He really envied the awakened here, but he still adhered to the last discipline and did not forget the purpose of his trip. Li Tao said, then let me buy an ordinary long sword first. From rummaging through his inventory, he found more than twenty origin crystals, there are a few origin crystals from the awakened second level demonized beast, it should be enough. Chen Haiping brought it over and glanced at it, enough, the standard long sword is not here, wait for me. Soon Chen Haiping brought a standard long sword, Li Tao tried it a few times, and it turned out to be very smooth. Even if he spent all the source crystals on his body, he felt it was worth it. The teammates around him were even more envious. They seem to want such a long sword, but looking at the price, they are extremely desperate. Oh, by the way, if you join our patrol team, you can receive a set of equipment for free, including ordinary standard longswords, ordinary standard combat uniforms, as well as other equipment such as rifles, pistols, etc. Chen Haiping suddenly thought of something, so said, of course, our shelter has been selling these equipment for a long time, and there may be more in the future. If you still want to buy it, remember to bring enough source crystals. Others are even more envious. If it weren't for the only remaining integrity supporting them, maybe they would switch to the camp. Li Tao felt that he could not stay any longer. Otherwise, he was afraid that his integrity could no longer be controlled. This time I came to the shade shelter, and there were a lot of accidents, but in the end I achieved my goal, even if the things I brought didn't go out much. Looking at the long sword in his hand, he felt it was worth it. Everyone in the green shade, we're leaving now. I'll talk to our director about the matter here after I go back, and maybe I'll come again next time. Li Tao stood at the gate of the city, and finally thought about it, I just don't know, can group purchases be discounted? Chapter, 59 Lin Dong Residence It was originally a hotel suite with a good environment, and it was used as a five-star residence after the end of the world. Tang Yu didn't know yet that Chen Haiping had already helped him make a business, and was staying in the room at this time, browsing some information on the computer. Elaine had gone shopping early in the morning, Huiren went to collect information, and he gave full play to the attributes of the house. No, no, still no. After moving in here last night, he has been using this computer to find some information, mainly to find information about the shelter where his parents are. Lindong Shelter's network is a local area network. There are not many functions on the internet, but there are mainly two. The first is data query. Many data before the end of the world have been entered into it. Whether these materials are useful or not, Tang Yu took out the USB flash drive and copied it into it. A lot of knowledge is the essence of human civilization. Even if it is the end of the world, if it is preserved, it will come in handy one day. There are also some that can be used now, such as firearms drawings. Drawings are not precious, and many can be found on the internet before the end of the world. However, it is one thing to have drawings, and it is another to be able to manufacture guns. Tang Yu didn't have such worries. Through the research institute, with a small amount of source crystals, these blueprints could be transformed into blueprints matching the workshop, and then guns could be produced through the workshop. Of course, the research institute can also deduce the gun blueprint by analyzing the actual gun, but this will cost more source crystals. He chose the way to save money. The power of thermal weapons is still very good, especially if the ammunition is replaced by armor-piercing bullets, the lethality of demonized beasts can be greatly improved. 
even if it can't deal with those two powerful demonized beasts, the transitional equipment that serves as the premise is not enough. More than enough. Tang Yu is now using another function, the War Forum. This is an exchange forum opened by Lindong officials. The interface is very simple, but there is a lot of information in it. Survivors, especially the quest exchanges and buying and selling information between the Awakened, are all inside, and sometimes some important news from the official will be announced here. Tang Yu browsed at a very fast speed, but he couldn't hold back the amount of information here, and the lack of sorting and classification, making it messy. The traces of high-level demonized beasts were found in the western suburbs of Lincheng. It is suspected that a super-strong demonized beast has been found, and its size exceeds that of a large truck. To purchase the fur of the demonized beast, how much is required, and the price is easy to discuss. There is a forest in the east of Qingxi town, which has been identified as high-grade wood. I am looking for a team to cooperate to obtain that batch of wood. My team ranks 87 in the task center. If you are willing to cooperate, please contact us as soon as possible. The official, Academy of Sciences recently announced that the research on demonized beasts has achieved phased results, and extracted some kind of extraordinary power factor from it, or it is expected to be used in the field of equipment. A dazzling array of posts appeared in his eyes, even if it was not what he was looking for, it was indeed an eye-opener. This trip to Lindong is indeed necessary, and large-scale shelters are indeed not comparable to small-scale shelters, regardless of personnel or background. Powerful Awakeners have the ability to travel through the wilderness and come to Lindong, resulting in a large number of strong Awakeners in Lindong, which also makes most of the Awakened in small shelters. If it weren't for the territory system, he would rather set up a mercenary group in Lindong. Tang Yu swiped page by page. A post entered his line of sight. Summary of the surrounding provinces and cities. Posting time is three days ago. The person who posted the post is not an official one, but an ID named by Shaoxing 10086 with the numbers added, Tang Yu guessed that the ID by Shaoxing has already been taken up, and there may be a lot more to come. This person is very famous in the forum, and the posts are also summed up by him in various aspects. Tang Yu took a closer look. Basically, every prefecture-level city in this province has a large shelter, and there are also a few where two cities are combined into one shelter. In addition, some small and medium-sized shelters are also marked in the post. That's not all. There are more small shelters that cannot be counted, and even some shelters are hidden very deeply. Only by hiding can they survive in the apocalyptic world full of demonized beasts. Tang Yu's eyes fell on a point on the map. It is marked with a green shade small shelter, followed by parentheses, which has been destroyed. This news is very clever. Tang Yu was also a little surprised, which showed that by Shaoxing 10086 did have real skills. He found the neighboring provinces on the map. There was much less information there. Fortunately, some large shelters are generally marked. I found it, Luoxia Sanctuary. When I was able to communicate at first, I heard from my parents that the military was building a shelter. That is the Luoxia Sanctuary, located in the suburb of Luoxia City. Introduced in the post. The sanctuary is massive, with more than two million survivors said to have been built by the combined forces of the three nearby military divisions. Tang Yu was relieved a lot. The military strength of this shelter is stronger than that of Lin Dong, so the safety must be guaranteed. I have never heard of a large-scale shelter being destroyed by demonized beasts. Although he was a little relieved, Tang Yu was still anxious in his heart. The safety of his parents did not mean that life would be easy. He knows how ordinary survivors live. It's just that he also understands that it's useless to be anxious. The distance between the two places is thousands of kilometers, and there are countless dangers along the way. It is very difficult to reach the Luoxia Sanctuary. Especially in Maple Leaf Town, I saw the demonized beast above the awakening stage. He understands even more that the water in this world is very deep, and if he wants to go to Lin Dong, he has to prepare a lot of things, such as a vehicle with both defense and speed. Before coming to East, off-road vehicles were not easy to use. Sometimes the road was blocked, 
and it was necessary to get off the workshop obstacle road and push it away. In that case, if you want to go from the territory to the Luasia sanctuary, you don't know how many days and nights you have to spend in the wild, and the danger is much more. After thinking a lot, Tang Yu let out a sigh of relief and downloaded the map. This map has a lot of information, not only the information of the shelter, but also some abyss cracks. Not much, but very precious. At the end, Tang Yu saw the last line of the post. For more detailed information, please consult by Shaoxing office, no. 25, Dong Yuan Road, and there is a 20% discount for new customers. Tang Yu. He wrote down the location and continued to scan other content. Until night. After dinner, Tang Yu, Elaine, and Hui Ren came to the agreed place. Li Xiuming was already waiting here. At this time, he was dressed in black, with a hat, sunglasses, and a mask. He hid behind a telephone pole, looking furtively. Tang Yu was speechless, came behind and patted his shoulder lightly. Li Xiuming was so scared that he didn't scream, Old Tang Wuzhou is you, you are ready, we are going to the black market, keep a low profile, hide your face, and try not to attract the attention of others. He talked a lot, looked up, and saw Tang Yu, and the two people behind him, probably the teammates old Tang said. The three were all wearing black robes, with their hoods pulled up, and masks on their faces. If he hadn't heard Tang Yu's voice, he would never have recognized them. Well, your equipment is too complete. Tang Yu spread his hands, it's not what you asked for. Under the leadership of Li Xiuming, the three of them turned around and finally came to a small house. I don't know how Li Xiuming memorized the way. He was able to walk the right way even if he had never been there before, which was amazing. Tang Yu recalled the road he had just walked, and the lunatic attribute immediately attacked, and his mind had completely turned into a spider web. So this black market is very hidden, presumably. Chapter 60 a middle-aged man in the hut was dozing off in boredom. After Li Xiuming got the code, the other party let go. The inner bed board opened, revealing a hole. Go in, you should understand the rules of the black market. This is the territory of the four major mercenary groups. If you mess up, don't even think about walking out. The middle-aged man warned. Li Xiuming shivered. Tang Yu didn't care. As a verbal warning, it might be better to put on a few more fierce men, although for him, it is not a deterrent. The passage slanted downward, with layers of steps. It felt a little narrow at first, but gradually it became more spacious. After walking for a while, the front suddenly became brighter, as if entering the main road from the trail, the light became much brighter, and the noisy voices of people could be heard. Tang Yu raised his head to observe. This is an underground tunnel. It can be seen that in some years, there were bright incandescent lamps hanging on both sides of the tunnel, and an arrow was painted with bright red paint on the wall to indicate the direction of the black market. This is probably an abandoned air raid shelter. No wonder the black market dares to set up in the shelter. The feeling is to find such a place. The further you go, the more you see other survivors. Most of them are dressed like them, or wear masks, or whatever, in short, they hide their faces. There are also some people who are different, generous, wearing sophisticated equipment, walking in the passage, causing the envious eyes of others. I don't know where these people came from, Tang Yu guessed that there are other entrances to this place. This is reasonable. If you all go through the passage you just came from, it is estimated that this will be a traffic jam, right? An iron gate appeared in front of the tunnel with a sign saying Welcome to Lindong Black Market. Tang Yu's mouth twitched slightly. Is the black market this year so arrogant? The iron gate was open, and there were several guards in black next to them, and their gazes swept coldly over everyone who came in. Tang Yu felt it for a moment, and the last time he had the strength of awakening second layer, and the leader was awakening third layer. This should be the manpower sent by the four major mercenary groups to watch the scene. The four major mercenary groups are the only four large-scale mercenary groups in Lindong Sanctuary. The strength is far beyond the ordinary mercenary group. The strength of the team sent by the audience is enough to crush most of the mercenary groups. Also really good. I just don't know how many gates this black market has. 
Are the guards coming in terms of four mercenary groups, or are they all together? I feel that these guards have more than enough to gather a table of mahjong and a table of landlords. He didn't think about it. After passing through the iron gate, this side is more open, and you can see some vendors selling it everywhere. Some people choose to sell things directly to the black market, while others find a place to set up a booth this is not free, but to apply to the four major mercenary groups and pay a certain booth fee. This is another good way to get money quickly, Tang Yu's eyes are red when he sees it. Set a small goal first, and then open the black market to all large shelters. He turned around for a long time, and it was generally similar to a general market, except that there were some differences in the things sold. Arms are very common here, and there are many powerful individual weapons such as rocket launchers, which are not sold in official supermarkets. In addition to exchanging mission points, it is only possible to buy them in the black market. No wonder the black market is so lively. In addition, there are more strange objects. These things are real or fake, and they may come from the wrong way, but this is a black market. It may be stolen, or the things you may buy are worthless. May get into trouble because of this. No matter what you buy, consider yourself good or bad. This is also the charm of the black market. People come here every day, expecting to pick up leaks, and then they can see many people crying in the tunnel at the entrance. As a unique landscape of the black market, it attracts many people to stop and watch every day. Tang Yu didn't see anything, neither the awakening potion nor the soul force container, he was a little disappointed. Elaine and Ash Blade also bought some small items and delivered them with source crystals. Even the patrol team has a salary, and as a follower, there are a lot of Yuan Jing in his pocket. Li Xiuming is purely for sightseeing, which is an eye-opener. Several people dispersed, each wandering around. Tang Yu's eyes lit up when he saw a booth. This booth is relatively large and sells a lot of things. The most important thing is that he finally saw the awakening potion. Is the quality is not good. This is medium quality, and it is actually very popular. Most of the products circulating in the market are of the lowest quality. At this time, someone has already taken a fancy to this bottle of medicine and is talking with the stall owner. He came to the booth. A burly man next to him greeted him with a smile, Brother, this is your first time here. Tang Yu was stunned, yes. The burly old brother continued, Brother, are you dazzled, let me tell you, although the things in this black market are good, but you must be cautious when you shoot. Tang Yu looked strange. It's not surprising that he was seen by others. After all, he looks like he is looking around. It's just that this is a black market. It shouldn't be everyone passing by indifferently. What's the matter with you being so enthusiastic? The style isn't quite right. Tang Yu even thought that this person's voice was very familiar. After thinking about it carefully, he didn't see this when he was renting a house, the captain surnamed Zhou who rented a four-star room. No wonder so many awakened people know this person, it turns out that he has a passion attribute. Zhou Jianhong didn't recognize Tang Yu, but he seemed to see Tang Yu's doubts. Do you think you should keep a low profile when you come to the black market? In fact, that's not the case. Just treat the black market as a normal market. How to say? After all, this black market is set up in a shelter. It would be better if there were fewer people. Do you think the officials would not notice that so many people come in and out every day? Let me see, although this black market is not open to the public, the official secret is actually its tacit approval, and it may be that some high-level figures have unclear transactions. Tang Yu heard it too. If this black market is to be said to be hidden, it is not necessarily that even an ordinary person, Li Xiuming, can inquire about it. On the other hand, this old man is a powerful awakener, and he knows a lot of news. Tang Yu asked, what about the four major mercenary groups, they all say that the black market is managed by the four major mercenary groups. Zhou Jianhong was really enthusiastic, that's right, after all, the government does not allow the existence of the black market. And naturally it is impossible to intervene in the management of the black market, and apart from the big bosses in Lindong, the most powerful ones are the four major mercenary groups. Now, the names of these four major mercenary groups are very deterrent. 
I have come to the black market so many times, and I have never seen anyone who dared to make trouble here. The two chatted a few more times, and seeing that Zhou Jianhong knew a lot about the black market, Tang Yu asked if the other party had access to something like a soul power container. This thing, I can't get it, but, brother, it's time for you to come today. There is an auction in the black market tonight, and some more precious things will flow out. Calculate the time, the auction will start soon. After asking, Tang Yu said goodbye to Zhou Jianhong. After turning the entire black market around, I finally found the venue for the auction. It was deeper in the air raid shelter it wasn't that he had to turn the black market around, but the air raid shelter was full of forks and turns. If it wasn't for luck, Tang Yu reckoned that he would have to turn around a few more times. At this time, the auction was just starting, and when it arrived, I saw many awakened people walking into the auction venue. He didn't go in, but went around to a place where no one was, and took out a few standard long swords from the space backpack. Then, he looked at another place next to the auction venue, where the auction item appraisal office was written. The school started, I took the high-speed train for a long time, and I was busy for a long time. The author June felt that he was already a meow, so today, he has degenerated into a beast the update time in the future will be more unstable, although maybe maybe the author's update time has not been stable. Chapter, 61 The identification office is a small wooden house, which can also play a role in blocking the line of sight. The auction has already started, and no one has brought the items for appraisal. Tang Yu walked into the wooden house and saw a middle-aged man yawning in boredom. Do you want to identify the auction item? He raised his eyelids and seemed a little surprised. At this time, someone brought the auction item. Generally speaking, most auction items have been confirmed as early as the day before the auction, and a few are later, and will not wait until now. Although the middle-aged man was surprised, he did not refuse. The rules are allowed. Before the auction ends, you can temporarily join the auction, otherwise he will not stay here. Well. Tang Yu took out a long sword. The middle-aged man frowned, and his tone was a little impatient. We are in a black market auction, but not everything can go up. The value must be at least ten source crystals, and don't want broken copper. Before he could finish speaking, he saw Tang Yu's hand holding the long sword and accidentally released it. Swish. The long sword fell vertically, and the body of the sword plunged straight into the ground, like it was stuck on a block of tofu, with only the hilt left outside. Really? The middle-aged man couldn't sit still, he hurried over, grabbed the hilt of the sword with one hand, and with a little force, the long sword was lifted up. He looked at the sword, not even caring about Tang Yu who was standing beside him. After a long time, he raised his head, good sword, this is really a good sword. Tang Yu waited a little impatiently, can this sword be put up for auction? The middle-aged man nodded again and again, it would be the most sensible thing to hand over such a good sword to our auction, and it will surely fetch a very high price. Since that's the case Tang Yu took the black sack that was placed behind him and took out one long sword after another. Middle-aged appraiser. After paying the deposit, Tang Yu walked into the auction venue. After all, it was in an abandoned air raid shelter. The auction could not have the imagined VIP private room, and there were no seats. All the people participating in the auction were all looking for their own seats to stand. Taking care of himself, Tang Yu found a quieter corner and waited quietly. Soon, a young woman came up, this is tonight's auctioneer. She has an enchanting figure with an open neckline, and inadvertently you can see the snow white on her chest. As soon as he appeared, he attracted the attention of many people. Tang Yu stared at it for a while, and the image of Elaine walking out of the bathroom appeared in his mind. Immediately lost interest in this coquettish bitch. Auction items are presented one by one. This auctioneer does have a bit of ability, and can frequently adjust the atmosphere in the auction venue. The next thing we are going to auction is a sword. She took a long sword handed over by a staff member. At this time, the long sword was already fitted with a scabbard. The enchanting auctioneer clenched the hilt and pulled it out. Long sword. Under the lights of the venue, the silver light of the long sword flickered. The awakened people present did not buy it. Someone said, 
when will a long sword be able to be auctioned on the black market? Yes, even the standard swords developed by the Academy of Sciences for the military are only sold for two origin crystals and a long sword. Even the latest achievements of the Academy of Sciences are not necessarily worth ten origin crystals. Although the others did not speak, they also had the same meaning, waiting for the auctioneer to explain. The military standard war knife, most of the awakened people present have used it. When fighting with demonized beasts, it will indeed feel better than ordinary cold weapons, but to say that a cold weapon is worth more than ten source crystals, then they do not believe it. Yes, if you have this money, you might as well buy some heavy weapons. It is much easier to deal with ordinary demonized beasts than cold weapons. The enchanting woman had long expected this situation and was not angry, everyone, please take a look. The staff on the side brought a weapon, and she continued, this is a military standard sword, please check it out. The staff took this sword and handed it to some awakened people present to check it. I believe you have already checked it. This is an ordinary standard sword. Please read it clearly, don't blink. The enchanting woman was holding a sword in one hand and a long sword in the other, and her temperament became a little cold in an instant. This is an awakener with double awakening strength, she slammed hard, and the long sword slashed straight at the battle knife. This. Some awakened people expected something, but they couldn't believe it. The next moment, with a bang, a battle knife fell to the ground, and the incision was flat. On the other hand, the long sword was still sharp, and there was no sign of curling. Except for Tang Yu, the eyes of everyone present were straight. What a weapon like this means, the awakened who have been fighting outside all year round understand in their hearts. The enchanting woman showed a charming smile on her face, which was not enough. Don't worry, everyone, we have prepared a more detailed inspection method in the black market. Please add the props below. Several big men came to the stage carrying an iron cage, the curtain was opened, and inside was actually a hideous demonized beast. Hiss. In the venue, a few people who had never dealt with demonized beasts were immediately startled. No wonder the black market dared to charge 20% of the auction transaction fee. He was a little surprised by such a generous preparation. Despite this, Tang Yu still felt heartache for the 20% of the transaction volume that was about to be lost. On the stage, the enchanting woman called an ordinary person to act as a tester. Holding a long sword, the tester slowly approached the cage. This demonized beast has the dual power of awakening. Even if it is locked in a cage, it still bangs the iron cage. Many of the weaker awakened were nervous, fearing that if something went wrong, the iron cage would be smashed by the demonized beast. The next moment, the tester stepped forward, held the long sword in both hands, and stabbed the sword through the gap of the iron cage. Roar! The demonized beast is in pain. The awakened people on the scene can clearly see that the long sword has been deeply immersed in the flesh and blood of the demonized beast. As the tester exerted force, the long sword slashed across, and the demonized beast spurted blood. After a while, this ferocious demonized beast, which was enough to pose a deadly threat to many awakened people in the wild, lost its life. Even with some mental equipment, many people took a deep breath. An ordinary person, holding a long sword, can kill a terrifying awakened double demonized beast, even if the demonized beast is locked in an iron cage, unable to dodge or resist but as an awakened person, they all know how difficult it is. The strength of ordinary people is only how much, if it is with ordinary weapons, even if a demonized beast is standing and stabbed, it will not cause any damage. But what about now? Under this sword, this demonized beast is like a piece of paper. If the awakened people can clearly feel the aura of the demonized beast, it would be true that this demonized beast is fake. But since the sword is broken and the demonized beast is dead, then. Many awakened ones have begun to breathe heavily. The enchanting woman walked back to the stage, she chuckled softly, and said softly, then now, let's start this. She was suddenly stunned, as if the seller of this sword did not provide the name of the sword, the auction of this demon slayer sword, the starting price, 20 yuan jing. The enchanting woman would never have thought that an unintentional act would lay the foundation for the well-known sword-slaying series in the future. Chapter, 62. 21. 
I'm out 25. 30 source crystals, no one should argue with Lao Tzu. I want to buy this magic weapon at 30 source crystals. Didn't you wake up? I'll give you 40. As soon as the filming of the demon slaying sword started, the atmosphere did not need to be mobilized, and it had already reached its peak. After a while, the price has risen to 80 yuan jing, and the upward momentum has only begun to slow down. Tang Yu was stunned. He thought that the basic long sword would sell well in Lindong, but he still underestimated the wealth of the awakened in Lindong. Awakeners at the first level of awakening are still relatively poor, and can only fight against the weakest demonized beast. Awakening the second level began to have the capital to rise, and if you were lucky, you could earn two or three source crystals a day. Awakening the third layer has already entered the ranks of masters, and ordinary demonized beasts have no threat. Lindong Sanctuary is also not lacking in hot weapons, and if they are used well, even ordinary people can kill demonized beasts. Besides, many awakened people present are not alone. Like Zhou Jianhong, he is the captain of an elite mercenary team and controls most of the wealth in the team. It cannot be said that all the money belongs to him, but it is used to buy a piece of equipment that is beneficial to the team. Which is quite normal. Huayuanjing did not hesitate. In the end, the first demon slaying sword was sold for a sky high price of 115 origin crystals. So many source crystals can only be seen in the imagination of many awakened people present. Tang Yu's mouth almost twitched with laughter under the mask. Not because of the more than 100 source crystals, but because he saw a business opportunity. This is just the normal version of the basic longsword. What if it's the reinforced one and the second one? There will definitely be more awakened people who are willing to pay for it. Of course, Tang Yu didn't plan to sell the more powerful basic long swords. Only when there are higher level blueprints in the future, these things will be released one by one. The awakened who didn't take a picture of the demon slayer sword was full of annoyance. Some are a little hesitant to find out that the deal has already been made. Some felt that the price was too high, and some were reluctant to hold the source crystal in their hands. At this time, the enchanting woman took over the next auction item from the staff, the next thing we are going to auction is the second demon slayer sword. The scene suddenly boiled again, and before the enchanting woman called to start filming, there were already awakened people who kept bidding. Finally, at the price of 110 source crystals, it was photographed by an awakened person. Following closely behind, the third and fourth demon slaying swords were not as high as the first two, but they were also sold for more than 100 source crystals. The last demon slayer sword sold for a high price of 130 yuan crystals. Before today, no one could imagine that a cold weapon could be so valuable. The auction continues in full swing. Tang Yu also took some pictures. Such as awakening potion. The ones that can go to the auction are basically the best awakening potions. After spending 45 source crystals, he bought a set of three potions. This is already very expensive, and few ordinary people who have not awakened can afford it. One of the bottles, Tang Yu was going to give to Li Xiuming. He has used the lowest awakening potion without success, but in theory, he can continue to use higher awakening potions, but the success rate will be much lower. Piece by piece, the auction has reached a climax. Tonight's auction is coming to an end, and the next auction is tonight's finale item, the Soul Power Container. On the booth is a circular container, the size of a palm, carved from the purest white crystal. This is the soul power container, which can absorb the soul power escaping from the demonized beast. You must know that after the awakened person kills the demonized beast, it cannot absorb all the escaped soul power. In the words of the game, with this thing, you can get extra experience income by fighting monsters, not to mention that this is only one of the uses of the soul power container. In addition, you can also sell the collected soul power to those who are awakened by the rich generation and the second generation. Or when breaking through the bottleneck, refining a large amount of soul power to increase the probability of breakthrough, etc. Even though this collection container still has flaws, the soul power collected will slowly pass over time, but it is well deserved, it is the finale auction item. Even more precious than the demon slaying sword, this is the second time it has appeared since the establishment of the black market. 
The awakened ones on the scene were breathing heavily, and their eyes swept coldly at the others, observing who might become a competitor. Now the auction of the soul power container has started, and the starting price is 200 source crystals. I'll pay 201. 205. 208. The price climbed steadily, and the scene was in chaos for a while, and the auctioneer couldn't tell who was calling the price. Don't waste your time, I'll give you 500. A man with an aquiline nose had a cold aura and swept across the audience, seemingly disdainful. This person did not hide his identity, and was recognized by other awakened people at once. It's Dragon Slaying Chen Sheng. He is the captain of a top mercenary team. He ranks in the top 20 in the mission center. Although the team is very small, all of them are masters especially Chen Sheng himself, who has single-handedly beheaded. A terrifying dragon-type demonized beast, that's why it has the nickname of Chen Sheng, Dragon Slaying. Dragon-type demonized beasts? Are there really dragons in this world? Some new awakeners marveled. It's not a real dragon, it's a big lizard, the size of an armored car, not only has the strength to awaken the fourth level, but also breathes fire. Just like a dragon in the west, but Chen Sheng is alone, taking this the terrifying demonized beast beheaded, just by this record, it is also among the best in the sanctuary. The veteran awakened side and told all kinds of secrets, which made the newcomers adore him, you know so much news, you are also a super strong, can you tell me about your record? His old face stiffened and he waved his hand, low key, low key. As Chen Sheng raised the price in one fell swoop, many awakened people could no longer speak. They want to bid, but the high price of 500 source crystals has already made many awakened teams out of reach. But at this time, some top mercenary team captains have increased their prices. 505. 600. Everyone, give my fire team a face. Fuck your sisters Wang Wu, your fire team has a fart, and my kamikaze team won't buy it, I'll pay 666. The price is soaring, and it is gradually approaching the threshold of 800 source crystals. The captains of these top mercenary teams had received news earlier that they had sole power to collect containers for auction. However, even though they had raised a lot of source crystals, they felt the pressure, and the price increase had begun to slow down. This price has exceeded the imagination of new awakeners. The veteran awakened man was stunned, estimating his pockets. Even if he is as strong as Zhou Jianhong, the captain of the elite team, he has a solemn face at the moment, and he deeply feels the gap between himself and the top team. At this moment, the price has reached 820 source crystals, and the captain level characters can only have one or two source crystals, and the price will gradually increase. They are already reaching their limits. At the same time, it is also testing the opponent's bottom line. At this level, they all know each other, and the gap is not big. However, if you can add a few more source crystals, it may change the final result. Some captain level figures clenched their fists and stared at the sole power container on the auction table. There are also captain level awakeners looking at the higher and higher prices, and cold sweat dripping from their foreheads. Suddenly. I sent out 888 source crystals. The sound was not loud, but it swept the audience in an instant. Zhou Jianhong looked around abruptly, and found that the one who called for the price was the little brother who was quite able to chat before. Chapter, 63. Who is it? It actually increased the price so much in one go. So angry. Who has so many source crystals? Everyone looked and found a figure wearing a mask and shrouded in black robes. This person. Who is it? There were many top team captains present, all of them disdained to hide their faces, suddenly a different style of painting appeared, and the picture seemed to suddenly freeze for a while. Um. A captain level awakened person felt, sneaky, not even an awakened person, can you get so many source crystals? Everyone else also looked strange, a guy who didn't even have the breath of an awakener, no one thought he could get more than 800 source crystals. Do something. But how long has no one dared to do things in the black market? The black market is the territory of the four major mercenary groups. Even these captain level characters present have to obey the rules honestly. This guy is probably a newcomer who doesn't understand anything, right? 
the enchanting woman also felt wrong. She didn't speak, just called the staff to verify whether Tang Yu could get so many source crystals. All eyes were on Tang Yu. Some people disdain, some pity, and some people look like they are watching a play. Is there no one to increase the price? I will take that thing. It seemed that the newcomer still didn't understand the situation, but the next moment, he saw the newcomer take out a bag of source crystals. There are a lot of source crystals, which are packed in this small plastic bag, and the whole bag looks bulging. Some people worry that these source crystals will burst the bag. Newbie. Heck newcomer. Which rookie can get so many source crystals? Although they don't know how much this bag of source crystals is worth, just at a cursory glance, the value is estimated to be in the thousands. Can't afford to shoot. Is it possible? The staff took out a special instrument for measuring the energy value of the source crystal, and soon the value displayed on the instrument was 1145. Many awakened people saw this number and immediately took a breath. Those captain level figures also turned dark. Originally, there were a few who could increase their prices. Now they don't want to speak. Anyway, no matter how much they fight, they can't compete. An auction has come to an end. However, what remained in their hearts was the light-hearted figure in black robes, and the bag of source crystals that almost blinded their eyes. Some people are also speculating that this person who hides his identity belongs to the top mercenary team. Not all top teams participated in this auction. Some have already obtained the soul power container through other channels, while some do not need it, it is not that they dislike it, but they feel that the source crystal is used in other aspects. Will be more profitable. It's just that no matter how they guess, they can't guess it. Tang Yu's voice didn't match the top team members they knew, and some people speculated that the man in black robe deliberately changed his voice. With all these possibilities, some people with obsessive compulsive disorder felt that they were about to collapse. Another place in the abandoned dugout. This is a place that only members of the four major mercenary groups can access. In one of the originally quiet tunnels, there was a furious voice at this moment. Trash, I asked you to be responsible for staring at the auction. That's how you stare at. The demon slaying sword has been auctioned, and you only got the information. What do I want you to do? A shirtless man with thick chest hair and a beard kicked the thin young man in front of him far away. The skinny young man is also an awakener who is not weak, but he did not dare to resist, and stood up despite the pain. The bearded man didn't relieve his anger and punched hard. The thin young man closed his eyes. The next moment, the punch hit the wall of the tunnel next to the thin young man. With a bang, a spiderweb like crack spread and smoke and dust fell. Do you know how much my strength can be improved with a demon slayer sword? Bearded Heart secretly hate. As a team leader of the Scarlet Hand, Shi Yenming has always acted domineeringly. It happened that their seventh team was on duty in the black market for the past two days. Of course, he wanted to get some good things from the auction, and he sent his men to watch the auction early in the morning. If the auction started before he could get the news of the auction, with his ability, he naturally had a way to get the Demon Slayer sword, but once it was on the auction, he had to abide by the rules. This is the rule set by the four major mercenary groups, and he does not dare to violate it. However, the more Shi Yenming thought about it, the more angry he became. With more than 100 source crystals, couldn't he afford it? If this scumbag can bring news sooner and let him rush to the auction, at least he can also take a Demon Slayer sword. By then, his seventh team will not be able to surpass the sixth team in minutes. Trash. Hurry up and check it out for me, who auctioned off the Demon Slayer sword. It must not have been developed from the Academy of Sciences. If it was the Academy of Sciences, the boss should have gotten the news a long time ago, and he wouldn't have brought it here for auction. Did you hear it clearly? The thin young man nodded again and again. This was indeed his mistake and he did not expect that the auction had already started, and there were still people who took things for appraisal. Later, when the demon slaying sword was auctioned, he realized what he had missed, and hurriedly ran to inform him, but it was too late. He must seize this opportunity of redemption, isn't it just to find the auctioneer, even if he hides his identity, as long as he is still in the black market, he can find the other party. 
the turmoil caused by the Demon Slayer Sword is not limited to the Scarlet Hand. This weapon does not help the overall situation, and it has limited improvement in the strength of the team. However, for individuals, it is undeniable that this is a magical weapon. Deputy Head of the Warhammer Mercenary Corps This man looks mature and looks like a middle-aged man in his forties, but his actual age is only in his twenties. He held a demon slaying sword and waved it a few times, yes, it is indeed a good weapon, with this weapon, I also have the confidence to single-handedly awaken the fifth-level demonized beast, but this sword is not the same as the regiment. Longer and more suitable, I can only endure the pain first. Lin Su The deputy head of Warhammer patted a member next to him on the shoulder, keep an eye on the auctioneer of the demon slayer sword to see if there is any chance to buy such a magical weapon. Academy of Sciences An old man with gray hair and glasses was stroking the demon slayer sword as if he was stroking a lover. Sure, sure enough. Teacher, what did you see? The assistant next to him looked helpless. He knows his teacher too well, and every time he discovers something, it must be like this, but you are talking, it's not good to make people's appetite like this. He was also about to go crazy. The old man put down the long sword reluctantly, this is something we have been researching, some kind of extraordinary power factor. Ah, you mean, how is that possible? The young assistant couldn't believe that that thing was Lao Lao, and a group of scientists worked hard for it for a long time before they could crack the secret. How could someone use it as a weapon? Teacher, isn't this due to the material, or is it the ability of a certain person? The old man patted the young assistant on the shoulder, Shaolin, your teacher, I'm not too old to be blind, and I even misread the instrument data. As for ability, this is a more complicated field, and I can't tell, but even if it is ability, it's not easy to be able to involve extraordinary factors and attach to weapons. Shaolin, you must know that there are mountains outside the mountains, and there are people outside the people, please accompany the teacher to go out with me. Chapter, 64 After the auction is over, the black market has nothing to watch, and it becomes boring. After meeting with Ilian and the others who were wandering around, Tang Yu also planned to leave. Suddenly, he frowned and felt the malicious gaze. Xiao Ming, you go first and separate from us. What's the matter, old Tang? Li Xiaoming asked a question, and saw Tang Yu's serious face, knowing the seriousness of the matter, he hesitated and separated from Tang Yu and the others. He didn't go far, just mixed in the crowd with a worried expression on his face. At the corner of the tunnel, Tang Yu used the corner of his eye to catch a thin young man. This underground tunnel is not big, and there are many people who are going to leave the black market in the same direction, but Tang Yu still noticed that the malicious eyes were from this thin young man. Once in the spiritual space, he did not know how many demonized beasts had sneaked up on him, and his perception ability had long been different. The eyes of the thin young man, in his opinion, were undisguised, and it would be strange if he could not detect it. A sneer appeared on the corner of Tang Yu's mouth, but he slowed down. Suddenly, a group of people came from another tunnel fork. These people did not hide their faces and were aggressive. Along the way, the other survivors hurried to avoid the sides. It's the people of the Scarlet Hand, what are they doing? I always feel that these people look bad, are they trying to trouble any survivor? Shu, keep your voice down, you don't want to die. Shu Yenming led a group of team members and came over. The thin young man stepped forward, pointed at Tang Yu, and whispered. Shu Yenming glanced at Tang Yu, wearing a black robe. Hide your face. But it doesn't matter, as long as people are still there, it's okay. He strode forward with a bad look on his face, someone reported that you stole the source crystal. As the manager of the black market, Shu Yenming, have the obligation and responsibility to clarify the matter. Now, please cooperate with us to search our body. If it turns out that you have not for stealing, Shu Yenming, immediately apologized, of course, if the result is true, or if you don't cooperate he he he, then I can only follow the rules. Behind him, his team members swept their eyes with malicious intent, and all of them chuckled softly. After Shu Yenming finished speaking, he folded his arms and seemed to be waiting generously for Tang Yu's answer. As a scarlet hand, he rarely followed the rules like this, but he wasn't worried. 
If the other party doesn't cooperate, he can act justifiably, and no one can say anything. But if the three people in front of them cooperated in the body search, Shi Yenming looked at Tang Yu's waist, where there was a long sword, this long sword of slaying demons would be his, and Shi Yenming looked at one of them. Although I can't see the appearance clearly, but the voice is exposed during the transaction, it is obviously a young woman, it is also very interesting if you want to search. He suddenly looked forward to it, the other party refused to cooperate, and then he could justifiably search his body. As for the results of the body search, that wasn't his decision. If it weren't for the development of the black market, and if it weren't for the people who were also somewhat concerned about the other three mercenary groups, Shi Yenming would have already started. Pity. He snorted coldly, disdain in his heart. The people from the other three mercenary groups must also be greedy for this demon slayer sword, but they are afraid of their reputation and dare not do it. The other survivors in the tunnel retreated, but did not leave they were also curious as to how things would turn out. These three people are miserable. They were targeted by the Scarlet Hand. This is the most domineering and unreasonable one among the four major mercenary groups. These three people are finished. Yeah, even a top mercenary team, sometimes faced with the domineering actions of the Scarlet Hand, they have to swallow their anger, not to mention that these three people are small people at first sight. Not necessarily. Someone recognized Tang Yu as the one who made a lot of money at the auction, those who can get thousands of Yuan Jing are likely to have a top mercenary team behind them, not necessarily those who have already become famous. However, even the newly emerging team is definitely not weak. So what? Someone immediately retorted, even if the top mercenary team is targeted by the Scarlet Hand, it will be finished. This is the Scarlet Hand, and it has a strong position among the four major mercenary groups. Only the other three mercenary groups can compete with it. What if these three are the staff of a big boss in the shelter? Yu Mengxin asked. Veteran Awakeners immediately came out to popularize science, do you think people in the Scarlet Hand are all fools? As one of the four, they already have an inexplicable relationship with the upper echelons, and naturally they know who can't be messed with. Now that the Scarlet Hand dares to be so blatant, it means that they have already settled on each other. Mengxin was disheartened, isn't this black market even the most basic of fairness? The veteran awakened sneered, fairness? Fairness is formulated by the four major mercenary groups. Only between them can there be fairness. Do you know what the people of the Scarlet Hand did before the end of the world? Mengxin was stunned. The head of the Scarlet Hand used to be a black boss, and then he slowly washed his whites. Many of the great swords in Linqing, such as the foot-washing city, are his property. Maybe you have gone to consume it, and the Scarlet One. There are many members of the team, who are also former gangsters, these people, you expect them to be fair, is it possible? Can't we just watch them do whatever they want? Who would dare to come to such a black market in the future? The veteran awakened also sighed, helpless. Who is helpless? But many things can only be bought on the black market. Based on this, we have to come to the black market. In the crowd. Li Xiuming's face was pale, and his hands trembled slightly. Zhou Jianhong had a worried look on his face, but he could only look at the man with the scarlet hand and sighed helplessly. Xiao Lin of the Warhammer mercenary group looked at both sides, and finally shook his head. Many eyes were focused on him, and this feeling of being watched by others made Tang Yu frown. It was obvious that the Scarlet Hand was looking for something, but what he wondered was that he didn't understand why. This wave of hatred is inexplicable. Shi Yenming stepped forward step by step, gradually showing a smile. Tang Yu sighed slightly. Maybe too low-key. He doesn't want to cause trouble and hates trouble, however, is he the kind of person who can suffer grievances? No. Tang Yu kicked out. Shi Yenming's smile froze on his face, and he was caught off guard. He flew out backwards, rolled around on the ground a few times, and was already disgraced. All of a sudden everything was silent. The members of the seventh unit of the Scarlet Hand never thought that the other party would dare to resist. The other Awakens were even less able to predict that, in front of the fierce name of the Scarlet Hand, someone dared to make a move, and kicked a sub-captain of the Scarlet Hand with a kick. 
Things are going to explode. Chapter, 65. It's miserable. If they don't resist, they will be wronged at most, but now. Hey, the people of the Scarlet Hand are too deceiving, and I'm also. Life is more important or dignity is more important. The companion replied. I will endure it and go over there. The awakened whispered. Sure Yenming's face was as black as the bottom of a pot. Dang Tang awakened the master of the four majors, but he was kicked over and over, how will he be in the regiment in the future? Don't be mocked by the guy from the sixth team. He was careless. Sure Yenming was furious, but he was not stupid, and would no longer think that Tang Yu was just an ordinary person. No matter how careless, it is impossible to be kicked away by an ordinary person. This is no ordinary person. Perhaps it was some way to hide the breath. Sure Yenming sneered in the bottom of his heart, after all, this is just an unpopular means, even if a sneak attack is successful, it will not be able to hurt him. But I won't give you another chance. Next, I will pull your bones out of your body one by one. He looked grim. The team members in the back looked excited, the captain has to be serious. Since I joined the team, I have never seen the captain make a full effort. Hey, I'm afraid you won't be able to see it this time, the captain is serious because the captain is angry. But it's not those three people who have the strength to make the captain serious, let's guess, how much can this person hold the captain? Trick. I guess three tricks. Three moves. The captain can solve this man with one move. No, no, I think it will be more than ten moves. You must know that the captain's favorite is to play slowly. Behind the mask, Elaine's eyes were cold. As long as the Lord gives an order, she will freeze these people into ice sculptures. In Grey Blade's hand, the dagger flew, and he asked in a low voice, Lord Lord, do you need me to fetch his head from you? Tang Yu smiled lightly, shook his head, and walked forward instead. I'll do it myself, just right, practice my hands. Practice. Shi Yenming laughed angrily, who gave you the confidence to take advantage of the fact that I didn't pay attention to the success of the sneak attack, so you thought you were a character. The awakened onlookers were also stunned. This person, the tone is too big, that is a sub-captain of the Scarlet Hand. You must know that each team of the Scarlet Hand, taken out alone, is comparable to a top mercenary team, Shi Yenming, who is also a genuine captain-level figure, who dares to use Shi Yenming to practice his hands. They felt that there was no need to watch it any longer. It was not a rational act to provoke Shi Yenming like this. But vision limits their imagination. Tang Yu only has the strength to awaken the third level, and it is indeed not comparable to Shi Yenming, but in the spiritual space. He does not know how many demonized beasts stronger than his own strength have been killed, and now he sees a good enemy to test himself, is just right. Shi Yenming rushed forward, punched out, and the air burst. This punch is extremely powerful, the air is swayed by layers, and the surrounding awakened even has a strong wind blowing in the face. Many people have never seen such a master make a move at all, their faces changed and changed, and at the same time, they retreated again and again, fearing that they would be affected. Tang Yu's expression remained unchanged. Just a sideways, to avoid the punch. He sighed slightly, the attack method is too rigid. Shi Yenming kicked and swept out with great strength. Before the end of the world, a tiger and a leopard could be killed with just one kick. However. Tang Yu looked disappointed, I don't spare any effort, I don't know how to adapt. He just leaned back slightly, avoiding the whip leg, supporting Shi Yenming's old strength. Before the new strength was born, he slapped it out and slapped it on Shi Yenming's face. Snapped. This sound is especially loud in the closed underground passage. The melon-eating awakened onlookers were completely stunned. This kind of development, they can't think of it, and they don't dare to think about it. This mysterious figure in a black robe seems to be stronger than the squad leader of the Scarlet Hand. Especially the slap, just listening to the sound, they all felt that their faces were sore. Looking at Shi Yenming, half of his face was already swollen. This slap. Shi Yenming was beaten and staggered back, and the whole person was stunned. Immediately afterwards, anger turned into anger. You. 
R. Looking. Die. His eyes were bloodshot, his face was mad, and he suddenly pulled out the two knives behind him. With two knives in hand, Shi Yeming's temperament changed drastically, and a cold and severe aura spread out. This is his main battle weapon, and it is also the state in which he really fights with demonized beasts, crazy and calm. Crazy Blade Shi Yenming The awakened onlookers were very nervous, feeling afraid that the winner would be decided. Li Xiuming couldn't see the two fighting, so he could only pray secretly. Shi Yenming moved, like a cheetah, his movements became faster, and he slashed towards Tang Yu with a knife. It's a must kill. He no longer keeps his hands, and he no longer thinks about torturing Tang Yu. Once he makes a move, it is a killer move. The frenzied momentum swept out, and the survivors who were watching, who were weak, turned pale with a brush. This is the strength of the captain. Even the army will be afraid. Death Shi Yenming's eyes turned red, and the knife turned into an afterimage. Scarlet Han Tang Yu's expression was still calm, he could feel this strong murderous intent, if he was a little careless, he would end up in death. Only. Why do you want to die? The basic long sword at his waist was unsheathed, and he firmly grasped it in his hand. Facing Shi Yenming's crazy offensive, Tang Yu did not dodge. Combat skills heavy slash. Whoosh. The sword light passed by. The sword light that danced so tightly stopped abruptly. Bang. Two blades with a flat cut and dropped to the ground. At the same time. With a scream, Shi Yenming clutched his broken arm and knelt on the ground, his body bowed into a prawn. He was angry, and even more frightened, his voice trembled, and he shouted, Kill, kill them for me, use a gun, shoot. Members of the Scarlet Hand, high welfare, and everyone is equipped with a gun. Hearing the captain's words, they reacted, raising the muzzle one by one, and pulling the trigger. The faces of the awakened people around them changed greatly. In such a narrow tunnel, there is no cover, and there are walls on both sides. If they are accidentally hit by a stray bullet, they will cry to death. Even some awakened masters with good strength retreated far away. After all, the human body cannot withstand bullets. Die. The members of the Scarlet Hand looked hideous. Next moment. Accompanied by screams. The onlookers awakened looked fixedly, and found that it was not the mysterious trio who fell, but the members of the Scarlet Hand. Half of these team members clutched their arms and blood dripped. The other half, from the arm to the half of the body, was frozen into an ice sculpture. At this time, the sharp-eyed awakener discovered it. Beside Tang Yu, there were two other mysterious people who had not shown much, each with a few flying knives in their hands. The other person had an empty hand, and no one dared to underestimate him. Many people didn't see what happened in the moment just now, but combined with the situation on the scene, it is not difficult to guess the cause and effect of the incident. It was at that moment that the two mysterious people took the lead and took advantage of the members of the Scarlet Hand to lose their combat effectiveness in one fell swoop. This trio is really awesome. Chapter, 66 Tang Yu stepped forward, kicked Shi Yenming to the ground with two feet first, he didn't think it was dirty, so he began to grope on Shi Yenming. The onlookers looked strange, could it be? Elaine's face was very helpless, but the staff was aimed at the players, freezing them even stronger. Ash Blade was excited, a little eager to try. Soon. Tang Yu pulled his hand away with a disappointed look on his face. Hui Ren looked at it, very disappointed and full of regret. The onlookers craned their necks, but were very disappointed and sighed. From Shi Yenming, Tang Yu found several source crystals. Only a few. To be so poor, isn't the Scarlet Hand one of the four major mercenary groups? Aren't you still a sub-commander? How did you get to sit in this seat so poor, hey? You look so bad. Shi Yenming is in a hurry. Several teeth were knocked out in his mouth, his speech was a little leaky, and he glared at Tang Yu. Well, Scarlet Pig hands, no, I won't let you go. Orangutan, the Scarlet Pig's hand has a big wall. It's not likely Nang can mess with Li Jie. In the mercenary group, there are only twelve detachments. His team is only the seventh team, ranked in the middle, 
the most powerful ones are led by the head and deputy head, the first team and the second team. This is the prestige of their scarlet hand, and it is also the confidence that they dare to be unscrupulous. So what? Tang Yu was helpless. So retarded. Can't communicate well. Originally, I thought that if the Scarlet Hand can take out tens of thousands of source crystals to redeem people, it would not be impossible to let these people go, but it's a pity. The long sword stabbed in. Shi Yenming's eyes widened, as if he couldn't believe that Tang Yu was so courageous and so straightforward. Consciousness gradually lost, and finally he only heard a low sigh, if you want to blame, you are too poor. He was unwilling, and finally fell on his back, losing his life. For the remaining Scarlet Hand players, Tang Yu couldn't find much source crystals from these people. Probably these people were really poor and scared, so they would do things like robbery in the street. So now, it's not unreasonable that poor people have short lives. Tang Yu felt that he had a new understanding of life. Kill it, kill it. Keeping it won't change the fact of poor B. The members of the Scarlet Hand looked terrified and their eyes widened. Some of them begged for mercy, some scolded, and some wanted to delay time and wait for the rescue of the other teams of the Scarlet Hand, but obviously, Tang Yu did not give them a chance. Since the attack is so straightforward, why did they only hurt but not kill at first, leaving them with the illusion that they could survive? When they fell, they all looked unwilling. If Tang Yu can see the negative emotion value, the one that pops out of these people's heads must be 99. The faces of the onlookers awakened were also very exciting. They are standing around with the attitude of watching the show. No matter how arrogant the Scarlet Hand is, this black market is also jointly managed by the four major mercenary groups, and it is still in the shelter. Dadian Dynasty Onlookers Innocent But at this moment, they felt that this shelter was about to set off a storm. Some awakeners have secretly decided to stay in the shelter for the next few days, otherwise, who knows what will happen when they encounter a mad scarlet hand in the wild. When they walked out of the iron gate of the black market, the awakened ones stayed far away. Wherever they passed, the people in front of them all moved to the sides. Tang Yu felt that he was obviously a little fresh meat, why are these people avoiding snakes and scorpions? He touched his face oh, he was wearing a mask, no wonder. Going straight from this tunnel, there are many ways to leave the black market. Tang Yu decided to find a more spacious one this time. When he came, the road was really uncomfortable. Suddenly, there was a click sound from the front. This is the sound of footsteps, and the sound is heard, there are still a lot of people. Is it the Scarlet Hand? Tang Yusufu didn't walk fast, just to wait and see if he could reap a wave. In the crowd, a certain member of Scarlet Hand Team 7, who missed the gathering of the team because of diarrhea, was full of joy. Has the reinforcements finally arrived? The other awakens looked solemn the people of this large mercenary group acted swiftly, but they were also worried that the people of the Scarlet Hand would not anger others because of this. However, the next moment, everyone's expression changed, and the person who appeared in front of them was not the team of the Scarlet Hand. This group of people wore uniforms and were strictly disciplined. They walked up to the front and back, stood upright, silent, but from their positions, it could be seen that they were protecting the safety of an old man in the middle. Lu Tsaifu, it's from the military. How come people from the army are here? Do you want to ban the black market? No, the black market has been established for so long, and I haven't seen any statement from the military. It's not like the military didn't notice it before, right? Tang Yu was also a little puzzled, how could there be people from the military in this place? This is a black market anyway, even if its existence is acquiesced by the official sanctuary, it is not good to walk in wearing military uniforms at any rate, you have to cover it up. Otherwise, wouldn't it be better to put the black market directly on the table, someone like him who is new to the shelter will not find a black market, and it will take a lot of trouble. While thinking about it, I saw the grey-haired old man protected by the military personnel, walking up step by step, young man, did you sell this? What the old man was holding in his hand was a demon slayer oh, a basic long sword. Tang Yu was stunned for a while, but did not deny it. With the capability of the military, it would certainly not be difficult to find out. Great, great. The old man was a little excited, 
How did you incorporate that special power factor into the long sword? Special power factor. Assimilate into. Tang Yu had some guesses, but he pretended to be confused, sorry sir, I don't understand this. Behind the old man, a young man gasped and caught up. Although he was young and strong, he couldn't catch up with his teacher because he was not an awakened one. Assistant Xiao Lin took a deep breath and looked at Tang Yu with an unfriendly expression, why are you like this? Teacher rushed here in a hurry, and you just asked a question and you pretended to be confused. Tang Yu ignored the young man's words. What else was Xiao Lin going to say, the old man raised his hand to stop it, and looked at Tang Yu again, young man. I know what you are worried about, and I, Sun Weiguo, promise on my own behalf that this matter will not cause you trouble, and it will not. I will ask for your production method for nothing, so, the research results of the Academy of Sciences, whether technical or physical, as long as you like it, you can exchange it, if you have other conditions, you can mention it. The old man was very generous, and the promise he made was big enough to make anyone in Lindong jealous, even the big bosses in high positions. Tang Yu knew that this was not a lie. Because. He had heard the name of the old man. Sun Weigua, the president of the Academy of Sciences, had achieved many major scientific research results in just over a month after the end of the world. As the dean, Sun Weigua is naturally one of the bosses of the Lindong Sanctuary, but Sun Weigua is so obsessed with research that he basically doesn't care about things. He has walked out of the Academy of Sciences like today, only a few times after the end of the world. Chapter 67 Tang Yu admires this kind of person who is obsessed with research, not to mention the contributions made by Mr. Sun. Elder Sun spoke very sincerely. Although he was eager to understand the basic long sword making technology, he never used his power in Lindong Sanctuary to persecute him. Instead, it was a promise made. The Academy of Sciences is undoubtedly the place where Lindong has the most good things. Whether it is equipment, props, or other things, even if Tang Yu does not need these things, if he proposes to exchange source crystals, Sun Lao must be very happy. To be honest, Tang Yu was heartbroken. It doesn't hurt to take out the craftsmanship of the basic longsword. The problem is the basic longsword, that is made by the workshop, the specific technology. How does he know? Tang Yu shook his head slightly and made an excuse, I didn't make this kind of longsword, it's a companion of mine, he's a master casting master, but he's not in Lindong, and I can't tell the exact process of making it. Sun Weiguo was disappointed, but not without mental preparation. Tang Yu's voice was very young. He didn't look down on young people, but Sun Weiguo understood the complexity. The project of integrating the extraordinary power factor into the concrete object, he and several experts studied it for a long time before he could touch the door. Even if they have some kind of special ability, it is helpful for casting and integrating extraordinary power factors. Those who can do this must have a deep understanding of this aspect. Otherwise, it will not be possible to achieve success, not to mention that like this demon slayer sword, its skills are completely at its peak. In his eyes, this is not only a weapon, but also a perfect piece of art. And Tang Yu was too young and had too little accumulation. If you are a master foundry, it makes more sense to use some special technique to do this. In fact, it is not impossible for the Academy of Sciences to produce weapons of a quality similar to the Demon Slayer Sword. However, the Academy of Sciences used some extraordinary materials in the post-apocalyptic era and piled them up with the quality of the materials. The price-performance ratio is extremely low, and it does not incorporate that kind of extraordinary power factor even more so than this work of art. A treasure is in front of you, but you can't learn the secrets. Sun Lao, who has devoted his life to scientific research, looks a little lonely. I heard Tang Yu continue to say, however, although I can't restore the specific production process, I understand a little bit. And if you want to study this production technology, Mr. Sun, I can also provide more basics the magic sword, of course, is not free, I want source crystals. Yuan Jing is not a problem, Xiaolin, you will get a box of Yuan Jing later Sun Weigua's wrinkled old face smiled brightly, like a blooming chrysanthemum. Young man, do you know why the power dissipates so quickly after the extraordinary power factor is extracted? 
In this case, even if it can be successfully integrated into the weapon equipment, the effect of the increase is not much. Tang Yu thought for a while. Inscribed runes, he won't. But some principles about runes are also described in the basic knowledge of Yuanli. After organizing the language, he said, this is because of the lack of a carrier, so the power will dissipate quickly, just like the soul power. Either use the body as a carrier, or use the soul power to contain the container, otherwise, the soul power will quickly dissipate. We have also considered this issue, but if we want to incorporate this extraordinary power into equipment, the first thing we have to do is to extract it. How can we have a carrier? Dean Sun said. What if the carrier is not a physical object? It's not a real thing, yes, why do you have to have a real thing? But if it's not a real thing, what is the bearing experience? Sun Weigua fell into deep thought. I think that the carrier can be oneself. First of all, we must make this kind of power not flow away. Then we can start with the structure. The flow of power can be understood as diffusion in essence. Even if the soul force escapes, is there a structure? So that this power will not spread. Tang Yu said, and the more he talked, the more vigorous he became. Many of the knowledge that he did not understand very well, he became cheerful for a while. The essence of power is source power. Source power is a special power that is different from the past. It is invisible, but it exists. I think this extraordinary power factor is the extension of source power. For a non-discrete structure, I think it should be separated from the previous two-dimensional and three-dimensional concept, and even don't use the dimensional concept to analyze it. I think this is a non-steering off-body structure. The result of its existence should not be one, but one. There are many, even countless. Each force factor extended from the source force should have a corresponding structure, and we call this structure. Rune. It makes sense, it makes sense. What you said, young man, can at least allow us old guys to cross most of the research process. Sun Weigua looked excited, he kept muttering to himself, his eyes became brighter and brighter, his face smiled like a chrysanthemum. The word rune is not bad, if each power factor corresponds to a structure, it's shape different, isn't it like writing? Maybe this is a special type of writing itself, um, it can be a separate topic in the future. Anyway, this extraordinary power factor will be called a rune in the future. Tang Yu and Sun Lao continued to communicate. Science has no boundaries. Changes in the system will not make what you have learned in the past a waste of paper. Even if it is the first time you are exposed to all kinds of new things in the last days, the thinking of scientists is often much ahead of ordinary people. Perhaps Sun Lao's knowledge of the source force is not as much as he is temporarily, but Tang Yu has gained quite a lot during the conversation. Often when he mentions a point, Sun Lao's thinking is enough to spread to all aspects. No wonder it is always said that the world in the eyes of geniuses is different from that of ordinary people. Ordinary people see the appearance, but some people see the essence. However, Tang Yu didn't know that in Sun Lao's eyes, he was the real genius. On the side, Mr. Sun's assistant, Xiao Lin, who is also Mr. Sun's student, listened to the conversation between the two. He thought hard, but found that he could understand every word, but what exactly was it? After all, as an assistant, he knows a lot about old Sun's research, but why, he just doesn't understand. Listening to the voice, the person in front of him should also be very young. Kobayashi felt that he had read a fake doctorate. Lindong Shelter in a building. There are several figures sitting in front of the conference table, and the atmosphere here is solemn. In the first seat was a rather dignified middle-aged man. The surname is Lu, General Lu. The true ruler of Lindong Sanctuary. Lu Jianjun was over half a hundred years old, and his hair was already a little gray. At this moment, he looked solemn and pointed to the picture released by the projector on the side. It was a ruin, with red mist permeating it, and densely packed with demonized beasts, like the ocean. This picture was taken by investigators at the risk of death in Maple Leaf Town. What it represents, I believe you can understand without me having to say more. It's the abyss crack. Most of the people sitting at the conference table are the powerful bosses in Lindong. The worst is also the high-level people who manage a part. 
These people have their own news channels, and naturally they know that there is an abyss crack in Maple Leaf Town. They also understand what an abyss crack means close to the shelter. For a time, the high-level people in the conference room were talking in low voices. Chapter, 68 Lu Jianjun's face was solemn. After the end of the world, it is difficult to transmit information. This is even more so near the red fog. Drones are useless these days. The photos were taken and not as clear as before. In the pictures on the screen, in many cases, investigators risk their lives to investigate at close distances. For this reason, many investigators sacrifice themselves in Maple Leaf Town. Look at these pictures again. Each photo is taken from multiple angles of the Red Fog area. Some of the photos are not very clear, but they all have one thing in common. The abyss crack is captured. Lu Jianjun pointed at the screen and said, according to professional calculations, the length of this abyss crack exceeds 150 meters. What? 150 meters. All the bigwigs present changed slightly. The size of the abyss crack is different. The larger the abyss crack, the more demonized beasts emerge from it, and the stronger it is. According to the size, the abyss cracks are generally divided into 50 meters, 100 meters, 150 meters, 200 meters, and so on. Most of the abyssal cracks discovered so far are 50 meters in length, that is, the crack length is more than 50 meters, but not more than 100 meters, but this time, it is a 150 meter level abyss crack. Everyone's faces are not good looking. Hot weapons for individual soldiers can often only threaten weaker demonized beasts. A demonized beast awakening to the fourth level can cause a lot of damage to the army, and the 150 meter level abyss crack. People dare not think. Even demonized beasts far beyond the fourth level of awakening may appear this time. What do you guys think about this abyss crack? Everyone looks at me, I look at you, and no one answers. Lu Jianjun was a little disappointed, and then said, This abyss crack is too close to the shelter and the threat is too great. I decided to take the initiative to attack and destroy the demonized beasts near this abyss crack. Take the initiative. It's too risky. We can stick to the city wall. City wall. This semi-finished city wall can block the tide of magic, but do you think that once the demonized beasts swarmed by the crack in the abyss, this city wall can stop it. Some people want to say that they can stop it, but they can't say it. The high-level people here are all aware that once the magic tide breaks out, it will not be an ordinary magic tide, but a second-level magic tide, a third-level magic tide, or even higher. Our shelter is too close to the crack in the abyss. Everyone here knows the characteristics of demonized beasts and will be attracted by human breath. Our shelter has a population of hundreds of thousands. In the eyes of demonized beasts, it is like a bonfire at night, extremely eye-catching. Now the abyss cracks are still gushing out demonized beasts. Once the number of demonized beasts accumulates to a certain level, the magic tide will break out, and with the distance between the shelter and the abyss crack, this large demonic tide will inevitably affect the shelter. Inflicted a violent impact. Using the city wall to defend, there is indeed an advantage. If it can be blocked, it will be fine, but who can guarantee that this city wall can block the magic tide? Who can guarantee that there will be no powerful monsters that can destroy the city wall among the demonized beasts? Demonic beasts. Think about the hundreds of thousands of survivors behind us. Once lost, the disaster will be huge. Let me talk about another statistic. The casualties of these people, the awakened, are three times higher than in the past, while the income of the awakened and the completion rate of the task are not even half of the previous rate. Why is this happening? I believe everyone knows. If we can't take precautions and destroy those demonized beasts, the situation of our shelter will become more and more dangerous. General Lu finished. The audience was silent. They're not idiots, and it's not that they can't see it, it's just that. Lin Wei, who was in the front, suddenly said, What about the loss? Don't forget, there was once a division in the north that went deep into the crack prone area. An entire division was almost destroyed. I wonder if General Lu still remembers this thing. 
Lu Jianjun looked around, taking everyone's reactions into his eyes, and finally fixed his eyes on Lin Wei, of course I remember, but don't forget. This time, the abyss crack is very close, no need to fight at a distance, nor it is necessary to lengthen the front line, as for the loss. I am fully responsible. This time, my troops will act as the main force, but I also hope that you can use your manpower to work together. No one wants an accident in the shelter. He gave Lin Wei a profound look. Lindong Shelter, the real armored army, only the troops under the command of Lu Jianjun. But before the apocalypse, the other high-level leaders were all powerful and powerful figures, and they already had their own people under their control. After the end of the world, these bigwigs recruited people one after another to form a strong team. In terms of equipment and overall strength, it is undoubtedly the strongest army under Lu Jianjun. But in terms of the number of awakened people, it is not necessarily the largest army. The military recruits people with high requirements and usually requires various audits, but some high-level officials will not refuse. The 150-meter level abyss crack, and the strength of the demonized beast that was born, everyone knows. Once some terrifying demonized beasts appear and break through the walls of the shelter, the loss of the shelter will be huge. The top brass didn't want an accident at the shelter. But in the same way, he was even more reluctant to lose his direct line troops. Since General Liu was willing to be the main force, one by one expressed their support. Soon, after discussing the plan to attack the Abyss Fisher, the meeting ended and the high-level officials left. The meeting room was empty. Only on the projector, there were still pictures of Maple Leaf Town, which looked devastated. Cough, cough, cough. Liu Jianjun couldn't help coughing. He was not an awakened person. At this age, his health was getting worse. Once the mood swings are large, it will cause a cough, which is an old problem. The captain of the guard behind him changed his expression, stepped forward quickly, and slapped Lu Jianjun on the back, Sir, drink water first, you don't have to be angry with these people. Lu Jianjun's face softened, looking at the direction of the people leaving at the door, I'm not angry, but, hey, disaster is on the horizon, and everyone only cares about themselves. If this goes on, our human civilization, our shelter, is at risk. Chief, there are still people who understand, you don't have to worry too much. At the meeting just now, there were also high-level executives who expressed their support from the beginning, such as the Vice President representing the Academy of Sciences, and Secretary Wang. But in the same way, some people headed by Lin Wei always do small tricks in secret. The Captain of the Guard knows well, and even knows that during these days, the Chief has worked hard for the shelter, and his hair has turned a lot of grey. Chief, why don't we he made a gesture. No. Lu Jianjun refused decisively, if the problem can be solved so easily, then it won't be a problem. Lu Jianjun is not a pedantic person. Killing Lin Wei would solve the problem without hesitation. Pity. It was not difficult to kill Lin Wei, but how to ensure that there would be no chaos in the shelter. As a local snake in Lincheng, Lin Wei led a large part of the construction of the entire shelter. Most of the food in Lindong shelter is also in Lin Wei's hands. Just that, it's not terrible. What is terrifying is that after mastering the key food, in his hand, he has a very strong power. Lu Jianjun once sent someone to test it. Around Lin Wei, there are powerful awakeners, no weaker than the captain of the guard beside him. He knew better that Lin Wei had many secrets, who were placed in various important departments of Lin Dong Sanctuary. These. Lu Jianjun stopped thinking about it, and instead put his thoughts on the crack in the abyss. No matter what, the safety of the shelter cannot be compromised. Chapter, 69 Outside the city, a stronghold of the Crimson Hand. The head of the regiment, Lin Mingjie, put his arms around the two numb-looking girls. Hearing the news of the annihilation of the seventh unit. He was not angry, but looked playful, how long has it been, no one has dared to provoke us like this. Since that time, after the bloody killing of some awakened people who did not have long eyes, there has been no such courage. Opposite seat. The wastes of the seventh squad were actually killed by three people. It's really rubbish, Sher Yenming is singled out with someone, and he can't even touch the corner of the other's clothes. 
it's a shame for our scarlet hand. If it's not as strong, that's all, but that person's strength is only awakening. Sanjong, this is not an opponent, Shi Yanming will die if he dies. But. Lin Mingjie's conversation changed, his playful smile disappeared, and he suddenly became indifferent, the majesty of the scarlet hand cannot be lost. Since this time there are people who don't know whether to live or die, then we must let these awakened people recall the original fear. He squeezed hard, his face twisted in pain from being hugged by the girl, but he didn't dare to cry out, he could only bite his lip and endure it. Boss, I've already sent people to investigate the news of these three people. It won't take long for the results to come out. Humph, they must think that, hiding in the shelter, we don't dare to do anything to them. Scar sneered, as long as the identities of those people are found out, I will immediately go over and arrest them. No matter where they hide, they can't escape. Lin Mingjie did not respond, but refused, no. Boss, those guys slapped us in the face, we can't forget it. Of course it's impossible to just forget about it. I'll let them understand that life is better than death, but. His face was gloomy, that kind of weapon has attracted the attention of many people, including the president of the Academy of Sciences. Although this old man is not a threat, it is best not to offend him, especially at this critical juncture. Then what? It's best not to do anything in the shelter. However, I just received the news that there will be a big operation in the shelter tomorrow. At that time, the mission center will hire a large number of awakened people, and the rewards will be extremely high. With the strength of those three people, they will definitely participate. And the mercenaries participating in the mission will divide the area. Later, you will go and say hello to Director Jiang of the mission center and let him help us pay attention. Knife Scar smiled, I understand, I'm worthy of being the boss. He licked his lips and seemed to have seen the end of the three awakened ones. After talking with President Sun, Tang Yu learned a lot. It not only opened up his horizons, but also deepened his understanding of the source power. In addition to the profits, it should be said that it has a relationship with the Academy of Sciences. The equipment brought this time, including the basic weapons such as long swords, war knives, and daggers, have been sold to the Academy of Sciences. The unit price may not be as high as the auction, but Tang Yu knows that the auction can sell for a high price because of special circumstances. Once he takes out more equipment, the price will inevitably drop. Although there are still a lot of profits, those mercenaries may not be able to afford that price. At the auction, at the end of the bidding, many awakened people increased their prices one by one. Obviously they were approaching their limit the wealth in the hands of these mercenaries is limited, and the auction equipment can at most be able to do so. Harvest two or three more times. The Academy of Sciences is different. It has a large number of origin crystals. No matter how bad it is, Tang Yu can still sell weapons to the military through the Academy of Sciences. Even if he only sells 20 origin crystals, he can still make a lot of money. Forget it this time, I don't have that much equipment on hand. Next time I come again, I must make a good profit. Tang Yu is not worried that after the scientific research results, it will affect his future business. The workshop has inscribed a primary rune with five units of source crystal, which has reached the extreme. If the Academy of Sciences can achieve some research results, it is estimated that they will find that, well, it is still cheap to buy. The quality is also great. The transactions with the Academy of Sciences are not limited to thousands of Yuanjing. Tang Yu spread out the map in his hand. This is a very detailed map, containing the territory of the entire Great Celestial Dynasty. Of course, the map has a focus, the most detailed in this province, followed by several nearby provinces. This map, of course, was specially requested by Tang Yu. By Shaoxing 10086 can draw a map, and the official has more details. On this map, not only the locations of many shelters are marked, but even the danger levels of many areas are marked. One star belongs to basic security. For example, outside the city of Lindong Sanctuary, there are places where soldiers patrol and clean up every day. Two star low risk areas, such as the road map from the territory to Lindong, most of them pass through two star areas, so the danger is not high well, before the abyss cracks appeared in Maple Leaf Town. 
3-star medium risk area, which is the danger level for most places in the wild. 4-star high risk areas, such areas, there are high level demonized beasts from time to time, which can be said to be very dangerous. Ordinary battle teams entering such areas can often only be destroyed. 5-star is extremely dangerous, such as the previous Maple Leaf Town. 6-stars and 10 are dead. Tang Yu's eyes narrowed. The 6-star area can be said to be very rare, but there is exactly such a place on this map. The border between the two provinces. It was a dense cluster of abyss cracks. In that area, there were dozens or hundreds of abyss cracks, maybe several kilometers or more than 10 kilometers apart, stretching for a stretch, turning that area into a dead place. Such a 6-star dangerous area, even the army, cannot pass through. Tang Yu was glad that he got this kind of map. Otherwise, even if you don't slam into it and want to take a detour, you don't know which way to go. This area covers too much. He was also in a heavy mood. Only now I know that the situation in Linqing is relatively good. In some areas, there are many cracks in the abyss and the danger level is high. In those areas, small shelters are almost extinct, and even large shelters are very hard to support. In Lindong these days, the main thing is to collect intelligence, and there are not many things every day. There is no need to fight monsters. Every day, he sits in front of the computer and browses the forum. Tang Yu feels that he has returned to the familiar time. Early in the morning, Hui Ren had already gone out to collect information. This was a business he was familiar with, and Hui Ren was able to adapt to modern tools very quickly, so Tang Yu felt more at ease when these were handed over to him. After washing up, he planned to go shopping with Elaine to see if he could pick something up. As soon as he came to the street, Tang Yu noticed that the atmosphere was different. During this normal time, most of the fighters have already gone out, and there are not many pedestrians on the street. If ordinary survivors do not have a job to earn money, most of them will not go to the streets to hang out, which will only waste their energy. Many survivors, wearing swords or firearms, are in a hurry. Most of these people were heading in the same direction. Tang Yu took a look and found that the direction was the mission center, wasn't it? Chapter, 70 Have you heard? The mission center has released a large-scale mission. This is the first large-scale mission released by the mission center. I knew it earlier. It is said that the reward for this task is super rich. If you kill an ordinary demonized beast, you will get at least twice as many points as usual. Let's go, go and pick up the task, if you can't grab it, it will be miserable. What's the hurry? This is a large-scale mission, and there is no limit to the number of people. I heard that the start time of the mission is exactly 10 o'clock. Instead of rushing to take over the mission, it is better to buy some necessary equipment. Is it for points? Along the way, he could hear such conversations. Tang Yu was a little puzzled. This large-scale task was obviously only announced this morning. When he was browsing the forum last night, he hadn't heard of it. When I came to the mission center, it was already very noisy. It can be said that as soon as this mission was released, most of the registered mercenaries in the shelter had already arrived. The mission center is crowded. Tang Yu frowned. Spring festival is not so exaggerated, especially these survivors, who deal with demonized beasts all day long, and do not know how long they have not taken a bath. He seemed to smell a pig cage. It's not that he can't stand it, but he is not very interested in this task. Lord Lord, why don't I? Tang Yu glanced at Elaine and shook his head decisively. This girl is obviously not as calm as she said, and she is still a little afraid of this kind of environment. Squeezing in such a crowd is not just as simple as being covered in big men if you want to squeeze, it's my job. In such a short period of time, he had heard the exclamations of many young survivors, obviously not eating too much salty pork trotters. Tang Yu couldn't help but wonder if there were a lot of survivors inside, not to grab the mission, but just to exert the power of the big salty pig's hand. It's just that there are sometimes exclamations of male survivors in the crowd, which is a bit strange. Let's go and have a look around. The main office of the mission center is on the first floor, with transparent glass on both sides. After Tang Yu turned to one side, although he still couldn't get in, 
he saw the task content on the central display panel. Red font, enlarged logo. Large-scale higher mission, destroy the demon nest. An abyss crack appeared in Maple Leaf Town, which greatly threatened the safety of Lindong Sanctuary. Lindong officials will take the initiative to attack and destroy the demonized beasts around the crack. This operation requires the cooperation of many mercenaries. Require. Award. It turned out to be because of the abyss crack, no wonder. There are a lot of reward points, and the official even opened up many exchange items that were not available before for this mission. Naked seduction. Many fighters are jealous. Tang Yu was not optimistic about them. Although. The main force of this war is the military, and the mercenaries only play a supporting role, but many people forget that this is a large-scale battle with a large number of demonized beasts, possibly even high-level demonized beasts. For a strong team, this is a good opportunity, and for some combatants who are not even awakened, participating in such a battle will probably only be cannon fodder. Lord Lord, do we want to sign up? Elaine asked. Tang Yu shook his head, forget it, don't join in the fun. If it was before, in order to get the soul power container, maybe he would take this mission and earn some points, but now it is obviously unnecessary. But this battle, we have to go and see. All the troops under Lindong's high-level officials will participate, just in time to see Lin Wei's strength. At 10 o'clock sharp, the task collection time ends. Outside the city gate, many fighters gathered. Some wore protective gear made of demonized beast fur and held military-style war knives in their hands, while others wore tattered clothes and held rusty swords in their hands. Finally, those survivors who didn't even have weapons and were ready to go into battle hadn't appeared yet. Probably the people in the mission center can't stand it anymore, so let's brush those people down. Tang Yu didn't stay with these people. After leaving the city gate, he found a place with Ilyen and Huiren and waited slowly. Boom! The steel gates gradually separated to both sides, revealing the spacious streets inside. On weekdays, the city gate only has a small door that can accommodate two cars side by side, but this time, it is completely open, even the streets have been banned and no pedestrians can be seen. Accompanied by bursts of low roars, a torrent of steel gradually appeared in the field of vision. That is. The mercenaries outside the city gate seemed to be separated on both sides, but they stared blankly at the city gate, unable to take their eyes away. Tang Yu's mood at this time was also difficult to calm down. When it first came to the east, the team of the Scarlet Hand was quite impressive. Compared with the steel torrent in front of him, it was like the gap between an ant and an elephant. At the forefront were several armored vehicles, slowly driving out. It was followed by a phalanx of tanks, and the muzzle of the black hole rose slightly. Demonstrates the power of steel and fire. There are also all kinds of vehicles and equipment that Tang you can't name. Smoke and dust filled the air, and steel torrents rolled in. Such an army, in the past, could only be seen on TV. Outside the city gate. Many fighters showed excited expressions. With such armored troops, no matter how terrifying the demonized beasts were, they should be careful that they would turn into ashes under the fire. Soon there were various levels of management, allocating tasks to the mercenaries. In this operation, the mercenaries are mainly to protect the safety of military vehicles, and cooperate to fight when demonized beasts attack. Difficult to say, not difficult. Thermal weapons have a long range and a wide range. There must be not many demonized beasts that can break through the thermal weapons defense line and come to the front. They only need to kill some lonely monsters in the defensive area. In this mission, the points for killing demonized beasts are two to three times as much as usual. Many people also hope that more demonized beasts will come to the front of the battle, so that they can in addition to basic rewards, earn more points. This is just the majority of loose mercenaries. Top teams, and even members of the four major mercenary groups, have higher autonomy. You can move freely and freely search for demonized beasts to hunt. The members of the Scarlet Hand are very excited, such a task, for them, is tantamount to scoring points. These people were talking loudly, attracting envious glances from the scattered mercenaries on the side. The deputy head, Scar, was a little irritable at this time. What? 
you said there was no news. The yellow-haired members who reported were also puzzled. With the strength of their mercenary group, it was not difficult to investigate a few people. From Tang Yu to Lin Dong, what happened after that, they can investigate a lot of information. Even if it wasn't very detailed, they knew that the three people, two men and one woman, had a general appearance, and they even knew about the relationship between Li Xiaoming and Tang Yu, but the people of the Scarlet Hand didn't care. Just an ordinary person. Huang Mao told the director Jiang of the mission center about the appearance characteristics of the three people after the investigation, and then he never received any effective news. How come there is no news? Could it be that the surname Jiang has received so many source crystals from us, yet dare to perfunctory us? Knife Scar snorted coldly. Huang Mao shook his head, no, no, there is news from Director Jiang, but, in the news, those three people did not register as mercenaries. Scar. He held his breath, almost to death. If you don't register as a mercenary, you will naturally not be able to accept the task. But these days, there are still awakened people who have not registered as mercenaries. Especially those three people, he had to admit, they still had some strength. Scar can't figure it out. His face was cold. I can't let those few clowns continue to be free, and issue me a scarlet wanted notice. He looked into the distance, a cold light flashing in his eyes. Chapter, 71 Outside the City on the roof of a not-so-high building, Tang Yu was looking at the city gate with a telescope. There was no impassioned declaration in front of the station, the mercenaries were distributed and mixed into the army's infantry phalanx, and the armored phalanx was also slowly advancing. Call out. There was a sharp piercing sound in the distance. Tang Yu was stunned and stared at it. In the air, a few small black dots appeared. The black spot was extremely fast, dragging the tail flame, and just saw it rise from the shelter, and in the blink of an eye, it was already over Maple Leaf Town. Boom! Boom! Boom boom boom! Intense fire flashes. A burst of smoke and dust rose into the air. Houses collapsed and the ground shook. From a distance, that cloud of smoke, like a blooming flower, enveloped the entire Maple Leaf Town in it. Tang Yu took a deep breath. This is the power of thermal weapons, even more spectacular, perhaps only nuclear bombs. No matter how tenacious the demonized beast's vitality is, most of them cannot survive such a violent explosion. Especially in the area around the abyss crack, where the demonized beasts are dense, this wave of clearing, the output will explode. Beside the city wall. The mercenaries were even more stunned. Modern people, have never seen such a big scene, even in the last days, such a scene is the first time for most people to see it. After a while, the expressions on many people's faces changed from sluggishness to ecstasy. This wave of missiles must have destroyed most of the demonized beasts. Perhaps now, around the abyss crack, not many demonized beasts have survived, and they only need to clean up some of the fish that slipped through the net. It's so easy to earn points. In the command car, Lu Jianjun looked at the screen on the car. This screen is not clear, and the signal is lost from time to time, and it is showing the picture of the explosion in Maple Leaf Town. Compared to most people's happy expressions, his expression is still serious. After the apocalypse, due to interference and difficulty in positioning missiles, Maple Leaf Town is so close and there are a large number of demonized beasts, so it doesn't need a high accuracy rate to use it like this. Rao is so, these few missiles go down, Lu Jianjun is also distressed. Stock is running out. Manufacturing is even more impossible, not just a technical problem before the end of the world, to produce a product with high technology content. Many raw materials and components came from all over the world, but now, even communication has become a problem. Get those materials. Not to mention missiles, even tanks and helicopters are currently not available in Lindong for production. It would be nice to be able to fix it. Chief, are you ready to enter Maple Leaf Town? An officer asked. Lu Jianjun hesitated, don't underestimate the demonized beasts, first send the reconnaissance troops into Maple Leaf Town for investigation. The officer gave a military salute and turned to leave. 
Lu Jianjun suddenly stopped the officers, let them all be careful and come out alive. Alive. Two words. But it's a very heavy topic. After the end of the world, there is a lack of reconnaissance means, and the scouts fighting on the front line are often the ones who suffer the most losses. Lu Jianjun knew this. But had no choice. He has to think about the bigger picture. It would be great if the Academy of Sciences could develop a means of remote detection. After paying a certain amount of casualties, news came soon. In Maple Leaf Town, as expected, most of the demonized beasts died in the explosion, and the remaining small number, although there are a lot, the threat has been reduced a lot. This is within the estimated range. Prepare to enter Maple Leaf Town, all staff are on guard, and open fire on demonized beasts freely. The rumbling steel torrent moved forward, crushing everything in the past. This movement naturally attracted the remaining demonized beasts. The tank's main cannon roared and hit the front, even if it awakened a high-level demonized beast like the fourth and fifth layers, it would have to be shattered. Maple Leaf Township, outside. The buildings here have not been damaged by too many explosions, and most of them are still preserved, but the walls are covered with moss, which is quite historical at first glance. Along the street, inside the building, demonized beasts sprang out from time to time. The sound of gunshots resounded non-stop. Some demonized beasts rushed to the front of the team and were killed by the awakened soldiers and some mercenaries. There are many people and few animals, and the mercenaries are eagerly vying for it. Occasionally, combatants were injured and died under the attack of demonized beasts. As expected, the team slowly advanced and gradually moved towards the crack in the abyss. Maple Leaf Town. A roof. Tang Yu held the binoculars and observed silently. Not to observe the war situation, but to find someone. In the official team of Lin Dong, the military is the main force, ranking in the middle army, and the other high-level teams are located on the two wings. Tang Yu was looking for Lin Wei's team. Found it. According to some information from Grey Blade's investigation, Tang Yu found a team that met the requirements. Most of this team is infantry, but their strength is very strong. They are basically awakened people. They can easily push away when they encounter abandoned vehicles blocking the road. Even if they occasionally run into powerful demonized beasts, with the cooperation of these people, killed easily. After thinking for a while, Tang Yu took out a mirror like prop from his space backpack. Detection lens, it can scout an area from a long distance, detect the strength of the enemy and mark the enemy, the marking duration is one week. This is one of the props that Tang Yu collected after refreshing the market several times. This one-time item is the most suitable for him now. The effect is great, the price is cheap well, the latter sentence is the key point. This kind of prop, in addition to reconnaissance, also has a marking function. Tang Yu estimated that after solving the abyss crack this time, Lin Wei would be able to find the territory no matter what. It's likely to hit the door directly. However, all of this is under surveillance, so wouldn't it be very hey hey. Elian, you have the highest perception ability, come on. Elaine nodded and took the lens. Her pupils turned into a pure ice blue, and the large mage robe was windless and automatic, the hood fell, and the long sky blue hair fluttered. In his hand, the lens emits a shimmering light. Tang Yu stood on one side, and following his line of sight, he happened to see the delicate collarbone under Elian's neck, and the detection lens on her chest the two hands were holding. On the mirror surface of the lens, a picture gradually appears. As if overlooking from a high altitude, the camera zooms in from a distance, and Lin Wei's team is clearly displayed in the mirror. This team, although not like the military, has heavy weapons and equipment such as tanks and artillery, but the next level, such as armored vehicles, heavy machine guns, etc. There are many in Lin Wei's team. It is more of a well-equipped awakener, and one energy response has been shown in the lens. A bird's eye view. The camera finally freezes on a middle-aged man. Tang Yu was convinced that this was Lin Wei himself. At this moment, Lin Wei did not stay in the armored vehicle. Instead, surrounded by several guards, he walked slowly as if he were walking. The energy response of these guards is displayed under the lens, and it is indeed extremely high. Rather, 
This guy Lin Wei is hidden a little deep. Observation Room The teen was advancing slowly, not because of the demonized beasts, but because Lin Wei deliberately maintained a slow speed. Tang Yu could see Lin Wei's selfishness. However, this is not important to him. It is enough to ensure that the main force in Lin Wei's hands is under control. It's a pity that there is no ultra-long-range attack method, otherwise, it would be great to sneak a wave. It's definitely not going to work in front of you. No matter how confident Tang Yu was, he would never think that just three of them could attack Lin Wei's team. Better to be a quiet audience. Chapter 72 Chen Yi killed the demonized beast with one knife, and ordered someone to break open the demonized beast's head, revealing a source crystal in his eyes. There was a look of joy in his eyes. The third one, ah. Uh -huh. Captain, here it is. The young man handed the source crystal to Chen Yi, and asked a little embarrassedly, So what, Captain, this? Chen Yi laughed, Work hard, I will keep these source crystals first, and we will distribute them when we return to the shelter. Don't worry, there are so many demonized beasts, we can still have a lot of source crystals. He was in a very happy mood, and even with it, he became a lot more generous. This time, in his opinion, it was a complete subquestion. They have met a lot of demonized beasts, but many, after being devastated by artillery fire, came to them and were dying. These demonized beasts, they can kill without much effort. The spoils, of course, also belong to them. Chen Yi was very excited. It was his destiny to meet this kind of mission for the first time. He always felt like he was the protagonist. Both parents died, and there is a sister in the house. Even if his sister weighs 180 pounds. Even if the house is only a small space of more than 10 square meters, it can't stop it, the fact that he is the protagonist. Three days ago, he was just a low-level survivor. Although the place to live is better than the relief house, but because of the lack of strength and the lack of shrewdness, I can't always get a job. Full of hope, Chen Yi stepped out of the shelter and became a scavenger. Of course he didn't think so. He came out to look for opportunities. The result was indeed found. He went around in circles that day, but because he got lost, he went farther and farther, and happened to bump into two terrifying monsters fighting. He didn't know much about demonized beasts, but he also knew that there were very few battles between demonized beasts. This is a battle between a demonized beast and an alien beast. The two monsters are very terrifying, they can easily overturn the vehicle, and the ground will crack when trampled. The two monsters were evenly matched, and in the end, they were both lost and both were dying. Chen Yi was stunned that the fantastic plot in the novel happened to him. Su Ji was too excited. In an instant, he was awakened. Even after using the awakening headband, he had no effect, but he was awakened at this moment. Become a glorious awakener. After awakening, Chen Yi became more courageous. After several trials, I determined that these two monsters were really at the end of the battle, so I boldly stepped forward and killed these two terrifying monsters. These two monsters brought him huge soul power, and just refining these soul powers gave him the strength to awaken the first level peak. Overcome the initial difficult phase in one fell swoop. Chen Yi even collected the materials of these two monsters, especially the alien beasts, which can be used, and their value is still higher than that of demonized beasts. Through this, he earned a lot of source crystals, and even bought a set of equipment. Tough and elastic animal skin, a standard war knife commonly used by the military. His combat power rose sharply, and for the next two days, he went out to hunt demonized beasts and successfully broke through to the second level of awakening. In Lin Dong, he can be regarded as a little master. Chen Yi's heart is even more proud. Even in Lin Dong, few people can match this speed of improvement. Soon he formed a mercenary team and took in his younger brother. In the future, I will definitely become the number one expert in Lin Dong. Chen Yi had no doubts, his eyes suddenly lit up again, and he found a demonized beast not far away. Broken leg, breathless. He yelled, get out of the way, I'm coming. With a knife, he will cut off this demonized beast. Suddenly, the ground shook. Chen Yi was a little unsteady. 
Ahead, several dilapidated buildings collapsed. He widened his eyes and looked into the distance in horror. There. The ground is deserted, and the layers are sunken, like a vortex made of sand. In the center of the vortex, two red flesh touches drilled out. These two flesh touches are very large. When they appear, they are like a long whip that goes straight to the sky. Under the sweep, the ground breaks into ravines, and the dust raised is four or five stories high. What the hell is that? Countless people panic. They saw that after the two flesh touches, a huge body also emerged from the vortex. This body, bigger than an entire building, looks like the most terrifying demon god, looking down at them coldly. Humans are like ants in front of them. Is so small. Team, Captain what kind of monster is this, is it also a demonized beast? The player's teeth chattered. Chen Yi also panicked, just to maintain his tall captain image, he just tightened his face and remained relatively calm. What are you afraid of, and the army, yes, there is an army, and this monster will be smashed into slag in minutes. As if to confirm his words. Several armed helicopters flew from afar. On both sides of the fuselage, the mounted anti-tank missiles were launched swishly. With a white smoke-like tail, it directly hit the supergiant demonized beast. Fire shines. Great. Hit. This should be dead. Someone cheered. Someone is nervous. They all stared at the super-huge demonic beast in the distance. Roar. Soot. No, before the smoke cleared, the two red fleshy touches were swept out of the smoke. Like slapping a fly. Boom. In the sky. The two armed helicopters exploded into a burst of fire, leaving only bits and pieces of parts scattered from the air. The remaining few Wuji saw that the situation was not good, and quickly raised their heights, wanting to retreat. But how can the speed of the helicopter compare to those two extremely flexible flesh touches? In mid-air, a red long whip flew. Bunch of flames blooming. Reflecting everyone, panic look. Maple Leaf Town, a temporary command center. Lu Jianjun's face was ugly. I had already investigated it, but I didn't expect that there would be demonized beasts hiding under the sand, and I didn't expect it to be such a huge demonized beast. Once this demonized beast rushes into the front line, the loss is immeasurable. Have the results come out, and what is the energy intensity? He asked. Beside. A middle-aged man who was controlling the instrument was sweating profusely, extremely, extremely high. How tall is it? No, it cannot be detected, it has far exceeded our detection limit. This instrument was developed by the Academy of Sciences to detect the energy intensity of powerful demonized beasts. Now, it doesn't come in handy. Lu Jianjun knew that he had already encountered the worst situation. Contact the base and use the remaining missiles. Yes. The liaison will take orders immediately. After a while, from Lindong Sanctuary, several black spots rose into the air, and they arrived in an instant. Boom. The field of vision was filled with blazing light. There was a deafening explosion in the ear. Compared to before, many awakened people stood on the edge of Lindong and looked at it from a distance, all feeling shocked. Now, in Maple Leaf Town, the distance is closer, and they have experienced the power of this explosion. Powerful. Horrible. If they got any closer, they would all be affected. And that demonized beast was hit from the front, no matter how powerful it was, it was doomed. Chen Yi laughed out loud, as if to vent his inner fear, look, I said there is an army, what are we afraid of? We can earn enough points as long as we pick up the leaks today, I believe that soon, we will can be promoted to elite squads, or even top squads. Captain Wei. The players cheered, but stopped abruptly. One by one was just terrified, looking behind the captain. Chen Yi was sweating coldly, turned around stiffly, and saw. In the distance, in the smoke. The supergiant demonized beast, although the carapace was pitted, black burn marks appeared in many places, and a lot of viscous liquid flowed out of it. Appears miserable. However, this demonic beast. Return. Live. On. 
Chapter, 73 Shocked, panicked. Originally, this battle went well, most of the demonized beasts died in the cannon fire, and the awakened only needed to cooperate with the army to destroy the remaining demonized beasts. Call 66 a few more times at most. It's not difficult. Everyone thinks so. Until the appearance of the super large demonized beast, they did not despair. The crystallization of human technology, including tanks, artillery, and missiles, how could it be impossible to solve even a demonized beast? In reality, however, it is really impossible. Mood ups and downs, from full of hope, to the present despair. Chen Yi's team was relatively high in the front line. Originally, he was very happy to have more opportunities to pick up leaks and kill demonized beasts, but now, he wished he could rush back to Lindong. Standing here, he has no sense of security. It seems that at any time, it will be touched by the red flesh and crushed into powder. What level is this demonized beast? Some team members couldn't help but mutter to themselves. I don't know, but I'm afraid it's far beyond our imagination, and I don't know how many levels there are in the awakening rank. Someone said the same. They don't know the level of the awakening stage. However, in the induction, the breath of the super large demonized beast is too terrifying. It seems to be a turbulent wave, and human beings themselves, like standing on a reef, facing the huge waves, are extremely small. Even though they were separated by a distance of several kilometers, this overwhelming sense of oppression still made them breathless. The whole body trembled, and there was a strange smell wafting from everywhere. Even running away is a luxury. Command Center Everyone was stunned. After the super-large demonized beast was injured, it became even more ferocious, roared, and stepped forward step by step. It seems to move slowly, but with the size of this demonized beast, every step is a distance of dozens of meters. Unstoppable. Looking at the super-large demonized beast that was getting closer, someone woke up, quick, escort the chief away. Lu Jianjun slammed the table, what a joke. Now that we are in crisis, what will happen to the shelter, and what will happen to the hundreds of thousands of survivors? The subordinates were anxious, chief. Our second artillery battalion is willing to fight to the death, but you are the backbone of the shelter, you can't have an accident. What nonsense! Do you want me to be a deserter? The super-large demonized beast approached step by step. In this temporary headquarters, the tremors of the ground can already be felt. Lu Jianjun looked into the distance. Not only super-large demonized beasts, but in that sandy vortex, demonized beasts kept emerging. It was originally hidden underground and escaped the bombing of missiles. At this time, all of them came out. Lu Jianjun couldn't help asking himself, do demonized beasts have wisdom? If not, how to explain this, consciously hidden behavior? He shook his head and stopped thinking about it. At this moment, the situation is already very bad, and the sanctuary side, which had the advantage, is in jeopardy in the blink of an eye. In the command center, many people looked nervous and worried, but no one chose to escape. Maybe afraid, but still stick to it. This is their duty and responsibility as soldiers. Lu Jianjun glanced over and took a deep breath, it's not time to give up, whether it's for ourselves or for the hundreds of thousands of survivors behind us. We can't give up, let the analysis department find out the cause of this big beetle as soon as possible. Weakness, in addition, let the people of the special forces dispatch, prepare to use the experimental type 1 shaped energy cannon. Roof. Tang Yu was silent as he watched the super large demonized beast show his power. The strength above the awakening stage was beyond his expectations. Originally, he thought that this demonized beast was very powerful but he did not expect that even the missiles were blocked by this demonized beast. Even though the super-large demonized beast seems to be seriously injured, in the perception, the breath of the other party has not weakened much. Could it be Lindong shelter pills? Tang Yu didn't know. For an enemy of this strength, he has nothing to do. If this demonized beast is attacking the territory, he may have to abandon his family business and leave. If the territory is upgraded to another level and a higher defense building is established, perhaps, it is qualified to face this demonized beast, right? 
he felt a sense of urgency. Or poverty limited his strength. After returning this time, we must open up the Lindong market as soon as possible to earn enough source crystals. In addition, if the territory is upgraded by one level, you can try to use defensive buildings to destroy the demonized beasts near the source crystal mine. This is also a way to make money. Thinking. He saw a group of military awakened come forward. The main gun of the tank roared, and many awakened masters in the army fought with the demonized beasts to break a path. In the center of the line, a large flatbed truck was welded with a bulky piece of equipment. This is a black tech weapon, an energy gathering cannon, that was cobbled together by the Academy of Sciences and still in the process of experimentation. When Tang Yu communicated with President Sun, he heard what the other party said. Simply put, it is to extract the energy in the source crystal, condense and concentrate it and emit it. The killing range may not be large, but the penetrating power is sufficient. This is also the research direction of the Academy of Sciences after the end of the world. The pre-apocalyptic thermal weapons were originally used to deal with humans themselves. But they were not suitable for dealing with demonized beasts with increasingly stronger defenses, such as missiles, which were originally designed to hit targets at long distances. It seems difficult, let alone lack of power. After traveling a certain distance, several operators began to operate the instrument. The source crystals were pulled out of energy, and the scale indicator on the energy concentrating cannon lit up. 10% charged. 20% charged. The super large demonized beast seemed to have found a threat, and turned around and walked here. At the same time, more demonized beasts around were surging against the military team. Sure enough, these demonized beasts are under control. Fierce battles, and people die at any time. The super large demonized beasts are getting closer and closer. Howitzers roared in the distance, and groups of flames exploded on the carapace of the super large demonized beast, but they couldn't stop it. How much is charged? 50%. Hurry up. This is already the limit, and the entire energy cannon will explode any sooner. At this time, on the ground around the super large demonized beast, countless gravels floated up and condensed into many huge stones, like cannonballs, and smashed towards the position of the energy gathering gun. The commander of the special forces team roared, and wings grew out of his back, flying into the sky. The wings were like knives, cutting the huge stone in half and smashing it all around. Other awakened and capable ones also showed their magical powers, intercepting these flying stones. Several gunships flew in, the mounted missiles aimed, rumbled, and the stones shattered. Charge 80%. Charge 90%. Click, click, the entire energy gathering cannon made bursts of overwhelmed sounds. At this moment, the super large demonized beast is getting closer and closer, and a red flesh touches up high and is about to fall suddenly. The commander of the special forces team took a deep breath, flew up alone, and slashed his wings to touch the flesh. The next moment, the flesh shook, and the commander of the special team flew out like a cannonball, smashing the ground into a pothole, and he was dead. Another meat touch is also raised, ready to sweep down. A helicopter with a missile mounted on it emptied, the driver flashed decisiveness in his eyes, and the helicopter collided with the flesh. Boom! The meat touch fell and was hit by the helicopter, deviated some distance, and smashed not far from the energy gathering gun. A chasm was pressed down on the ground, and the splashed dust blocked the figure of the entire team. However, whether it was the awakened person or the manipulator, there was fear on his face, but no one fled. There is only one chance. No one wants to fail at the last minute and cannot fail. In the distance, on the rooftop. Tang Yu took a deep breath. Let's go, let's kill the demonized beast too. He felt he had to do something, even if it couldn't help much. Gotta do something too. Just because. The blood is not yet cold. At this moment, some powerful and bloody awakened teams also intercepted the demonized beasts one after another. Which reduced the pressure on the military special forces a lot, and freed up more manpower to harass the super large demonized beasts in order to win that tiny moment. Time. The casualties of the special forces awakened are getting bigger and bigger, and the energy gathering cannon has finally been recharged. 
Coarse beams shot out, dazzling as if the stars were shining. At the same time, it was accompanied by the painful roar of the superlarge demonized beast. The light dissipated. Tang Yu saw that the superlarge demonized beast had a hole punched out from its lower jaw, and it was revealed from the back, which had already penetrated the demonized beast. The terrifying aura quickly dissipated. Tang Yu was also relieved. I saw that the energy gathering cannon that was pieced together into a huge instrument, after firing a cannon, came out with black smoke, which seemed to be scrapped directly. Only one shot. So this is just an experimental type, and it is far from stable. Moreover, Tang Yu also saw the shortcomings of this type of energy gathering cannon. It consumes a lot of money, and the range is not far. This is only a small disadvantage. The most important thing is that this kind of energy gathering gun takes too long to recharge, and the fixed shooting method can only face such super large demonized beasts. To be hit. Change to the petite and flexible type, even if it is only a body shaper, it can be difficult to hit. The biggest problem has been solved. The danger is still ongoing, and there are still many remaining demonized beasts. On the side of the allied forces in Lindong Sanctuary, most of the mercenaries had long been frightened by the super-large demonized beast and lost their sense of proportion. No matter what the task is. Chapter, 74 Da da da. Gunshots resounded. This time, it seemed more messy. A team mounted heavy machine guns and killed several demonized beasts. Suddenly, a second-story window on the side was shattered, and a demonized beast in the shape of a praying mantis was slaughtered out of it. The sharp limbs flashed like knives, and everyone in the team was instantly dismembered, and the heavy machine gun was also cut into pieces. Another place. The tank's main cannon roared, blowing a powerful demonic beast into pieces, and the next moment, a large lizard spit flames, shrouding the entire tank. The high temperature made the tank's armor turn red, and the large lizard vomited for a while, then turned to leave. Although the appearance of this tank is still intact, it is obvious that the people inside are no longer alive. Scenes like this happen in many places. Puff. Tang Yu pulled out the long sword that had pierced into the demonized beast, and looked at the long sword that was covered with viscous blood. In the blink of an eye, the blade was no longer stained with blood, and it was restored to its original state. This should be the legendary murder, um, there is no blood in the killing of beasts. But it seems that something is wrong. There was a noise from the front. Another monster. Tang Yu raised his sword and stared at the street ahead, preparing for another double kill. I saw more than a dozen awakened people running around in embarrassment. One of them, Tang Yu looked familiar, isn't this the captain surnamed Zhou? It was fate that they met again. Zhou Jianhong shouted, Go quickly, there are demonized beasts behind you. Invincible. Tang Yu was a little puzzled. Zhou Jianhong is not weak. He even sensed that among these awakened awakeners who escaped, there were even stronger ones. All of them had to flee in embarrassment. Does it mean that the demonized beasts being pursued are extremely powerful? But if they are really powerful demonized beasts, these people might not be able to escape. Soon. The chasing demonic beast appeared in sight. Those are a few gray-black, translucent unidentified objects. Tang Yu had never seen such a strange demonized beast. It had no specific shape and walked lightly, or it was originally floating. However, the auras of these demonized beasts are mostly only awakening at the second and third levels, and they are not strong. Just when these demonized beasts appeared, on the other side of the street, a few groups of gray-black ghosts also appeared. Zhou Jianhong and the others changed their expressions. Oops, why are there such demonized beasts over there? It's over. Quick, get out of that side, there is still hope. The ghost that appeared on the other side was the closest to Tang Yu and the three of them, and quickly floated over. Tang Yu raised his sword and prepared to meet him. Zhou Jianhong looked anxious, little brother, run away, these demonized beasts can't be killed. An eagle-nosed man next to him snorted coldly, it's beyond your own power. A ghost floats up. Tang Yu flicked his wrist and the long sword fell from top to bottom, cutting the group of ghosts into two pieces. No resistance felt. 
Tang Yu focused his attention, and there were faint ripples in the place where the ghost in front of him was cut by the long sword. Like a long sword scratched in the lake water, ripples swayed. But it can't cause damage to water. This is an incorporeal demonized beast. Tang Yu's attack was fruitless, but the ghost didn't stagnate because of it. Its entire torso seemed to be elongated, and the original unknown object actually appeared in the shape of a hand. Ling Kong grabbed Tang Yu. Such an attack came suddenly and was difficult to guard against. Zhou Jianhong shouted, Be careful. Awakened person next to him shook his head and sighed, It's over, it's over, this kind of ghost attack method is weird, it's impossible to escape from so close. The eagle nosed man looked away, if it was just an ordinary second or third level demonized beast, we would have killed it long ago. But unfortunately, facing this kind of insubstantial demonized beast, even if we have a magical weapon, it is useless. What he was holding in his hand was the weapon that countless awakened people envied during this period, the demon slaying sword. However, Chen Sheng was still helpless in the face of such a demonic beast that was not strong at first. Cold weapons are useless, firearms are useless, and their teams can only flee in embarrassment. The other side. Tang Yu was not unprepared. After seeing a group of awakened people who were not weak in strength and fled in embarrassment, he knew that this kind of demonized beast cannot be judged only on the basis of apparent strength. The body twisted, avoiding the ghost's attack. He took a step back, holding the sword in both hands, holding his breath. The long sword was raised high and slashed suddenly. Heavy cut. The blood flowed through the whole body, and finally gathered in the hands, and spread out along the weapon. Boom! This blow was heavy. The bombardment hit the ghost and fell to the ground again. Rocks crumble. Among the awakened ones, even Chen Sheng, the most powerful, was surprised. Originally, he thought that Tang Yu and the three were just weak awakeners, but he didn't expect such a powerful force to erupt. With this kind of power, if you replace it with other awakened triple demonized beasts, I'm afraid you can kill them with one blow. But unfortunately he also felt a little pity that a master of Tang Yu's strength died here, and said, you guys better hurry up. Run away, before those ghosts complete the encirclement, or you will really die here. Tang Yu also sighed. Looking at the ghost in front of him, the color has faded a lot. The heavy slash is effective, a blow that condensed the blood and energy of the whole body, and successfully caused damage to the ghost. However, as an energy body, the ghost is still immune to most of the damage of the heavy slash. Tang Yu estimated that it would take two or three heavy slashes to kill this ghost. How can that be? Afraid not to empty him out. But. Tang Yu fluttered back. The other awakens also felt that Tang Yu had finally retreated. They didn't laugh at it. In fact, they had tried a lot, and some of them were weak and died because of it. Elian, I'll leave it to you. Tang Yu. Zhou Jianhong and the other awakened people were stunned again. No, it would be great for everyone to escape together, why do you have to fight with these ghosts, even if you have some strength, it is not like this, if you are not careful, you will die. Chen Xing snorted coldly, in the end, it's still too much. They no longer paid attention, preparing to escape from the besieging breach of the ghosts. I saw that among the three, the girl in the black robe responded. Elaine held the staff in her hand, and ice edges condensed one after another in front of her. With the increase in strength, the number of ice edges she condensed at one time increased a lot, and the energy contained in each ice edge was also different. Ice ridges shoot out. Each one is aimed at a ghost. The awakened people were stunned, they were actually an ability person, or an elemental system. Maybe there is hope. Someone was excited. It is still necessary to see the strength of this capable person. This is the rational faction. No, if it is fire damage, it may be able to kill these ghosts, but it forms ice ridges, which are essentially physical damage and useless. Chen Sheng is not optimistic. The ice ridges penetrated the ghostly soul, creating a circle of ripples. In the disappointed eyes of the awakened ones. With a bang, the ice edge cracked. In the field of vision, a bright blue light bloomed. Chapter, 75 
Captain Chen is right, Bing Ling, after all, it's a puncture wound. An awakened said, and suddenly opened his mouth. The blue light bloomed, and layers of ice crystals condensed. The ghost still wanted to struggle, but was quickly covered by ice and frozen into an ice sculpture. Clang! The floating ghost ice sculpture fell to the ground, and it turned twice, completely motionless. Elaine stretched out her hand, her fingers clasped together and clenched into a fist. Immediately, with a snap, the ice sculpture shattered into pieces. Come on, go, what are you waiting for? An awakened looked puzzled when he saw his companion suddenly stop. Look at that, the companion pointed. The man looked and found some ice crystal fragments on the ground. Isn't it just ice crystal fragments, what's so strange he suddenly froze, isn't there a lot of ghosts in that place, why are there only ice crystal fragments left now? Where's the ghost? He asked innocently. Of course he's dead, and he's dead without a corpse. Chen Sheng was also shocked. As a captain-level master, he sees it more thoroughly than ordinary awakened people. Why did he initially affirm that even those with ice-type abilities would have no way to use ghosts indeed, the piercing effect of ice ridges is similar to that of bullets, and it has no effect. He also did not expect that ice ridges could burst open. It should be said, I dare not think about it. There are not many people with Lin Dong ability. After Chen Sheng also communicated with some of them, he learned that it is difficult to continue to control the ability after leaving the body. Someone who has the ability has also thought that if the ability similar to the fireball can control the movement direction of the fireball after it is sent out, then the hit rate will be much higher. But when they researched it, they found that it was extremely difficult to control it. Even when the ability had not left the body, it was like riding a wild horse, let alone after leaving the body. Maybe the ice power will be more stable than the flame power, and it is not impossible to control the explosion of the ice edge. But what shocked him even more? He clearly saw that after freezing the ghost into an ice sculpture, he could still control it, causing the ice sculpture to shatter even though the energy has been released at this time, there is still a lead to control it. The more he understands, the more Chen Sheng understands the difficulty. It's just a theoretical thing. Today, he saw the possibility. After the ghost died, the entire body dissipated, and in addition to the source crystal, an unknown crystal was also dropped. It's a bit like killing monsters and dropping treasures. The source crystal still has a certain explosion rate. This kind of unknown crystal is definitely dropped by every ghost. Based on years of game experience, Tang Yu guessed that this should be some kind of material. It might be quite precious. Originally, the goal of coming to Lindong Sanctuary has been basically achieved, and he plans to return. After discovering this crystal, he couldn't help but swipe a wave of monsters. In addition to this ghost, there are actually many demonized beasts, which will drop some more important materials, but unfortunately many times, they are not recognized. This is maddening. It feels like I missed a million. After returning, he felt that he needed to collect more information in this regard. For example, some new varieties of grass and trees, new varieties of ores, various types of special materials, etc. May be able to compile an encyclopedia after the end of the world. By the time you can sell the encyclopedia to the awakened, and give these awakens a chance to collect materials, and then, the awakened earn money, spend it in the territory, and so on. Tang Yu felt that he was too rich. Money is rolling in. With the passage of time, the human front gradually stabilized. Because of the appearance of super-large demonized beasts and the many demonized beasts hidden by them, the loss of human beings is much more than expected. After the coercion of the super-large demonized beast dissipated, many awakened people fled like crazy, but the soldiers still stuck in place, making this fragile front firm. There are also awakeners who are not weak in strength, rising up to fight against demonized beasts. Zhou Jianhong, Chen Sheng and other teams, after solving the threat of ghosts, they no longer retreated, but instead showed their due combat effectiveness, beheading many incoming demonic beasts. Tang Yu took advantage of the situation and did not leave on the one hand, he killed the demonized beasts to earn some source crystals, and on the other hand, he made some contributions. 
If he can, he doesn't mind helping others, including intercepting demonized beasts and beheading ghosts. Of course, it's just what I can do, without threatening my own interests, and under the circumstances of my own willingness. Like before the end of the world, Tang Yu didn't dare to help the old man who fell on the road, because it was beyond his ability, and he had no ability to protect himself under the condition of being corrupted. Therefore, if he wants to master power, he can be free and do whatever he wants. Regardless of murder. Still saving people. Do whatever you want. Because the strength of the awakened people in the team is not weak, Tang Yu's position is gradually moving forward. Soon, some awakened teams joined in. Holding a group for warmth makes it easier to deal with demonized beasts. In particular, some awakeners who are not strong are very relieved. Chen Yi came to the team, gasping for breath. There was a look of horror on his face. He was the only one left in his mercenary team. Originally, in order to obtain more source crystals, I applied for a position at the front of the front line, but I didn't expect it to become a symbol of life. Fortunately, I survived, it should be safe now, but the loss is too great. Chen Yi secretly hated. Originally it was very smooth, but why did it suddenly become like this? Didn't the military swear to encircle the demon nest, but it was beaten by demonized beasts instead? In particular, because they escaped too quickly, the previous spoils, including source crystals and some rare materials, did not know where they fell. He, Chen Yi, has never been so miserable since his debut. Obviously he should be the protagonist. Suddenly. His eyes narrowed. It landed on a long sword. Devil Slayer Sword. He murmured in his heart. If he could have a demon slaying sword, he would not know how much his strength could be improved, or maybe he would be able to break through to the third level of awakening and step into the ranks of masters. Chen Yi's eyes were burning. It's just that reason tells him that the people who have the sword of slaying demons are all captain level figures. He can't be bothered. And many more. He carefully observed and found that among the awakened people present, two possessed the demon slaying sword. One of them was dragon slaying Chen Sheng, a well known captain level figure in the sanctuary. Handsome ordinary man. No, not ordinary people. Chen Yi had seen this man kill the demonized beast, but his strength did not seem to be that strong. Certainly not a captain level figure, he can recognize those top team captains. But since it is not, how can he have the Demon Slayer Sword? Chen Yi thought of a possibility. He is the seller of the Demon Slaying Sword, and the mysterious person who offended the Scarlet Hand and was wanted by the Scarlet Hand. For a moment. My heart couldn't help it, and it jumped up and down. He remembered that morning, as a mercenary captain who had dealt with the Scarlet Hand, he had received a message. Scarlet wanted. 500 Source Crystals. It's about to be released, it really is hard to survive, there will be blessings. Chen Yi stared at Tang Yu's back. I pressed the button of a contactor in my arms. After thinking about it, he took out the only bottle of water left on his body, unscrewed the bottle cap, and poured some white powder into it. Chapter, 76 Chen Yi came to Tang Yu and smiled, this big brother, it is fortunate that you have masters like you to deal with demonized beasts, otherwise we would have already died, little brother. I have nothing on me, only this bottle of water can contribute, I must be big brother I've been thirsty after fighting for so long, I hope you don't refuse, this is a little brother's intention. Reach out and pass the water bottle. The water in the bottle swayed, and he felt a little thirsty. Chen Yi lowered his head and tried to keep himself calm. This is the first time he has done this kind of thing, he has no experience at all, but he feels that he has no choice. For the 500 source crystals, it is worth fighting for. As for Tang Yu, if you want to blame, blame the other party for provoking the Scarlet Hand. Anyway, sooner or later, you will die. It is better to die in his hands. Donate these 500 source crystals, and Chen Yi will remember them in the future. I thought to myself, the water bottle I handed out was not taken for a long time. Chen Yi was a little anxious. Glancing at it, he saw Tang Yu looking at the bottle of water, as if he was lost in thought, not knowing what he was thinking. Why don't you pick up? Quick pick up. 
Drink it now. Then. He saw Tang Yu take out a bottle of iced black tea and drank it. Already drank. Drink very well. But not his bottle of water. Chen Yi was dumbfounded. Why, this person has a bottle of iced black tea in his hand, and he saw some water droplets on the bottle this is a frozen drink. He vomited blood. After high intensity exercise, drinking a bottle of frozen beverage, he has not experienced this taste for a long time. Now he feels more and more thirsty, and more importantly. Chen Li looked at the bottle of water in his hand, wondering what to do. The whole person fell into confusion. Not only Chen Yi. The other awakened ones also straightened their eyes when they saw the drink in Tang Yu's hand. Someone made a drooling sound. When Tang Yu heard this, his eyes lit up. Immediately opened the backpack and took out a bottle of iced black tea from it, look at it, look at it. A bottle of frozen drink only needs one source crystal, you won't be fooled if you buy it, you won't suffer if you buy it, and you will face it if you buy it. Demonized beasts can be more durable and powerful. The sound echoed in the ears of the resting awakens around. Chen Sheng looked at the bottle of iced black tea, turned his head away, and suddenly felt his mouth dry. He stood up, still with his cold and stern look, and came to Tang Yu, hesitating for a while, but with a negotiating tone, can it be cheaper? Tang Yu was taken aback. There's still business. That being the case. Two bottles of Sanyuan crystal can't be cheaper. Make a deal. Chen Sheng took out the source crystal, ended up with two bottles of drinks, and turned to leave. As he walked, he seemed to feel that something was wrong. Never mind. It does not matter. He unscrewed the bottle cap and gulped it into his mouth. In an instant, the whole person seemed to be sublimated. Have a good drink. This source crystal flower is worth it. After Chen Sheng, there were two more awakens who reluctantly bought drinks from here. Of course, one source crystal and one bottle. Only then did Chen Sheng realize the problem, and his face was as black as the bottom of a pot. He didn't seek Tang Yu's theory. He didn't lack this source crystal. The most important thing was that he couldn't afford to lose that person. I miss his G. Teacher so much. After earning a few more origin crystals, Tang Yu felt a lot of joy. I wonder if I can open various convenience stores in the wild in the future. After all, there are many rich people in this world. Especially someone like Chen Sheng, who has both money and mathematics, is sure to be a very popular customer. Customers who can make the owner feel better. At this time, Tang Yu seemed to have just discovered Chen Yi standing beside him. Picking up the remaining half bottle of iced black tea, come on, don't you happen to have a bottle of water too, it's good to use water instead of wine, come on, make a bottle. Chen Yi laughed dryly, his hand holding the water bottle froze in mid-air, neither advancing nor retreating. I know you're thirsty too. Come on, drink a bottle, you're welcome. Tang Yu looked at Chen Yi with a half smile, and his tone suddenly turned cold, if you don't use this bottle, then you won't give me face. Hui Ren stared at him coldly behind him, and Chen Yi was left in a cold sweat, no, I, I don't want to waste this bottle. If you don't drink it, how do I know the effect of that white powder when you add it to the water? What white powder, I don't understand. Chen Yi became more and more flustered. Tang Yu didn't waste any more time, and gave Hui Ren a wink. Grey Blade grabbed the bottle of mineral water and poured it into his mouth. Chen Yi struggled and looked terrified. All of these. It has already attracted the attention of the awakened people around. At first, some people frowned, disliking Tang Yu's actions, but because of the strength of the three Tang Yu, they did not speak. But now, looking at Chen Yi's expression, these awakened ones are also a little puzzled. Maybe there's something wrong with this bottle of water. Really? As the bottle got closer, Chen Yi shouted, No, no, don't drink that for me. Is this really drugged? The faces of the awakened people around him changed. When they found out what had happened, they were outraged. They were fighting with demonized beasts in front, and as a result, there were people behind them who made tricks. Even if the target was not themselves, they were very angry. What if you also have a day when you are overcast? State your purpose. 
Grey Blade smiled. The right hand became a claw and was clasped on Chen Yi's shoulder. With a little force, Chen Yi cried out in pain and couldn't hold it any longer. Pain pain, I, I said, a scarlet wanted. Scarlet wanted order. Oops. Zhou Jianhong's expression changed, Brother Tang, if the scarlet hand issued a wanted order, I am afraid that many mercenary teams will become their eyeliners. He was worried. At this meeting, I can probably guess the identities of the three Tangyu, but I didn't expect that the Scarlet Hand would make such a big deal in order to retaliate. Tangyu didn't care. This kind of preparation has been made as early as when the person who killed the Scarlet Technique was killed. In that situation, there was no choice after all, Team 7 was too poor. Moreover, he was also aggrieved by this matter, obviously it was the seventh team who made the move first, and they still didn't give the money. Thinking. Suddenly. Tang Yu's hair rose, and an extremely dangerous feeling filled his heart. Without hesitation, roll on the spot. Standing in a straight line with him, Chen Yi's head burst open. Blood and brain plasma, sprinkled all over the place. Some of the awakened looked stunned. Boom. The gunshot sounded. Someone quickly responded, it's a sniper. Tang Yu was also afraid, if he hadn't experienced many life and death crises in the spiritual space, this time, he would have been cold. Even Elaine and Ash Blade couldn't help. After all, that shot was aimed at him, and the first person who could sense it must be himself. Looking in the direction of the gunfire. Far away. On the top floor of a building, there is a figure. The person standing in front of him was a black sniper rifle. The barrel vibrates. Bullets fly out. The sneak attack can't be done, the sniper wants to kill. Elaine's body was filled with cold air. In the pupils that are as calm as a lake, a rare anger rises, like waves rolling up in a mirror lake. She held a staff, and a hexagonal shield made of ice was instantly condensed. Spell Ice Shield This is one of the skills that Elaine learned some time ago. The ice shield intercepted the bullet's path. The sniper rifle bullet contains a lot of kinetic energy. However, this piece, which seems to be just condensed from ice, is an extremely fragile ice shield, but only a small dent appeared where the bullet hit. If you want to break this ice shield, it is still a long way off. The sniper looked through the scope, his eyes almost popping out. How could a mere piece of ice shield stop the bullets of the sniper rifle? Obviously, even a steel plate can't resist it. Chapter, 77 Building Roof Scarlet Hand, Luo Chiu, the captain of the 12th Division, with both hands, quietly waiting for the result. Luckily this time, he actually received news from the three awakened people. The 7th Detachment was folded into the opponent's hands. As the 12th Detachment with weaker overall strength, Luo Chiu was not worried at all. The people of the 7th Division are too stupid to use resources reasonably, and they even did a heads-up fight. No wonder they died so miserably. I won't foolishly collide with those people head-on. Anyway, no matter how strong the strength is, it will still be worth it. Bullets from sniper rifles. Luo Chiu glanced. The sniper Simon was intently aiming. Soon, bang gunshots sounded. Luo Chiu was very excited. As long as he killed the three survivors who didn't know whether to live or die, his status in the eyes of the boss would definitely increase. The twelfth unit might also replace the seventh unit and get more resources in the regiment. After the first shot. Soon. Sniper Simon fired two more shots. Luo Chiu stood behind, counting the gunshots, have you solved it? Simon didn't answer, just focused on aiming, and soon fired another shot. At this time, Luo Chiu felt that something was wrong. Three people, if they hit, they shouldn't have to fire the fourth shot. Or, one of the shots missed. He looked at Simon and found that there were beads of sweat falling from Simon's forehead. Simon, what's the matter? Luo Chiu frowned, isn't it a miss? Don't you claim that you can't miss a shot within two kilometers? Simon's tone trembled slightly, no, it was blocked. Blocked? Just kidding, Awakened can block sniper bullets. How about cheating? 
Luo Chiu frowned, walked to the edge of the rooftop, picked up the binoculars and looked down. He heard the sound of gunshots, and was blocked by an ice blue shield suspended in midair. Is it really blocked? Luo Chiu murmured, and suddenly, he saw a figure approaching quickly under the street. This is one of the three awakened people. According to the investigation, this person is good at using daggers and is very fast. In a few vertical jumps, he crossed several scrapped vehicles blocking the road on the street and approached quickly. Luo Chiu shouted, Don't worry about that side, someone is coming, hurry up, get rid of the one below first. Simon adjusts the muzzle. Boom! The bullet swirled and flew out, breaking through the obstacles of the heavy air. Luo Chiu looked at the awakened who was approaching rapidly below. The ice shield capable is still far away, can it be killed now? Soon his eyes widened. The last moment, the man was still on the trajectory of the bullet, but the next moment, like a ghost, the whole figure appeared not far away. The bullet is out. Simon held his breath, took aim, and shot. Play empty. Shot. If there is only one time, it may be because the other party is lucky, but if he avoids it again and again, he is a fool and can see that something is wrong. At this time, Ash Blade has come to the bottom of the building. He raised his head and glanced, without taking the stairs, stepping on the outer wall and running up step by step. Clearly defying gravity, but walking on the ground. Luo Chiu's eyes almost popped out again. Awakened people can't go against gravity like this, can they? Or, is there an ability called stepping on walls? Luo Chiu was anxious. No grass has grown on the tomb of the seventh unit, but he knows what the consequences of being approached will be. Don't you claim to have no bullets? Didn't you call yourself the White Death God? You didn't even hit a single shot, you. He cursed, picked up an automatic rifle, and shot down, die. In the face of a forest of guns to keep out the rain. Grey Blade's complexion remained unchanged. His wrist trembled, and the two daggers flew, actually blocking the bullets. Whoosh! He took the last leap and landed firmly on the rooftop, the black cloak behind him trembled. Simon's face was shocked, he put down the sniper rifle, took out a modified pistol, and was about to shoot. The next moment, a flying knife shot out, and he lay down on his back. All this in an instant. The awakened people of the 12th Division came to their senses at this time. Kill him! Luo Chiu shouted. Most of the people in the Scarlet Hand are ruthless characters and have not flinched. Or, they think that there is only one person, and it is not terrible. They took up their swords and attacked the Grey Blades from all directions. The figure of the Grey Blade is like a ghost. With a flash, he appeared behind one of the awakened ones, and the dagger stabbed in. Another turn, the blade cut through the throat, and a Scarlet Hand player was unwilling to fall. Others are afraid. Others cursed. Hui Blade was always expressionless and did not make a sound, but harvested everyone's life with maximum efficiency. This is his code of conduct as a murderer. Soon. In the entire Scarlet Hand 12 unit, only the last person is left. Captain Luo Chiu. Luo Chiu was so frightened that he could no longer have the confidence to fight. He shouted, and the whole person jumped down from the rooftop. This is suicide. Hui Ren frowned and jumped from the ten story rooftop. If there is no place to borrow, even if it is himself, he will not be able to please him. What's more, this person only has the third level of awakening. When the Grey Blade came to the edge of the rooftop, he saw Luo Chiu, who had already fallen into the air, bursting with thunder. Lightning flashes. The falling speed suddenly slowed down but the whole person suddenly flew forward under the impetus of some kind of force. He is a capable person. Far away. On the street. Tang Yu looked at Chen Yi's body inside. I was thinking of asking something, but now it seems. Standing aside, Elaine, who was holding a staff for warning, pointed to the distance, Lord, look over there. Zhou Jianhong and other awakened people also looked at the words, this is going to commit suicide by jumping off a building. Someone thought further and took a deep breath. On the rooftop, there is no doubt that it is the person of the scarlet hand. 
In other words, after a while, a certain team of the Scarlet Hand was wiped out by that ordinary-looking young man. Also forced one of them to commit suicide by jumping off the building. What kind of strength is this? The eyes they looked at Tang Yu were different. No wonder people don't care, it turns out that they are really emboldened. However, the next moment. Everyone's eyes widened, this the ability person. Escaped. Is there such an operation? Luo Chiu was wrapped in thunder light, flying out at high speed like a magnetic levitation. Grey Blade did not give up, and suddenly jumped off the roof. The awakened ones opened their mouths. The Grey Blade that fell in mid-air had no means of slowing down the gravity, but he seemed to use the air as a pedal to leap in the air. It's like stepping on the ground. Terrified. The two were far away soon, and gradually disappeared from sight. Tang Yu thought for a moment, then said, Eileen, let's go, let's catch up. The two ran fast. Zhou Jianhong and other awakened people were melancholy. Originally fighting with demonized beasts well, why did it suddenly become a life and death pursuit? Are we chasing? Someone asked. That's the person of the scarlet hand, let's forget it, in case of revenge this is fear. Fuck. If there is no brother Tang, we are still being chased away by ghosts. Whether we can survive or not is two questions. The Scarlet Hand attacked other mercenaries during the mission. This is already a big taboo. No matter what, I also catch up and see. Zhou Jianhong's tone was firm. Suddenly, he saw Chen Sheng running towards the distance. Doubt in my heart, I couldn't help shouting and asking, Captain Chen, where are you going? Chase. Chen Xing spit out a word. Chapter, 78. At the front, Luo Qiu was surrounded by lightning and moved quickly. Obviously only the strength of awakening triple layer, but the speed is faster than most of Lingdong's supermasters. Behind him, the grey blade had already fallen to the ground, and the figure was erratic, chasing after him. This is the first group. Tang Yu and Elaine, as the second group, are also chasing after them. At first, Tang Yu wasn't very fast. Seeing that Luo Qiu was about to disappear from sight, he thought about it and activated a one-time acceleration scroll. A mystical power blesses the body. In an instant, the whole body became light, and there was a feeling of fluttering. When I started running, I felt a lot of joy. That's the beauty of being rich. Kryptonites are omnipotent. Behind. The third group. Zhou Jianhong, Chen Sheng and other awakened people also wanted to catch up to see the situation. Maybe it can help a little bit, and at worst, see how things turn out. But suddenly, something was wrong. Why do I feel that the distance is getting farther and farther? Zhou Jianhong shouted and ran hard. Chen Sheng snorted coldly. With a violent force, he suddenly distanced himself from Zhou Jianhong. Just when he thought he could get closer. Ahead, Luo Qiu Hui Blade had already disappeared from sight, and even Tang Yu and Elaine, the gap between them did not decrease but increased, and was about to disappear from sight. Chen Sheng's face darkened. Hoo ha! Luo Qiu gasped. It feels like the source energy in the body is almost exhausted. But when he looked back, he found that the figure behind him was still chasing after him. In particular, he already felt that the source energy was about to be exhausted, and the speed was about to be unable to maintain, but the man still maintained the high speed. How can it be so fast? I burst out with all my strength, and even the boss and the deputy head of the team can't catch up. How can that person be so fast? Is it possible that this is also a person who has awakened some kind of acceleration ability? And, why is the opponent's staying power so strong? He gritted his teeth. Suddenly, the vision in front of him is wide, and an abandoned factory building appears in front of him. Coming. There was hope in Luo Chiu's heart, squeezing the potential of his body, and his ability exploded again. Like a gust of wind, it rushed into the workshop. Boss, save me. Luo Chiu shouted, and finally heaved a sigh of relief. Getting to this place, belonging to their scarlet hand, means. He is already safe. 
Now, Luo Chiu really wanted to see how the awakened who dared to chase after him found out that this was the post-crimson stronghold. He wanted to turn around and look at the pursuer behind him. Suddenly. There was a sharp pain in his chest, and he was stunned for a moment, only to realize that a flying knife had been inserted into him at some point. The heart was pierced from the back, and then drilled out of the chest, the tip of the knife was cold. How come? Luo Chiu's eyes widened and he glanced, only to realize that the pursuer had chased not far behind at some point. With one hand, he still maintains the posture of throwing a throwing knife. He was unwilling, and his entire body fell forward. Consciousness gradually lost. The last thing I heard was a roar from above. Lin Xiujie's eyes almost burst out with anger. An important member of his subordinates was killed under his own eyes. He could not care about the death of the captain of the 7th division, but he was distressed by Luo Chiu's death. Although Luo Chiu is the weakest among the 12 team captains, he has very good special abilities, and he is loyal enough. When cultivated, he can completely become the third master of the Scarlet Hand, or even the second master. But he was killed by an unknown pawn. Death to me. Lin Mingjie grabbed a machine gun next to him and shot frantically from a high place. Ash Blade dodged and hid behind the abandoned large equipment. Bullets whizzed against the instrument, and sparks splattered with the sound of the impact. At this time, Tang Yu and Ilian also chased after him. At first, there was only Hui Ren, and Lin Mingjie hadn't recognized it yet, but now he will look at Tang Yu and the other two, and he recognized it at once. Isn't that the three people he wanted? New hatred and old hatred intertwined, and Lin Mingjie was even more angry. Call me all, don't let them run away. The other members of the Scarlet Hand rushed out when they heard the movement. At this time, they were holding various firearms and shooting. The gunshots were endless. Resounded through this abandoned factory. Grey Blade held the dagger and tried to break through, but even if he could avoid the bullets and block the bullets with the dagger, he couldn't stand it, so many bullets. Lord Lord, what should I do? It seems to be stabbing the other side's nest. Several members of the Scarlet Hand, armed with firearms, approached slowly. This is to get around cover and shoot from the side. The others were still suppressing fire without interruption, preventing Tang Yu and the three of them from appearing. I come. Elaine held the staff and felt it roughly. The next moment, among the members of the Crimson Hand who were approaching, cold air came, the storm rolled up, and the ice and snow turned into sharp blades. Spell. Ice storm. Several people screamed for a moment, then drowned in the ice storm. Lin Mingjie frowned, Elaine's ice storm made his heart palpitate slightly. After thinking about it for a while, he shouted at the members below, special abilities are limited by distance, stay far away, and continue to suppress firepower. Deputy Head Scar stood by his side, it seems that the strength of these three people is really not weak, no wonder the 7th Division will be completely in the hands of these three people. But, the fault is, they actually came here, otherwise, I'm afraid it will take a lot of effort to clean up these three people. TSK TSK, I don't know whether to say it's bad luck, or overthinking. Scar shook his head. Below, the members of the Scarlet Hand are no longer close, while the firepower is suppressed, and on the other side, a few people pull the grenade and throw it from a distance. Depend on. Tang Yu and the others quickly moved to another bunker, and with a bang, the grenade exploded where they were just now. He has a headache. Without him, there are too many members of the Scarlet Hand, and they occupy a geographical advantage. It is like one side is on a high ground and can output as much as possible, but that side still has an absolute advantage in numbers. Although, in a short period of time, the people of the Scarlet Hand can't do anything about them. But in the same way, you can't make a sudden advance, and you can't ride on your face, which is very uncomfortable. Tang Yu looked at the open factory door behind him. If they want to leave, the people of the Scarlet Hand will not be able to stop them. The best way now is to retreat first, and then find a way to sneak into the factory building to give full play to their individual strengths. But Tay was stunned, and then retreated. He can't stand this grievance. Why was he beaten for so long in vain? 
Tang Yu opened his space backpack and thought about what props could come in handy. Small seal art scroll. Pass. Defense blessing scroll. Energy bomb. It doesn't seem to work either. Detecting lens this one can be kept. Tang Yu counted the items in his backpack, and suddenly his eyes lit up. His gaze rested on a pile of small balls. Unopened basic warrior puppet. Tang Yu asked Elaine to condense a few mirrors with ice, observed it for a while, grabbed the small ball, and threw it hard. The balls flew out. The members of the Scarlet Hand were shocked and they saw it, be careful, there are grenades, dodge quickly. The few people at the place where the ball landed rushed towards both sides in a panic, and the whole person fell to the ground. After waiting for a while, the expected explosion sound did not come. Want to bluff us? When he wanted to get up, he found that his eyes were shrouded in shadows. Chapter, 79 The members of the Scarlet Hand who fell to the ground sneered in their hearts, maybe the other party didn't even have a grenade, that's why they need to delay time like this. It's a pity that although he was interrupted by such a disturbance and stopped the firepower suppression, he still has countless companions, and those three people are only the last struggle. Just as he was about to get up, his vision suddenly dimmed. A chubby creature appeared in front of him. What the hell? Puff. The long sword fell, and the member was instantly killed. The same ending didn't just happen to this person. Although most of the members of the Scarlet Hand have the strength to awaken the second level, they can't stop the puppet's sharp weapon if they are caught off guard. After a confrontation, several people died, and the remaining members of the Scarlet Hand began to fight back. Suddenly, another round of balls was thrown towards this side. These balls expanded in mid-air, changed, and soon, one by one, the puppets with round bodies and thick and powerful arms landed on the ground with a bang. Some members of the Scarlet Hand were badly positioned, and were even ridden on the spot by a fat puppet that fell to the ground. They panicked. What the hell is this? Shoot. 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 What's the matter? It's useless to break your hands and feet, you can still move ah ah. It was followed by a scream. The basic puppet strength is indeed not strong, but the puppet's own characteristics are not afraid of death, as long as it is not damaged such as disability, it will not affect the puppet's mobility. A puppet was hit by a burst of potholes, but it had no effect, and a sword cut a member of the Scarlet Hand in two. The other puppet was beaten to pieces, but suddenly hugged a member, and the power furnace exploded. In this chaotic situation, it is possible for the basic warrior puppet to face the members of the Scarlet Hand, one for one, or even two for two. This wave is fine. Above, Lin Mingjia was stunned. One moment, everything was under control, but the next moment, the situation completely changed. In the information we investigated, is there such an ability to release puppets? Scar thought about it for a while, then shook his head, no, this is likely to be the hidden killer of the other party, but I didn't expect that among those three people, there are actually two capable people. The preciousness of the able is known to all. If it is some ordinary ability that does not increase the combat power much, they can ignore it. But these two abilities, one is ice and the other is puppet, no matter which one is, it is a very superior ability. Lin Mingjie was a little jealous. Fortunately, these two people will die here today, otherwise, with their abilities, I am afraid they will become real super powerhouses. You go down too, be careful not to let them run away. Lin Mingjie said to the two sub-commanders behind him. The two squad leaders nodded and jumped down from the height of two or three floors. Halfway through the air. A figure flashed by, and one of the sub-commanders had a blood flower blooming on his body. Originally, he landed from the air in a dashing manner. Never get up again. After the other sub-commander landed, he looked around vigilantly, whoever sneak attack, come out for me. Soon, he saw Tang Yu walking out from an abandoned device. Also greeted him. At the same time, a ball was thrown. Ah! The Scarlet Hand sub-captain sneered in his heart. According to his observation, this kind of puppet is not strong in itself, so it took a surprise and killed them by surprise, but now, he is already prepared. He swung out his sword. 
As long as the puppet is destroyed before it unfolds, there will only be a pile of scrap metal left. Boom! I didn't imagine that the ball unfolded into a puppet. On the contrary, the ball burst open at once. The raging flames drowned him. Obviously he didn't have a chance to think about why the script was different. Above. Lin Mingjia and Scar both had vigilance on their faces at this time. The young man who had just killed the squad leader with one blow was around them at this time, and his figure was suddenly far and near. Scar had a cut on his arm. Boss. What should I do, this guy is too fast, how can it be so fast, obviously the breath is similar to us. The grey blade entered the battle state, and the breath naturally broke out. However, even though they should be of similar strength, the other party actually suppressed the two of them with just one person. Lin Mingjie's eyes were solemn. You should also be an ability person. The ability to increase speed is indeed a top expert. Unfortunately, the ability to increase speed is not enough to see. As he spoke, his skin turned bronze, his entire body swelled, and he burst his upper body clothes all at once, revealing exaggerated muscles. His special abilities. Muscle. It is a kind of transformation system. All aspects of physical fitness have been greatly improved. Caught you. Lin Mingjie kicked the ground, and the iron plate sank with a bang, and he charged straight up with a violent aura. Ordinary people are shocked by this momentum, and they will be scared on the spot. Scar couldn't keep up with the rhythm, just clicked, it's amazing that someone can force the boss's transformation ability. The two faced each other. Bang 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 fight together. Scar looked dazzled. Suddenly, Lin Mingjia attacked for a while, and the whole person staggered back, with a deep scratch on his chest. If he wasn't in the process of transformation, this stab wound would be enough to make him seriously injured. But at this time, Lin Mingjia's eyes were a little frightened. Feel yourself like a prey. The opponent is the hunter. With this kind of skill, you can't be an awakener of loose people. Who the hell are you? I know, you must be someone sent by the old ghost, and you want to secretly attack us. Lin Mingjie wanted to run away, but speed was grey blade strength. If he was facing the gang, he would have been able to hold on for a while longer. This loss of confidence caused many mistakes in the battle. In an instant, his body was covered with scars. He also found that he could not escape, and when he gritted his teeth, he burst out with the last strength. Hit it hard. An axe cut the grey blade in half, and before he was happy, he saw the grey blade that had been broken in two, split into two figures, one left and one right rushing towards him. Just a moment of astonishment. A dagger has been drilled into his heart. Whisk thoroughly. On the other side, seeing that his boss couldn't take it anymore, Scar naturally didn't want to step forward to help. Anyway, if the two of them are added together, they can't beat it. It's better to take the opportunity and run away. He secretly escaped from the side of the factory building. A murmur sounded. Freeze. Cold air came from all directions. Scar found that his movements were getting slower and slower, and he struggled hard, however, he was pierced by a long sword behind him, and he felt a chill. Tang Yu withdrew the long sword, his wrists trembled slightly, and threw off the blood stains on the sword. He looked at the scar on the ground again. This time, it won't be too poor. A few streets away from the Crimson Hand stronghold. Lin Wei stayed in the center of the team, and a subordinate came forward to report. Boss, a shootout broke out in the area of Industrial Road. There should be mercenaries fighting. Lin Wei waved his hand, don't worry about it, you're going to have a headache, and this is also a headache for the old ghost Lu. Suddenly he frowned. Industrial Road a bit familiar, seems to have heard of it somewhere. He remembered. Mingjie had told him that the mercenary group had a stronghold outside the city, on the industrial road. The escort, and the people from the first corps, come with me, the others, move on. Chapter, 80 Vault of the Crimson Hand Tang Yu opened a box, cold weapon, no interest, no interest. He opened the second box again, hot weapons, it's barely enough, let's put it away first. The third box. Fourth box. 
This treasury that stores various supplies of the Scarlet Hand, especially the Source Crystal, is actually packed in boxes. This completely subverted Tang Yu's perception of the Scarlet Hand. Originally thought, they were quite poor, in fact, unexpectedly rich. So this robbery is very valuable ah, uh, how can this be called a robbery, it is obviously a deserved trophy. Tang Yu and Hui Ren were busy, moving some valuable loot into the space backpack. Elaine is not here. After cleaning up the stronghold of the Scarlet Hand, the three of them rummaged inside and out. In addition to this one treasure trove, the Scarlet Hand has another treasure trove. The treasure house of those girls that they captured. When I first saw it, the scene was really unsightly. Not only naked strips, ginkgo fruits, but even many special tools, tortured these girls to the point of pain. Shocking. In fact, Tang Yu was mentally prepared to see something here that symbolized the dark side of human nature, but he still felt uncomfortable seeing it with his own eyes. Just like watching a horror movie, many brave people are completely unaffected by the movie, but once some terrifying event happens in reality and happens around them, I am afraid that few people can maintain that kind of calm. What's more, it was the first time he had seen such a scene. After these girls were rescued, some committed suicide on the spot, and for the rest, Tang Yu asked Elaine to take them away through another door. Of course not to escort them to the Lindong shelter. There are a lot of these girls and their feet are slow. I really know how long it will take to walk back to Lindongshan. Tang Yu doesn't mind helping a bunch of people, but he is a few minutes how can a few people from the Source Crystal be wasting their good time here. So, let Elaine find a military team in the surrounding area, and she doesn't have to show up at any time, just leave a or an anonymous name at the end. If he did such a good thing without leaving his name, the next time he summoned an adventurer, it would have to be the Emperor of Europe, right? While thinking about it, I put the supplies into the space backpack. Some boxes are too big, and you have to find a way to deal with them before you can put them in. After finally loading all the supplies, Tang Yu suddenly felt something vibrating in his backpack. Take it out and see that it is a detection lens. The kind used. And this kind of vibration type prompt is to trigger the alarm information. He took a look, and some of the many small dots displayed on the detection lens were rushing towards him quickly, and there was not much distance left. The ones marked here are all Lin Wei's staff. What is that guy Lin Wei doing here? Looking at the speed, he seems to be in a hurry. Tang Yu couldn't understand. If the military learns that there are mercenaries fighting here, it may send someone to check, but what does Lin Wei have to do with the Scarlet Hand? If I have to say it, Lin Wei's surname is Lin, and the head of the Scarlet Hand is also surnamed Lin, but there are more people surnamed Lin in the world. And many more. Tang Yu carefully recalled the appearance of Lin Wei and Lin Mingjia, it seems, maybe, probably, really similar. His face suddenly became strange. Looking at the detection lens again, it was gradually approaching many small spots in the abandoned factory building. Suddenly a bold idea came to mind. Lin Wei rode an armored vehicle. The first corps under his hand, the main combat force, was fast and fast in front. As a confidant, he was also the strongest escort team. Half of them were always by Lin Wei's side, and the other half acted as the escort. Mobile power to destroy some powerful demonized beasts. The team moves fast. Lin Wei was a little uneasy. The Scarlet Hand is indeed related to him. To be precise, it is the head of the Scarlet Hand, who has a very close relationship with him. Because of an accident that year, I learned later by accident that he had an illegitimate child who was living abroad. Compared with his eldest son who is ignorant and incompetent, this illegitimate son, regardless of character or ability, is more likable to him. It's just that Lin Wei can only hide this matter because her family is strong. But he also secretly supported Lin Mingjia and helped him create a career. After the end of the world, the wife and son who are far away in biting have long been unknown, but the youngest son happened to be in Lin Dong. He also did not reveal his identity, but instead let Lin Mingjie develop independently, and finally established the Scarlet Hand Mercenary Group, which was well known in Lin Dong's sanctuary. It belongs to one of the forces that Lin Wei secretly prepared for. 
No one would have imagined that, even if old Goe Lu had suspected that there was a deal between the Scarlet Hand and him, it was impossible to imagine that this was a force that was completely in his hands. Because of this, he was a little anxious. In particular, based on the reactions of the scouts ahead, the battle seems to be very intense. Soon. Lin Wei came to the abandoned factory building. There was no movement inside at this time. The door is open, but because the outer wall of the factory building is closed, the interior light is dim, and you can't see much, like a giant beast that eats people. Lin Wei frowned and raised his hand to call for his subordinates. A group of people guarded him and walked into the factory with vigilance. An awakened person turned on the searchlight, and Lin Wei could see clearly. His face changed slightly. In the factory building, there are corpses everywhere, some frozen into ice cubes, some seem to have been bombed to death. And their bodies are charred, and many more, but they seem to be hacked to death by sharp blades, and their bodies are mutilated. The scarlet hand is over. No, not right. He didn't see Lin Mingjie's body. Check it out for me, I want to know what happened here. A group of awakened were about to spread out when suddenly someone pointed in the distance, Boss, there is a situation over there. Lin Wei followed the directions and saw two chubby figures, probably puppets, walking towards the depths of the factory building on top of a person. The person being framed was covered in blood, but Lin Wei recognized it at a glance. That person was his second son, Lin Mingjie. Chase, save that person for me immediately. Many awakens from the first corps rushed forward, but Lin Wei still felt that it was not enough, so he dispatched many experts from the escort team around him. These people are extremely fast, and in the blink of an eye, they have already crossed half the distance. Suddenly, a few balls flew from the depths of the workshop. The face of the guard at the front changed, and they dodged away. As a result, the ball fell to the ground, unfolded into a few big fat puppets, and fought with the awakeners of the escort team on the spot. Of course, these puppets were not opponents, they were quickly resolved, but after such a delay, Lin Mingjie was dragged away for a long distance. Especially when the ground was messy and bumpy after being dragged, Lin Mingjie's face seemed even more ugly. There is a kind of paleness like a dead person. These awakened masters quickly chased after them. Suddenly, several more balls flew from the depths of the workshop. This is so. With experience, these awakened masters did not dodge or evade, and two of them took up the sword and slashed. Boom! The source bomb exploded, and the first two awakened people were swallowed by high energy flames. Lin Wei's face darkened. I don't know if it's mad or angry. The third squadron, the fourth squadron, and the fifth squadron, you all go, flank from both sides, and don't give the chance to those who are secretive. Awakeners from several squadrons led the way forward, and the secret enemies were still obstructing them through various means, but they seemed a little powerless. Soon several awakened people caught up with the two puppets holding Lin Mingjie, and they rescued Lin Mingjie without much effort. But soon, someone's face changed drastically, and he couldn't help shouting, Dead, dead. Lin Wei stumbled upon hearing this. His face turned pale. He suddenly thought of something and shouted, Quick, come back. Boom. A deafening explosion sounded, and there was a fire all around. The reflection reddened Lin Wei's pale face. He no longer cared about the people who were sent out, and could only retreat quickly towards the outside under the protection of a group of guards. He didn't even dare to walk through the gate, for fear of being ambushed again, he ordered someone to forcibly break the outer wall of the factory building and rushed out. At the last moment, Lin Wei glanced back. His eyes fell on Lin Mingjie, who was swallowed by the explosion. He seemed to see a few figures in the deeper part of the factory building, illuminated by the fire, facing him, smiling and waving. A mouthful of old blood spurted out. A treasure called Archives has been used up, so there is only one update today. Praise the party, the most glorious one, the better every day, and the old one. Chapter, 81 Territory, in front of the castle Several blue circles lit up, brilliance flashed, and three figures appeared. It was Tang Yu and the three who had just returned from Lindong. After sending away Ilian and Huiren, 
Tang Yu returned to the big bed in the room and lay down on his back. Ah, three days apart, like every autumn. Sure enough, it still smells like a big bed, which makes people nostalgic. Suddenly remembering that the clothes on his body were dirty, Tang Yu frowned and continued to lie down. Anyway, there is an automatic dust removal and purification function inside the castle, plus various automatic and semi-automatic facilities, it must be a gospel for lazy cancer patients before the end of the world. It's just a pity that his lazy cancer has been almost cured by the end of the world. I don't know what happened to Lin Wei, is he dead or not? Having said that, Tang Yu knew that Lin Wei was definitely not dead. Tang Yu didn't plan to fight hard when he realized that Lin Wei was leading many awakened people to come. It's so hard to get a small copy of the Scarlet Hand. Lin Wei has more awakened people and stronger strength. He said that he did not intend to make fun of himself. Or wait for the home field advantage in the future, no matter how you want to play. But let's go he was a little reluctant. Coincidentally, a large amount of explosives were found in the treasury of the Scarlet Hand. Things went smoothly. Lin Mingjie became a typical case of cheating. Take a break. Tang Yu came to the storage room and first took out the small box containing the source crystal. Looking at the constantly jumping origin crystal values on the panel, Tang Yu felt even happier. Life is good because there is money to spend. If you want a better life, you have to find other people's money to spend. The statistical results of Yuan Jing finally stopped at the five-digit number starting with the number eight. Looking at this amount of source crystals, Tang Yu fell into deep thought. It's not that he's unhappy, it's just that he feels that his talent for making money may be a little crooked. Obviously, hunting demonized beasts is the most serious way to earn source crystals, but he thought about it carefully. Since the establishment of the territory, the source crystals obtained from demonized beasts may or may not be really many. Instead, a few windfalls became his main income. This can't be done, we must hunt down demonized beasts, earn source crystals, open up the market, and get on the right track how could such a serious person misunderstand his talent for making money? It's an illusion. It must be an illusion. Tang Yu already had several ideas in mind. First of all, the source crystal must be spent. More than 80 zero zero source crystals, plus the source crystals that Luo Zhe led the patrol these days. As well as the demonized beasts occasionally shot to death by the territorial defense buildings, the source crystals earned, the total amount of source crystals can be added up. 90,000. This is undoubtedly a huge sum of money. But it is also very inexpensive. Whether it is to upgrade buildings or build new buildings in the territory, it can cost tens of thousands, and these tens of thousands of source crystals can't last long. To spend on key points. First of all, you must upgrade the castle level. Many important buildings must have a third level castle to unlock. More importantly, after upgrading the castle, the territory will be greatly expanded. According to his estimation, the territory can spread to the edge of the source crystal or in the back mountain. He was greedy for that source crystal mine. It's a pity that the last time I went with no. 1 and no. 2. I couldn't get any benefits. Even the ones who rushed forward at that time were only a small number of demonized beasts hidden under the rhizomes of the giant tree. Tang Yu had no way of knowing how many demonized beasts were at the bottom of the pit. No matter how strong no. 1 and no. 2 are, they can't be cleaned up. What's more, there are many demonized beasts, and among them, there must be a lot of high-level demonized beasts. Referring to the situation around the abyss crack, Tang Yu felt that the last time he was able to do it. It may have been good luck to come back without a hitch. And this time, Tang Yu had to make a complete preparation. For example, building defensive buildings on the edge of potholes. This is very beautiful. When he used to play strategy games, he also liked to insert defensive buildings in front of the enemy's hometown. So. Call up the long-lost system panel, select the most core column, and upgrade the castle. Ding! Upgrading a second-level castle to a third-level castle consumes 10, 0, 0 units of source crystals. Do you want to upgrade? Yes no. Immediately, the idea was determined. The next moment, Tang Yu was stunned. 
In the castle, he did not feel any tremors in the castle, however, he could feel the castle changing. The original layout has not changed, but on the outside of the original castle, many buildings have been built, which are connected together and become a castle complex. And all this, Tang Yu didn't see it with the naked eye, as if he should have known that. Ding! Level 3 Castle, Unlock New Features, Remote Control Remote Control, when the Lord is not within the territory, it can also be remotely controlled, such as building territory buildings, visiting functional buildings, etc. Tang Yu's eyes lit up. God knows how heartbroken he felt when he wasted the daily refresh summoning opportunity of the tavern in the past few days when he went to Lindong even with the summoning probability of the tavern. He couldn't actually summon adventurers he was satisfied with. But with such a function, it will be much more convenient in the future. Even if he will stay in the territory most of the time, he can't stand it, and occasionally he has to go out. That is to say, that kind of induction to the territory is this kind of remote control ability. Tang Yu looked at the territory map in the system panel, and suddenly realized that he no longer needed to view it from this panel. Instead, he closed his eyes and felt it carefully, and the map of the territory appeared in his mind. Including a yellow-green dot. This map, even clearer than before, has a small outline of the terrain within the territory. He suddenly remembered something, and with a thought, a crystal ball floated up. Initially, the role of this crystal ball was detection and warning, and the display screen was much more detailed than the territory map. And this time, with his control, the crystal ball lit up, and a scene appeared. It is no longer a map, but a complete picture, like a bird's eye view, including the entire territory. It seems to be able to get a little closer. Controlling the viewing angle to zoom in, Tang Yu saw the survivors at work, the patrol team members patrolling with firearms, and even a few demonized beasts wandering around. Through the crystal ball, Tang Yu's eyes could fall on every corner of the territory. After a circle, the lens of the crystal ball returned to the sky above the castle. Tang Yu zoomed in on the camera, wanting to take a good look at the beauty of the castle. Then, the camera cuts through the castle walls and appears in a room. It was foggy inside. Tang Yu was dumbfounded, this lens also has a built-in wall penetration function. And what is this place, it still has its own fog, is there such a place in the castle? His eyes suddenly widened. There seemed to be a rushing sound of running water. In the room, in the bathtub, there was a figure of Ping Ting, with blue hair and skin that was better than snow. Tang Yu couldn't help but stare at it. He saw that the mist filled his eyes, blocking his sight, like a holy light, especially dazzling. Look up to the sky. Chapter, 82 Tang Yu was lying on the bed, staring at the ceiling, his eyes blank. The territory has been upgraded, and the next thing to consider is choosing buildings. There are many newly unlocked buildings in the third level territory, such as energy patios, spell factories, altars, spell towers, and more. Energy patios must be built. If you want to use defensive buildings to deal with demonized beasts, this thing is essential. Otherwise, every time the artillery is fired, the source crystals in stock will decrease. How uncomfortable is this? This kind of upfront investment, in short, will not suffer a loss. In addition, the warehouse must also be built. This is a building unlocked in secondary territories. With the warehouse, Tang Yu doesn't have to ask the survivors to carry the materials every time he builds a building, which is not only troublesome, but also too restrictive. Now, as long as there are sufficient raw materials in the warehouse, the system buildings can be constructed at will. As for the core building, Tang Yu thought about it and decided to upgrade a tavern first. He set off immediately, and the first destination was the small square in front of the city gate. It was decided to put a warehouse here, which has been thought of for a long time, but it is just because of lack of money. Walking all the way here, Tang Yu found that there were many more faces in the territory, and the population seemed to be much larger than before he left. Tang Yu could not be recognized by a new face, but the old survivors recognized him at once, and introduced them to the new survivors with great enthusiasm. This is the director of the shelter. Then enjoy the admiration of the new survivors although this look is not for them. Old Chen, urged them to move all the materials into the warehouse, 
the sooner the better. After finishing this, Tang Yu came to the tavern again. With remote control, even if you stay in the castle, you can control the upgrade of the tavern. However, Tang Yu always felt a little more emotional when he came to the scene. Level 2 taverns are still inconspicuous and cover a small area. After the expansion of the castle, it has spread to the edge. It is estimated that if it is upgraded to another level, I am afraid that core buildings such as taverns will be included. It doesn't seem to be a problem. First upgrade to the third level tavern, increase the probability of summoning, and then save a good luck. I hope that this time I can summon a good adventurer. Ding! The tavern has been upgraded to level 3. The probability of summoning high-quality adventurers is increased, and the highest adventurers can be summoned at the peak of the condensed origin realm. The number of follower contract columns has been increased to 9. Unlock new features, the number of free daily summons can be stored, and the probability of summoning high-quality adventurers can be increased by merging the number of summons. Tang Yu was stunned, as if a new function had been added. In the game, the tavern has been upgraded to three levels, but there are no new features. And this fusion function Tang Yu tried to put in the source crystal, this time instead of summoning it immediately, it became the number of times it could be summoned. Fusing three summons, there is a great chance to summon adventurers with sea level qualifications. Fusing twenty summons, there is a great chance to summon adventurers with B level qualifications. Fusion cough. Tang Yu tried it, and he had merged it 60 times, and he couldn't fail to show the probability of summoning A-level qualifications, let alone a great probability. Probably A-level qualifications can no longer be obtained by pure Krypton crystals, bloodline and character are the key. And these two points, he should, probably, probably not lack. The probability is very high, the system description is 99%, this fusion, from the perspective of mathematical expectations, is undoubtedly profitable. If the fusion summoning is not used, the second level tavern will need to be summoned eight or nine times to summon a sea level qualified adventurer. Although the probability of the third level tavern has increased, it must be more than three times. Tang Yu didn't care about an adventurer with sea level qualifications, but B level was different. In reality, the followers of the contract did not say that they were fired. For the sake of long term development, Tang Yu still hoped that he could sign a contract with some adventurers with sufficient potential. B level qualifications can meet his requirements. However, Tang Yu was a little puzzled why it was impossible to make it 100% with a very high probability, so it would be better for everyone. Could it be that the Great Dao is 50, Tian Yan is 4 or 9, and one of them escapes, but this is not right? The probability of summoning low quality adventurers in this line, he does not want it. In order to try the fusion probability just now, I invested 60 summoned origin crystals. 30,000 in total. Can't buy any more. These 60 summoning opportunities can be divided into three parts and fused 20 times. In this way, three more trustworthy people can be created. Tang Yu did not call immediately. Instead, I went back to the castle, bathed, and burned incense after the patrol team searched for materials many times, sacrificial supplies such as incense also had a lot of territory, which could come in handy at this time. Walk into the tavern, pose, and prepare a slogan. Call. The summoning circle formed by the fusion of twenty summoning opportunities looks more mysterious and gorgeous, as if in order to match the Krypton crystal with a high enough force, even the summoning circle is dressed in costumes. For the first time, blue light appeared. A burly figure with a big back hair appeared in the summoning circle. For the second time, there is no doubt that it is the blue light that represents the B-level qualification. A figure in black clothes and a hat appeared in the circle. The third time. After being summoned three times in a row, Tang Yu felt that his whole body was collapsed. Although the result was the expected 3B, but a huge sum of money was spent in a short period of time, this feeling can only be said that he had no chance to experience it before. After summoning the three followers, Tang Yu asked Elaine and Luo Zhe to take them to a brief wash before putting on suitable clothes. After all, the adventurers summoned by him, no matter what their aptitudes, have suffered miserable encounters. Elaine almost drowned in the black tide. Luo Zhe was disabled because he resisted the Kuroshio. 
Ash Blade is also in a very bad situation for some reason. The same goes for the three new adventurers. Soon, Tang Yu held a simple welcome ceremony in the castle, officially welcoming the three followers to become a member of the territory. He looked at the first person. This follower with a burly stature and a big back hair. The name is Xie Yi. At this time, he is wearing a black suit. If he wears sunglasses, he will be a black high-level thug, but Tang Yu is unexpected. Han, his profession is not a soldier, but a musketeer. She must have been a fighter delayed by the musketeers. The second is the young man wearing a bamboo hat the hat has been removed, and his name is only one word, empty. His occupation is a fighter, but he is very different from Luo Zhe. He is not burly at all, and looks thin and small when standing next to Xie Yi, but Sora's eyes are very sharp. He carries three swords on his back, of different lengths and sizes, this is a swordsman. Extremely Kendo. The third follower, although also with B-level qualifications, finally proved his European bloodline. Occupation is a priesthood, or a priesthood that is good at healing. Among the five major occupations, mages and priesthoods are relatively rare, and most of the priesthoods are good at fighting. Fortunately, this time a nurse was successfully summoned. Priest Winnie. Seeing her broad mind, Tang Yu knew that the amount of milk was not bad. Absolutely plenty. Chapter, 83. These three followers are all good. Among them, Shay and Winnie are both at the peak of the fifth level of awakening, stuck on the bottleneck of the foundational stage, while Sora is the master of the seventh level of awakening and body shaping. Among the three, Xie Yi and Kong Tang Yu plan to arrange them in the patrol team. After they became familiar with the business in the future, they could lead a team to expand the land reclamation business in the territory. As for Winnie, as a precious healing priesthood, of course, she would carry it wherever she needed it. On the other hand, Winnie can form a medical team in simple understanding, Winnie's medical skills are extraordinary in addition to her ability to heal spells. Healing spells cannot be learned without sufficient qualifications. Although medical skills are not easy to learn, there is still hope. After the welcome. On the first day, Tang Yu did not assign positions to the three new followers, let them get acquainted first. Winnie took Elaine's hand and left together. She is also curious about the environment in the new world. When Sora learned that there was a training facility at the training camp, he went straight there. I feel that in the future, I still need to make a table for my followers to subdivide their occupations and strengths, so that they can better arrange their work. It's just that he's not good at this. Tang Yu touched his chin and fell into thought. After finishing these things, I finally had time to learn about the changes in these days and territories with Luo Zhe. The number of survivors exceeded 300 yesterday. In addition to food, a lot of supplies have been collected, including daily necessities, medicines, etc. Which are enough to supply the current number of survivors in the territory. In addition, the construction of the villa area has been basically completed. With the increase in the number of survivors, the construction center of the territory has been moved to the outside of the city. However, most of the survivors would rather crowd inside the city wall than live outside the city wall. As for the specific details of the construction, the Lord can ask Chen Haiping, he has detailed statistics there. These days, after Tang Yu left the territory, things were basically handed over to Luo Zhe and Chen Haiping. From the current point of view, the two have handled the size of the territory very well, and it feels the same whether he is in the territory or not. Suddenly there was a slight sadness. Hey, wait, the population of the territory has exceeded 300. I remember when I left, the population just exceeded 100. And how long has he been away, why does the entire territory seem to have undergone earth-shaking changes? When he stayed in the territory before, had there been so many changes in three days? It's mainly because of the addition of survivors from a shelter that the number of survivors in the territory is now much larger. Oh. Even the entire shelter's survivors moved in. There are still some large and small shelters in the surrounding area. Of course, they can't reach the level of the original shade shelter or streamwood shelter. Most of the small shelters have hundreds of survivors. The shelter is also just a place to hide, 
far from meeting the real requirements of the shelter. The number of these survivors is not much, but it is not much. The head of its shelter can be said to stand at the top of the power, holding the power of life and death in the shelter. Although in Tang Yu's opinion, the life of such a shelter may not be comparable to that of ordinary survivors on his side, but for some people, it is better to be a chicken head than a phoenix tail. Letting them abandon the power in their hands and merge into someone else's sanctuary is not something that anyone can do. Because their shelter was about to be destroyed by demonized beasts, they had no choice. Luo Zhe told the matter slowly, this shelter is in the county town more than 10 kilometers away. I led the team to search several times before, but I didn't find the shelter. This time, it was the survivors of the shelter. The man came out to look for food, but was discovered by the demonized beast, and all of a sudden the entire shelter was in crisis. Finally, after the matter is settled, the survivors will be moved to our shelter. Roger put it simply. Just some words revealed between the lines, let Tang Yu know that this process was not so smooth. Perhaps, when the small shelter was about to be breached by demonized beasts, Luo Zhe took the patrol team members to rescue those people, and the survivors of the shelter were grateful. However, when Luo Zhe wanted to bring these survivors to the territory, he was bound to be obstructed by the person in charge of the original shelter even if the shelter was no longer safe because of this demonized beast attack. There are also people who are reluctant to give up the power in their hands. Apocalypse is a world where there is competition for limited resources, not just food and medicine, but survivors are also a resource. Men are forced to go out to collect food, and sometimes they are used as bait to attract demonic beasts. Women can use it without saying much. These are all resources. If Luo Zhe wants to take it away, he will inevitably be blocked. Conflict is also inevitable. Of course, Tang Yu estimated that the director of the shelter, and the high-rises who blocked it, at this time. The grass on the tomb may have been three feet high this is not surprising, the grass grows rapidly in the post-apocalyptic era, and maybe this will be more than three times. Ruler. Well, yes, it's simple and rude. In the end times, why should you be reasonable when you can talk about fists? Efficiency is the most important thing. Luo Zhe went on to say, Lord Lord, there are many survivors who want to join the patrol recently, because you haven't come back yet, so this matter is put on hold. What should I do now? How many people want to join the patrol? There must be twenty or thirty people. Few of them wanted to join in the past, but now that they see the benefits, they come together one by one. He snorted coldly. Tang Yu pondered. There are not many people in the patrol team now, and it does need to absorb some fresh blood. However, the patrol team is not a public toilet, and it is not something you can enter if you want. In any case, the patrol team is also the guarding force on the surface of the shelter, and it must be strong enough. So. Let's get an assessment, divided into a written test and a martial arts test. Only after passing the assessment can you join the patrol. Luo Zhe nodded and immediately went to prepare for this matter. Shady shelters, although the number of survivors living in them, is only a few hundred. But as the patrols continued to open up the surrounding area, the reputation of the shade shelter gradually spread. Many shelters around, including some wild wandering awakeners, have heard of the green shade shelter, which has strength, materials, and equipment. Many awakens also came here admiringly. I think it's blown to the sky. Two survivors, this day came to the shade shelter. One was tall and thin, the other was short and fat, and it was the tall and thin man who spoke. Big brother, big brother, you can't say the same, this green shade should be well equipped, otherwise we will come in vain. The short and fat man persuaded. It's not you. Why do you provoke that alien beast, otherwise the weapon will not be thrown there. The chunky man was suddenly aggrieved like a little boy weighing 200 pounds. The two walked into the shade shelter and could see many survivors who were busy working. The tall and thin man had already inquired about the way to obtain equipment in the shade shelter. Either buy it with source crystals, or complete the tasks issued by the shelter in exchange for equipment. He stopped a passing awakened. How can I get to the employment center? The awakened was a little impatient, but suddenly felt the breath of a tall and thin man, his face turned pale, 
his legs tightened. And he could not help pointing to the distance, in the east area of the villa area, the third villa in the direction of the number is, or else I'll take you there. The tall and thin man refused and left with the short, fat man. The awakened who was asked for directions, and his companion, looked at each other in the direction far away, shocked. The two people just now were the Hammer brothers, right? The companion nodded, yes, Brother Hammer, this is the strongest loose awakener in the surrounding area. It is named because the weapons are two big hammers. It is said that the strength is stronger than that of many shelters. Not only that. The awakened who was asked for directions continued, these two people heard that they had also been to Lindong Sanctuary, but in order to become stronger and sharpen themselves, they chose to leave and live in the wild every day. The real powerhouse. Such a strong man came to the shelter, I'm afraid it is to buy weapons, these days, a lot of people like this have come, but I didn't expect that even the Hammer Brothers came, what is our shelter? How fast is it going? He said with a bitter look on his face, I knew earlier that I chose to join the patrol team. Maybe this time, you and I also have good strength. Chapter, 84 When the tall thin man and the short fat man came to the employment center, they had already seen many awakened people coming in and out. As a rare official building in the shade shelter, the employment center has been expanded a lot. For example, a simple shed was built around the villa, and the outer wall of the villa was opened up, which suddenly became a lot more spacious. But it looks a little ugly. Tang Yu also noticed this when he passed by. If he still had money, he could customize a building and use it as a future office space. Brother Hammer doesn't think so. They have been to many shelters, and most of what they have seen are all kinds of tragic situations. Although there are fewer people in the green shade, I have to say that all kinds of facilities are well built. Especially the city wall I just saw. Big brother, big brother, the city wall of this sanctuary looks more majestic and magnificent than what I heard. The strength of this sanctuary is probably not bad. Big brother, big brother, you must keep your temper. You say it. The tall and thin man snorted coldly and slapped the short, fat man on the head. The short, fat man shrank back, aggrieved. After the two entered the employment center, they saw that it was divided into two parts, one was a place to receive and hand over tasks, and the other was a place to buy supplies and equipment, which was obviously newly developed. The tall and thin man walked over, I want to buy two big hammers, how many source crystals do I need? He gestured for the size of the hammer. Big hammer? Clerk Xiao Chen was stunned. There is no weapon like a big hammer. Look over there, there are only standard long swords, standard war knives and standard combat uniforms. The tall and thin man followed the pointer and looked at the list. Indeed, the equipment that could be purchased was very rare. But how did he hear that any equipment could be bought here? It really came out. However Clerk Xiao Chen continued, the hammer is relatively unpopular. If you want it, you can apply to the shelter for customization. How many source crystals? The tall and thin man patted the table, and the short, fat man quickly grabbed him. Xiao Chen glanced at the tall and thin man with the same expression on his face, if you want to customize equipment, just spending source crystals is not enough. You also need to complete certain employment tasks. It's so troublesome. There's no other way. Also, if you can join the patrol team, you can use the patrol team's contribution to exchange for custom weapons. The tall and thin man turned and left. The chunky man followed closely. The two walked to the other side and observed the hiring task. The tall and thin man frowned, if you want to achieve customized equipment, you need to complete those difficult tasks. For us, it is not easy, not to mention that you have no weapons now, and your combat effectiveness is greatly reduced. The chunky man was about to say something. Suddenly, there was a loud noise from the door. A young man in a black full-body combat uniform walked in, followed by a number of awakened people, who seemed to be waiting for something. The young man put a notice on the wall, looked at the excited awakened people in front of him, coughed dryly, about the recruitment of the patrol team. There has been a clear result, the specific matters are on this notice, yes, remember don't get too excited and don't get too excited too soon. Young people leave. 
the others rushed forward immediately. The patrol team has finally recruited new members. After waiting for a long time, I finally waited until today. Join the patrol team and kill demonized beasts, I finally have the opportunity to become a master. Let me see what's written on it, wait, you still need an assessment to join the patrol team? Didn't you just join last time? Assessment? Written test and martial arts test, what the hell is a written test? The place was chaotic. The tall and thin man and the short, fat man looked at each other, both confused. This patrol duty seems to be a sweet pastry. Could it be because the patrol team is very oily? The two of them couldn't help but feel a little disgusted. Where did the patrol team's oil and water come from, of course, it came from the survivors. During the post-apocalyptic period, many of the shelters they had visited had this situation. I thought that this shade shelter should be a more formal shelter, but I didn't expect this to happen. They didn't hold grievances for ordinary survivors. They just felt that the strength of the awakened was not used to deal with demonized beasts, but was used to oppress ordinary survivors. How strong can such an awakened be? Both were somewhat disappointed by the patrol. Suddenly someone tapped the tall and thin man on the shoulder. The tall and thin man was stunned, and saw a burly man in a black suit, with a big back, standing beside him. This big man is so burly, it seems that even the light is blocked. The tall and thin man looked at himself and then at the stupid younger brother beside him. Probably, only his height, plus his younger brother's weight, could barely compare to this big man. I saw the big man in the black suit smiling, are you going to sign up for the patrol assessment? The tall and thin man just wanted to deny it. There was another awakener who was quite familiar and immediately rushed, of course, who doesn't want to join the patrol team here, the patrol team has high welfare. And there is a master like Captain Luo, as long as you can enter, point to maybe ten days and a half months later, I can be called a master by others. He said, obviously he has entered a deep fantasy. The tall and thin man was a little puzzled, how can you become a master when you join the patrol team? You want to join the patrol team, not because of the benefits inside. The benefits of the patrol team are of course good. Let's put it this way, after joining the patrol team, you can get a whole set of advanced equipment, such as long swords and knives, and combat power. If you buy this set of equipment, it will take dozens of sources at least. Jing, this is likely to be an amount that you will never earn in a lifetime, but if you join the patrol team, you will be directly assigned a set, you say, does this benefit make people drool? The tall and thin man nodded. The chunky man nodded, and couldn't help wiping the non-existent saliva. Why does the shelter provide such good benefits to the patrol team? Of course, one of the reasons is that the patrol team guards the safety of the shelter. Another point is that these equipments are used to fight against demonized beasts and to improve their strength, not just look around. Not only that, members of the patrol team are only eligible to use the advanced training equipment of the training camp. It is said that those equipment are very helpful for improving their strength. Moreover, the patrol team also regularly organizes to go out to hunt demonized beasts. I think you have just arrived in the green shade. You must think that hunting demonized beasts is so dangerous, how can it be considered a welfare, but this matter is in the patrol team. It is welfare, the danger of hunting demonized beasts is indeed there, but the members of the patrol team have luxurious equipment and the guidance of the Master Luo, if they can't even deal with demonized beasts, they might as well die. The Awakened said with confidence. I am definitely confident to join the patrol team and become a master. If you can also join the patrol team, then we will be comrades in arms in the future. It's just he glanced at the tall and thin man, this brother doesn't seem to have any strength, he has to work harder. The Awakened looked at the other side again, and Xie Yi, who was wearing a black suit, glanced at him, this big brother looks very powerful. Big brother, you have just come to green shade, right? She thought about it and nodded. The man continued, that's right, big brother, you look very good. After joining the patrol, let me take you to pretend to force you to fly. Xie Yi listened to the words of the Awakened, and looked at the registration point that was already lined up in front of him. Suddenly a little dazed. What did he come here for? It seems to be to feel the lively atmosphere, 
but why did it suddenly become like this? Next to him, Brother Hammer was even more stunned. Did they say they wanted to sign up? Did you say you wanted to join the patrol? No. But it seems that this patrol is really different, not as bad as they imagined, but unexpected. Hunting and killing demonized beasts has become the activity of the patrol team. Every member aims to improve their strength. This successfully piqued their curiosity. Chapter, 85 The assessment of the patrol team is scheduled for tomorrow. As for today, let's finish the rest of the work now. Tang Yu snapped his fingers and counted the unresolved matters. He clearly said he wanted to be a hands-off lord, but in the end, he was still busy and became a dog. The development of the territory was gradually on the right track, and the various systems became more and more sound, which led him to sign the documents for nearly half an hour. Including the acquisition and expenditure of materials, survivor statistics, personnel changes, and the recruitment of new patrols just now, etc. As the head of the sanctuary, he cannot be ignorant of these. But these are fine. Tang Yu just took a look, and Chen Haiping and Luo Zhe took care of the specific matters. There are some things that he needs to do on his own. After the patrol team recruited people, there may not be enough guns and weapons in the shelter. Originally, the workshop could only produce bullets. Fortunately, I downloaded a lot of gun blueprints in Lindong before and stored them in a U-Disc. Take it to the research institute, spend a small amount of source crystal, and it should be able to be converted into a model suitable for workshop production. Furthermore, the research institute should be able to reverse the formulation of the awakening potion based on the finished product. However, this consumption may be relatively large, and the deduction of the potion formula can be postponed for the time being. Another point. Compared with Lindong Shelter, there are still too few channels for the territory to obtain information. If he hadn't gone to Lindong Sanctuary this time, he would have no idea of the changes in the outside world he does have this system. This territory, with unlimited potential for development, but he will not underestimate the wisdom of human beings, especially in disasters. Catastrophe swallows, or rises from disaster. Tang Yu pondered. An intelligence agency needs to be established. The focus of intelligence collection is not around the territory, but in Lindong. This intelligence agency obtains information from Lindong and sends it back to the territory, so that he has a stable information channel to understand the outside world. This plan is feasible, and he has also thought about the candidate. Tang Yu took the super bodyguard no. One out of the resort. As he walked, he observed the topography and quickly drew a simple map in his hand. It may be a bit ugly, after all, his talent as the great lord of Tang is not in painting, but that's not the point. What Tang Yu wanted to know was not the map, but how much the area expanded after the territory was upgraded. Whether it's through the territory map or the crystal ball, it's ultimately more clear to take a trip in person. By the way, build some arrow towers on the periphery. These he also came to the site to build, rather than remote control. Tang Yu had already experimented, building a system building remotely would consume more energy, but he did not forget the previous time when he almost hollowed out his body in order to build the city wall. Now that he has more control over the territory, he consumes less energy during construction. It is not impossible for people to control the building in Lindong, but Tang Yu thinks that people should not be too dead. Came to the scene honestly. After choosing a place, stretched out your hand, and the earth and stone emerged from the void, and in an instant, it was condensed and constructed into a 10 meter high arrow tower. Such arrow towers are distributed in a semicircle around the resort, and Tang Yu built a total of six. In this way, the range of the resort will no longer be harassed by demonized beasts, and the surrounding construction can be carried out better. Anyway, it is impossible to build a city wall, and there is not enough stone, so we can only build some defensive buildings to maintain that kind of relatively safe life. As for the attack of the magic tide isn't there a small city wall, it's enough. After finishing these, the only thing left to build is the energy patio. Although this thing is said to be able to supply energy wherever it is built, it is also a very expensive building after all, and it has to be placed in a safe place. In the castle, in Elaine's room. Winnie is changing clothes. The moment she was summoned, she was still a little dazed, 
and she couldn't make the Lord wait too long, so she hurriedly changed her clothes and went to meet the Lord. As a result, the clothes were too tight and uncomfortable to wear. Try this one. Elaine took out a larger-looking dress from the closet and put it on for Winnie. It was obviously a very loose top, and when she was wearing it, it felt like a tight top. As if about to come out. Elaine looked a little envious, but Winnie's face was a little distressed. She asked, is it still too tight? Winnie tugged at the dress and shook her head, the dress is fine, but it's just that kind of thing that can be tied to the chest, it still feels too tight. She was very depressed. Even if she changed to the largest model, it was okay to wear it for a short time, but after a long time, she still felt uncomfortable. If it doesn't matter, I don't wear this, I haven't worn this kind of thing before. Well Elaine thought for a while, we can go to Lord Lord to see where there are suitable clothes. Even if we can't find it, we can ask Lord Lord to find a way to customize one. This kind of thing troubles the Lord, it's not good. Winnie shook her head. As a follower, she should be doing things for the Lord. How can she ask the Lord for help when she encounters a problem, let alone this kind of problem, she can't speak. She thought it would be nice to dress like that. Suddenly glanced, hey, isn't that Lord Lord? Elaine's room is on the fifth floor of the castle. From here, you can just see the garden below. After upgrading, the garden in front of the castle has become larger, and various flowers are colorful, swaying gently in the breeze. They saw Tang Yu walking on the garden path, looking left and right. Does the Lord also like to enjoy flowers? Winnie stood by the window, looking at the garden below. I don't know. Elaine also felt curious and came to the window, but Lord Lord is very easy to get along with, without those noble tempers, Lord Lord will definitely help you with the clothes. Talking Room They saw Tang Yu stopped and stretched out his right hand. The ground ahead suddenly sank, and along the perimeter of the depression, huge oval-shaped stones rose from the earth and stones, one after another, like irregular stone pillars, surrounding the entire pit. Immediately afterwards, mysterious runes lit up on these stones and slowly extended to the bottom of the pit. As if there was an air current circling, visible to the naked eye, at the bottom of the pit, a bay of blue-blue spring water emerged out of thin air. And quickly increased, the water line slowly rose, and stopped when it reached a certain height. In an instant, an invisible wave, centered on the energy patio, spread to the western Zhou dynasty. Tang Yu's hair was blown up slightly. In the garden, many flower buds bloomed at this moment, and they were beautiful, like opening their arms and embracing the world. The grass and trees grow and the twigs sprout, not like wild weeds, growing wildly, it seems that they have been watered with the breath of life, and these flowers, plants and trees have become alive. Bright flowers, verdant buds. Swing with the breeze. Surrounded by the figure standing in the sea of flowers. Chapter, 86 Winnie covered her mouth, as if afraid of disturbing the dreamlike scene. After a while, she suddenly closed her eyes, and her words were filled with indescribable shock, why all of a sudden, the concentration of light elements around here is rising sharply. Elaine's face was also a little surprised, I also feel it, meditating in this environment, the effect should be improved a lot. This is Lord Lord's masterpiece, Winnie said. In an instant, the concentration of origin qi in the air has been increased by several levels. I have heard before that in order to increase the concentration of origin qi, those rune master array masters need to spend a long time before they can describe a collection of source energy. Qi's rune array, it is said that the range of that rune array's influence is not large. And Lord Lord, the effect is too strong. I really don't know how Lord Lord did it. Elaine stared blankly at the figure below. After a while, he said, Lord Lord will come up with unexpected things from time to time, and we will gradually get used to it in the future. Compared with these, it is actually even more incredible that Lord Lord has summoned us to this world. And we are very lucky to be here. Winnie nodded. She had heard of the rune formation, but the method of summoning people from another world was unheard of. Before today, she could not even imagine that another world would exist. Thinking back to what happened not long ago, and what I saw now. Winnie had a smile on her face. I am really lucky to be here. 
Within the resort, many survivors pushed carts and transported materials. In the hot weather, they were all sweaty. Knowing that the job is hard to come by, they don't complain, but sometimes they feel that this horrible weather is simply not giving people a way to survive. Getting hotter. But suddenly, they felt that the temperature seemed to have dropped a lot, and they felt a little cooler. Even the fatigue of work has subsided a lot at this moment. Employment Center. The awakened ones, as well as some ordinary people with combat experience, are all signing up for this patrol team assessment. Suddenly, everyone moved. What happened? Have you felt it? Everyone has some doubts. At this moment, they have a feeling that they can't tell the truth. It seems to be, I feel very refreshed, the whole person has become more spiritual, and the body seems to have become more powerful. Shay took a deep breath, walked out of the villa in the employment center, looked in the direction of the castle, and looked surprised. There were also many awakened ones who came out and looked around. Brother Hammer slapped his thigh, I feel it, it's that direction, that very comfortable feeling came from that direction. The other awakened ones looked away. The stronger the strength, the clearer the feeling. Finally, someone looked in that direction and suddenly realized, I see, it was Director Tang who made something big again. The big Lord Tang, who made a big deal, said he didn't expect it either. Building a building has made such a big noise. It can only be said that it is indeed a building worth 20 source crystals, and the special effects are different. Fortunately, this thing was built in the castle garden, otherwise it would be wasted. After the construction was completed, he probably figured out the working principle of this kind of energy patio. Which was nothing more than absorbing the origin chi between the heavens and the earth and bringing them together to supply energy to the territory. Naturally, the closer to the energy patio, the greater the source gas concentration. He stood aside, feeling like he was being baptized by the tide of Genesis Chi. If it can be matched with the practice method, and practice near here, perhaps, the speed of this practice will be the same as riding a rocket. Cultivation is a way to improve strength. Originally, Tang Yu didn't pay much attention to it. After all, as long as he refined his soul power, his level could be raised slowly. In comparison, the rate of improvement in cultivation was too slow. But now, after having a little understanding of Yu Enli, the cultivation system, etc. He dared not think so. Ordinary people will improve their physical fitness through exercise, and after a certain level, it will become more and more difficult to improve until they cannot improve. This is the limit. Cultivation is the same. It is more efficient, and after reaching a certain level, it can even break through the bottleneck and then break through its own limits. Cultivation is a process that first taps the potential of the body, and then uses it to impact higher levels of life. Refining soul power is just the opposite. After the soul power is refined, the level of life jumps, which in turn drives the improvement of physical fitness. This boosting method is more essential, faster, and has no side effects. Even, as long as there is sufficient soul power, the awakened will not encounter a bottleneck when improving at a small level, and can improve all the way, unlike cultivation, where every improvement is hitting the bottleneck. Tang Yu estimated that with the method of refining the soul power, the bottleneck will only be encountered when the fifth level, the ninth level, and the twelfth level are awakened to break through to the next small realm. However, although the method of refining soul power is highly efficient, the potential of the awakened person has not been fully developed. After all, each level of improvement is essentially an improvement in the level of life and physical fitness, which is only incidental. This is also the reason why Luo Zhe and the others can crush the awakened ones of the same level. In addition to possessing combat skills, their physical quality in all aspects is much higher than that of the awakened ones of the same level. It doesn't make sense if it's not crushed. Level and strength are not the same. Tang Yu set a small goal for himself. On the one hand, he first reached the fifth level of awakening, that is, the peak of the foundational stage. This is quite easy. With the soul power container, you don't even need to open and level up in the future, and it will directly evolve into an experienced medicine. It should be able to quickly reach the bottleneck of the fifth level of awakening, and then get stuck for a while. But it doesn't matter, anyway, Tang Yu didn't plan to break through so quickly. 
This foundational stage was originally the most critical stage of laying the foundation. It did not develop its own potential. Once it broke through, it would cause a waste of its own potential. Now the level is not a problem, the key is to tap your own potential. And to tap one's own potential through cultivation is much faster than exercising. Only. He doesn't know any of the cultivation methods. This is distressing. Tang Yu snapped his fingers. The six followers summoned so far all have their own cultivation methods. The cultivation method that Winnie has is the most high-end relative to others. But this kind of cultivation method requires a certain affinity for the light element in order to get started, and Tang Yu was cut off at the first level. Elaine's basic meditation method is the same, the requirements are relatively loose, but it is still very straightforward to exclude him. After some research, Tang Yu chose Luo Zhe's night training method, which belongs to a relatively popular training method, and he thinks it should be suitable. According to Luo Zhe, when he was selected to be a soldier, he was taught the incomplete night training method. After several meritorious deeds, he finally obtained the completed version of the night training method from the upper forces. Rao is so, he also needs to sign a contract to ensure that this cultivation method will not be leaked. It can be seen that the cultivation method is scarce. Fortunately, after signing the follower contract with Luo Zhe, on the way to the summoning, the overbearing power of the system erased all other contracts. Only then can he obtain a complete night training method. I don't know if there is a cultivation method in this world. Although there are several martial arts halls opened in Lindong Sanctuary, what they teach is ordinary boxing and kung fu. He also went to investigate. As a result, a master who boasted of his own kung fu was extremely powerful, and he received an evaluation full of flaws in the gray blade. Shake your head. The most important thing now is to introduce the night training method to the door. This kind of cultivation method is said to be most suitable for cultivation after high-intensity battles, and it is easy to break through. I was fighting mentally before. Although the intensity was very high, it was spiritual. For the body, it was illusory, which was not enough. Already. Physical pressure is also required. Tang Yu came to the training camp. It was still early and members of the patrol were either on duty at their posts or escorting survivors on the perimeter to transport supplies. Not a single figure could be seen on the first floor of the training camp. Chapter, 87 Tang Yu went straight up, not to the fifth floor, but to the fourth floor. The training facilities on the third and fourth floors are the same. There are two facilities on each floor, such as the fast track, the strain space, and the gravity room. The authority he gives to the patrol team members is on the third floor, and the fourth floor is for him and a few followers. When Tang Yu came here, he found that the hatch of one of the gravity chambers was tightly closed. The upper display light is on, which means someone is using it. You don't need to think about it, you know that there are cultivators inside, Kong. He walked into another gravity chamber, and the voice-controlled hatch closed. The gravity room is like a clean white room. It is not big, only 30 or 40 square meters. The surrounding area, the floor, and the top are all extremely hard metal walls, which can effectively prevent damage by users. There is no control instrument inside, and the increase and decrease of gravity are controlled by voice. These are not high-tech, and the voice is only convenient for control. If it is controlled by buttons, it is very likely that the gravity will be too high, and the user will be pushed down, trying to adjust the gravity back, but it is hard to press. Situation. It's embarrassing. The voice control is better. If it wasn't for the user's death, and the gravity that he couldn't bear in one breath, he couldn't even open his mouth. Then there's no way. Anyway, he wouldn't kill him like this. As for the others, shouldn't they be so rude? However, this gravity room also has safety protection measures. When it detects that the user's life is in danger, it will automatically adjust the gravity back, as if the wave will not die. Tang Yu shook his head to prevent himself from going further and further in the thought of death. One wave after another, death is impossible, and it may be necessary to lie in bed for several days. With my current physical fitness, it shouldn't be a problem to bear five, six, seven, eight, or nine times the gravity, 
but it's better to add it bit by bit. Tang Yu controlled his voice and made the gravity increase little by little. Well, add it slowly in increments of zero, one times. After all, there must be an adaptation process. As the gravity increased, the chest gradually felt a little dull. The bones rattled, and an invisible pressure pressed on the body and pressed every cell in the body. The brain is a little dizzy. Breathing became rapid. Tang Yu slowly adjusted his breathing and moved his body slowly to adapt to changes in gravity. Gradually, he tried to put on a posture, which was the pre-movement of heavy slashing, and it was also one of the training movements of the night training method. At first, his movements were slow, but under such high-intensity pressure, Tang Yu's movements became smoother and smoother. A set of actions down. Can't help but violently, punched out. This is a combat technique heavy slash. Instead of using a sword, he condensed the whole body's chi and blood and gathered it in his fist. Hit hard against the wall beside him. Bang! Tang Yu's face twisted. It hurts. Also tired. Under normal circumstances, with his physical strength, he can hit at least three heavy cuts. However, under the action of several times the gravity of the gravity chamber, various consumptions are also multiplied. This heavy slash completely emptied him. Immediately he fell to the ground. Reaching out his hand, he fumbled for a crystal from his pocket. This is the crystallization of source power. It is transformed from the source crystal and has the effect of restoring the source power. It can also be used to restore physical strength, but it is a bit of a waste. Tang Yu held the source power crystal in his hand, and the source power was immediately pulled away, like a gurgling stream, pouring into his body. Gradually recovered. No pain in hands, no panting. His face looked much better. This is the Krypton Crystal Practice Method. After a while. I don't know if it was an illusion, but Tang Yu felt that his fists were stronger, and he instantly had the motivation to continue practicing. The next day. Sunny. The temperature was a few degrees lower than before, not too hot, just a good day for the assessment. There are nearly 30 people who signed up for the patrol team assessment this time. There were a lot of people, so Tang Yu put the location at the hotel in the middle of the resort. In the entire resort, except for the villa area, the buildings that can be demolished have basically been demolished. This hotel can be said to be one of the very few buildings that have survived. It is also the largest building in the shelter outside the system building. It was here at the beginning, and he witnessed no. One violently kill that powerful demonized beast. The traces of the previous battle have been repaired, and there is not much to see. Even the gaps in the walls that were penetrated by the battle were transformed into doors and windows it seems that there is no problem, but it is hard to say whether the specific quality is guaranteed. Anyway. Tang Yu glanced at these people, most of them were awakened ones, it would be dangerous, shouldn't it be? The first is the written test. The exam questions are mostly common sense questions, some common sense after the end of the world. If you want to join the patrol team, strength is important, but IQ can't lower the level too much. Tang Yu rubbed his chin in thought. Among these questions, some of them are naturally written by him. As a question maker, it is very pleasant to watch the candidates struggling with the questions. It is true that there are many common sense questions, but common sense questions do not mean that they are score giving questions. He looked at the examination room with an unpredictable smile on his face. Now, there are many tables and chairs in the hotel lobby. As the chief examiner, Luo Zhe stood in front with a serious face. This burly figure, this serious temperament, is enough to make most of the survivors who participated in the assessment feel afraid and dare not cheat of course, they have no ability to cheat. The deputy examiner is Chen Haiping, who is reviewing the test paper. When the time was up, many people outside the hall waiting to take part in the assessment walked in with their number plates. Zhao Ming was very excited at this time. After this assessment, he will also be a member of the patrol team. As he walked, he observed the surrounding survivors who participated in the assessment together. However, I didn't see the very burly big brother yesterday. Did you not sign up? He was a little disappointed, but also very sorry. That eldest brother, he is really optimistic, 
although in the environment like yesterday, there were many awakened people, and their breaths clashed. Zhao Ming didn't know the specific strength of the big brother, but at a glance, he was inexplicably confident in this big brother, just like he was very confident in himself. Pity. He also thought that after joining the patrol team, he would huddle with the big brother to keep warm. After all, according to his experience summed up after reading the books, as a newcomer to the patrol team, he might be bullied by the old man, and he needed to plan ahead. It looks like I can only find someone else. Zhao Ming also saw the Hammer Brothers, but no matter yesterday or today, he did not recognize their identities. The breath did not go to specially sense. When you don't take out a big hammer, the combination of a tall, thin man and a short, fat man has nothing to do with it. At most, one is too thin and the other is too short. Zhao Ming shook his head. Go to your seat and sit down. Chapter 88 Brother Hammer followed the others into the exam hall, looking for his place. The tall and thin man walked ahead. The chunky man followed closely. Big brother, big brother, aren't we here to buy weapons, why did we suddenly come to participate in this assessment? Didn't I say, this patrol seems a little interesting, just come and have a look, understand? The tall and thin man didn't turn his head. But brother, didn't you say yesterday that this patrol is just like that, nothing special? The tall and thin man's face stiffened, and he turned around and glared at the short, fat man, shut up. The short fat man looked aggrieved. The two found their seats and sat down. After a while, the exam paper came from the front. By convention, the first thing to fill in is the name and student number the exam number. The tall and thin man wrote his name on it. Brush brush, three words. Majiafeng. His younger brother is Majiaza. Completely different from their nicknames, these two names are released in this area, and no one knows them. Only the Hammer Brothers are the titles that symbolize their identity. After filling in the name, the answering will begin shortly. These candidates, ranging from teenage fresh meat candidates to tens-year-old old bacon candidates, have all started to write. Outside the examination room. Tang Yu also held the same test paper and looked at it boredly. It starts with multiple choice questions. First question. Excuse me, what is the name of the patrol captain? The following four options are written with four names. What a simple subject this is. Luo Zhe shows his face every day. If you want to say who is the most famous among the high-level shelters, it must be Luo Zhe. Which shelter survivor doesn't know? The purpose of this question is to let the survivors who participated in the assessment feel the warmth of home. Shouldn't there be such a considerate question maker like him? Certainly not. This is indeed a question of sending points. On the seat. After Zhao Ming swiped through the questions, he knew that most of them were indeed common sense questions. Not difficult, he has enough confidence. In particular, the first question is a complete question. And also put Captain Luo's name in the first place. Everyone will choose A. Zhao Ming wrote an elegant A on it. On the contrary, he would feel that it was too simple and could not reflect his strength. Not to mention just choosing Captain Luo's name, that is, asking him to tell Captain Luo's height, strength, record, how long the longest sentence he said, etc. He can tell. For this assessment, he had been preparing for a long time. Now it seems that many preparations may not be used. Hey, lonely. The other side. The Ma brothers are also answering. As the eldest brother, Ma Jiafeng is also very confident in his own strength. He is not the kind of person with developed limbs and a simple mind, but thinking of this, he is suddenly a little worried about his stupid brother. Ma Jiafeng put aside his complicated thoughts and began to get serious. Instead of starting from scratch, he used to use the random point method, and he did whatever question he saw. Anyway, these questions are not difficult, they are all common sense questions, the same. He saw a multiple choice question. Is demonized beast meat edible? Completely possible B. Not at all C. Mostly possible D. Mostly not possible. This is simple. If the demonized beast meat can be eaten in large quantities, there will be no shortage of food. 
Ma Jiafeng decisively wrote a D. He saw another fill-in-the-blank question at random. What are the two sources of source crystal, please write on the horizontal line below. Of course, the source crystal ore and the demonized beast condensed in the body. He quickly filled it out again. Take it easy, without even thinking. Ma Jiafeng glanced over the scroll and landed on the first question. Another simple question. He thought. Suddenly, I was stunned. The captain of the patrol, um, who is the captain of the patrol? He raised his head and looked at the serious-looking strong man in front of him. This man seemed to be the captain of the patrol team, and he looked really strong. But the question is, what is this man's name? Ma Jiafeng racked his brains and suddenly had a flash of light. Yes. Yesterday, I heard that someone mentioned the three words of Captain Luo. The captain of the patrol team is surnamed Luo. It must be right. He glanced at the four options, however, he was stunned again. Luo Zhebi. Chen Haiping Si. Luo Zhang Di. She. There are two options with the surname Luo, how to break it. Brother Ma fell into contemplation again, this time, no more clues popped up in his mind. He pondered for a while and decided to analyze it from the side. Luo Zhe, Luo Zhan. What's the difference between these two names? One is the philosophy of philosophy. One is the battle of battle. He analyzed the results at once, and, according to normal practice, if you encounter a multiple choice question that you don't understand, choose C, and the correct rate is the highest. It's called Luo Zhan, that's right. If it is only one of the factors, he is not too sure yet, but the combination of the two will greatly improve the certainty. Ma Jiafeng was very satisfied with his reasoning. The score for this question should be able to get it. The next moment, his gaze turned slightly upward, and he saw the score of the question. This question is a special question, no points will be awarded for correct answers, and ten points will be deducted for incorrect answers. A mouthful of old blood spurted out. Can only helplessly continue to do the question. Obviously, he is a master of the third level of awakening, with rich experience in wild survival and understanding of demonized beasts. Unfortunately, these common sense questions perfectly avoided his knowledge reserve. But there are some problems that make him uncertain. It's very annoying. He saw the last question, a comprehensive essay question with a high percentage of scores. This question, I must get points. Ma Jiafeng cheered himself up and looked at the topic carefully. Title, On the Awakened, Can There Be a Situation Where They Can Leapfrog the Other? Remarks, Neither side of the battle is capable, and the combat experience is equivalent, and the weapons and equipment are equivalent. The hammer boss Ma Jiafeng didn't even think about it, he was ready to write down a feature. Then, he saw the next line of words. Please state your reasons. Immediately stunned. If it was in a novel, he could write hundreds of reasons why the protagonist would leapfrog battles, but the problem is, this would be reality. Reality is not a script, and leapfrog battles are like a fantasy. Taking his own situation as an example, Ma Jiafeng does not believe that a mere little guy who has awakened to the second level can defeat himself. But in the same way, under the same conditions, he wanted to defeat a super master who had awakened to the fourth level. He felt that there was no such possibility. Should the answer to this question be written no? Ma Jiafeng instinctively felt that it would not be so simple. This time, it was not based on the so-called test experience, but he felt that after the end of the world, even the awakened understood too little about the power they possessed. Awakened, no match for demonized beasts of the same level. This is common sense, but why does this happen? Is it because the body of the awakened is not comparable to the demonized beast, and it shows a disadvantage in battle, or is it because the awakened's own power has not been fully developed? This question is different from the previous common sense questions. As if testing something. Very meaningful. So. In addition to combat experience and weapons and equipment, what else affects the strength of both sides? Ma's boss racked his brains. Chapter, 89. After the first round of assessment, the test papers will be closed. I didn't wait, and soon I was ready to start the second round of the martial arts test. 
Tang Yu actually didn't want to use this kind of written test to brush off the assessors, unless it was really such a mess of common sense questions. This time the written test is not perfect, it should be a test. Future assessments may examine some more in-depth issues. Such as the characteristics of demonized beasts, weaknesses, such as the ability of the ability, and so on. If you really want to get rid of some unsatisfactory examiners, you will have a lot of opportunities in the martial arts test that follows. And he, the great Lord Tang, would not admit that this written test was just for fun. At least, there are some topics in it, and they are very useful. For example, in the multiple choice question of the first question, from the answers of the assessors, he can tell whether this person has lived in a shelter for a period of time or has just arrived recently. Well, thumbs up for his wit. Soon these people who participated in the assessment came to the open space outside the hotel. Some people are nervous, some people are eager to try, and some people are curious about the content of the assessment. Ma Jiafen raised his eyebrows. He has confidence in his own strength. In the written test just now, he couldn't show his strength. This time, the martial arts test will be different. Jiaza, we will have a martial arts test later, and we must perform well and let these people see the strength of our hammer brothers. The short and stout Ma Jiaza scratched his head, but brother, didn't you say we should keep a low profile, and in the end we have to drain the water and be brushed off, so we won't join the patrol team? The tall and thin man Ma Jiafeng's face stiffened, shut up. Then he thought about it and asked, how was your written test? The chunky man looked at him and didn't answer. Ma Jiafeng asked again. The chunky man pointed to his mouth, but still didn't answer. The boss of the Ma family finally sighed helplessly, dragged the younger brother, and walked forward. Front. Chen Haiping was explaining the rules of the martial arts test, Luo Zhe stood aside, nodded from time to time, and hummed. This martial arts test is a battle, not a battle between awakened ones, but. He pointed to a puppet with a round body and thick arms beside him. I believe many people have seen such a puppet. Your opponent this time is this kind of puppet. Depending on the level, the number of puppets will be different. Among the assessment personnel, a total of three people are ordinary people. The three of you form a group. As long as you defeat one unarmed puppet, you will pass the assessment. Awakened, the first level awakening, defeating a puppet that does not hold a weapon, even if it passes. Awaken the two level, and defeat the three headed puppet without weapons, then pass. Awakening of the third level, you must defeat the five headed puppets holding uncut weapons to pass. Many awakens looked at each other in dismay. This kind of puppet is often seen by them on weekdays. It is not weak at first sight. Moreover, many of them have heard some survivors who came to the shelter in the early days. Such a puppet, in one on one, can crush the awakened. Even without a weapon, this puppet is covered in iron, and its defense is top notch. With their ability, even if the puppet doesn't resist, it will probably take a lot of effort to remove it. Not to mention. Seems to see the worries of these people. Chen Haiping then said, in order to make the assessment fairer, you can use your own weapons or the weapons provided by our shelter, except that hot weapons cannot be used. He opened the curtain next to him, and a weapon rack appeared in front of many examiners. There are various weapons on it. Knives, swords, spears, axes, sticks and more. Seeing the examiners present, their faces were filled with joy. Such weapons cost 30 origin crystals in the shelter. Why do they want to be a member of the patrol team so much? Isn't it because the patrol team will distribute a set of precious equipment to each new member? With this kind of magical weapon, it is possible to deal with puppets without weapons. In this way, it is possible. Not difficult, not difficult. Most people breathe a sigh of relief. After Chen Haiping finished speaking, he looked around, is there any problem? Soon another assessor asked some detailed questions, such as the criteria for defeating the puppet, whether to completely dismantle the puppet or let the puppet lose its mobility. Chen Haiping answered several questions one after another. Any questions? He finally asked. A weak voice came from the crowd, well, what if you are injured in battle? The person who asked the question was a handsome young man. 
His face seemed a little worried, a little tangled, and a little scared. After asking the question, he lowered his head. Chen Haiping glanced at it and shook his head. Injuries are inevitable, the end times are not a fairy tale, and the patrol team is not a charity hall. Every patrol team member has to fight with demonized beasts. Injury and even death may happen. If you are not mentally prepared, you can wait for the next patrol to recruit people, and then come to participate in the assessment. The other assessors burst out laughing. Not far away. Tang Yu also shook his head. It is indeed rare for such a person, even an awakened person, to be able to live normally until now with such a character and appearance. This time, the martial arts test is destined to defeat a lot of people. The handsome young man is not the first. The others, even if they are courageous and powerful, may not be able to pass this martial arts test. Tang Yu lowered his mind and looked at the territory map in his mind. That represents the yellow yellow green green dots of the assessor. Among these people, many people are just yellow dots. If they just came to the shelter, that's fine, but many of them have lived in the shelter for a long time. Such a person is not even green, and even turns red and yellow. Do you still want to join the patrol? Think too much. Most of the ordinary people participating in the assessment are awakened ones, after all, they will fight against demonized beasts in the future. Ordinary people, as long as three. These three people have certain combat skills and combat experience, they are confident in themselves, and at the same time they are not reconciled to the status quo. Even if they can't awaken, they want to join the patrol team and find a way to become stronger. These three are the first to play. After choosing their weapons, they are divided into three positions and stand around the puppet. Following Chen Haiping's order, the puppet began to move. This kind of basic puppet has a round body and short legs. It seems to be slow, but in fact, it is beyond the expectations of the awakened people present. I saw those legs running fast, and they approached one of them at once, raised their thick right arm, and slammed it down. Replaced by an ordinary person, this blow can at least cause a concussion. But these three people, who dared to participate in this assessment as ordinary people, have two brushes themselves. At the critical moment, the man jumped to the side and rolled on the ground twice. The puppet's sturdy arm slammed on the ground, raising dust. The other two were not dazed, but seized the opportunity to attack. With the sharpness of their weapons, they left incisions on the puppets. He didn't rush forward, but waited for the chance for the puppet to attack one of them, and the other two attacked at the same time. The fight lasted nearly ten minutes. When the puppet lost its combat effectiveness, the three of them all fell to the ground tired. The awakened awakened onlookers were full of confidence from the very beginning, and until the end, they were all apprehensive. This puppet, regardless of speed or strength, is too strong. In particular, the power of that punch, even with the physique of their awakened person, may not be able to withstand it. Don't look at these three people, in the end, the puppet was successfully abolished. But there are three of them. If they were barehanded, the Awakens would have the confidence to fight three times by themselves, but it would be different if they had magic weapons. With their awakened bodies, they can resist the fists of ordinary people, but they can never block the magic weapon produced by the shelter. As long as they are bumped, they will be cold. In this case, the combined combat power of three ordinary people with combat skills should exceed that of one awakened person. How hard the three of them are fighting, what about them? Many awakened people swallowed their saliva, and they dared not say this, they were sure of it. Some people thought of a deeper layer. It is said that this kind of puppet was created by the mysterious director of the shelter with his own special ability. There are many such puppets in the shelter. Once equipped with weapons, it can crush them even more. In other words, even if all the awakened people present were tied together, they would not be able to beat Director Tang alone. Even, Director Tang can sit and drink tea while commanding the puppets, and he can easily knock them down. No wonder, people can build a shelter on this piece of ruins, and it develops rapidly, but I can only become a small patrol team member. You have to pass the test. Chapter, 90 After the three ordinary people completed the assessment, normally speaking, it was already the first level awakened awakenings turn to play. 
This strength accounted for the vast majority of those who participated in the assessment. However, some of these awakened ones bowed their heads in contemplation, while others looked up at the sky. It's just that no one wants to play. The scene suddenly became quiet, only the panting sounds of the three ordinary people remained. On the upper floors of the hotel, in a certain room, Tang Yu was leaning against the window, silently observing the bottom. Seeing this, I was speechless. It is said that the awakened is not strong, and to deal with a demonized beast of the same level, either you have to greet three or two friends and cooperate with each other, or you have to set traps in advance, otherwise you can only live. But what, they were given weapons, and they were still dealing with a puppet without a weapon, so they didn't dare to go up. What do you want? Tang Yu decided to take out a small notebook and record the names of these people. Just heard a squeak. I come. A woman awakened more and more. Tang Yu's eyes lit up. This man has a youthful face, and his hair is tied into a ponytail and hangs behind his head, giving him a capable feeling. She walked step by step, her appearance could only be regarded as average, but she had a different kind of temperament. That is confidence. Tang Yu took a second look, um, mainly because she sensed that she has the ability to awaken to the second level. Female star awakened people are rare, it is not that it is more difficult to awaken, but, those who can live to awaken, and who can continue to live after awakening, have to say that they are indeed fewer than male awakened ones. In the relatively safe environment of Lindong, it's fine. In this area around the territory, you may wake up one day and the shelter will be gone. In this environment, female awakeners are even more precious. In particular, this person has the strength of awakening double. More like a giant panda. Lan Qingya stepped forward, stood still, and stared at the three puppets in front of her. She chose a slender short sword, which was more flexible. Following the command of the battle, the chubby puppets dashed forward as fast as they did in that game, rushing straight up. As a second-level awakener, Lan Qingya has quick reactions and quick movements, and easily avoided the attack of the first puppet. However, the other two puppets also launched an offensive, rushing from the other direction, charging their fists, and slamming down at Lan Qingya. Rao would be very uncomfortable if she was hit because of her physique. This situation is very similar to the previous one. It's just that the human examiner and the puppet have switched. The last three people used the gap between the puppets to attack one of them to launch an attack. Right now, the three-headed puppets are attacking rapidly and continuously. Lan Qingya seemed to have to keep dodging, unable to find a chance to fight back. I've been hit, it looks like I've been suppressed. That's right, don't look at how calm she is dodging now, but there is no chance to fight back at all. How long can such dodging last, and it is said that the puppet won't get tired, but she will, continue, or else for a long time, I am afraid that I will make mistakes because of tiredness, and it will be over by then. Hey, I should have been a little confident to see her play for the first time, but I didn't expect to fall into a crisis all of a sudden. The awakened onlookers sighed. In this assessment, the patrol team did not limit the number of places to pass, and they did not have a direct competitive relationship. On the contrary, they hoped that someone would pass the assessment, which would give them some confidence. But now it seems. This girl is actually very powerful. If it was me, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to dodge like this, but it's not the way to keep hiding. It's better to take advantage of the fact that my stamina is not exhausted. If you can kill one first puppet, there is still hope. The awakened onlookers were even more anxious than Lan Qingya in the field. Above. Tang Yu leaned against the window, but saw something different. It's not that she can't fight back, but she is testing the puppet's attack routine. After all, this is only the most basic model, a cheap puppet, even if its speed and power are not weak, but its intelligence is limited and it has a certain behavior pattern. If it is replaced with a high-level puppet like No. 1 and No. 2, it will be different. The two puppets can even throw Luo Zhe a few streets in terms of combat experience, and there will be no so-called behavior patterns. Tang Yu closed his eyes and sensed a basic puppet that was connected up and down. Through the puppet's vision, he could see more clearly. This girl is completely at ease when dodging, and there is no trace of panic on her face. 
she didn't make a move, probably because she hadn't thoroughly analyzed the puppet's behavior pattern. After dodging a few more times, Lan Qingya retreated again and again. Suddenly, a puppet rushed forward, and his right arm, like the previous few times, charged up, preparing for a heavy punch. This time, facing the increasingly approaching fist, she did not dodge. In the crowd, the handsome young man couldn't help exclaiming, covering his eyes with his hands, as if he didn't dare to look again. Just at this moment, the puppet swung out a fist, bringing forth a violent fist wind. Lan Qingya's eyes narrowed, her body shifted to the right, her ponytail swung to the left under inertia, and the fist wind blew past, and the ponytail was blown away. At this time, she was holding the puppet's thick arm with one hand, and with the help of one hand, she turned over and rode onto the puppet's face. Ride up. The action is very smooth. The other two puppets moved for a while, as if they could not find the position to attack. And when the puppet that was riding stretched out his arm to grab Lan Qingya, it was cut open from top to bottom by the dagger. First drop of iron. The rest is very simple. After figuring out the puppet's routine, Lan Qingya quickly used the same method to solve the other two puppets. She finally jumped off the puppet, flicked her ponytail, and her chest shook there was no ups and downs, Jia had a flat chest. Tang Yu finally understood why this girl could have so many rude actions. Not accepted. This has to be replaced by another girl, um, Elaine is hard to say, but Winnie is definitely not able to do it, no wonder Winnie is a dignified healing priest. After Lan Qingya came off the stage. It's time to wait for the next assessor to play. This time, it's finally no longer awkward. A burly awakened stepped forward, Master, how can you not even compare to a girl? As he spoke, he picked up his weapon and fought against the puppet. After Lan Qingya's battle, the awakened people present were not fools, and they also saw some of the puppet's attack routines to some extent. One after another examiner came on stage one after another. There are those who pass and those who fail. A young awakened, with a confident smile on his face, walked towards the weapon rack. After many observations, and then comparing and analyzing the strength of these awakens who participated in the assessment, he has a complete grasp in his heart. This kind of puppet is really strong and has a good speed. However, it is too rigid and lacks understanding at first, so it will be startled. Now that I have figured out the routine, these puppets are nothing more than that. No problem. That's fine. You will soon pass the assessment and successfully join the patrol team. I don't know what the secret of the patrol team strengthening is. He chose a sword, waited a few times, and quickly walked into the battle arena. Above. He stared at the young man below. This person, the light spot represented is yellow and reddish, and it is the reddest one. How dare you come to participate in the patrol inspection? The corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Flowers why are they so red? Chapter, 91 The young man's mouth was full of confidence. What he wants is more than just defeating the puppet. Although, according to the assessment requirements, as long as he defeated the puppet, he would pass, but he keenly discovered the key point. He also defeated the puppet. Is the treatment the same for the strong and weak? As for the awakened who passed easily, and the awakened who barely defeated the puppet, would the treatment be the same? Young people think not, certainly not. And what he has to do is to simply win the game and impress the higher-ups of the shelter. Perhaps, he will be able to better understand the secrets of the members of the patrol team, and even the higher-ups of the shelter, becoming stronger. He looked at the puppet in front of him and smiled lightly. The battle begins. This puppet, sure enough, attacked exactly as he expected. After a few easy back and forth, he cut a large incision on the puppet, and almost cut off a small half of the body. Once again the puppet rushed in. The expected trajectory of the charge. The young man's eyes narrowed, this was an opportunity. Seize this opportunity and kill him with one blow. The time for him to defeat the puppet will be the shortest of all. Will also receive the highest treatment. The young man made a decisive move, and slashed his sword towards the previously cut incision. The half of the puppet's body is about to be cut off. The next moment, the young man moved. His right hand holding the sword was caught by the puppet. 
got caught. Caught. His eyes widened, his mind was already in chaos. Do puppets still do this? Don't you just throw punches straight to the point? Why suddenly grab his hand? Could it be that this is a new routine, and there is a routine that he has not thoroughly researched? He could no longer think about it. The other arm of the puppet slammed a straight punch. This is one of the most frequent attacks by puppets. It lacks flexibility and poses no threat. He thought so before, but this time, he couldn't avoid it. This punch hit him in the face, it seemed that the bridge of his nose was sunken, and the whole person was thrown flying in a spin, and flew out of the field, fainting. An awakened person glanced at him, looking a little miserable, but it seemed that there was no serious problem, he couldn't die, forget it, don't care. Excited to pass the examination. Unbelievably depressed. Those who haven't been assessed are nervous. It seems that this young awakened person is not well liked, and he has been forgotten all of a sudden. Gradually, the assessment is coming to an end. There are only three people who have not yet participated in the assessment. One side is a tall, thin, short, fat duo, and the other is a handsome young man. The tall and thin elder brother Ma's face was gentle, and he patted the boy's shoulder, little brother, you still can't go, if you can't go, then I'll go. The handsome young man who was patted on the shoulder shivered and was a little nervous, I, I'll go. He hurried forward. Chen Haiping saw a black line on his face, and quickly stopped him, then pointed to the other side, the weapon rack is there. The handsome young man shivered, then hurried to the edge of the runway weapon rack, hesitantly looked at it for a while, and finally picked up a long sword. Come on, come on. The fight began, and he seemed to be cheering himself up. The puppet rushed over, and the round body continued to enlarge in his field of vision. The fast speed, the fierce momentum, and the fist that has been charged and may be thrown at any time. Everything is so unbeatable. The handsome young man was frightened and his legs were trembling. I want to avoid it, but my body doesn't obey. Finally, he seemed to have summoned up his courage, and when the puppet fist swung out, he clenched the long sword with both hands and swung it heavily. Then. The puppet's fist hit the sword, deflected the long sword, and slammed it directly into the chest of the handsome young man. Click. Accompanied by a crisp fracture sound, the handsome young man flew out. With this punch, the puppet is charged. Although the handsome young man did not faint, he was even more miserable than the young man before. The sternum was broken, and the corners of the mouth coughed up blood. Tisk, it's a bit miserable. It's still too much. Although the awakened's vitality is strong, and death is impossible, but if you want to recover, I'm afraid you have to lie down for a while, hey. Some looked on with indifference, some shook their heads, and some sympathized. The handsome young man's face turned gray, he bit his lip, trying hard not to let himself groan. It seems that he is secretly annoyed by his incompetence, and seems to be worried about the future. Suddenly. A ray of light shone down from the top of his head, and the handsome young man only felt his body warm. The pain gradually dissipated, and the chest was a little itchy, as if the wound was healing quickly. Not far away, the faces of the awakened turned to astonishment. What is that? He pointed at the handsome young man, who was being shrouded in pale yellow light at this time, and the slightly sunken chest that was visible to the naked eye was recovering. The injury is recovering. Could this be? Someone reacted and exclaimed. The man's eyes quickly swept across the surrounding crowd, and soon his eyes fell on Winnie in the distance, or on his hands. I saw Winnie clasped her hands together, and a faint light bloomed in her hands. The color of the brilliance was exactly the same as the brilliance shrouded in the delicate youth. God, it's really healing, the legendary awakener with healing ability. The awakened hurriedly looked over. Winnie, who was casting the spell, was solemn and sacred, with long pale golden hair that flowed away without wind. The handsome young man raised his head. In the pupils, Winnie's appearance was reflected, like the most sacred angel. His face turned red, and he was already sluggish. Off the field, somewhere on the edge. The young awakened who was punched in the face by the puppet, who had just woken up, grinned in pain. He opened his eyes in a daze, 
and saw the injured handsome young man, under a burst of light, his injuries quickly recovered. Looking at myself again, I don't know what kind of swollen face, but no one cares. A mouthful of old blood rushed to his heart, and he fainted again. In the end, the only people who have not yet been assessed are the Hammer Brothers. After twenty battles, the other Awakens did not have the initial interest. Those who fail the assessment will either stay on the scene to seek comfort, or they will leave quietly. The Awakened who successfully passed, also thought of ending it early so that they could officially join the patrol. They can't wait. I saw the tall and thin boss Hammer walking forward, and suddenly said, Captain Luo, I want to challenge you. Ma Jiafeng looked serious, not joking. The awakened onlookers were a little stunned. This person is crazy, he even wants to challenge Captain Luo. But some people don't find it strange, didn't you recognize them? Those two are the Hammer Brothers, and they are very powerful awakeners. It turned out to be Brother Hammer. No wonder, Brother Hammer, it is said that both of them have the strength to awaken the triple layer, and their strength is stronger than that of many shelters. Not only that, it is said that the two of them are fighting maniacs. They like to challenge strong people the most. They once challenged a powerful shelter director, so it's no wonder that they want to challenge Captain Luo. What happened then? The person next to him was curious and asked quickly. As a result the awakened who spoke shook his head, the head of the sanctuary avoided fighting, and in the end it was all over. The awakened who heard it next to him couldn't help but be disappointed. Avoiding without fighting, although it can't be said that the head of the shelter will be defeated, it can be seen that the head of the sanctuary is afraid. If you can easily defeat the Hammer Brothers, is it possible to avoid fighting? Obviously not possible. So, Captain Luo, will you accept this challenge? Chapter, 92 Luo Zhe seemed to be lost in thought. After a while, he raised his head, Okay, just as the assessment of your participation in the patrol team this time, you two can also go together. Ma Jiafeng showed anger on his face. He and his younger brother are both great masters of awakening the third level, and they cooperate tacitly. Together, even if they are the super-level awakening masters of the fourth level, they should take shelter from the wind for a while. However, in the next moment, Luo Zhe released part of his breath. This breath is fleeting. Ma Jiafeng's face became solemn, he no longer hesitated, called his younger brother, and the two stood side by side. Off the field. The awakened ones also widened their eyes. They never imagined that there would be a chance to see this level of battle. The Hammer Brothers have joined forces. This is probably the first time. Can Captain Luo win? This is nervous. It's hard to say. An analysis of the party's eyes flashed brightly, if it is one-on-one, -on -one, I am more optimistic about Captain Luo, but if it is one-on-two, I think Captain Luo will be at a disadvantage. Fart, Captain Luo's strength is so strong, even if he faces the Hammer Brothers together, he can still win the battle. Captain Luo's strength is strong, but how strong is it, you have seen it. After all, Captain Luo is only a high-level leader of a small shelter. It is true that the green shelter is stronger than other shelters, but the strength of Brother Hammer. This is stronger than most of the strongest in the sanctuary, not to mention the two teamed up, which side has a higher winning rate, one can imagine. Analysis of the party hit the nail on the head. The Awakener who also supported Luo Zhe was speechless. It's not a real life and death battle after all. Neither of the Hammer Brothers used weapons. They looked at each other and charged towards Luo Zhe from left to right. The younger brother Ma Jiaza was short and fat, but his speed was faster. He came to Luo Zhe first and attacked Luo Zhe's lower plate by taking advantage of his height disadvantage. Ma Jiafen followed with a heavy punch. There was a glint in his eyes. With such an attack and such cooperation, how would Captain Luo take over? Bang bang bang. Fists and feet meet, the wind blows, and the dust flies. The onlookers awakened couldn't help covering their faces with their hands to block the swaying dust. They swallowed. This kind of strength, this level of battle, there are many awakened people present, it is the first time to see. Far more terrifying than they imagined. 
Many people have found that if the fighting party is replaced by themselves, I am afraid that they will lose and retreat if they can't even hold around. Hey, aren't you the best at analyzing, which side has the upper hand? Heard. Cold sweat fell from the analysis party's forehead, I, I, I can't see clearly, I don't know who has the upper hand, but from this aspect, it should be evenly matched. Someone next to him shook his head. The analysis party was dissatisfied, although I can't see clearly, but you come and go on both sides, even if one side has the upper hand, the gap is definitely not big, and it is basically evenly matched. The awakened glanced at him, still shaking his head. With his strength, you can see more, but he stared at the field intently, too lazy to answer. Beside her, Lan Qingya's eyes were also unblinking, staring at her, and after a while, she breathed a sigh of relief. That's because Captain Luo didn't do his best. No full strength? Impossible, how could it be possible to retain strength in such a fierce battle? Lan Qingya shook her head, it is precisely because Captain Luo is so powerful that he completely controls the rhythm of the battle, that he can suppress his own strength. In fact, during the entire battle, Captain Luo was only defending, or in other words, feeding. In the field. Ma Jiafeng punched out like a cannonball, only Luo Zhe's figure was reflected in his eyes. It has already entered the most focused fighting state. This state makes him excited. He felt that in this state, one strength could play 120%. A long time. The three separated, and the Hammer Brothers were both panting. In this battle, they fought happily, their clothes were torn a lot, they looked tattered, and they were sweating profusely. Both looked satisfied. At this time, Ma Jiafeng looked at Luo Zhe who did not change his face, and was suddenly shocked. No wonder, I was able to play so smoothly, and thinking about it again, in the battle just now, I seem to have made many mistakes, which were abruptly corrected. This is a guiding war. Captain Luo's strength is far stronger than expected. He couldn't even know what level Captain Luo had reached. Ma Jiafeng was not depressed, but excited, grateful, and respected. He conceded defeat and admitted his own inadequacies. He originally thought of working hard to become stronger, and one day he would challenge Captain Luo again. I heard the other party say, you have passed the inspection of the patrol team. Lin Dong, South Gate. There are still a lot of survivors coming and going here every day, which is very lively. Many awakened, still talking about yesterday's battle, seemed very excited. Don't you know that Wang Chang's team, who lives next door to us, got big yesterday and killed a lot of demonized beasts on the front line? Originally, they belonged to the poor and weak class like us. Come on. The awakened next to him rolled his eyes, front line, do you know how many awakens died yesterday, and there are indeed many who survived. If you are envious, apply for the most important next time you have the opportunity. Front line. While talking, the two walked into the distance. Although it was an envious tone, but looking at the two of them, they were also replaced with a lot of brand new weapons and equipment, and they knew that they also gained a lot from the large-scale mission yesterday. These combatants belonging to Lin Dong will show their passes to the soldiers guarding the gates when they come in and out, while the newly arrived survivors will wait in line at the registration counter on the side. An ordinary-looking young man came to the end of the line. This is a gray blade. He made a disguise and changed his appearance a little to ensure that he would not be recognized by Lin Wei's people. After completing the registration, Hui Ren walked into the Lin Dong shelter. As before, there were many survivors at the entrance staring at the people who came in, looking for possible gold masters. This is the guide. After ignoring these people, Hui Ren pretended to be surprised and curious, and as if he couldn't wait to visit Lin Dong's sanctuary, he quickly disappeared into the crowd. But unlike those people who wandered around like headless flies, Grey Blade had a clear purpose. To establish an intelligence agency in Lindong. The space backpack on his body contains a lot of source crystals and various equipment, which are not lacking. But there is still a lack of manpower, and he needs to solve it by himself. Grey Blade doesn't care. In the life of a killer for many years, this situation has often been encountered. It is necessary to collect information by oneself, and someone needs to act as an eyeliner. 
he has become proficient in these things, and has already had a complete set of business processes. Ashblade walked into the aid area. This is one of the most populous areas in Lindong. There are several towers built here. There is almost no distance between the buildings. This place is also called the refugee zone by those upper level figures. Also worthy of the name. There are many people, the environment is messy, and the environment is very complicated. If you are not careful, you will get lost in it. Hui Ren was familiar with the road, following the narrow alley that could only allow two or three people to run side by side, turning left and right, and finally arrived at the destination. A bar. Hanging on it, Wang Yu Bar. As the bar in the aid area, it is also the only bar in the entire aid area. But it is very lively inside, even if it is daytime, there are still many people indulging themselves. Loud voices echoed through the bar. After Huiren walked in, his face was expressionless, and he automatically filtered out these sounds. He just observed left and right, looking for something. Soon, he walked towards a corner of the bar. Compared to other places, this corner seemed quiet, with only an old man staring blankly at the empty wine bottle in his hand. Ashblade went over and patted the table. The old man raised his head, took a drink and asked, is something wrong? Ashblade drew a pattern on the table. The old man became a little more energetic, what do you want, just say it. Hui Ren smiled, looked at the old man and said, I want you. Chapter, 93 I want you to work for me. The old man waved the wine bottle in his hand, as if he didn't care about what Hui Ren said, and he continued, whatever you want. Just say it directly, the business that can be undertaken here is to find people and things, and it can also solve some disputes for others. Say your requirements, leave a deposit, and I will contact you with the family. The grey blade tapped the table lightly and looked at the old man. Old man Yen, don't pretend. The old man looked up, still not paying attention. You are the real boss, including this bar and these businesses, you are all in control. This time, the old man was a little surprised. There are not a few people who know his surname Yen. But most people just think that he is an intermediary contact who works for others. After understanding the customer's requirements, he will show it to the behind-the-scenes boss to decide whether to do this single business. But few people know that those thugs who resolve disputes and grievances for others are his employees. Old Yen raised his brows and gradually became serious. He looked at Ash Blade, boy, since you know where this place is, do you know what the consequences will be if you mess around here? Or, do you think we don't undertake the business of killing people here, so you think we dare not kill people? In this refugee area, people die every day. If too many people die, it will be a little troublesome, but you are alone, who is there? Would care. He shook his head, of course, doing business, making money with peace, let's give you another chance and say your intentions. My purpose? Hui Ren smiled, I just want you and your subordinates to work for me, otherwise, why would I come here? The old man's face gradually turned cold. He tapped the bell under the table, and the entire bar rang an alarm bell. The bartender's expression changed and he stopped the work he was doing. Many big men ran out from the inside, holding weapons such as knives, guns, sticks, etc. In their hands. The customers here also noticed that something was wrong. Looking at these big men with bad faces, the fool knew that he couldn't stay any longer. They all left the bar. Boom. The door is closed. All the big men looked at the grey blade with bad intentions, and the most sturdy man in the middle pointed at the grey blade, Dad, this guy is the one who is making trouble. This guy is too small, I think I can shoot it with a slap. Die. Grey Blade narrowed his eyes and smiled. Being surrounded by big men, he didn't care at all. For some reason, the old man Yen felt a pimple in his heart. It was obvious that the Grey Blade didn't look strong, and the breath was also weak, but why so confident? What's the trump card? The big man surrounded by the Grey Blade doesn't think so much. When the first person was the first, he swept down with a stick, only to find that the shadow of the grey blade was lost in his eyes. The next moment, the line of sight turned around, 
and the whole person was thrown up and smashed to the floor in the distance. With a bang, this old house seems to be a burst of smoke and dust. The big man wanted to stand up, but his eyes suddenly darkened, and a big man was thrown flying over and smashed his butt in the face. Each of these people is very strong. Compared with these people, Huiren is indeed only small in stature. However, these people are also not light in weight, just one or two. One after another, these big men are all in front of us as soon as the flower was thrown, it was thrown away by the grey blade and threw it in the same place. The big man at the bottom, his face was blue, red, black, and bitter, he was speechless, and could only make a humming sound. Yen Dajuang, the strongest in body and also the strongest awakened, charged up with a roar. He slapped it with a slap and lost the figure of ash blade in front of him. The table next to it shattered. A distressed look flashed in the eyes of the distant old man. Yen Dajuang suddenly turned around, I found you. His fist the size of a sandbag slammed down, and this time, it landed on Grey Blade. Yen Dajuang was stunned for a moment, his fist passed directly through the Grey Blade, this was a phantom. Then smashed against the wall beside him. With a bang, the wall cracked, and the old man Yen was so distressed that he almost broke the wine bottle in his hand. After a few minutes. Inside the bar there was a human hill. The big man at the bottom had already passed out, and he fully experienced the feeling of a big man pressing down on his body. Yen Dajuang was the last to be thrown up, but he was also beaten the worst. His nose is blue and his face is swollen. If this was not played in front of the old man Yen, I am afraid that Yen Dajuang would not even recognize his own father. After work. Hui Ren clapped his hands and looked at the old man Yen. Reintroduce myself, I am, um, my identity is confidential, so now, can we talk about work? Academy of Sciences. In an underground laboratory. Sun Weigua is using an instrument to inscribe the runes into the equipment. Although he was old, his hands that controlled the instrument did not tremble at all, and he did not ask anyone to help compared with letting others do things. Sun Weigua enjoyed the process of creating such scientific research results in his own hands. After a while, the runic energy was finally etched into it. Sun Weigua carefully took the long sword to the other side and placed it on a testing instrument. The red light on the instrument lights up and the results appear. Next to him, Assistant Xiao Lin was so nervous that he didn't dare to breathe. After waiting for a while, he carefully asked, Teacher, did this succeed? Sun Weigua frowned, the rune is successfully inscribed, but the effect is far from the expected requirements. After hearing what Tang Yu said, Sun Weigua suddenly became enlightened. Originally, he had been researching this aspect for a long time, but he was stuck on the key point. After he got through it, Sun Weigua immediately discussed and researched with several other experts overnight, and soon made a systematic analysis of the extraordinary power of runes. Summarize in their expectation, the most difficult part of making rune weapons is to inscribe the runes. Right now, the rune inscription is successful, but the effect is far less than that of the Demon Slayer sword. Where is the problem? Sun Weigua racked his brains. For a better argument, the materials he used were exactly the same as those used for the Demon Slaying sword, and even the style and size of the weapons were only slightly different. But still useless. In order to inscribe this rune, he consumed thousands of units of source crystals, which is definitely far beyond the normal consumption of rune weapons. If it can be successful, that's fine, but the results show that this newly released long sword, is more than one grade worse than the demon slaying sword. Suddenly, a new idea came to his mind. Shao Lin, bring me another demon slayer sword. Assistant Shao Lin nodded, and was about to pick it up, when he was suddenly stunned, teacher, the last demon slayer sword has been torn down just now, and there are no more leftovers. He looked bitter. Sun Weigua's face was about to go crazy, as if when he was about to do something, he was told that he couldn't do it today. Might be even worse than that. This kind of feeling, if he is not an awakened person, I am afraid that he will faint in a hurry. Even now, his fingers were trembling with anxiety, and he suddenly slapped his thigh, right, and that guy last time, Shaolin, I told you to pay attention to where that guy is staying, you pay attention, 
you go with that guy. Talking about how many demon slaying swords are left, the source crystal is not a problem, even if the young man wants something else, as long as the academy can give it, it is not a problem. Sun Weiguo was so anxious that he was a little incoherent. Xiao Lin panicked, teacher, those people last time, although I found out where they live in Lindong, they are not there now. Did they go out on a mission? It's a bit difficult. No. Xiao Lin thought about it for a while, and finally told the cruel truth, it seems that they never returned to the shelter. The news that they received before was that they were attacked by the Scarlet Hand in the wild. Scarlet Hand. Sun Weiguo was angry. Even though Tang Yu had paid a lot of rewards for these contributions, Sun Weiguo still felt that the young man could be regarded as a hero of Lin Dong, but unexpectedly, they were attacked by the Scarlet Hand. His eyes became a little dull, it's my negligence, it's my negligence we must let Lu Jianjun eradicate these black sheep. Sun Weigua is about to leave. But I heard Xiao Lin say, no, teacher, the Scarlet Hand has been destroyed. It is said that those three people did it. Sun Weigua. Chapter, 94. Under the diffuse red fog, gunshots resounded endlessly. Lin Wei stood on the top of the armored car, staring at the abyss in the distance, wondering what he was thinking. Here is near the abyss crack. There was a red mist everywhere, and the ground was dark red, covered with dense black cracks. According to research, these cracks are formed by the escape of the energy generated by the abyss cracks. Completely changed the environment in this area. Led by the military, the senior management of Lindong Sanctuary formed a line of defense to surround the entire abyss crack. As soon as a demonized beast emerges, various weapons that have been erected will be blasted to death. At this time, a confidant came running from a distance. How's it going? Lin Wei asked. Today, the third wave of demonized beasts offensive has been resisted. It seems that there is no problem. In two days, this line of defense should be able to stabilize. The existence of abyss cracks is far beyond the current human understanding. The most recognized statement is that the abyss crack is a space channel that connects to another world. At the beginning of the end of the world, some military bosses controlled an abyss crack and sent special forces to try to enter it. People went in, but no news came back. After a few times, the big guy stopped trying, at least, no matter what was on the other side, it must be extremely dangerous. The abyss fissure cannot be destroyed, nor can it prevent the demonized beasts from gushing out of it. Only by forming a line of defense can the demonized beasts be firmly controlled. Before a large-scale demonic tide is formed, scattered demonized beasts do not pose much threat to modern hot weapons. The reason why this line of defense has not stabilized is because Lindong's executives are worried that there will be a sudden emergence of powerful demonized beasts. But as long as two days later, when the weapons here are all arranged, even if another super-large demonized beast emerges, the gathering cannons that have already been arranged around it will be quickly eliminated. At that time, there is no threat to this abyss crack. On the contrary, the energy source continues to bring resources to the Lindong shelter. For example, source crystals, such as precious materials on demonized beasts. Old Gue Lu really has courage, but unfortunately. Lin Wei actually never thought of overthrowing Lu Jianjun. He is not stupid. Demonized beasts are the real enemies. Human beings fight within each other and weaken the overall strength of Lindong Sanctuary, which will only bring about their own destruction. What he has to do is to secretly accumulate power, and with enough power, he can do anything without restraint. For Lu Jianjun, although sometimes it is a hindrance, it is not a threat. On the contrary, as long as Lu Jianjun is still in this position, he has to do many things. Just like this time, to form the coalition army of Lindong Shelter, his Lu Jianjun is bound to assume the main force. Lin Wei touched his chin and smiled. Let the old ghost Lu bear the loss. Anyway, as long as I have my share of the gain, it is enough. It just so happens that Dr. Zheng received news last time that the Beast Transformation Warrior Project has entered the final stage, and there is a lack of some experimental resources. Now, after controlling the Abyss Crack, the Monster Transformation Beast resources are enough. Lin Wei turned around and looked into the distance. 
In another two days, when the place is stabilized, he can secretly leave with his confidants, destroy the shade shelter that is in the way, and then control the source crystal mine. At that time, there will be no shortage of demonized beasts and no shortage of source crystals. The success of the animalization warrior plan is just around the corner. Shady Shelter After the patrol inspection is completed. Luo Zhe took the new members of the patrol team to the valley behind. That is the place where the patrol team rests on a daily basis, and other patrol team members are also going there to gather. The new and old patrol team members will meet soon. Brother Hammer followed behind the group. The chunky younger brother leaned over and asked in a low voice, Big brother, why did we join the patrol? Ma Jiafeng looked up at the sky with a contemplative look on his face. Originally, he never thought of joining a patrol team. Only by staying in the wild, and only in danger all the time, can he continue to improve. This is his creed. It's also the reason why they can get to where they are today and become masters. However, even if he couldn't beat Luo Zhe, it was still a long way off. Ma Jiafeng couldn't even guess how strong Luo Zhe's real strength was. This is only the captain of the patrol team. It is said that there is a frost ability person in the shelter, and his strength is also very strong. And the healer who I saw just now, Ma Jiafeng didn't feel weak because she was a healer, and even from Winnie, Ma Jiafeng felt threatened. One by one is a super master. Not to mention the most mysterious director of the shelter, Tang, who fabricated buildings out of thin air and created puppets. His strength has long been unfathomable. That's why he didn't refuse. Although, he can no longer enjoy the dangerous environment in the wild, but as long as he can become stronger, within the discipline, he is willing to pay whatever he wants. They walked into the valley, and the front suddenly opened up. On the right side of the valley, a lot of world has been cultivated, and at a glance, you can see the golden ears of wheat, as well as other crops such as corn, potatoes, vegetables and fruits. These crops are growing satisfactorily, and many people are surprised when they see this large field. Food is extremely precious in the last days. Especially these growing crops that are about to mature represent hope. As a member of the patrol team, a part of the shelter, these people naturally hope that the shelter can grow and grow, and they can benefit more. Then they saw the rest of the patrol members on the other side of the valley. Call the landlord, grab the landlord. 4-6. Wang Jia. Ha 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 I won again. Brother Hammer walked in with the new members of the patrol team, and saw such a scene. A burly man with a big back, a young man, and a fat man were fighting fiercely, and they could hear the sound from a distance. I saw the burly man with the big back threw down the cards in his hand and laughed loudly, while the other two looked depressed. The Hammer brothers looked at each other, only to feel that this style of painting was a bit wrong. Did they come to the wrong place? Soon they moved their gazes to the other side, and saw a man with his eyes closed, his entire body upside down, and supported with one finger, this finger was not on the ground, but on a standing bamboo. This finally looks more normal a ghost. Either look rude or horribly solemn, is this the patrol? At this time, Luo Zhe coughed dryly, and the three fighting the landlord finally stopped. There was no special ceremony. The newcomers joined the patrol team just to get acquainted with each other first. Luo Zhe only focused on two of them. These two, Xia and Kong, are the vice captains of the patrol team. I have to obey their commands when I'm not here. Of course, they are also very strong. You can discuss with them if you are interested. The old patrol team members did not respond, because they had already known each other first and there were probably some people who had exchanged ideas with each other in a happy mood. The result is not necessarily pleasant. The new members, especially those like the Hammer Brothers and Lan Qingya, are a little excited and hope to learn from the experts. In the crowd, Zhao Ming shrank his neck. He managed to barely pass the inspection of the patrol team. He was surprised when he discovered that the tall, thin and short, fat men who were not very optimistic had transformed into the famous Hammer Brothers. But he is not discouraged, he has successfully joined the patrol team, and in the future, he is also confident to become a master like the Hammer Brothers. However, after seeing Xie Yi, Zhao Ming couldn't calm down any longer. 
Isn't that the big brother he is very optimistic about? What did Captain Luo just say? She is the vice captain and is very strong. How strong should Captain Luo be praised for being strong? At least it's close to Captain Luo's level. Zhao Ming had a bitter look on his face. The pretense is all on the big guy, what should I do? Online waiting, very urgent. Chapter, 95 Graduate School Tang Yu was humming a little tune and returned to the days of the territory. It was very comfortable, and he almost slack off like a salted fish. Fortunately, the lack of money gave him the motivation to move forward. He took out a USB flash drive, which contained a lot of data downloaded from Lindong. Includes a lot of thermal weapon drawings. Although hot weapons can't deal with two powerful demonized beasts, they are still powerful against ordinary demonized beasts. The most important thing is that they are cheap. Of course, this refers to those hot weapons before the end of the world. To manufacture a most basic rune weapon, although it is very cheap, it still requires 10 units of source crystals. 5 units are used to create runes, and the other 5 units are used to incorporate runes into weapons and equipment. In contrast, thermal weapons are much cheaper, as long as there is enough iron, they can be produced continuously. Tang Yu entered the data in the U-Disc into the database of the Institute. There are many drawings of firearms, which are not so detailed and lack the most critical dimensional data, but to Tang Yu, they are all the same. Even if there are no drawings, as long as there are actual firearms, he can deduce relevant drawings from the Research Institute. After completing these drawings and converting them into corresponding formats, they can be used for workshop production. These are deliberately found, but also to reduce costs. Tang Yu was manipulating on the control panel beside him, and first converted these drawings into a style that fit the workshop. Dip. Consume one five units of the source crystal to generate the blueprint of the Barrett sniper rifle. Dip. Consume 50 units of source crystals to generate an enhanced Barrett sniper rifle through deduction. Dip. Consume 2 units of source crystals to generate Gatling blueprints. Dip. Consume 80 units of the source crystal, and deduce to generate the enhanced Type 1 Gatling blueprint. Drop. Tang Yu looked at the newly generated drawings and smiled with satisfaction. The next day, everything is ready, only the east wind is owed. The members of the patrol team received the news that they had a big mission today, and they were already overwhelmed with excitement. According to the request, they came to gather at the side door of the resort. Ma Jiafen was holding a large two-handed hammer in his hand. His younger brother, holding two smaller one-size hammers, also wielded them with great joy. This is the custom weapon they applied for. The price is that they did not receive the basic weapon distributed by the patrol team, and they owed a lot of contribution points. Brother Hammer was very satisfied. This sledgehammer is really easy to use, especially the spikes on it, which are extremely sharp. If it hits the enemy's face, it is guaranteed to be a brand new hornet's nest. With this big hammer, his strength can be improved a lot. Ordinarily, a demonized beast of the Triple Awakening, one on one, he has the confidence to smash the opponent into meat sauce. Ma Jiafeng is even more looking forward to the task later, and he is eager to earn enough contribution points in this task no way, the owed contribution points will be calculated as interest. At that moment a heavy goods vehicle came over and stopped beside them. The door opened, and Luo Zhe, who was wearing black armor, jumped out of the driver's seat. With a bang, the ground seemed to be shaking. Ma Jiafeng peeked into the driver's seat, but couldn't see if the driver's seat had been squashed. After Luo Zhe got off the car, he pointed to the back compartment, there are some things in it, you go and remove those things. Patrol members obeyed. Ma Jiafeng also got into the carriage, and saw that there were iron boxes inside. He picked up one of them in both hands, got out of the car, and put the box on the ground. It felt a little heavy, and when I looked at other people, some of the strengths were only awakened at the first level. It was really a bit laborious to carry this box. Captain Luo, what's in the box, why is it so heavy? Open it and see, it's nothing, just some hot weapons. Luo Zhe said. Hot weapons? Ma Jiafen was puzzled. For them, hot weapons are not uncommon. 
After joining the patrol, everyone is handed out an automatic rifle, but for their brothers, they are not used to it. Such a rifle is useful to deal with human powerhouses, but if it is used to deal with awakened triple quadruple demonized beasts, it is really not very useful, far less than the big hammer in his hand. The size of the weapon is large, which can best show the charm of a man. Confused, Ma Jiafen opened one of the boxes. Suddenly his eyes widened. There are indeed hot weapons, but they are not the rifle submachine guns he imagined, but heavy machine guns, sniper rifles, individual rocket launchers, and even a full box of bullets and a full box of grenades. It could literally be a small war. Where did the shelter get these arms from? Both the Hammer brothers couldn't help swallowing their saliva. The lethality of ordinary firearms to demonized beasts is not enough, but things like bazooka and heavy machine guns are different. A dozen of them can cause enough damage even to demonized beasts of the third or fourth level of awakening. In other shelters, let alone such a heavy weapon, even if it is an ordinary firearm, the bullets must be saved. In those shelters, a defense force like the patrol, most of its members, could not have firearms. It's like a green shelter. Originally, everyone had a rifle. This kind of treatment is already very eye-catching, not to mention that these firearms are like wholesale. At first glance, Ma Jiafeng seems to be brand new, maybe it is really wholesale. Looking at Luo Zhu again, he didn't care, as if these hot weapons were toys. But I don't know, in Luo Zhu's eyes, these hot weapons are at best high-end toys. For Luo Zhe, who has recovered to the seventh level of awakening and started to reshape his body, let alone these hot weapons can't hit him, even if they hit him, at most, he will be slightly injured. Not much of a threat. These weapons are used for today's mission, and they will be taken out when they are available, said Luo Zhe. The box is closed. Everyone on the patrol became more and more curious about today's mission. It seemed that these hot weapons were specially prepared for today's mission. Only. They looked around and saw that all the members of the patrol team had arrived, why didn't they move? Director Tang is here. Suddenly they heard Roger say this. Turning his head to look, he saw a few figures slowly walking towards the resort. The leader was a young man, who did not seem to have the power of a strong man. Many members of the patrol team who saw Tang Yu for the first time were somewhat incomprehensible. In their imagination, Director Tang should be a peerless powerhouse with a mysterious temperament, exuding a powerful aura, who can stun people to death with just one look. But from this point of view, he is quite an ordinary person. In addition to Director Tang, there were two other people who were wearing blue and white armor and could not see their faces. They looked more mysterious than Director Tang. In addition, there is also Winnie, who has loose curly hair and a large robe. A group of people, walking slowly. The members of the patrol team widened their eyes. In this mission, even Director Tang has to go together. Chapter, 96 The resort is backed by mountains, and is connected to a whole piece of dense forest. After a while, Tang Yu discovered that the vegetation here has grown to a new level. There are not seven or eight people in the trunk of the big trees, and they cannot be embraced. There are dense branches everywhere, and there is hardly even a place to stay. But it is also strange. After the vegetation grows wildly, this mountain forest will not spread out although the weeds on both sides of the road outside are also growing rapidly, they are still worse than the vegetation in this mountain forest. It is as if a unique landform environment has been formed here. Boom! The spear swept across, clumps of vines, and messy creeping plants were swept away by a single spear, and the front suddenly opened up, leaving only some unplucked turf and muddy land. It was the puppet guard, no. Two who opened the way at the front of the team. Such mountains and forests are undoubtedly dangerous, not only to face demonized beasts, but to walk in such a complex environment is very troublesome. The messy and dense plants greatly reduce people's vision. If you are not careful, you will be attacked by demonized beasts. Not to mention, many plants have spikes on them, which will be scratched if you are not careful. If these plants mutate and produce some kind of toxin, this scratch can basically reserve a grave for themselves. Fortunately, the team is strong. Wherever he passed, in this dense mountain forest, he was abruptly expelled from a road. 
worse than a bulldozer. Probably this is wasteland reclamation, the reclamation of dense mountain forests into wasteland. Tang Yu naturally walked in the center of the team, and no. One followed closely. At the back, some of the patrol team members acted as coolies, carrying those weapon boxes. Although Tang Yu had space in his backpack, it also contained a lot of things. At this time, the patrol team members needed to show their value. Another part of the patrol team opened a road on the periphery. The whole team moved forward, which was much easier than the last time Tang Yu only brought no. One and no. Along the way, I can see some strange plants from time to time, most of these plants are unheard of before the end of the world. Of course, Tang Yu didn't study botany before the end of the world, and there was no such strong man in the team, but it doesn't matter, if you can't tell the difference, just pull it out. As long as you take it to the research institute, you can naturally analyze whether these plants have special characteristics. Effect. As for the irregular picking process, Tang Yu doesn't care. Anyway, let it go. Next time I come here, I'm afraid I won't be able to find it. Don't look at the wasteland this time. So take it out. Waste cannot be wasted. Maybe this is just the outskirts of the mountain and forest. The density of demonized beasts is very low. Along the way, all the difficulties are on the way, but the demonized beasts have not yet been seen. Lu Xiaopeng and Peng Bo, holding a machete, opened the way in front of the side. After a knife, the vines broke apart. These vines are tough enough. With the weapons of the shelter, you have to waste your strength to cut them off. If you replace them with ordinary weapons, wouldn't it be impossible to walk? Lu Xiaopeng has recently been promoted to the second level of awakening, and he is already a master in other small shelters. For this reason, it is not easy to be a trailblazer. This forest is indeed not something that ordinary teams can come to. Isn't that nonsense? Peng Bo pouted, looking around, but couldn't find a tree bearing fruit. He sighed very much. He felt a pity, and then said, this is just a vine blocking the road. Don't forget, the biggest danger in the wild comes from demonized beasts. That's true, but this forest is quite close to our shelter, and now it's on the periphery, so there shouldn't be any demonized beasts. After all, if there are demonized beasts, they would have been attracted to our shelter. Lu Xiaopeng said. Suddenly, a green figure appeared in the corner of his eyes, be careful. He shouted. Now he is no longer the pink and cute new man who couldn't even beat a demonized wolf. The sword that was chopping at the vines turned and picked it up. Collided with an unknown creature. Lu Xiaopeng felt a little numb in his wrist. Looking at it again, the creature fell to the ground, and a wound was cut on its head by a war knife, but it was still fierce, its mouth opened, and its long tongue like a sharp arrow shot towards him. Peng Bo roared next to him, condensed a piece of rock, and flew out suddenly, blocking the path of the tongue's flying shot, but was pierced all at once. Taking advantage of this moment, Lu Xiaopeng narrowly avoided the attack of the demonic beast's tongue. This is the sneak attack phase of the first round of demonized beasts. Soon, several members of the patrol team took action and joined forces to kill the demonized beast. This is a large green lizard, about one meter in length, covered with scales, with a long tongue sticking out, and on that tongue, there are very sharp barbs. However, this big lizard, this will have been stabbed out seven or eight holes, and its eyes are wide, as if it is dead. This is a long-tongued lizard, a demonized beast. Lu Xiaopeng walked in to observe, the strength should be at the high level of awakening, and it is good at sneak attacks. A member of the patrol team took out a small book, flipped it open, and arrived at one of the pages. It reads, Pokédex No. 0073, Long Tongue Lizard, Demonized Beast. The member looked at the content above and said, this long-tongued lizard has been recorded twice, and the recorded strength is at the first level of awakening. The sharp claws are like steel knives. The most deadly attack method is its tongue, which is extremely fast. The piercing force is extremely strong, and the paralyzing toxin is attached to it. In addition, the length of the tongue of the long-tongued lizard can reach about five times its body length. He said, and added a new record later, awakening the double, good at concealment in sneak attack. 
and soon another member took out the camera and filmed from multiple angles, clearly photographing the tragic shape of this long-tongued lizard. For future research. By the way, some valuable parts are collected from the long-tongued lizard, which can be used as materials or as samples for future research. For example, its tongue was elongated and then cut off. The old members of the patrol were very skilled. After finishing the work, the team moved on. There has been this sneak attack, and many members are more vigilant. Gradually, the team encountered more and more demonized beasts, and Luo Zhe and other followers also shot and killed many demonized beasts. The information on the demonized beasts' Pokédex has been enriched a lot. Finally, as the No. Two spear danced and brushed away the thorns and vines that were blocking the road, the light ahead suddenly became clear, which had been blocked by the dense foliage, and the sun, which had no chance to show its presence, finally shed its rays. The patrol members stepped forward one by one, standing on the edge of the pothole, looking ahead. Mouth, gradually opened. Chapter, 97 This, this is the source crystal mine. Someone spoke, his voice trembling. The existence of the Source Crystal Mine was officially announced as early as the beginning of the end of the world. But knowing that is one thing, actually seeing the shiny stones all over the floor is another. This shock was hard to calm down for a while. Luoja did not give the members of the patrol team time to be surprised, and quickly ordered them to open the box. Some people arranged the heavy machine guns, and the other part arranged mines in the potholes ahead. I have been instructed that these members of the patrol team move very lightly and try not to make loud noises. Tang Yu stood by the pothole, looking at the giant tree in the distance, and the place where the stems intersected under the giant tree. Almost like a cave extending in all directions. Inside, I don't know how many magical beasts are hidden. The last time I saw only a small part, this time, if you want to mine this source crystal mine, you must clean up all the demonized beasts here. It is precisely because of this that Tang Yu brought all the patrols and produced this batch of hot weapons and equipment, which can provide some output. As for whether the Yuanjing mine will leak out because of this, Tang Yu is not worried. The members of the patrol team have a strong sense of belonging to the shelter and are more loyal members. Although source crystals are precious, they cannot be used by ordinary people. On the contrary, when they stay in the patrol team, the treatment is very high, and normal people will make wise choices. Even if it leaks out, Tang Yu is not worried. The third level territory is his confidence. Once the source crystals are mined one after another, some of the remaining buildings in the third level territory can be built. Even if the enemy of the super large demonized beast attacks, he is not wrong. Moreover, if the Yuanjing mine wants to be mined, it must invest manpower, that is, the survivors. If there are many people, the fish and dragons will be mixed up, and the news will spread sooner or later. You can't stop mining because you have too many scruples, or delay the mining progress of the source crystal ore, right? Cowardly, how it works. In any case, the initial difficult and cowardly days are over. While the patrol was busy, the forest behind them was attacked by demonized beasts from time to time, which were solved by Luo Zhe and Kong and other followers. Tang Yu was not idle either, closed his eyes and sensed the territory. On the map, with the Lord Castle as the core, the territory spreads out. Going north, over the mountains and forests, the territory just reaches this pothole, covering about one-fifth of the distance of the pothole. Not too big, but enough. This is also Tang Yu's confidence in dealing with the many demonized beasts below. The work of arranging the defense line gradually came to an end, but after all, it still attracted the attention of the demonized beast below. In the beginning, sporadic demonized beasts came running from the entanglement of the rhizomes of the giant tree. The patrol members controlled the machine guns and quickly killed those demonized beasts. However, more and more demonized beasts appeared, showing their teeth and claws. The face of the less pink and tender newcomer turned pale with fright. They don't have time to avoid demonized beasts on weekdays. Even if they occasionally fight demonized beasts, they are targeting those who are alone. When have they seen such a scene of course, survivors who have seen such a scene are basically are all dead. All come back and defend here. Luo Zhe said in a deep voice. 
The members of the patrol finally retreated to the edge of the pothole, manipulating the heavy machine gun, which spewed flames from the muzzle. Wherever the bullet passed, the ground splashed with dust, and the body of the demonized beast was smashed to pieces, but this was only a few, and more demonized beasts charged forward with bullets from heavy machine guns. There were also members of the patrol team carrying individual rocket launchers, and the rockets flew out with a swish, landing in the demonized beast group. And suddenly made a small gap in the black beast group, but they were quickly destroyed by the later demonized beasts. Add up. This momentum cannot be stopped. The lethality of these heavy weapons is actually very strong. Ordinary demonized beasts can't bear it at all, and they will be torn to shreds. However, in the group of demonized beasts, there are still many powerful demonized beasts. These demonized beasts are hard-wearing and take the lead in rushing forward. Even heavy machine guns and bazookas need to concentrate most of their firepower in order to kill a powerful demonized beast. As for the other demonized beasts, they moved forward a lot during this period of time. Watching him get closer and closer, the members of the patrol team who could already see the ferocious appearance of the demonized beast, his face became even paler. No wonder, the shelter has prepared so many arms, but now it seems that even if the firepower they have is very ferocious, they can't stop the surging offensive of the demonized beasts. At this moment. Rise. They heard such a voice. The sound was not loud. It should have been difficult to hear it under the cover of the gunfire, but they could hear it clearly. There was no panic in the sound. Only, self-confidence. Rumbling, with such a sound, the ground trembled, and tower-shaped buildings rose from the ground. This is the Arrow Tower, and Tang Yu built ten towers at one time. But not enough. Upgrading the Arrow Tower 10, consumes 400 units of source crystal, 600 units of wood, 400 units of stone, and 200 units of iron. There was originally a 10 meter high arrow tower, and it was suddenly raised upwards. The outer wall of the black tower became thicker, and sharp rune arrows shot from the top of the tower. This is the second level arrow tower, which can only be built in the third level territory. In an instant, in the demonized beast group, Puffs of blood mist exploded. The upgraded arrow tower is faster and more penetrating. A rune arrow can completely pierce through several demonized beasts. This power is much higher than that of heavy machine gun bullets. But this was still not enough. Tang Yu looked down and saw the charging momentum of the demonized beasts. He paused for a moment. This was the front end of some powerful demonized beasts that were killed, but soon, the demonized beasts behind him stepped on it. Looking at the corpse of the dead demonized beast in front of him, he rushed up. Building artillery 8 will cost 800 units of source crystal, 1600 units of wood, 1600 units of stone, and 400 units of iron. Behind the arrow tower, 8 cannons with a black body and a metallic luster, with a muzzle large enough to fit a basketball, were also built in an instant. The majestic energy gradually condensed into the artillery fire, and a splendid red light spewed out from the muzzle, streaked high in the sky, and smashed into the turbulent group of demonized beasts. Boom, it explodes. The flames were billowing, and the air blew away the smoke and dust. Looking at it again, the demonized beast in the center had turned into black ashes, and a small pothole was dissolved in the ground. That's the power of artillery. In the patrol team, those old members have already seen it, and their faces are extremely excited. Since that time, the magic tide came, and after Director Tang showed his power, they finally saw this terrifying power once again. And this time, it was obviously even more terrifying. One by one flushed with excitement. Others are keenly aware that the last time, when Director Tang built something, he still needed to gather the surrounding materials. But this time, the surrounding materials are obviously far from enough, but Director Tang still built it out of thin air, so many building. Director Tang's strength has grown again. The old members who have seen it are still like this, and the faces of the patrol team members who have just joined are even more shocked. The arrow tower, when they passed the city wall, naturally saw it. It's just that the core area of the sanctuary has rarely been invaded by demonized beasts. 
naturally, they have no chance to see the defensive buildings show their power. They can only hear a few words from the mouths of the old survivors. It's far from reality. They can't imagine that someone can build towers with a wave of their hands, and with their own efforts, they can forcibly hold back the momentum of the demonized beast's advance. These eight artillery pieces were used together, and the menacing demonized beasts were beaten to pieces in an instant. The members of the patrol team were so excited one by one, they hurriedly controlled the heavy machine guns and exerted their efforts to gradually eliminate this wave of beasts. Chapter, 98 Ahead, inside the pothole. The ground is full of mutilated corpses of demonized beasts, some of which are no longer found. There are also a few demonized beasts who have been severely injured, but their tenacious vitality still makes them struggle to rush over. This kind of tenacious vitality, this kind of performance that is not afraid of death, many members of the patrol team feel chills in their hearts. Fortunately, Director Tang is very powerful. They looked at the surrounding arrow towers and the artillery behind them, and they felt a sense of security. Couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. I am preparing to go down to clean the battlefield, collect demonized beast materials, and dig out the source crystal. This is the workflow of the patrol team every time they go out for a mission. First solve the enemy, and then collect the spoils for a mission like this, the spoils need to be handed over, but they are not dissatisfied. According to their contributions, every time they go out, everyone they can get a free contribution. Not to mention that they also know that if they are not lucky and join the patrol team, most of them will be no different from those struggling awakened. Someone was about to jump out of the pothole, but heard Luoja's voice, wait, stay vigilant, and change the ammunition for the weapons and equipment first. When the members of the patrol team saw Captain Luo and other experts in the shelter, their expressions were solemn, and they knew something was wrong. Could it be that the demonized beast has not gone out yet? Suddenly, under the pothole, the ground swelled up, as if something was drilling under the ground. Knock that thing out. The machine gun bullets hit the ground and the dust was flying, but it didn't do anything. The arrow of the arrow tower shot into the soil, and there was no movement. Tang Yu controlled the artillery, and a fiery energy ball blasted like the bulging surface, but the creature below seemed to have eyes and quickly turned a corner to avoid the artillery's attack. I come. Shea roared, his muscles bulging, and the suit was torn apart, revealing the tight battle suit inside. He grabbed a nearby rock the size of a car and threw it violently. In midair, the rocks shattered into small boulders, but they fell to the ground in a very regular manner, wrapping the raised surface area. Boom! Like a meteor shower hitting the ground, and like a bomber dropping bombs from the sky. Potholes were blasted out of the ground, and the soil mixed with gravel was blasted into the air. This is Shea's special ability, anything he touches can be transformed into a bomb. A veritable blaster. This time, for this mining operation, a lot of high-end combat power in the territory was dispatched. The three newly added followers strongly requested to participate followers are also human beings. Now under Tang Yu's command, they naturally wanted to show their worth, so they all followed. As the captain of the patrol team, Luo Zhu was also indispensable. I can only leave Elaine alone, sitting in the territory. Under Shea's violent bombardment, the creature under the ground was finally blown out. This is a monster in the shape of a worm, with no eyes in sight, its mouth opens and closes, and a few tentacles on the side vibrate around as the mouth opens and closes. Although it was forced out by Xie Yi, the worm monster was not injured very much. The mouth closed and opened, and a thick column of fire spit out. Be careful, this guy has the strength to awaken the sixth level. Luo Zhe drew his sword, and there was a thick red light on the sword. He slashed out with a sword, and the thick pillar of fire was split apart, and the ignition light fell on the surrounding ground, burning black traces one by one. At this time, the arrow tower on the edge of the pothole also began to attack. The arrow was extremely fast, and a black shadow flashed past, piercing the worm's body. Before the members of the patrol team had a chance to rejoice, they saw a worm with a thin hole pierced through its body. Like a normal worm, its mouth was still open and closed. Tang Yu could see that this was the special structure of the worm's body. 
Unless the key point of the worm was found, the arrow's attack would hardly cause any harm to the worm. He also tried to control the arrow tower, attack the worm's mouth or tentacles, but it was still useless, and controlled the artillery attack, but because the speed was not enough, the worm flexibly avoided it. This worm demonized beast Tang Yu felt that it was much smarter than ordinary demonized beasts. If it was just an ordinary demonized beast, it would have rushed forward without a brain, even if it had the strength of the sixth level of awakening, it would have been dealt with long ago. Below, another demonized beast rushed out from under the rhizome of the giant tree one after another. Shea volunteered, removed some of the pieces of the suit that were still hanging on his body after the crack, and stepped forward. He looked at the worm that was constantly swimming, and his eyes flashed with excitement. After coming to this world, he had been awakened for a long time in the five-level card, and finally he successfully broke through and successfully entered a new level. Right now, this worm can be used as his opponent to verify his strength after his breakthrough. Then, Shea pulled out a metal stick about half a meter long from somewhere on his body. This metal stick continued to stretch and deform, and after a while, it turned into a huge multi-barreled rotary machine gun, which resisted against his shoulder. This machine gun looks similar to Gatlin, but it is much larger. Shea is already very burly. Against the background of this huge machine gun, he suddenly looks small. No wonder Xie Yi is so strong. Although he is not a warrior, he can carry both rocks and weapons. After practicing for a long time, it is impossible to say that he does not gain some muscles. With a click, Shea's weapon expanded. He aimed at the worm, the duh, the barrel spun, and the bullets shot out like a torrent. To the naked eye, a metal barrage was completely formed in the air. The worm demonized beast also felt threatened, and its body moved flexibly, thinking about burrowing into the ground to avoid the attack. However, the next moment, where Shea's bullet hit, bursts of flames exploded. It's Shea's own genre, the rampage bombing stream. Ordinary musketeers use mental power to attach to bullets to enhance the power of the bullet and increase the range. However, the greater the power, the more mental power that needs to be consumed. It is not impossible to attach mental power to so many bullets, but just like that, the power of the bullet bonus is very weak. If you want to take into account the lethality of such a violent style of play as Shea, you need to replace it with more precious rune bullets this is a money-burning job. In Shay's world, ordinary musketeers are also used. Call it a noble profession. It is different from the noble profession of mage. Mage is often only in the hands of the great nobles because of its inheritance, while the musketeer is very straightforward. What kind of musketeer can't be played without money? Shay used to be just a mercenary and was not rich. He became a musketeer, not because he chose the wrong profession, but because his ability to touch explosions could be extended to bullets through weapons. With both power and no need to burn money, it is completely a mudslide in the hands of a musketeer. Each of his bullets is equivalent to a grenade. The single power may not be large, but the rate of fire of tens of thousands of rounds per minute is equivalent to tens of thousands of shots per minute. At this time, it is only a few seconds. The ground is already riddled with holes. The worm roared, trying to burrow into the ground, but it was useless, completely submerged in the burst of bullets. Even it opened its mouth and wanted to spit out flames, but before it had time to brew, the bullet had already pierced its mouth, and it fell softly to the ground like a dead insect. She still didn't let it go, holding a machine gun did a shot a circle from the worm's head to the tail before stopping reluctantly. The rotating barrel gradually stopped. Shea stood the huge weapon on the ground, leaned on the weapon, groped for a pack of cigarettes from his body, took out one, lit the cigarette with his own abilities, and put it in his mouth. Inside, breathing clouds and mist, without even looking at the dead worm. Chapter, 99 On the side, Lu Xiaopeng and other members of the patrol team looked at Xie Yi, their eyes glowing. This is the real man, a powerful demonized beast, if he says he will die, he will die. No wonder Vice Captain Shea always said that gunfire is the romance of a man. In just a few seconds, Deputy Captain Shea's firepower was stronger than their entire patrol team combined. They were all ashamed for a while. In particular, the old members of the patrol team have hunted demonized beasts for a period of time, 
and found that their strength has become much stronger. Although they are not as good as a master like Captain Luo, after all, they can be considered in other small shelters. On the good. Just a little smug. But looking at it now, it is true that they are not comparable to such masters as Captain Luo and Vice Captain Xia. However, not only are they not comparable, but they are too far behind. No matter how hard you try, you can't even see your back. Someone has already decided to go to the training camp for Hellstyle Penance tonight. This worm monster is just the beginning, more and more demonized beasts rush out from under the giant tree. Under the artillery fire, the demonized beasts gradually approached the edge of the pothole, and their losses became more and more. Suddenly, a certain high-level demonized beast mixed in among them, like a ray of light, broke away from the group of beasts and charged towards Tang Yu and others above. This is actually a demonized beast that has been hiding among ordinary demonized beasts, waiting for an opportunity, and then waiting for an opportunity to sneak attack. If it weren't for the heavy damage to the herd under the bombardment of artillery, this high-level demonized beast would probably continue to hide. When did demonized beasts have such high intelligence? Tang Yu was a little puzzled. The worm was also flexibly avoided from artillery bombardment, and he knew how to use his own advantages and never approached. Now this demonized beast is even smarter and knows how to use his companions as his cover. Demonized beasts generally have no intelligence, or very low intelligence, only fighting instinct. He has also encountered some powerful demonized beasts before. As the strength increases, the wisdom of demonized beasts will indeed increase, but it is not so obvious. From Tang Yu's point of view, this demonized beast, who knew how to use his companions to cover himself, was no less intelligent than the super-large demonized beast, except that he could not control low-level demonized beasts. At the evolutionary level, it is obviously far less. Then what is the reason that makes demonized beasts become more and more intelligent, is this a common phenomenon, or is it because of some kind of accident? Tang Yu raised his head, his eyes fell on the giant tree in the distance, and on the trunk of the giant branch, with leaves like white crystals. Perhaps, this is the reason that the wisdom of the demonized beasts here has improved. While thinking about it, the high-level demonized beast narrowly avoided two arrows, stepped on the slope again, and quickly approached. In the most marginal area, there are many mines, but it is useless. The speed of this demonized beast is too fast. Even if it rushes up on the thunder, when the mine explodes, this demonized beast has already rushed over a long distance. With the last kick, it leaped over the pothole. The speed was so fast that even Tang Yu himself could not see clearly, he could only see that it was a blurry blue figure attacking the crowd. Murderous intent. Like the cold wind. A figure greeted him. The two figures staggered in mid-air, colliding with the sound of gold and iron mingling. Tang Yu saw clearly this time that this blue figure was a humanoid demonic beast. The entire body seemed to be composed of blue ice crystal armor. The head was long and narrow, with spikes on it, and the hands had no fingers. General Blade Another figure that fell to the ground was Sora, and one of the swords was already unsheathed. The breath of one person and one demonized beast filled the air, colliding with each other. The members of the patrol team who were close by were all having difficulty breathing. This is a more powerful demonized beast. In just one day, their horizons have been continuously raised. Even, they can only perceive that the aura is extremely strong, but they cannot judge this beast based on this aura. The level of demonized beasts. There really is no reference. The demonized beast made of ice crystals stared at Sora before rushing to the side. The targets were precisely those arrow towers and artillery. Tang Yu froze in his heart. This time, it can be definitely proved that the Iceman demonized beast has higher intelligence, rather than some fighting instinct. The blue figure swept across the ground, and wherever it passed, the grass and trees were frozen into ice crystals, and it was about to wave a knife and destroy an artillery piece. At this time, Sora greeted him again. Sora's expression became focused and serious, the other long sword was unsheathed, holding two swords, and the whole person turned into a phantom. Not to mention that Tang Yu couldn't see clearly, even in the eyes of Luo Zhe and Xie Yi, Kong's speed was extremely fast. 
the ice crystal humanoid demonized beast was also unable to react in time. In the blink of an eye, the ice crystal armor had already been cut into cracks. With fear in his eyes, the iceman turned around and ran away, wanting to jump into the demonized beast group and use other demonized beasts as a cover to escape. It leaped into the air. Behind him, the sword light flashed. The sword energy slashed the air, and the naked eye could see a white streak passing through the body of the ice crystal demonized beast. Cobweb-like fissures spread. The next moment, with a bang, the entire ice crystal armor shattered, and the ice man demonized beast died. Sora heaved a sigh of relief, but suddenly saw. Among the demonized beasts, there were several demonized beasts whose mouths almost occupied half of their bodies. They opened their mouths wide and raised their heads. A jet of dark green venom sprayed high, like raindrops, and was about to rain on the crowd. On the head. Sora's expression also changed. He could not care about this kind of attack, but the rest of the patrol team couldn't. However, he was also incapable of intercepting such a dense amount of venom. Roger and Shea can't either. It is professional to let them destroy, but it is not enough to protect others. Everyone in the patrol team was even more shocked and they looked at the dense venom. Block. What to use to stop? Run, but can't run such a wide range. The venom came flying like an arrow. Suddenly, a pale golden light shield rose from the front of everyone. The light shield has an extremely wide range, protecting more than 20 people in it. The next moment, the venom fell on the light shield and melted instantly. It was not the venom that melted the light shield, but the fiery light that melted the venom. Look over there. A patrol team member pointed to a place not far away that was not covered by a light shield. The venom fell on the ground, and the ground blew white smoke, and then the dented downwards visible to the naked eye was actually corroded by the venom. Many people sucked in a breath of cold air. It is completely conceivable to imagine the consequences of being contaminated by this venom. Even death is accompanied by great pain. Especially the few female awakeners in the team felt even more frightened. But such a terrifying venom was blocked by that thin light shield, and even melted away the venom. They looked at Winnie, who usually had the image of a gentle big sister, but only when she really showed her strength, she seemed incomparably holy. Eyes full of envy and admiration. Such masters are the role models for their female awakeners. The battle is still going on, and the followers all show their skills and show their powerful strength. Let the members of the patrol team know how strong the real master is. Shea is a humanoid self-propelled turret. Sora is the ultimate swordsman. Winnie is not only good at guarding, but her lethality should not be underestimated. There is also Captain Luo, a veteran powerhouse they have long known. These are all super masters. Such people, even if they go to Lindong Sanctuary, can get along well. However, these people gather around Director Tang one by one, and they have a respectful attitude. It is said that the masters are more reckless. Like the Hammer Brothers, they ask themselves, although they are not arrogant, but before joining the patrol team and seeing so many masters, they are still somewhat arrogant. However, these masters, who were countless times stronger than them, did not show the slightest arrogance in the face of Director Tang. Especially those old patrol team members, they knew that at the beginning, Director Tang did not see such masters as Xie Yi, Sora, and Winnie, but they suddenly appeared in the following days. Whenever they felt that they had gradually understood Director Tang, they were once again shocked by the power displayed by Director Tang. Whether Director Tang himself or the masters gathered around him, like a thick veil covering it. Incredibly mysterious. Chapter, 100. Tang Yu stood in the center of the team and felt stable after watching high-level demonized beasts forcibly rush up several times, but were quickly beheaded. Under the giant tree, there are indeed a large number of demonized beasts, especially the high-level demonized beasts, which are unexpectedly many. If there are so many demonized beasts that have awakened to the fifth level in other places in the wild, then, I am afraid that there are not many awakened teams that are qualified to be active in the wild. Fortunately, this time the Wasteland Reclamation Team configuration is sufficient. Thinking back to the last time, there were only two puppets, no. One, no. 
Two, and luckily, there was no resistance to the demonized beast group. Otherwise, one or two demonized beasts like the Iceman would be provoked, and it would be very difficult to escape if you wanted to escape. Tang Yu raised his head and looked at the giant tree in the distance in the distance, thoughtfully. This place is not close to the abyss crack, but there are so many demonized beasts, and they are all concentrated in this area, so there must be a reason. It's not because of the source crystal mine, it's because of this giant tree. In contrast, Tang Yu was more inclined that these demonized beasts were attracted by the giant tree. Especially on the top of the giant tree, the crystal-like leaves are very mysterious. Perhaps it is a certain characteristic of the crystal leaves that can subtly enhance the wisdom of demonized beasts and promote the evolution of demonized beasts. Because of this, more and more demonized beasts are attracted here. In the same way, most demonized beasts have not yet developed their wisdom, but their instincts drive them. They are rooted in this place and are unwilling to leave Tang Yu remembered that when he escaped last time, those demonized beasts only chased after a short distance. The reason is that the shade shelter not far from here has not been invaded by these demonized beasts. After all, they are busy evolving, and their instinct to hunt and kill humans has been suppressed. And many more. Tang Yu suddenly thought of the two magical tides that the Green Shelter had encountered. It stands to reason that the Shade Shelter is far away from the Abyss, and the probability of encountering the magic tide is low. Will it be possible that the two times, the target of the demonized beast tide, which is not the Shade Shelter at all, but is located in the rear giant tree? Tang Yu thought it was very possible. Shaking his head, he ordered Luo Zhe. I'll leave the matter here to you. After cleaning up the demonized beasts, arrange for the personnel to start mining. On the side, the members of the patrol team are all brainless, facing the surging demonized beast group, they don't need to do anything to aim. Hearing this, there is still some doubts. Could it be that Director Tang was leaving? But next time, they saw Director Tang take out a cushion, spread it on the ground, and then sat down with his knees crossed and his eyes closed. Sit. Why sit down? And close your eyes? The patrol team members were a little confused. Suddenly, someone came up with a possibility, Director Tang is not planning to refine soul power, right? When the people next to him heard this, they didn't believe it at first. Refining soul power, it is not good to refine it after going back, why is it necessary to be in such a dangerous environment? But they looked around again, and they kept shooting arrows, piercing the demonized beasts into a blood mist, and red light spewed out from the cannon, killing a large area of the demonized beasts at once. Such an output, such a killing efficiency, the demonized beasts die in batches, and the majestic soul power escapes, even if some are lost halfway because of the distance, the soul power that can be absorbed, absolutely beyond imagination. Even they themselves, armed with heavy machine guns and rocket launchers, can feel that they have absorbed a large amount of soul power after killing the demonized beast, so what about Director Tang? Tang So was undoubtedly the one who killed the most demonized beasts on the scene. I am afraid that the absorbed soul force has already been filled, right? No wonder Director Tang wanted to refine his soul power on the spot. The soul power that drifted over, but because it was full of absorption, it could only be dissipated. If it was them, it would also be very heartache. It's just that the heartache returns to the heartache. Let them meditate and refine their soul power in such an environment. In any case, they can't do it. There was the roar of guns and guns around, and the roar of demonized beasts in the distance. When you are on the battlefield, you can encounter danger at any time. Refining your soul force in such a place is like sleeping with peace of mind surrounded by big men with bad faces. They don't have so much courage. However, when he looked at Director Tang, he closed his eyes and refined his soul power with peace of mind. For some reason, I suddenly remembered a word. Let him shake the mountain, I will stand still. Probably, that's it. At sunset, the sky is full of twilight. Tang Yu opened his eyes and couldn't help stretching. This feeling this meal of refining the soul power, it is really comfortable. When I open my eyes and close my eyes, I have risen from the third awakening to the fourth awakening, and it is not far from the fifth. This is also the reason why he wasted too much soul power, 
there is no way, the body is too small, and it is destined to not be able to support a fat man. Tang Yu stood up, moved his body a bit, and took out a crystal bottle from his arms this soul power container seems to be full of soul power. After returning to the territory, just in time, this soul power can be used. In one fell swoop to break through the five layers of awakening. Although it is not as good as Luo Zhe and others, this is also a top expert in Lin Dong, and I feel very fat just thinking about it. At this time, no. One and no. Two were guarding by his side, and Sora and Winnie were also standing not far away to be vigilant. Luo Zhe directed the members of the patrol team to mine crystal mines. Today, these people are destined to play a cameo role as a miner after the cameo porter. Xie Yi Tang Yu turned his head and looked at him, but he didn't see anything. Suddenly, he saw the bushes shaking in the distance. Xie Yi's burly body got out of it, and on his shoulders, he was carrying an armored vehicle. Wild boar. Lord Lord, look at my harvest, this is a pure beast, the meat is delicious and chewy, I think it's pretty good for barbecues, as long as you sprinkle it with cumin and paste, paste pepper powder, then it definitely tastes good. Tang Yu had a black line on his head, and then he thought about it. It took more than half a day to refine his soul power. He didn't eat lunch, and he seemed to be a little hungry. That being the case. He took out the full set of ingredients from the space backpack, then it's up to you, Shay. A lot of the rough crystal or below has been mined. In addition to the members of the patrol team, many basic puppets can be seen busy. The exposed ore of the entire crystal mine has been mined almost completely after this period of mining. The remaining ore is hidden under the ground, so it is impossible to use such a simple and crude situation to mine. This is an overnight prosperity, and it will be a long run in the future. These source crystal ores are built with a hill high, and even two space backpacks can't hold so much. It just so happened that the large boxes containing firearms were used to hold these crystal or rough stones just now. It is good. Patrol members acted as porters when they came, and the same when they went back. After leaving the forest, the last ray of the sunset has dissipated at the end of the sky. Darkness has come completely. Rao is so, many members of the patrol team are also relieved. That mountain forest is too dangerous. Staying in it makes you feel uncomfortable. Stepping out of the mountain forest is like getting out of that dangerous world. Even if they have cleaned up the demonized beasts near the giant tree, who knows if there will be other dangers. You must know that in terms of the location of the giant tree in the forest, it is only the edge. Chapter, 101 Back to the castle This time, even if he stayed in the middle of the team and didn't participate in the battle, he returned to the territory, and it was still a mess. There is no way to do this. No. Two opens the road like a bulldozer. The road is opened, but the dust is flying all over the sky. Now, when I look in the mirror, I almost look like a native. This outing experience is very bad. It is true that most of the survivors after the apocalypse return from going out with the same appearance. Those who can keep their clothes in good condition are considered lucky. Most of the survivors' clothes have long been tattered while fleeing and fighting. For awakens who often go out to fight, clothes are consumables. Even clothes made of animal skins must be replaced with new ones after a period of use. The clothing industry is particularly prosperous in Lindong Sanctuary. It's just that he, the dignified great Lord Tang, can't be the same as ordinary survivors. In the past, it was because of the lack of source crystals. Now, thinking about it, he can't be so wronged. Travel still depends on the vehicle, and it can't be an ordinary vehicle. Ordinary vehicles, such as cars, can only walk on the road, and they have little effect in the field. Even if it is an armored vehicle, it cannot resist a slightly stronger demonized beast. Moreover, if you want to go to Luasia Sanctuary to find your parents, then the vehicle is even more essential. Run over there. The distance between the two places is so far, even if the awakened is not slow to run at full speed, how long can he run at full speed? Not at all realistic. Not to mention unsafe. It is necessary to have a vehicle that can fight and resist, is fast and can adapt to various environments, and it is best to have a comfortable riding experience. 
As long as the vehicle blueprint can be drawn, I believe that the vehicle produced by the system can meet this requirement. Tang Yu first ran back and forth to the castle warehouse several times, and poured all the rough crystal or harvested this time into it. Looking at the constantly rising source crystal unit value on the panel, he knew that he could finally have a pleasant Krypton crystal. Coming soon to the market. Among the core buildings, only the tavern has been upgraded to level 3, the market and workshop are level 2, and the research institute is level 1. After the tavern was upgraded to level 3, there was an additional fusion summoning function, and Tang Yu guessed that after the market was upgraded, there might be a similar function. In the past, it was just a lack of source crystals, so I didn't dare to use it indiscriminately. Now. Ding. The market has been upgraded to level 3. Add 10 commodity slots. Increase the probability of refreshing high-level treasures. Unlock new functions, you can keep the number of free refreshes every day, and you can specify that the next refresh will be a certain category of products, and you can specify that the next refresh will be a certain category. Small categories of goods. As expected. The so-called large categories, that is, equipment, resources, blueprints, props, etc. Cost 10 times the source crystal, and the next refreshed products must have products of the category they want. And spending a hundred times the source crystal is to further narrow the scope, such as equipment, which can be reduced to weapons, sword weapons, firearms and so on. Blueprints can also be narrowed down and turned into weapon blueprints, armor blueprints, vehicle blueprints, and more. As soon as this function appeared, Tang Yu's eyes lit up. Among the commodities refreshed each time in the market, resources are the most useless, but they will definitely occupy more than half of the commodity slots. He has always ignored this. In addition, there are some strange things, which sound very noble, but in fact, most of them are things without eggs, such as strange wood. Strange fruits, strange rings, strange underwear ahem, in short, the market inside, there are many products with strange beginnings. At first, Tang Yu bought a little out of curiosity, but it turned out that they were all magic stuff. Buy something of high value for cheap. Non-existent. Every penny is what you pay for, if there is a difference, it is also what you get for two cents. Precious commodities such as blueprints and skill runes are sometimes refreshed hundreds of times, but they will not appear. It is great to specify the refresh category. Today's refresh opportunity has not been used up, Tang Yu added 4,500 source crystals, and made it 10 times. Refresh the product. Specify the category, the drawing. Tang Yu naturally chose the designation of a large category, as for spending a hundred times to designate a small category. That's a total injustice. Vehicle blueprints are what he needs most, but he also needs other types of blueprints. Anyway, he has already made a plan. No matter what blueprints he draws, as long as he can afford them, he must buy them. A burst of brilliance enveloped all commodity slots. After Guanghua dissipated, Tang Yu opened his eyes wide, looking for the blueprints in the commodity column. Found it. Quick revolver weapon, blueprint, price, 300 source crystals. Quantity remaining, 1. Without hesitation, one word, chop your hands. He glanced at the remaining products, and there were some valuable ones, and Tang Yu bought them without hesitation. For the first time, I bought something so smoothly, without any heartache. Yes, no heartache. Taking a deep breath, Tang Yu placed 5,000 source crystals again. In the market, commodities have changed again. This time, two blueprints appeared in the 30 commodity slots. Tang Yu first walked to the nearby commodity column and clicked on the description. Cloud Roar Basic War Equipment, Bed Crossbow, Manufacturing Blueprint, Price, 1500 Origin Crystals. Remaining Quantity, 1. Tang Yu took two more breaths and bought it without hesitation. Weapons of war are undoubtedly good things. Unlike ancient society, they can only be used to siege cities. In his opinion, the biggest role of weapons of war is to deal with boss. Especially super large monsters. Take that big beetle as an example, 
even if it is an awakened person of the same level in some cases, with the size of a human weapon, it is difficult to cause fatal damage to a demonized beast of this size. However, the fatal disadvantage of this demonized beast is that it is too large, and relying on war equipment to deal with it is the best choice. The energy-gathering cannons in the Lindong shelter are also a type of warfare equipment, but Tang Yu felt that this should be classified into the money-burning category. With that shot, he estimated that at least tens of thousands of source crystals would be burned. Qin Kuan is not so rich in a single blow, and only a family like Lindong Shelter can afford to burn so many source crystals. After putting away this drawing, Tang Yu did not look at another drawing, but turned around the other products first, and finally came to the side of the product column with that drawing. Click to open. Tang Yu smiled. Floating chariot vehicle, manufacturing drawings, price, 2200 source crystals. Tang Yu took the drawing, opened it and looked at the various parameters inside. This floating chariot is inscribed with multiple runes, including acceleration runes, floating runes, solid runes, energy resistance runes, energy runes, and so on. The speed is extremely fast, it can float or even fly at a low altitude, and it also has a certain attack ability. Naturally, its defense power is not to be said. The defensive runes inscribed on it are even linked together to form a small rune array. Incomprehensible content. It is a pity that the runes on the blueprint of this vehicle are embedded in the blueprint, and can only be used on this floating chariot. The functions of the floating chariot have fully met his requirements. There are also disadvantages. This chariot is small in size and can only accommodate two to three people this is just a small flaw. Tang Yu looked at the data line by line and saw the manufacturing requirements. You need a third level workshop, 200 units of iron, 500 units of source crystal. He nodded, this is not a problem, and continued to read, 10 units of iron tungsten, 10 units of blackstone, 10 units of star pattern steel, 10 units of mithril. Suddenly became a circle of eyes. What the hell is this? Chapter, 102. Lord's Castle, Master Bedroom. Tang Yu sat cross-legged on the bed, his eyes suddenly opened, and a light flashed. Finally at the fifth level of awakening. The soul power container placed not far in front of him has no brilliance flowing in it, which means that the soul power has been exhausted. Turning his head and looking out the window, strands of golden light penetrated through the clouds, and the sky and the earth gradually became brighter. It's too early. Tang Yu went downstairs, but found that Elaine had already woken up and was preparing breakfast, and there was an open magic book beside her. Without disturbing the focused, very serious Elaine, Tang Yu went out of the castle and when the energy patio was exposed, he rinsed his mouth with a bottle of water. The spring water inside, after being nourished by energy, can almost be called a spiritual spring. Of course it didn't have a magical effect, but the taste of this spring water was refreshing and delicious. Tang Yu fell in love with it all at once. Several people living in the castle also fetched water from here from time to time. If there are more people in the future, he will consider building another energy patio to supply water. Walking out all the way, I happened to meet Chen Haiping who was busy working. Chen Haiping also got up early and assigned tasks to the survivors under his hands early in the morning. Tang Yu couldn't help but feel that each and every one of them was much more competent than him. Being a lord is very rewarding. After saying hello, Tang Yu didn't have any ink, and quickly entered the topic, asking about the changes in the shelter these days. Our shelter now has 417 survivors, including 322 male survivors, 95 female survivors, 53 awakened survivors, and 23 are on patrol middle. Tang Yu nodded, except that the ratio of males and females was slightly different, everything else was fine. And the ratio of men and women is actually not a problem. No one has ever thought about getting married, and it is impossible to fall in love. As for shooting, there are no measures to avoid winning the bid. Of course, female survivors are not willing to do such a loss-making thing. Housing, and food, is it enough now? Chen Haiping nodded, without looking at the small book in his hand, he said slowly, in terms of accommodation, the villa is a bit crowded, and some people have been allocated to simple housing. In terms of food, there is not much stock, but the people on the farm. 
It is reported that some crops will mature within two days, so that the food crisis in our shelter can be solved. As the two walked, Tang Yu asked for details. Chen Haiping was a little puzzled, Director Tang usually didn't care about these things. Soon all the way to the employment center. This meeting has not yet reached the opening time stipulated by the employment center, but there are already many awakened people waiting at the door. They saw Chen Haiping, the big housekeeper of the shelter, and they all moved out of the way. Some people saw Chen Haiping closely following a young man, and they had guesses in their hearts, and their faces showed surprise. Tang Yu ignored these people. After walking around the employment center, he constructed architectural models in his mind. Back then, geometry was his forte, there was no problem with the sense of spatial structure, and there was system assistance, and soon a building model was formed in his mind. He is building a new employment center. For a long time, as the key building of the shelter, the employment center looked very ordinary. Some parts of the outer wall of the villa were patched, and because the area was not large enough, a simple shed was built to expand it. One piece of white and one piece of blue, it was a dilapidated house before the end of the world. Originally, it was the lack of source crystals, so Tang Yu naturally couldn't use them in such unimportant places. Now it's different. The source crystals are just numbers, but what makes him a little nervous is that there is no shortage of source crystals. But other things are missing, such as some extraordinary mineral materials. The name Tang K still has to hang for a long time. In addition to the employment center, other livelihood projects and face projects must be built. On the one hand, it can improve the cohesion of the survivors of the shelter. On the other hand, it is naturally too shabby and he can't stand it. For example, the cafeteria must have this. After it is built, there is no need to distribute food to the survivors every day. In fact, after the food was distributed, there was no electricity, and the survivors could only simply process the food raw materials, which made instant noodles the most popular food. After all, it is not difficult to boil water without electricity. But with simple tools to make delicious meals, for modern people, the difficulty factor is relatively high. There are also residential houses, Tang Yu also plans to build some, so that he can start his dream real estate business. Get rid of all kinds of development plans that flashed in your mind. Tang Yu motioned to Chen Haiping to let the surrounding survivors retreat and leave a piece of land next to the employment center. System Panel Building List Select Build Custom Build In the game, there is a module that can customize the building. Of course, it is only the shape, and cannot have special functions. It can also be transformed on the basis of the original building, but also only the shape can be changed. Ding dong. Building a custom building requires a few materials and a few source crystals, are you sure? Tang Yu stretched out his finger, and a breeze blew past. In front of you. A two-story building, like 3D printing, appears in everyone's eyes. From the foundation, to the walls, to the structure inside, the building quickly took shape. The building is much larger than the original villa, covering an area of over 100 square meters. The height is also much higher. It is said to be a two-story building, but it is actually more than 10 meters. The ceiling on the first floor is extremely high. At this time, the door is open. At first glance, it looks like a hall. There is a huge panel in the center, which is still dim and not opened. Tang Yu walked in, and from the inside, there were many rooms on the left and right sides if the hall is for civilian users, the rooms on both sides are for VIP users. In addition, there are quite a few spare rooms, some of which can be used as warehouses to store some exchangeable items, and others for the time being, he didn't think about it. After a cursory look, step out of the two-story building. Looking at the top of the gate, it was empty, Tang Yu always felt that something was missing. It's a signboard. As an important building, it has to be accompanied by a bright name. Just as he was about to engrave the employment center, he thought about it, the Lindong Sanctuary was called the Mercenary Mission Management Center. This name was even longer than the one he had here. In comparison, there was no bright spot when it was called the employment center. But you can't have those weird names either. He thought for a while, then finally looked up. Right above the gate, on the blank plaque, a few large characters suddenly appeared. 
Adventurers Guild. Just in the distance, the morning sun is gradually rising, and a few large characters are slowly shining under the sunlight. On the side, many awakened people who were waiting for the opening of the employment center and preparing to grab the task have been stunned. No one has guessed that this young man is the mysterious Director Tang. But no one could have imagined that Director Tang's actions were so neat and tidy. In the blink of an eye, a building was formed. It looked pretty from the outside and was very in line with the architectural structure so Director Tang was actually the Department of Architecture. Capable, right? Chapter, 103 Those awakened who did not belong to the patrol team, after being amazed, started a new mercenary now it should be called the Adventurer Experience. On the other side, in the small square in front of the villa area, many survivors were waiting while chatting and blowing water. A large truck came from the ramp below. Lin Dian opened the door, got off the passenger seat, and waved to the survivors in the distance, everyone has started. There are boxes of supplies in the carriage, some are packaged, some are not packaged, and they look a bit messy. After the survivors of the transportation team came over, they cooperated in pairs to remove the boxes from the truck first. Linda carried down a half-human height box and could not help wiping the sweat from his forehead. When people are middle-aged, they are somewhat powerless to engage in these things. After carrying all these goods, the big truck drove away quickly. He did not sit back in the passenger seat, but was replaced by another survivor, ready to go to the other side and carry the next truck of supplies. These transport teams, and now the scope of their activities has gradually expanded beyond the resort, and the things they transport include building materials and other supplies. However, compared to the speed at which the patrol team cleans up the demonized beasts, they are much slower to carry them. Many times, the patrol team needs to wait for them to carry it several times before they can leave after cleaning up a place. On the one hand, the handling team was understaffed, and many of the goods in the wild were carried by members of the patrol team. On the other hand, the shelter lacked such large trucks and even lacked diesel fuel. Lin Dian heard that the top of the patrol was trying to solve the problem. He shook his head, this is not what he should care about, and turned to look at the other survivors, pointing to the goods, the large boxes here are construction materials. The two boxes over there are daily necessities, and there is a small box that contains medicines, be careful when you take them. After classifying the goods, Lin Dian and the other survivors transported the goods to various storage points in the warehouse. After finishing their work, the survivors walked to the side of the tree to rest. Someone handed him a bottle of water. After Lin Dian thanked him, he opened the cap and gulped down half of the bottle. It feels so comfortable. He has water to drink, enough to eat, and even though he has to do a lot of physical work every day, he considers himself lucky. Suddenly he heard someone ask. Lao Lin, do you remember you said that you were a chef before? Lin Dian was stunned for a moment, then shook his head slightly, I have been a chef in a hotel, how can I be considered a chef? Even so, Lin Dian has been in the chef industry for 20 to 30 years. I dare not say that he is a chef, at least he is a chef with superb cooking skills. He has a passion for a profession like a chef. Some people think that working hard in this line of work, some people feel that they have to endure loneliness. And he felt that as long as he stood in the kitchen every day and watched those ingredients turn into delicious dishes in his hands, it was a joy from the heart. It's a pity that after the end of the world, it's good to be able to eat enough. Who is qualified to pick and choose? At best, based on their own experience, under limited conditions, simple processing of food. He was already quite content. The survivor who spoke patted him on the shoulder, that's okay, you've all been a chef in a hotel, so hurry up and apply for a canteen chef. Canteen chef. Apply for a job. Lin Dian was stunned. Don't you know? It's on the notice board at the gate of the city, with recruitment information posted, so hurry up and take a look. The treatment is much better than our porters. When we become chefs, don't forget us. These old brothers. His head was a little foggy, and he involuntarily walked to the gate of the city, in front of the notice board. The first canteen of the shelter is recruiting chefs, kitchen workers, handymen and other positions. Interested survivors can apply to participate in the assessment. 
Lin Diyun couldn't believe it at first, but after seeing this recruitment information, he had to believe it if he didn't. But no one dared to disseminate false information posing as shelter officials, and it was useless. That is to say, the shelter is really going to recruit chefs and plan to build a canteen. According to the above information, to sign up to go to the employment center, where he knows, the third villa in the east area of the villa area is. Lin Diyun walked into the city wall and walked inside along the path. There are two buildings in one building. He suddenly rubbed his eyes, I must have read it wrong. Continuing to walk forward again, walking past a villa with a villa, I felt that something was wrong. The employment center is still easy to recognize. A simple shed is attached to the outside of a villa, but he has not seen any buildings that meet the shape requirements. He looked at the house number of the nearby villa. 16 The house numbers are in the reverse row. Villa No. 1 is on the innermost side, and Villa No. 16, counting from the entrance, is the sixth building. Sure enough, something is wrong. Lin Dian retreated and came to the third building, which should be said to be the original third villa, and rubbed his eyes again, it seems that this is not an illusion. Remaining in his memory, he did not see the white and blue employment center, but there was a beautiful building in front of him. The doors, walls, and pillars were all exquisitely carved, which made people dazzled. Finally, his eyes subconsciously fell on the plaque directly above the gate. It is engraved with a few big characters of dragon flying and phoenix dancing. Adventurers Guild Probably this is the new employment center. He remembered the legend about Director Tang in the shelter, rubbed his eyes again, and after confirming that it was not an illusion, he finally stepped into it. The trade union hall is very large, but there are not many people at the moment. Most of the awakened people have finished their tasks early in the morning and set off. He walked to one of the consultation offices, and after consulting the staff, the staff asked him to fill out a form, and then asked him to wait in the room next to him to be notified. When Lin Diyun came to the room, he was surprised to find that there were more than a dozen survivors waiting here. Most people glanced at him, bowed their heads, and said nothing. There was an uneasy atmosphere in the whole room. These people should be survivors who participated in the application, and most of them may have come for the position of chef, that is, competitors. The treatment of cooks is obviously much better than that of cooks and handymen, and there are only a few hundred survivors in the shelter. There are definitely not many positions for chefs. There are two or three positions, which are considered too many. Configuration compared to the present. Lin Dian thought to himself. Suddenly a young guy walked in, holding a form in his hand, counted the number of people in the room and said, 15 people, it's almost the same, you all come with me, prepare to take the assessment. Chapter, 104 A group of people filed out, following behind the young guy. After the team left the east area of the villa area, they did not go outside the city walls, but walked in from the open space between the two villa areas, past the huge building that was said to be a training camp, and walked in. Soon, a three-story building appeared in front of everyone. This is the cafeteria. If you can pass the assessment, your future workplace will be here. The person leading the way said. The crowd entered the dining hall. Like most canteens, it was full of tables and chairs at first glance. After daily marvels, they didn't stop and went straight to the back kitchen of the canteen. It's so complete. And it's all new. Lin Diyun looked at the utensils in the back kitchen, and his eyes were also shocked. At first, he guessed that the canteen would be located in the hotel next to the central square, which was also the only place with relatively complete equipment in the entire resort. But even so, electricity, gas, etc. are still problems of course, you can keep everything simple and use it reluctantly by burning coal and wood. After seeing the splendid adventurer's guild, Lin Diyun had other thoughts in his mind. Facts also prove that Director Tang used his own methods to build a canteen. He never imagined that the equipment here was so complete. It was more complete than the five-star hotel he had stayed in, and even some appliances, he couldn't see the function, and needed to be studied. The electricity and gas problem that I was worried about did not exist. It seems that there is some special energy supply method here. After a cursory observation, Lin Dian's eyes fell on a person in the back kitchen. 
Chen Haiping, one of the top leaders of the shelter, has a lot of power in the shelter, and he is also a high-level person who often shows up. Almost every survivor knows it. He saw Chen Haiping clapping his hands, and after everyone was quiet, he said, the canteen will recruit two chefs, one head chef and one assistant chef, and the assessment method is also very simple. Pretty much everything here. Chen Haiping pointed to the other side, Lin Lan was filled with all kinds of food. Many people's eyes brightened and their breathing became heavier. Lin Dian was no exception. It was the first time he had seen so many ingredients since the end of the world. Shady Shelter is not the first shelter he has stayed in. In fact, he has stayed in another small shelter. Later, due to lack of food, the shelter collapsed and he and a few companions left the shelter and survived alone. Later, I was lucky to meet the Green Patrol team and was rescued and sent here. Other shelters are short of food, and the green shade is not only enough to eat, but also has all kinds of ingredients, and the necessary condiments are also not lacking. He couldn't imagine how the shade shelter could find such a complete set of items. But in addition to being shocked, he was also excited. This line is his favorite, and only in this line can he make a real contribution. After handing over the canteen staff and other matters to Chen Haiping, Tang Yu did not idle, but came to the research institute. Wearing a white coat and a pair of auxiliary glasses with analytical functions, he found that he liked this place a little bit. Although Xuema, he has always had the heart of becoming a scholar. Tang Yu opened the database and browsed from the directory. The canteen has been built, and chefs are being recruited there are so many survivors in the shelter, even if there are no real chefs, it is not a problem to find a few who know how to cook. However, if the canteen wants to open, it still faces an important problem. Can a canteen without a meal card be called a canteen? The answer is no. The current survivors, as well as the patrol team, all use work points or contribution points to count. Usually, survivors who want to exchange items will go to the former employment center. After exchanging the items, the employment center will have a special person responsible for registering the survivors. Point increase or decrease. The problem of consumption settlement is very troublesome. If you want to open the cafeteria, you can't have the survivors order a dish, and someone next to you is responsible for registering addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, right? Unless it is to give the survivors free meals, but he is not such a generous person. It is impossible to be free for free, and he would rather spend a higher cost to get a meal card. Come to the institute. Through the research institute, Tang Yu has improved a lot of blueprints. He can also deduce blueprints or formulas here. He has already deduced the formula of the awakening potion, and even made improvements. After finding all the materials and making them, the effect should still be good. Better than the ones produced by Lin Dong. Similarly, blueprints can also be developed here. In theory, any blueprint can be developed this is the description of the research institute. Tang Yu ignored it at a glance. In theory, the non-chief can still draw SS. But is it possible? After fiddling around for a while, Tang Yu finally figured out the research and development rules of the institute. There are three main ones. Basic information, amount of source crystals, research and development direction. He is now browsing the data in the database. Most of these data are downloaded from Lindong Sanctuary. Many of them are the scientific crystallization of pre-apocalyptic human beings. They are not very high-end, but they are basic. Is the research institute? Those who bring their own materials, without these, Tang Yu's research and development work is estimated to have an abortion before it begins. Data is the foundation, and source crystals are the key. Without source crystals and scientific research funding, even if it is a big bull, it can only rely on imagination. The last one is the research and development direction. This is random. After several key data or drawings are put into research and development, different results will be randomly generated. In short, can you develop the results you want, yes. Look. Transport. Gas. Tang Yu felt that this was used to pit you on Jing. In addition to the basic information, there are some more high-end ones, such as the basic knowledge of Yu Enli, which Tang Yu recorded. 
he took out two other hardcover books, which were brushed from the market yesterday. A book on the basics of rheneology. A basic knowledge of pharmacy. It's all that he is extremely lacking. As long as he learns these things, and then masters it, he will call himself Tang Shueba, and there will be no problem. Select input materials, basic rune literature, basic source knowledge, electronic integration technology, logic, material science. Ru 0026D needs to invest 500 units of source crystal, yes no. According to the amount and complexity of the input data, the amount of source crystals that needs to be invested in research and development is also different. Although he has input a lot of data, they are all in the basic category, so the cost is not too much. Well, 500 at a time is not too much, and if it is more expensive, he will not be able to play the big Lord Tang. Select Ru 0026D. Successful research and development, congratulations on your research and development of rune encryption technology. This is not what he wants. Go on, Yuan Jing has it. Successful research and development, congratulations on the development of automatic identification of door panels drawings. Successful research and development, congratulations on your research and development of William's password shirt drawing. Tang Yu's face darkened, is this a magic thing? Poke the screen, develop, skip, poke the screen, develop. Tang Yu stared at the screen, probably because he had entered too much data, and the direction of research and development was very special, and some of them didn't even know what they were. Fortunately, he, the great lord of Tang, has nothing else now, Yuan Jing, there are still some. Finally. Successful research and development, congratulations on developing the identity card drawing. Tang Yu's eyes lit up. Fortunately, I didn't give up, I finally waited for you. Chapter 105. The news of the opening of the canteen, like a hurricane, swept the entire shelter in an instant. Everyone is talking. Have you heard that our food distribution will be changed to dining in the cafeteria in the future? I heard about it earlier. I also went to see the canteen. TSK TSK, Director Tang made a move. That's different. It looks better than where we live. It's a waste to use it as a canteen. You don't know that. It is said that Director Tang plans to build a batch of houses, and those who perform well will have the opportunity to move in. I don't know what food is in the cafeteria, should we just make it better than we usually do? That's for sure, do you know who the chef in the cafeteria is? Lin Dian, he used to be a chef in a five-star hotel, so I can't say that. After a busy day of work, it was originally time to wait for food, but now everyone is heading to the cafeteria. Some survivors with news channels couldn't help but blow it first. Show off your daffodil show. When Liang Hao came to the cafeteria, he saw a long queue in front of him. As an early survivor of the shelter, he does not need to do physical work every day like ordinary survivors, and now he is the grassroots manager of the shelter. Of course I still have to eat. The line was very long, and it was estimated that there were one or two hundred people in front. Survivors came one after another from behind. Someone looked at the long dragon in front and frowned, why is there a line up all of a sudden? If you want to line up, it should be in the cafeteria. The gate is not small, it's always not. As for being stuck here. As soon as Liang Hao heard it, he immediately said, you don't know that. There is a reason for queuing at the entrance of the cafeteria. He sold a pass, and several survivors next to him immediately looked over. Liang Hao showed a satisfied smile and continued, I got the news in the morning, it is said that the shelter is going to launch an identity card. Which can record everyone's identity information, and also store everyone's work points for consumption settlement, simple in other words, it's a cartoon. With this card, the consumption of our shelters, welfare distribution, etc. will become more convenient in the future. You definitely don't want to wait for the work point to record consumption when you eat in the cafeteria. And now, it should be the process of identity authentication, so you need to wait in line for a while. Survivors around showed a look of sudden realization, and they all praised. Liang Hao smiled and looked happy. The team's progress was not slow. After ten minutes, Liang Hao came to the entrance of the cafeteria. 
There were two staff members holding a device it was a bit like going to the bureau to get an ID card and put fingerprints on it. After Liang Hao greeted the two of them, he pressed his thumb on the identification device, and the green light turned on. Then, he signed his name on the writing board beside him, and soon he spit out an identification card under the identification device. Brother Hao, this is your ID card. In the future, the salary will be sent to it. Any transaction in the shelter can be carried out through this card. This is a beautiful card with only the simple information of the name on it, and a small translucent box next to it. When the thumb with fingerprint authentication is swiped, the remaining amount in the card will be displayed on it. There are not many functions, at least it meets the current needs. If it weren't for the limited data and the huge amount of source crystals spent on research and development, Tang Yu really wanted to come up with a magically modified version of the phone, then all the problems would be solved. In front of the cafeteria fast food window. Seeing the dazzling array of dishes, Liang Hao couldn't help but burst into tears. These dishes are not high-end, mostly home-cooked dishes, or dishes that were common in the cafeteria in the past, such as fish-flavored shredded pork, braised eggplant, maple tofu, fried shredded pork with potatoes, tomatoes and eggs, etc. However, the survivors stared blankly, smelling the familiar smell, and they all felt like they had returned to the pre-apocalyptic world. Those who are sentimental still miss it, those who move fast have already eaten it. There are two big bowls on the table in front of Xiao Ming, one bowl of hot and sour noodles, and one bowl of Lao Ten sauerkraut beef noodles. He ate very happily, and at the end he made an out-of-tune voice, ha ha hatsi. Opposite the seat, Brother Hammer looked attentively, and moved quickly to dry the big bowl on the table. As powerful awakeners, they have an appetite worthy of their strength. There are big bowls in front of them, and the food on the fast food plate is as high as a hill. This is not eating, this is fighting. Both are serious. In the distance, Peng Bo was holding a large tray for serving dishes. There were already many dishes on it. When he saw Brother Hammer's table, his eyes widened. How can someone eat more than him? Da Peng, help me get it, I'll order some more. He handed the things to Lu Xiaopeng, went back to the window, and said to the uncle who was cooking, Bring me two bowls of beef offal qeto, three servings of flamulina volutypes, three servings. Soon Peng Bo walked to the seat with another tray, glanced at Brother Hammer who was still fighting in the distance, compared the food in his hand, and nodded with satisfaction. If Chen Haiping was present, he would have found that there was a big mistake in his prediction of food, he ignored the variable of food. Here. After Zhao Ming had finished sucking the noodles, he looked at Brother Hammer again. The food ordered by the two had already been finished quickly, so he had to feel that his strength was reflected in all aspects, even the speed of eating. Let him be humbled. But Zhao Ming believes that this is only temporary. He has a dream that he hopes to become a powerful character like Captain Luo. The realization of this dream does not need to rely on others, no adventures, and no need for arduous hellstyle training. It only needs to lie on the bed and close your eyes every night. He fantasized. At this time, the Hammer brothers had finished their last bowl, and they were about to leave Zhao Ming stopped them and smiled mysteriously, Brothers, I have good news, do you want to hear it? Brother Hammer really looked curious, didn't you tell us about the establishment of the cafeteria this morning? Then there is good news. What do you think of the cafeteria, I mean the environment? Zhao Ming sold out and asked instead. Environment the tall and thin Ma Jiafeng thought for a moment and said, this environment is quite good, clean, comfortable and spacious. He couldn't think of a better word, but the environment of the cafeteria was indeed beyond everyone's expectations. It is called the canteen, and the various layouts can be regarded as a middle to upper grade restaurant. The seats are soft and comfortable, and it is really better than the place where they live. That's right, I tell you Zhao Ming looked mysterious. A few minutes later, the three came to a corner of the villa area. This place is relatively remote. However, some villas here have been demolished and replaced by two eight-story buildings standing here. This is... Seeing the sluggish appearance of Brother Hammer, Zhao Ming smiled proudly in his heart. He has a lot of gossip and can blow water, so he can mix with strong men like the Hammer brothers. Seeing this, he finally stopped selling off, 
the building on the left will be the residence of our patrol team, and Captain Luo should be there. Announced tonight, of course I've inquired ahead of time. Zhao Ming took the two forward, took out the ID card he just received today, put it in front of the door and swept it, and the door opened. Several people went upstairs, crossed the corridor, and entered the room. The room here is a single room with a toilet and bathroom. It seems small, but it has all the internal organs, and there is water and electricity it should be said that it is powered by the source, which is much better than living in a villa. Although the villa is big, there are a lot of people living there, so we can only light candles every night, and we have to go to a place one or two kilometers away to fetch water. In this comparison, it seems like walking from a wild mountain village into a prosperous city. This is the only benefit of our patrol team. Each person has a single room. If other survivors want to live in the apartment, it will cost work points or source crystals. Of course, I also found out that a shelter will be built. Approving more advanced housing, such as suites, such as real single-family villas, those housing, we can earn enough contribution points in the future, and we can also live in it, it is exciting to think about it. Zhao Ming explained on the side. Brother Hammer looked at the environment in the room and was very satisfied of course this is Zhao Ming's room. The two brothers, although advocating to sharpen themselves through suffering, can go out to fetch water every day, can they sharpen their eggs? Instead, they wasted their training time. Now that they have all the basic furniture they need, Zhao Ming is indeed good news for them. Ma Jiafeng looked happy and patted Zhao Ming on the shoulder, you are still well informed, in order to repay you for letting us know in advance, let us take you to hellstyle training today, after all, your strength is still weaker. Zhao Ming's expression changed from smug, to astonishment, to depression. Pleasure hell training. This is not right. Chapter, 106 With a bitter look on his face, Zhao Ming followed the Hammer brothers to the training camp. After all, Hammer is a big brother, and it is hard to refuse, but his dream is obviously to be a salted fish a salted fish with strength, the kind that can become stronger without training. Zhao Ming felt that the next few minutes would be gloomy. The three of them came to the door on the third floor, where the door was locked. In the past, they had to go to the employment center to exchange a one-time permission card, which was very troublesome, but now it is convenient. To the third floor of the training camp. Naturally, Zhao Ming had also been to this place. After joining the patrol, under the leadership of Captain Luo, he visited once. At that time, he tried a training facility called a rapid track, which left an indelible shadow on his fragile heart. While speaking, Ma Jiafeng, the boss of the Iron Hammer, had already stepped forward and came to the training facility in the strained space. This facility is a hemispherical space with a relatively large area. After the awakened enters it, they need to avoid attacks from all directions. This is a facility that tests reflexes. Ma Jiafeng patted Zhao Ming on the shoulder, I'll go into the demonstration first, you can be optimistic about it. He entered, the facility door closed, and the entire space was sealed. The space is closed, but a part of the outer wall of the facility is transparent, from the outside, you can clearly see the inside. I saw Ma Jiafeng took a deep breath and started talking softly. In an instant, the red light flashed in the entire strained space. That part of the inner wall of the facility, which was not transparent, protruded out of a muzzle, and the energy ball in the muzzle suddenly shot out. Ma Jiafeng's expression remained unchanged, he turned slightly sideways, and avoided the energy ball. This is the strained space, within the specified time, try to make yourself less hurt. This energy ball was just the beginning. Soon more and more muzzles were protruding from the inner wall, and each energy ball hit the Majiafeng in the center. Ma Jiafeng looked focused, his eyes swept around, and his body quickly flashed back and forth, left and right, constantly dodging the flying energy balls. Sudden. With a bang, a purple-red laser beam shot onto the inner wall on the other side, and moved slowly, approaching Ma Jiafeng. His activity space is gradually limited. Ma Jiafeng's forehead gradually dripped with cold sweat. Suddenly another purplish-red laser shot out and landed on his side. He was instantly shocked. The originally scheduled dodging position was already occupied by the laser. He could only twist his body, but was accidentally hit by an energy ball. 
Hit. Suddenly, Ma Jiafeng looked tense. It hurts. This kind of energy ball is not very lethal, far from fatal, but it has a special effect. Those who are hit by the energy ball will feel pain and paralysis. In this strange space, once lost, not only losing points is as simple as losing points, and sometimes the end of the game is almost the end of the game. Ma Jiafeng doesn't have GG, so with his strong willpower, he can overcome the paralysis and avoid it dangerously and dangerously before the next attack. Finally, at the end of one minute, the dazzling red light disappeared and turned into a soft green light. At the end of the training, the trainer Ma Jiafeng, easy difficulty, was hit once, the body movement radius was 2, 5 meters, and the evaluation was B. On the screen next to the strained space, the assessment results are displayed immediately. Ma Jiafeng was full of disappointment, hey, I can't even reach A, B. When will I get an A level evaluation? This is just a simple difficulty. Zhao Ming stood aside, the corners of his mouth twitching. It is true that this is easy and difficult, but there are not many other patrol team members who can obtain a D level qualified evaluation, let alone a B. -dash. The training in the strain space is not necessarily strong, but it has advantages. What is trained here is everyone's reaction ability, including the ejection speed of energy balls, the number of energy balls, etc which will change according to the strength of the trainer. Awakening the third level does not have an advantage over the first level of awakening. However, Ma Jiafeng left the other patrol members far away. Zhao Ming looked at Ma Jiafeng and could only twitch the corner of his mouth to show respect. Of course, it is said that the high-level powerhouse in the shelter has a higher rating. He has heard of Captain Luo's record, and he can get a B score in difficult difficulty. Director Tang is even more difficult to imagine. Probably the higher levels of the shelter are monsters, he is used to it. After Ma Jiafeng walked out of the emergency room, he was sweating profusely, but his expression was very happy. Zhao Ming, it's your turn. Now you have the best training and reaction ability. Fighting against demonized beasts is mainly based on your quick reaction. After all, it is difficult for manpower to withstand the impact of demonized beasts. Right. He pushed Zhao Ming's back. This was so powerful that Zhao Ming stumbled and was pushed into the strained space. The door of the facility closed, and finally he heard Ma Jiafeng's laughter, go ahead, after you get used to the training, you will find that this is a very cool thing. The red light gradually turned on, Zhao Ming swallowed. An energy ball blasted out, and he jerked his spirits and strode to avoid it. However, as soon as he stood still, his eyes caught an energy ball flying towards him. Is it so fast? The energy ball gradually enlarged in his pupils, Zhao Ming leaned back, and the energy ball flew past his cheek. His heart was pounding, it's okay, it's okay, the young master can avoid. Suddenly he screamed. I don't know when, an energy ball fell on his back. Zhao Ming only felt that half of his body was numb. Seeing more and more energy balls flying towards him, his pupils opened. It's big, but it's hard to move the body. Soreness, tingling, coming from all parts of the body. Zhao Ming's face was distorted, and he couldn't help but let out a hoarse scream. This voice, I am afraid the entire training camp three floors, can be heard clearly. Fortunately, besides himself, there were only two Hammer brothers present, and those two were masters after all, so it wasn't a shame for him to do so. Well, no shame. Thinking like this, his eyes suddenly caught sight of a few people walking up to the third floor this was another member of the patrol team. Every night, the training camp became very lively, even if the third floor required contribution points. And many people will come up for training. At this moment, there are only a few female awakeners in the patrol team, all of them are quite young. They were hearing screams and looked over curiously. Zhao Ming's eyes met, his face collapsed, suffering from double damage to his body and mind. I just feel that my reputation will be ruined in one go. One after another, members of the patrol team came to the third floor for training, and some of the more popular training facilities also needed to line up. Zhao Ming stared at the dead fish with a look of despair. There was a sudden noise not far away. Director Tang is here. He raised his head in amazement, and saw Director Tang, 
Captain Luo, and Deputy Captain Xie coming up from below. This lineup is said to be very rare. In particular, Director Tang had never been to the third floor before. Chapter 107 When Tang Yu came to the third floor, he saw a lot of awakened people who were training in full swing. Many important training facilities are being used by people, and others who have not yet come around can only watch and comment. It seems that the third floor is a bit full. Although there were still many vacancies on the fourth floor, they were not open to ordinary members of the patrol team. Tang Yu didn't want to be watched while he was training. Then the solution is very simple, you can upgrade. After the training camp is upgraded, whether it is to increase the number of layers or increase the floor space, it can alleviate the pressure of this full load. At that time, the spiritual space can also be opened appropriately. Tang Yu thought about it. In the past, the price of mental space was very high, just because I didn't want the survivors to come into contact with it too early. After all, building a building, no matter how amazing, can be attributed to the ability of the building department, and if it is even a virtual reality space, this ability will be a bit exaggerated. Of course, he can also claim to be a creator-capable person, but he will inevitably be suspected by some conscientious people. Including some equipment in the shelter, puppets, and training equipment in the training camp, all of which are beyond the scope of ability he used to need to cover up. But now as the territory has risen to the third level, he has a large ticket of origin crystal in his hand. I gradually gained confidence, and many things could be done freely. Although, this is indeed a special ability called the ability of the system. Shake your head, it's important to do business first. The purpose of his coming here is not to train, but to test weapons. The floating chariot and the cloud roaring crossbow have not been made due to the lack of key materials, but the swift revolver has already been made. Although this kind of firearm is still a low-level weapon, its grade is much higher than those of the basic weapons. It is necessary to test it and record the data. Originally, he wanted Luo Zhe or Xie Yi to give it a try, but after thinking about it, the two are too strong and experienced, which makes it impossible to intuitively reflect the power of the revolver. It is better to find ordinary awakened people to try it. Luo Zhe stated the purpose and stated that one person was needed to participate in the new weapon test. Immediately, the members of the patrol team exploded, and many members who were in training stopped training and gathered around. New weapon. What kind of new weapon? There was no test when the standard long sword came out. I am afraid the weapon this time is unusual. I mean me, Director Tang, Captain Luo, I'm going to take the new weapon test. Many people are eager to try it. Don't worry. Tang Yu kept the members of the patrol team quiet and continued, the weapon tested this time is a new type of firearm. The test site is at the dream shooting range over there. Zhao Ming's eyes also brightened. He is good at firearms, and the rules of the dream shooting range are much more friendly than the strained space. If he can seize this opportunity and use the new firearms to get high scores in the dream shooting range, wouldn't that be able to wash him away? Black history. Immediately, I wanted to take a step forward and fight for this test quota. I heard Director Tang continue to say, in order to fully test the power of the new weapon, the difficulty of the dream shooting range needs to be adjusted above the normal level, so who is going to participate in the test now? Zhao Ming lifted his feet in the air and stopped, his face suddenly stiffened. Pooh, normal grade. If it is easy difficulty, he still has some confidence, but ordinary difficulty after thinking about it, he chose to follow his heart. After a while of silence, a voice from the crowd came out, such an interesting thing, here I come. I saw a short, chubby, ball-like awakener coming out of the crowd. This is Ma Jiaza, aiming at his eldest brother's fatigued neutral position after training, and taking the test spot first. Oh, all right. Tang Yu glanced at him, nodded, and took out two weapons by the way. These are two exquisite revolvers. The black gun body has a icy metallic luster, and people can't help but like it at a glance. Is this a revolver? Ma Jiaza asked. Yes, of course, it is definitely different from ordinary pistols. As for the specific effect, let's try it first. Ma Jiaza picked up the two pistols and felt the difference the moment he held them. He stayed on the spot for a while, 
until Ma Jiafeng next to him stabbed him, and he was shocked. How do I feel that after holding these two guns, the whole person becomes lighter? Boss Hammer returned a look of contempt, this is a gun, not a shoe. Besides, you don't even look at your body, can you be so light? Ma Jiaza scratched his head aggrievedly, but couldn't say what he felt. On the side, Tang Yu looked at it and knew the reason. The swift revolver is a higher grade weapon with a large magazine capacity, and two kinds of runes can be engraved on the gun body. Especially during this period of time, Tang Yu has created more types of runes in the market, all of which are primary runes, but also greatly enriched the types of runes. And on the two swift revolvers, speed runes and precision runes are engraved. The speed rune is a precious attribute rune, so after holding the gun butt, Ma Jiaza felt that his body became lighter. Tang Yu has also tried it. At first, it is estimated that the overall speed can be increased by 10%. If the scope is narrowed to the arm and wrist that holds the gun, the speed increase will be even higher. Combined with the one-handed drawing of the gun, it is probably a veritable one. Soon the shooter. At this time, Ma Jiaza had walked into the dream shooting range and stood in a green area. He quickly chose normal difficulty and training began. Demonized beasts of different shapes appeared immediately. These demonized beasts are translucent and are phantoms there is one or several small red areas on their bodies, which represent the key points of the demonized beasts. As long as the trainer hits these red dots with firearms, they can defeat the phantoms with one blow. If you can't hit the key point, depending on the part of the attack, you need to accumulate enough damage to defeat the phantom. During this process, the demonized beast will charge towards the green area. Once the demonized beast steps into the green area, the trainer will deduct points. This aspect is similar to the strained space. Painful punishment. One after another demonized beasts appeared, roaring and rushing. Ma Jiaza clenched his guns tightly and fired. For the first time, he didn't hit the key point and needed three or five shots to deal with a demonized beast. However, Ma Jiaza's accuracy rose rapidly. At first, it took three or five shots to solve the ghost of the demonized beast. Gradually, the demonized beast was solved with one or two shots. The members of the patrol team onlookers were amazed, I didn't expect that the second iron hammer's marksmanship was so good, I thought they were only good at hammering. Yeah. This marksmanship, so far no demonized beast has crossed the green area, you must know that this is an ordinary difficulty. However, in the crowd, Ma Jiafeng's eyes widened. He naturally knows what his brother's level is. When it comes to melee combat strength, it is naturally not bad but when it comes to marksmanship, his marksmanship is of an ordinary level. It is not bad to be able to hit a demonic beast within 50 meters. My brother it can't be this strong. Chapter, 108 Hearing Ma Jiafeng's words, the others looked over, but their eyes showed disbelief. Look at the training ground, where two guns are fired one after another. At most, two guns can defeat a demonized beast phantom. Is this normal? If they were replaced by themselves, they would have no idea how many demonized beasts have crossed the green area. What kind of eyes do you have, and what level my brother is, don't I still know? Is it necessary to lie to you? When Ma Jiafeng said this, it didn't seem like he was cheating, and everyone else would be a little confused. Exploding seeds is not so explosive gradually, their eyes fell on Ma Jiaza's hands, the two revolvers spitting fire. Could it be? Their breathing became heavier. Although it feels incredible, if it is really what they think, then this kind of pistol is too strong. In the dream shooting range, the further back the time, the more and more demonized beasts appeared at the same time, and even many flying demonized beasts appeared, with faster speed and more difficult to target weak points. The pressure on Majiaza is also increasing. Suddenly, he aimed at a flying demonic beast, shot, and with a click, it was out of bullets. Even if this kind of magic modified revolver has a very large magazine capacity and has an upper limit, it will not last long in this high intensity output. The awakened onlookers sighed slightly. At this moment, several demonized beasts had approached the green area, but one of the revolvers had emptied their bullets. It would be a pity to fail in this situation. 
Ma Jiaza's expression also changed. One hand hurriedly ejected the hive magazine, and the other hand holding the gun took out the magazine. This process was a bit chaotic, but the action was fast. He was stunned himself, when did his hand speed become so fast? Others exclaimed. So fast, is this the strength of awakening triple throne? No, the awakening of the third level should not be so fast. I have the strength to awaken the second level, so I can't even keep up with my eyes. That's right. Ma Jiafen also nodded, my strength is stronger than Jia Ze, but I don't have the same speed, what's more, I know my brother's strength very well. Even if he is single for more than twenty years, he will not it's possible to practice that kind of hand speed. He remembered what Ma Jiaza said just now that when he picked up these two revolvers, his body became lighter. I didn't think much about it at the time, but now it seems. Ma Jiafeng looked at the revolver with burning eyes. The bottom of my heart is also amazed. It is indeed Director Tang who can develop such a weapon. Finally. At the end of the training time at the dream shooting range, Ma Jiaza wiped the sweat from his forehead and walked out tired. I saw the evaluation that appeared on the side, B. Normal difficulty is far from easy. Immediately his face was full of excitement, so, am I that strong? It seems that I am going to change careers to be a gunman. He nodded as he spoke, feeling that this suggestion was very feasible, especially when he was holding the two revolvers, he really felt like he was a peerless and sought-after player. You must know that he has not practiced much firearms at all. At best, after awakening, his eyesight is good and it is easier to aim. It is not easy to achieve this level. He must be a genius. To get a beat rating on normal difficulty. With such a beautiful fantasy, a big hand clapped on his head, Ma Jiaza turned his head and stared, and saw his eldest brother squintingly looking down at him. What's your own marksmanship level, don't you have any points in your heart? After this test, Tang Yu found two awakeners with different strengths and entered the dream shooting range for the test. Sure enough, after holding the swift revolver, these people performed exceptionally well in the face of ordinary difficulty, and successfully passed the ordinary dream shooting range. Later, someone tested a more advanced difficulty level. Although it failed quickly, it also showed the power of the quick double gun. The eyes of each patrol team member were shining, and they almost didn't ask Director Tang how much the price of such a weapon was. Only Ma Jiaza looked lost. His genius dream was ruthlessly shattered, but looking at those two exquisite revolvers, he quickly regained his confidence. In any case, at least when he was holding those two revolvers, he was a firearms genius. He also wanted two revolvers like that. Taking the revolver back, Tang Yu smiled with satisfaction. In particular, Seeing the eager expressions of the surrounding patrol members, he smiled even more happily. Craving is a good thing. In this way, the soon-to-be-launched swift revolver should be able to trigger a new round of competition frenzy among the patrol members, and also encourage them to work harder to contribute to the shelter and earn contribution points. And after a circle, those source crystals, as well as other materials, were not all returned to him in the end. That's great. Back at the research institute, Tang Yu entered the newly measured revolver data into the database. With this data, it can be used to strengthen weapons. Nowadays, there are two ways to strengthen weapons. One is to improve blueprints through research institutes, and the other is to replace the materials used to make weapons with better materials. Such as demonized beast claws, bones, scales and so on. The hardness of many materials is far greater than that of ordinary iron materials, and even if they are compared to extraordinary minerals, they are not necessarily inferior. A weapon like the swift revolver is powerful, accurate, and forceful. It's impossible to justify it if you don't get two stronger ones to play with yourself. After Tang Yu optimized the blueprint of the swift revolver, he selected the most suitable materials, many of which were left over from the high-level demonized beasts during the Yuanjing mine battle. After getting the workshop to manufacture, two brand new swift revolvers were released soon. Perhaps the material is different. The two revolvers are not black, but shiny silver. The barrels have also become longer. Both in terms of range and power, these two guns have a lot of difference. Improve. 
of course the cost is also much higher. Unfortunately, the enhanced version of the Swift Revolver can be made of demonized beast materials, but the floating chariot cannot. Many materials are specific minerals and cannot be replaced. Moreover, if the Lord Castle is to be upgraded to four levels, it also needs a special material. I feel harder to find. It made him feel a touch of sadness, because there are too many and too many materials. The task of finding materials must be carried out as soon as possible. Tang Yu called Luo Zhe. What are your orders, Lord? Tang Yu will take out a stack of developed photos, these minerals, when your patrol team goes out, pay more attention, and by the way. Publish the relevant tasks in the Adventurer's Guild, whether you can take out the real thing or just the news, it's fine. Roger nodded. That's right. Tang Yu thought for a while, ordinary shelters may have some extraordinary minerals. We can trade with these shelters first, and maybe we can gather these extraordinary minerals faster. At the beginning, in Wang Tai's safe, he found a large piece of extraordinary metal, and now he has detected it, it is a very high-level extraordinary metal. These metals do not necessarily exist in pieces, just like Wang Tai's extraordinary metal, if it is taken back from a certain or vein, there is not only one piece. Tang Yu prefers that these extraordinary minerals are scattered sporadically for some reason. Maybe there are also ore veins like the source crystal, which exist in pieces, which must also be strategic resources. However, in general, the ability to find extraordinary minerals seems to have nothing to do with strength, but luck and number of people are more important. Rather than leaving the patrol alone to find it, try your luck at other shelters. Everyday Khan, holding his cheeks with both hands, with a sad face JPG. Chapter, 109 Luoja also thinks this method is good, better than finding a needle in a haystack. Lord Lord, what items should we use to trade with these shelters, supplies, or equipment? Equipment. Tang Yu pondered for a while, there are some materials we can't produce yet, so we should hoard them first. As for the equipment to be traded, choose ordinary firearms, including pistols, rifles, light machine guns, and sniper rifles. Bazooka, such a killer, will not be traded for the time being. When trading, give priority to trading special materials, and it is not limited to those in the photos, especially extraordinary minerals. In short, you can't miss it. How many are needed? If those shelters can't produce special materials, then trade in source crystals. No matter how he is not short of Yuan Jing, he will not think too much. Oh right. Tang Yu thought for a while, I'd better bring a bazooka or two, and a standard long sword, which can be used as bait to see what good things those shelters can come up with. Luo Zhe wrote these down, as if he remembered something, and took out a small wooden box from his arms. He opened the wooden box, what seemed to be some kind of medicinal herb, Lord Lord, this is found by the members of the patrol team. It looks a bit like a medicinal herb you are looking for, you can see if it is. Tang Yu took the wooden box. This herb is about the size of a palm, the leaves are dark green, but the roots are slightly brownish red. He leaned closer to the wooden box and smelled it, and a faint fishy smell came to his nostrils. These days, not only the blueprints, but also the formulas of the medicines were bought from the market. Among them, there was a formula for the body quenching liquid, which Tang Yu valued very much. He is currently stuck at the fifth level of awakening. On the one hand, it is difficult to break through the bottleneck of the fifth to sixth level. On the other hand, his potential has not been fully tapped and is not suitable for breakthrough. The potential that can be tapped is not as fast as the upgrade of soul power in refining. This potential mainly lies in physical quality, and the body quenching liquid can just tap out one's own physical quality in a short period of time. Tang Yu had found most of the herbs in its formula, the worst of which was the last main ingredient, fishy vanilla. That's right, this is the smelly vanilla, where did you find it? Tang Yu asked. Luo Zhe thought for a while, it is said that it was discovered by the stream where the survivors usually fetch water. This team member also found it by chance while patrolling today. Does the Lord want to go over there to see it? Um. The two patrolmen who found fishy vanilla were very excited. It happened to be their turn to patrol tonight, so they didn't go to the training camp for training. 
they originally heard that Director Tang brought a new weapon to the training camp for testing. They were also annoyed that it was their turn to be on duty tonight. Ask them to lead the way. Suddenly felt a great honor. So, the director, was found here. Tang Yu looked at it and saw that it was a stone by the stream, about the size of a basketball. The patrol member who found the scented herb said, I found it behind this stone. The location is relatively hidden. I happened to find it tonight when the light of the flashlight swept through. Tang Yu walked in and found that the sand on the back side of the stone was different in color from other places, it was maroon. Is this blood? It seems that the environment in which the scented herb grows needs to be nourished by the blood of demonized beasts. Having studied pharmacy knowledge, he also had a certain understanding of the growth environment of medicinal materials, and immediately judged it. In addition, the water side of this stream is relatively humid, and the soil composition here should be related to the growth of stinky herbs. Go, let's go down this stream, maybe we can find more fishy herbs upstream. Director. Luo Zhe suggested, I might as well call someone else. After all, it's dangerous at night, and there are more people, so it's better to find it. Tang Yu nodded. Soon, Luo Zhe found other members of the patrol team, and the group walked down the stream. Along the way, the width of the stream gradually increased, and the water hit the stones, making a rushing sound. Each member of the patrol team held a strong flashlight in his hand, and the light swept around. Suddenly a patrol member called out, look over there. In the distance, where the light hits, there are a few palm-sized plants that look very similar to stinging vanilla. This person is like stepping forward and looking. Luo Zhe suddenly said, be careful, there is something ahead. Tang Yu also raised his brows, staring at the darkness ahead. Whoa! The water splashed, and a black shadow stepped on the water and quickly moved towards the crowd. The light swept across, revealing the full picture of the shadow. It has gray scales and a huge mouth open to reveal sharp teeth inside. This is a crocodile, an alienated crocodile. It was extremely fast, stepped on the stream and rushed to the shore, with a flick of its tail, the gravel splashed towards the crowd. A member of the patrol team held a rifle and shot decisively. The bullet hit the scales of the alienated crocodile, but heard the sound of gold and iron symphony, the fire splashed, and the bullet was completely bounced. The crocodile is getting closer and closer, and ordinary firearms are fired, but it has no effect at all. It will only make the crocodile angrier. Suddenly, the crocodile stared at Tang Yu, his limbs ran quickly, his whole body leaped up, his mouth opened wide, revealing sharp and ferocious teeth. Lord Lord, be careful. Luo Zhe took out his heavy sword and stood beside Tang Yu. Tang Yu didn't answer, but just stared at him closely, his hands on his waist lifted up like lightning, and what he held in his hands were two swift revolvers. Boom! Double gunfire was fired, bullets into the crocodile's mouth. In an instant, blood flowers bloomed in the mouth, and the whole body of the crocodile flew forward under the action of inertia. Tang Yu, however, sauntered to the side after two shots. The crocodile's cumbersome body flew past him and rolled heavily to the ground. After a little struggle, he lost his life. Critical hit, spike. That kind of revolver. Ah, uh, ah, uh, even if I go bankrupt, I must change a revolver like this. Did you not notice that Director Tang is so handsome? Facing the death bite of the alienated crocodile, he was not afraid of danger. After firing two shots, he turned and walked to the side without looking. Why? This is self-confidence. Self-confidence is this two shots are enough to kill the alienated crocodile. That's right, and it's night now, the crocodile is very fast, even with the light of a flashlight, it's hard to see clearly, and don't forget, this is reality, not in a fantasy shooting range. There are no vital signs, and there is no one the setting of killing, even if this is the case, Director Tang also killed the alienated crocodile in an instant. These praises fell in his ears, and Tang Yu felt a little embarrassed. He can kill the crocodile in seconds. In fact, it depends on the level difference. No matter how he is also a master of awakening the fifth layer, the speed of this crocodile may be fast in the eyes of others, but in his eyes, it is slow. Swallowed. 
Rao is so, he actually needs to fire two shots. It feels a little embarrassing. Tang Yu deeply realized the inadequacy of his marksmanship. Chapter 110 At the gate of the resort, many survivors looked at the distant, neatly lined patrol members, showing curiosity. Does the patrol team have another mission? I think that every time the patrols gather here, it is guaranteed that there is a mission that needs to go out. Maybe which area will be reclaimed today? It seems that the people in the transportation team are busy again today. Speaking of which, the patrol team of our shelter is also very powerful. They go out to explore every three days, and every time they go to a place far away from the shelter. This remark drew the approval of other survivors. The shelter I used to stay in, the patrols there, as long as there is no lack of food, they hide in the shelter every day. Even if they go out occasionally, they will force us ordinary people to go forward to explore the way he shook his head. Fortunately, the patrol team of the green shelter is different. If I am an awakened person, I will participate in the patrol team's assessment no matter what. I thought so too, but unfortunately I couldn't wake up. Of course, I want to tell you that Director Tang is still very powerful. Without Director Tang and Captain Luo, can we have the current patrol team? Here, the survivors were busy talking and talking. The members of the patrol team waiting on the other side were also very curious. They didn't know what they were going to do today. Soon two large trucks drove up to them. Lu Xiaoping's eyes lit up, big truck, could it be another big mission today? If he had just joined the patrol team, he would have been somewhat afraid to face demonized beasts, but now, after so much experience, Lu Xiaoping has already realized his dream of punching the demonized wolf and kicking the demonized tiger. The premise is that these demonized beasts are awakened to the first level. Especially the swift revolver that has been put on the exchange list recently, everyone is jealous, and Lu Xiaoping is no exception. At this time, everyone is looking forward to a large-scale task, so as to give them the opportunity to earn contribution points. Just like the last time on the edge of the giant pit, dealing with the group of demonized beasts. Seeing Luo Zhe getting out of the car, Lu Xiaoping quickly asked, Captain Luo, are all firearms in the car? Roger nodded. Lu Xiaoping became more and more excited, then where are we going to kill demonized beasts today? Our mission today is not to hunt down demonized beasts, but to trade in other shelters. Pay, deal. But in short, there are tasks and need to go out, so that's right. Luo Zhe continued, in order to save time, our patrol team will be divided into two groups for this mission, and each will escort a batch of trading supplies to the two shelters. The first team followed me to the northeast shelter, and the third team followed Shea to the Dafa shelter. Lu Xiaoping was stunned, what about the second team? Team 2 stay at the shelter, others, check the equipment and prepare to go. The patrol was divided into three divisions, with Luo Zhe, Kong, and Shea as division leaders, and other patrol members were also assigned to each division. He belongs to the second team, under the command of the deputy captain. However, what did he hear? Team 2, stay behind. Lu Xiaopeng was dumbfounded, still a little unwilling, why did our second team stay behind? At this time, She, who had just got out of the car, heard it and smiled proudly, of course, it was because your captain was empty and lost in a dreadful poker game last night. Play cards and lose. Wrong. Why is the task so important, decided by playing cards? The corner of Lu Xiaoping's mouth twitched, he already wanted to understand, no wonder he didn't see Vice Captain Kong early this morning, it turned out that he lost the card game last night. And was abused badly. Especially looking at the side with a mean smile on his face, Peng Bo, who belongs to the third team, is even more speechless. I had known that he also followed a captain with superb poker skills. Soon Luo Zhe called the members of the first team and the third team. He took out a map and spread it out. This is a map covering the area around Lindong. In addition to the large shelter, Lindong Sanctuary, it also marks the locations of many smaller shelters. Among them, the small dots representing green shades are marked with a cross next to them. This is the map that Tang Yu downloaded from the post and printed out, and was written by Bai Shaoxing. 
Luo Zhe pointed to the two nearby small shelters above and assigned tasks to others. Lin Dong. Street in the business district. There are many shops on both sides of the street, pedestrians come and go, and the atmosphere is peaceful. If not for the pedestrians, there are many people carrying swords and guns, dressed as combatants. At first glance, it is no different from before the end of the world. In a shop on the street, Bai Shaoxing opened the shutter door and started a new day of business. He is the person on the war forum under the pseudonym Bai Shaoxing 10086. His original name was Shaoxing, of course he was not a surname. In the post-apocalyptic world, Bai Shaoxing opened this life counseling shop in Lindong Shelter by virtue of his network advantages and keen analytical skills for information. It is not an awakened person, but every day there are many awakened people who come here and ask him for information. This little day was also very moisturizing. He took out a book from the shelf, read it slowly, and waited for the customer to come. Suddenly, Bai Shaoxing only felt that the light was dim, and when he raised his head, he saw a big man with a beard and a burly figure, who seemed to be looking at him maliciously. Bai Shaoxing was startled, he stood up involuntarily and stepped back but suddenly bumped into the wall of flesh behind him. Looking at it again, it is another big man whose physique is not inferior to the scumbag. Immediately, two men advanced and retreated. After such a stunned effort, Bai Shaoxing was supported by two big men and walked into the store, but the shutters of the store had been pulled down at some point. What do you want to do? This is the inner street, the most safe place in the entire Lindong Sanctuary. If you don't let go, I will call someone. He was about to shout, but a low voice came from his ear. You can try it out, whether you shout fast, or if I slit your throat, come fast. When he was excited, he saw a dagger on his neck, and in front of him, at some point, an ordinary looking young man appeared. Like a ghost. Gollum. Bai Shaoxing swallowed his saliva. He did not hesitate to spend a lot of rent to open the shop here, for the sake of safety, but now, it seems that he has encountered a desperado, and even the security team of the shelter is not afraid. But Bai Shaoxing glanced at these people again, since he didn't kill him immediately, it means that he still has something to ask for, and he still has a chance. Then what, brothers, I don't know what you have to do with me. I, Bai Shaoxing, are bound to do so. Brothers, you might as well put down your weapons. Let's have a good talk. It won't do you any good to kill me. The security team and other awakenings don't, don't, big brother calm down, calm down. Bai Shaoxing was so frightened that he kept gasping for breath. In front of him, Huiren put away the dagger and smiled, actually, our attitude is very friendly, of course. I have to persuade you not to do unnecessary things, otherwise, even if we are did something to you and don't expect the vigilantes to find out. If you don't believe me, you can go and see if the surveillance camera you installed at the door has photographed us. After intimidating in the Grey Blade routine, he clapped his hands and signaled the two big men to release by Shaoxing, the nonsense is over. Then, we can talk about business, for example, I need information about these minerals, and for example, I also need you to work for our boss. As if by magic, a stack of photos appeared in Ash Blade's hand, and with a slight throw, the stack of photos fell on the table and spread out in a fan shape. Bai Shaoxing looked at the minerals with different shapes in the photo, his pupils shrank, he recognized some of them, all of them were very precious materials. I heard Huiren continue to say, of course, it is impossible for me to pay, even if I have money, I will not pay, but we can help you realize your dream and become an awakened person. To become an awakener is what he desires most. Even if he is not short of source crystals and connections, the threshold of awakening, which is not difficult for many people, keeps him out of the door. This sentence hit his heart. He, who was still very angry at first, suddenly froze. Chapter, 11 Do you have a way to awaken ordinary people with insufficient qualifications? No. Bai Shaoxing was stunned. He didn't believe it at first, but he didn't expect that there would be such a direct player. However, it is true that there is none now, but in the future, it is hard to say. Ash Blade threw a bottle of potion over. Bai Shaoxing took it in a hurry, this is. Awakening potion, the effect is better than the best version of Lindong Sanctuary. 
The medicinal liquid was orange red, by Shaoxing swayed the medicinal liquid for a while, and then stared at the changes of the medicinal liquid inside. As a high end information consultant, he considers himself to be very good at distinguishing. He has also seen a lot of awakening potions, and he has also taken the most effective awakening potions in Lindong. The awakening potion may be fake, but it can't be hidden from his eyes. Bai Shaoxing observed the viscosity, color and other aspects of the liquid medicine, and then found a flashlight, and the light shone on it, and the liquid medicine swayed. After a few minutes, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. It is indeed a real awakening potion, and the quality seems to be better than the most advanced potion in Lindong's sanctuary. He naturally knew what the quality of the medicine in Lindong's sanctuary was, and it was no exaggeration to say that it was a medicine that was developed by gathering many scientific crystallizations of the Academy of Sciences. Among them, the advanced version has almost reached its peak, but looking at it now, the quality of the advanced version is even worse than this one. That is to say, using this awakening potion, ordinary people have a higher chance of awakening. As long as the qualifications meet the standard, they can almost achieve a 100% awakening rate. It's just that Bai Shaoxing knew in his heart that he had already taken Lindong's high-level potions, and he didn't wake up, which meant his aptitude was the worst. Chances are slim. However, the information revealed by this tube of medicine had to make him pay attention. No matter who the other party is and what kind of background they have, the ability to develop higher quality awakening potions is evident. Perhaps in the future, it is possible to successfully awaken ordinary people who cannot theoretically awaken. Bai Shaoxing, who was originally extremely repulsive and even angry, at this time, could only look at the grey blade with a complicated expression. Lord's Castle Tang Yu sat at the desk and tapped his fingers on the keyboard. He has written a complete book of medicinal herbs. During this time, he has opened a new farm in the back mountain valley to grow medicinal materials. These medicinal materials may have been mutated from the medicinal materials before the apocalypse, or simply appeared after the apocalypse, like fishy herbs. The medicinal effect is extraordinary, and in many aspects, it is actually quite different from the medicinal materials before the end of the world. It could even be called a panacea. Growing these herbs requires more professional skills. Tang Yu had already transplanted the fishy herbs he harvested yesterday to the newly opened second level farm, but he couldn't do everything himself, and he still needed to train a group of people who knew how to grow medicinal herbs. This book of planting is based on the part he has sorted out from the basis of pharmacy, which can be used for planting medicinal materials. Dong Dong. There was a knock on the door. Come in. Chen Haiping pushed open the door and entered. Director, you asked me to find those survivors who have more planting experience. I have found some, but I asked them. Among these people, there is only one person who has planted Chinese herbal medicines. However, those who have planting experience face the apocalypse. The medicinal materials with different characteristics later have little effect. There was concern in his tone. He also visited the farm where medicinal herbs were grown. Even if he compared the names of medicinal herbs and their characteristics given by Director Tang, it was difficult for him to distinguish those medicinal herbs. Before the end of the world, the medicinal properties and planting methods of medicinal materials were all summed up bit by bit, but now these medicinal materials are completely new. Without the previous planting experience, even if they are planted in the soil specially made by Director Tang I'm afraid there will also be many deaths due to improper planting. I have already taken this into consideration. After all, these medicinal materials are still a little delicate compared to ordinary crops, but it doesn't matter. After you print this medicinal planting book, you can send it to the survivors who are responsible for the medicinal materials. Don't say to achieve 100% survival, as long as you can harvest most of it, it is enough. When Chen Haiping took the U-Disc to print the data, he was still full of doubts. Director Tang still understands implantology. Pharmacy. But after seeing the printed information, he was stunned. Although he did not understand the content of the information, the information was very detailed. Including the characteristics of each medicinal material, the method of planting, and what problems should be paid attention to, all clearly written. This is impossible to make up, to make up such detailed and complex content, it is impossible at all. 
That is to say, after Director Tang discovered those medicinal materials, it only took a few days to develop a method of planting. After solving the problem of planting medicinal materials, Tang Yu left the castle and came to the research institute. This time, it is not to deduce or develop drawings, but to complete an observation experiment purely. He is now a researcher at Tang University. The research institute covers the largest area of all the core buildings, and there are quite a few rooms in it. Tang Yu opened the door of one of the rooms and heard the sound of cooing. In the room, a white rabbit was being locked in a transparent glass cover, staring at the cover from time to time. This is an alienated rabbit with the strength of the first level awakening. However, the cover of the research institute is also special. After this little white rabbit hit it, it bounced back with a bang and then rolled down, splashing the bottom of the bag. Less liquid. The liquid is the body-quenching liquid that was just made yesterday. This alienated rabbit is the material he used to experiment with the body-quenching liquid. As a medicine produced by the system, it is theoretically guaranteed, but it is for himself to use after all, Tang Yu decided to experiment first out of caution. This unfortunate alienated white rabbit fell into his claws. At this time, he was baring his teeth at him inside the hood. At a glance at this situation, Tang Yu felt relieved. From last night to the present, most of the medicinal effect of the body quenching liquid contained in it has been absorbed by this alienated white rabbit. And it can still jump around, which means that there is no problem with the medicinal liquid. There is no problem with the drawings, and there is basically no problem with the configured medicinal materials. Of course, this is only a preliminary judgment. Tang Yu opened the hood and picked up the rabbit's ears. This alienated rabbit kept struggling in midair, with its short legs kicking all over the place, and its strength was not small, but under the power of the fifth level awakening of his great lord Tang, this struggle seemed so powerless. While holding it, Tang Yu took out an egg sized prismatic spar. Primary detection crystal, it can be used to detect the specific information of the target, including strength, weakness, good direction, etc. As a relative product of the detection lens, this detection crystal is also very useful. The prismatic spar flashed with light and soon, various information appeared on the spar, even including very specific data. Tang Yu looked at it for a while and understood. This alienated rabbit, whether it is muscle explosive power, muscle strength, has been significantly improved compared to before. This is obviously the credit of the body quenching liquid, which is exactly the same as the description in the system. Then how to deal with this alienated beast? Tang Yu looked at the alienated white rabbit who was being lifted up in mid-air, struggling. The little white rabbit, white and white, cramped, peeled and roasted. Just thinking about it, it looks delicious. The alienated rabbit that was lifted up in mid-air jolted violently, feeling a great chill descending on him, and his short legs kicked even more urgently. Chapter, 112 Maple Leaf Town Abyssal Fisher Area The red fog is still permeating, and the sound is heard from time to time. After several days of arrangement, the defense line around the abyss crack has been basically completed. During this period of time, the fighters guarding here have gradually figured out the regularity of the appearance of demonized beasts. These demonized beasts didn't emerge from the abyss cracks one after another, but every once in a while, a batch appeared. There are also signs. Whenever the red mist rolls over the cracks, it means that a demonized beast is about to appear. During this period, powerful demonized beasts have also appeared, far exceeding the most powerful human awakened at this stage. But in the face of countless weapons arranged around, the demonized beast did not turn up any storms, was quickly killed. Lin Wei sat in the command car, tapping his fingers lightly on the table, wondering what he was thinking. A confidant walked in, holding a password box in his hand, Boss, all 368 kinds of demonized beast blood are ready. Yeah. Lin Wei raised his head, in that case, Notify the people of the First Corps to leave and gather at the predetermined location. Yes. The confidant put down the lockbox and turned to leave. Lin Wei's eyes flickered and he thought for a while, Dark Owl. Exist. Behind him, a shadow appeared. Have you checked the news? Lin Wei asked. The figure's voice was hoarse, I checked it out, 
the ones who destroyed the Scarlet Hand were three Awakeners, two men and one woman, one of them had the ability to summon puppets. And the other had the ability to frost, but these three after the explosion, people disappeared without a trace, so they probably didn't return to Lindong Sanctuary. Lin Wei frowned, then sighed, forget it, let's ignore it, have you figured out the size and strength of the Green Shade Shelter? Well, according to my investigation, the Green Shade Shelter did encounter a magic tide before, which is not different from what Wang Tai said. But it is rather strange that after the magic tide, the sanctuary did not collapse, but in the original on the site, a shelter was rebuilt. Not only that, this shelter is indeed a bit weird. According to the information I found, that shelter seems to have built a city wall overnight, and later used this city wall to resist a magic tide. Attack. City Wall. Lin Wei frowned, have you found out why the city wall appeared? It should be someone who is capable. Hei Ying's voice was hesitant. But whether there are restrictions on how to build the city wall I didn't find out. Furthermore, the surrounding area of this shelter is also quite famous. It has a strong patrol team under its command. Just in terms of the strength of the awakened people, it should be much stronger than ordinary small shelters. Lin Wei shook his head slightly. The strength of this shelter is definitely not weak. Ordinary small shelters do not have the ability to destroy all Han Jing's team, and even the news cannot be returned. Or it is because there are several awakened people with outstanding strength, and even capable people in this shelter. It's a pity that this kind of excellence is only relative to ordinary awakened people. A small shelter is too small after all, but this world is huge. The frog at the bottom of the well, how can you watch the sky? Even so, Lin Wei did not despise it. He would use absolute power to crush any unstable factors into the cradle. Let the people of the Dark Owl group also dispatch, and make sure not to let any survivors of the green shelter go. Yes. The shadow disappeared behind him. Lin Wei looked at the safe beside him. After thinking for a while, he changed his clothes and walked out of the command car. Solving the shade shelter is just a trivial matter. The key point is that he also wants to see with his own eyes what kind of results Dr. Zheng's plan has achieved. After all, as a businessman, Lin Wei's purpose is to make every investment worthwhile. Outside the wilderness, an abandoned pharmaceutical factory. Before the end of the world, this was a pharmaceutical company that no one cared about. After the end of the world, the personnel here seemed to have been evacuated long ago, leaving only some abandoned equipment. Weeds have already grown outside the factory building. However, no one knew that there was a larger space under the pharmaceutical factory. Here is the real pharmaceutical factory, which was engaged in some human research work long before the end of the world. A bald, slightly bloated man with round frame glasses was staring at the screen in front of him excitedly. Screen. It was a young survivor who seemed to be in a coma. His naked body was fixed on a shelf. Beside him, a man in a white coat was holding a syringe and injected a tube of red liquid into the survivor. In the body. After finishing the work, the staff member in the white coat left in a hurry. Dr. Zheng was still staring at the screen. Soon, the body of the young man who was injected with the medicine changed. He opened his eyes suddenly, bloodshot eyes, and a painful roar from his mouth. Some parts of the body were gradually stretched, the blue veins were abrupt, the blood vessels were hideous, and soon with a snap. Those swollen parts burst apart, and this was just the beginning, the young survivors screamed and struggled continuously for a period of time. Afterwards, the whole person became dry and sore, and apparently there was no life. Failed again, TSK TSK. Dr. Zheng sighed, but could not see any disappointment. It was originally a defective product, and the young people used as experimental materials could not meet his requirements. This failure was as expected. Although the young man died, he could bring him some experimental data. Such a death was worth it. He looked at the assistant next to him, how many experimental materials are left? The assistant thought for a while, there are a total of 135 survivors, including 13 awakened ones, and two awakened two-level strengths. Too little, or too little, especially the awakened ones. Only those awakened ones are truly qualified materials. 
While recording the data, Diarjing said, hurry up and ask Boss Lin to quickly send the experimental materials. I have a hunch that this plan will soon be successful. At that time, I will be able to create the most perfect one. Experiment. Lord's Castle, Bedroom. The great Lord Tang, who has long been missed by others, is lying in the bathtub, soaking in the diluted body quenching liquid, with a contented expression on his face. During the quenching process, it was completely different from what he had imagined. There was an unbearable pain. Instead, the body was warm, as if enjoying a massage. This upgrade experience is great. After soaking for more than half an hour and clenching his fists, Tang Yu could feel that his strength had increased to a certain extent. In this way, soaking once or twice a day for a few days should be able to tap most of the body's potential. At that time, you can try to break through the awakening to the sixth level of awakening and start to shape the body. Of course, whether a breakthrough can be made successfully or not is a matter of two things. But. Tang Yu looked at the bathtub, most of the medicinal effects of the body quenching liquid had been absorbed, and the color had faded, falling into deep thought. Normally speaking, body quenching liquid is the most suitable for awakeners of the first to fifth levels of awakening. It can improve their physical fitness to the greatest extent. However, after breaking through the sixth level of awakening, using the body quenching liquid still has a certain effect. Then on the other hand, can ordinary people who have not awakened absorb the body quenching liquid? If the physical potential of ordinary people is tapped, what will be the result? Tang Yu feels that he has a tendency to evolve into a scientific researcher recently. Chapter 113 In the wilderness, among the tall weeds, several demonized beasts suddenly sprang out. It's a rot-clawed wolf, a one-eyed beast, and a ghost face. The ghost face has good long-range lethality. Get rid of the ghost face first. An experienced member of the patrol team immediately judged the situation. On the side, several other members of the patrol team, holding swords and shields, quickly drew the rotclaw wolf and the one-eyed beast away. And then an awakener who was good at speed walked in a snake-like pace, while avoiding the grimace's aim, while quickly approaching. In a short while, this threatening ghost-faced demonized beast was quickly killed. The remaining demonized beasts did not turn up any waves. This was a very standard encounter in the wild, and the members of the patrol team responded very well. Using the characteristics of demonized beasts, they separated melee and long-range demonized beasts, and then killed the most threatening demon first. Beast. It's a pretty standard response. Roger nodded. During this period of time, he saw the progress of the patrol team members. Of course, this time, the response was appropriate, and it was also because the various demonized beasts encountered were recorded in detail in the illustrations collected by the shelter. Patrol members can attack in a targeted manner according to the characteristics of the demonized beasts. If the encounter is a brand new demonized beast, and it happens to have a rather strange ability, with the current experience of these patrol team members, it is still more difficult to deal with. Just like meeting a ghost face for the first time, this kind of demonized beast floating in midair like a ghost face, the patrol team members suffered a big loss. The member of the patrol team who killed the ghost face was also relieved. When he looked up again, he looked over the grass and saw a building in the distance. It was a high-speed rail station, and the four red characters above were vaguely visible, facing the northeast station. Is that the northeast shelter? Shelter built on the high-speed rail station? That's right. Luo Zhe nodded. The scale of this shelter is quite large. There are thousands of survivors. It should be able to come up with something worth trading. Let's go and have a look. Near the northeast shelter, the survivors here mainly live in the main building of the high-speed rail station. Relying on the building of the high-speed rail station and the surrounding wilderness, the station has a wide field of vision and is often in danger. Survivors here can immediately notice. At this moment, an awakened person in charge of vigilance looked into the distance, his eyes widened. Suddenly he shouted, Alert, someone is coming. Several other awakened people who were in charge of vigilance, or combatants, heard the words, and their faces were indifferent, isn't it a survivor, what's so strange? No, no, there are a lot of people, and a big truck. 
The man's tone was a little surprised. The others were also stunned and picked up binoculars to observe the distance. After a while, an awakened person who looked like a team leader looked at the other people and said, You guys continue to guard here, I will report to the director. He glanced at the team in the distance and hurried away. The large truck moved forward slowly, and the members of the patrol team in front cleared the obstacles and pushed away some blocking vehicles and rocks. The team gradually approached the high-speed rail station, and when they got here, they could clearly see some simple traps arranged around the high-speed rail station, some of which were stained with the blood of demonized beasts. Let's stop here. Luo Zhe said. In the team, Ma Jiaza wondered, aren't you going to continue? Stupid. The elder brother Ma Jiafeng slapped it, obviously, we have been discovered by the people in this shelter, and the other party will definitely not welcome us in. Why not welcome, is it easy for us to come all the way? The chunky Ma Jiaza obviously didn't understand. Ma Jiafeng shook his head, looking like his IQ could no longer save him, think about it, our team is quite large, well equipped, and guarding a large truck. At first glance, we are not ordinary survivors, as long as they are a normal and vigilant shelter would not allow us to enter like this. So that's how it is. Ma Jiaza nodded as if suddenly realized, but his expression was still stunned. At this time, in the northeast station, many survivors also came out. Most of these people are awakened people, and some still have firearms in their hands, but the types are not uniform, some are pistols, some are rifles, and some are shotguns. The leader is a middle-aged awakened person, quite majestic. Yen Tao walked at the front of the team, looking at the people on the opposite side, uniformly dressed and uniformed with firearms in terms of momentum, he was far superior to the combatants in his shelter. Where did these people come from? He thought about it, but he didn't stop, and came not far from the patrol team, I don't know if you came to our northeast, what's the matter? Yen Tao lowered his body slightly and was on guard at the same time. Soon he saw that the big man in the iron tower on the opposite side raised his hand, and a few awakened people immediately moved a few boxes from the carriage of the large truck. The purpose of our coming here is very simple. It is to conduct a transaction with you, and this box contains our goods. Trade. Yen Tao was stunned for a while, then quickly reacted, what are you going to trade, and what do you want to get? Let's take a look at our trading items first. Luo Zhe said, motioning others to open the box. Soon the items in the box appeared in front of everyone. This is a gun. Behind Yen Tao, a survivor's eyes widened, are these real guns? At first glance, this box contained at least a dozen firearms, all of which seemed to be brand new. Even Yen Tao was a little surprised. Of course. A member of the patrol team wearing a black combat uniform got a signal from Luo Zhe, picked up one of the assault rifles, pointed the muzzle at the ground in the distance, and fired several shots. You can also try. Luo Zhe said. Yen Tao hesitated for a while, then picked up an automatic rifle from the box, looked at it, and tried to fire another shot. It's a real gun, he said. So what do you want? After some conversation, the negotiator of the patrol team proposed a price that had already been prepared. Pistols are worth two units of source crystals, automatic rifles are worth five units of source crystals, and light machine guns are worth twelve units of source crystals. Of course, compared to source crystals, we prefer some strange things, such as exotic metals, minerals, herbs, etc. These can be converted into source crystals. Yen Tao was silent, thinking about the price. Behind him, someone suddenly spoke with a bad tone, a pistol requires two source crystals. Are you trying to rob? Two source crystals, at least twenty demonized beasts must be killed to obtain them. And a pistol can be obtained. Plus two magazines, can kill so many demonized beasts. I think you don't want to do business at all. Chapter, 114 Yen Tao was startled and gave a low drink, Jun Liang. Chen Jun Liang looked even more annoyed, boss, am I right? Yuan Jing is something that even the officials of Lin Dong's sanctuary have to buy, and it must be very precious. In my opinion, one Yuan Jing can be exchanged for three or four. Get a pistol, that's about it, hey you guys, if you want to trade, show some sincerity. 
Yen Tao looked behind him, and many people also had expressions of approval. However, some things cannot be calculated so simply. What's more, the team in front of him is well equipped and not weak. Even if this transaction can't be done, he doesn't want to mess with such an enemy. Just as Yen Tao was about to say something, he saw a tall and thin man across from him walking out with a smile on his face. Ma Jiafen glanced at the people in front of him, and then fell on Chen Junliang, I said, did you misunderstand something? What? Chen Junliang was still a little stunned. Firearms, this is a scarce commodity. You don't want it. There are still a lot of shelters in this area, but what about Yuan Jing? No matter how precious it is, what's the use of holding it in your hands? What is the use? The words spoke to the heart. Everyone knows the preciousness of source crystals. According to a simple conversion, the price of a firearm is indeed impossible to harvest so many source crystals. But those source crystals are useless in their hands, and firearms can be used to hunt demonized beasts and become stronger. Even at a critical moment, a good weapon can turn the tide of the battle. In contrast, what can Yuan Jing do? Now, they are the ones who are begging to buy weapons, and there is no room for bargaining at all. Especially in a dangerous environment like the end of the world, if the source crystal cannot be transformed into its own strength, it will be meaningless. Many fighters who originally supported Chen Junliang fell into contemplation for a while. However, Chen Junliang still didn't think so. He was about to speak when he saw that the tall, thin man's smile suddenly changed. Become serious and indifferent. If you want to see sincerity, then, let's take a look. As Ma Jiaza said that, the big hammer, which was almost as tall as the whole person, was suddenly lifted up behind his back. Holding the handle of the hammer in one hand, he lifted it so lightly and slammed it down again. Bang! The ground shook suddenly, and with the big hammer as the center, a circle of spiderweb-like cracks spread rapidly, the ground fell, and this section of road, under this hammer, cracked unbelievably. Everyone it should be said that everyone who came out of Lindong, including the director Yen Tao, took a deep breath. This destructive power is simply terrifying. Chen Junliang's mouth that had just opened suddenly froze, his eyes staring blankly at the cracked ground, he wanted to say something, but he couldn't open his mouth at all. After all of this last night, Ma Jiafeng returned to his smiling face, and while putting away his weapon, he said, laughing, laughing, my hand slipped a bit. The next transaction became very smooth, and both parties got the items they needed. When they left, the members of the patrol team and most of the people in the northeast shelter were all smiling. Obviously, the transaction process this time is very pleasant. Seeing everyone in the patrol team and the large truck gradually disappearing from sight, Yen Tao looked into the distance, not knowing what he was thinking. Chen Junliang was still a little unwilling, boss, why don't you take the opportunity to take them down, there must be a lot of good things in their truck compartment. Yen Tao shook his head, don't you see that these people are not weak, especially the tall and thin man who just started, and the short and fat man standing by the side, if I guessed correctly, they are the Hammer Brothers. What? It turned out to be Brother Hammer. It is rumored that they have the strength to awaken the triple layer, no wonder they are so strong. Aren't they loose people? How could they join the shady shelter? Chen Junliang was still unconvinced, and said again, Brother Hammer is strong, but we have more people here, and boss, didn't you arrange gunmen at the commanding heights around you? We don't need to be afraid of them. Yen Tao looked disappointed and shook his head, these gunmen are the last strength of our shelter, do you want to kill your brothers so much for those weapons? Or, do you think we can easily take them without paying a price? Get them down. Chen Junliang was stunned, but he couldn't say what he retorted. Furthermore, Yen Tao's tone slowed down, the shade shelter, they even dare to sell like machine guns. Do you think they don't have anything better? If we really fight, maybe we are still the loser. Even the Hammer Brother is probably not the strongest person in the team. Didn't you realize that the real leader of the team is the man named Luo Zhe? Yen Tao said this, many people reacted. Luo Zhe spoke very little. Except for a few words at the beginning, other people were responsible for the subsequent negotiations. In addition, they were attracted by the momentum and aura of the Hammer Brothers, 
and they all unconsciously ignored the big man in the iron tower. But now that I think about it, even a fierce man like the Hammer Brothers is convinced that he can lead an entire team. Could this be the weak? Obviously not possible. Thinking of this, Chen Junliang felt a little scared in his heart. Yen Tao looked into the distance and muttered, a powerful shelter appears in this area, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. On the other side, the Fafa shelter. This is a small shelter built on a commercial plaza. The location is also good. It is far from the abyss. The number of demonized beasts encountered on weekdays is not large, and with a lot of materials stored in the supermarket, the shelter's survivors, life is more moisturizing. To be precise, it is the high level of the shelter, which is more moisturizing. The director, Wang Huarong, was inspecting the shelter with a beer belly. Everywhere he went, all the survivors had to stop their work and respectfully called Mr. Wang. This is also Wang Huarong's favorite thing to do every day. This is his kingdom, and these survivors are his subjects. The number of survivors in the Dafa shelter is not many, only a few hundred people. It is not that the size of the shelter is too small to accommodate too many survivors, but that some survivors have been consumed. Whether it's going out to find supplies or dealing with demonized beasts, these ordinary survivors, although extremely weak, can still play a role. Of course, the loss rate is a bit high. Wang Huarong did not feel any guilt. In his opinion, these survivors would not have survived without the food he provided. Since they have all lived so long, they should contribute to him. During the inspection, a confidant came to report in a hurry, Mr. Director, a group of awakens came outside, and they said they were coming to trade with us. Chapter, 115 Deal Wang Huarong frowned, what deal? Where did those people come from? The subordinate thought for a while and said, those people said that they have firearms and weapons, and they want to exchange some source crystals with us, or some other rare items as for the origin, it seems to come from a certain shelter. The entire Defafa commercial plaza, except for the entrance, is surrounded by buildings. Taking advantage of this feature, after Wang Huarong blocked the entrance, the safety of the shelter was greatly improved. After all, ordinary demonized beasts are far from the level of destroying buildings. According to the direction of his subordinates, Wang Huarong came to the top floor of a building. From this direction, he could clearly see a group of people not far away. They all wear uniform clothes, and everyone has guns on their bodies. It seems that they do have a lot of guns. Maybe they got a certain weapons warehouse before the end of the world. He narrowed his eyes and commanded the men beside him. Soon, with a big loudspeaker, he walked to the edge of the rooftop, where are the guns you want to sell, let's see your sincerity first. Finished shouting. Wang Huarong saw that there were several people below, moving out large wooden boxes from the carriage of the large truck. The box was quickly opened, revealing the brand new firearms inside. Most of them are pistols and rifles, but there are still a few, machine guns, which have massive lethality. There are so many, and I even got a machine gun. Wang Huarong murmured in his mouth and looked at the big truck again, his eyes gleaming. If you can get this batch of guns and weapons, isn't it? He waved his hand, summoned his subordinates, and whispered again. Below, Shay lit a cigarette and waited silently. Soon, I heard a voice from the top floor of a building in the distance, our director has agreed to make a deal, you can come in through the gate of the shelter. The gate of the Defafa shelter is a simple gate made of wooden boards and iron bars, blocking the largest entrance of this commercial plaza. At this time, the door was slowly pulled up under the control of some survivors. However, there are obstacles on both sides of the entrance, and the space for passage is not large, and it can accommodate large trucks barely passing through. You all come in, hurry up, or it will be troublesome when there will be demonized beasts attacking. The survivors at the door urged. Shea threw away the cigarette but in his hand, looked up at the top floor of the building in the distance, and showed an inexplicable smile. He waved his hand and motioned to the members behind him, let's go. The team moved forward slowly, and soon came to the gate of Defafa shelter. Shea glanced at it, shook the cloak behind him, and walked in first. The other patrol members followed closely behind, and these people looked around, seeming to be very curious about the shelter. 
Soon, it was the turn of the last big truck to pass. Because the truck was relatively large and the gap was relatively narrow, it was a little difficult to pass this time. The driver of the big truck could only drive slowly and carefully. Suddenly, a loud shout came from above. Go! On the buildings on both sides of the exit, on the window sills, survivors with guns appeared. These guns are of different models, and some are handmade mountain plug versions, and the accuracy and reliability are more than a dozen streets worse than the genuine ones. But in this situation, the members of the patrol team are walking in the narrow passage, while the fighters on the Defafa side are condescending. On the rooftop, looking at the team of outsiders who had fallen into desperation, Wang Huarong showed a smug look. Stupid, too stupid, so what if you have good equipment, as long as you don't have a chance to play, no matter how good the equipment is, it's scum. Originally, he had prepared several backup plans, but he did not expect the first plan to succeed. Sure enough, these people were just lucky to have obtained a certain equipment warehouse, which made them look like elite awakeners, but in fact, they were not worth mentioning at all. Thinking of getting that car of weapons and equipment soon, Wang Huarong's heart was burning. The confidants around him also had bright eyes, and hurriedly flattered, it's all the wisdom of the director. How can a group of awakened people who don't know where they came from have turned the sky? Wang Huarong laughed. Immediately afterwards, there was a rumbling sound from below, and he laughed even more. Only soon, Wang Huarong was stunned. At most, his subordinates only have some guns and weapons, and there are not many bullets, so it is impossible to cause such a big momentum. Below, Shay's leather boots stepped on the ground, and the moment he heard hands on, his low voice also came out. Almost. Figures with guns appeared from the upper window, but she didn't care, the iron sand that had already been caught in his hand suddenly rose up. Although he is a musketeer, his strength is also extremely strong. Under the action of this strength, these iron sands are shot out like bullets. It was densely packed, like bullet rain, covering the buildings on both sides. Those fighters who were about to shoot, with wide-eyed eyes and quick responses, rushed to the side, trying to hide behind the wall. The next moment, the explosion sounded. These inconspicuous iron sands bombarded the windows and outer walls of the building, and they exploded one by one. Shea's explosive ability is related to the quality and material of the object. These iron sands, the explosive power of a single one, may not be very powerful. However, when so many iron sands are thrown, at this moment, it is like thousands of firecrackers. Is much bigger. Some people who responded slowly were blown to pieces, and they didn't know if they were alive or dead. Even some people who responded in a timely manner were seriously injured. More importantly, no one dared to come forward again. The members of the patrol team already knew about Xia Yi's abilities, and they were a little surprised when they saw this scene. He was indeed the deputy captain of Xia Yi, who was known as the self-propelled humanoid fort. Anger followed. People who were attacked by Defafa shelter for no reason, although they were well prepared, did not mean that there was no anger. The members of the patrol team took action. Some dodged and came to the front of the fighters at the gate, and some took advantage of a few leaps and entered through the windows of the buildings on both sides. Peng Bo punched the person in front of him and vomited blood. He was about to step forward to end the opponent when he suddenly glanced at him, and a white light flashed away on the roof in the distance. Be careful, there are snipers. A bang sounded. Peng Bo was stunned for a while, looked at himself, there were no bullet holes, and not far away, Captain Xie raised his right hand to block his forehead. At this time, white smoke was slowly rising from the raised right palm. No way. Peng Bo's eyes almost popped out. The next moment, a bullet slid from Xie's palm and fell to the ground with a clang. Chapter 116 in the distance, the awakened, who was lying on the rooftop with a sniper rifle aimed at it, looked terrified, and the sweat on his forehead couldn't stop falling. He is Wang Huarong's confidant, his own strength is not weak, and he is good at marksmanship. This time, he was arranged here by Wang Huarong just to snipe the strong in that team. This kind of sniper rifle, used to deal with powerful demonized beasts, may not be very effective, 
but it can be used to deal with strong human beings, which is definitely more than enough. Not to mention a sneak attack. The sniper shooter was certain that no one would survive his sniper bullets. But what did he see? The sniper shooter's pupils dilated, and at this moment, his heart even stopped beating. Someone caught the bullet. And, unscathed. How can that be? The sniper shooter didn't want to believe it. If the awakened person can rely on a keen intuition for danger and avoid bullets at critical moments, such an awakened person is already very powerful. Even Director Wang, who has the triple strength of awakening, may not be able to do it. But the man in the scope, he could see clearly. The moment he pulled the trigger, the opponent's hand, like a ghost, blocked his forehead. In the imagination, the picture of the bullet penetrating the palm and smashing the head did not appear. Instead, the bullet was blocked like this. The sniper shooter was terrified and wanted to continue firing, but his fingers were trembling, making it difficult to pull the trigger. In the scope, he saw the big man, turned his head, and pulled out a revolver from his waist. He smiled at him, and there was fire from the muzzle. The sniper shooter's pupils dilated, and time almost stopped at this moment. He didn't think that, at the range of a revolver, a bullet could hit him. But at this moment, for some reason, a huge sense of crisis enveloped him. The sniper shooter wanted to move, but his body seemed to be pressed by a large rock, making it difficult to move at all. At the last moment of his mind, he saw the scope burst open, and then he lost consciousness. Inside the building, a member of the patrol team flickered left and right, quickly approaching while avoiding the enemy's aim, with a sharp blade, killing the enemy with one sword. The patrol member's tense expression relaxed slightly. Suddenly, a gunshot rang out. The patrol members staggered. Not far away, a gunman hiding in the dark took the opportunity to shoot, but the next moment, he widened his eyes and looked at the patrol members as if nothing was wrong. It's impossible, how can this kind of clothes be bulletproof? He exclaimed, but the members of the patrol would not give him another chance. Another place, the roof of the building. Master Director, this, this. The confidant watched all this, not knowing what to say. Wang Huarong also took all this into his eyes and was terrified. He has been observing the battle situation from a high position. He originally thought that relying on the geographical advantage and the ambush, he could easily solve those outsiders. Even if there would be losses in manpower, compared with those guns, the loss of some subordinates was nothing. It's just that he didn't expect that as soon as the battle was fought, his men would be killed and wounded. In particular, the man with a cigarette in his mouth waved his hand, killing and injuring most of the people he was in ambush, and even disrupted the formation he arranged. The gunman, facing this man, was helpless. How can there be such a powerful awakener? Wang Huarong couldn't imagine that the awakened could become so powerful, especially that person, who was like a devil. Let's go, let's go, we can't stay here. Wang Huarong was in a hurry with his subordinates and was about to leave from the other side. As soon as he went downstairs, he was blocked by several members of the patrol team wearing black combat uniforms. His face changed, his eyes swept over the patrol team members, and after he didn't see the devil-like awakener, he breathed a sigh of relief and said to his subordinate, hurry up and deal with these people, wait. When that person comes, we can't leave. While speaking, the samurai sword on Wang Huarong's waist was unsheathed. He is also a very powerful awakener, with the strength of the triple awakening, and his combat experience is also not bad. It's just that he has always only shot when he is sure. That big cigarette smoking man is too terrifying. Wang Huarong believes that he is not an opponent, but just the few awakened people in front of him want to stop him. Wang Huarong rushed forward quickly. On the opposite side, an awakened with a scar on his face shouted, Leave this guy to me, and you will deal with the rest. Wang Huarong narrowed his eyes and stared at the awakened with scars. Awakening the strength of the second layer is not bad, but he is confident that he can cut off this person's head with just three moves. It's too naive to want to hold him down by himself. The sword light glanced at the shadow, and cut it straight down. I saw that the person was surrounded by fine sand, like raindrops, and they came one after another. Wang Huarong looked surprised and could not help slowing down to cope with the attack of the fine sand. 
Peng Bo took this opportunity to rush forward, wearing two characteristic finger tigers on his hands, with sharp tips and flickering cold lights, attacking the key points. The more Wang Huarong fought, the more surprised he became. The person in front of him only had the second level of awakening, but in terms of physical fitness, he was not much worse than him. In addition to the interference of fine sand, let alone three moves to solve the opponent, after several confrontations, he was in the downwind. It was difficult to even escape. How could he know that Peng Bo's life level is indeed worse than him, but he has fought with demonized beasts many times, and has undergone high-intensity training in the training camp. He has already tapped a lot of potential, and his physical quality is far superior. Ordinary awakening level 2, even if compared to him, is not much worse. In addition to his special abilities, this is also Peng Bo's completely true confidence. After some battles, the awakened people of Defafa Sanctuary died and wounded. She stood in the chaos of the battlefield, looking at the terrified, shivering survivors in the shelter, bowing his head, lost in thought. The members of the patrol team have dispersed to collect the spoils in the shelter. With a large truck, it is not difficult to transport the spoils back to the territory. It's just these survivors that give Shea some headaches. These survivors, in the final analysis, are not a group with Wang Huarong. Even the awakened ones under Wang Huarong may not be of one mind, not to mention that these survivors are only consumables. I didn't think much about it before the battle, but now I'm having a hard time. Killed. That's impossible. Once it's gone, it doesn't seem very good. No matter how Wang Huarong treats these survivors, one thing is right. Without Wang Huarong and his awakened people, these ordinary survivors would not be able to survive until now. She, who used to be just a mercenary, could only light a cigarette and meditate slowly in the face of the situation. Suddenly his eyes lit up, remembering that Director Tang had said that the shelter lacked labor. So, if you bring these people back, wouldn't you have no faults, but instead have merit? She thinks it is very likely, even if it comes a few times, then the shelter will have more and more survivors. This way, it's just perfect. If Tang Yu was present, one could see the drawbacks. Harvesting leeks, if you harvest them all at once, although you will get more harvests, you will lose an income channel in the future. On the contrary, if you pay attention to sustainable development and harvest leeks one by one, that is the real high-end development model. Chapter 117 Next to the Abyss Crack, the Temporary Command Post Lu Jianjun was communicating with several senior officers under his command. Suddenly a young officer hurried to report. Report to the chief, I received news that Lin Wei led the high-end combat power of his subordinates to leave secretly. Impossible, I just saw Lin Wei patrolling. The second battalion commander next to him questioned. No. The young officer shook his head, there is indeed a Lin Wei in the position, but it is fake, just a stand-in, and according to reliable information, Lin Wei has been away for at least two hours. Fake. Lu Jianjun was lost in thought. Today, the defense line has stabilized. If Lin Wei wants to leave, he will not stop him. Even he will stay here for a day or two at most, and he will return to Lin Dong to preside over the overall situation. But Lin Wei secretly left, leaving behind a stand-in, as if he was afraid that others would not know that Lin Wei was still in the position. Lu Jianjun instinctively felt that there was a problem here. He asked the young officer again, who did Lin Wei take away? Lin Wei mainly took people from the First Corps. The others are not clear, but according to the analysis, it is very likely that Lin Wei also brought people from the Dark Owl group. Lin Wei had several corps under his command. Among them, only the first corps was Lin Wei's true confidant and the one with the most masters. Lu Jianjun didn't want to fall out with Lin Wei because it was for the stable development of Lin Dong's shelter, but he wasn't stupid either, and he had been eyeing Lin Wei's subordinates for a long time. Among them, the eyeliner with the highest status is already a senior official of the second corps. However, if he cannot enter the first corps, he will not become Lin Wei's confidant after all. This time, it was the news sent by this person, but the most important thing was Lin Wei's whereabouts, and he still didn't know anything about it. Also, the Dark Owl group. Lu Jianjun thought about it. 
Compared with Lin Wei's apparent power, he was most worried about how much power Lin Wei had secretly mastered. Among them, the Dark Owl team was undoubtedly Lin Wei's ace power. According to his investigation, the worst ones who can be selected into the Dark Owl group also have the strength of the third level awakening. However, he has no way of knowing how many awakened people in the Dark Owl group and the distribution of their strengths. Even the Dark Owl team was brought. Beside Lu Jianjun, the captain of the guard team, Zhou Zhenglei, frowned, every time Lin Wei dispatched the Dark Owl team, there must be some conspiracy. Zhou Zhenglei also had a brief encounter with the leader of the Dark Owl team, the Dark Owl, in an accidental incident. At that time, a large number of disappearances of children in the shelter became more and more serious, and the chief had to send him to assist in the investigation. When he followed the clues to the end, he found the Dark Owl and several of his subordinates. It was only then that I was surprised to discover that a little-known awakener had strength no less than his. To know his strength, in Lindong Sanctuary, he can at least rank in the top three. But he felt a great threat from the Dark Owl. We must figure out the purpose of Lin Wei's secret departure, and let the people over there keep an eye on it. Lu Jianjun said to the young officer. The young officer gave a military salute and left quickly. Wilderness. There are weeds everywhere, the roads are cracked, and the roar of demonized beasts can be heard from time to time. For ordinary survivors, and even the awakened ones, caution is the first element in the wilderness. However, a huge team came from a distance. In order to ensure the concealment of his behavior, Lin Wei did not take any means of transportation, just like ordinary survivors, walking in the middle of the team. This team doesn't care about demonized beasts, just swaggering around in the wilderness. Along the way, any incoming demonized beasts will be easily beheaded by the awakened who are in charge of the outside world. The entire team even specially assigns people to deal with the spoils and clean up the traces of travel along the way, so that no clues will be left. Let Lu Jianjun's people track it down. At this time, a man in front came down to report, Boss, I found a few survivors, what should I do, kill them? Kill it. Lin Wei said casually, and suddenly thought of something, wait, don't kill them, arrest them all first. Dr. Zheng has been urging the need for experimental materials. Although these survivors are not good materials, they can be used improvised. It just so happened that he was going to the pharmaceutical factory to see the progress of the experiments of the Beast Transformation Warriors, and then he should send these experimental materials over there. Before that Lin Wei looked into the distance, so let's drop by to take a look at the shady shelter. It just so happens that there are quite a few survivors in the green shelter. I was planning to get rid of these people, but now that I think about it, if the survivors of the green shelter are taken away for the experiment, maybe in the future, Diar Zheng will not be able to do it again. It's about urging experimental materials. Not only that, the green shade shelter has the ability, which is definitely the best experimental material. With the ability material, it may speed up the completion of the plan. Maybe, it can be based on the experimental ability. The Lycanthrope Warrior. Lin Weisi paid. After destroying the Shade Shelter, maybe he can send his subordinates to disguise the Shade Shelter and reopen it. The survivors of the shelter can be directly captured and sent to Dr. Zheng's laboratory. Kill two birds with one stone. Training Camp, Gravity Room. Since the training camp has been upgraded to the second level, the facilities inside have also undergone a major renovation. This gravity room is much larger than before, changing from a room level to a hall level. Tang Yu was shirtless and wearing a pair of tight training shorts, sweating in the gravity room. In the high-intensity training, the residual medicinal effect of the body-quenching fluid slowly melted into the body, and he felt a burst of satisfaction in his heart as he felt that he was gradually getting stronger. Sure enough, the quenching liquid and the gravity chamber are more suitable. After a period of basic training, Tang Yu stopped, took out the ordinary long sword that he had prepared earlier, held the sword in one hand, and stared at the blade, his expression became serious and focused. He took a deep breath, raised the long sword above his head, and slashed it down again, a silver-white sword light visible to the naked eye flew out from the blade. The sword light was like a rainbow, with an incomparable sharpness, bombarding the wall of the gravity chamber. 
There was a flash of brilliance on the metal wall, which was the self-protection function inside the gravity chamber, absorbing this incomparably fierce sword energy. After a while, the flickering brilliance gradually faded, and the sharpness gradually dissipated. Tang Yu heaved a sigh of relief and slumped on the ground. The crystal of the source force that was held tightly in the left hand also turned into powder at this moment. This smashing of the air slash is the reward he got from the exclusive mode of the Lord. If it is said that the combat skills such as heavy slash and continuous slash are low-level combat skills, then the air-breaking slash is at least a medium-high combat skill. This level of skill, if it is not instilled by rewards, I don't know how long it will take to learn it. Even if he has learned the air slash now, it is very difficult to use it. Low-level combat skills such as heavy slashing consume vigor, or physical strength, while high-level skills such as slashing can only be exerted by consuming source energy. Even if all the source energy reserves in a source energy crystal were drawn, this blow still hollowed out his body. Tang Yu shook his head, controlled the gravity in the gravity room to return to normal, changed his clothes in the storage room at the door, took his belongings, and walked out of the gravity room. Suddenly, he felt a familiar vibration in his pocket, just like when his phone vibrated a few months ago. When I took it out, it was a detection lens that was triggering the alarm message he had set. Tang Yu glanced at it, and sure enough, most of the small dots marked on the lens were moving in the direction of the territory, and the closest ones just stepped into the alarm distance he set. It's come at the right time. Chapter, 118 In the wilderness, Lin Wei's team didn't move very fast, but they didn't need to avoid the attacks of demonized beasts. In the team, many survivors had their hands tied and walked with the team. He Anping was the first survivor to be captured. When he saw this well-equipped and orderly team, he was very happy for a while, thinking that he had met the official search and rescue team, but he didn't expect that in the blink of an eye, they would be gone. Got caught. Daughter, I hurt you. Beside him, followed by a young girl with ragged clothes and a gray face, this is his daughter, He Qingqing. If he hadn't mistaken the team for the military search and rescue team, their father and daughter might not have been caught here. Thinking of this, he Anping's body became even more rickety. Dad, it's not your fault. These people have been catching survivors everywhere. Even if we don't come, they won't let us go. He Qingqing comforted her father, but she was too scared in her heart. Although there is no threat to life for the time being, the people in this team don't seem to intend to make them cannon fodder to lure demonized beasts. But He Qingqing is still uneasy, especially the eyes of some people around her always staring at some of her body. The location made He Qingqing even more ashamed and fearful. At this time, the marching team stopped. He Qingqing saw that those people in the distance seemed to be discussing something. Even the awakened people who were watching them around were excitedly looking at the distance, rather absent-minded. Uncle Tong, Uncle Tong. She whispered to a survivor who was also tied by her hands. Tong Xiangrong glanced at the guards around, and whispered back, what's the matter? Uncle Tong, I think these people must have some purpose in coming here. Now there are so many people on the other side, we don't have a chance to escape, but if they want to do something and spread out their hands, we have a chance. A glimmer of hope flashed in Tong Xiangrong's eyes, but he quickly sighed, no chance, even if most of them leave, as long as a small number of people are left to guard, we can't escape. Uncle Tong, you are an awakened person, and there should be some awakened people among us. At this time, there were only a few people wearing bulletproof vests and holding firearms guarding them. These people were talking and laughing, and they didn't seem to be very vigilant. As for the captured survivors, He Qingqing roughly calculated that there are at least 20 or 30 people. As long as they can seize the opportunity and rise up to resist, it is not impossible for them to escape. It's just that when she looked at other people, it seemed that because there was no life-threatening danger for the time being, many people had put out their thoughts of resistance. After all, they didn't resist, and they are still alive now, but once they resisted, they might be shot into a hornet's nest by the muzzle of the surrounding black holes. He Qingqing was also afraid, but she knew that if there was a chance to escape, it would be when most of the team left. She had to seize that opportunity. Planning in the bottom of my heart, Uncle Tong didn't speak, but someone next to her squinted at her, little girl, you are still too young, 
do you really think that with the strength of us, there is a chance to escape? Let me tell you, those of us who are being among the people caught, there are eight awakened ones, do you think there are many? Oh, even if it is ten times more, it is useless. The awakened shook his head, staring blankly at the sky. He Qingqing had an impression of this man. When he was just caught, he seemed to want to resist, but he was frightened for some reason. He didn't do anything until his weapon was confiscated. Seemingly seeing her doubts, the awakened continued, you are not an awakened, so you don't know the power of those people at all, so to put it bluntly. Even if the eight awakens on our side make a move together, they only need to separate two people, they can easily clean up us. This is still with the same equipment, and now, those people are holding firearms, but our hands are tied. The ropes are still made of special materials, no matter how hard we try, we can't break free. Let me see, since they didn't kill us. Then let's just be honest and don't lose our lives instead. He Qingqing bit her lip and looked around, suddenly her eyes lit up, I think of this place, and a distance ahead is the Green Tree Resort, Uncle Tong, didn't you say that the green shelter is a very special place? A powerful sanctuary? Tong Xiangrong's eyes lit up, yes, the green shelter is very powerful, and it is said that there is a lot of equipment, there is no shortage of guns and ammunition, and there are also many powerful awakeners. The most important thing is that I heard that the green shelter is very good for survivors. Very friendly, and this team can never be the same person, I plan to go to the shade shelter this time, but I didn't expect. He Qingqing was also happy when he heard it. However, the next moment, she called the survivor who had just spoken and shook her head again, the green shade shelter is indeed powerful. Much stronger than the ordinary shelters in this area, but the strength of this team, even more terrifying. Tong Xiangrong frowned, isn't it? Like the awakened guards who guard us, their strength is generally at the second level of awakening. Such strength is naturally very powerful for us, but there are more strong people in the shade shelter. It is said that there are also super masters who have awakened to the fourth and even fifth layers, and it is possible for such masters to defeat ten with one, or even a hundred with one. The pale-faced awakened did not answer, but instead asked, You know I was caught before, why didn't you resist? Maybe you thought I was frightened. Indeed, I was frightened, but not by the guns around me terrified. I was about to escape when I saw an elegant man looking at me, you don't understand how terrifying that look is, as if the whole person fell into the darkness, only those eyes were left in sight. Looking down at you coldly, at that time, I couldn't even move, and I was even told that I ran away. He recalled the previous situation with fear in his eyes. Just his eyes and breath completely suppressed him. This awakened person could not imagine what kind of strength that elegant man had. Tong Xiangrong was a little startled, is there really such a terrifying awakener? The pale-faced awakener nodded. Not only that, in this huge team, every awakened person is very powerful, I even guess that these people guarding us are only the most ordinary among them. Such a number, such strength, even if it's more than enough to sweep through all the shelters in this area. What's more? He looked up and looked into the distance, the direction of this team seems to be the shade shelter. Don't say you want to take the opportunity to escape and seek shelter, in my opinion, the fate of this shade shelter, I'm afraid it will be worse than us. He Qingqing heard the words, looked at the guards around and the direction they were looking at frequently, her face suddenly turned pale. Chapter, 119 The sun hangs high in the sky, and the dazzling sunlight makes it difficult to open your eyes. Lin Wei found a relatively intact abandoned building, and after a little cleanup, he went inside to rest, dealing with such things as the shade shelter, and naturally his subordinates did it for him. What he was considering now was the scale of the Yuanjing mine, and the progress of the lycanthropy program. At the front of the team, several of Lin Wei's confidants were watching the distance against the sun. They are discussing dealing with the green shelter. A man with a sturdy back and thicker arms than ordinary thighs snorted coldly, it's just a small shelter, why bother, just push it straight. This person is the leader of the tiger and leopard group, Wang Hu, who is extremely strong and is especially good at close combat. In addition to the first corps and the guards, the dark owl team, the tiger leopard team, and the falcon team are all secret teams formed by Lin Wei secretly gathering the awakened. 
Although the Tiger Leopard team ranks below the Dark Owl team, it can be it does not mean that the Tiger and Leopard group is weak. On the contrary, it is just that the Dark Owl group is too strong and mysterious. The strength of a Tiger and Leopard group is enough to easily wipe out most of the shelters, even medium-sized shelters are difficult to resist. A refined-looking man in the middle raised the frame of his glasses. He was Su Yenchen, commander of the First Corps. He didn't care when he heard Wang Hu's words. It is naturally impossible for the Shade Shelter to block us, but don't forget that Han Jing's entire team was destroyed, and no news even came out, and the investigation team dispatched afterwards could hardly find any news. Shady Shelter still has some strength. Even with the victory in hand, Su Yencheng did not underestimate the Green Shade Shelter, especially since the boss handed over the command to him this time, he wanted to complete this task perfectly. It is best to get the Shade Shelter with zero loss. He thought for a while and continued, moreover, our investigators have been there many times, and the people in the Green Shelter should not know anything about us, but they still haven't escaped. Which means that the Green Ean Shelter must have a whole card, or they think they have enough whole cards, even if we have the ability to win them, this whole card may bring us losses. As Su Yencheng said that, Wang Hu next to him stomped his feet, obviously impatient, I just hate chatty people like you. What are you going to do, you say? I don't want to wait any longer. Don't worry, we need to scout first, especially this time the boss asked, and we can't let any survivors go, so we must first ensure that the people in the shade shelter can't escape. Su Yenching thought for a while, then waved at the rear, blind girl. His voice was not loud, but after the voice fell, a young woman came quickly. The young woman closed her eyes and walked in this complex wild environment without any difficulty. She seemed to be able to see everything around her with her eyes closed. Blind girl, investigate the activities of the Green Shade Resort and surrounding survivors. Su Yenching instructed. Yes. The blind woman nodded. She took a few steps forward, facing the direction of the shade shelter. She opened her eyes, but she couldn't see the eyeball strangely, and her whole eyes were only empty gray. This is a kind of exploration ability. Although it is not aggressive at all, it is more precious. It can perceive the number and even strength of life forms within a certain range. Su Yenching knew that the green shade shelter was a little weird, and many of the investigators sent out never came back. But as long as there was a blind woman, he could get information about the strength of the green shade shelter without any effort. In order to make the blind girl's abilities cover a wider range, he even dispatched many subordinates, carrying soul power containers, hunting demonized beasts everywhere to collect soul power, just for the blind girl to use. Even if the blind girl barely understands combat skills and has never fought against demonized beasts, but now, the blind girl also has the strength to enter the fifth level of awakening. About two or three kilometers away, the general information can be probed. This is his confidence. It is precisely because her ability is so powerful that she has to close her eyes on weekdays, and gradually she has the title of blind girl. After a while, the blind girl closed her eyes again and came to Su Yencheng, Captain, I have seen the general situation clearly, the activities of the survivors of the Green Shelter are all in the resort, and the other resorts are in the resort. Among the awakened ones, I perceive that several of them possess the strength of the Triple Awakening. Awaken Triple. Su Yencheng murmured. Such strength is indeed far superior to ordinary small shelters, but in his opinion, this is too weak and it is unbelievably weak. What kind of confidence does the other party have to make them dare to stay here? He turned around and came to the first core. Each team, in groups of five, spread out to surround the sheltered shelter. Be careful not to be within one kilometer of the resort, but stand by on the outside. Su Yenching arranged that he would turn the shade shelter into a turtle in a urn, and these things could only be left to his subordinates. On the one hand, the first core has the largest number of people. On the other hand, it is not so easy to instruct the people of the other teams. Wang Hu was impatient and returned to his tiger and leopard group. The leader of the falcon team, Yang Wei, had a grim expression and folded his arms across his chest. He didn't say anything, just waited silently. An owl group Su Yenching looked around a few times, but did not find an owl's figure, 
but he knew that an owl must be around here, an owl's strength, and his elusive ability made him feel jealous. The awakeners of the first corps were scattered, and these people were so fast that they soon disappeared from sight. Team No. 113 is the 13th team under the first team. Captain Scorpion and several other team members are sitting in the grass and slowly approaching the direction of the greenery. They need to find a place that is both conducive to hiding and observing the situation of the resort from a distance. Whether the survivors in it go out or return from outside, they cannot escape their eyes. A member of the team suddenly stopped, and Scorpion couldn't help turning around and urging. The player didn't answer, but just stretched out his finger and pointed not far away. Scorpion looked, his eyes widened. In the sight, behind the small mound not far away, there is a black tower standing. The tower was different from the normal architectural style. The black outer wall looked thick and heavy. At the top of the tower, he even saw a dark hole, which didn't look like a gun muzzle, but the black hole was chilling. This building is obviously a bit strange. He hurriedly stopped the other team members from moving forward. After making a gesture, he ordered the others to stand by where they were, while he hurried back along the same path. Chapter, 120 Under the leadership of the Scorpion, Su Yencheng soon came to the place where the tower was discovered. He didn't get close, just watched from a distance with a telescope. In this place, there are no other buildings around, all are mounds and grass, and a tower suddenly appears, Su Yencheng can feel suspicious. Could it be the sentry tower built by the shade shelter? Thinking like this, he asked the blind girl, but got a positive answer again, there was no life in the tower. Since there are no humans, the speculation of the sentry tower is obviously not valid. On the side, one who also came over at some point, with a face full of disdain, hesitating, like a bitch, if you want me, I will go straight over, no matter what the use of this tower is, tear it down, don't you? Got it. Su Yenching thought for a second, facing a green shelter, there is really no need to be overly cautious, it is better to quickly complete the task given by the boss, and it is important to mine the source crystal mine. The group walked towards the black tower with vigilance. As they got closer, they could see clearly that this tower was really made of black rocks, but after a circle, Su Yenching's expression became even more strange. Why doesn't this tower have an entrance? Yeah, if it's a sentry tower built to serve as a guard, even if no one is stationed now, you have to leave the entrance, or did you forget to leave the entrance when you built it? Scorpion said, but he didn't even believe it. One who stepped forward, what kind of tower he cares about, watch me smash this tower into pieces with one punch. As he said, he charged violently, and the muscles on his arms were like horned dragons. However, the next moment, just as Wang Hu's fist was about to hit the outer wall of the tower, his hair burst, and a great threat of death enveloped his heart. Wang Hu didn't care about the punch that hit halfway, kicked his legs and hurriedly threw it to the side. Whoosh! A sharp cracking sound came, and a bottomless hole was left on the ground where he was standing. Wang Hu's complexion changed greatly, and he could no longer care about other things. He leaned forward, and thick hair grew on his skin. He landed on all fours, like a tiger, and quickly fled into the distance. At this time, another sharp sound of breaking the air came. Wang Hu's body was twisted, dangerous and dodged, but another awakened who was on the same line as Wang Hu, but with a bang, his entire body burst like a balloon. The pieces of meat fell like rain. Su Yenching made a decisive decision and hit the tower with a punch, breaking a large piece of rock but the whistling of the arrow cutting through the air still did not stop. He finally changed his face, shouted and retreated, and his speed was even faster, and he ran a long distance in a flash. A few hundred meters away from the tower, Su Yenching finally breathed a sigh of relief. This arrow tower is really terrifying. The arrows are extremely fast and have extremely strong penetrating power. With his strength, he dare not stay within the attack range of the arrow tower for a long time. How did this tower come about? The speed of the arrow is actually much faster than the bullet. I thought this was just a sentry tower, but I didn't expect it to be a big killer. Looking at it again, six of the subordinates he brought over actually died under the tower, and Su Yenching's face was ashen. Beside. 
one who has already withdrawn from the transformation state. In normal times, seeing Su Yenching dead so many of his elite men, he must have sneered and ridiculed, but at this moment, Wang Hu was panting, his pupils full of fear. The threat of death just now lingered in his heart. He couldn't imagine that such an inconspicuous tower was so dangerous. As long as he reacted a little slower, he would be no different from those awakened people who didn't even have corpses left. Thinking of this, Wang Hu looked at the arrow tower not far away, and was even more afraid. Lord's Castle Tang Yu crossed his legs and leaned half of his body on the soft sofa back. A crystal ball the size of a basketball was suspended in front of him. While monitoring through the crystal ball, he controlled the defensive buildings, and gave orders to his followers in his mind Tang Yu felt like he was playing a real-time strategy game, and the pictures were 100% real. But at this time, he was quite regretful, it was almost, but I didn't expect that that person could turn into a black tiger, and the speed increased a lot all of a sudden. From the crystal ball screen, Tang Yu observed that there were two awakeners with relatively high status within the range of the arrow tower. The elegant man looked very vigilant all the time. He felt that it was not easy to start, so he shifted his target to the man with a strong back. Unfortunately, it was still a little short. It is not difficult to keep these people completely, as long as a few arrow towers are quickly built around, Tang Yu believes that none of these people can escape. It's just that he wants to keep some trump cards. These enemies now faced may not be all the power in Lin Wei's hands, nor may they be able to wipe out all these people. Once his trump card is exposed, the next time he is likely to be targeted by the enemy, after all, human beings are not demonized beasts without wisdom. More importantly, he compared the detection lens with the enemy positions on the territory map, and found that some enemies were still outside the territory. Shaking his head, Tang Yu turned the screen to several other arrow towers. Taking advantage of the delay in the transmission of the other party's message, he controlled several arrow towers at the same time and began to attack the enemies within the range. These awakened people generally have the second and third level of awakening strength. In the eyes of ordinary people, they are already masters. However, these people would not have thought that one day, they will be shot to death. With the broken corpses everywhere, across the crystal screen, Tang Yu didn't feel bloody anymore. Unfortunately, why didn't the Awakened explode the Source Crystal, otherwise, after the battle, it would be a lot of income. After a while, Wang Hu's mood calmed down a little, but he still had lingering fears when he looked at the tower. He looked at Su Yenching next to him, hesitated and asked, how to solve this arrow tower, it is very difficult to dismantle when it is close to the danger, why don't we have to go around it? He also noticed just now that Su Yenching punched the arrow tower with one punch. Although the smashed stones fell, it seemed that if he wanted to completely destroy the arrow tower, it would take at least several punches. The rigidity of the walls of this tower is far superior to that of ordinary buildings. Although Wang Hu was not used to Su Yenching's actions, he still admitted the opponent's strength. Since Su Yenching couldn't knock down the arrow tower with one punch, he certainly couldn't do it himself, let alone against the incomparably sharp arrows. Arrow, to do such a thing is more difficult. At least, no matter what order Su Yenching issued, he was unwilling to step into the attack range of the arrow tower. Hearing this, Su Yenching shook his head, I was careless, but I didn't expect to follow the path of the shade shelter. He looked at the arrow tower and analyzed, this should be some kind of special ability of solidification. With the help of the shelter, they built several arrow towers around the resort. This kind of arrow has the ability to threaten you and me. Tower, it is indeed not to be underestimated, this is probably the opponent's whole card. After Su Yenchen calculated the attack distance of the arrow tower, he walked a distance to the side and observed the arrow tower from a different angle, and soon came to a conclusion. Unfortunately, this kind of arrow tower has two fatal weaknesses. 2. Wang Hu was a little surprised. He stretched out his finger, one, the attack distance of this type of arrow tower is limited, and the other, this type of arrow tower cannot be moved. And perhaps one more point, the construction of this type of arrow tower is not easy, so outside the shade shelter, there are only a few arrow towers. Similarly, this kind of arrow tower can be used to deal with demonized beasts. It's okay to deal with us. Oh, 
I didn't understand it at the beginning, so I figured it out. Now, it's just a target, or a fixed target. It is no longer a threat to him. Chapter, 121 Su Yencheng ordered his men to bring mortars. Wang Hu looked at it and finally understood. The range of the turret is limited, so as long as you stand outside the range of the turret and attack, it will be fine. The mortars were positioned, one awakened loaded the cannonball into the barrel, and the other adjusted the angle. Boom! White smoke came from the muzzle, and the cannonball landed on the ground near the arrow tower, blowing up a place of sand and dust. These awakens were not skilled in using mortars, and the hit rate was not high, but they couldn't stand the arrow tower and could not resist. After a few shots, the arrow tower was already crumbling. Su Yenching smiled. Sure enough, it was all as he expected. Suddenly, with a bang, the entire mortar burst open, and the two awakens operating beside them were slightly injured. Su Yenching's eyes narrowed, there is a sniper, a blind girl, find out the location of the sniper for me. His eyes swept around quickly, but there was no panic in his heart. However, there is only a mortar in the area. They still have a lot of this kind of weapon. On the contrary, the people in the green shade hurriedly jumped out to destroy the mortar, which showed that. The arrow tower is the opponent's whole card. The blind girl opened her grey-white eyes, swept around, and quickly stretched out her fingers to point to the distance, which was a dense jungle, a jungle made of low bushes. Su Yenchen was preparing to order. One who suddenly rushed out, leave the people over there to me, I've long been impatient. He couldn't help but say, beckoned with a vote of elites from the tiger leopards, and quickly ran into the distance. Su Yenchen shook his head and no longer cared about Wang Hu's affairs. He ordered again to have all the teams around the arrow tower use mortars to destroy the arrow tower. He turned around again, looked at the blind girl and asked, how long can your ability last? Under normal circumstances, it's only three minutes. The blind woman replied. What if it costs nothing? Up to five minutes. Very good, you are ready to monitor in real time. As soon as there is any movement in the shade shelter, notify me immediately. In the jungle, one who took the lead, throwing his elite men away from a distance. He is a transformation type ability person, and what he has changed is the king of the jungle. In such an environment, he is like a duck to water. The distance between the two sides is getting closer and closer. Suddenly, Wang Hu's limbs exert force, and he slams on the ground. The speed explodes again, and he leaps in the jungle. At this time, the trees in front of him began to become sparse, and he had already seen the awakened fleeing ahead. The ground is broken inch by inch. Wang Hu could see this man clearly. He was no worse than him, with a big back and sunglasses. Behind this man was a sniper rifle. He stared at Shea as if he were looking at prey. Behind, the elite members of the Tiger and Leopard group also rushed over, just blocking Xia Yi's back road. Wang Hu licked his lips, don't do anything, this toy is mine, hee hee, I hope you can let me play a little longer. In his perception, Shea's breath was at the fourth level of awakening, which just happened to be a durable toy for him. But he didn't know that this intensity of breath was deliberately controlled by Xie Yi. It's almost time to see. Xie Yi took off his sunglasses, flicked them lightly, and the sunglasses flew into the sky. He looked at the other tiger and leopard awakeners behind him who blocked their way out, and then looked at Wang Hu, exactly, I think so too. The glasses fell. The sound of gunshots sounded in an instant and the members of the patrol team who had already been ambushed on both sides fired one after another. Wang Hu glanced at it, ambush. Under absolute strength, everything is useless. He is not worried about his team members at all. These elite teams generally have the strength of the Triple Awakening. As long as they react, guns are not a big threat to them. The real Awakeners must rely on their own fists. Like a fierce tiger, he lunged straight toward Xie Yi, and wherever he passed, he brought bursts of sand and dust. As the pinnacle of the fivefold awakening, Wang Hu, who was stuck on the bottleneck, had enough confidence in himself. In the entire Lindong sanctuary, except for a few people, few people were his opponents at all. Can't even stop his punch. In order to make himself more enjoyable, 
one who also gathered a little strength, but this punch was still powerful, with a howling sound of breaking wind. Slammed into Shay's chest. There was a deafening crash, as if two large trucks collided, but Wang Hu raised his head in astonishment, only to find that his punch had been blocked. Even if he didn't use his punch, at least, he could knock this quadruple awakened guy into the air. He felt it for a moment, but found that Shay's breath had grown to the fifth level of awakening. Is it a breakthrough in the battle? Well, it can be more enjoyable this way. Outside the range of the arrow tower, Su Yenchen ordered people to bring mortars. This time, the two mortars fired at the same time, and there were no more twists and turns. Not long after, the black tower collapsed with a burst of explosions. Very good, after the other team members have pulled out those arrow towers, the shade shelter is equivalent to a tiger without claws oh no. At most it is equivalent to a wild boar without tusks, and then the team can advance, block the survivors of the shade shelter in the resort. Although there is not much effective information obtained from the shade shelter, Su Yencheng has studied the topography of the resort. The entire resort is backed by mountains, and the back is cliffs. With such a terrain, it is advantageous to usually guard against demonized beasts. The established defense line only needs to be guarded on one side. But in the same way, once it is blocked, the survivors of the shade shelter are completely turtles in the urn. At that time, with the range of their mortars placed at the gate, it will be enough to bombard most of the resort in the resort, even if the green shelter has a whole card, it will be useless. A piece of good news came, Su Yenching was preparing to order. Beside him, he kept his eyes open, his grey-white pupils stared at the blind girl in the distance, and suddenly said, at the side door of the resort, a team just rushed out, and it was very fast. Su Yenching frowned, what is the strength of this team, how many people? There are a dozen or twenty people, and three of them have the aura of awakening to the third level, but there are also a few ordinary people. The strength is unevenly distributed, but the movement speed is very fast. This is driving. Might want to run away. He immediately ordered, let the surrounding teams rush over to intercept them, and don't let those people escape. The member responsible for liaison next to him picked up the walkie-talkie. Although the communication distance was greatly suppressed due to serious signal interference, this was only a small problem for Lin Wei. The whole team was equipped with many walkie-talkies. Even if there is some delay, such a delivery speed is much faster than manual errands. It's just that the walkie-talkie hasn't turned on yet. The blind woman made a new discovery, they didn't escape, they had already encountered the team that was intercepting on the outside. Oh, how is the situation? Su Yenching raised his brows. The blind woman's face showed some surprise, and after a while, she said slowly, in the team intercepted by the outer circle, several people's breath of life has disappeared. Su Yenching was stunned for a moment. How is this not right? Chapter, 122 In the green-shaded team, only three people possessed the strength of the Triple Awakening. As for those intercepting teams, several teams together, there are at least three or four team leaders who have awakened to the third level. With such strength, not to mention his subordinates occupy the top score, at least, it should be a stalemate between the two sides, right? But in just a few seconds, several of his subordinates were killed. If he hadn't known that blind girls never lied, Su Yenchen would probably have spit out. It must be that those people have some kind of killer, or some means of shielding the blind woman's investigation. No matter what means, to be able to do this in a short period of time, at least it has a strength comparable to the fifth level of awakening. He turned to look at the deputy commander next to him. If he wants to be in the middle of the command, he will definitely not be able to walk away, but his subgroup only has the strength of the early stage of awakening, and he is not capable. He feels that he is not safe enough. Captain Flying Eagle Su Yencheng looked at Yang Wei, the captain of the Flying Eagle team again. Okay. Yang Wei folded his arms across his chest and responded coldly. At the rear of the line, the captured survivors were downcast. Suddenly, there were bursts of explosions in the distance. He Qingqing was taken aback, is this a war? The explosions continued one after another and continued for a long time without ending. Tong Xiangrong listened intently, his expression became solemn, 
he nodded slowly, it seems that the goal of this team is really the green shelter. And there is only green shelter nearby that has the strength to fight against this team, it's just. However, if there are such terrifying awakeners in this team, the green shade sanctuary cannot be resisted after all. At this time, He Qingqing saw a number of awakened people rushing out and rushing in the direction of the explosion. Even the awakened who guarded them did not have the initial ease in their brows. Uncle Tong, look, will there be a turning point? Tong Xiangrong saw this scene, and hope rekindled in his heart. Even the pale-faced awakened next to him was taken aback for a moment, the battle has been going on for so long. Is the strength of the green shade sanctuary really that strong? He also saw a lot of awakens passing by with mortars just now. With such heavy weapons, coupled with those powerful awakens, the shade shelter seemed even more powerless to resist. But even now, the battle is still stalemate. In the resort, the survivors were apprehensive. The shelter is so big, and it is easy to spread the word about anything that happens. What's more, they saw many members of the patrol team running out, and they vaguely heard the sound of explosions in the distance. It's everyone who notices that it's wrong. What's going on? Could it be that a demonized beast is coming? No, it is said that the enemy is coming, and the explosion should be the sound of shells exploding. The survivor who asked was even more panicked, then what should we do, let's run away quickly. Escape. Don't forget that your usual food and accommodation are provided by the shelter. Now that the shelter is in trouble, you want to escape. What a crook. As a survivor who joined the shelter early, Wang Zhou did not panic in the face of such a scene, but just glanced at the survivors beside him with disdain. We are defenseless, what's the use of staying here? At least you can call Captain Luo and Director Tang a few times, instead of trying to run away when you are in danger. Such a scene happened in many places in the shelter. There are many survivors who are panicked and scared, but there are also many survivors who believe in the strength of the shelter. Some survivors who joined the shelter in the early days and have seen many big scenes are even more calm at this time. Isn't it just that there are enemies, it hasn't hit the city wall yet, what is false? Tang Yu was still leisurely observing the battle situation. On a small mound, Su Yenqing felt more and more that something was wrong. Wang Hu chased the sniper shooter, but he hasn't returned for a long time. He may have played crazy and didn't want to come back. But Yang Wei, who has always done things neatly, will never take two more seconds to solve things that can be solved in one second. Why hasn't he come back yet? He really wanted to let the blind girl see the current situation, but when he saw that the blind girl's eyes were closed and two lines of blood and tears were shedding. He knew that the blind girl's abilities had been overused, and now no matter how much he forced it, useless. Su Yenqing hesitated, but found that Lin Wei had arrived here at some point. Boss he said, but he didn't know what to say. Lin Wei was accompanied by the captain of the escort team and the two masters of the Dark Owl, walking slowly. After he glanced at Su Yenchen, he said blankly, gather all the remaining members and quickly attack the shelter of greenery from the front. But boss, what if the people in the shade take the opportunity to escape? Lin Wei glanced at him, with the strength shown by the awakened, if you want to leave, can the people you arrange stop you? Su Yenqing's face stiffened. The strength of the awakened in green shadow shelter is unexpectedly powerful. Right now, it seems that concentration is the best way. I just hope that Wang Hu and Yang Wei can solve the enemy as soon as possible. Wang Hu was really playing crazy at this time. His fists turned into phantoms, extremely fast. Like a meteor, it blasted towards Shea. Bang bang bang. A dull crash sounded. It was like a gust of wind was blowing, and the sand and dust filled the air. The ground that the two had visited was cracked everywhere, and the surrounding trees were either broken by the strong wind, or turned into powder under the collision of the two. Even the elites of the tiger leopards can only avoid it far away. However, the more they fought, the more surprised Wang Hu became. The person in front of him, obviously only has the aura of the early stage of awakening, but he is not at a disadvantage when fighting against him. You must know that he has not transformed, but his strength has fully erupted, but he is completely unable to take down the opponent. Obviously he is of a higher level, 
and during the period when he was stuck at the peak of the fifth level of awakening, he still trained frequently, and his strength was deepening day by day. While surprised, Wang Hu was even more excited. He took a deep breath, and his whole body was covered with blue veins, and every punch brought a sharp cracking sound. On the opposite side, Shea was even more cheerful. Sure enough, the fight to the flesh is not lost at all to the romance of the explosion. I also thought about becoming a warrior back then. If it weren't for his ability to touch explosions, which could not work on living things, Shea really wanted to become a boxer. He has already thought about his career, so he is called the Exploding Boxer, which belongs to him to create a unique career. It's a pity he is a gunman after all, and he can only play like this in his spare time. Xie Ishuan went to the patrol team members on the other side. Under the fierce attack of the other party, they have gradually lost their strength. If this continues, there will be casualties after all, the patrol team members have not been trained for a long time, and their level is far inferior. The other party, if it wasn't for the sneak attack at the beginning, this would have been unstoppable long ago. Alright, it's time to show your true strength. With a collision, Shea stepped back and suddenly pulled out the iron rod behind his back. The iron rod changed for a while, and quickly formed a weapon that looked like a hand cannon. Boom! Cannonballs flew out. It fell among the members of the Haw and Leopard group and exploded. The splashed dust was more than 10 meters high. The members of the Tiger and Leopard group who were on the offensive for a while were stunned, and Wang Hu, who was about to chase, widened his eyes. Chapter, 123 This shot, hitting the Red Heart, hit the place where the members of the Tiger and Leopard group were most densely populated. Wang Hu was a little confused. How did this handgun appear? It was said that the fist was to the flesh, why did it suddenly make a loud noise, and such a hand cannon came out? And the power of the cannonball made him a little scared. It seemed that the pause button had been pressed at the scene. The members of the tiger and leopard group, who had an advantage, were able to take down the shaded man, but were hit by a sudden flying shell. The one with the worst luck was hit directly in the face by a cannonball, and there was no body left. The members of the tiger and leopard group who were close were also seriously injured. Even the other people who were far away, attracted their attention, were stunned for a moment. The members of the patrol team immediately seized the opportunity to counterattack, firing machine guns one after another, and completed the repairing of the knife, smashing the two awakened triple powerhouses into a sieve. Wang Hu reacted very quickly, and rushed up again, trying to suppress Xie Yi. Only he was stunned again. In the face of his fierce offensive, the man on the opposite side was no longer the same as before. The two of them fought back and forth. This time, he saw Shea retreat quickly, and that speed was faster than him. It's incredible to be able to resist his offensive, and even faster than him now. Wang Hu has some doubts about himself. At this time, he saw Shea retreating while aiming his handgun, and the bang-bang shells hit the members of the Tiger and Leopard group in the distance. Rao is that the members of the Tiger and Leopard group have already made preparations this time, and they can't stand the shells becoming more and more dense. After a while, the Tiger and Leopard group will suffer more and more damage. Without these Tiger and Leopard group members, even if Wang Hu has this strength, he is only a high-level thug. Can't go on like this. You are courting death. Wang Hu roared angrily, and the roar shook the leaves of the surrounding trees rustling. On his body, thick hair grew out, his limbs kicked on the ground, and the speed skyrocketed again. On his fingers, sharp claws grew, and suddenly he came to Shea, and the black claws cut through the air and across Shea's body. However. He was lost. Played a miss. It was clear that the other party didn't have time to dodge, but the next moment, he saw Xie Yi appearing several meters away. Another cannonball hit him. If at this time, Wang Hu also regarded Xie Yi as a toy that he could rub, then he would be a fool. After hesitating for a while, he quietly sent a signal to the members of the group using the unique communication method of the Tiger and Leopard group. Most of the Haw and Leopard team members were armed with firearms and used the cover of trees to engage in fierce gunfights with the patrol members. They were stronger and had much faster reflexes, and they quickly overwhelmed the patrol members and even wounded several of them. 
Cheetah, the deputy leader of the Tiger and Leopard team, was dodging bullets while rushing towards the opponent's camp, preparing to rush into Kai Wushuang. As a result, he was hit by a cannonball that fell from the sky. With his strength, he was enough to dodge Shay's cannonballs, but the members behind him couldn't. Cheetah also saw that something was wrong, so he wanted to help, but he was worried that his team leader would not appreciate it. Fortunately, the team leader didn't go crazy. He understood, cat body, dodging the shells, while flying among the trees. The cheetah was small and thin, moving silently, and soon approached the place where the two were fighting. Wang Hu was still chasing, and Xie Yi was dodging, and from time to time he would shoot at the tiger and leopard group. Suddenly his eyes narrowed. This is an opportunity. With his legs bent, he swooped like a leopard in an instant, extremely fast, and came to Shay's back in the blink of an eye. The machete slashed down like lightning. He felt the resistance in his hands. Hit. The cheetah was about to show a happy expression, but his face suddenly froze. The knife didn't cut Shay's back, and it didn't seriously injure Shay. Instead, Shay turned around and his fist collided with the machete. There was a loud bang. The anti-shock force staggered back against him. The cheetah froze, looking at his hands. The machete, after colliding with the opponent's fist, actually shattered a gap. Looking at Xie Yi's fist again, there was a small wound where the machete was slashed, and a drop of blood fell. However, it was visible to the naked eye that the wound was healing quickly, and in the blink of an eye, it was restored to its original state. What kind of flesh is this? You must know that his machete, although it is not comparable to a magical weapon like the demon slaying sword, is also specially customized. It uses high-grade demonized beast materials. Whether it is sharpness or hardness, it is better than the military. The standard sword is much better. Such a weapon is actually not as good as the opponent's fist. One who was also stunned, he even forgot to attack, stared at Xie Yi with wide eyes, and suddenly called out, You, have you broken through that bottleneck? Cheetah was a little puzzled, but didn't think much about it, just shouted at Wang Hu, Boss, let's join forces to kill this guy. Join us? When he saw the burly enemy, he clicked his tongue, stretched out his left hand, and snapped his fingers lightly. Cheetah was stunned. The next moment, astonishing energy erupted from the machete that had shattered into a small piece in his hand. A bang burst into the sky. The heat wave is rolling. Shea is very satisfied with this masterpiece, and sure enough he still has the potential to become a blaster. It's a pity that only those awakened who are weaker and whose weapons are not good enough, he dares to use his fists to fight hard this guy is considered to be dead wrong. Opposite. Just as Wang who was about to join forces to attack, he just froze in midair. Who can tell him what happened? Do weapons explode? The power is even stronger than the shells just shot by the enemy. Wang Hu couldn't figure it out, but he understood that, looking at the strength shown by the person in front of him, he continued, not to mention that his team members could not survive, even he himself would not be spared. After all, the other party has already broken through that level. As soon as Wang Hu gritted his teeth, he took out a bottle of potion from somewhere on his body, took off the bottle cap and drank it. Immediately. His eyes became red, his breath soared, and the outline of his body swelled in a circle. As soon as he stepped on the ground, his entire body turned into a black lightning bolt. Wherever he passed, he could hardly see a human figure, only the unbroken ground. This speed. Shea was taken aback. He has never been so violent after taking hormones. At such a speed, he can no longer play as happily as before. That being the case. Shay's hand cannon turned into an assault gun, and a shuttle of bullets flew out. Boom! The fire was shining all over the sky. Even though Wang Hu was extremely fast and avoided most of the attacks, when he rushed out of the fire, his hair was already charred black fortunately, this hair was originally black, otherwise it would have been it has become variegated. However, I don't know if it was because of the medicine or because he was beaten in the head, Wang Hu gradually lost his mind and rushed up with a roar. Several shots and shelling. In the end, Shea sent Wang Hu into the sky with a knee strike, and the roar of the six-barreled rotary machine gun resounded. 
Being shot in the face, Wang Hu, who looked like a rag bag all over his body, fell from the air. His vitality was unexpectedly tenacious, and he still had his last breath left. The redness in his eyes gradually faded, and he glanced at Xie Yi with a struggle. At this time, it was discovered that after the fierce battle, Xie Yi's clothes were basically intact, and even his hairstyle was not scattered. Why would such a strong man appear in such a small shelter as Green Shade? He didn't understand. Who the hell is She? As he was dying, Wang Hu asked the doubts in his heart. The gunfire in the distance gradually ceased, and the members of the Ha and Leopard group, who had been maimed by Shi, were no longer the opponents of the patrol. At this time, Xie Yi slowly lit a cigarette for himself. Hearing Wang Hu's doubts, the smoke ring slowly spit out from his mouth. Me? Just an ordinary follower under the Lord's seat. Chapter, 124 Another place. A fierce battle is also breaking out. The members of the patrol team and the people of the First Corps were mixed together, and it was difficult to shoot. They could only accidentally release a few cold shots. A fierce cold weapon battle broke out between the two sides. Only the members of the First Corps were clearly at a disadvantage. At the beginning, the terrifying man killed a lot of people on their side, but for some reason, the man left shortly after. Originally, they were relieved. The rest of the awakened who wore uniform black battle uniforms were far less powerful than that person, not to mention the members of their first corps around them, who would continue to be reinforced. Before the battle, they thought so. An ordinary member of the first corps, he possesses the dual power of awakening. He found his opponent, only the first level awakened person, with a grin, raised his machete and chopped it down. And the other party is holding a long sword, and he does not dodge or evade. Want to compete with him? Isn't this a joke? The machete and the long sword slash together. However, he did not directly smash the opponent's weapon into the air as he imagined, and he did not hear the sound of gold and iron. Instead, his weapon was cut off. Broken. In the end he could only have this thought. Yang Wei took the members of the Flying Eagle group and quickly rushed to the target location. Suddenly, his footsteps stopped. His expression became solemn. His eyes fell on the hillside not far away, a man in black clothes and a hat. This man has a weak breath, and his perception is only at the level of a newly awakened person. But Yang Wei didn't dare to underestimate it. During the journey, he kept observing the surroundings, but he clearly remembered that there was no one on the hillside a second ago. All of a sudden his vigilance rose to the top. The other members of the Flying Eagle group didn't think so much. Someone rushed forward, ready to dismember the man blocking the road. Suddenly, a bright sword light swept across. The two members of the Flying Eagle's group who kept their bodies in a forward posture were separated from each other, and their blood splattered. Be careful, use Plan C to deal with super-demonized beasts. Yang Wei shouted. Several Awakeners in the back row quickly took out sniper rifles. These were Awakeners who were proficient in firearms they also used bullets with armor-piercing ability to deal with those powerful demonized beasts. The bullets shot out and hit the hillside, forming small holes. Sora's figure disappeared. Over there. Ah ah. No, no, it's on the left. Behind, behind you. For a time, the entire Flying Eagle group was in a panic. This plan is indeed the plan they use to deal with super demonized beasts, but human powerhouses and demonized beasts are different after all. No matter how fast the demonized beasts are, they will not use the environment, let alone use their team members as cover. Those snipers were completely useless. The members holding cold weapons, every time they see Sora's figure, they disappear again in the blink of an eye. Not to mention the C scheme, even the Z scheme is useless. Yang Wei's face was solemn and he took a deep breath. A whirlwind surrounded him, and the strange thing was that the clothes on his body could not be seen bulging. This is his special ability, wind control. In the pupil, Sora's figure flickered, and even his eyes could hardly keep up with such a speed. Suddenly, Kong Yijian pierced through the members of the Flying Eagle group, and his figure stopped behind the person. 
Yang Wei stretched out his hands, his face flushed red. Wind pressure. The turbulent wind slammed down towards the sky. In order to ensure a hit, Yang Wei issued an indiscriminate attack. The members of the Flying Eagle group within the range, even if they were not in the center, were blown away by this gust of wind, and their bodies were covered with scars. The ground was lifted up layer by layer, and the trees were shattered into pieces. Wrapped in sand and dust, for a time, it seemed that even the heavens and the earth were eclipsed. Sora's expression was also a little dignified. He took out a long sword from behind again, holding two swords crossed, an invisible air wall rose, and the violent wind around him was blocked at this moment. The wind howled, and except for the ground on which Sora was standing, the surrounding ground was cut off layer by layer. The two swords crossed by the sky joined together, and the long sword protruded forward. Ha! Huh. The surrounding gust of wind rushed towards the long sword, forming a cyclone, wrapping around the blade. Pack! Was thrown out again. The cyclone was getting bigger and bigger, and in less than a breath, a tornado formed and swept towards Yang Wei. Yang Wei, who was having a big move, was hollowed out, and had no resistance, was directly swept up into the sky by the tornado. Including members of the surrounding Flying Eagle group. Seeing this, Kong, stepping on the air wave, turned into an electric light and rushed into the air. After a while. Surrounded by members of the Flying Eagles with mutilated limbs. On the other side, Lin Wei gathered most of his strength and rushed forward directly. At their speed, it only takes a moment to rush to the front of the resort. This force is extremely strong, especially if there are opponents such as the Dark Owl, the captain of the escort team, and the commander of the First Corps, even if they send followers to intercept them, they are not enough. Tang Yu can't afford to lose such a core force as followers. But. On the territory map, on the edge, more and more red dots appeared, until there was no movement for a while. Comparing the dots on the detection lens, Tang Yu found that most of the enemy's power had already stepped into the territory this time. The crystal ball suspended in front of him, the screen is constantly changing, sweeping from the enemy team. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. On the screen, a dignified middle-aged man appeared. I didn't expect Lin Wei to come too, so it's almost time to close the net. In the face of Lin Wei's crime, Tang Yu has always been true. The territory is indeed not afraid of Lin Wei's offensive, but the patrol team always has to go out to search for resources, and the marking time of the detection lens is also limited. Once Lin Wei's subordinates have enough strength, it is likely to pose a threat to the patrol team that goes out. Similarly, if the corresponding results cannot be achieved after the whole card is exposed, it is very likely that Lin Wei will turn from a frontal attack to a harassment, making him hard to guard against. It may even seriously interfere with the development of the territory. This is what he doesn't want to see. His original plan was to wait for the other party to enter the territory before starting to attack, but the commander of the other party seemed very cautious, so Tang Yu could only change his strategy. If there are few people, he will send masters to eat them bit by bit. If there are many people, he can open his whole cards. At that time, even if he can't destroy all the enemies, he can at least cripple them. In any case, he is not at a loss. But I didn't expect Lin Wei to be in this team, so it's even better. Su Yencheng stayed in the middle of the team, and the resort in the distance was already in sight. As far as I could see, I didn't see any survivors, and they all seemed to be huddled in the resort. Suddenly, a few splendid red lights in the distance streaked high in the sky, like meteors, and they were about to fall into their ranks. What is this? Another trump card for Shade Shelter. He thought about it. The speed of these groups of red light is not very fast, but their team is too dense, even if all the members are scattered, they can't avoid it. Pass it to me. The deputy head of the first corps next to him came out more and more. Holding a long gun, the whole person flew like a cannonball. In midair, the spear swept across. What? Screams followed. Chapter 125. Su Yenchen was stunned. Half a second ago, his deputy commander swore an oath, and half a second later. He looked at it, and there was only one burning man left in the air. Before I could think about it, the fireballs fell one by one. 
even the deputy head of the awakened fifth layer couldn't stop it, and he lost his life because of it. The others were even more scared and flew into the distance. Some ran too slowly and turned into fly ash. The orange-red fire was blooming, and the ground was dissolved into potholes. The rolling heat wave came, and even those who fled far away could feel a scorching heat on their skin. Looking at this scene, their faces changed. There are thousands of twists and turns in their minds, and some words can only come up in their hearts like this one word. That flame. So terrifying. But they were not slow to respond, and soon someone pointed to the distance, look over there. You can vaguely see three artillery pieces, and the muzzles are still condensing with red light. Tear them down. Su Yencheng just shouted. Suddenly. Rumbling. The ground trembled, and he looked around suspiciously, could it be that a magic tide is coming? But suddenly his pupils dilated, and there was panic in his eyes. Around them, black towers gradually rose with rumbling sounds. This kind of tower, Su Yencheng is too familiar. Looking at the dark hole at the top of the tower, he felt a chill in his heart. Just one arrow tower made him feel threatened, and now, there are arrow towers in all directions, and Su Yencheng can't count them. Suddenly he was sweating. Originally, the speed at which the arrow tower rose was a few seconds. This time was enough for them to fly a long distance, but Su Yencheng didn't expect that he was attracted by the artillery at first, and then he blinked. The surrounding arrow towers are formed. They are already the turtle in the urn. In the team, other high-ranking officials, including Lin Wei, some of them hadn't really seen the power of the arrow tower, but from Su Yenching's mouth, they also learned a lot. Looking at it now, who doesn't understand that this green shelter, which has never been in their hearts, has actually set up an ambush and is waiting for them. They didn't even think that such a terrifying arrow tower could quickly take shape in just a few seconds. Missing the electric switch, Su Yenching decided to run in the opposite direction. His speed soared to the limit, and in just one breath, he ran to the side of the arrow tower surrounded by a circle, without pausing or thinking of attacking the arrow tower, he quickly ran out. As long as you run out of the attack range of the arrow tower, you are safe. He thought so, and the other strong men also thought the same, and ran out of the encirclement. At this time, the arrow towers are just about to start shooting. Although there are dozens of arrow towers, they are far less than the hundreds of awakened people in the field. Moreover, the attack distance of the arrow towers is limited, and the people who are targeted by the arrow towers may be the first. It is difficult to survive, but after all, everyone has a lot of hope of escaping. However, no one noticed that among the black towers, there was a white tower. Or they found it, but didn't have time to think about it. This white tower is 18 meters high, and its appearance is much more delicate than the arrow tower. The outer wall of the milky white tower is engraved with mysterious patterns. A dark blue four-sided crystal with a height of half a person is quietly suspended at the top of the tower, but if someone gets close to it and perceives it carefully, they can find that there is a huge amount of energy hidden in the crystal. This is the mage tower. More advanced defensive structures. In addition to being able to attack normally like a conventional defensive building, the mage is stationed in it, and the ability to release through the mage tower can also be greatly increased. Like a large capacity amplification device. At this moment, Elaine is standing in the core control room of the mage tower. On the stage in front of her, a crystal ball the size of a basketball is also quietly suspended. She put her hands on the crystal ball and closed her eyes. Although she was in a closed room, she could perceive the outside world. Suddenly, Elaine's long sky blue hair was windless, and the light on the crystal ball became brighter and brighter. Outside. There were bursts of sharp bursts of air, accompanied by the sound of a balloon being pierced. However, the awakened ones are also fast, and they run towards the outside without turning their heads. Suddenly, snowflakes fell. Some people were taken aback for a moment. Although it is already past June, the post-apocalyptic climate changes are becoming more and more strange. The temperature now is even higher than the temperature during the hottest period of previous years. How could it be snowing in this weather? Those people just thought instinctively, and they didn't slow down in the slightest. However, 
In an instant, heavy snow was flying, and the wind was wrapped in snowflakes, instantly turning this area into a world of ice and snow. There was a whistling wind in my ears. All eyes are white. The snow on the ground piled higher and higher, hindering their progress, the surrounding temperature dropped sharply, and some weaker awakeners could no longer bear it. Many awakened people have been shocked to find that under the obstruction of this blizzard, their speed has become slower and slower, and behind them, those deadly arrows are still continuously shooting from the arrow tower. Pupupu burst into a blood mist one by one awakened, dyeing the white snow red. On the other hand, as a super expert, Su Yenching was extremely fast. Even in the face of a blizzard, his speed did not decrease much. Beside him, there are two identical figures, this is his special ability, Mirror Clone. Relying on this ability, even if he encounters great danger, he has the confidence to survive. However, at this moment, the cold sweat on his forehead became more and more. More than half of the surrounding arrow towers were aimed at him. The clones have been shot a lot. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The three figures of Su Yencheng flashed quickly, almost an afterimage appeared, but the next moment, an arrow still penetrated through the mirror image. The mirror image is not as powerful as the body, it collapses and disappears as a light spot. Before he could breathe a sigh of relief, another arrow rain struck. Su Yencheng glanced back, his pupils dilated. Bang! The last mirror also disappeared, and for a long time, he could not condense the mirror again. Even his body, because he couldn't dodge once, the arrow shot through his thigh. If it wasn't for the fact that after his breakthrough, the strength of his physical body was greatly improved, this time, he would have died. Even now, he was seriously injured. Su Yenching breathed a sigh of relief. He finally ran out of the range of the arrow tower. With my strength, even if the injury is not minor, I can survive in the wild. The most urgent task is to quickly get away from the shelter of greenery. In the future, I will remain anonymous and be a mercenary safely. Think so. Accompanied by a rumbling sound. In front, several black towers suddenly rose up, blocking his retreat. Su Yenching froze all of a sudden, shouldn't this kind of arrow tower be arranged in advance? Even if the arrow tower was raised before and they were surrounded, he also believed that this was a trap laid out by the other party in advance, and they were only one step ahead of the game to end up in such a situation. But now, he has a feeling that someone is in the clouds, looking down at them coldly. With a wave of your hand, you can call out the arrow tower. And they have always been playing with each other. Chapter, 126 Hoo-ha! He Qingqing panted heavily and looked back from time to time. The situation is better than expected. The team that captured them seems to have transferred most of the awakened people away due to the battle, leaving only a few people to guard them. Those guards, apparently absent-minded, look to the other side frequently, talking in low voices from time to time. Some people also go to the heights to wait and see. Taking advantage of this opportunity, they manage to escape. It's just that the guards are powerful and their speed is much faster than those of the fugitives. If they hadn't scattered and escaped, they would have been caught up long ago. But now, He Qingqing saw from a distance that after a fugitive survivor was killed on the spot, two awakened ones rushed towards them. The speed was extremely fast, and a few vertical jumps narrowed the distance between them. On the other hand, she herself was so tired that her hands and feet became weak. When He Qingqing looked at her father again, she was gasping for breath. If it wasn't for Uncle Tong holding her father by the hand, neither father and daughter would be able to support them now. Uncle Tong, let's go first. If you can escape to the green shelter, if the green shelter is really that powerful, I hope you can find a way to let the green awaken come to the rescue. This is just a small hope in her heart. Uncle Tong's strength is far less than those of the two pursuers, not to mention whether he can escape to the shade shelter. And he doesn't even think about whether the shade shelter is still intact, even if Uncle Tong gets there, it's not a relative or a relationship. Yes, it is also very difficult to ask others to come to rescue. Even if they were lucky, Green Shade Shelter sent someone to rescue them, but at that time, it was hard to say whether their father and daughter were still alive. He Qingqing's hair was messy, and sweat soaked the front of her clothes. 
She raised her head, but blinked in surprise. Not far away, two figures appeared. There was a handsome young man with a sunny appearance, and there was a strange man who was wearing blue and white full-body armor and a helmet. Why is there anyone here? Could it be the Awakened of the Shade Sanctuary? Tang Yu strolled outside the resort, and no. One, as the best bodyguard of the year, naturally followed closely. At this moment, things are almost over. As a lord, naturally, he has to show his face and show his sense of existence. Well, it's fine to think so. It's just that when you see the one in front of you, you chase after me, and if you catch up, I'll let you cough, cough. Tang Yu felt a little surprised. Are you so dedicated? The Qing dynasty has died, and these people have not forgotten the tasks assigned by their bosses. In this case, shook his head, number one, it's all settled. In He Qingqing's eyes, the strange man in full body armor disappeared in an instant, followed by a few muffled noises behind him. She turned her head and saw that the two awakeners who were chasing had fallen to the ground, not knowing whether they were alive or dead. Another stunned effort. Whether it was the sunny and handsome young man or the monster in armor, they all disappeared without a trace. For the rest of her life, while He Qingqing was fortunate, for some reason, she was also a little disappointed. Outside the circle of arrow towers, there is a grove not far away. Under Lin Wei's command, Fang Chang, the captain of the escort team, covered his broken arm with one hand. The pain of the broken arm made his face distorted, but he didn't make any groaning sound, but just stared coldly at the big hand in front of him. Strong man with sword. The large formation composed of arrow towers is too terrifying, and most of the awakened ones brought by the boss this time have already been folded inside. And he led the members of the escort team, desperately covering, and finally took the boss away from the attack range of the arrow tower. Originally thought that it was finally safe, but Fang Chang did not expect that the Awakener of Green Shadow would have been waiting here for a long time. Yes, even if Luin can't intercept all the people who escaped, after all the boss is here, as long as the other party still has manpower, he will definitely rush over to intercept them. He laughed miserably and looked at the green shaded awakeners in front of him. There are not many people, and it is not even comparable to the remaining manpower after their escort team escaped from the arrow tower, but this strong man with a big sword in front of him is too strong. He himself has broken through that bottleneck and is a super expert with the sixth level awakening strength. He asked himself that even in Lindong's sanctuary, there are not many people who will be his opponents. However, he was defeated by the strong man in front of him in a few moves, and even broke his arm. From the words of other people, Fang Chang understood that this big man in the Iron Tower was the patrol leader of the Green Shade Shelter. And the power of Green Shade was enough to rank in the top three, but Green Shade was just a small shelter. In the entire lynching area, I don't know how many similar small shelters there are. Why would such a strong man succumb to such a small place? The corner of Fang Chang's eyes swept around. Several green shaded awakeners have surrounded them, and on their side, there is only himself and the boss Lin Wei. He understood that it would be difficult for him to leave alive today, but even if he died, Fang Chang would have to hold back the other party and create an opportunity for the boss to escape. Just think of it as a repayment to Boss Lin who gave him a ray of light at the darkest moment in his life a few years ago. Fang Chang took a deep breath, and suddenly, he saw two figures walking in the distance. A young man, and a man shrouded in armor. From the two of them, he could not sense any aura of the awakened, as if the two were ordinary people, but Fang Chang's heart sank all of a sudden. Luo Zhe stared at Fang Chang closely. After seeing Tang Yu, Lu Xiaopeng hurried up to meet him, Director, that guy is the one who provoked our shelter over and over again, he he, now they can't escape. Tang Yu stepped forward. Glancing over the two of them, the captain of the escort team covered his arms and looked at him coldly, while Lin Wei's face was expressionless, and he didn't seem to be afraid of falling into a desperate situation. However, Tang Yu was stunned, his eyes fell on Lin Wei, this is not Lin Wei, this is just a stand-in. What? Substitute. How is this possible? Lu Xiaopeng couldn't help but approach Zan Zhan, wanting to see something. The captain of the guard, Fang Chang, didn't believe it, but he couldn't help but look back. 
I saw that the stand-in Lin Wei seemed to have completed the task, with a smile on his face, his face was blue and grey, and the whole person fell backwards. He committed suicide by taking poison. Seeing this scene, Fang Chang was even more heartbroken. Tang Yu shook his head. This poor child, despite her faithfulness and duty, was still regarded as an abandoned child. It's Lin Wei. He was already staring at it, but he still couldn't find out when the other party completed the replacement after all, he needed to control the attack of the arrow tower, and he couldn't keep staring at the other party. The small dots on the territory map and detection lens were only it is to identify the enemy, and it is impossible to distinguish each person in detail. Perhaps at a certain moment, Lin Wei completed the replacement of the real and the fake, and he himself changed his clothes and escaped among the ordinary awakened people. At this moment, there is no need to doubt that Lin Wei must have escaped a long distance. Lu Xiaopeng looked disappointed. Even Roger felt a little pity. But Tang Yu smiled and took out the used detection lens from his body. Most of the small dots originally marked on it have disappeared, and the rest, a small part is far away from here, about the area of Maple Leaf Town. He didn't care about those, and his eyes fell on the two small dots. Those two little dots are moving fast. Another one. Chapter, 127. Outside the wilderness, somewhere. There are dilapidated buildings all around, covered with moss, as if it has gone through the vicissitudes of life. The two figures flew at an extremely fast speed. Even if an awakened person met, they would only feel a gust of wind blowing, and no one could be seen at all. Incredibly fast. A middle-aged man with a dignified complexion flew in front, and a shadow-like figure followed closely behind him. Lin Wei is an awakener. In the eyes of others in Lin Dong, Lin Wei's aptitude is not high. Although he has been promoted to the fourth level of awakening with the help of his subordinates, he has not reached the level of the top awakened person in Lin Dong. The same is true of the information Tang Yu obtained from various channels. However, these people don't know that Lin Wei's strength is far more than that. The fourth level of awakening is only the strength that he shows after hiding his breath. His real strength has already broken through to the sixth level of awakening. Whether it is Fang Chang or Su Yancheng, the breakthrough time is actually much later than his. This is Lin Wei's deepest hidden trump card. It is precisely because of this that he can successfully escape the attack range of the arrow tower after disguising as an ordinary awakener. Damn it! I didn't expect the shade shelter to be hidden so deeply. This is definitely not a small shelter. There may be some organizations behind it, and it's not Lu Jianjun. There are not so many masters under Lu Laogui. And those arrow towers. Lin Wei's face was gloomy and uncertain, it's impossible for special abilities to be so defiant, even if they really have such powerful abilities, their own strength should be far superior to them and there is no need to pass the arrow towers. To contain them. The Shade Shelter definitely has secrets. Behind, and Xiao opened his mouth, his voice hoarse, Boss, what should we do next? With the strength shown by the Green Shade Shelter, even if we call the rest of the people, I'm afraid we won't be able to do anything. Go to the pharmaceutical factory first to see when DR Zhang's research will be completed, and then make plans. Lin Wei said in a deep voice, and suddenly his eyes narrowed. In front of the street they were attacking, a man wearing a hat was standing in the middle of the street. And the other party's chi machine has faintly locked the two of them. Ho ho. With the wind whistling in his ears, Tang Yu and Elaine flew between the buildings. He was chasing all the way in the direction Lin Wei fled. Knowing the strength of Lin Wei and in Xiao, Tang Yu was not careless. Among the followers, except for Winnie who stayed in the territory to treat the wounded, everyone else was dispatched. Sora, Xie Yi, Luo Zhe and the others were even faster and had already caught up with them one step ahead, leaving only the two of them to be precise, Elaine was left to follow and guard him. After all, this is beyond the scope of activities of No. 1 and No. Tang Yu took out the reconnaissance lens and glanced at it. The two fast-moving dots above had stopped, they have been intercepted by Kong, and Luo Zhe and Xie Yi should catch up soon. While thinking about it, his footsteps did not stop, his feet jumped high on the edge of the roof, and soon landed on the roof of another building. 
a demonized beast was alarmed and rushed towards it with a roar. The appearance of this demonized beast was so ugly that it could no longer be described in human language. Faced with the attack, Tang Yu did not dodge or evade, and threw a punch. Boom! The fist shook the air and hit the demonized beast. In an instant, the surface of the demonized beast was dented and deformed, and then, with a bang, the entire body burst open. The blood splattered, and Tang Yu was so frightened that he hurriedly avoided it. I didn't expect that I would be so strong, and the five-level awakening body is really different. However, looking at the blood stained on his fist, he shook his hand in disgust. Sure enough, he still hopes to be an elegant master. This is just a small episode, and there are no tricky magical beasts along the way. Rumbling. There was a loud noise in the distance. A five-story building collapsed suddenly. Tang Yu didn't move forward any more, he found a relatively hidden place and observed it secretly. The two sides have engaged in fierce fighting. Sora was holding a slender sword, so fast that only the afterimage could be seen. The sword light flashed, and the air was cut open. The dark owl standing on the street was cut into a dozen pieces in an instant. The strange thing is that the An Shao, who was cut into a dozen pieces, did not have the slightest blood flowing out of his body, but his entire body turned into black smoke and recondensed in the distance. This is his special ability, very strange. It seemed that he was almost immortal. However, Tang Yu observed carefully and found that the opponent's face had turned pale. Sure enough, this ability is limited, and it should be almost the same with a few dozen more swords. Not far from the battlefield, Xie Yi held cold guns from time to time, and An Xiao had no power to fight back and could only be abused continuously. Tang Yu looked to the other side, and the battle between Luo Zhe and Lin Wei became more intense. The building just now seemed to be collapsed by two people. Lin Wei was wearing a pair of specially made gloves, and Luo Zhe slashed with a sword. He held it with one hand, his whole body sank, and the ground cracked, but he didn't see Lin Wei's expression of panic at all, and he threw out another fist, bursting the air. Boom! Bang! Luo Zhe fell with a sword, and the ground split open. Lin Wei threw a punch, and after being avoided by Luo Zhe, he hit the wall of a building. With a bang, this wall, along with the buildings behind it, was penetrated layer by layer, and a straight line of white smoke swayed. Tang Yu ate a wail. Lin Wei's breath was the sixth level awakening, but the strength he showed was far more than that. Although Luo Zhe still has a certain upper hand at the moment, he cannot solve Lin Wei in a short time. This strength is absolutely forced to surpass many dark owls in another battlefield. Especially the punch from Lin Wei just now was definitely beyond the power of a normal attack. It was more like a skill and could explode exponentially. Tang Yu noticed that when he threw this punch, Lin Wei took a stance, and during the battle, Lin Wei's advance and retreat were well organized. Like a martial artist. Also, Lin Wei is able to hide his breath. Except for Luo Zhe and other followers, he has never seen any awakened person who has the ability to hide his breath. To hide one's breath, the first thing is to have some control over one's own breath. Luo Zhe and others can do this because the world they live in has a systematic inheritance, and their mastery of their own power far exceeds that of other awakened ones. What does Lin Wei rely on? Tang Yu had some guesses. Soon, the Dark Owl on the other side took the lead in rushing to the street. After the source power was exhausted, he was cut into a dozen pieces, and the blood was sprayed out. This time, he did not recover. Obviously, it was too cold. During this period, Lin Wei tried to escape many times, but he was always entangled by Luo Zhe. Until finally being besieged by three people, he died on the spot. Lin Wei's eyes widened, and he seemed unable to understand why the Green Shade Shelter could find him so accurately. Chapter 128 Maple Leaf Town, Temporary Command Post Lu Jianjun frowned. The recent situation is getting worse and worse. According to data analysis, the average strength of the demonized beasts emerging from the abyss is gradually increasing. Especially recently, through special means, he had a brief communication with other large shelters. 
Lu Jianjun found that even if there is no large-scale occurrence of abyss cracks, new abyss cracks will be born every once in a while. Just like the abyss crack that was born in Maple Leaf Town. What's more, in every abyss crack, demonized beasts are constantly pouring out, and human beings have not yet found a better way to contain them. In areas like Lindong, the situation is relatively optimistic. Every day, countless awakened people go out to hunt demonized beasts. For these awakened people, hunting demonized beasts is their way of earning source crystals and living expenses. As for Lu Jianjun, he is focusing on the whole area of lynching. Yuan Jing is only secondary in his opinion. Can he reduce the density of demonized beasts in the entire area and reduce the frequency of magic tide outbreaks? To consider. Perhaps it is possible to appropriately increase the reward points for hunting demonized beasts to encourage the awakened to go out to hunt. We should also find a way to expand the hunting range of the awakened. Only hunt demonized beasts near Lindong, and demonize the entire area. The cleaning of the beasts is not very effective, on the contrary, because there are too few demonized beasts in the surrounding area, several large-scale battles broke out for grabbing food. Lu Jianjun pondered, his fingers constantly flipping the documents on the desktop, awakened people don't have much range of activities in the wild. The most important reason is that the night is too dangerous, and awakened people usually dare not spend the night in the wild. In this case, we can expand the scope of activities of the awakened by setting up a transit station. The defense line around Maple Leaf Town has been laid out, and it can be used as a pilot area, so that the activities of the awakened in the east can be extended to the south. To some extent relieve the pressure of many small shelters on that side. He thought. Dong Dong. There was a knock on the door. After receiving the promise from Lu Jianjun, a young intelligence officer walked in, Chief, about Lin Wei, we have received the latest news from the other party. Go ahead. The intelligence officer organized the language, according to our investigation and some information from the eyeliner, Lin Wei's goal this time should be related to a certain shelter, it seems to be to get something. It's just that the scope can only be narrowed down to the shelters in the southern area for the time being, and it's impossible to determine which one it is. After the intelligence officer reported the situation, he left. Lu Jianjun was lost in thought. He knew that Lin Wei had some small moves in private. He had a record of arresting survivors before, but this time, could it be that the other party planned to attack an entire shelter? Lu Jianjun felt that Lin Wei should not be so blatant. Survivors disappear and die every day in the wild. If Lin Wei wants to capture the survivors, he only needs to secretly do it in the wild, and it is difficult for him to notice. But the shelter is different, even if it is a small shelter, it also represents the human civilization that has been passed down from generation to generation. Lu Jianjun also knew that these shelters were irregular and lacked restraint. Some sanctuaries fish for survivors, and in others clashes break out, one overthrowing the other. This kind of thing happens all the time on this earth. There is nothing he can do about it, not to mention that despite all the flaws, the existence of these shelters still has more advantages than disadvantages. But Lin Wei is also a high-level member of Lin Dong's sanctuary, although the other party was not an official person before the end of the world. But because of the special situation after the apocalypse, he became a member of the high level of Lin Dong. But since Lin Wei has already represented the Lin Dong official, if he wants to use a knife against other shelters, it will touch his bottom line even more. Lu Jianjun believed that Lin Wei would not fail to understand this, which made him even more puzzled. What kind of reasons forced Lin Wei to do this? The South Side has already sent someone over, but I don't know if I can find him before Lin Wei starts. He frowned. At this time, there was another knock on the door. Afterwards, it was still the young intelligence officer who entered the door. Lu Jianjun's eyes lit up, is there any important news? Yes, chief, we have already obtained key information, but the intelligence officer nodded, but his expression was rather strange, Lin Wei is indeed preparing to attack a shelter, which is located 60 kilometers south of us. It's called a shade shelter. Oh, the special forces should have rushed over there. No, the masters of the special forces haven't arrived there yet, no, those people that Lin Wei brought out before the masters of the special forces rushed over those people were almost all killed, 
even Lin Wei himself. We also found the other's mutilated body in the wild. The intelligence officer's eyes were full of unbelievable expressions, as if he was worried that the information was too nonsense, the chief did not believe it. And added, the source of the information is very reliable, and the head of the Special Operations Regiment has already known about it. Lu Jianjun. The command room fell into a dead silence. What more can he say? What should he say? It was because the power that Lin Wei brought out was too powerful that he was worried that something bad would happen, racked his brains, and thought about a solution. Now, the intelligence officer told him that Lin Wei was finished. After a long silence, Lu Jianjun coughed dryly, and his eyes flashed with determination. Whatever the reason, don't miss the opportunity. Soon he called his senior officers, keep an eye on the people from the second corps and the third corps under Lin Wei's command. These two corps are not Lin Wei's direct descendants, and they are not so loyal. At once. Lu Jianjun was not a pedantic person, and he gave orders decisively. In addition, those people that Lin Wei has placed in various departments must be removed as quickly as possible besides, Lin Wei's residents will also be sent to visit. Lindong Shelter, Lanshi Garden. This is the place where senior officials of Lindong live. It is a corner of the entire residential area. The villas nearby belong to Lin Wei and several of his important men. A luxurious villa near the stream is Lin Wei's residence in Lindong. Several awakens with guns and sharp eyes were patrolling. The sky gradually dimmed, and the street lamps with orange lights on the street were already on. The surroundings were very quiet. Except for the sound of these patrolling awakeners stepping on the road, there was no other movement. Where no one notices. The shadow of a street lamp suddenly elongated and crossed the wall of the villa. In the shadow of the street lamp, an ordinary looking young man walked out. Grey Blade looked at the awakened people outside, but he didn't realize it. He waved his hand, and the shadow of the street lamp retracted. After observing the layout of the villa, he found a gap and used the same method to drill into the villa. Chapter 129 Ash Blade walked in the villa. The surroundings were all silent and pitch black, and his entire figure seemed to melt into the darkness. There was no sound at all. Grey Blade's gaze swept across every corner of the villa. Suddenly, he looked in a certain direction, and there was a smile on the corner of his mouth. It was an ordinary wall, and it looked no different. He reached out and knocked on it, and it was solid. However, Ash Blade did not go away, instead he reached out and stroked the wall constantly, from top to bottom, from left to right, when he reached a certain position, he pressed it hard. Obviously there is no gap, but the wall of this small area is like an isolated wall brick, sinking in. The next moment, accompanied by a slight clicking sound. In front of Ash Blade, this unremarkable wall opened slowly, revealing a deep metal passage inside. Obviously, this villa had already been remodeled by Lin Wei. After the end of the world, it is only possible to accomplish such a big project without attracting attention. Only with the corresponding special ability can it be done. At this time, in the underground secret room, a bald man suddenly opened his eyes, it's not the boss, but a little mouse slipped in. What are those patrols doing? Fortunately, the boss kept a hand and let me stay here. He got up and was about to take care of the little mouse. But suddenly a voice came from behind, and the bald man froze. Oh, you're the only one here, right? That is to say, no matter what happens, no one will find out, right? It was not loud, but it seemed to ring in my ears. The bald-headed man's entire body suddenly swelled in a circle, and his whole body was covered with blue veins. He turned around and moved in the direction from which the voice came, without even looking, he threw a punch. This punch was extremely powerful, and he used a special force generating technique. Even if a car was in front of him, he could smash it down with one punch. Not to mention the frail human body. However, this punch failed. The bald man was shocked, obviously listening to the voice, this person is right next to him, how could he not? He was vigilant, and the corner of his eyes quickly swept around, but he did not find any enemy figures. Puff. The bald man's eyes widened, and he was horrified to discover that, at some point, 
an ordinary-looking man had already stood behind him, and a sharp dagger had already pierced his heart. Pawn. Outside, a group of awakeners in black moved quickly and surrounded several villas by the stream. This group of people was led by Zhou Zhengle, captain of the guard team. In order to prevent Lin Wei from leaving behind, Lu Jianjun sent Zhou Zhengle, a master this time. At this moment, in front of the villa, the awakened patrolling saw this scene and panicked. Who are you? This is Commissioner Lin's villa, what do you want to do? Dare to be in Lindong shelter, and make trouble in Linxi Biayuan, don't you want to live? These awakened people shouted, but they were quickly solved by the military awakened people. The first team blocked the perimeter, the second team and the third team went to search the villas. You must not let anyone go. You guys, come with me. After Zhou Zhengle finished speaking, he headed towards Lin Wei's villa. The door was locked, he had no ink marks, and he punched out, easily smashing the door to pieces. The team members spread out and searched the entire villa in and out. Report Captain, nothing of value was found on the second floor. Report to the Captain, there is nothing in the hall. The kitchen doesn't have. There is no study in there. Report Captain, there is a major discovery here. Zhou Zhengle followed and came to an unremarkable wall. After tapping, he frowned, is there really a secret passage in here? According to our speculation, the secret passage is most likely behind this wall. The team members next to him replied. Okay, back off. Zhou Zhengle said, and punched out. The fist is thunderous. Boom. The wall burst open with a bang. However, contrary to Zhou Zhengle's expectations, after the wall burst, what was revealed was not a secret passage, but a thicker metal wall. This seems to be some kind of special metal with extremely high strength, and even if he used a punch of five points just now, he could not leave any traces on it. Zhou Zhengle's expression became serious. He took a deep breath, and the thunder circled on his right hand. Crackling, the purple-blue thunder light was bundled into a ball by him, making a shrill sound. He pushed forward with his right hand and slammed it against the metal wall. A terrifying explosion sounded, and the sturdy metal door was completely blown open, and metal fragments flew everywhere, like knives, embedded in the surrounding objects. Fortunately, the other members are not weak awakeners, and they stepped back beforehand, so that they were not injured. After the metal wall was blasted, the passage inside was exposed. A smile appeared on Zhou Zhengli's face, it seems that the guy surnamed Lin has all the good things hidden in it. Let's go. The passage is not long, and soon they came to a basement. Zhou Zhengli suddenly stopped. The same is true for the players behind, looking forward, their mouths slightly open, revealing a look of surprise. In the basement, a bald man fell to the ground, blood dripping from under him. His gaze turned to the end of the basement, where there was also a metal gate. However, at this moment, the entire metal gate had been cut open. From this angle, it could be seen that the inside was in a mess, as if it had been raided. No, that's what has already been searched. Did someone get in first? Impossible. In the shade shelter, after a burst of shells, nothing happened, and the survivors went their own way. Quan Dang just put off invisible fireworks a few times. After seeing Lin Wei's death, Tang Yu returned to the castle, and other people would take care of the rest. This time the battle went smoothly, although he was not very satisfied after all, those dozens of arrow towers, God knows how much source crystals cost him, even if he is now Tang not bad money big lord you, still heartache so hard to breathe. Conservation was a virtue, and he was deeply involved in it. This time, all the members of the patrol team were dispatched, and even Chen Haiping, an awakened who rarely worked with the patrol team, joined the battle. In such a fierce battle, casualties are inevitable. Two of the awakened ones were unlucky and died on the spot during the battle. Many of the remaining patrol team members were seriously injured, and they belonged to the large hospitals before the end of the world, and they may not be able to be rescued. Not to mention in an apocalyptic world where there is a lack of therapeutic equipment. Fortunately, Winnie, a priest who is proficient in healing, had been summoned to bring these people back from the dead end. Now these injured awakeners are basically fine, except that they are still a little weak and need to rest for a while, 
so there is nothing to worry about. Tang Yu had only met the two Awakens who died in action a few times at most, and he couldn't even pronounce their names. It would be hypocritical to say that they were sad, but the other party had contributed to the shelter after all. Do something. Pensions have been paid to relatives in shelters, or those who are closer. After a while, he is also going to build a monument in the shelter. In the future, whether he wants to or not, there will inevitably be sacrifices. In this day and age, it is inevitable. The deceased is gone, but something must be left behind to commemorate the traces that once existed. Chapter, 130 The next day. Tang Yu rarely slept in. Although he has always felt that he has an advantage, which is actually the case, but Lin Wei's existence used to be like a hill, which made him feel a little uncomfortable. Now that Lin Wei's matter has been resolved, and there is no shortage of source crystals, the territory can almost enter into high-speed development. Unfortunately, there is no clue about the materials to upgrade to the fourth-level castle. The 100 units of source crystals are a trivial matter. Now there are hundreds of thousands of units of source crystals stored in the warehouse. It's just that kind of cracked crystal, what is it? Unlike the floating chariot, the cloud and the roaring crossbow, it requires a lot of materials. To upgrade to the fourth level castle, in addition to the source crystal, only one standard unit of cracking crystal is needed. Although the materials for the floating chariot are temporarily lacking, he still has some clues. News also came from the Grey Blade in Lindong, and he found traces of some materials. I believe these materials are not difficult to get together. However, there is only one sentence in the description of cracked space crystal, a special crystal that contains spatial rules, and then there is no such thing. No origin, no appearance, and no clues. God knows where he's going to find it. Since the territory can't be upgraded to level 4, take advantage of the abundance of source crystals to see which more useful functional buildings have not been built yet, so let's get them out first. Tang Yu rolled over and jumped up from the bed. After washing up, he walked out of the room. First, I came to the market and took a look at the newly refreshed products today. Unlike the tavern, the market refreshes for free every day, but he does not keep it the adventurers who are freed from the tavern are often the five scumbags with D-level qualifications. The market is different. You can also buy some useful gadgets. After the daily wave of Krypton crystals, he walked out of the market. When passing by the tavern, Tang Yu paused. He felt an inexplicable force attracting him. Just like in all kinds of money-making games, whenever there is a drill, I can't help but take a single draw and double draw for ten consecutive draws, and there are no draws for bottom pants. This flaming soul of drawing cards sometimes overwhelms everything, not to mention that he happened to pass by the door of the tavern. He couldn't move his raised feet. Although the castle is far from being upgraded to level 4, the tavern will also not be able to upgrade to level 4, but now there are three contract vacancies in the tavern, and there should be no problem in summoning another follower. After all, the summoning is a one-way ticket. In reality, there is no dismissal. He keeps the contract slot, just in case there is another item like the high probability summoning scroll. Last time, I used the summoning scroll to convert a grey blade with A-level qualifications even if it was possessed by the aura of the European Emperor, the results were good after all. Tang Yu thought that if he created a scroll that could summon super-level qualifications one day, coincidentally, his contract vacancy is full, so he should not be depressed to death. It shouldn't be a problem to use one contract slot now. After all, there are still two left. No matter what, it's impossible to stay in the third-level territory in this life. Entering the tavern, without hesitation, consume the source crystal, and after merging twenty summoning opportunities, choose to summon. A mysterious and gorgeous summoning circle quickly unfolded and covered the entire ground. On the pattern of the array, ha, huh, white light appeared. Tang Yu was about to see what profession was summoned when he was suddenly stunned. White white light. I rubbed my eyes and looked again, it was still white light. Lowering his head a little stiffly, Tang Yu remembered the instructions for the fusion summoning. Fusing 20 summons, there is a high probability of summoning adventurers with B-level qualifications. It is true that the system did not say that it was 100%. However, he has only summoned 4 times in total, 
and there is a high probability of saying goodbye once. You must be kidding me. Oh, forget it, Quan should have washed his hands after going to the toilet today, right? Tang Yuhui was often disappointed, but after all, he spent 10 zero zero yuan crystals to summon him. Even if he didn't sign a contract, at least he could see who swallowed his money. He looked over. The phantom on the summoning circle is an old man with gray hair, and his beard is so long that it has fallen to his knees. This is an old man, but unfortunately old grandpa is not popular anymore. While thinking about it, Tang Yu clicked on the adventurer's profile. The aptitude is indeed D, and the strength is not strong, only the third level of awakening, and then comparing the age, he feels that this D-level aptitude may be too much. Suddenly, Tang Yu was stunned. Below the adventurer's profile, in addition to the warrior profession, there was an extra line. Deputy, Equipment Maker Master, Rune Master Advanced. It seems that it is a deputy position, which is not difficult for Tang Yu to understand, but what are these two occupations, he still dare not easily determine. Based on the idea that he didn't know about the system, he asked casually, and he really got the answer. Equipment makers have the ability to design, manufacture, and improve equipment, and a master level rating means that the maker's achievements in this area are extremely high. Rune masters need to master a certain number of runes and have the ability to draw runes. Senior rune masters have a deep understanding of runes together. Tang Yu thought that this time was completely wrong, but now that he looked at it, it seemed that it was not. It should be counted. Equipment manufacturing, he has a workshop, this role may not be big, but the master level is in the field of equipment manufacturing, in the field of designing equipment, improving equipment. And has a very high attainments, especially in combination with the deputy of senior rune division, may be able to design a piece of rune equipment of not low quality by yourself. So sign a contract. Ding dong. Adventurer Kevin Sandridge to Patricia Travis Kin, Qualification D, Occupation, Warrior, Deputy, Equipment Maker Master, Rune Master Advanced is the Lord Determined? Sign a follower contract the Lord, with it. Tang Yu. The moment he pressed the contract, Kevin only felt a change in time and space. He is a master of equipment manufacturing, and he also enjoys a high reputation in the capital. Unlike the previous followers, Kevin didn't have any bad experience, but when the mysterious voice in his mind sounded, he has an intuition. If he wants to have a glimpse of the master realm he has dreamed of, then he will agree. He came to a walk-and-go crossover. In the blink of an eye, according to the contract, this is already another world. All of this surprised Kevin. He could see that this place was indeed not where it was originally. This is obviously space power, but with his knowledge, he can't imagine what kind of space power can transfer people from one world to another in an instant. After being stunned for a while, Kevin looked at the young man in front of him. The connection in the contract made him understand the identity of Lord Tang Yu. He stepped forward a few steps, Kevin Sandridge did a, I am willing to serve you, Lord Lord. As he spoke, he forgot his words, and hurriedly followed the noble etiquette, and prepared to bow and salute. However, when he bowed slightly, the long beard that was already growing suddenly fell to the ground. Immediately, he shook his head in a hurry.